The man, who has only an IQ of 8, is being fought over by seven sisters-in-law because his seven brothers all died in different battlefields at the same time, and the seven unmarried sisters-in-law, in order to continue the Lin family bloodline, decided to marry me and bear children for the Lin family. At this moment, ten urns are being escorted home with the highest military honors. Lin Zhenghua, 48 years old, died in battle in the northern region on July 28, with no remains. Lin Zhenghua, 43 years old, died in battle in the eastern region on July 28, with no remains. Lin Ling Tian, 27 years old, died in battle in the southern region on July 28, with no remains. Lin Ling Jun, 27 years old, died in the southeast border on July 28, and his body was never found. After reading the ten notices, the entire inner hall fell into a deathly silence. The ten loyal martyrs of the Lin family, from three generations, died in the six major battle zones of Dasha on the same day, and the Lin family was almost wiped out. And at this moment, above the Lin family mansion, 36 fighter jets hovered and roared. At the same time, accompanied by 19 salvos of cannons, the whole city sounded the alarm, lowered the flag to half-mast, bidding farewell to the martyrs of the Lin family. But all of this cannot change the tragic ending of Lin Jiazhong's sacrifice. General, the enemy's plan this time was too meticulous, and we didn't expect such a tragedy to happen. Please accept our condolences. General Ning Yucho bowed to General Lin Changfeng, his voice somewhat hoarse. The top ten geniuses of the Lin family were attacked and killed in six different war zones of Dasha on the same day. Even a fool knows that such a coincidence is impossible. This is a Rutan branch operation targeting the Lin family. Ning Tao glanced at me. I am now the last descendant of the Lin family. Five years ago, I was still the number one genius in Dasha, but after a car accident, I became a fool. At this moment, my face was full of foolishness, as if I had no idea what had happened. What the crowd didn't notice was that a golden light suddenly appeared on the jade pendant on my chest, followed by a slight cracking sound. The jade pendant had a layer of even cracks and shattered on the spot. Several golden lights shot out from the jade pendant and quickly entered my body. In an instant, I, who was confused, unexpectedly flashed a hint of shrewdness in my eyes. I fucking sealed myself for five years. However, when I was 15 years old, I had already stepped into martial arts, broke through the strength, mastered control, broke through the grandmaster realm, and became the undisputed number one genius among the young generation of Disya. But just when I was studying how to use talismans to break through to the martial emperor realm, I was suddenly hit by a car. Then, by some twist of fate, I accidentally locked two-thirds of my soul and six-sevenths of my spirit into the pendant on my chest, leaving only one soul and one spirit to support my body. I stumbled through the next five years in a daze, with my soul fragmented and my power completely lost, my intelligence reduced to that of a seven- or eight-year-old child. So, to outsiders, it seemed that I had become a complete idiot after the car accident. However, I knew very well that this was just a temporary sealing of my soul. Without external assistance, I could only wait for the soul-locking talisman to lose its effect. But this waiting lasted for five years. The three souls and seven spirits are restored, and my intellectual talent is instantly regained. And the lost cultivation has also surpassed the Grandmaster level. Stepping into the peak of Martial Emperor Realm, in the entire Great Xia, at least it can rank in the top ten. At this moment, looking at the ten urns in front of me, my face turned extremely gloomy. Among them, three of them are my eldest uncle, second uncle, and third uncle. The remaining seven are my seven older brothers. Behind the urns of my seven older brothers, there are seven stunning women dressed in plain clothes. They are my seven unmarried sisters-in-law. Sister-in-law Yulinglong, the strongest female general among the younger generation in Dashia. Second sister-in-law Lin Jiankyu, the daughter of the Ling family, one of the four major wealthy families in the capital with strong financial resources, influencing the entire Dashia. Third sister-in-law Shan Mange, an international superstar who dominates the world, the goddess in the hearts of millions of otaku. Seventh sister Su Ishue, the daughter of the Su family, a prominent family in Southwest medicine, occupies a dominant position in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Seven brothers have already died in battle, but these unmarried sisters-in-law have not forgotten their affection. They all came to attend the funeral, which touched me deeply. At the funeral, at the head of the table, Grandfather Lin Changfeng sternly rebuked with a deep voice. Seven sisters-in-law holding the urn, walked outside the courtyard. At this time, the spacious open space outside the Lin family's courtyard was already filled with people. The old general had a lifetime of military service, but the Lin family ended up in such a situation, causing everyone to sigh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lin family sacrificed themselves for the country, died for what they believed in, as long as I am here. The Lin family will not fall. 
Grandfather walked up to the stage, picked up the microphone and spoke a few words, but halfway through, he couldn't continue. The white-haired person sends off the black-haired person. The Lin family is almost wiped out. As an old man in his twilight years, he has long reached the edge of collapse. Everyone on the scene was shocked to see him like this. General Lao has really had a hard time. The Lin family made great contributions to the establishment of the empire. Now it's so tragic. Ten of the top generals of the family were attacked and killed on the same day. This is a complete extermination. And just as there was a commotion at the scene, suddenly two figures quickly walked towards the high platform. Excuse me, with so many people here as witnesses, I, Xian, on behalf of Yu Fei, have something to announce. The one on stage is Xian's second son, Xian Zhengwei, and the one next to Xian Zhengwei is Xian's daughter, Xian Yu Fei. As you all know, Xian's family was engaged to the Lin family, but now Lin Bufan has become a fool. Xian's family has decided to cancel the engagement. Please nod, grandfather. Zhuan Zhengwo held the microphone and announced the news lightly, but this statement was undoubtedly a bombshell at the scene, and everyone below immediately started to stir. What? The Lin family is facing such a disaster, and the Xians are breaking off the engagement at this time. What's the difference between this and adding insult to injury? It's too ruthless. Does the Xian family want to distance themselves from the Lin family so urgently? I guess the Xian family is also afraid. After the downfall of the Lin family, their enemies will definitely target the families that have close relationships with the Lin family. If the Xian family doesn't break off the engagement, they might be the first to be eliminated. But there's no need to be in such a hurry. This makes Grandpa Lin wonder. All eyes are now on my grandfather. Lin Changfeng. You, Grandpa only said one sentence. And then he spewed out a mouthful of blood and staggered backwards. The old man from the Lin family, who was nearly 80 years old, finally collapsed. The Xian family's cancellation of the marriage became the last straw that overwhelmed him. Su Jian, the adopted son taken in by grandpa, quickly reached out and supported him. I, who was already sober at this time, tried my best to suppress the anger in my heart. Looking at Xian Yufei, who was radiant, Xian Yufei and I grew up together as childhood sweethearts, and our relationship has always been very good. As early as 10 years ago, the Lin family and the Xian family arranged a marriage for us, the whole Southwest, and even the entire Disya, knew that Xian Yufei was my intended wife, but I have thought that everyone would leave me, but I never thought that Xian Yufei would leave me, and at this time, Yufei, are you not going to be my wife anymore? Xian Yufei pinched her clothes corner, dare not look directly into my eyes, lowered her head with some guilt, and said, Fan Gu, I'm sorry, I can't marry you, the Lin family is almost extinct now. With only an old man in his 80s and a person with an IQ of 7 or 8 left, if I step into the Lin family again, where is the hope for the future? Xian Yufei adjusted her emotions and, in the moment she looked up, her eyes seemed to have made a certain determination. It would be so much better if you weren't a fool. If I weren't a fool, would you still marry me? I continued to stare at Xian Yufei. However, the bond of growing up together keeps me holding on to a little expectation. Xian Yufei hesitated for a moment. But Xian Yufei wanted to continue speaking, but was preempted by his uncle Xian Jingwa next to him. Humph, stupid fool, stop dreaming, even if you return to normal. So what, do you think the Lin family is still the same as before? Can you still become the monstrous genius you were before? Moreover, even if you can fully recover, the Lin family now only has you as the only descendant. I don't know how many people are targeting your life. How long can you hold on? I don't want Yufei to become a widow. Although Xian Jingwa's words were harsh. They instantly woke me up. Yes, this time all the male members of the Lin family perished on the same day. And it reminded me of my own car accident five years ago. I am well aware that someone wants to uproot our Lin family. If I were to return to normal at this time, the enemy would not hesitate to kill me. Even though I can handle it, the true culprits who harmed the Lin family would likely become alert and hide. In an instant, my gaze darkened, and I had already decided to continue pretending to be foolish. Using my foolishness as a cover while secretly bringing out all those culprits who harmed the Lin family's descendants. They must all come out. They must pay for their blood debts. As for Xian Yufei, let it be fate. And when Xian Zhengwa saw that I didn't say anything, he laughed self-deprecatingly. I forgot. I can't understand even if I tell you. Xian Zhengwa's mouth twitched, and he turned his head to continue speaking to his grandfather. Grandfather, you are also aware of the situation. Please spare the Xian family and spare Yufei. Xian Zhengwa's relentless pursuit caused another uproar among the crowd. The Xian family has gone too far, and the Lin family has completely declined. After the Xian family breaks off the engagement, I'm afraid no one will be willing to marry Lin Bufan. That fool, there is no hope for the Lin family. Judging from the old master's condition, he won't live for many more years. By the way, 
Lao Shang, didn't you say that the fish at Dongyang Tower is delicious? Let's go and secure our spots quickly, or there won't be any left if we're late. This isn't a good idea. The Lin family's funeral hasn't finished yet, and we're leaving. What's the harm? It doesn't really matter whether we attend the funeral or not. Now, in front of Grandpa Lin, it's better to invite Su Jian and his son to the footbath city more times to find a sense of existence. Walk, walk, walk. In the courtyard, there are not a few people with the same idea. A quarter of the people have already stood up, openly preparing to leave. When the tree falls, the monkeys scatter, when the wall collapses, everyone pushes. This is the true reality. And at this moment, the grandfather's face turned pale, looking at the bleak situation in front of him, his lips trembling, wanting to speak but unable to make any sound. I stood on the stage, coldly staring at those who left, remembering the faces of all of them in my mind. Soon, I will make you regret today's actions. In the audience, the seven sisters holding the urn in the front row were so angry at the situation in front of them that they stomped their feet. They glanced at each other and then followed the lead of the eldest sister, Yuling Long, and walked towards the stage. Xian Yufei, if you don't get married, we will. Me, Yuling Long, I, Ling Yanxiu, I, Shen Mange, I, Su Yi Xue, willing to marry Lin Bufan and contribute to the Lin family's prosperity. The seven resounding and powerful shouts rang out on the stage, like seven sharp swords, piercing through the dark clouds that covered the sky. The scene instantly fell into a deathly silence. The footsteps of those who were about to leave froze in midair. Under the stage, some people opened their mouths and forgot what they wanted to say next. Everyone's movements seemed to be frozen in an instant. Only their eyeballs were still turning. They stared at the seven girls on the stage with disbelief on their faces. Seven brothers died in battle. And the sister-in-law who had not yet entered the door was going to consummate the marriage with the younger brother. However, at this moment, Xian Yufei suddenly looked up and stared at Yulinglong and others. He couldn't understand what these delicate girls were thinking. Now everyone wants to distance themselves from the Lin family but they want to go against the current. Yulinglong looked at Xian Yufei. Xian Yufei, I announce as Lin Bufan's wife that your engagement with Lin Bufan is now null and void. The domineering words came out of Yulinglong's mouth, accompanied by the overwhelming killing intent emanating from Yulinglong. What the hell? I've been longing for Su Ishue for so long. I thought I would have a chance after the Lin family died out. But now, Zhao Tianlong angrily waved his fist. Is Su Ishue's head caught in the door, choosing to marry a fool, or as a sister-in-law? Another young man beside Zhao Tianlong also had a displeased expression. Su Xiao, tonight my Zhao family is organizing a business banquet, and the big shots from the Xia family in the provincial capital will also arrive. Perhaps Su Xiao can find an opportunity for cooperation. Fuck, I just woke up and now I have to inherit several beautiful sister-in-laws. Sister-in-law, don't mess around. I'm not stupid anymore, but I also know that today, in front of so many people, the seven sisters-in-law openly announced that they want to marry me. Whether everyone believes it or not, those enemies who have targeted the Lin family will definitely choose to believe it. If Yu Ling Long and the others hadn't announced this decision, the enemies of the Lin family might not have targeted them. But when they announced that they were going to marry Lin Bufan, those enemies of the Lin family would never let them go. A deep look flashed in my eyes. Whether it was to protect the seven deceased brothers or to consider the future, I must become strong as soon as possible. I must make the Lin family return to its glorious heyday. Only by being strong enough can I avenge the annihilation of my family and protect the seven beautiful sisters-in-law. At the funeral, Grandpa Lin Chongfeng's loud voice brought back my thoughts. At this moment, his emotions were also infected by Yulinglong. The haze in his eyes disappeared, and all the teams in the courtyard began to move, escorting the ten loyal martyrs of the Lin family to the Yun City Cemetery. After seeing off all the guests at the Yun City Cemetery, Grandpa finally sighed with relief. Linglong, Yenqiu, Ishue, thank you all today. Now the funeral of my seven grandsons is over. You can all leave. But Linglong and others stood still and didn't move. Sui Xue stepped forward and said, Grandfather, we were serious about marrying Lin Bufan. Although Ling Tian and others have already died for the country, the Lin family's incense cannot be extinguished. We are willing to bear children for the Lin family and continue the bloodline. Ah, why do you have to do this? What are you trying to achieve? Grandfather looked at Sui Xue and others. Jade Linglong took a step forward respectfully and said, Grandfather, we were born as members of the Lin family, and we will die as the souls of the Lin family. Those people plotted against the Lin family like this. We can't let this matter go. The seven of us sisters have discussed it and agreed to take turns accompanying Lin Bufan for one month each. We must leave more descendants for the Lin family and make those people pay the price. But, when I heard Jade Linglong's words, I almost spurted out a mouthful of blood. 
Are these seven sisters really going to play for real? Each person accompanies themselves for a month. What do they think they are? A sore? Yulinglong suddenly turned her head and stared at me, as if she sensed my emotional changes. There was a hint of confusion in her expression. Could it be my imagination? Just now. For a moment, she seemed to sense the fluctuation of aura on me. Lin Bufan, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying now, but don't forget, you were once the first monstrous genius of Disya. Once you could stand at the peak, and now you must be able to. We seven innocent girls have decided to marry you. From now on, we are your wives, and our destinies are tied together with yours. We rise and fall together. If you still have a trace of clear consciousness, quickly gather yourself and protect the Lin family, seeking revenge for your uncles and brothers. Furthermore, whether you are truly foolish or pretending to be foolish, we seven have chosen to be with you. If you dare to disappoint any one of us, I will chase you with a knife to the ends of the earth. Hearing these words, my nose couldn't help but feel sour, taking the risk of being looked at with strange eyes by people all over the world. Seven girls choose to marry me at the same time. How much determination and courage does it take? What reason do I have not to pick myself up? Sui Shue, who was listening on the side, was somewhat moved and advised. Sister-in-law, is this too harsh on Lin Bufan? After all, his intelligence hasn't recovered yet. Jade Linglong's eyebrows twitched. After the previous examination, it was confirmed that Lin Bufan's head was fine. Recently, I contacted the great Xia medical saint, Lei Qin Jue. He will definitely find a solution. I will spare no effort to ask him to treat Lin Bufan. Please ask the great Xia medical saint to come and see me. I had an idea. If Lei Qin Jue comes, it will be a perfect opportunity to cooperate with my plan. I have just examined my grandfather's body. Although there doesn't seem to be any problem on the surface, the hidden injuries from his battles in his youth, as well as such a heavy blow, have almost crushed my grandfather. If he is not properly taken care of, he may not have much time left. Although I am proficient in medical skills, I have to pretend to be ignorant now and it is not convenient for me to take action. It happens that I can use Lei Qin Jue's hand to take care of my grandfather. Thinking of this, I waved my hand and said, Yeah, I'm going to treat the illness. Yulinglong frowned and felt that something was wrong. But for a while, she couldn't say what it was. Sui Shue took a step forward, reached out and hugged me tenderly, saying that we sisters will find a way to cure you. Even if we can't cure you, we will take care of you for the rest of your life and give you many chubby boys. In the end, the faces of the seven girls blushed. Although they made such a decision in desperation at the funeral, they were all unmarried girls after all, and they would still feel shy when it came to matters of the boudoir. And Yulinglong is already 26 years old, so she should be more stable. Grandpa, this is how we arranged it. Yu is in Yuncheng, so she will take care of Lin Bufan for the first month. In the second month, Chang Roland from the provincial capital Huadu will take care of Lin Bufan. Then Yulinglong explained everyone's plan. Grandpa couldn't help but shed tears as he listened beside me. He looked at me sternly and said, Lin Bufan, remember, no matter whether you can recover in the future, you must treat these seven girls well. Understand? If you dare to disappoint them in any way, Grandpa will personally kill you. It is easy to add flowers on top, but difficult to send charcoal in the snow. In such adversity, the kindness of the seven sisters-in-law towards Lin Bufan, and towards the Lin family. How could I forget? I secretly vowed in my heart that I will not let any of you sisters-in-law down, but you will have to endure some hardships for a while. However, at this moment, after Su Ishua bid farewell to everyone, she took me back to her house. Just as we entered the door, she affectionately said to me, Zhao Tianlong has organized a business banquet tonight. Can you accompany me to go and have a look? When I heard the name Zhao Tianlong, my heart suddenly skipped a beat, and a familiar scene appeared in my mind. Five years ago, Yi Fan was hit in a car accident, fainted in the last moments, saw the driver's cab driving, is a man with a scar on his face. And just now, when he was at the Yi family compound, Yi Fan saw the scarred man standing right next to Zhao Tianlong. Back then, his own car accident must have had something to do with the Zhao family. A flash of sharpness flashed in Yi Fan's eyes. In that case, revenge. Let's start with the Zhao family. Yi family compound. Yi Changfeng had just returned home and practically collapsed in his seat. Looking at the empty compound, Yi Changfeng couldn't help but feel gloomy again in his heart. Escort Captain Lung Feng respectfully stood on one side, reported in a low voice, Yi old. According to the intelligence, Yi group, Su Jian father and son too, recently stepped up plans to contact the major shareholders, intends to transfer the hegemony, transfer of Yi group's assets. You see, Yi Chongfeng waved his hand. I've known about their small moves for a long time. A few hundred billion dollars of assets. Originally the Yi family didn't care about it. But now, 
Those seven girls are in since they are going to guard Xiaofan, then I always have to leave something for them. You pay more attention to the company situation. Make sure that things are going to be within control. Yes, Lang Feng answered. His lips moved twice. And when he saw the family portrait hanging on the wall, his voice choked again. Yi Lao, the eldest young master and the others must have been backstabbed. Those people are too ruthless. Yi Changfeng leaned helplessly on the chair. Helplessly said, I also know, and I can probably guess a few of them involved in the hands of the people. But now, the Yi family, alas, what can I do if I know? A family, no matter how despondent and prosperous it is, its greatest fear is that there will be no one to succeed it. Yi Lao's influence in the military was indeed very powerful. But what could Yi Changfeng do with any more prestige now that all of the Yi family's men with talent and potential had died out? Does the Yi family rely on a fool with an IQ of 7 or 8 years old? Moreover, even if the seven granddaughters-in-law chose to continue marrying Yi Fan, that would only temporarily decline the Yi family. Unless the seven of them girls could give birth to Yi Fan as soon as possible, and the old man of the Yi family should be able to live for at least another 20 years to ensure that the fourth generation of the Yi family would grow up. If that happened, perhaps there was still a chance for the Yi family to rise. Alas, how wonderful it would be if the young master could recover from his foolish state. Northwest, somewhere in a dark courtyard, an old man was kneeling piously in front of a Buddha statue, holding several pillars of incense in his hands and praying respectfully. At the doorway, a youth in camouflage uniform waited for the old man to stand up before he took out a stack of documents and said, Elder Zhang, there's news from Cloud City. Everything went quite smoothly with the funeral. Yi Changfeng behaved normally, and there's nothing too unusual in the northern Tianlong army. It's just that, at the funeral, there was a little change. The Xin family has withdrawn from the Yi family. But Yi Fan's seven sisters-in-law announced in public that they would marry Yi Fan and start a family for the Yi family. You see, what should be done? Aha! Hearing the report from his men, the old man snorted coldly through his nostrils, exuding a wave of majesty that could only be found in a superior person. How dare you? Don't they know what will happen to the Yi family? They must be severely punished and made an example of. Isn't the Su family in Cloud City? Then let them see what happens when they get close to the Yi family. The old man's words paused as he continued to speak. In addition, closely monitor Yi Fan, if he has any abnormalities, directly take action. As he spoke, the old man made a gesture of touching his neck to his hand. One second, they are devoutly worshipping the Buddha. And the next, they treat human life as a piece of grass. One word decides whether a man lives or dies. In Cloud City, at this time, Sui Shui had brought Yi Fan back to her place and after changing her clothes, she was rushing towards the banquet organized by the Zhao family with Yi Fan. Yi Fan, when we get to the scene later, don't talk nonsense, okay? Just follow me obediently. I will protect you. Sui Shui tenderly wrapped her arms around Yi Fan, her eyes full of heartache. Once, Yi Fan was such a dazzling heavenly pride. Yes, sister-in-law. Sui Shui was stunned. Then she pouted and reached out to gently hammer on Yi Fan's shoulder, her face blushing as she said, Still calling me sister-in-law? From now on, you have to call me wife okay? Good, I have a wife again. Great, so happy. Yi Fan was dancing happily at this moment, like a small child. Sui Shui's heart ached as she watched. Once, this youngest brother-in-law, that is a heavenly pride general existence ah, and Xian Yu Fei Lang talent, can be called the golden child of the cloud city, and now, in the most difficult moment of the Yi family, the Xin family actually chose to abandon the Yi family. Must spoil this man. The Yi family can't be defeated by this. N. Little Fan is good. Yi Shui will always be only your wife in the future. Sui Shui tightly embraced Yi Fan in her arms, letting her waves cover Yi Fan's face. This was the first time Sui Shui had been so close to a man, and although she was a little shy, she was very determined. Just what Sui Shui didn't notice was that when her heartbeat accelerated, a warm current of feedback entered her body, warming and nourishing her body, making her feel like a spring breeze. At the same time, in Yi Fan's body, he felt a warm feedback. Deep in Yi Fan's dantian, a fire seedling swayed as the warm current fluctuated. After the warm current passed through the fire, it turned into martial chi, penetrating into Yi Fan's tendons and veins, rapidly raising his strength. This was the secret of Yi Fan stepping into the sovereign realm at the age of 15, the mysterious flame in the dantian. As long as there was contact with the girl, and the other party had emotional fluctuations, Yi Fan could obtain warm currents, which could be converted into martial Dao Qi, rapidly improving his strength. Normally, even when there was no contact with the girl, the fire seedling would automatically generate warm currents, which would be converted into martial Dao Qi energy, boosting Yi Fan's strength, countless times faster than normal cultivation speed. Miss Su, the family head and the second master are inside. 
please go over there alone. Yi Fan was checking his martial chi when a butler came over towards Sui Shui. Sui Shui frowned. I'll be right there. Sui Shui knew what the second uncle and them were looking for. She announced today in front of so many people that she was going to marry Yi Fan. Such a decision would bring about the demise of the Su family. Little Fan, wait for me in the car first. Don't run around. I'll come over to you in a while. After Sui Shui arranged Yi Fan in the car, she then turned around and walked quickly towards the banquet hall. Yi Fan looked at Sui Shui's back as she left, and a touch of determination appeared at the corner of his mouth. Don't worry, sister-in-law. From the moment you decide to guard the Yi family and me, I, Yi Fan, will definitely give you the best prosperity in this world. In addition to the mysterious payload swaying in Yi Fan's body, behind that trigger finger he got back then, there was also a huge power that could shake the globe. It was just that right now Yi Fan hadn't bothered to activate to start it. Yi Fan had the strength to guard it. Those enemies who destroyed the Yi family, from this moment on, tremble. In the corner of the banquet hall, on a table, Su Mingho, the second oldest member of the Su family, was a bit angry and said to his elder brother, Su Hong Hai, elder brother, isn't that girl Yi Shui fooling around? Actually announcing together with you Linglong that she is going to marry that fool Yi Fan? Yeah, who doesn't know about the Yi family situation now? Whoever gets close to the Yi family now is dead. It's good enough that we didn't fall into the well. Why should Yi Shui drag the entire Su family down with her? The third oldest member of the Su family next to her also had an indignant look on her face. On the internet, the news that the seven sister-in-laws of Yu Linglong and Su Yi Shui had publicly announced that they would continue to marry Yi Fan had begun to explode all over the internet. This is completely putting the Su family on the fire. Big brother, you should also control Su Yi Shui. If you ask me, Su Yi Shui should not continue to serve as the president of the Su clan group if she behaves like this should be directly driven away from the family and not implicate us, the core disciples of the Su family. You said one thing and I said another, all indignantly accusing Su Yi Shui. Su Hong Hai, the head of the Su family sitting at the top, had not opened his mouth, waiting for everyone to say almost everything. Then he faintly said, You guys are afraid that you have forgotten how our Su family developed back then. If there was no shelter from the Yi family, would there be our current Su family? I don't think what Yi Shui did was wrong. Su Honghai's sentence instantly silenced the crowd at the scene. Back then, the Su family was nothing more than a small workshop in Cloud City. It was by chance that the Su family's old man met Yi Changfeng, and then with the support of the Yi family, it gradually became a famous pharmaceutical company in the southwest. Big brother, can repay kindness? But also not so repay kindness ah, if Yi Fan is still a demonic genius like before. Yi Shui married him. I don't have the slightest opinion. But now, Su Mingho also just opened his mouth. He received an email, and after reading it his face instantly changed. Big brother, look, there are already suppliers who suddenly announced that they refuse to cooperate with us. I've also received news here. The channeler said that a big shot has given them the go-ahead to completely block my Sioux group. In just a few seconds, the Sioux family's core executives have received a lot of feedback from suppliers and channel providers, a large half of the partners, so abruptly suddenly announced the discontinuation of cooperation with the Sioux family, play a trick to take away the pay. Obviously, those behind the scenes started to move against the Su family, kill the chicken and make an example of it. Su Honghai frowned as he listened to the constant reports. From the moment Su Yi Shui announced the decision in public, Su Honghai had actually anticipated the outcome and was not surprised. Originally we wanted to cooperate with the Xia family in the provincial city this time, but now I guess it's fizzled out as well. Our Su family has really been killed by Su Yi Shui. While the crowd was sighing, Su Yi Shui stepped over from the doorway of the room bowed towards the crowd and said, I know what everyone is worried about, but I will say something. Our Su family was originally developed by relying on the Yi family, and now that the Yi family is in trouble, we can't not help. And even if our Su group is crushed, and we redo our own small workshop, what's the harm? As human beings, we have to know how to be grateful. If because of my decision, let everyone have feel bad, now you can sell your shares and take money to leave before it's too late. I won't stop you. Although Su Yi Shue was extremely gentle in front of Yi Fan, but in front of these core executives of the Su family, she was thunderous, shocking the crowd with a single sentence. Tonight, I will try my best to facilitate the cooperation with the Xia family. As long as we can facilitate the cooperation with the Xia family, our Su group won't collapse so easily. At the door, after Su Yi Shue left, Yi Fan followed along and got off the car, walking towards the banquet hall. After five years of muddling through on my own, I'm finally awake now and it's time to reacquaint myself with the world. Yo, isn't this that fool from the Yi family? How come he ran here? Yi Fan just stepped into the banquet hall door. Zhao Tianlong blocked Yi Fan with an evil face. What? Are you hungry and want to come in to find food? As he spoke, 
Zhao Tianlong and a few buddies around him glanced at each other. A cold smile surfaced in their eyes. Come, come, come. Don't say we don't know about caring for retards. First treat Yi Xiao to a glass of wine. While speaking, Zhao Tianlong threw a cigarette but into the wine glass and stirred it twice, spat a few mouthfuls of saliva into the glass, and shouted to his buddies around him to all add a little bit of material. And the wine in the glass turned urine yellow before handing it to Yi Fan. Come on, drink it. It's delicious. Oh, Yi Fan took the wine glass in a state of bewilderment and held it up to the light for a long time. Is this the way to make fine wine? It's so beautiful. Such a dumbfounded look made Zhao Tianlong and the others mock. That's right, this is the fine wine I made for you. Drink it, Zhao Tianlong urged Yi Fan, a touch of gloom emerging in his eyes. A retarded fool, and seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law actually announced that they all want to marry him? On what grounds, if it was before, when the Yi family was still in its prime, even if Yi Fan was a fool, Zhao Tianlong would never have dared to bully him like this. But now that the Yi family's core disciples were all wiped out, and there was only such a retard left, bullying was bullying, who would say anything? Yi Fan put the wine cup in front of his nose and sniffed it, just when the crowd thought that Yi Fan was really going to drink it, Yi Fan suddenly spoke up. No, there's still almost something. At this moment, it so happened that a cleaner pushed a bucket for washing mops and passed by. Looking at the black dirty water inside the bucket, Yi Fan quickly scooped half a cup inside with a wine glass and shook it. This should be perfect. Zhao Tianlong and the others watched Yi Fan's hand turn into a cloudy black liquor. All of them were dumbfounded for a few seconds, and then they laughed heartily. Ha ha, sure is stupid. Yeah, Nima, actually went to drink the water for washing the mop by himself. That mop, just now, went to mop the toilet. Today Yi Fan must make a fool of himself. Quickly, cell phones are all ready. Record the video clearly, and pass it to the internet in a while. Let's see how Yu Linglong and Sui Shui still have the nerve to marry Yi Fan. While the crowd waited with bated breath for Yi Fan to drink, Yi Fan suddenly took two steps forward and walked in front of Zhao Tianlong. Before Zhao Tianlong could react, Yi Fan suddenly aimed the wine glass at Zhao Tianlong's mouth. Zhao Tianlong instinctively wanted to avoid, but found that Yi Fan's wrist grabbed his neck, like an iron clamp, so that Zhao Tianlong simply cannot move, and do not know Yi Fan pinched their own sinews. Zhao Tianlong's mouth cannot help but open into the O shape. Yi Fan's wine glass of wine just to all Zhao Tianlong's mouth to pour. The wine in Yi Fan's wine cup was all poured into Zhao Tianlong's mouth. Gulp. A full cup. Along with the cigarette but from earlier, Zhao Tianlong swallowed it all in one gulp. Seemingly afraid that Zhao Tianlong was out of breath, Yi Fan even thoughtfully reached out and patted Zhao Tianlong on the chest. Drink slowly. Don't choke. Well, does it taste good? Yi Fan inquired towards Zhao Tianlong with his big innocent Kazran eyes and a naive face. Ah, crap. Vomit. Reacted Zhao Tianlong directly jumped up in place. Son of a bitch. Stupid. Why don't you step on the horse to drink? Crap. Vomit. Zhao Tianlong was going crazy with anger. Angrily pushing Yi Fan away. His mouth chortling at Yi Fan. At this moment, Zhao Tianlong's nausea was so great that he couldn't even turn his stomach over and rinse it with water. Nima. What was in that glass just now? He knew too well. There was his own thick phlegm in there, and a few buddies, and the Ki Yi Fan added the black water from the dragging toilet. So a cup of filth like that was actually drank down all by himself? Ishua's wife said for me not to drink. I'm very happy that you invited me to drink fine wine. So I have to invite you to drink too. Yi Fan looked at Zhao Tianlong with a smile on his face. An innocent smile on his face. But in his heart, he sneered. You're just a bunch of trash. You want to fight with me? Five years ago, from inside that trigger finger, what Yi Fan inherited could not only be the salary shaking and improving his martial arts strength. Inside the trigger finger, there was also the hundred years of experience in handling affairs sealed by the thirteen big brothers. Power. Means. Yi Fan has long since melted through. Against people like Zhao Tianlong. It was a complete piece of cake. Hiss. The group of people around watching the good show at this time and reacted. Zhao Tianlong had intended to insult Yi Fan. But as a result, he moved a stone and hit his own foot. And drank that cup of filth down himself. While the crowd was shocked. They were also a little curious as to whether Yi Fan was really stupid or not. Vomit. Beside Zhao Tianlong. A few of his other buddies were somewhat unable to resist the urge to vomit. It's really disgusting. Zhao Tianlong jumped up in anger. What the hell? What are you waiting for? Give me the old man to beat him up. Killing is on me. Actually teasing this young man. Looking for death. Zhao Tianlong. As the youngest master of the Zhao family. Had lived a star studded life since he was a child. When had he ever been insulted like this? While chortling at the bodyguards and buddies around him. He reached down and clasped his own throat trying to spit out what he had just drank, but it didn't work at all, and he just couldn't spit out anything other than dry heaves. 
Even Zhao Tianlong could feel those liquids churning in his stomach, emitting a strange stench. Wow! Beside Zhao Tianlong, a few bodyguards, as well as those buddies of Zhao Tianlong immediately rubbed their fists, intending to surround towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan's eyes flinched. Was he planning to come hard? If I don't show some tricks, do you really think I'm easy to bully? Stop. I'll see who dares to touch a hair on my brother Fan's head. Just as Yi Fan was planning to strike, a burly figure behind him quickly dashed over. After his tower-like body approached, without any hesitation, he reached out and grabbed two of Zhao Tianlong's bodyguards each on the left and right, and smashed the two of them directly together with his left and right hands. Bang! Those two strong men who were more than one meter eight were just directly smashed and fainted to death. With me, Wang Fu Gue, here, you guys try to touch my big brother? The person who came was called Wang Fu Gue, a brother that Yi Fan had played with since he was a child. His grandfather was Yi Chongfeng's adjutant when he was young, and the relationship between the two families was very good. Wang Fu Gue had followed Yi Fan since he was a child, and when Yi Fan was still a genius demon, Wang Fu Gue was willing to be a junior brother. And five years ago, after Yi Fan's fall from genius demon, Wang Fu Gue didn't change his opinion, still faithfully following Yi Fan around, blocking a lot of trouble for him. Wang Fu Gue almost 2 meters tall, since childhood the body is strong, martial arts foundation is good, less than 20 years of age, but also has been the strength of the martial arts control realm, in the cloud city is considered to be a first class expert, and very protective of the calf, the character is also extraordinarily stubborn, 3 years ago, just because a guy called Yi Fan a fool, not Wang Fu Gue day and night to fight for 3 days, since then, everyone does not dare to easily provoke Wang Fu Gue, at this moment, Wang Fu Gui suddenly appeared and smashed the two bodyguards into fainting with a single move. Those who surrounded the area took a few steps back with some scorn. Zhao Xiao, beside Zhao Tianlong, a few buddies hesitantly inquired towards Zhao Tianlong about the meaning of the treatment. Zhao Tianlong also knew that with Wang Fu Gui here, his chances of making a move at the banquet might not hit. Scatter, humph, Wang Fu Gui can protect him for a while. Can he protect him for a while? Command down, let the brothers bring some more people. And so the banquet is over. Find a chance to get dead him. Stepping horse, he does not die. Sui Shui that bitch will not agree to marry me. Vomit. Rely, I'm going to vomit. Although Zhao Tianlong was upset, there was nothing he could do at this point. Big brother, are you alright? I just came back from the field. I've heard about the Yi family's matter. Big brother don't worry. Even if the Yi family is gone, old wine will definitely fight to protect you and won't let those beasts touch half of your sweaty hair. Wang Fu Gui turned to look at Ji Fan and spoke with a sincere face. Big brother should have been the proud son of heaven. It's those beasts who have eyes but no pearls. Let's go. Let's find sister-in-law. He he he. Big brother. You're so lucky ah. Although Xian Yufei that bitch doesn't know how to withdraw from the marriage. The seven beautiful sister-in-laws are all married to big brother. Ha ha. If big brother your sober state. You must be smiling. Wang Fu Gui's mouth was like a machine gun as he hooked Yi Fan's shoulder and walked towards the inside, rambling non-stop. The first part was fine. The last sentence made Yi Fan's head full of black lines. Is this young man that kind of person? The moment Yi Fan frowned, Wang Fu Gui seemed to sense something and turned back to give Yi Fan a fierce look. The determined look seemed to say, Right, brother, you're just like that. Big brother, why do I suddenly feel like you're different today than before? Do you think you've come to your senses? Wang Fu Gui grabbed Yi Fan's arm and shook it with a surprised face. Yi Fan was a bit surprised. This kid, is his perception so sensitive? Old Wang, I want a drink. Although Yi Fan was touched that Wang Fu Gui remained by his side in such a difficult situation, now was not the time to expose himself. Before those enemies who were dealing with the Yi family were thoroughly investigated, Yi Fan would keep playing dumb. Wang Fu Gui's expression darkened for a moment. Okay, big brother, I'll go pour it for you. Fan, what are you doing in here? Are you alright? Wang Fu Gui was just about to get up when Su Ishue hurriedly walked over from the other side of the hall. She had just finished dealing with the Su family's affairs, and when she heard that Zhao Tianlong was bullying Yi Fan, she rushed over and saw Yi Fan and Wang Fu Gui together before she secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Hello little sister-in-law. When Wang Fu Gui saw Su Ishue, he hurriedly stood up straight and called out respectfully. But his address was changed from sister-in-law before to little sister-in-law. What was the meaning of it? Su Ishue naturally heard and understood. Poor mouth. Su Ishue gave Wang Fu Gui a blank look. Nothing happened to Xiao Fan just now, right? My big brother. Is he the one who suffers? Wang Fu Gui quickly told Su Ishue what had just happened. And when he heard that Yi Fan had actually made Zhao Tianlong suffer and drink the water used to wash them up, a flash of doubt appeared in his eyes. Yi Fan has been demented for five years. Suddenly so flexible? Or was it just an accident? 
Little sister-in-law, I feel that the aura on my big brother's body is a bit different from before. I vaguely feel that my big brother is well as awakened, but the way my big brother is acting, it's not. Alas, Wang Fugue spoke out the doubts in his heart. Sui Shui also nodded. Don't be anxious, Sister Linglong has arranged for Mr. Lei, the great summer medical sage, to come to Yun City soon to diagnose Xiaofan, so we'll know the exact situation at that time. Because of what happened just now, Sui Shui didn't quite dare to leave Yi Fan alone, and kept Yi Fan by her side, constantly greeting business people from all walks of life in Yun City, while also introducing Yi Fan's identity. The purpose is clear, it is to declare to everyone that although the Yi family is now being backstabbed and falling out of favor, my Su family, is still on the side of the Yi family, and will always guard the Yi family, even if Yi Fan is a fool. We, the Su family, will defend it with all our might. Waiting until the business banquet officially began, Zhao Tianlong was helped out of the toilet and went on stage with a pale face. Everyone, the purpose of this business banquet today is to build a platform for all of you to communicate with each other. Vomit. Seeing the trash can next to him, Zhao Tianlong couldn't help but vomit again. In addition to all of our elites here in Cloud City today, we also have the honor of having Mr. Xia Hao, the president of the Xia Group in the provincial city. Our Zhao family is very eager to facilitate the cooperation with Mr. Xia Hao. The Xia family's channels are spread all over the southwest. If our Zhao family has the support of the Xia family, we will definitely take off by leaps and bounds. Next, please welcome Mr. Xia. Zhao Tianlong had a smug look on his face. The Xia family, as a powerful family in the provincial city, had a sphere of influence all over the southwest. This time, with the intention of entering Yun City, countless families wanted to cooperate with the Xia family and take off with the help of the Xia family's channels, and Zhao Tianlong had obviously gone ahead and invited Mr. Xia here, as well as specially organizing such a banquet. If Xia Hao wanted to cooperate, his first choice would definitely be the Zhao family. This male son of the Zhao family, although his character isn't great, his means and abilities are really not something to brag about. Yeah, the Zhao family has hitched a ride on the Xia family this time. That's definitely taking off. And I'm afraid that they're going to become the number one powerful family in Cloud City behind them. Alas, it's no fun. Isn't this just Zhao Tianlong's show-off scene today? Pop, pop, snap. In the applause of the crowd, a lean old man in his fifties walked onto the stage, took the microphone and opened his mouth. Friends, it is a great honor to come to Cloud City. Our Xia group intends to open up the market in the southwest indeed, and we need all of your support. I'm here today, and I also want to discuss cooperation with all of you. Of course, the Zhao family is a good choice, but it's not to say that other companies don't have a chance. One sentence immediately made Zhao Tianlong, who was next to him, sit up a bit. What do you mean? You've worked so hard to organize this banquet, and in the end you have to cheapen it for someone else? However, the Xia family's size and status was clearly too much stronger than the Zhao family. So even if Zhao Tianlong had dissatisfaction in his heart, he didn't dare to show it. Sui Shui stood with Su Hong Hai, Su Ming Hao and the others, and when she heard Zhao Tianlong and Xia Hao's conversation, she instantly spoke with disappointment. Alas, the Su family has no chance this time. Today's banquet was originally organized by the Zhao family. How could it be our Su family's turn? Yeah, Ish Yue, are you really sure that you want to marry that fool? As the crowd spoke, they couldn't help but glance at Yi Fan beside Sui Shui once again. Yi Fan was standing beside Sui Shui at this moment, unable to see any expression, but how he looked at it. He didn't look like a person with a normal IQ. Poor Yi family, as Xia Hao spoke on the stage, his eyes casually swept towards the bottom of the stage, and when he swept over Sui Shui's side, he suddenly saw Yi Fan beside Sui Shui, and his eyes lit up. Divine doctor? Xia Hao was holding the microphone in his hand, and he couldn't even help but call out causing everyone present to be stunned. Xia Hao hurriedly spoke. Sorry, everyone, I have something important to do for the time being. I'll talk to you all later. After saying that, Xia Hao handed the microphone to Zhao Tianlong next to him, and under Zhao Tianlong's shocked eyes, he took his assistant and ran all the way, quickly walking over in the direction where Sui Shui was. In the direction where Sui Shui was, many of the company's bosses, representatives, were full of anticipation, hoping that Xia Hao was here to find himself. They were even ready to shake hands, but Xia Hao didn't even look at them more than once as he passed by them, his eyes burning into Yi Fan as he quickly approached. At this moment, the Su family's crowd also noticed that something was wrong. This, Mr. Xia should not be here to find us, right? Are any of you familiar with Mr. Xia? Su Mingho was a bit puzzled and turned around to look towards the crowd. Everyone shook their heads, only Lao San said with some hesitation. When I attended a business forum in the provincial city before, Mr. 
Xia and I shook hands once, could it be that he remembered me? The crowd rolled their eyes for a while, that kind of forum handshake, so many people, how could they remember you? Divine doctor, I finally found you, I never had the chance to thank you for saving my life back then, in the crowd's puzzled eyes, Xia Hao jogged all the way to Yifan, respectfully bending down and extending his hands to Yifan, it's to find Yifan? The Su family's crowd froze, and now the crowd was frozen. A fool who actually knows Xia Hao of the Xia family in the provincial capital? Sui Shui had only announced that she was going to marry Yi Fan in the morning, but did she reap such benefits in the afternoon? If Yi Fan and Xia Hao's relationship is not ordinary, then the Xia family's partner in Yun City, that naturally must be to choose the Su group Ah, Zhao Tian Long, who had followed, was instantly nonplussed when he heard Xia Hao actually say that Yi Fan had saved him. Mr. Xia, you've got the wrong person, don't you? This is the Yi family's retarded fool. How could he possibly be able to save people with his medical skills? Zhao Tianlong hurriedly opened his mouth to dissuade Xia Hao. Let's go, Mr. Xia. You should have heard about the Yi family. You must have mistaken him. And it's best not to have any association with the Yi family right now. The Yi family's core 10 children had all fallen in one day. And this matter had already been circulated throughout the entire Grand Xia and was not a secret. Xia Hao carefully stared at Yi Fan and looked up and down, shaking his head with certainty. I won't be mistaken. Five years ago, when I was on the verge of death, it was the divine doctor who saved me, but I haven't seen him for a few years. How could the divine doctor become a fool? Xia Hao curiously turned his gaze to Sui Shui beside Yi Fan, and Sui Shui hurriedly spoke. Mr. Xia, my fiancé he was in a car accident five years ago, and then his intellect was affected, so he became like this now. Sui Shui recounted Yi Fan's situation in detail with Xia Hao, who linked back and forth and nodded. That's right. Yi Xiao was a demonic genius before. His kung fu and medical skills are not bad at all. According to the time projection, it was only after treating me that he came back to suffer from a car accident. That can't be wrong. The Yi family was almost wiped out, and seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law joined together to marry that fool of the Yi family. This matter had already begun to take the whole of Dasha by storm, and while everyone felt sorry for the Yi family, they also praised those seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law. Xia Hao didn't expect that the one who saved his life back then was actually the youngest young master of the Yi family. M.S. Su, you seem to be in the pharmaceutical industry? Is there any interest in cooperating with my Xia family? Xia Hao stared scorchingly at Sui Shui, a sentence that caused all the people around him to freeze. What do you mean? Was Xia Hao intending to deliver heavenly riches directly to his door? Ha, huh? Mr. Xia, are you saying that you want to cooperate with our Su family? Sui Shui couldn't hold back her inner excitement. but. Right now, because of the Yi family, we've already suffered from the blocking of all the major partners. Ah, uh, those who are dealing with the Yi family will suppress our Su family to death. And you will be implicated if you cooperate with the Su family. Zhao Tianlong was so anxious beside him that he started jumping on his feet. Right, Mr. Xia, dealing with those people from the Yi family is not something we can mess with. Mr. Xia should still choose to cooperate with our Zhao family, right? Zhao Tianlong was so anxious that he wanted to reach out and pull Xia Hao away. He had worked so hard to organize such a big banquet, toiling and struggling, but in the end, he had to make a dowry for the Su family? Originally, he could still successfully take Su Yi Shui into his arms after getting Yi Fan killed. However, if the Su family and the Xia family cooperated, then it would definitely grow to become the number one powerful family in Yun City in a short period of time, and it would basically be impossible for himself to take Su Yi Shui. Humph, what's the harm in being implicated? Back then if it wasn't for Yi Xiao saving Xia's life, Xia would have been a shovelful of dirt by now. Where would the Xia family be today? Xia Hao turned his head to look at Sui Shui. Besides, Miss Su and Miss Yu Linglong so many women heroes didn't abandon the Yi family. What am I afraid of? M.S. Su, it's a deal. The Su family will be the only partner of the Xia family in Cloud City. And all of the Xia family's channels will be fully open to the Su family. In the entire southwest, anyone who goes against the Su family is going against my Xia family. Xia Hao raised his voice and loudly announced his decision. Such a heavenly surprise smashed Sui Shui and Su Hong Hai and the others a bit dumbfounded. This, didn't expect that fool to bring such a big surprise to the Su family? Su Mingho also looked at Yi Fan much more smoothly. Those guests around them had envy in their eyes. The Yi family is really still the Yi family, although it has fallen from favor. Its heritage is still there. Yeah, Yi Fan is the demonic genius back then. There are still quite a lot of means. I didn't expect Yi Fan to actually have heavenly medical skills, since he saved Xia Hao then he must have saved many other big shots. This is a lot of resources. It's still Sui Shui who has the foresight. I just don't know what to do behind those collaborators who blocked the Su family. 
The Su family reversed the situation in an instant, and everyone's attitude towards the Yi family changed. Although Yi Fan was a fool, the Yi family, perhaps there was still hope. What if, on any given day, Ye Fan suddenly awakens? After Xia Hao announced his decision, he turned around and bowed respectfully to Yi Fan and said, Divine Doctor, once again, I thank you for saving my life back then. The Xia family's ability is limited and can only help so much. Please forgive me, Divine Doctor. Although the Xia family was a super family in the southwest region, Xia Hao knew that the people behind the move against the Yi family this time were at least those behemoths in Shangjing, and were not something that the Xia family could mess with. You help my wife. You're good. Hug. Yi Fan stared at Xia Hao in front of him and also remembered who he was. Five years ago, before Yi Fan had a car accident, when he went to the provincial capital to play, he accidentally met Xia Hao who was being chased. Xia Hao was poisoned, and he was also hit by several knives, and he was dying. He was saved by Yi Fan and got his life back, and also killed the killers who were chasing after Xia Hao. Xia Hao recovered his life, and then the Xia family took off in a few years. Xia Hao somewhat regretfully hugged Yi Fan and reached out to pat Yi Fan on the back. Alas, divine doctor, how did you become like this? Don't worry, you can definitely recover. Just as Xia Hao's words fell, a subtle voice suddenly rang in his ears. You've done well, I won't treat you poorly. Aha, uh -huh. hearing this familiar voice, Xia Hao's body instantly froze and his entire body froze in place. Is that the voice of the divine doctor? Divine doctor. This, Xia Hao and Yi Fan separated and looked at Yi Fan with a shocked face. Yi Fan didn't say anything, just nodded to Xia Hao with a slight arc. Xia Hao was completely shocked. The divine doctor wasn't stupid, but why deliberately act stupid? Xia Hao was originally a very shrewd person, and when he thought about what happened to the Yi family, Xia Hao instantly understood. Was Yi Fan hiding his clumsiness? deliberately hiding his sharpness so that he could avoid his opponent? I'm sure it's brilliant. It could be imagined that if it wasn't for the fact that Yi Fan was a fool, and the Yi family was full of people today, would Yi Fan have been able to run away? Xia Hao was shocked into a cold sweat. Thinking of that night five years ago, he was chased by dozens of martial arts experts. Ah, those killers Kung Fu was so powerful, but was easily killed by a 15-year-old boy. That time Yi Xiao's strength was so terrifying. So what terrifying realm had Yi Xiao's strength reached now? Such a demonic genius with strength, means, strategy, and also monstrous medical skills, who also knew how to deliberately hide his sharpness. I guess it won't take long for the Yi family to rise again, right? Those who dealt with the Yi family and alienated the Yi family were afraid that they would be out of luck. And if Yi Fan chose to reveal the information to himself, that meant that Yi Xiao trusted him. Vaguely, Xia Hao felt that he had hugged a golden thigh. If one chose to support the Yi family and the Su family at this time, the Xia family would definitely be one of the super magnates that would dominate the great Xia in the future. Thinking of this, Xia Hao could hardly hide his inner excitement and respectfully owed a bow towards Yi Fan. Don't worry, Xiao Yi, I, Xia, will do my best to do whatever I can. As for Yi Fan's identity, since Yi Xiao wanted to cover it up, he naturally had his reasons, and Xia Hao wouldn't be so stupid to reveal it. What do I, I do, Mr. Xia? What about the cooperation we agreed before? Zhao Tianlong jumped anxiously straight to the side, feeling like a clown. He's bad. He's bad. He's going to steal my Yi Xiuo's wife. Hearing Zhao Tianlong speak, Yi Fan immediately hid behind Su Shui and pulled Su Shui's sleeve to call out. Xia Hao's face immediately sank. Just now he was clearly aware that the young master of the Yi family was not stupid at all. His strength was astounding, and his medical skills were monstrous. Now that the Yi family had suffered a great disaster, Yi Fan was deliberately hiding his light, deliberately pretending to be stupid, and it was not good to take action on a lot of things. Then, since Yi Xiao chose to trust himself, let himself take the place of the things that Yi Xiao is not good at doing. Snap! Xia Hao suddenly raised his hand and slapped Zhao Tianlong. You're teaching me things? When did I ever make an agreement with you? Hiss! Xia Hao suddenly made a move against Zhao Tianlong, and such a scene shocked everyone at the scene. Xia Hao! As the president of a luxurious family in the provincial city, his temperament and bearing naturally went without saying, and now he actually beat Zhao Tianlong personally? As for the Zhao family, as a rising star in Cloud City, their strength should not be underestimated, no matter which way you look at it. Xia Hao didn't have the need to make a move. Ha, huh? just because of Yefan? You, Mr. Xia, why did you hit me? Zhao Tianlong was directly blinded, covering his red and swollen face, staring at Xia Hao with a puzzled face his heart puzzled. Why? Just because you want to think about Xiaoya's wife, I'll educate you for your parents. Xia Hao coldly glared at Zhao Tianlong. Get lost. Ah, yes, although Zhao Tianlong was arrogant, under the suppression of Xia Hao's aura, 
he didn't dare to be reckless at all. After answering the question, Zhao Tianlong suddenly remembered that this was the venue of the banquet he had organized. Ah, where could he go? Xia Hao also reacted and looked for Yi Fan and Sui Shui before saying, Young Yi, Miss Su, you see, there's no point in staying at the banquet, why don't we change the place to talk about cooperation? Sui Shui hadn't yet reacted from the shock, and only after being reminded by Xia Hao did she hastily open her mouth and say, Good, let's go. Greeting the Su family crowd, Sui Shui led the core members of the Su family and left the banquet hall with Wang Fugue, Xia Hao and the others. Sui Shui and Xia Hao had an appointment to go to the company to talk about things, but she couldn't rest assured that Yi Fan would not be able to do so. So she asked her father to accompany Xia Hao to the company first, while she herself drove Yi Fan home. In the banquet hall, looking at the back of Sui Shui and Yi Fan leaving, Zhao Tianlong's face was gloomy to the extreme. Numb nuts, Lao Zi's home ground, actually made a joke. Zhao Tianlong thought of being fooled by Yi Fan before. His heart was in a rage. It's all because of that idiot Yi Fan. He spoiled my good deed. The people who told you to prepare. How are they prepared? Beside Zhao Tianlong, a few black clad bodyguards in suits responded in a hurry. The people are all ready. Ready to strike at any time. Zhao Tianlong nodded his head grimly. Go. I'll make sure he can't return home today. At his own banquet, he drank the water used to wash the mop not to mention that he had worked hard to find the Xia family to cooperate with him, only to be cut off by the Su family halfway through. Zhao Tianlong had lost his face today. As Xia Hao left, in the banquet hall, several hundred guests instantly dispersed with very few left. Everyone came here today because of Xia Hao, who had confirmed his cooperation with the Su family and swept the Zhao family's face, so there wasn't much point in them staying here. Su Yishue drove Yi Fan towards her residence, thinking that she was going to be that close to Yi Fan at night. She couldn't help but feel a little panicky in her heart. Although Su Yishue was already an adult, but after all, she was just a yellow flower girl, and she was still a little shy when it came to those things. Sui Shue drove while sizing up Yifan next to her. The face was rigid and well-defined, and the eyes were full of wisdom, as if there was an invisible force that wanted to hook people's souls. Yifan is really handsome. If Yifan could be awake right now, there would be countless girls pouncing on him. But Sui Shue had nothing to regret in her heart. Marrying Yifan was also her own choice. Repaying the favor to the Yi family was one aspect, while on the other, Sui Shue was not averse to Yifan. Before, when Sui Shue was still Yi Fan's sister-in-law, the two of them had quite a lot of contact, and to this handsome boy, Sui Shue had a very good impression. Yi Shue's wife, what are you looking at? Am I good looking? Yi Fan, who was next to him, suddenly opened his mouth, and also reached out to hold Sui Shue's wrist in one hand, startling Sui Shue. With the steering wheel in his hand, the car drew a serpentine shape in the middle of the road and almost crashed into the flower bed next to him. Ah, I... Sui Shue didn't even know how to explain. Straight away she felt her heart thumping. Sui Shue instinctively wanted to draw her hand back, but seeing Yi Fan's sincere eyes, she stopped again. You're his wife now. The back also have to be that intimate contact, not only the hand. Other places also have to be. Alas, just do not know Yi Fan know what to do. At that time, but also their own initiative. That would be ashamed of people. Vaguely, Sui Shue had a few moments of anticipation for the evening. And just as Sui Shui was shy, from her arm, another clear stream of warmth entered her body along her arm. In this instant, Sui Shui felt that her whole body was filled with strength, and it seemed that her vision and thinking were much clearer. What's going on with this? Before, before the banquet, when Sui Shui and Yi Fan hugged, Sui Shui had a vague feeling of something. It seemed that when she was in close contact with Yi Fan, she could feel a warm current that would give her strength. At that time, Sui Shui didn't think much about it. But now, with such a clear feeling, Sui Shui had to be cautious. Could this be the secret of Yi Fan's demonic genius? One can gain power by being close to him. If that Xian Yu Fei gave up on Yi Fan, wouldn't that be giving up a moving treasure? Little Fan, you are very good looking. The son we give birth to in the future will definitely be very good looking as well. Sui Shui backhanded Yi Fan's wrist and looked at him with a gentle face. Yi Fan stared at the little sister-in-law in front of him, and a certain heartstring in his heart was also plucked. It turned out that other than Xian Yu Fei, other girls, too, could be so gentle. These sister-in-laws who were so extremely gentle to their own, they couldn't live up to them. It's good to have a son. I want to sleep with my wife to have a son. Yi Fan's sentence instantly made Sui Shui make a big red face again. And as Yi Fan's words fell, his eyes steeply swept to the rearview mirror. In fact, from the time he left the banquet hall, Yi Fan had noticed the several cars following behind him. They had already followed all the way. And several times they wanted to stop Sui Shui's car but they just didn't find the opportunity. Who sent the car behind? 
Yi Fan naturally had an idea in his heart. He had made Zhao Tianlong so defeated at the banquet today, and with a big cooperator like Xia Hao choosing to cooperate with the Su family, Zhao Tianlong would definitely not let himself go. Ishu a wife, I need to pee. Can you stop the car for a while? When the vehicle turned through an alley, Yi Fan suddenly said to Su Ishua by his side, But, there's no restroom around here either? Su Ishua stepped on the brakes and glanced around, not realizing where there was a toilet. Grandpa said, Boys go to the toilet, as long as it's behind the woods. Yi Fan pointed to a forest by the roadside and said, Quick, I can't hold it in, I have to go to the big restroom, my wife will wait longer for me. After Su Ishua stopped the car, Yi Fan jogged all the way and quickly drilled into an abandoned park next to him. The vehicle that followed behind Su Yi Shui, the leader was sitting in the lead was none other than Zhao Tian Long. Seeing that Yi Fan actually took the initiative to get out of the car, a touch of bloom appeared on Zhao Tian Long's face. Humph, it's true that he is a fool. In such a deserted place, he actually took the initiative to get out of the car. Looking for death, quickly, all of you, follow up immediately, get him killed in the woods. God knows not, Ghost does not realize. Yi Fan, who had entered inside the park, quickly rubbed his hand on his face a few times. Under the dim street light, Yi Fan had turned into another appearance in the blink of an eye. At this time, even if his own mother came, she wouldn't be able to recognize Yi Fan's appearance. After doing all this, Yi Fan stayed quietly behind an abandoned flower bed, waiting for Zhao Tianlong and the others. But in a few tens of seconds, Zhao Tianlong chased in with a dozen or so burly bodyguards with flashlights, and with a sweep left and right. He found Yi Fan standing behind the flower bed, but at this time, Yi Fan was no longer his previous appearance, and Zhao Tianlong didn't recognize him even though he was standing right in front of Yi Fan. Did you see a young man come in from outside just now? Zhao Tianlong looked Yi Fan up and down, feeling that the clothes Yi Fan was wearing were somewhat familiar. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Oh, I just saw it. There's a young guy, hurrying towards that side, right behind that wigwam. Yi Fan casually pointed towards the flower bed over there. Go, let's encircle over. We mustn't let that guy Yi Fan go out from here alive today. And when we go out, we'll take Su Yi Shui away by the way. Laozi's fire today must be vented. Zhao Tianlong greeted the men around him and quickly rushed over towards the side of the wigwam, not noticing in the slightest that at this moment, Yi Fan's face was already gloomy to the extreme. Yi Fan had just seen clearly that the scarred man who had hit himself with his car five years ago was beside Zhao Tianlong. Five years ago, since they dared to create a car accident to try to murder themselves, Today they even wanted to do it to themselves again, and also wanted to defile Su Yi Shui. Then, don't blame this young man for not being polite. A touch of coldness appeared in Yi Fan's eyes as he stepped in the direction Zhao Tianlong and the others went in and followed them. Zhao Tianlong led a group of people, and the weeds behind the wigwam searched for half a day for a change of day, but did not find any trace of Yi Fan. Shit, that guy lied to us? Zhao Tianlong's heart was on fire. Horses, it's such a small place. Where can that bastard Yi Fan run to? Damn it. After finishing his words, Zhao Tianlong had just turned around when he suddenly saw the young man who had just shown him the way. Naturally Yi Fan. Crap, you want to die ah. Stepping horse, didn't you say that person came toward this inside? Where did the person go? Zhao Tianlong grabbed Yi Fan's neck and coldly rebuked. If you lied to me, today I will chop you up and feed you to the dogs. The muscles on Yi Fan's face twitched twice as he stared coldly at Zhao Tianlong and said. That man did come in, but when he came over, he gave me a word. Yi Fan's sentence caused Zhao Tianlong and the men around him to faint a little. Yi Fan was a fool. What else could he say to others? What did he say to you? Zhao Tianlong let go of Yi Fan and stared scorchingly at him. Yi Fan spoke indifferently. He said there are bad people chasing him and asked me to kill you guys. A sentence that instantly made everyone at the scene look start to tense up. What do you? You mean? After sensing the murderous aura stirring in Yi Fan's body, Zhao Tianlong realized that something was wrong and greeted everyone before trying to escape. But it was too late. Yi Fan's figure rushed into the crowd like a ghost. Bang, bang, bang. In the crowd, there was a dull sound of fists and bodies colliding. But in a few seconds, dozens of people on the scene, except for Zhao Tianlong and that scarred man, all the others fell down without any movement. Those other bodyguards, who followed Zhao Tianlong, were not good people either, but they were not directly involved in assassinating Yi Fan. So Yi Fan only wasted their roots and made them pass out, and they might have to lie in bed for the rest of their lives but he still left them alive. However, Zhao Tianlong and that scarred man, from the moment they entered this forest, Yi Fan had already announced their death sentence. Killing you means, Yi Fan spoke without expression, reaching out and rubbing his face twice. They're all quiet, it's much easier for us to talk now. After Yi Fan returned to his own appearance, Zhao Tianlong and the scarred man were directly frozen. Ah, you, 
Are ye fan? You. Aren't stupid? Are you pretending? Crap. Zhao Tianlong took a look at those bodyguard henchmen lying on the ground. His pupils dilated in shock for a while, and his eyes were about to fall out. Now thinking back to the banquet, why did Ji Fan let himself drink the water used to mop and wash the toilet? Everything can be figured out. Five years ago, before Ji Fan's accident, he was a sect master level demonic genius. Then what realm did Ji Fan's strength reach five years ago when he played dumb? Zhao Tianlong was confused and fearful. His legs were involuntarily trembling, and his heart sank to the bottom four. Since Yi Fan was pretending to be a fool, then Yi Fan must have remembered everything from five years ago. I'll give you a chance to talk. Five years ago, why did you create a car accident to kill me? Yi Fan clapped his hands and just calmly leaned on the railing, staring scorchingly at Zhao Tianlong. Yi Fan was terrifying. Zhao Tianlong was aware of it, and at this moment, he didn't even have the courage to run away. Puff. The scarred man next to him was scared and directly knelt down to Yi Fan. Yi Xiao, spare my life. I was wrong, at that time, it was all because Zhao Xia told me to do it ah, I was wrong, please spare my life, Yi Fan didn't even look at the scarred man, a majestic chi surged from his hand, directly blasting the man into a piece of powder that dissipated with the wind, then fell into the flowing stream in the park, instantly without a trace, this was also one of the functions of that salary flame in Yi Fan's body, Yi Fan could only urge his martial chi to link up with the salary flame, Yi Fan's martial chi just seemed to come with the fire attribute, which could directly blast the target into powder without leaving any trace. But such a bizarre scene. Zhao Tianlong directly looked stupid. Are already on the verge of collapse. Ah. Yi Xiao. I was wrong. It's really not that I want to kill you ah. It's. The big brother in the provincial city who assigned the Lu family in the provincial city to force me to do it. Yi Xiao spared me a dog's life. Okay? I will definitely listen to all of Yi Xiao's instructions in the future. Zhao Tianlong also involuntarily knelt down and kept kowtowing to Yi Fan. In Zhao Tianlong's opinion, Yi Fan was also too terrifying. Five years after the accident, Yi Fan actually played dumb for five years? Zhao Tianlong also vaguely knew that the Yi family's accident this time must be the big brother in Shenzhen who had made a move to almost exterminate the entire Yi family, but only left out Yi Fan, the fool. But what they didn't know was that it was Yi Fan, this fool, who was the most terrifying existence of the Yi family ah. If you make it back alive, you must be the first to deliver the news. If Yi Fan didn't die, no one would have a good time. Who is the big brother in Shangjing? The muscles on Yi Fan's face twitched. The Lu family in the provincial city Yi Fan knew that Elder Lu was still the most loyal subordinate of his grandfather at one time, and he didn't think that he was assassinated, and that the Lu family was actually one of the murderers. When things in Cloud City were more or less settled, it was time to go to the provincial capital to settle the score with the Lu family. Yi Xiao, what happened in Shangjing? I really don't know ah. I only know that in Yun Chang. We, the Zhao family, the Wang family, and the other Li family, are in the service of that big brother in Shangjing, and usually we follow the orders of the Lu family in the provincial city. Yi Xiao, can you not kill me? I promise not to say a word. Zhao Tianlong was in a sorry state at this time, lying on the ground like a dog and wagging his tail nonstop. If I had known this, why did I bother? Yi Fan didn't have any softness in his heart. The qi energy in his hand instantly crushed Zhao Tianlong and turned into a piece of powder that also fell into the river. Only dead people don't leak. Just after doing so, Sui Shue's voice suddenly rang out from outside the woods. Little Fan, are you alright? Why have you been gone for so long? Sui Shue's voice with trembling, seems to use the cell phone light shining in toward the inside groping. Yi Fan's heart warmed. This little sister-in-law Yi Fan knew well. Usually most afraid of rats. It must have taken a great deal of courage to come in so dark on such a dark night. Sui Shue was genuinely concerned about herself. Hard to come by. Yi Fan put away his austere aura from earlier and once again resumed his droll demeanor. Ish Yue's wife. I've gotten better. I'm coming out. Yi Fan answered and quickly dashed towards the outside of the woods. When he was close to Sui Shui, Yi Fan suddenly called out. Wow, what a big rat. Ha, huh? where? Sui Shui was instantly startled and jumped straight up, reaching out to put her arms around Yi Fan's neck and instinctively jumped into Yi Fan's arms. Yi Fan obediently floor Sui Shui into his arms, and his wrist felt the softness of Sui Shui's body as well as the aroma, just now has run away, Yi Shui wife, you smell so good, Yi Fan's nose sniffed twice on Sui Shui's neck, causing Sui Shui to be filled with shyness, you, are bad, just now deliberately scared me right, Sui Shui pouted and reached out to pound on Yi Fan's chest, at this instant, Sui Shui was a bit confused, was Yi Fan really stupid, or is he pretending to be stupid, at this moment, Yi Fan, with just a silly smile on his face, hugged Sui Shui all the way towards the vehicle on the side of the road. On the road, 
There were still a few drivers left in those vehicles of Zhao Tianlong. They were waiting for Zhao Tianlong and the others to triumph. But after waiting for a while, they actually saw Yi Fan holding Sui Shui out, and a flash of doubt surfaced in their hearts. Zhao Xiao and the others? Didn't they go after Yi Fan? How come Yi Fan has come out and they haven't come out yet? Something couldn't have happened, right? Let's go. Let's go in and take a look. After Sui Shui drove away with Yi Fan, the few drivers left behind by Zhao Tianlong quickly looked towards the inside of the abandoned park. After searching for 10 minutes, he finally found those bodyguards fainting on the ground behind the wigwam. Quickly, call an ambulance, notify the head of the family. In just a few moments, the abandoned park was buzzing with activity here. Zhao Dekang personally brought people over. Those bodyguards were all sent to the hospital for emergency treatment. Only what made Zhao family head Zhao Dekang worried was that Zhao Tianlong had found everyone who had gone out today, but there was just no sign of Zhao Tianlong and the man with the scar. Can such two big living people disappear into thin air? Keep looking for them for me. Zhao Dekang angrily scolded the Zhao family's bodyguards. Zhao Dekang only has such a son ah. If something happens, it will be extinct. Family master. Hundreds of us. We've searched this place eight times. Every gift corner has been searched. Even the river has been searched. There's no sign of young master. Zhao Dechang's men were also depressed. How about? Let's call the police. Stupid. Zhao Dekang was furious and kicked his subordinate's ass. Are you out of your mind? How did you call the police? Call the police to say that they came to kill Yi Fan, and then now people are missing? That bodyguard captain of Zhao Dechang's didn't dare to say anything more once he heard that it was the same thing, so he didn't dare to say anything more. What did those bodyguards who came to their senses say? Zhao Dekang coldly scolded towards his other men. The news came from the hospital side, and the answers from all of them didn't make much difference. After they followed Yi Fan in, they met a stranger, and then that stranger made a move to knock them all out. What happened after that? They're not sure. After listening to his men's report, Zhao Dechang's eyes couldn't help but close. There are actually unfamiliar experts appearing? He injured so many bodyguards, but only took away the scarred man and his own son. I'm afraid his son is in a bad way. Ha? Huh? Just what kind of adversary has approached you? Or did someone from the Yi family make a move? Go back. Everything that happens here today. Block the news. Send everyone from the Zhao family to conduct a full search in Cloud City for news of the young master and report back to me immediately if there are any clues. Zhao Dekang gave his men orders with a gloomy face, still not wanting to give up any hope. Yeah fun, it's this brute again. Didn't I get him killed five years ago, and now I finally caused trouble for the Zhao family? HM. Anyway, the top has the intention of exterminating you. This time, let you get away with it. Then next time, I'll do it myself and see what chance you still have to escape. Sui Shues sent Yi Fan back to his place and after settling down, she hurried towards the company. The Xia family is going to cooperate with the Su group, which is a great opportunity for the Su group. Signing the contract these links, there cannot be any accidents. After Su Yishui left, Yi Fan poked around the entire villa. Although Yi Fan was the only one in the villa, around the villa, Yi Fan still detected several figures hidden in the shadows. A few of them were bodyguards that Su Yishui had arranged there to protect Yi Fan's safety. There were also a few Yi Fan was more familiar with. They were bodyguards from the Yi family. They should have been sent by their grandfather. Now that the Yi family was in such a windy situation, although the opponents thought that Yi Fan was just a fool and didn't make a move on him, no one would dare to guarantee that the opponents would suddenly go crazy. But these ordinary bodyguards couldn't even look at Yi Fan. Yi Fan turned up the sound of the TV in the living room. Then his figure flashed towards the back door of the villa in a hurry, and he quietly slipped out of the villa without moving. Since he had made a move on Zhao Tianlong, Yi Fan would not give the Zhao family time to breathe. While Sui Shui wasn't back, Yi Fan was going to make a trip to the Zhao family to completely exterminate them. Cloud City, Zhao family compound, Zhao Dekang some board back home. The family's big yellow dog and the usual come up towards Zhao Dekang wagging tail. Get lost, Zhao Dekang angrily kicked the big yellow dog away. The big yellow dog ran away from the pain and was also depressed. What had he done wrong? Thinking of what happened to his son, Zhao Dekang walked towards his study in annoyance. Don't even bother me. Zhao Dekang pushed open the door of the study room, turned the light on, and when he saw the scene in front of him, his pupils suddenly dilated for a while. You, Yi Fan, why are you here? In the room, Yi Fan sat on the Taisher chair and stared coldly at Zhao Dekang. Those viper-like eyes glared at Zhao Dechang's heart. Five years ago, your Zhao family didn't kill, so you should be regretting it now, right? The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched as he stood up and stared searingly at Zhao Dekang. Zhao Dekang was completely baffled. RN. T you demented? You didn't turn out to be stupid? Are you pretending? You. Zhao Dekang instinctively wanted to reach out and open the door to call the bodyguard. But just as he did, Yi Fan moved. 
Phew! A pencil shot out, deadening Zhao Dechang's palm to the door of the room. Ah! Zhao Dechang's mouth just wanted to scream in shock at the same time. A piece of rag stuffed into three Zhao Dechang's mouth. Zhao Dechang behind the screens blocked back. Answer my questions honestly and I can let you suffer less. Yi Fan approached Zhao Dechang and spoke coldly. The murderous aura that stirred in his body made Zhao Dechang's sweaty hair stand on end. Zhao Dekang knew that he had no choice at all now and could only nod his head in a forced manner. Yi Fan removed the rag from Zhao Dechang's mouth. Zhao Dekang endured the severe pain on his arm and spoke towards Yi Fan in despair. Tianlong has already died in your hands, right? Although he had already guessed the answer. Zhao Dekang still wanted to confirm it. You think? Driving a car and trying to run me over five years ago, and trying to kill me today, am I going to keep such a person for New Year's Eve? Yi Fan responded coldly. For people who wanted their lives. Yi Fan was never merciful. To be merciful to your enemy is to be cruel to yourself. Zhao Dekang closed his eyes in pain. And sure enough, it's a shame. Five years ago, after Yi Fan became a fool, he shouldn't have been soft-hearted. He should have continued to take action and finish Yi Fan off. Staying until now, the Zhao family ended up dying at Yi Fan's hands. You ask, Zhao Dekang knew that he was bound to die. And instead, his heart was open. Since he was already bound to die, let Yi Fan and the person behind him fight to the death. I'm sure, it would be a very exciting fight. Yun City, besides the Wang family, the Li family, who else is a vassal of the Lu family in the provincial city? The sentence that Yi Fan opened his mouth instantly made Zhao Dekang look stunned. So Yi Fan had already investigated the power behind him so clearly? Whoever they called Yi Fan a fool, then he himself was the biggest fool. Yi Fan has been playing dumb for five years. This is hiding his clumsiness. If you don't move, it's a nightmare for the enemy. The Lu family's vassal families in Cloud City are indeed only the Wang family and the Li family. But other than them, the Lu family has other experts in Cloud City, who are monitoring the Yi family's movements at all times. It's just that, I'm not sure where those people usually lurk. Zhao Dekang paused and continued to speak. Five years ago, I regret not killing you, but what I'm telling you is that you can't fight them. Yi Fan ignored Zhao Dekang and continued to inquire. Behind the Lu family in the provincial city, what about the big brother family in Shangjing? How much do you know? Zhao Dekang shook his head. We know very limited news about the bigwigs in Shangjing. The only time I've seen a representative from Shangjing, he was also wearing a mask. But everyone calls him Zhou Xiao. I'm not sure exactly what kind of person he is. But their energy is so terrifying that they can even easily decide on the appointment of the governor of Cloud City. But I know that they made a move against the Yi family. And aside from your Yi family being too strong, they seem to be looking for something. Yi Fan inquired towards Zhao Dekang for a while longer and didn't ask anything too much valuable. With a burst of qi running through his body, Zhao Dekang was turned into a piece of powder under the impact of the qi, drifting out of the window and dispersing with the wind. In the next moment, Yi Fan's body transformed into a ghost and disappeared from the Zhao family compound. It seems that behind the Lu family, the origin of the big man in Shangjing, I'm afraid that I need to go to the provincial capital to investigate the head of the Lu family in order to figure it out. After Yi Fan left, Several major events happened in Cloud City within moments. Zhao Dechong's own brother's family, while driving home, suddenly had a car accident and fell into the Yunsha River. Life and death unknown. Another core member of the Zhao family, after attending a meeting, lost his footing and fell from the 18th floor. Immediately afterward, the news of Zhao Dechong's father and son's disappearance began to spread like wildfire in Cloud City. Cloud City. In the Yi family compound, Yi Chongfeng listened to the news reported by Long Feng, the head of the guards and his brows tightened. This is the equivalent of the Zhao family being exterminated overnight? Zhao Dekang, as well as his younger brother, and the other core members, all suddenly disappeared and perished, which was clearly not a normal phenomenon. Yes, Lang Feng answered and continued to speak. According to our intelligence, Zhao Tianlong was planning to assassinate the young master at the banquet before, but ended up moving a stone to hit his own foot and was teased himself. Moreover, our intelligence also investigated that five years ago, when the young master was in a car accident, there was also a Zhao family behind the shadow, but now the clues are broken. Yi Chongfeng also probably knew about Yi Fan's car accident five years ago, although according to the results of the accident appraisal at that time, the driver who hit the person at that time was mistakenly hit because he had been drinking, and he was also sent to jail. But naturally, Yi Chongfeng didn't believe that things would be that coincidental. When the Yi family could use their power to investigate, they would always suffer from a mysterious force that was forced to interrupt them at every critical time. And now suddenly there's a bit of a clue that the Zhao family is all but extinguished. Is this another coincidence? To be able to clean up the Zhao family so cleanly in a short period of time, 
one would have to be at least at the Zone Master Realm or above to be able to do it. When did such a sect master powerhouse appear in Cloud City again? Yi Changfeng muttered as he looked at the information Lung Feng handed him. That Yi Fan kid is up? Where is he now? Yi Changfeng suddenly thought of Yi Fan. Five years ago, Yi Fan was already a powerhouse at the Zone Shu Realm. Ah. The Zhao family was exterminated. Could it be that Yi Fan had already sobered up to do it? Young Yi has already been sent home by Miss Su and is staying at home. Our people are on guard around to protect him. Young Master hasn't left Miss Su's place. Lung Feng responded confidently. The few warmth guarding Su Yi Shui's surroundings over there were Lang Feng's capable men, all with strengths in the martial Dao control realm. Oh, Yi Changfeng let out a long sigh. Somewhat disappointed. Pay more attention to the Su clan, those assholes who made a move against the Yi family. The next step is definitely to block the Su group and lay their hands on the Su family. That girl from the Su family was so protective of the Yi family. So naturally, she couldn't let the Su family get cold feet. Although the Yi family had suffered a heavy blow, as long as this old man of his own was not dead, and there were still millions of heavenly dragon army supporting him behind him, the ability to protect the Lord Su family was still there. Yes, there's also another situation. Xia Hao, the head of the Xia family in the provincial city, recognized young master at today's banquet and said that young master was the benefactor who saved his life five years ago, so he forcefully chose to cooperate with the Su group, which should be able to help alleviate the Su group a bit. Oh, little fan's medical skills five years ago were still that good? It can save lives. Why didn't I know? Yi Changfeng realized that Ji Fan had grown up so much that he actually didn't know anything about his grandson. This is a good thing. And at this time, in the Su group office, Sui Shui, who had just finished signing the contract with Xia Hao, was staring at the mirror. Although she had already made the decision to marry Yi Fan and give the Yi family a new branch, but when it really came to the head, Sui Shui was still a little apprehensive. The thought of being naked and facing Yi Fan, Sui Shui was filled with blush. In the mirror, Sui Shui's body was absolutely beautiful, dimpled and curved, completely a special thing. How many males in Cloud City missed her? And tonight, she was going to belong to Yi Fan, in the Cloud City Royal KTV. Su Dong and a bunch of big boys from Cloud City sang and danced, giving vent to their desires with abandon. When the song ended, a rich young man said with some doubts, It's almost 12 o'clock, why hasn't Zhao Xiao come yet? They had originally made an appointment to come here to celebrate when Zhao Tianlong finished with Yi Fan. As a result, this group of people had waited for more than two hours, and there was still no news from Zhao Tianlong. Su Dong also frowned, I'll give Zhao Xiao a call and ask. However, after Su Dong dialed several times, Zhao Tianlong's cell phone showed that it could not be connected. Under the helplessness, Su Dong dialed the phone of another acquaintance of the Zhao family, but the news he got made Su Dong immediately shocked. Su Xiao, Zhao Gongzi is afraid that he can no longer come. Zhao Dekang and Zhao Tianlong have both disappeared, and all of the Zhao family's core disciples, within an hour just now, have all perished. The Zhao family has been destroyed. Ha! Huh? Su Dong's mouth could not help but let out a gasp of surprise. Just a few hours ago, he himself was talking and laughing with Zhao Tianlong, and with so little effort, Zhao Tianlong disappeared? The others didn't know what Zhao Tianlong was doing, but Su Dong knew very well that Zhao Tianlong was going to kill Yi Fan Ah, disappeared in the process of killing Yi Fan, and then Zhao Dekang disappeared too? How can something be that coincidental? The only possibility was that there was an accident in the process of killing Yi Fan, which then implicated the entire Zhao family. Has that fool Yi Fan awakened? Thinking about this, and then associating it with what he and his father had done over the years. Su Dong could not help but feel a pang in his heart. Su Dong and his father, Su Jian, as Yi Changfeng's adopted son and grandson, had been sheltered by the Yi family. But over the years, when in charge of the Yi family, all they had been doing was thinking about how to hijack the Yi family's assets for themselves. If Yi Fan woke up, then he definitely wouldn't let himself go Ah, Have you guys found out who did it? Su Dong asked tentatively. The Zhao family's acquaintance responded with a long sigh. We don't have any clues, but according to a letter left in the family head study, it's Xiao Dekang who robbed the woman of a Zhong Shi master back then, and then now the person has come back to take revenge. That person is called Fan Yi. Fano? Hearing that it wasn't Yi Fan, Su Dong's heart gave a slight sigh of relief, followed by a burst of light in his eyes. Another Zhong Shi level expert had appeared in Cloud City? If he gave a high enough price and asked him to finish off Yi Fan and that old thing at home, wouldn't he have no worries? Thinking about this, Su Dong had begun to rejoice from the initial worry to the later part. The Zhao family was exterminated. Although this incident had a great impact on Su Dong, it was also an opportunity ah, young master Su. What's the situation on young master Zhao's side? After Su Dong hung up the phone, all of the rich youngsters stopped their entertainment and all of them looked at Su Dong with burning eyes. The Zhao family has been exterminated. 
It is rumored that Zhao Dekang offended a Zhong Shi realm expert. Su Dong snorted coldly, Hmph, Yi Fan's life is really great. At a critical time, he actually picked up a life. But next time, I don't know if you have that good luck. After Yi Fan finished with the Zhao family, he returned home and had just finished washing up when Su Qing Xue also returned home. Seeing Yi Fan unharmed, Su Qing Xue was relieved. On the way back, Su Yishui had already heard about the Zhao family. Xiao Fan, you know what? That Zhao Tianlong who bullied you has been cleaned up by the bad guys and will never bully you again. Su Yishui was actually still skeptical. Zhao Tianlong only bullied Yi Fan at the banquet and then said he wanted to steal Yi Fan's wife. And within just an hour, the Zhao family as a whole was wiped out? Is it such a coincidence? Su Yishui also suspected that it was Yi Fan who did it behind the scenes, but just now Su Yishui inquired towards the bodyguard she had arranged at the door. And during the period that Su Yishui had left, Yi Fan hadn't left the villa at all. So it couldn't have been Yi Fan who did it ah. But it wasn't Yi Fan. Who was that mysterious sect master Fan Yi? Hands that just right? Too good. Finally no one is stealing my wife from me. Too good. Yi Fan happily reached out and wrapped his arms around Su Yishui's neck, putting his head up with an excited face. Although Su Yishui had already prepared herself, but when things really came to a head, feeling Yi Fan's body exuding a strong manly aura, Su Yishui still had a few moments of nervousness. Wait. I'm going to take a shower. You, you go to the bedroom and wait for me. After saying that, Su Yishui walked towards the bathroom with a blushing face. Yi Fan stood in the living room, looking at Su Yishui's back as she left. A smile surfaced at the corner of his mouth. This little sister-in-law, is she really ready to be her own woman? In the face of such a stunning beauty, is he on or off? Five minutes later, when Su Yishui walked into the bedroom wearing a sexy pink robe, Yi Fan had already obediently laid down on the bed. Ish Yue's wife. Wasn't I a good boy? Yi Fan looked at Su Yishue with a sincere face. Su Yishue looked at Yi Fan's innocent appearance. The motherly love within her couldn't help but overflow. Little Fan is the most obedient. Poor Yi Fan, once the pride of heaven ah. Now, perhaps, their sisters united. Is it possible to wake up Yi Fan? Thinking of this, Su Yishue overcame the shyness in her heart and gently laid down on the bed, then wrapped Su Yishue in her arms. Xiao Fan, come on. Yi Fan looked at Su Yishue's nervous and shy appearance and was a bit amused, but deliberately inquired, Yi Shue's wife, what are you doing here? Yi Fan raised his head and looked at Su Yishue with a burning look. Su Yishue who looked at it was shy for a while, strangely embarrassed, but instantly understood that Yi Fan's current IQ was just a child. For the matter of men and women, I'm afraid that he really didn't understand it, right? Ah, let's sleep together. Then I'll give you big fat boys ah. Su Yishue guided Yi Fan. However, Yi Fan spoke with a naive face. Aren't we sleeping right now? It's not sleeping like that. You, Su Yishui was shy and angry. She really suspected that this Yi Fan was deliberately shying himself? So which way is it supposed to sleep? It should be like this. You slow down. Take your clothes off first. Ouch. Boing boing. Aha. Under Su Yishui's step-by-step -step guidance, a juvenile sound gradually resounded in the room. When Yin and Yang met, heaven and earth united. Su Yishui slipped a tear from the corner of her eye, and silently recited in her heart, Yi family ancestors, I, Su Yishui, have not been ashamed of the Yi family, and I am still a daughter-in-law of the Yi family. Although he wasn't the previous Qi Lang, he was still the first line of the Yi family, Yi Fan. As the two of them moved, majestic warmth returned to Yi Fan and Su Yishui. Yi Fan's martial Qi was rapidly rising under the shaking of the payload, and his strength had already reached the peak of martial Zun in a short period of time and he was about to break through to the next realm. And Su Yishui was being warmed by that warm current. And within her body, strength was gradually gathering, and vaguely all of them had martial chi generated. Under Yi Fan's gentle but rough movements, Su Yishui felt like a flatboat, following the waves in the sea, sometimes rushing up to the tip of the waves, sometimes sinking to the bottom of the sea, for a few hours of tossing and turning. Outside the window, the moonlight seemed to be all a little shy of what had happened in the room and were quietly hiding behind the clouds. Outside the villa, those bodyguards of the Yi family, as well as those of the Su family, listened to the movements in the villa. All of them couldn't help but have a burst of waner. Although young master has become foolish, his energy has not diminished. Ha ha, Miss Su will be blessed in the future. Alas, if only the young master could come to his senses as soon as possible, then Miss Su and the young master would simply be a good match. After everything calmed down, Su Yishui had already drifted off to sleep in Yi Fan's arms and Yi Fan was now refreshed. Looking at the soft Su Yi Shui in his arms, a certain heartstring in Yi Fan's heart twitched. Su Yi Shui, from this moment on, was her own woman. From now on, no one but yourself can harm her in the slightest. 
The reason why Yi Fan made the decision to take Sui Shui as his woman was because of many considerations. On the one hand, the seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law had announced in front of so many people that they wanted to marry themselves, so if they refused mercilessly, they would be a bit ungrateful and let down these sisters-in-law's good intentions. And on the other hand, Yi Fan's current strength was progressing too slowly, and combining with Sui Shui would gain enough warmth in a short period of time to boost his strength. Now the Yi family's situation was very dangerous. The Yi family was nearly wiped out, and there was only one sole seedling, himself. If Yi Fan's strength wasn't strong enough, he would not be able to revive the Yi family, nor would he be able to guard the Yi family, guard these beautiful sisters-in-law, nor would he be able to avenge those dead spirits of the Yi family. Therefore, Yi Fan had to become stronger as soon as possible, and the best, fastest way to do this is by shaking the payload in the Dantian, putting Sui Shui on the bed. Yi Fan began to sit cross-legged on the bed, rapidly running the martial chi in his body. His eyes then flashed with a deep, Shangjing Zhou Shao, Humph, wash your neck. If you dare to make a move against my Yi family, all your enemies, none of them will escape. The provincial city of Huadu, the Lu family compound was brightly lit. Lu Ran, the head of the Lu family, sat at the top. His face gloomy, has Xia Hao gone crazy? The Yi family has clearly been targeted, and could be annihilated at any time. Everyone is blocking the Yi family, and Xia Hao actually chooses to side with the Yi family and cooperate with the Su group. This is looking for death. Too many things happened today. The Yi family was destroyed and concubine Xian Yu withdrew from her marriage. However, Yi Fan's seven sisters-in-law announced that they were marrying Yi Fan at the same time, which was the biggest provocation to the enemies of the Yi family. An order was quickly issued to block Su's group and make an example of him. But the Xia family chose to cooperate with the Su group at this time, and also announced that whoever went against the Su group was against the Xia family. It's pretty obvious what this standing in line means. According to Xia Hao, it's because five years ago, when Yi Fan was still a genius, he saved his life, so Xia Hao wants to repay the favor. The henchman next to him explained. Lu Ran snorted coldly, I don't care if he is for any reason, since he chose to help the Su group. He's going against my Lu family. He's going against the backer behind us. After a pause in his words, Lu Ran continued to speak. Pass on my order to have the Cloud City Zhao family make a move against the Su group at any cost. Yes. The henchman answered and was just about to go and make arrangements when he suddenly spoke with a somewhat heavy face. Family master, just got the news. The Zhao family. Zhao family has been exterminated. What? Lu Ran was shocked and stood up directly from his seat when he heard the news from his men. Wasn't Zhao Dekhang, the head of the Zhao family, still on the phone with me during the day? How did it suddenly go extinct? The henchman hurriedly handed the details to Lu Ran. Zhao Dekhang offended a Zongshir master called Fan Yi, and it is said that he was retaliated against for stealing Fan Ye's woman when he was young? Such a coincidence? Lu Ran vaguely sensed that something was wrong. The timing of the Zhao family's extermination was too coincidental. Zhao Tianlong had just humiliated Yi Fan and was just about to kill him when he was suddenly exterminated? If there wasn't solid evidence that Yi Fan wasn't present, Lu Ran would definitely think that it was the demonic genius from five years ago who had awakened. Family master, what should we do now? If the Su group were to fully cooperate with the Xia family, with the help of the Xia family's channels, it would definitely take off immediately and all of our previous blockades would not have any effect. The volume of the Xia family, and the Lu family is about the same, and the roots are deeper than the Lu family. If the Xia family fully supports the Su family, then Lu Ran will be in trouble if he wants to execute the blocking order from above. Humph, the Zhao family has been destroyed, but isn't there still the Wang family and the Li family? Let them make a joint effort. No matter what method they use, they can't let the Su group have a good time. It doesn't matter even if they make Su Yi Shui lose her reputation. It's best to make a mess of Yun City is best. Lu Ran's eyes flashed with a touch of gloom. Before, facing the families of those seven girls, no one dared to underestimate them. Because they were the daughters-in-law of the Yi family, everyone had to weigh the influence of the Yi family and Dasha. But now, with the Yi family down, the family power behind those girls didn't carry as much weight. Now that the Yi family has suffered a heavy blow, only the bigger the mess in Cloud City, the more muddy the water. Can Lu Ran see the truth behind it through something? including whether Yi Fan is really stupid or not, or pretending to be stupid? Just who else is still supporting the Yi family? Cloud City. The night is deep. But in the Xian family compound, in Xian Yu Fei's room, Xian Yu Fei tossed and turned, unable to sleep. When she and Yi Fan withdrew from the marriage today, Xian Yu Fei clearly saw the disappointment in Yi Fan's eyes at that time. Did you fail him after all? Thinking of the little bits and pieces of how she grew up with Yi Fan back then, Xian Yu Fei couldn't help but shed tears. Why did Yi Fan become a fool? How nice it would be if he wasn't a fool. 
The evening banquet Xian Yufei also went to see Sui Shui with Yifan everywhere talking and laughing. Xian Yufei heart is very bad taste, do not dare to go forward to talk. If he hadn't withdrawn his marriage with Yifan, then the person who had brought Yifan should have been himself. But now, there's no going back. Xian Yufei fell asleep in a daze, and early the next morning, the first thing she did after waking up, she still wanted to go see Yifan, Su Yishui's residence. Su Yishui woke up with all the sunlight shining into the bedroom, looking at herself lying in Yifan's arms without a single strand, as well as the crimson peach blossom on the bedsheet. Su Yishui's shyly head did not dare to raise. You've become Yifan's woman? Will this fool in front of me be his man in the future? Regret? Su Yishui asked herself inwardly. Su Yishui herself couldn't say it. Perhaps the decision at that time was a bit impulsive, but at this moment, Su Yishui has been determined. No matter how, she and Yifan are husband and wife, honor and disgrace together. Never regret it, Ishua wife. You're awake? Yifan looked at Su Ishue opening her eyes and tenderly said to Su Ishue, Ishua wife, I made you bleed last night, do you hurt? Ah, Su Ishue, who was already shy, didn't even know how to answer in the face of Yifan's inquiry. You, are bad, associated with the fact that last night in the woods Yifan used a mouse to scare himself. Su Ishue was seriously skeptical. Was Yi Fan really stupid or was he pretending to be stupid? The two of them teased for a while, got up and finished washing, just ready to eat breakfast. The bodyguard said at the door, MS, Su, someone at the door is looking for Yi Xiao. Yi Fan raised his eyebrows, who came to find himself so early in the morning? Su Shui was also filled with curiosity, who is it? The bodyguard at the door looked a bit strange. It's Miss Xian Yufei. What is she doing here? Didn't she withdraw from Xiao Fan? Humph. At the mention of Princess Xian Yu, Sui Shui came in a fit of anger. Yesterday in front of so many people, the Xin family actually disregarded the face of the Yi family in the slightest and withdrew from the marriage in public. Now you still have the face to come to Yi Fan? Hearing that it was Princess Xian Yu, Yi Fan's heart twitched. The young girl who accompanied him to clear his spring had actually been deeply imprinted within Yi Fan's heart. However, Xian Yufei withdrawing from her marriage on an occasion like that was completely falling down a well. Although it wasn't Xian Yufei who led the way, Xian Yufei didn't stand up and fight for Yi Fan, and that had already hurt Yi Fan. It was just that. Whenever he thought of that young girl, Yi Fan still felt some regret and regret in his heart. Go, go and take a look. Sui Shui reached out and took Yi Fan's arm, tidied up her instrument, and even deliberately made her clothes a little messy, leading Yi Fan towards the door. At the entrance of the villa, Xian Yufei stood alone at the door, seeing Yi Fan and Sui Shui walking out so intimately, she suddenly felt a sharp pain in her heart. One day gone, is Yi Fan already with Sui Shui? Xian Yufei, what are you still doing here? Didn't you and Yi Fan already withdraw from the marriage yesterday? Still want to taunt my man again? Sui Shui did not give Xian Yufei a good face. The face of the Yi family was supposed to be jointly maintained by everyone together, but the Xian family had hardened their face yesterday in front of so many people and rubbed the Yi family's face on the ground. That wasn't enough, but they wanted to humiliate Yi Fan again today? Xian Yufei knew that her behavior yesterday had hurt too many people, so she didn't refute Su Yishui's words, but turned her head to look at Yi Fan tenderly. Brother Fan, I came to say sorry to you. Yesterday, was not my intention. It was second uncle's intention. I, speaking the latter words, Xian Yufei felt like she was going to cry. In her bones, Xian Yufei loved Yi Fan very much. It was just that Xian Yufei's character was relatively soft. And when the second uncle announced the news, Xian Yufei didn't have the same vigor as Yu Linglong and the others to come forward. But it was just one night, and there was no going back. Yu Fei, so you're here? I was looking for you early in the morning. Didn't we agree to go to the movies together today? Before Xian Yufei finished her words, a Mercedes next to her suddenly stopped, and Li Yun Yang, the eldest son of the Li family in Cloud City, came down from the car and tenderly opened his mouth to Xian Yufei, at the same time handing over a bouquet of roses to Xian Yufei. Ah, this, Xian Yufei was embarrassed all her toes were about to snap the ground out of three rooms, she had originally come to apologize, what was Li Yun Yang doing following her at this time, and who chewed the cut and told Li Yun Yang about his trip, it must be uncle too, lol, Xian Yufei, this is your apology, are you here to apologize, or are you here to show your love, seeing Yi Fan's forlorn appearance, Sui Shui was a bit intolerant and stood out to rebuke Xian Yufei, Xian Yufei, let me tell you, I'm already Yi Fan's woman. So, in the future, please don't come back to harass my husband. While speaking, Sui Shui cupped Yi Fan's cheeks and tenderly kissed Yi Fan's lips. It was an oath and a demonstration. Click. When Xian Yu Fei saw this moment, she seemed to have heard the feeling of her heart breaking. Are they really together so soon? Isn't Yi Fan a fool? Would he do something like that? 
Yi Fan originally had some regrets about Xian Yufei as well, so when he saw that Xian Yufei even took the initiative to come and apologize to himself, he felt a little bit of relief in his heart. However, when he saw that Li Yunyang had also appeared here, his heart was a little annoyed. What's more, from Zhao Tianlong and Zhao Dechang's mouths, Yi Fan already knew that the Li family of Yun Chang was a vassal family of the Lu family of the provincial city, and was also involved in the action of blocking the Yi family. That's the life and death enemy of the Yi family. Xian Yufei separated from herself even if she turned around and threw herself into the arms of the Yi family's enemies? This was very unacceptable to Yi Fan. He he he, Yu Fei, if you don't be my wife, I have another wife, prettier than you, and there are six more. Yi Fan was very serious and broke his fingers to count carefully. Yi Fan is doing this on purpose. If you Xian Yufei doesn't follow me, there are seven other beautiful sisters-in-law who are willing to follow me. Pust. Xian Yufei felt a mouthful of blood churning in her chest. Her throat was all sweet. She forced herself not to spit it out. Her body staggered for a moment. Her face was pale as she looked at Yi Fan, trying her best to make herself smile and said, Brother Fan, as long as you are happy, I wish you well. After saying that, Xian Yufei forced the tears in her eyes to slide down and quickly walked towards her vehicle. Li Yunyang wanted to go forward to help Xian Yufei, but was pushed away by Xian Yufei angrily. Get lost. Xian Yufei didn't like Li Yunyang at all, but her second uncle, Knowing that the Yi family had fallen, had insisted on dating Li Yunyang for the sake of the Xian family's development. Sui Shui went to the company today to handle things and was worried about how to arrange Yi Fan. Now in Yi Fan's situation, letting Yi Fan alone at home, Sui Shui was really uneasy, but if she brought Yi Fan to the company, Sui Shui still needed to go out to negotiate, and it was also a bit inconvenient. However, just as Sui Shui was fretting, Wang Fugu A drove up. Little sister-in-law don't worry about going to work. Big brother don't worry leave it to me to take care of it. Wang Fugue waved his big hand, making Sui Shui completely at ease. The relationship between Wang Fugue and Yi Fan could be said to have grown up wearing the same pants. No matter what time it was, Wang Fugue unconditionally defended Yi Fan. And now that Wang Fugue's strength was growing, Yi Fan should be safe with him. Good, then please, I'll be back as soon as possible in the afternoon. Sui Shui explained to Wang Fugue and drove away. Wang Fugue took Yi Fan to his car. And only after Sui Shui left did Wang Fugue speak. Big brother, people have already left. Don't pretend, right? I know you're deliberately playing dumb. Between us brothers, so don't pretend, right? After returning home yesterday, Wang Fugue felt wrong no matter how he thought about it. With Yi Fan's performance at the banquet and that strange feeling, Wang Fugue always felt that Yi Fan was different from before. If Yi Fan was really stupid before, then now Yi Fan should have awakened. Especially in the middle of the night. Wang Fugue got the news that the Zhao family had actually been exterminated overnight. Wang Fugue's first thought was that Yi Fan had made a move. But when he called Master Yi, he learned that Yi Fan was living in Sui Shui's villa and had no time to make a move. Wang Fugue was puzzled. So he came over early in the morning to find Yi Fan, wanting to test him. Old Wang, what are you packing? I have a plastic pocket here. Do you want to use it? Yi Fan pulled out a plastic pocket from his body and handed it to Wang Fugue, causing Wang Fugue to cry and laugh a little. This big brother, is he really still stupid? Big brother, I don't know if you're really stupid or not, but I'll take it that you're not stupid anymore. Wang Fugue drove while saying to Yi Fan, I have nothing to do today anyway, so I'll take you out to the place where we went in to stroll around. Maybe you should be able to remember something. Wang Fugue's words caused Yi Fan's heart to tighten. Where did you used to go before you became demented? You're not going to one of those clubs, are you? Big brother, do you know? Yesterday. The Zhao family was exterminated by a sect master expert. It's said that sect master expert is called Fan Yi. It's too much of a relief. Who let that grandson Zhao Tianlong insult you at the banquet? Deserved it. Big brother, you have to pay attention to that Su Jian and Su Dong father and son in your family. Those two goods are not good people. I suspect that they have a lot to do with what happened to the Yi family. Along the way, Wang Fugue's mouth was like a machine gun, talking non-stop. However, it also allowed Yi Fan to understand some general conditions of Cloud City. The last place Wang Fugue parked was in front of a dilapidated attic. Seeing the familiar place, Yi Fan instantly remembered. This was the largest black market trading market in Cloud City, and one of the largest black market trading markets in the entire Southwest. There were all sorts of good wani inside, pills to promote martial cultivation, various medicinal herbs, and countless exotic treasures. As long as you can afford the price, there's nothing you can't think of. Nothing you can't buy here. Before, Yi Fan liked to bring Wang Fugue here to hang out and would find some good stuff. Well, this place is familiar, right? Wang Fugue opened the car door and introduced himself towards Yi Fan. Big brother, 
You've brought me here often before. Buy something, buy something. Yi Fan pretended to be very droll, and after getting off the car, he clapped his hands and walked towards the entrance of the black market on his own. The Cloud City underground trading market is actually hidden underground, so it looks deserted on the outside, but the real bustle is on the third basement level. Wang Fugue deliberately followed behind, watching Yi Fan's familiar walk towards the entrance of the black market trading market. A flash of light flashed in his eyes. Big Brother still remembers the way before? Looks like it really isn't done being stupid. There is definitely hope for Big Brother's awakening, and there will still be hope for the Yi family. I'm just saying, how can my old Wang's big brother be so bad? Big brother, wait for me, Wang Fugue called out as he ran behind. But what he didn't realize was that what he saw was just what Yi Fan wanted him to see. It had been five years since he had been here, and Yi Fan and Wang Fugue entered the third underground floor together, and the situation inside was still bustling with activity. There's the frenzied fight scene, and next to it, there's the maniacal man pressing a beautiful woman right into action on a table. These were not what Yi Fan was interested in. What Yi Fan was interested in was the alley where the black market stalls were set up over there. Five years ago, when Yi Fan was still a demonic genius, he had purchased quite a few goodies here, as well as quietly buying quite a few pills here, as well as talismans and the like. The first time after waking up, Yi Fan also wanted to see if there were any suitable pills here for Wang Fugue that could assist him in breaking through above the sovereign realm. Yi Fan remembered that when Wang Fugue followed him before, he ate pills as sugar beans and was on the verge of breaking through to the sovereign realm five years ago, while he was still hovering at the peak of the control realm. This unfailingly good brother, one has to help him out. Big brother, do you have your eye on anything? As long as big brother looks at it, old Wang will help you buy it all today. Yi Fan swept all the way over, the strange magic pupil of his eyes opening up. Through the exterior of something, he could see through the truth inside. Some counterfeit antiques with no breath fluctuations on them are fake. There are also some genuine goods that have ancient breath fluctuations on them, but the price is obviously inflated. Walked through the alley three quarters and, there is still nothing good into Yi Fan's eyes. It wasn't until he passed by a stall where he bought stones that Yi Fan was suddenly attracted to a pitch black stone. From the outside, that stone didn't look like it had any special features, but Yi Fan's magic pupil saw through the outer skin that in the middle of the stone, there was actually a Yuan Chi Dan wrapped around it, which was a good thing to assist in breaking through to the Zone Master. On the market, even a bit of a billion dollars wouldn't necessarily buy it. Yi Fan was a little curious. Why would someone seal the Yuan Chi Dan in a broken stone? But since he had encountered it, Yi Fan naturally had no reason to let it go. Yi Fan stopped and pretended to be serious as he picked other good looking stones on the ground. Boss, how much is this one? That 50,000. This now? 80,000. Yi Fan inquired repeatedly outside of a good block of stone. All the boss asked impatiently. Only then his eyes turned to the pitch black stone. This stone seems to be very fun too yeah, go back and tease the kitten to play surely very good. The owner just glanced at it and spoke, if you buy any of the other stones, this one will be yours. The corners of the boss's mouth floated with an imperceptible smile, that stone was actually used by his family to pad the legs of the table, it was just that he looked at a good color, so he took it together with the other goods. I didn't realize that there were really stupid exes looking at it. Good, I'll take these two pieces then. Yi Fan happily picked up the black stone and the other stone with a price tag of $30,000 and waved his arm towards Wang Fugue. Old Wang, pay up, you promised that you would help me buy things. Wang Fugue followed along with a bitter face. Big brother, these two things, at first glance, are trash. Why do you need to waste them? Wang Fugue wasn't heartbroken. He was just a bit sorry. Before, when Yi Fan was still in his peak state, his vision definitely wouldn't be this bad. And now, after being demented, can't even distinguish between good things and bad things? LOL. Humph, are you unwilling to spend money on me? If you don't give me money to spend, I'll give it myself. As he spoke, Yi Fan intended to rummage through his pockets. But in reality, where did Yi Fan have money on him? Five years ago, after Yi Fan's accident, everyone thought Yi Fan was a fool and wouldn't put money on Yi Fan at all. I give, why don't I give it? As long as big brother you are settled. Wang Fugue let out a long sigh. Now that Yi Fan's performance, Wang Fugue was already satisfied. At least Yi Fan still remembered the way into the black market and knew to buy things. After paying the money, Yi Fan and Wang Fugue left with the stone and circled around the black market again, not finding anything else good. Just as the two of them were about to leave, Yi Fan's ears were suddenly sharp enough to hear a few people chatting next to him. You know what? Something big has happened to the Yi family ah, ten martyrs of the Yi family, all of them perished yesterday. But it seems that the opponent of the Yi family doesn't intend to let go of the Yi family yet, and has invited a strong person of the fast martial Zun realm to completely level the Yi family in the last few days ah. 
What? A martial honor level powerhouse? That's something you can't even find a few of in Grand Xia. Alas, who has the Yi family offended? To be treated like this, at least Elder Yi made a great contribution to the Grand Xia back then. It can't be helped. The merit is high, right? It's a pity that so many heroic sons and daughters of the Yi family can't even leave a descendant in the end. Yi Fan's heart shook as he listened. Is the other side going to do it so soon? To actually invite a strong person at the level of Marshal Zun, intending to take out the last bit of the Yi family? H.M. Now that I've awakened, I won't let you have your way. Yi Fan turned his head and quietly memorized the looks of those people. Yi Fan would find them as soon as possible and investigate clearly where exactly the news came from. Yi Fan wanted to take care of that expert before he made a move on the Yi family before. Coming out from the underground black market, Wang Fugui looked at Yi Fan who had been holding a few stones in his hands and playing with them, and let out a long sigh with some helplessness. Could it be that he was feeling wrong? He thought that his big brother had awakened, but his big brother is still like this. I don't know when he will completely recover ah. The current Yi family, if big brother does not recover as soon as possible, really cannot last long ah. Those girls alone will not be able to hold back the sweep of the enemy. Old Wang, try it. It tastes great. Yi Fan handed the dark stone in his hand to Wang Fugue, making Wang Fugue cry and laugh a little. Big brother, this is a stone, not candy. It can't be eaten. Why can't you eat it? Look, just bite it like this, and crunch it. In order to guide Wang Fugue to discover the Yuan Chi Dan in that stone, Yi Fan all but sacrificed himself and utilized his teeth to crunch a stone. Yi Fan moved in such a way that it caused a raw pain in Wang Fugue's teeth to look at him. I'd better forget it. Wang Fugue shook his head, intending to put the stone away. I'll take the stone and eat it when I go back. Okay? No good. Seeing that Wang Fugue was planning to put the stone away, Yi Fan became anxious. Wang Fugue, this idiot, couldn't even discover the dryness inside the stone. If he waited for him to bring the stone back, he might even throw it away directly. You said, good brothers. We should share the same blessings and difficulties. You don't eat. You don't take me as a big brother. Yi Fan was a little puffed up and sat his butt on the ground, intending to play tricks. Wang Fugue looked at Yi Fan bitterly. Okay, I'll eat. Can't I eat? Good big brother. Wang Fugue put the stone into his mouth. The big deal was to apply a little bit of chi to pop the stone into pieces, and then just make a show of it. LOL. At this moment, Yi Fan was completely a child. What was one's point in bothering with a child? But when Wang Fugue's teeth touched the stone's shell, he finally discovered the abnormality. This rock, it's not as hard as you thought? Is the shell even a little soft? Crunch! Wang Fugue bit it with his teeth. It didn't take much effort at all. And the edge of the stone cracked from the center. Wang Fugue two halves of the stone spat out of his mouth. And after seeing clearly what was in the middle of the stone, his pupils dilated dramatically for a while. Yuan Chi Dan. God. Halfway through his words, Wang Fugue hurriedly tightly covered his mouth. Then he brought the stone up to his eyes and looked at it carefully again several times. Can't go wrong. It's the Yuan Chi Dan. This was a very important elixir for breaking through the sovereign realm, and even breaking through the martial exalt realm. With the aid of the elixir, breaking through a zone sure could increase the success rate by 70%, and breaking through a martial zone could also increase the success rate by 50%. However, looking at the entire Grand Xia, there were only a handful of personnel who could refine the Yuan Chi Dan. Such an elixir was speculated in the market some time ago to a price tag of $5 billion, and it was still priced at a price that could not be bought with money at all. Such an elixir, if exposed, would immediately be coveted by countless powerful forces. Everyone would snatch it at all costs. And now such an elixir is in your own hands? After determining that this was a Yuan Chi Dan, Wang Fugue's eyes changed dramatically when he looked at Yi Fan again. Is this a coincidence? Or did Big Brother do it on purpose? Yi Fan clamored for those two stones. Then the stones were opened and there was actually Yuan Chi Dan inside? Such a coincidence is less likely than winning $200 million on your own lottery ticket, isn't it? Big brother, are you playing dumb or are you deliberately hiding it from me? Did you already know that there was a Yuan Chi Dan inside? Wang Fugue was too shocked jaw. It couldn't be that coincidental. But Yi Fan in front of him was at a loss. Old Wang, how was it? I told you it tastes good, right? Quick, hurry up and eat it while it's hot. Wang Fugue was speechless for a while and carefully looked Yi Fan up and down twice to make sure that Yi Fan wasn't pretending, before he carefully put away the Yuan Chi Dan. Big brother, you are really my lucky star. With this Yuan Chi Dan, I will soon be able to break through to the Zongshu realm, and when I am by Big Brother's side, I will be a little more powerful in protecting Big Brother. Strong people of the Sovereign Realm were few in number in the entire Grand Xia. Generally, strong people who had reached this realm could sit on one side and become a party hegemon. 
A Zongshir expert was already enough to be able to support a super family. Hearing Wang Fugue say so, Yi Fan secretly said in his heart, still counting on you kid having a conscience. Now Yi Fan had to continue to play dumb. There were many things that could not be acted upon openly when having Wang Fugue step in was the best choice. And Wang Fugue's increased strength was naturally good for Yi Fan. The two had just gotten into the car and were about to go home when Yi Fan's cell phone suddenly rang. It was Xia Hao who called. Divine Dr. Yi, I wonder if it's convenient for you. I'd like to invite you for a meal and introduce a few people for you to get to know. Xia Hao was aware of Yi Fan's true situation. Yesterday at the banquet, Yi Fan had revealed himself to Xia Hao. Xia Hao knew that he had embraced a golden thigh, so he thought of introducing Yi Fan to his direct lineage in Cloud City today. Eating? I'm hungry. I need to eat. Yi Fan responded into his cell phone, then turned his head to look at Wang Fugue. Wang Fugue took the cell phone, and after learning that it was Xia Hao on the other side, he answered and led Yi Fan towards the place Xia Hao had set. Wang Fugue was along at the banquet yesterday and knew about Xia Hao and Yi Fan's connection. Half an hour later, at the Royal Hotel, in the Heaven's Character private room, Yi Fan sat at the top, next to him did Wang Fugue, and on the table, beside Xia Hao, there were several other men. Among them were the underground godfather of Cloud City, Li Hu, and the governor of Cloud City, Sun Qian, Yong Yi, let me introduce you. These two are both from the Xia family. This is Li Hu, who has a not-so-small say in certain unseen matters in Cloud City. If Yong Yi has any conflicts that are not easy to resolve, you can look for him. Hearing Xia Hao's introduction, Li Hu hurriedly stood up and respectfully bowed towards Yi Fan. Li Hu has met Yi Xiao, in the future, but at Yi Xiao's disposal. Also this is Sun Qian, the governor of Cloud City. After five years, he should be promoted to the provincial city, and is also a member of my Xia family. If there is anything officially, he can help. Sun Qian didn't dare to be arrogant, and similarly stood up and respectfully said towards Yi Fan, Yong Yi, if there's anything in the future, if Mr. Sun can be of service, I will definitely do whatever I can. Cloud City was so big. In fact, there was no need for Xia Hao to introduce him. In fact, Li Hu and Sun Qian also knew Yi Fan. Regarding Yi Fan's situation, it wasn't a secret in Cloud City. Five years ago, Yi Fan was the most famous demonic genius of the Yi family, stepping into the sect master realm at the age of 15, with an unlimited future, and a car accident made Yi Fan become demented. But it still couldn't hide Yi Fan's previous brilliance. The two of them very much didn't understand that after the Yi family had suffered this heavy blow, with everyone avoiding it, Xia Hao actually chose to treat Yi Fan so respectfully, almost as if he were a father. But as people trained by the Xia family, they knew that there must be a reason for Xia Hao to do this. They were also speculating in their hearts. Could it be that this young master, the youngest of the Yi family, had already awakened? If that's the case, showing goodwill like the Yi family at this time, that's definitely going to take off in the back ah. Xia Hao of course knew that Yi Fan was actually in an awake state and could understand all the words, but in order to cover it up, he still politely explained towards Wang Fugue, Young Wang, I know you are Yi Xiao's best brother friend, when Yi Xiao is inconvenient, you can directly contact the two of them, thank you, Xia family master, although Wang Fugue was a bit naive, he also knew that the Xia family was, at this moment, a complete blessing in disguise, on the ground in Cloud City, with Sun Qian and Li Hu sheltering the two of them, one bright and one dark, Yi Fan would have a lot less trouble. A few people had just moved their chopsticks to eat. Li Hu suddenly received a message from his men, and his face changed greatly. Yi Xiao, Mr. Xia, it's not good. Just now, my men sent a message saying that all of old Wolf Wu's men had gone out, and it seemed like they were going to go after MS. Sui Shui. Aha, hearing Li Hu's words, Yi Fan's eyes instantly turned sharp. The powerful aura stirred making the temperature of the entire room seem to drop several degrees. Save the wife, save the wife. In front of so many people, Yi Fan was not in a good position to show too much, so he could only get up and rush towards the outside of the private room in a hurry. Sui Shui was only his woman last night, but today he was actually hunted down and killed? Let this young man know who they are, and I'll surely thwart them. Xia Hao hurriedly chided. Don't just stand there, get everyone out immediately. Protect Miss Su's safety at all costs. From Yi Fan's actions, Xia Hao could see that Sui Shui had a very important position in Yi Fan's heart. This was the first thing he had done after defecting to Yi Fan, and he must not make any mistakes. Yes, after Li Hu answered, he immediately began to frantically give orders. Pass on my order. All of you, start moving immediately, at all costs. Make a move against old Wolf Wu and fight to the death. Sun Qian, as an official, was not in a good position to intervene directly, but he did make a few quick phone calls, 
using the power he could muster to help as much as he could. In an instant, the entire Cloud City was abuzz. On the streets and alleys, countless people belonging to Li who began to drag their guys into action. Everyone's eyes were activated, and they soon locked onto Old Wolf Wu's course of action. Master Tiger. Old Wolf Wu was leading his men towards the western suburb of Cloud City over Liang Jia Lane at this time. The current situation coming in is that they haven't won yet, and Miss Su was retreating and fleeing under the protection of her men. As Yi Fan and Li Hu and the others rode in the car together towards the western suburbs of Cloud City, Yi Fan heard the news on the phone, and he secretly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Fortunately, nothing has happened to Su Yi Shui yet. Faster, save the wife, save your wife. The anger in Yi Fan's heart was actually on the verge of being suppressed. Now that the Yi family has suffered such a great change, do those people really think that the Yi family has no one? Is it anyone who can come up and step on it? It's time to give them some credit. If yesterday's extermination of the Zhao family was probably an accident, then today, after figuring out who was behind it, Yi Fan would do even more. This was a deterrent to those who wanted to make a move against the Su family, as well as the Yi family. Let them know what happens when they mess with the Yi family. The western outskirts of Cloud City. Su Shui was sitting in a sedan, which at this time had already been smashed into pieces. The front of the car had been dented, and a large piece of the rear end had fallen off. There were two bodyguards in the car besides the driver who was driving, but they were all stained with blood. Today Su Shui was originally to go with and the Su family's biggest supplier Zhang Biao to go to negotiate continue to cooperate things, but Su Shui did not expect. Zhang Biao actually secretly arranged an ambush, invited a group of social mixers, want to Su Shui to the hotel defilement. Fortunately, Su Shui's side bodyguard found it in time and killed a bloody path at the critical time, bringing Su Shui to escape. However, the group of gangsters were like maggots with bones, chasing after them, chasing them all the way from the city to the western suburbs of Cloud City. Bang! Both sides of the whistling van. Rapid impact Su Shui's vehicle. Su Shui's sedan was forced into an alley next to her. Until there was no more road in front of the alley, the captain of the bodyguards in the car, Zhao Big Head, opened his mouth and said, Mr. Su, you should go first by yourself. Back then, you kindly took us in. Now it's time for us to repay you. Run as far as you can. We'll break the back. Big Head Zhao, who was seriously ill under a bridge hole back then, was waiting to die. It was Su Shui who took him in, cured him, and then let him enter Su's group as a security guard, learn Kung Fu, and later serve as a bodyguard. And he has been loyal to Su Shui. You guys be careful. Su Shui knew that now was not the time to be indecisive. And after admonishing a few people, she quickly ran towards the depths of the alley. Resolve surfaced in Su Shui's eyes. From the moment she announced that she was going to marry Yi Fan, Su Shui knew that she was definitely facing this hardship and danger ahead of her. It's just that Su Shui didn't expect the trouble to come so quickly. But Su Shui was also prepared. She was already Yi Fan's woman. Even if she died, she wouldn't let anyone touch one of her fingers. And she wouldn't let her opponents capture herself is, as a bargaining chip to blackmail Yi Fan. At the back, Zhao Big Head and his two men, braced themselves against the injuries on their bodies. Three machetes in their hands, all blades have been rolled. However, they still formed a blockade line with unabated momentum, blocking in front of dozens of chasing punks behind them. Don't struggle with your dying breath. Do you think that the three of you, can block the onslaught of hundreds of us? The leader of the gangsters at the back seemed to have suffered a loss at the hands of Zhao Daodu, and when he saw the formation of Zhao Daodu's few people, he didn't dare to act rashly for a while. Humph, want to move mister. Sue, you guys try to see. Cut dead one enough, chop up two to earn a. Not afraid to die despite come. Come on. Zhao Big Head eyes flashed a flash of ferocious light. To the back of the pursuit of those punks roared. Determined aura that shocks the entire room. Those mongrels, were actually shocked by Big Head Zhao's aura and took two steps back. Big Head Zhao glanced behind him with his afterimage. And there was no longer any trace of Sui Shui behind him. Right now. Big Head Zhao's aim was to stall for one more second to buy time for Sui Shui, as long as she could get out of here, Sui Shui would be saved. If Sui Shui left safely, he would have no regrets even if he died here today. The moment the crowd was frozen, Big Head Zhao fiercely heard a familiar footsteps coming from the back. Big Head Zhao fiercely turned around to see that it was actually Sui Shui. Mr. Su, why are you back again? Big Head Zhao was shocked in his heart. A flash of despair surfaced in Sui Shui's eyes. It's a dead end back there. We can't get out. Hiss. In an instant, the hearts of Big Head Zhao and the two men around him were as if they had fallen into an ice cellar. Behind them was a dead end, while outside was an interception of hundreds of punks. And by the sound of it, there seemed to be more gathering this way. It's a dead one today any way you look at it. You guys leave me alone. They're coming for me. You guys go. 
they shouldn't give you a hard time, Sui Shui, after realizing that this was a desperate situation, instead had a frank face. Although she had only been a couple with Yi Fan for one night, Sui Shui was satisfied. He hadn't let the Yi family down after all, only that he hadn't been able to open up a branch for the Yi family, so he could only talk about it in his next life. Sui Shui had already decided in her heart that as long as Big Head Zhao and the others left, Sui Shui intended to kill herself on the spot. However, Big Head Zhao and the others were only briefly lost in thought, and then instantly made a firm decision. Old M.O. Xiao Tao. Protect Mr. Su in the middle. Let's kill a bloody road out again. Even if we can't kill it, we'll have company on the road to the Yellow Springs. We're not alone. Big Head Zhao's chivalrous intentions instantly spread through this narrow alley. Three blood-colored maniacs, escorting an absolute beauty, knowing that the road ahead is perilous, but still unnecessary to death. The picture was a little sad for a while. What are you guys up to with the chicken shit? When those punks on the scene, were somewhat infected by the emotions of the scene, at the mouth of the alley, a rough heckle broke the atmosphere of the scene. A middle-aged man with a wolf's head carved on his arm, surrounded by a group of gangsters, quickly rushed in towards the alley. The one who came was no other than the head of another major underground force in Cloud City. Old Wolf Wu, there are only three people on the treadmill. So many of you are just watching, waiting for someone to give birth? Old Wolf Wu angrily rebuked his men. It's been said above, today, no matter if we live or die, we have to take down Sui Shui, all of you give me on, old wolf Wu chortled, reached out and drew a combat knife from a junior brother on one side, and stepped towards big head Zhao, on old wolf Wu's side, seeing that his boss was taking matters into his own hands, how could he dare to slow down, all of them rushed up in a swarm, kill, although big head Zhao was courageous, he couldn't help that there were only three people around him, within two round trips, he was already being rubbed on the ground by a group of people. At this time, Sui Shui had already been surrounded by a group of punks. Old Wolf Wu stared at Sui Shui like a prey. It is said that Miss Su is the number one beauty in Yun City, but it is a pity that she actually had to cheapen that fool. How about Miss Su promises to spend the night with me, and I promise to give Miss Su a pain in the ass? Old Wolf Wu stared at Sui Shui without hiding his greed at all. Normally, Sui Shui is such a special thing. Wu Lao Wolf could not even think about it, but this time, there is a clear instruction from above that getting Sui Shui killed, insulting and torturing Sui Shui is considered a great merit. So naturally, old Wolf Wu has no scruples. You, don't come over. Sui Shui picked up a battle knife from the ground and crossed it in front of her body. You guys don't want to touch a single finger of mine, even if you die. Also will not be cheap for you guys. After being in close contact with Yi Fan like that yesterday, Sui Shui could clearly feel that there were a lot more warm currents in her body filling her with strength and even a few traces of her martial arts breath. At this moment, holding a battle sword, Sui Shui had no fear. Little bitch, it's that time of year and you're still showing off. Beside old Wolf Wu, a shouty couldn't help but be the first to rush up, wanting to take credit. But just as he approached Sui Shui, Sui Shui flipped her wrist, and the battle knife in her hand swiftly slashed down towards that little brother's fingers. Pust, that punk didn't react for a moment, and in an instant, his arm was actually directly chopped off. Hiss. Such a scene left everyone at the scene dumbfounded. In the information, it didn't say Sui Shu and New Kung Fu, did it? But now Sui Shui showed the action. The degree of skillfulness, at first glance is the practitioner. What is going on? Sui Shui was also shocked by her own means. The movement of wielding the battle sword just now was almost instinctive like four. When did you know martial arts? In an instant of lightning in Sui Shui's head. She thought of the warmth that had fed back to her from Yi Fan when she was in contact with him in the past few days. Could it be the effect of those warm currents? Yi Fan is really a demonic genius, although his own IQ is affected. But is the warmth generated by intimate contact, actually has such magic? Sui Shui, who was originally desperate, had a few more points of confidence in her heart. Hold on to yourself for a few more minutes, maybe a miracle? If Yi Fan was deliberately playing dumb, would he come to his rescue if he knew he was suffering from a crisis situation? Is he coming to his rescue on a colorful cloud? That hero of his own. Will he come? Sui Shui smiled to herself as she thought about the images in it. When she was running for her life just now, Sui Shui didn't even have any chance to inform the others. How could Yi Fan have had the chance to know about his situation? Sui Shui's sudden burst of power only caused those punks to have a brief moment of hesitation. However, after a few seconds, Old Wolf Wu was completely enraged. Brothers, don't hesitate, kill them directly, lest the night grows long. Sui Shui actually knew Kung Fu, which was a very bad sign. Old Wolf Wu was afraid that the more he delayed, the bigger the change behind him would be. No matter what, let's first finish the task explained above. The crowd once again surrounded. 
although Sui Shui instinctively waved her battle sword to block for a moment, but on the one hand, she was inexperienced, on the other hand, the other party did he outnumbered, clunk, the battle sword in Sui Shui's hand was blasted away, and at this point, Sui Shui was already unarmed, and above Sui Shui's head, countless brightly shining war blades, without any hesitation, flew towards Sui Shui to slash down, the request from above is to take out Sui Shui and make an example of her, therefore, at this moment, old Wolf Wu and the others all had only one idea, to get Sui Shui killed, don't, little fan, Sui Shui closed her eyes in despair, thinking of the beauty of last night, her heart sighed infinitely, if there's a next life, I'll be your wife again, you must, be good, wife, don't be afraid, I'm coming to save you, in a daze, Sui Shui suddenly heard a familiar voice, it's Yafan, is it a mishearing, Yi Fan really came at this time, buzz, while everyone was still wondering where the sound was coming from, at the mouth of the alley, a figure rode a motorcycle and roared up, even disliking the crowd in front of him for getting in the way, the motorcycle suddenly raised its head and whistled as it went straight across the alley's fence, the one who came was no one else but Yi Fan, who had arrived in a hurry, Yi Fan rode on the motorcycle, his eyes burning as he stared at Sui Shui under the shadow of the sword. In one pair of eyes, there was a flicker of anger, and at the same time, it was full of tenderness. Is it really Yi Fan coming? That guy Jin of his, at his most desperate time, actually did come to his rescue by stepping on a seven-colored auspicious cloud? Sui Shui saw clearly that it was really Yi Fan who had come, and her originally lightless eyes were instantly filled with color. Even if I die, I have no regrets, although Yi Fan might still be demented now. Yi Fan had true feelings, what he or she did was worth it, Yi Fan rode on the motorcycle, the throttle in his hand twisted to the extreme, and all the movements in the alley seemed to slow down as if in a moment, at this moment, Yi Fan couldn't care about any reservations and his figure was as fast as it could be, when the motorcycle was about to impact to Sui Shui's side, Yi Fan's ankle stomped on the ground, and the moment the motorcycle landed, it had a 360 degree swing, sweeping across the road and sending all those punks who had surrounded Sui Shui flying out. The cold and glittering battle knives all cut off several strands of Sui Shui's hair, but in the end, they were sent flying the instant they were less than millimeters away from Sui Shui's skin. Yi Fan descended from the sky as if he was a god descending from the heavens, tightly embracing Sui Shui in his arms. Yi Shui wife, scared me to death, you're fine too good, great. With such an appearance of Yi Fan, Sui Shui looked dumbfounded. This is the genius and demonic pride of heaven. This is the last flame of the Yi family we're guarding. Little Fan, you have awakened right? After Sui Shui reacted, with a face of surprise, she held Yi Fan's face and shook it violently. If Yi Fan is awakened at this moment, then the Yi family will be saved, and there will be hope for all the sisters' guardianship Ah, Yi Fan very much wanted to tell Sui Shui at this moment that he had awakened, but before the real enemy was still investigated, Yi Fan couldn't be awake. Yi Fan would have to continue playing dumb. Wow. At this moment, at the mouth of the alley, Li Hu and Xia Hao had already surrounded the place with a large number of men and were rapidly taking down Old Wolf Wu's men. After the shocked Old Wolf Wu reacted, his face went pale. Quick, come with me, kill them, quickly kill them. As he spoke, Old Wolf Wu waved the battle knife in his hand. Then he wanted to make a move on Sui Shui and Yi Fan. Li Hu and Wang Fu Gui, who were more than 10 meters away from this side, saw the situation in front of them and anxiously shouted, Quickly, protect Yun Yi and Miss Su. Quick, but even though they were in a hurry, with a distance of more than 10 meters in the middle of the gram, it was impossible for them to instantly come over off. Still want to bully my wife? You're all bad guys. When the crowd was in a hurry, Yi Fan suddenly went crazy, and after letting go of Sui Shui, he picked up a battle knife and frantically slashed towards Old Wolf Wu. Click. Old Wolf Wu only fought against Yi Fan for a single slash, and the battle sword in his hand shattered within inches. Yi Fan grabbed Wu Lao Lang's neck and swung Wu Lao Lang up like he was carrying a chicken, driving away the surrounding punks who made a move. Then just as plainly, he smashed Wu Old Wolf hard on the lapis lazuli floor. Let you bully my wife. Let you bully my wife. Pust. Boom. Old Wolf Wu's body of nearly 200 pounds was swung up by Yi Fan and slammed down hard towards the ground like a wooden stick. With each impact, a large chunk of the lapis lazuli floor on the ground shattered. The poor Old Wolf Wu, who was originally a meter eight or so, at this time in Yi Fan's hands, just like a doll, there was no possibility of any resistance at all. The ribs were broken. I don't know how many heels, and the seven orifices were bleeding. At the very beginning, old Wolf Wu was still screaming miserably. At the back, the whole person was paralyzed into a dead dog, out of breath and in breath. Old Wolf Wu, just like that, was stoned to death. Hiss. Around them, 
Those men brought by Old Wolf Wu were all stunned and forgot to attack as they watched Yi Fan's brawny movements, Wang Fu Gue, Li Hu, and Su Yi Shui, who rushed over, also froze when they looked at Yi Fan's state at this moment. Is this Ye Fan? Just showing the tip of the iceberg's strength was so terrifying as this? What would it be like if the strength of a demonic genius was fully utilized? Little Fan. Seeing Yi Fan's nearly insane state, Su Yi Shui softly called out. From Yi Fan's state at this moment, she already had a judgment in her heart. Yi Fan should not have awakened, but just the instincts that were aroused because he was in danger. But this also showed that Yi Fan was fully capable of recovering. Now, he only hoped that Sister Linglong could invite the great summer medical sage here as soon as possible to heal Yi Fan. When Wu Lao Wolf was smashed to death, those other Xiaodi around him had no desire to continue fighting, and were quickly taken down by the people Li Hu brought with him. Yi Fan snapped out of his seizure and stared at old Wolf Wu on the ground, his eyes averted. Wife, who are they? Why are they after you? Yi Fan knew that these punks definitely didn't really want to make a move on Sui Shui, and there must be someone behind them who instructed them. Xia Hao next to him immediately reacted. Now Yi Fan was still playing dumb. There were some things that Yi Fan was not convenient to step in. That was the time to step in himself. Old Wolf Wu was killed, and his right hand men were escorted over by Li Hu's men, all kneeling in front of Li Hu and Xia Hao and the others. Speak, who told your Miss Su to do it? Li Hu dragged the battle knife in his hand just poked two times in the chest of one of Wu Old Wolf's men, and Wu Old Wolf's men immediately gave an explanation. Don't kill me, Master Tiger. It's none of our business ah, it is the Wang family's Wang Xiao came to find the Wu Old Wolf. Let the Wu Old Wolf chase Miss Su, said what to kill the chicken to warn the monkey. After some explanation from Old Wolf Wu's group of men, Yi Fan immediately understood. Is this the Lu family in the provincial capital making a move? The Xia family had chosen to cooperate with the Su group and the current public opinion situation was actually very unfavorable to those of the Yi family's opponents. They had to make a move against the Su clan as soon as possible, so that others could see what would happen if they approached the Yi clan at this moment. The Xiao, Wang and Li families were all vassal families of the Lu family. Originally, the Zhao family was at the forefront, but the Zhao family was completely destroyed by Yi fan last night, so now only the Wang and Li families were left. HM, he hadn't even gone to them yet, but they were the first to come to the door on their own? Soon, this young man will let you know what will happen if you touch the Su family. Little Fan, Sui Shui saw that the situation at the scene had finally settled down. Her taut nerves instantly loosened. Her body staggered for a while, and she went limp towards Yi Fan's arms. Save the head of the security team. Sui Shui's last sentence was a reminder to the crowd to save the Su family's security chief, Zhao De Daodu character. At this moment, Zhao De Daodu was in a pool of blood, dying, severely injured, but still alive. Yi Fan just glanced towards that side. Xia Hao immediately understood. Don't freeze. Immediately send them Miss Su to the hospital. Those bodyguards also bring along. Quick. Half an hour later. In the hospital intensive care unit. The doctor checked Su Yishui thoroughly and signaled everyone to relax a bit. Don't worry everyone. The patient is just too tense. Some of her strength is overdrawn. Rest for a while and she will soon wake up. Wang Fu Gue. Xia Hao. And the others also secretly breathed a sigh of relief after hearing this. In fact, Yi Fan had probed Su Yishue's pulse on the way here. Knowing Su Yishue's situation, he was not worried. However, just now, Yi Fan had also roughly heard about the matter of the security chief, Zhao Daodu, a security chief who was so desperate to protect Su Yishue in that situation that he almost even lost his own life. This is a trustworthy man. Yi Fan had very many other things to do behind him, and it was impossible for him to stay by Su Yishue's side all the time. Then Su Yishue's side, there must be a trustworthy one only. Yi Fan had already decided in his heart that since this big head Zhao was willing to fight for Sui Shui, it would be good for him to send him some opportunities. Yi Fan Xia Hao looked at it. The security big brother he. Xia Hao was a very smart person. When he heard Yi Fan's words, he immediately understood that Yi Fan wanted to go and take a look at big head Zhao, and immediately arranged. Does young Yi want to go over and take a look at big head Zhao? His wound has already been stitched up. It's right next door. I'll bring young Yi over to take a look. While speaking, Xia Hao greeted Yi Fan and left the ward together, heading towards the next room. After entering the ward, Xia Hao wisely stayed outside the ward and said, Yi Fan don't worry about visiting, I'll just stand guard at the door. Yi Fan's identity was not good to expose now, and Xia Hao had to try to keep the secret. Yi Fan glanced at Xia Hao. This Xia Hao, who was quite resourceful, could also be focused on cultivation. After entering the ward, Yi Fan went up and reached out to probe Big Head Zhao's pulse, which was still stable in all aspects. Big Head Zhao had already woken up, and seeing Yi Fan taking his pulse, he opened his mouth with some doubt. Yi Xiao, you, 
Yi Fan waved his hand, signaling Big Head Zhao, don't move, I just came over to take a look and talk to you about something on the way. Ah, the pupils of Big Head Zhao and weakness dilated for a while, looking at Yi Fan with a shocked face, Yi Xiao, you, are not stupid? Didn't outsiders say that Yi Fan had been demented for five years? But the way Yi Fan was acting now, where did it look like a case of dementia? Yi Fan nodded, I have awakened, but not many people know this secret, you count as one of them. I hope that before I announce it, you can keep the secret for me. Ha, huh? Big Head Zhao was surprised again and looked at Yi Fan with a shocked jaw. Vaguely, Big Head Zhao sensed that he seemed to have encountered a rare opportunity. Yi Fan was not demented. Such an important secret. Yet Yi Xiao told himself the truth. Yi Xiao must have his own plans. I will definitely keep it a secret. Big Head Zhao moved his body without saying much, quietly waiting for Yi Fan's next arrangement. Yi Fan was satisfied with Big Head Zhao's reaction. This is the quality of a qualified bodyguard. You did a good job today, protecting my wife with your life. As a reward, I'll help you enter the martial realm, and I'll also give you pills to assist you in improving. I hope that when I'm not by Yi Xue's side, you'll still be able to protect her for me like you did today. As he spoke, Yi Fan ran a wave of qi energy up his arm, wildly surging towards Big Head Zhao's body. Zhao Daodo couldn't even say the words he was so excited about. Martial arts qi? Yi Xiao actually wanted to directly help himself step into the martial realm and cultivate martial arts? It is important to know that the path of martial arts, from the transformation of strength to control, patriarch, martial arts zun, martial arts emperor, cultivation is exceptionally difficult, and 99, 99% of people, throughout their lives, are unable to cultivate martial arts qi, let alone continue to improve. A strong person of the martial Dao realm, in the whole of Dashia, even the most elementary harmonization power expert, that was a very rare meat and potatoes, you've acquired it by mistake? Moreover, after those martial qi energies had entered his body, Big Head Zhao clearly felt that his internal and external injuries were healing at a speed visible to the eye. Is this the advantage of martial arts practitioners? Thank you, Xiao Yi. Thank you, Xiao Yi. Big Head Zhao didn't even know how to thank Yi Fan. Don't talk, carefully feel the direction of the qi energy in your body. I will only teach you once. How long you can comprehend on your own depends on your own talent. After quickly guiding Big Head Zhao to run through the martial qi once, Yi Fan left a few pills for Big Head Zhao and left the ward. Xia Hao, who was guarding the doorway, although he didn't want to intentionally listen to it, because he was right at the doorway, he heard the conversation between Yi Fan and Zhao Daoda clearly just now. Big Head Zhao had gained such a heavenly benefit just because he had protected Sui Shui. Then choosing to cooperate with the Su family this time was totally the best decision made ah. In the current situation, the Lu family had already made a mistake. Perhaps the Su group and himself would have to suffer a little ordeal. But as long as they carried through, then the days behind them, it was beautiful to think about. In a villa somewhere in Cloud City, Su Dong and his father sat anxiously on the sofa. Dad, the Zhao family was suddenly exterminated. So we can lose our biggest partner all of a sudden. Ah, without the Zhao family's support, we are afraid that we won't be able to take down the Yi group with our own strength. Su Dong was a little worried. Although they had operated the Yi group for so many years and had planted quite a few of their own cronies in the company. But after all, the Yi group was the Yi family's industry. And those patriarchs of the company were basically Yi Chongfeng's hardcore. Without the support of external forces, it would be difficult to bring the Yi group under control with just Su Dong and Su Jin's strength. Why don't we find someone and directly take out that old thing at home and that fool straight away? Su Dong was a little impatient. I inquired last night and found out that a Zongshir expert called Fan Yi has appeared in Cloud City. As long as the price is right, I think he can definitely make a move. Su Jian pondered for a while before speaking. What's the hurry? In the Yi family's current situation, there are people who will be more anxious than us. If the Yi family's direct disciples don't die out, those people from the Yi family who made a move against the Yi family won't feel at ease. Besides, don't forget that even though the Yi family has been dealt a heavy blow right now, with Yu Linglong and Sui Shui and the others announcing their marriage to Yi Fan in a high-profile manner, those families aren't something to be messed with either. We should just be patient and wait. After a pause in his words, Su Jian continued to speak. However, that clan master expert in Cloud City that you just mentioned, if we don't expose ourselves, we can try. Su Dong's eyes lit up. Dad, don't worry. I've already gotten an account. I'll go and post the mission right away. Patriarch experts usually have accounts. If that big shot sees it, he will definitely take the order. In Yuncheng People's Hospital, Yi Fan had just come out of Big Head Zhao's ward when his cell phone suddenly received an encrypted alert message. Yi Fan opened it and saw that it was a mission reminder. Five years ago, after Yi Fan broke through into the Zongshu realm, he registered an account. And at that time, he also took on quite a few tasks. And up to now, 
Yi Fan's rankings were very high. Originally, Yi Fan didn't care much about the information, but when he accidentally saw the names Yi Fan and Yi Chang Feng on it, Yi Fan couldn't help but frown. Someone is offering a reward for killing himself and his grandfather? According to the IP, the person offering the bounty is actually in Cloud City? And in the notes option, the employer specifically explains that he wants to meet with the person receiving the assignment to witness the death of the target. HM, how dare you be so blatant? Yi Fan snorted coldly in his nostrils, took the task down and sent a message, agreeing to meet under the middle bridge in Cloud City at 12 p.m. Yi Fan was also curious as to who was in such a hurry to offer a reward for killing himself and his grandfather. The price is given, straight away, all start at 2 billion. Young Yi, Xia Hao called out respectfully when he saw Yi Fan come out. Observing the change in Yi Fan's expression, Yi Fan nodded and glanced around, seeing no one before continuing, come out with me and help me take cover. Yes, Xia Hao immediately called Wang Fugue and a group of his men over, saying that Yi Fan was going out to buy something, and asked everyone to pay more attention to Su Yi Shui's situation. Immediately find out where the Wang family's youngest is. Coming out of the hospital, Yi Fan directly gave an order to Xia Hao. It's not hard to figure out where a person is located. In the Cloud City Imperial King KTV, Wang Chao, the youngest member of the Wang family, was holding two beautiful women in his arms, his big hands moving restlessly. Suddenly, he received a report from his men. Young Wang, something has happened. Old Wolf who failed in his pursuit of Sui Shui, Li Hu made his move. All of Old Wolf Wu's troops were wiped out, and it was rumored that Old Wolf Wu perished on the spot. What? Old Wolf Wu is dead? Imbecile. So many people out to encircle a woman can't even handle it. Dumbass. Wang Chao annoyingly kicked the two beauties beside him away. Get lost. After waiting for the beautiful woman to leave, Wang Chao's eyes flashed a touch of ruthlessness. The provincial capital, Mr. Lu, has explained that this time, at all costs, we must take action against the Su group, and we must make an example of the chicken, since old Wolf Wu has failed. Then we can only use another method. Humph, I don't believe Sui Shui is that lucky every time. Wang Chao. There is another situation. According to the feedback from the brothers who were on the scene at that time, Yi Fan's strength seems to be. While speaking, he handed the tablet computer in his hand to Wang Chao, and the image captured on it was exactly the one where Yi Fan made a move to save Sui Shui and smashed to death old Wolf Wu. Wang Chao only glanced at it, and his expression could not help but flinch. That fool, Kung Fu actually hasn't been forgotten? Unfortunately, it's just a fool. Wang Chao didn't care much about Yi Fan's performance. It wasn't like Yi Fan was demented for a day or two. Now that the Yi family was in a state of decline, what waves could a fool like Yi Fan make? Right now, Wang Chao's main concern was to complete the task explained by Mr. Lu as soon as possible, so that the Su group would not have a good time, or to get Su Yi Shui killed, so that everyone could see the tragic end of being close to the Yi family. It's just that Wu Lao Wolf so much hands, actually saved by Li who suddenly appeared. It is said that Xia Hao led the emergence. And with the Xia family in the provincial city protecting the Su family, Wang Chao now does not know what to do for a moment. With Xia Hao bringing Cloud City Godfather Li Hu to sit in on the town, relying on Cloud City's people is obviously not going to work. And I'm afraid that the only way to do so is to ask the Xia family side of the provincial city to send an expert over. Squeak! Wang Chao was fretting when the door of the room was suddenly opened and a strange young man pushed the door in. Who the hell are you? Who let you in? Wang Chao was getting annoyed. And when he saw this young man walk in, he immediately opened his mouth and cursed. What are you all doing? Are you all dead? You can't even stop such a person? The one who came was no other than Yi Fan after his disguise. Just now, when Wang Chao talked to his men, Yi Fan heard them clearly. No need to shout. They've all been beaten down by me. Yi Fan sat himself down on the sofa and looked at Wang Chao and his men indifferently. Wang Chao swept a glance toward the doorway, saw his several bodyguards falling on the ground in a horizontal position, and immediately felt Ju flower tight. What? Do you want to do? Another tough guy? It's been a bit rough in Cloud City lately. The Zhao family had supposedly messed with a man named Fan Yi yesterday before being wiped out in one night. And now another bigwig had approached them. And they still didn't know what was going on. No need to be nervous. I'm here to help you solve your problem. First of all, I'll introduce myself. My name is Fan Yi. I've heard that you're going to make a move on Su's group. So if the price is right, I'll be happy to do it for you. Yi Fan stared at Wang Chao with a smile. Last night, Yi Fan deliberately left a letter in Zhao Dechan's study, believing that the name Fan Yi had already made a name for himself in Cloud City. You, you are that Zhongshu powerhouse Fan Yi? As expected, upon hearing Fan Ye's name, Wang Chao was shocked and at the same time, a touch of delight appeared on his face. Is it true that when you want to doze off, someone comes to give you a pillow? 
Master Fan Yi took the initiative to come to the door to collaborate with himself and make a move against the Su family? Fan Yi Zong Sure Master Expert. Overnight. All can God does not know. Ghost unknowingly, Zhao Dekang and Zhao Tianlong father and son all settled, so that the Zhao family overnight extinguished, so against the Su group, it is not a piece of cake, it's me, Master Fan Yi can help, that's simply great, Wang Chao couldn't hold back his inner excitement, Master Yu said, what conditions do you need to make a move, 2 billion dollars, I can make Su's group disappear in this world, my strength, you know, Yi Fan looked at Wang Chao indifferently and opened his mouth with a price that made Wang Chao suck in a breath of cool air. Although the Wang family was also a powerful family in Yun Chang, the volume of the entire Wang group was only about $10 billion, and trying to take out $2 billion at once was still very difficult. Ah, Mr. Fan, this is a bit much. Wang Chao was a bit apprehensive. Although Mr. Lu in the provincial capital had already promised that as long as the Su group was brought down, the Lu family could allow the Wang family to take over the Zhao family as well as all of the Su group's industries, which was also more than $10 billion in assets. This $2 billion cost is indeed nothing compared to those tens of billions of assets. But what if, on the Lu family's side, they don't honor their promises? A lot? Yi Fan's eyes were steeply bitter, thinking that it was this asshole in front of him that almost killed Sui Shui. The anger in Yi Fan's heart was rising upwards. Are you doubting my strength? A powerful aura was released, enveloping the entire room, and Yi Fan's sharp eyes were glaring at Wang Chao's heart. Wang Chao understood. This delivery deal. He had to do it even if he didn't do it. There was no choice at all. Now the question is, Wang Chao does not know. After he gave the money to this Fan Yi master, will really take action against Su group? Don't get it wrong. Fan Yi suddenly made a move against the Wang family, making the Wang family end up in the same situation as the Zhao family. And that would be the end of it. The more Wang Bei thought about it, the more scared he became, and now he just wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. With this master Fan Yi, Wang Chao felt very uncomfortable. Moreover, Although the appearance of Fan Yi in front of him was unfamiliar, Wang Chao always felt that the person in front of him was somewhat familiar to him. No no, Master Fan Yi's strength, I naturally believe in it. This way, I'll go back right away and let my family raise money how? Wang Chao tentatively said towards Yi Fan, his footsteps just raised. Phew, a straw flew out and plugged Wang Chao's feet, scaring the piss out of him, no need to go back, start raising money now, you have 10 minutes, start. Yi Fan coldly looked at Wang Chao. For this person who wanted to kill his wife, since Yi Fan had come, how could he let him go so easily? Ah, this, Wang Chao still wanted to continue to defend himself, but seeing Yi Fan's horrifying eyes, he immediately didn't dare to say anything more, turned his head and pulled out his cell phone, dialing his father. Dad, I met that Grandmaster level master Fan Yi on my side, he promised to help my Wang family out against the Su family, but it's going to be 2 billion. Wang Chao kept calling to urge, Wang Chao's father's side also want to do all kinds of ways, even if it is a violation of the preparation of funds, all kinds of borrowing money, within 10 minutes, actually really put together 2 billion, transfer it to this account, Yi Fan gave Wang Chao the secure account that Xia Hao had prepared in advance, and after an operation, Yi Fan received a message from Xia Hao, confirming that the money had arrived, Wang Chao finally let out a sigh of relief, big brother, the money is now in place, do you think that I can make a trip to the absorption room? Wang Chao has already had a judgment, his own this 2 billion, afraid of most likely to hit the water, but even then there is no way ah, 2 billion s to buy their own lives, Yi Fan smiled, what's the rush, your matter is settled, now let's talk about mine, Yi Fan's sentence instantly made Wang Chao unsettled, and a touch of ominous feelings surfaced in his heart, what else does this big man want with himself, in Wang Chao's shocked eyes, Yi Fan reached out and rubbed his face a few times, next moment, Yi Fan's appearance had changed, and an even more familiar silhouette appeared in front of Wang Chao's eyes. Yi Fan, how can you possibly be Yi Fan? At this moment, Wang Chao's head was spinning rapidly, thinking Fan Ye's name over for a few seconds by himself. Fano? Fano? Isn't it Wild Fan in reverse? Isn't that the same as Yi Fan? So, the big Fano guy who made a move on the Zhao family was really Yi Fan? But, didn't all the information from the outside world show that Yi Fan had been demented for five years? You're faking everything? Pust. After noticing the truth of the matter, Wang Chao's legs went limp and he directly paralyzed towards the ground. Everyone knew about Yi Fan's demonic talent. Five years ago, Yi Fan was already at the peak of Martial Grandmaster. And five years later, who knows what terrifying realm Yi Fan had already reached. In front of Yi Fan, Wang Chao didn't have any chance of escaping. Wang Chao, you have a lot of guts, actually trying to kill my wife? Yi Fan stared at Wang Chao with a scornful face. Since you did it, 
you will pay the price. You lend me one thing. Wang Chao's heart thumped. He had already given out two billion dollars. This Yi Fan, what is he going to borrow from himself? What good thing does he have that is worth borrowing from Yi Fan? What do you, you want to borrow? Wang Chao's body shivered, and a heart had gone cold. Borrow your life. As he spoke, Yi Fan took a step forward and reached out to grab Wang Chao's neck. Wang Chao's feet left the ground and looked at Yi Fan with a terrified face. Don't, don't ah. Yi Shao spare my life. It's not me who wants to make a move against the Su group. It's the Lu family in the provincial city. Do you want to say that it's Lu Ran from the provincial city who wants to make a move against the Su group? Humph. Don't worry. I will naturally go to Lu Ran's side to settle the score. However, in Cloud City, it was you who made a direct move against Su Yi Shui. Then you must pay the price. Yi Fan coldly responded to Wang Chao. Wang Chao was completely desperate. Now he finally understood somewhat what happened to the Zhao family. He was afraid that when Zhao Tianlong died in Yi Fan's hands at that time, he was also this desperate, right? Originally, everyone thought that the Zhao family's demise was just a coincidence, but now it seemed that it was completely everything that Yi Fan had designed. Those forces and clans that were unfavorable to the Yi family and those that were unfavorable to the Su family would be ruthlessly crushed. The point is, after Yi Fan settled everything quietly, to everyone in the outside world, Yi Fan was still the same fool. No way. This news must find a way to spread out. To let Mr. Lu in the provincial capital know. His throat couldn't even breathe. But Wang Chao actually wanted to reach for his cell phone to tip off Lu Ran. Bang. A blast of Yi Fan's chi easily knocked down Wang Chao's cell phone. It's this time. Do you still want to make small moves? Pust. After the whistling martial chi energy completely wrapped Wang Chao. In the blink of an eye. Wang Chao's entire body turned into a pile of broken pieces and disappeared down the toilet. After doing this. Yi Fan picked up the cell phone on the ground and sent a message to Wang Chao's father. Wang Zhong, Dad, I've been kidnapped. 12 p.m. Yun Chang Zhong Chao, come and save me quickly. After doing this, Yi Fan reverted back to his unfamiliar appearance and quickly left from the KTV and got into the Xia Hao vehicle. Xiao Yi, it's been resolved? Do you need me to do any aftercare? Xia Hao spoke respectfully in front. Sui Shui was attacked, and Yi Fan came out in such a hurry. Naturally he wanted to take action against the Wang family behind Old Wolf Wu. But behind the Wang family was the Lu family in the provincial city. So Yi Fan might be in trouble if he was in too much of a hurry. No need. Yi Fan said indifferently. Accompany me on a trip out at night to watch a dog eat dog show. Yin Chang Wang family. The head of the family. Wang Kai Zhong was initially very excited after receiving a call from his son. Wang Chao. Saying that Master Fan Yi had been invited to deal with the Su group. In the back. However. When he heard that the other party wanted two billion hands to be paid, there was some hesitation in his heart. But Wang Chao dead urge. And the words, it seems to have gone away. Helpless Wang Zhong can only bite the teeth to mobilize so many funds to call the past. Then waited for news from Wang Chao. But when Wang Zhong saw the message sent on his cell phone, he was instantly blinded. What? Kidnapped? Asshole. Who is it? Crazy? The Wang family has encountered something very unpleasant today. Wang Chao gets orders from the Lu family and asks Old Wolf Wu to attack Su Ishue. However, it fails at a critical time, and Li Hu, led by Xia Hao, strikes in time to save Su Ishue, and now his only son has been kidnapped? What the hell is going on here? Immediately pass on my order. All the people in the Wang family, start moving, go to ambush in the middle bridge of Cloud City. I would like to see, who actually kidnapped my son. When Yi Fan returned to the hospital with Xia Hao, he carried a little bit of fruit that looked like it was purchased back outside. Wang Fugue and Li Hu and the others didn't suspect much. When Yi Fan arrived at the hospital room, Sui Shui also woke up and a smile appeared on her face when she saw Yi Fan tenderly accompanying her. It's good to be alive yourself. At that time, Yi Fan's handsome rescue maneuver was really too handsome. Ish Yue's wife. You're awake? The doctor said you were just too tired. It's fine. Eat an orange. Then let's go home. Okay? Yi Fan handed the peeled orange to Su Ishue with a gentle face. This former sister-in-law, in order to guard the Yi family, in order to guard herself, willing to commit to marrying yourself who is still a fool. More than that, it brought such a big crisis to Su's group and put himself in constant danger as well. Yi Fan was very touched inside. It was even if he hadn't awakened before. But now that Yi Fan had awakened, then he would do everything in his power to protect the Su family, protect the Yi family, and avenge those dead souls of the Yi family. Thank you little fan. Sui Shue finished the orange and struggled to get out of bed. Shaking her head. I can't go home yet. The company has to release a new drug recently. There are still a lot of things to be busy with. When I'm done, I'll come back earlier to accompany you. Okay? Sui Shue looked at Yi Fan tenderly. And when she saw Xia Hao staring this way, there were a few shyness on her face. Mister. 
Xia, Master Tiger, thank you for today. Today, if it wasn't for Yi Fan and Xia Hao, Li Hu and the others arriving in time, Su Yishui really would have perished there. Miss Su is polite. Xiao Yi saved Xia's life before. This life of mine is all Xiao Ye's. Letting something happen to Miss Su, this is our negligence. Xia Hao respectfully owed his body. Master Tiger is one of our own. In the future in Cloud City, if Miss Su has any needs, she can just ask. Su Yishui naturally understood that Li Hu was Xia Hao's. Yi Fan had saved Xia Hao five years ago, but today he had been rewarded so greatly. This was also considered another kind of misfortune in the midst of misfortune. Sui Shui was about to say something when she suddenly received a call from her secretary. What? Our prescription has been leaked? The rival company has released a new drug today? How is this? This possible? Yes. Mr. Su, turn on the TV. It's broadcasting live. Sui Shui turned on the TV with an incredulous face, which was broadcasting the launch of a new drug live. On the stage stood a young man in a suit. It was Li Yun Yang, the eldest young man of the Li family in Cloud City. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beauty care pill that our Li family has carefully developed over the years. It cost us tens of billions of dollars, and the effect is wonderful. Take it for a month, and you'll see the results right away. Shameless, listening to Li Yun Yang spouting on the stage, as well as the part of the formula that was announced, Sui Shui couldn't help but curse. That's clearly our Su group's heart and soul. These sons of bitches, damn it. I don't know what means Li Yun Yang used, but he actually stole the core medicinal formula of the Su group under Sui Shui's eyes. It's a total kettle of fish. Su's group had been developing for so many years, and almost all of its resources had been spent on developing this prescription, just waiting for a turnaround after this prescription was released. Especially recently, Su's group was blocked by many partners. If there is no one fist product to break the situation, Su's group was impacted and collapsed as possible. Mr. Xia, Mr. Wang, I need to make a trip back to the company right away. Xiao Fan will ask you guys to help take care of him first. I'm leaving first. Sui Shui hurriedly greeted Wang Fugui and Xia Hao and quickly rushed towards the company. With such a major event happening in the company, Sui Shui naturally had to rush out at the first opportunity to deal with it. Yi Fan looked at Sui Shui's back as she left anxiously, and muttered, Isn't it just a beauty pill prescription? Tell me earlier, a random prescription out of my head would be enough to amaze the world, right? However, if he is a fool to take it out, even if it is true, I am afraid that no one will believe it, right? How should I convince Sui Shui that my prescription was real? If a random person brought the prescription to Sui Shui, they definitely wouldn't pay attention to it. Yi Fan suddenly thought that Yu Linglong had said that she would invite the great summer medical sage Lei Chanjie to come and cure himself, and he wondered when he would come. Having Lei Chanjie give the prescription to Sui Shui, with Lei Chanjie's portion, it should be enough. One could have Lei Chanjie give the prescription to Sui Shui at that time, and it should be able to solve the predicament Su's group was facing. Sui Shui had just left when Yi Fan's phone rang, and it was actually Xian Yufei who called. Brother Fan, I know I'm the one who's sorry, but can you do me a favor? Xian Yufei seemed to be in a bad state on the phone, and her voice was tinged with tears. Although Xian Zhenghua had made a high-profile announcement in front of so many people that he had withdrawn from the Yi family, within Yi Fan's heart, he had never been able to hate it. Ex-wife, what's wrong with you? Did someone snatch your lollipop? If it's someone who snatched your lollipop, I'll help you snatch it back. Yi Fan responded to the phone in a naive manner. Only such a tone was in line with his current status. At the other end of the phone, Xian Yufei listened to a heartburst of heartache, perhaps with so many people around themselves. Everyone was staring at their status, position, or beauty, and only Yi Fan was treating himself with sincerity. No, it's much more serious than grabbing a lollipop. Brother Fan, do you know? My second uncle has betrothed me to Li Yun Yang, and tonight is the engagement dinner but I don't want to marry. Xian Yufei seemed to have found someone to confide in, telling her heart's pent-up grievances. Forget it, brother Fan, where are you now? I'll come pick you up and meet to talk. Xianjian Kingdom has promised Princess Xian Yu to someone else so soon, or Li Yun Yang. Yi Fan snorted coldly through his nostrils. From the current information, the Li family, Zhao family, and Wang family, were all vassal families of the Lu family in the provincial city, so the Li family must have participated in the extermination operation against the Yi family. And Princess Xian Yu actually had to marry her enemy? This was something Yi Fan couldn't accept no matter what. Moreover, in Yi Fan's plan, after destroying the Wang family, the Li family was also to be removed. Since Li Yun Yang was planning to marry Xian Yu Fei, even if it was a woman he didn't want, it wouldn't work. The big deal was just to advance the removal plan. Issue as wife is injured. I'm at the people's hospital. Yi Fan tried to make his tone sound as naive as possible, not willing to show too much in front of the crowd. 
In the Xian family compound, Xian Yufei hung up the phone and let out a long sigh. LOL. How great would it be if Fan wasn't a fool? Back then, when brother Fan was still a demonic genius, he was so spirited that if someone dared to hit on his wife's idea, I'm afraid brother Fan would have jumped up long ago, right? 20 minutes later, Xian Yufei arrived at Yun Chang People's Hospital by car. What? Concubine Xian Yu, you've already withdrawn from your marriage with my big brother. Do you still want to use my big brother to be your shield? Do you have any humanity left? Hearing that said Xian Yufei wanted Yi Fan to accompany her to the engagement dinner. The first one jumped out. Are you tired of my big brother losing face enough? Or what do you want? Wang Fugue was agitated. Big brother, don't go. Although Wang Fugue usually looked a bit naive, but the maintenance of Yi Fan, that was not faked at all. Otherwise Yi Fan would not have made a special trip to the black market to give Wang Fugue that Yuan Chi Dan. Now that Yi Fan was in a state of dementia, he naturally had to stand out and defend Yi Fan with all his might. Brother Fan, I know I'm going overboard, but I really don't want to marry. Xian Yufei was a little desperate. The engagement to the Li family was a family arrangement and her destiny. Now that the Li family was as powerful as ever in Cloud City, even if Consort Xin Yu wanted to find another shield to accompany her in her act, there were not many people who would offend the Li family for the sake of Consort Xin Yu. The only person Xian Yufei could think of relying on right now was Yi Fan. Yi Fan had already promised Xian Yufei in his heart when he told her the address, so he naturally wouldn't refuse. No marriage, not marry, I'll go help you drive him away. Big brother, when Wang Fugue saw that Yi Fan actually did agree to face Xian Yu, he was a bit anxious and wanted to open his mouth to stop it. Xia Hao who was next to him knew Yi Fan. Since Yi Fan had opened his mouth, then he must still want to help Xian Yu Fei. Young Wang, after all, Yi Xiao and Miss Xian have been good for so long. If Yi Xiao wants to go, we'll accompany him. Xia Hao smiled at Wang Fugue. Besides, aren't we still with him? There won't be anything wrong with Young Yi. This, Wang Fugue looked at Xia Hao with some doubt. Always feeling that something is strange, but for a time he couldn't think clearly, so he didn't bother to think about it. A few minutes later, Yi Fan was pulled into his car by Xian Yufei. Xian Yufei drove the car while looking at the handsome Yi Fan beside her, still with the same good looking face, still with the familiar scent. Just, Van, let's go back to the same as before, okay? Xian Yufei trembled inwardly and uttered such a sentence in a ghostly manner. Yi Fan froze as he listened beside him. Back to before? Can't go back. Previously, Yi Fan had treated Xian Yufei. That was almost heartfelt goodness, favoring Xian Yufei in all sorts of ways. But the Xian family withdraws from the marriage so publicly. Yi Fan was hurt. Broken glass. How can it be intact again? Back where? To the hospital? But didn't we just come out of the hospital? Why are we going back? Yi Fan didn't know how to answer. So he had to babble. Xian Yufei was searingly observing Yi Fan from the side, wanting to see any clues out of Yi Fan's demeanor. Yi Fan hid it very well. And although Xian Yufei had a sixth sense that Yi Fan was different from before, she still couldn't find a break. Brother Van, really do not know whether you are really stupid or playing stupid, but I want to tell you is, I've always liked you, I've always loved you. That day I withdrew from the marriage, it wasn't my intention, it was my second uncle who forced me to do it. You also know that my father, he, may die at any time if there's no follow-up medical expenses, I have no choice. Speaking later, Xian Yufei was on the verge of crying, five years ago. Around the time of Yi Fan's accident, Xian Yufei's father was also involved in a car accident and became a vegetable, requiring expensive treatment. Although Xian Yufei took over the Xian clan group in the back, because of the presence of the second uncle and a number of other patriarchs, Xian Yufei did not have much actual power in her hands. On that day of the withdrawal, the second uncle said that if Xian Yufei did not agree, the back would not continue to provide medical expenses to Xian Yufei's father. The corners of Yi Fan's mouth twitched as he listened. About the Xian family's situation, Yi Fan had learned a bit about it in the past two days, but the damage that Xian Yufei's silence that day had done to Yi Fan needed time to heal. The Paradise Hotel in Cloud City, this was the place where the Xian and Li families had their engagement dinner. At the entrance of the hotel, Li Yunyang was in a handsome suit, holding a bouquet of flowers in his hand, surrounded by several brothers. Congratulations, young Li, finally a dream has come true. Yes, the Xian family has also finally gotten the hang of it. Withdrawing from the Yi family and choosing Young Li is the best choice. I can hear that Li Xiao are going to be accepted as the godson by the head of the Lu family in the provincial city. That absolutely took off ah. When the time comes, Li Xiao don't forget us ah. Amidst the compliments from the crowd, Li Yunyang felt like he was floating. This group of trash only saw the surface power of the Xian family, but did not even know that behind Xian Yufei's mother, there was a hidden power that they could not imagine. This was the reason why Li Yunyang wanted to take down Xian Yufei by all means. 
Coming! No one in the crowd knew who shouted, and the crowd swished in unison toward the road. Xian Yufei's vehicle slowly stopped, and in Li Yunyang's expectant eyes, a long white leg stepped out of the car, slim and slender, straight and windswept, thinking that the owner of those beautiful legs would be his own woman in the future. Li Yunyang's heart trembled, but seeing the subsequent images, the smile on Li Yunyang's face instantly stiffened. Princess Xian Yu was not alone? Instead, he was intimately holding a man's arm, getting off the car in a loving manner and walking towards Li Yunyang. What do you mean? Today is the engagement dinner for this young man in Xian Yufei, and Xian Yufei brought a man along, and this man is still Yi Fan? Is this a cuckold delivered to the house? Li Yunyang instantly felt like he had received a 10. 000 point blitz. Yu Fei, what's going on with you? Why did you bring this fool here? Li Yunyang held back the anger in his heart and tried his best to gracefully inquire towards concubine Xian Yu. Those buddies beside Li Yunyang also stopped their agitation at this time. The colored eggs that were ready to be unscrewed in their hands also had to be held so awkwardly in their hands. Li Yunyang, how are you talking? Show some respect to my big brother. Before Xian Yu Fei could say anything, Wang Fugue by his side was the first to speak. My big brother's name is Yi Fan. You can either call him Yi Shao or call him Brother Fan, let me hear you call out a fool again, and I'll reward you with a big earful. Wang Fugui already had a fire in his heart, and now that he saw that Li Yunyang was actually going to marry his ex-sister-in-law, the fire in his heart got even bigger. At this time, Wang Fugui also somewhat understood why Yi Fan accompanied Xin Yufei to come along. Big Brother's heart is still at ease after all. You, Wang Fugui, what are you? Do you think that fool is still the young master of the Yi family before? Let me tell you. Now that the Yi family has fallen, it won't be long before that old thing from the Yi family and this fool will soon be reunited with their families. You fool the chicken hair. Pop. Snap. Without any hesitation, Wang Fugui took two steps forward and slapped Li Yunyang in the face with two slaps, with one stroke each on the left and right. Li Yunyang's face immediately puffed up, and two teeth popped out of his mouth. Do you have no memory at all? I told you to treat my big brother with respect. And you're treating my words like they're falling on deaf ears? Wang Fugue shook his palm. Tramp. Your face is harder than shit. Crap. Wang Fugue. Are you looking for death? Actually dare to hit me. Li Yunyang's body staggered for a moment. Rubbed his raw face. Stormily stared at Wang Fugue and said. I don't dare to touch the Yi family. Do I still dare to touch your Wang family? Someone come. Get him killed for me. Wow. With Li Yunyang's call. A large group of burly bodyguards immediately surged around him copying their weapons with the intention of taking action against Wang Fugue. Rubbish! Wang Fugue swept a glance at the bodyguards. These ordinary bodyguards who didn't even have martial chi energy. Wang Fugue didn't even look at them. Young Li rest his anger. Today is Young Li's big day. Mr. Xia came uninvited to congratulate Young Li. Young Li wouldn't be unwelcome, would he? While both sides were in the midst of saber rattling, Xia Hao got down from the vehicle behind him, followed by Li Hu, the underground godfather of Cloud City and the four great Vajra under his command. Such a scene caused Li Yunyang to frown. The people from the Xia family in the provincial capital have come, and Master Tiger has also brought people. Today's scene, Xian Yufei is prepared? But Li Yunyang couldn't figure it out. With the Xian family's energy, it wasn't enough to mobilize the Xia family and Li Hu's people ah, could it be Yi Fan? But knowing that the Yi family has fallen and become the grasshopper in the autumn, why are these people still so death-seeking to get closer and closer to the Yi family? All right, go in. While both guests are present, there are some things I want to make clear in person today as well. Xian Yufei held Yi Fan's hand tightly. Her eyes burned as she glanced towards the hotel's front door. Her heart seemed to have made some sort of determination as if she had made up her mind. You, Xian Yufei, you better think about what you are doing. Li Yunyang looked at Xian Yufei and had a vague ominous feeling in his heart. This Xian Yufei, if she makes any noise at the banquet today, then the Li family will be disgraced ah. But thinking of Xianjiang was assurance. Li Yunyang's heart settled down a few more points. This princess Xian Yu, can she escape from this young man? But when he saw Xian Yufei holding Yi Fan's hand so tightly, Li Yunyang's heart burst with fire. Where the hell did you lose? Can't you even beat a fool? On the eighth floor of the Paradise Hotel, in a banquet hall that could hold several thousand people, the gate opened and Xian Yufei held Yi Fan's hand as she stepped into the banquet hall. The originally noisy hall instantly began to quiet down all looking at the scene in front of them with a shocked face. After three seconds of silence, the crowd finally couldn't help but start whispering. What's this? Isn't today Xian Yufei and Li Yunyang's engagement dinner? What does it mean when that fool from Xian Yufei's Yi family brought her here? Yes, I can't figure it out either. Didn't Princess Xian Yu announce her withdrawal from the Yi family yesterday? Bringing it over like this now, wouldn't that be rubbing the Li family's face on the ground? Interesting, 
I'm afraid that the faces of those people at the top of the Xian and Li families will not look good today. The crowd turned their heads toward the table at the very front of the hall. At that table, Xian Zhangwei and Li Yunyang's father, Li Zhong, were originally talking and laughing, discussing the subsequent cooperation between the two families. The sudden appearance of the situation brought their conversation to an abrupt end. Xian Zhangwei, what do you mean by that? Li Zhong looked at Xian Zhangwei with a gloomy face and said, didn't you say that everything was taken care of? Now that Princess Xian Yu has appeared here with that fool from the Yi family, isn't this a slap in the face of my Li family? Xian Zhongwei was also confused. I don't know what's going on either. Thousands of guests on the scene. That or the Cloud City has a face of the upper class. Yesterday Xian Zhongwei on behalf of the Xian family only and the Yi family to withdraw from the marriage. And now Xian Yufei and the Yi family that fool together in pairs appeared. Is their own words do not count? Yufei. What are you up to? When Xian Yufei walked past Xian Zhangwa, Xian Zhangwa chided towards Xian Yufei in a low voice. However, Xian Yufei only turned her head to look at Xian Zhangwa and led Yufan to continue walking towards the stage. Everyone, I am Xian Yufei, and while so many people are present, what I want to announce is this, yesterday's withdrawal from the Yi family, that was just my second uncle's intention. I didn't agree to it. Xian Yufei took the microphone from the host on the stage and smiled as she raised Yufan's arm high in the air. Yi Fan and I have been betrothed since we were young and grew up as childhood sweethearts. My husband will always be brother Fan. Everyone give us your blessing. Pust. Li Yun Yang, who had followed along at the back, felt his heart being viciously stabbed when he heard Xin Yufei's words. Blessing? Bless Nima. It's my engagement dinner today. Blessing you all. So what's my old man doing? Wearing a hat? At this moment, Li Yun Yang felt a great insult. Shame on him for opening the door to shame. Shame on the family A4. What are you guys waiting for? Hurry up and turn off the microphone. Li Yunyang was furious when he looked at the staff members who were still in a daze and frantically chided towards them. Wow. Xian Yufei's words were like a huge stone hitting the surface of a lake. And the entire scene exploded. Crap. Is this so explosive? Yesterday, the Xian family's second son withdrew from the marriage. And today, concubine Xian Yu announced in a high profile that the withdrawal was invalid? Things aren't that simple. There are obviously problems within the Xian family. And there's definitely something wrong with the Xian family boss's car accident back then. At the Li family's engagement dinner, the future daughter-in-law shows her love with another man. The Li family is disgraced today. After the crowd clamored, their eyes all looked in the direction of the first table. Clunk! Li Zhong couldn't hold it in any longer and ruthlessly smashed the wine glass in his hand on the table, angrily rebuking Xian Zhangwa. Xian Zhangwa, your Xian family is deliberately coming to smash the scene, isn't it? Give me a reasonable explanation. Otherwise this is not over. The scene was instantly quiet. All staring searingly this way. The atmosphere of the scene instantly began to solidify. This engagement dinner, seemingly simple, but in fact the Yi family, the Xian family, the Li family three families involved in it, a little careless, will be ruined ah. Looking at the out of control scene, Xian Zhangwa was almost furious at this point. Don't be angry, old brotherly. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You wait for a moment ah. I'll go and take care of it. Xian Zhangwa panicked and greeted Li Zhong, quickly walking towards Xian Yufei's side. Didn't we have a good conversation yesterday? All in front of so many people. He had announced in a high profile that he had withdrawn from the Yi family. And now Princess Xian Yu was saying that her withdrawal was invalid. Isn't that the equivalent of spitting and then swallowing it back yourself? Yufei, do you know what you're doing? Xian Zhangwa walked onto the stage and stared furiously at Xian Yufei. If you do this, you will drag the Xian family into doom do you know? Xian Yufei didn't let go of Yi Fan's hand as she stared at Xian Zhangwa with the same burning gaze. Second uncle. I'm already an adult. I'm very clear about what I'm doing. I just want to follow my heart and make the right choice. It wasn't my intention to withdraw from the marriage with Yi Fan yesterday. It was you. Second uncle. Who forced me? Today, you want me to marry Li Yunyang again. I will never agree to that. You. Xian Zhangwa was so angry that he waved his palm and wanted to hit Xian Yufei. But in the end he held back and continued to speak kindly. But, Yu Fei, you don't see it. Yi Fan has become a fool ah. He is not the demonic genius he was before. And now that the Yi family has fallen, there are very powerful opponents dealing with the Yi family. Can't you see? So what? So what if you're a fool? It's still a thousand times better than that human-faced scum Li Yun Yang. Concubine Xian Yu glanced at Yi Fan beside her. Her eyes filled with tenderness. Yi Fan also felt Xian Yu face change of heart. And his mood was also a bit complicated. This silly girl. Did she make up her mind when she asked herself to come along? Against the wishes of the family, and at Li Yunyan's engagement dinner, to so treacherous to declare his feelings for his own. Xian Yufei had indeed summoned up great courage and endured a lot alone. Is this making up for the damage done to you? But, 
What did Princess Xian Yu do yesterday? LOL. Xian Yu Fei's voice was not loud, but Li Yun Yang, who had just approached over, happened to clearly hear Xian Yu Fei's words, and was once again hit 10,000 times. Treadmill. What makes me a monster? What the hell did I do wrong? Even if Brother Fan is a fool, I'm willing to keep him. This is my own choice. Second uncle. If you want to marry the Li family, you can find someone else to marry him again. After saying that, Xian Yu Fei pulled Yi Fan's hand and was ready to leave the scene. Wow. In an instant, from around the stage, countless bodyguards and strong men emerged and surrounded Yi Fan and Xian Yu Fei. Stop. Do you think this is a vegetable garden? Come when you want and leave when you want? Li Yunyan walked out from behind the bodyguards and coldly stared at Yi Fan and Xian Yu Fei. Xian Yu Fei. I really don't know if it's you who was brain dead and has to follow a fool. The moment the words were just uttered, Li Yunyang immediately felt his asshole tighten. Just now, outside the gate, Li Yunyang had been cleaned up by Wang Fugue. Wang Fugue had said that if he ever dared to call Yifan a fool again, if he said a word, he would be slapped. However, with so many bodyguards around himself now, Wang Fugue shouldn't be able to make a move, right? Li Yunyang panicked and covered his face, then looked around and didn't see Wang Fugue's figure. Snap. But the next moment, a large hand suddenly slapped Li Yunyang's face from the side and back. Li Yunyang's face once again received a solid slap. Li Yunyang, do you really not have a long memory? This young man said, if you dare to curse my big brother again, curse once, I'll beat you once. Wang Fugue jumped on top of the table. His eyes swept over the crowd. Not only Li Yunyang, everyone here, don't let me hear you curse my big brother in the future. Crap, you're a big man. Li Yunyang was completely mad, just now outside. It was considered an accidental sneak attack. Li Yunyang just endured it. But now, this is in the banquet hall. They have so many bodyguards around them. And they are still beaten. The key around there are so many guests. That hit not their own face ah, but the face of the entire Li family. But also the face of godfather Lu Ran. Next to him, Li Zhong also couldn't sit still. Wang Fugue, even your father has to be polite when he sees me. What kind of dog are you? Someone come and teach him a lesson for his parents. With a wave of Li Zhong's hand, more experts rushed out. Among them were quite a few martial arts powerhouses. The scene instantly began to depress. A great battle seems to be about to begin. Knock knock. Li Hu took a bottle and banged it on the table a few times. What for? What are you doing? Can't we have a civilized discussion? Do we have to get physical? Those who are not afraid of death can try. Li Hu, the godfather of Cloud City's underground, spoke in a small voice, but on the ground in Cloud City, it was still very weighty. Those bodyguards who were restless at the scene instantly began to quiet down. On the one hand, it was naturally Li Hu's intimidation, and on the other hand, treadmill, behind Li Hu, a bare-chested burly man actually moved out a gatling with blue fire, a circle of black holes locked onto Li Yunyang and Li Zhong and the others. Is there any law? Is there any justice? There was no martial arts expert below the level of a patriarch, as well as ordinary people, who was not afraid of bullets yet. Is Li Hu so arrogant? He even brought the gatling. Li Yunyang and Li Zhong and the others were frozen, not daring to move a muscle. Can we talk properly now? Li Hu spoke faintly, and Li Zhong couldn't help but touch the beads of sweat on his forehead. How did Li Hu, the underground godfather of Cloud City, also get involved with Yi Fan? In this way, despite having Lu Ran's support, the Li family's actions in Cloud City are still a bit troublesome ah. When Fei Xian Yu saw the scene in front of her, there was also a moment of consternation in her heart. She had just heard about Sui Shui being hunted down. It was rumored that Li Hu and the governor of Cloud City had stepped in together and went to rescue Sui Shui, and that all of the old wolves of Wu were destroyed. These existences that could make Cloud City shake three times when they stomped their feet. Why would they help Sui Shue? It could only be for Yi Fan's face. But did Yi Fan really have that much face? Let's hope for the best for myself in the future. Li Zhong and Li Yunyang no longer dared to move around, and Xian Yu Fei took Yi Fan on her arm, stepping and preparing to walk towards the outside. However, Xian Zheng was suddenly spoke up. Slow down, concubine you. You'd better take a look at your father's condition in the hospital before making a final decision. While speaking, Xian Zhengwa dialed the cell phone video and then handed it to Xian Yufei. In the video, Xian Yufei's father, Xian Zhanghua, was lying on the hospital bed, and next to him, a middle-aged man in a white coat was holding a syringe filled with green liquid, with the tip of the needle pointed at Xian Zhengwa's neck, ready to inject it. Second uncle, what is this doing? When Xian Yufei saw the scene in front of her, her face suddenly changed and she stared at Xian Zhengwa angrily. The corner of Xian Zhengwa's mouth twitched, and he said in a low voice, Yu Fei, this is what you forced second uncle to do. What the doctor prepared on his side is nothing else, just arsenic or something like that. 
it can make your father never wake up just today if you dare to leave this hall for a step. The consequences you think about it yourself. Threats. Bare bones threats. Xian Zhangwa. Are you? You still a human being? Lying on the bed that is your own big brother. Xian Yufei incomparably angry stared at Xian Zhangwa. Eyes are about to spit fire. Completely unable to believe that in front of the eyes of the benevolent eyebrows of the second uncle. Actually can do this kind of thing. Humph. So what? Xian Zhangwa also completely tore his face off with Xian Yufei at this time. Originally, if you had obediently married Yun Li, I wouldn't have needed to go this far, but you had to cause so many demonic moths. Then don't blame me. Why did the old master have to give the Xian group to your father back then? Why should your family be in control of the Suan family? It's finally my turn today. You have 10 seconds to think. Take back what you just said and obediently marry Xiao Li, or else. Zuan's Hangwo didn't say anything after that, but it was obvious what the result would be. Vile. Using Xian Yufei's father to hold her. Xian Zhangguo had planned everything this long ago. Yifan stared coldly at Xian Zhangguo and then looked at Fei Xianyu. His attitude towards Fei Xianyu changed slightly in his heart. So it was all Zuan's Hangguo's fault? You are shameless. Xian Yufei angrily stomped her feet straight on the ground and looked at Yifan with some sadness. Originally, Xian Yufei thought that her resistance today would buy her a chance to be with Yifan. As a result, it looked like it was all going to work out. But it ended up like this. Brother Van, I... Xian Yufei was very conflicted in her heart. From the inside, she had never given up on Yifan. Even if Yifan was demented for five years, Xian Yufei would often come over to accompany Yifan. It was evident that Yifan was still very important in Xian Yufei's heart. But Xian Yufei mother gave birth to her after. Left, is the father single-handed Xian Yufei raised? The father's favor. Xian Yufei cannot possibly not care. The conflict between love and affection is a dilemma for the ages. The scene was once again stalemated and the guests throughout the hall, because they were separated by a distance, could not hear the conversation on the stage, nor could they see what was really happening. Only the bodyguards of the Lee family and Master Tiger's men were seen in a stalemate, and they simply couldn't get close even if they wanted to. The crowd has started to discuss it in whispers. On the stage, Li Yunyang and Li Zhong were relieved when they saw that Xin Zhenghua had taken Princess Xin Yu in hand. Li Yunyang married Xin Yufei, not for any love at all, but to make rice out of raw rice. Looking at the power behind Xian Yufei's mother. Therefore, no matter what means were used, as long as he could get Xian Yufei, that would be enough. Humph, Yi Fan, just you fool, just you trash. Are you still delusional enough to think of being with concubine you? Dream on. Li Yunyan walked towards Yi Fan with a dejected face. Tramp, just because I scolded you twice, I actually got beaten up. I have to fight back. Wang Fu Gui knew martial arts kung fu, so it was not good for Li Yunyan to make a move. But after Yi Fan was demented, he lost all his kung fu. The key is that now Xian Yufei is being held by Xian Zhengua. How can Li Yun Yang get out of this breath? How dare you? When Xian Yufei saw that Li Yun Yang was going to make a move on Yi Fan, she immediately got up and blocked in front of Yi Fan. Li Yun Yang, this is a matter between my Xian family and your Li family. How dare you try touching a hair on Yi Fan's head? Regarding Xian Yufei's threat, Li Yun Yang didn't even look at it. Ha ha, is it just the Xian family and Miley family? Xian Yufei, you're thinking too simply. By bringing this fool to the scene today, you've already stirred the Yi family back into the mix. Of course, even if he doesn't come today, he will soon have to go and reunite with those brothers of his. Li Yunyang glanced at the corner of his mouth, bypassed Xian Yufei, and stared at Yi Fan. Rubbish, is that all you can do is hide behind a woman? Li Yunyang was only focusing on his own words and didn't even notice that Yi Fan's eyes had gradually become gloomy. From Li Yunyang's consecutive words, Yi Fan had already heard that even if he didn't make a move against Li Yunyang today, the Li family seemed to be planning to make a move against the Yi family. Are those rivals of the Yi family so impatient? Getting the top 10 core disciples of the Yi family dead not to mention, but also the last of the Yi family, an old, a fool to drive to extinction? In that case, there's nothing polite about it. Unbridled, when Xia Hao and Li Hu and the others saw that Li Yunyang wanted to make a move on Yi Fan, they also chided and wanted to rush over. However, Yi Fan quietly winked at Xia Hao. This time, Yi Fan was going to do it himself, to kill Li Yunyang on the spot. It was a deterrent to the Li family and a way to make those behind the Li family tighten up. Is Young Li going to take me to my brother? Young Li is a good man. A good man yeah. Xian Yufei was still helping Yi Fan to block Li Yunyang. But Yi Fan clapped his hands and rushed out from behind Xian Yufei himself. Brother Fan. Xian Yufei had a bitter face as she tried to reach out and pull Yi Fan. How could Li Yunyang be so kind as to take you to his brother? He is going to kill you ah. Humph, idiot. Come over and stand still. When Li Yunyang saw that Yi Fan was actually demented enough to send himself to the door, 
A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and after telling Yi Fan to stand still, he swung his own palm, and then slapped it fiercely towards Yi Fan's face. Son of a bitch, how dare you? Wang Fugue was the angriest, and with a stomp of his ankle, he wanted to rush up and strike. Young Wang don't be in a hurry. Xia Hao hastily reached out and pulled Wang Fugue to a halt. Wang Fugue was this straight brain. Seeing Xia Hao obstructing himself three times, he was a bit angry. What do you mean? Xia Hao, what do you mean? Xia Hao, big brother is about to get beaten up. Can I not be anxious? Are you having an affair with Li Yunyan? Xia Hao a burst of speechless, also lazy to explain. Wang Xiao wait and then see well. You have to believe your big brother. Xia Hao rolled his eyes, and finally somewhat understood why Yi Fan didn't tell his most ironic brother that he had awakened. Looking at Wang Fugue's naive appearance, as long as he knew that Yi Fan had awakened, it was estimated that the whole country would soon know. Phew! Li Yunyang's palm slid through the void, causing a sound of air whistling. Li Zhong's mouth corner twitched. The heart breath seems to be relieved some. Eyes can't help but look towards Wang Fugue's side. Just now his own son does not Wang Fugue slapped. The face can finally find backing Yi Fan. But to Li Zhong's surprise, the expected sound of a crisp slap did not appear. The slap that Li Yunyang slapped over was easily avoided by Yi Fan with a tilt of his head. Moreover, Yi Fan reached out and grabbed Li Yunyang's wrist with one hand and curiously said, Young Li, are you helping me fight mosquitoes? There are no mosquitoes on my face? As Yi Fan spoke, a silver needle in his sleeve rapidly stabbed towards Li Yunyang's wrist. With this stab, Yi Fan did not have any reservations. The silver needle carried a powerful qi energy that impacted Li Yunyang's tendons, organs and bowels, and also used the power of salary corrosion. LOL. Xian Yufei and Li Hu and other people who did not know what was going on could not help but let out a long sigh in their hearts. Where is that person helping you to fight mosquitoes? People are to slap you ah. I. Ah. Hell. What are you doing? Li Yunyang just wanted to open his mouth to explain. Suddenly felt a sharp pain coming from his wrist, and instantly felt as if he had been electrocuted. The whole person was about to go limp. Yi Fan hastily let go of Li Yunyang's wrist and said with an innocent face, I, didn't do anything ah, did the mosquito bite you? I'll believe the hell out of you. Li Yunyang retracted his arm, looking at a small red lump on his arm, instantly feeling physically uncomfortable. It seemed like it was a little difficult to breathe, while there was even more of a force of something in his body, strangling his internal organs, tendons and veins. Yi Fan must have done something to himself. However, with Yi Fan's dumb look and clear eyes, anyone would think that Yi Fan was a fool. So how could he do anything to Li Yunyang? Yi Fan, I'll kill you. Li Yunyang still wanted to continue to make a move on Yi Fan, but Li Zhong beside him hurriedly scolded. Yunyang, stop. Today is the day of your engagement. Don't dirty your hands. As Li Zhong spoke, he turned his gaze toward Xian Zhengua. Xian Zhengua also reacted at this time, staring scorchingly at Xian Yufei. Ten seconds of time is up. Make a decision. Three. Two, one, I'll marry. When Xian Zhengwa counted down to one, Xian Yufei said with a sobbing voice, I'll marry, please don't hurt my father. Zhuan Zhengwo hung up the cell phone video with satisfaction. How much should it have been like this? Come on, give her the microphone and let her explain clearly to all the guests. Xian Zhengwa gestured towards Li Yunyang and the others, and someone soon passed the microphone to Xian Yufei. Xian Yufei looked at Yi Fan with a face of despair, her tear tracks staining her makeup. Brother Fan, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Xian Yufei silently swallowed her tears, herself and Yi Fan. After all, is it fate? You go. Xian Yufei owed a bow toward Yi Fan, and then toward Xia Hao, Li Hu, Wang Fugue and the others. Thank you. These people had come today with the intention of helping Yi Fan accomplish the marriage snatching. As a result, Li Hu's men did get the scene under control, but Xian Yufei's side had problems and retreated halfway. After saying that, Xian Yufei took the microphone and walked towards the front of the stage. Xia Hao turned his gaze like Yi Fan, wanting to see what Yi Fan meant. Yi Fan's face muscles twitched. He's sick. Li Xiao is sick. Can't get a wife. Ha. You're the one who's sick. Your whole family is sick. Li Yunyang got angry when he heard Yi Fan speak, and seeing Yi Fan and the others still standing in the hall, he scolded the bodyguards around him. What are you guys still waiting for? Why don't you kick them out? They are not welcome here. Before those bodyguards could make a move, Yi Fan had already stepped towards the outside. Not fun. People are going to die. People are going to die. The crowd didn't care about Yi Fan's words. Only Xia Hao's eyelids twitched fiercely a few times, combined with his previous experience. Xia Hao was already sure that the Li family was definitely going to suffer. Wang Fugue was still a bit indignant. Big brother, let's just forget about this today. It's obvious that sister-in-law Yu Fei was forced. As long as you're willing, big brother, I'll help you snatch your sister-in-law back. 
Yi Fan didn't respond and just giggled, leaving Wang Fugue speechless. Xia Hao hurriedly explained from the side, Young Wang, I said for you not to be in a hurry, maybe, the Li family's engagement banquet can't take place today? You still say don't be anxious, don't be anxious, and now in a mess like this, can I not be in a hurry? While the two were arguing, on the stage, Xian Yufei had already picked up the microphone and began to speak to the crowd. Everyone, I'm sorry ah, I was a bit out of line just now. I was the one who was drunk and talking nonsense. Today is my and Li Yunyan's engagement dinner. Everyone is welcome to come and support us. Xian Yufei spoke out of her mouth, but her eyes kept staring at Yi Fan's back. Xian Yufei knew that today, from the moment Yi Fan stepped through the door of the banquet hall, there would be no possibility between the two of them in the future. It's just a matter of being on separate sides of the world. Although there were a hundred things to do, Xian Yufei didn't have any solutions. Right, just now, Yufei got drunk and said some bad words. So don't mind ah, our engagement dinner continues. Please invite tonight's protagonist Li Yunyang, Li Xiao, to shine. Xian Zhangwei was a licking dog, enthusiastically helping to round up the scene. Big brother, say something, I really can't look away. As long as you say a sentence, old Wang must go to beat that son of a bitch for the rest of his life lying in bed and can't get down. Wang Fu Gue, who was about to walk out of the banquet hall, was almost furious, and Yi Fan was still dumbfounded, breaking his fingers in his hand and counting, 3, 2, 1, when Yi Fan finished his last count, on the stage, Li Yun Yang, who had just picked up the microphone, suddenly fell straight down on the stage, the body was convulsing violently, foaming at the mouth, and all seven orifices began to bleed, ah, Yun Yang, what happened to you, someone come quickly, quick, Call an ambulance. The scene was an instant mess, while the guests below were all in an uproar. Xia Hao breathed a sigh of relief in his heart and looked deeply at Yi Fan. This Yi Xiao in front of me is a master with a grudge. It's a good thing he wasn't a match for him. The change on the stage made Wang Fugue's eyes widen with excitement and shock. Crap, it really fell down? Is it really sick? Big brother, you really got ah. Halfway through his words, Wang Fugue looked at Xia Hao with some doubts. Mr. Xia. Did you guys know the result already? You guys must be hiding something from me, right? My big brother has awakened? Big brother, right? Wang Fugue circled around Yi Fan several times with an excited face. And then when he thought about what Yi Fan had said before, it seemed as if everything was under Yi Fan's control. That familiar feeling came back. Five years ago, when Yi Fan wasn't demented, every time something happened outside, Yi Fan was the one in control of the whole situation. One, two, three, three, two, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 plus 8, 8 plus 7. When Wang Fugue looked at Yi Fan with high expectations, Yi Fan started to read out the number children's song again. Old Wang, what's so not? I didn't sleep. Yi Fan's sentence immediately let Wang Fugue wilted. The original or their own overthinking? Yi Fan looked at Wang Fugue and the corner of his mouth twitched. You're too big and stupid to tell you when I wake up. Today was supposed to be a great event for Li Yunyang's engagement. But as soon as it started, it didn't go well. Xian Yufei entered with Yi Fan, and it was not easy for Xian Zhengbo to take Xian Yufei down. And the engagement banquet continued, but suddenly Li Yunyang directly collapsed. When the crowd called for an ambulance, Li Zhong went up to check Li Yunyang's breath, and a heart was already half cold. Li Yunyang has actually run out of gas. In just a few seconds, Li Yunyang is dead? Xian Yufei stood on the stage, looking at everything in front of her somewhat blankly. As if everything was so unreal. Li Yunyang died just like that? Then wouldn't you not have to marry? Xian Yufei's eyes swept around the hall, searching for Yi Fan's figure, and finally saw Yi Fan, who was about to leave. At the main entrance, when Xian Yufei looked at Yi Fan, Yi Fan Yi happened to be looking at Xian Yufei, in those eyes full of divine color. Xian Yufei seemed to see that demonic genius, the magnificent young man, was back. In her trance, Xian Yufei also saw Yi Fan gesture an okay sign to her. Is this? Yi Fan S Mass? Li Yunyang's death was deliberately caused by Yi Fan? So is Yi Fan really stupid or not? The scene was a mess, and no one paid any attention to the departing Yi Fan and the others. There was also no one left to pay attention to Xian Yufei and Xian Zhangwei. Let's go! Xian Zhangwei was a bit disillusioned. He had originally planned to cooperate with the Li family by marrying Yufei to Li Yunyang, so that Xian Zhangwei could control the Xian family faster and more securely, and even climb up to the Lu family in the provincial city. Although Xian Zhengwei's small Xian family prestige is not small, can interfere with Xian Yufei in many things, but Xian Yufei this line, is the year the old man personally appointed. If Xian Zhengwei directly sees power, the power is still a little insufficient. And now, the engagement scene Li Yunyang directly hung up, 
The marriage contract would naturally end, and with Li Zhong's only son dead, this matter would definitely not end so well. Whether or not Li Zhong would look for trouble with Xian Zhengguo at that time was not certain. Hmm. Xian Yufei gave a cold snort at Xian Zhengguo, not giving the second uncle a second glance, and quickly walked towards the hall beyond. Today's matter, Xian Zhengguo and Xian Yufei had completely torn their faces apart. The current situation was no longer as simple as Xian Zhengguo not giving Xian Yufei's father medical fees, but rather Xian Zhengguo had disguised Xian Yufei's father under control. Therefore, what Xian Yufei wanted now was to get her father out of the hospital arranged by her second uncle as soon as possible. Xian Yufei hurriedly came out from the hall and chased after Yi Fan all the way downstairs without seeing any trace of him. Yi Fan and Xia Hao, Wang Fugui and the others left in a car. At this time the time is still early. Sui Shui is still continue to busy company things. Yi Fan suddenly thought of just now Xian Zhangguo with Xian Yufei father blackmail Xian Yufei things, so he thought to go along to help Xian Yufei will be this hidden trouble solved. But that bastard Wang Fugui, after coming out of the hotel, had been close to Yi Fan, and Yi Fan didn't have a chance to open his mouth to Xia Hao at all. Big brother, have you awakened? Just tell me. I promise not to tell anyone else. Wang Fugui stared scorchingly at Yi Fan. This was already the 30th time he had questioned Yi Fan. Old Wang, why do you keep asking me if I'm awake or not? It's still daytime. I'm not sleeping at all. It's hot. Can you stay away from me? Yi Fan was a bit speechless. This stupid brother of his, although his head was a bit naive, he was actually still not stupid. After so many coincidences, he finally sensed something was wrong. While Wang Fugui moved towards the side, Yi Fan quietly sent a message to Xia Hao. After Xia Hao saw the message, he hurriedly ordered Li Hu to investigate the Xian family situation, and the news quickly came back. Turn around, go to the third people's hospital. Xia Hao gave the order to the driver in front. Wang Fugui looked curious. Mr. Xia, it's almost dark now. Shouldn't we go home immediately? What's the point of going to the third people's hospital? Xia Hao glanced at Yi Fan. A little helpless, he couldn't say that it was Yi Xiao who was going to save his former old husband, right? So it could only helplessly speak. Oh, didn't you see Miss Xian's father in the hospital earlier? By the way, go take a look and see if you can help in any way. Just this? Wang Fugui touched his head with some of this mind. Mr. Xia, you're a little too nice. Be careful of me hammering you? Wang Fugui, the simpleton. How could he feel that there was a weird smell in the air? A provincial superstar, a tycoon who dominates the southwest, has nothing to do every day. Following a fool around? Just because Yi Fan saved his life five years ago, he's helping Yi Fan from all directions at all costs? Not to mention helping Sui Shui. He also helped Xin Yu Fei. And now even Xin Yu Fei's father is going to help? But Wang Fugui's elm head couldn't figure it out for a while. And by the time he figured it out, Yi Fan had only made a high profile comeback. Don't worry, you've been around all this time and know that I don't mean any harm to Yi Xiao. Xia Hao couldn't help but cry and laugh at Wang Fugui's words. Li Hu, the underground godfather of Cloud City who followed the car, was obviously much smarter than Wang Fugui. When Xia Hao steeply wanted to investigate Xian Zhenghua's trail and also went to the hospital to see him, Wang Mang, one of the four great Vidra beside Li Hu, was a bit puzzled. Master Hu, do you think this big boss behind us is full of food for one day? Running around a fool every day. What's the picture? Shut up, don't talk nonsense. The boss's arrangement naturally has the boss's significance. You just execute it accordingly. Li Hu sternly rebuked Wang Mang and continued to speak. Also, I'm warning you guys, in the future, to Yi Xiao, be respectful enough, no matter if you meet or behind your back, you have to address Yi Xiao. Do you understand? If I hear you call Yang Yi a fool again, I'll cut out your tongues. From Xia Hao specially bringing himself to feast on Yi Fan. To Yi Fan's great display of power later on, rescuing Su Yi Shui at the time of crisis, to Li Yunyang's sudden and violent death later on. With all the things connected, Li Hu already had a vague guess in his heart. I'm only afraid that the demonic genius of the Yi family has already been revived by the giant dragon and awakened once again. Otherwise, how did the Zhao family perish, and Li Yunyang died so coincidentally? Moreover, the boss behind himself, Xia Hao is the existence of the majestic Southwest. So shrewd. Even if Yi Fan did save his life, but the cooperation with the Su family is already enough to repay the favor. The back of the world is still to be so knee jerk. Thinking about five years ago, the demonic extent of Yi Fan when he was at his peak, Li Hui's cannot help but emerge a touch of fire. Their own down to earth work, as long as you get a little bit of Yi Xiao's gift, I am afraid that they will be enough to be used in the future ah. And as it turns out, Li Hu's decision was exactly right. Years, later Li Hu is still showing off to his children and grandchildren. Think of the old man was how wise, while Yi Fan, Xia Hao, 
Li Hu and the others were rushing towards the Third People's Hospital. Xian Zhangwei was also panicking and directing his men. Quick, immediately notify the hospital side that Xian Zhanghua should be transferred away. Now Xian Zhanghua had completely torn his face off with Princess Xian Yu. Against the great power of the Xian group, the two are bound to have a fight. Xian Zhanghua, on the other hand, is a card in the hands of Xian Zhanghua, and before getting the big power of Xian group, Xian Zhanghua will not let go completely. When Yi Fan and Xia Hao were about to arrive at the hospital, they received a report from Li Hu's men. Mr. Xia, the hospital side seems to have noticed something. They are going through the transfer procedures and intend to move away. Stall them. As Xia Hao responded, he couldn't help but glance at Yi Fan. Is this the talent of a demonic genius? Foreseeing things is always a step ahead. If Yi Fan and the others had acted a little later, or waited for Princess Xian Yu to act, they were afraid that it would have been too late. By the time Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others arrived at the entrance of the intensive care ward number 306 of the inpatient department, a few of Li Hu's men and a few men arranged by Xian Zhengwa were confronting each other. I'm sorry, without Chief Xian's order, we can't let you take away Xian Zhenghua. Bang bang. Order Nima Ah, my big brother's old man. How dare you bully him? I'll kill you. Wang Fugue at this time also understand the intention of certain to come here. The face of Zhuan's hang was those men. Without any hesitation, directly two punches will be smashed burst them, escorting Yi Fan toward the ward. Xia Hao and Li Hu looked at each other, both somewhat helpless. This Wang Fugue is a real tiger. Those bodyguards who were smashed flying, endured the severe pain on their bodies and dialed Xian Zhengwa's phone. Second master, the situation is not good. Mr. Xia and Master Tiger, they've brought their men to rob people and have already entered the ward to go. On the other end of the phone, Xian Zhengwa was rushing towards the hospital with a gloomy face. Humph, the guy whose soul is still alive. Yi Fan is a fool now. Still following the desperate run. Don't know how to die. Don't worry. Already called the military side. Their men are coming up. When Yi Fan entered the ward, Xia Hao was very sensible and kicked out Wang Fugue and Li Hu, as well as all the patients in the room, leaving only Yi Fan behind. Wang Fugue was instantly displeased. Mr. Xia, what are you guys hiding from me again? Don't you trust my mouth that much? Xia Hao gave Wang Fugue a look without any good humor. Trust your mouth? Might as well believe there are ghosts in the world. Yi Fan saw that Xia Hao was unable to persuade Wang Fugue, so he had to speak up himself. Old Wang, I want to check his body and help him catch bugs. So you go out first, okay? Shame on you. All the other people's words. Wang Fugue wouldn't listen to them, but Yi Fan's words, no matter if they were right or wrong, Wang Fugue would definitely listen to them. Good, big brother. I'll be right outside. If you need anything, call me anytime. After Wang Fugue left, Xia Hao respectfully closed the door of the room and then guarded the entrance. Without any hesitation, Yi Fan quickly felt Xian Zhenghua's pulse and turned over his eyelids, just by sweeping his eyes twice. Yi Fan instantly understood, actually used 17 kinds of toxins. Ruthless enough, there was actually nothing at all wrong with Xian Zhenghua's body, per se. The car accident back then had only caused some superficial injuries, and Xian Zhenghua should have actually come to his senses a long time ago. The reason why he had been in such a coma was because someone had actually injected 17 types of toxins into Xian Zhenghua's body, and it was still a combination of toxins. With a toxin like this, as long as the order of detoxification was slightly wrong, it would be enough to kill Xian Zhenghua. Xian Zhenghua, this blood brother, really did put in some effort in order to deal with big brother. Yi Fan let out a cold smile. If this was the case, and other people came across it, they wouldn't even be able to discover it, let alone solve it. But the inheritance that Yi Fan had obtained from that dragon pattern ring was far beyond the comprehension of ordinary people. Shu Shu Shu, without any hesitation, Yi Fan quickly waved the silver needle in his hand and stabbed it towards Xian Zhenghua's body blood veins. Ghost Valley 13 needles, all of them. Soon, countless black lines began to gather in Xian Zhenghua's tendons, and in the end, all of them flowed out of the wound in Xian Zhenghua's finger. The room reeked with a foul odor. Some of the paper towels in the basin were festering with corrosion. This shows how powerfully harmful these toxins can be. Hmm, Yi Fan's silver needle had only just retracted half of it when Xian Zhenghua grunted from his mouth and slowly awakened. Seeing that it was Yi Fan in front of him, he immediately called out in surprise. Little Fan? It's me. Yi Fan made a silencing gesture to Xian Zhenghua. Uncle Xian don't be too loud. I believe the walls have ears. For so many years, Xian Zhenghua had actually been good to Yi Fan. Since Yi Fan and Xian Yufei grew up together as children, they didn't eat a lot of meals made by Xian Zhenghua. Xian Zhenghua nodded. I know. Even though I'm in a coma, I hear everything in the outside world clearly and plainly. Thank you for saving me. Is she alright? 
Yu Fei, that bastard Xian Zhengua, for the sake of the Xian group, he even dared to kill me, his own big brother. Xian Zhenghua chided in a low voice with an angry face, and Yi Fan's heart was also bursting with Wainer. Since Xian Zhenghua knew all about Xian Zhenghua, there was no need for Yi Fan to explain more. Yu Fei is fine, but Consort Yu has already announced that she broke off her engagement with me yesterday. Speaking here, Yi Fan also sighed for a while. Of course, Consort Yu was coerced into withdrawing from the marriage by her second uncle. Ha! Xian Zhenghua couldn't help but exclaim once again when he heard the news. That sinner! What has he done? Xiao Fan! I'm sorry ah, uncle knows that you must have suffered a lot of grievances, I'll go back and reconduct the engagement ceremony for you. Xian Zhenghua had also always treated Yi Fan as his own child, so the first thing he thought of after hearing this news was to make amends, but Yi Fan shook his head. No need for now, Uncle Xian. A lot of things have happened in the past few days, the Yi family has been almost wiped out. My uncles, brothers all died on the same day being attacked and killed. And those who want to deal with the Yi family have no intention of letting the Yi family go and letting me go. So, in the eyes of those outside, I'm still the same demented fool. I'm going to hide in the shadows and bring them all out. Those who are dealing with the Yi family won't spare any family that is connected to the Yi family. So it's best for the Xian family to stay away from the Yi family right now. In addition, some changes may have occurred within the Xian family right now as well. It's complicated. You need to move out from here immediately and have a safe place arranged by Fei Yu and I suggest that you don't awaken right away for the time being either, and support Fei Yu behind you. Yi Fan explained to Xian Zhenghua, wise and thoughtful thinking, the demonic genius from five years ago is back. Moreover, the current Yi Fan was clearly more mature and steady in his consideration than before. Such a good candidate for son-in-law. That son of a bitch Zuan's Hangguo, actually gave me a refund. When he thought of this, Xian Zhenghua couldn't wait to tear Xian Zhengwe apart alive. What's the matter? Uncle Shen can contact the Xia family head if he has something. He'll help deal with it. Yi Fan introduced Xia Hao and Xian Zhenghua. Xia Hao hurriedly went forward and shook hands with both Xian Zhenghua. Mr. Xian, please take care of me in the future. Nonsense. This is Yi Xiao's future husband. How can we not get along? Wow. Yi Fan was still chatting with Xian Zhenghua in the hospital room when a loud noise came from the corridor outside. A team of camouflage suited youths with loaded guns gathered at a fast pace towards the entrance of the ward. The leading youth had a major's rank pinned on his shoulder. The military is on the job. Keep out of the way or you'll be killed. This is Xian Zhengguo moved to the rescue. A major officer Guo Fei of the military department of Cloud City. A relative of Xian Zhengguo's wife's side. When he entered the military, Xian Zhengguo helped a lot. And when he heard that he was only here to help deter the punks in Cloud City, Guo Fei violated the law and brought someone. Which was also considered to return Xian Zhengguo's favor back then. But what Guo Fei didn't know was that he was dealing with bigwigs he couldn't shake. Sorry, private ward. No trespassing without Yi Xiao's order. Although they knew that the consequences of going against the military would be serious. Li Hu and Wang Fugui and the others did not hesitate for a second and still blocked the front. Click, click. Guo Fei waved his hand. And those camouflage clad henchmen immediately took the safety off the guns in their hands. Are you looking for death? By the looks of it, Guo Fei could open fire at any time. Sir. We naturally can't stop you from doing your business. Please produce the formalities from the relevant parties. Or we won't let it. Li Hu was, after all, the underground godfather of Cloud City and had seen big scenes. After a moment of slight panic, he immediately calmed down. The Xian family's just a comatose family head. Usually peaceful. What could he have committed? Besides, it's definitely not normal for the military to come now that people are unconscious. Procedures. Li Hu a sentence will Guo Fei and the side of the adjutant asked. Mouth stammers and do not know how to explain. They had come this time to help Xin Zhengwei to deter Li Hu and Yi Fan and the others. So where were the formalities? How dare you? What formalities do we need to carry out top secret missions in the military department? Do we still need to explain to you mole crickets? Get out of the way. If you don't get out of the way, don't blame the bullets for not taking care of you. Hua Fei, as a major, also reacted very flexibly and defused the situation with a single sentence. No formalities, without Yi Xiao's order. Ransom we can't follow orders. Li Hu coldly answered and greeted towards the surrounding men. Brothers, all copied and prepared to fight. I would like to see how the military actually dares to make a move against us. Wow. On the corridor, all of Li Hu's brothers, all of them lit up the guys on their bodies and confronted these men of Guo Fei. Li Hu brought these men are the first line. Followed Li Hu licked blood on the knife's mouth. For Li Hu's order. Completely is resolute implementation. At such a close distance, even if Guo Fei's men had guns in their hands, they were outnumbered. So if they really fought for their lives, Guo Fei's men wouldn't necessarily be able to gain any advantage. 
What do you want, rebellion? Guafei chided Li Hu and the others in a loud voice, his eyes sharp, while his heart was a little worried. Are these people so desperate? Your own camouflage isn't even a deterrent anymore? Guafei is also a little worried. If things really get out of hand and let his superiors know, he will not be able to eat and walk ah. Sir, don't put such a big hat on us. We just want to see the formalities. Li Hu continued to dislike. A comatose patient lying in a hospital room. We really can't think of any top secret mission that he would be associated with. Unbridled, Guafei's mouth chided, but he couldn't find any words to retort. Brothers, prepare to strike. Click, click. It was the sound of a bolt being pulled. All of the brothers under Guafei raised their guns, and a solemn atmosphere instantly filled the air. A great battle could break out at any time. Squeak. It was at this time that Jifan and Xia Hao walked out from the room. Seeing the situation in front of them, Xia Hao looked stunned and before he could open his mouth, Yi Fan opened his mouth first. Ha, huh, why are so many soldier brothers here? Are you guys holding real guns? Yi Fan curiously stepped forward and reached out to touch the barrel of the gun in the hand of one of the youths. The youth's body swayed, avoiding Yi Fan, looking for death. Get out of the way. As he spoke, the youth reached out and pushed Yi Fan. Clunk. As Yi Fan's body swayed, a metal object fell from Yi Fan's body and happened to roll to the feet of Lieutenant Guafei. The deputy picked up the metal object in his hand and gave it a casual glance, not really caring about it. Turning around, he was ready to throw it in towards the nearby trash can. What is it? Although Guafei had only caught a glimpse just now, he felt that the pattern on the object was somewhat familiar, and his heart couldn't help but thump. Oh, I can't see it. A round metal block with a turtle pattern engraved on it. Ugh. There are four golden stars. The adjutant took the object in his hand and looked at it for two more times, and reported back to Guafei that the hell knows from which garbage heap I picked it up. Knock. The deputy threw the thing straight into the trash. Wait. After listening to the description of the adjutant, Guafei's heart beat violently and furiously, and he panicked and rebuked towards the adjutant. But it was already too late. Nima. If the pattern described by the adjutant was correct, that was the token of one of the four heavenly kings of the Xuanwu exhibition area. Ah. With a rank above that of a four-star general, an existence that could command millions of military forces in the eight southeastern provinces. This token, it's actually in the hands of that Fui fan? What? The adjutant was a bit puzzled by Guofei's action. But in the next moment, Guofei went crazy and flew over towards the trash can, reaching out to rummage through it in a burst of drama. Boss, the adjutant looked directly stunned. Dirty trash can. Ha, huh? what's wrong with you? Was that thing important just now? Shut up, Guafei was already starting to sweat. He had a premonition that that thing on Yifan's body was more than likely real. In that case, even if he had ten heads, they wouldn't be enough to fall off. Those men around Guafei all looked at each other. Is this, a fight now or not? The surrounding Li Hu and Xia Hao's men, as well as Wang Fugue and the others, were also confused when they saw the scene in front of them. What the hell is going on here? A random thing that fell off of Yi Xiao's body made a major so alarmed? Only Xia Hao knew that Yi Fan definitely didn't happen to fall. Yi Fan definitely did it on purpose. Found it. Wu Fei broke the trash can directly into eight pieces and finally found the token that the adjutant had just thrown. After holding it in front of his eyes and looking at it carefully for a couple of moments, Wu Fei's entire body directly went limp. Imitation of a pseudo sign, coding everything exactly right. Nima, that young master of the Yi family, who everyone thought was a fool, was actually one of the four heavenly kings of the Xuanwu war zone. Who can know that? Subordinate, greetings to the heavenly king under the Xuan Wu banner. We are guilty of a capital offense. Guafei prostrated himself on the ground while berating his men to all kneel down. The area where Guafei was located was completely under the scope of the Xuan Wu war zone. Ah, the king of heaven, who was under one person and above 10,000 people, wanted to crush him, a small major. Wouldn't it be a matter of moving his fingers? Those men of Guafei's, although they didn't understand what was happening, but seeing Guafei move like that, they knew that things were definitely in trouble. The heavenly king atones. Hiss. The situation at the scene, because of the appearance of a token, instantly reversed 180 degrees. This reversal came a little too violently. Li Hu and Wang Fugue and the others were all still a little unresponsive. Yi Fan looked at Guo Fei and the others. The corner of his mouth gently twitched as he deliberately said with great surprise, Ha, huh, why are you guys suddenly kneeling down? This is New Year's worship? Isn't it not the New Year yet? Quickly get up. Quickly get up. Subordinate does not dare. Guofei knelt on the ground, where he dared to move. We didn't know it was the heavenly king's palace. Please atone for your sins under heavenly king. As he spoke, Guofei respectfully handed the token to Yi Fan. Yi Fan curiously took the token in his hand and looked at it twice. Is this thing mine? How come I don't know? Forget it. Don't you guys kneel on the ground. 
It's cold. Yi Fan casually stuffed the token into his pocket. It looks like gold. It should be able to be exchanged for quite a lot of money. Thanks ah. Keep the secret for me oh. Otherwise others will come and grab my gold. Yi Fan's words caused Guo Fei's entire body to stare blankly. Sky King. What does this mean? Is Yi Fan really stupid? Or is he just a fake? When Guo Fei looked towards Yi Fan full of doubts, he abruptly saw a flash of sharpness in Yi Fan's eyes. The threat was clear in that look. And there was a dark nod. Boom. A thunderbolt instantly exploded in Guo Fei's head. That young master of the Yi family isn't a fool at all? Quietly becoming one of the four heavenly kings of the Xuan Wu war zone. This should be the highest military rank reached among the descendants of the Yi family. Right? The Yi family's old man created the heavenly dragon army. And was honored as the king of northern Liang. And was ultimately feared by the royal family. And now, although the Yi family has been backstabbed, is there finally someone to succeed them? After just a few seconds of quick thinking, Guo Fei immediately understood that Yi Fan was telling him to keep his secret and get lost immediately. My subordinate will retire. I will definitely honor Heavenly King's orders. Guo Fei quickly climbed up from the ground, greeted his men, and as he turned to leave, Guo Fei didn't forget to remind. Xiao Yi please pay attention to Xian Zhangguo. In fact, without the need for Guo Fei to remind him, Yi Fan naturally knew that this was the rescuer that Xian Zhangguo had invited. Big brother? What was that thing you just had? It was so fierce, it can shock a major into such fear? Big brother, are you hiding something from me? Quickly let me see. As soon as Guo Fei left in front of him, Wang Fugue stepped forward and grabbed Yi Fan's arm, wanting to see that token just now. Wang Fugue's grandfather was Yi Fan's grandfather's vice general, and Wang Fugue knew something about the military. The four heavenly kings of the Xuan Wu army. Ah, that was an existence that majestically dominated the entire Grand Xia. The Yi family's old man had said that if just one heavenly king appeared in the heavenly dragon army, he wouldn't have to worry about the heavenly dragon army being disbanded. Don't even think about it. Old Wang, are you trying to rob me of my gold? Let me tell you, even if you are my brother, you can't. Yi Fan hurriedly covered his pockets tightly, as if he was afraid that Wang Fugue would snatch his token away. A black line floated on Xia Hao's face as he watched from the side. He was very clear about Yi Fan's situation. LOL. It's really hard for Yi Xiao up. Obviously already awakened, but still have to pretend to be a fool. However, Yi Xiao's acting skills, that was really one of a kind. Yi Xiao now acting like a fool, can't say like, simply is exactly the same as the real fool. Yi Xiao such a level, go to Hollywood, surely take an Oscar villain gold award back ah. If you don't look, you don't look, big brother. I'm just curious. Wang Fugue never brushed off Yi Fan's wishes, and since Yi Fan didn't agree, Wang Fugue didn't continue to ask. However, the attitude of Li Hu, as well as his brothers on the scene, towards Yi Fan, instantly underwent a heavenly transformation, and there was no longer any underestimation. Before, when Xia Hao knelt down to Yi Fan, they still didn't understand. Although he carried out Xia Hao's orders and treated Yi Fan with respect, it was all because of the suppression of Xia Hao and Li Hu's authority. But now that a token casually dropped from Yi Fan's body made the camouflage clad major kneel and submit, Yi Fan was already an unoffendable existence in their hearts. Xian Zhanghua in the room also took in the situation outside through the crack in the door and heard it clearly. Damn Xian Zhanghua, look at what you've done. It was supposed to be a splash of riches for the Xian family, but you pushed it away from me hard. Really want to strangle you. No way. Such a wonderful son-in-law can never be let go just like that. But, Yi Xiao also said that he will continue to pretend to be unconscious in front of concubine you. So how on earth should we remind concubine you? There has to be a way to do that. At the entrance of the ward. Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others didn't wait long before Xian Yufei rushed over with a few security guards. Seeing those bodyguards who fell on the ground, as well as Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others, Xian Yufei instantly understood. Second uncle must have sent people to try to hold his father hostage. And Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others arrived early to save his father. It was also fortunate that it was Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others who had acted, or else by the time he arrived, he was afraid that his father would have already been taken away by his second uncle's people. Father was held hostage in the hands of the second uncle, Xian Yufei. Although there is hanging Xian's group of many patriarchs support, but always will throw a rat ah. Van, thank you. Xian Yufei's face was full of deep emotion. She went forward and wrapped her arms around Yifan's neck. Then she intended to kiss towards Yifan's mouth. Once they were lovers, but that wonderful opportunity, Xian Yufei didn't seize it. Now, after so many things, Xian Yufei was even more determined in her inner choice. Even if Yifan was a fool. Xian Yufei was willing to be Yi Fan's woman. Seeing that Xian Yufei's red lips were about to touch Yi Fan's mouth, but Yi Fan suddenly pushed Xian Yufei away. Shy, Yi Shui wife said, can't kiss with other girls, don't. 
Yu Fei, you are not my wife anymore, we can't kiss. Yi Fan's words immediately caused Xian Yu Fei's entire body to freeze in place, not Van's wife anymore. These words, like a thorn, penetrated deeply into Xian Yu Fei's heart with a stabbing pain. Yeah, since yesterday, she herself admitted in front of so many people that she broke off her engagement with Yi Fan. Second uncle's announcement, one did not resist and acquiesced, which was a great harm to Yi Fan. Now although Yi Fan's IQ had dropped, Xian Yufei clearly remembered the loss in Yi Fan's eyes yesterday, perhaps, although Yi Fan's IQ had declined, deep down he was definitely still thinking of himself, unconditionally believing in himself, and even treating himself as a dependent, but he himself chose to leave when he needed him most, after all, I'm the one who's sorry to Fan, tears were welling up in her eyes, but Xian Yufei adjusted instantly and made a decision in her heart, since you have made a mistake, you should make amends, right now, brother Fan is still in a state of dementia, isn't he? Then he would be twice as nice to him. Maybe after he came to his senses, he would forgive himself and break the mirror. Brother Fan, yesterday's matter was dominated by the second uncle. Of course my acquiescence also caused harm to you. I sincerely apologize to you, but I won't give up. Today in front of so many people, I Xian Yufei swear that in this life, I am only Yi Fan's woman. I'll make it up to you bit by bit for the damage I did to you before. Brother Van, please be sure to give me this chance. With every word, Princess Xian Yu spoke forcefully. The crowd all listened and looked at each other. That's a dramatic reversal. It was only yesterday that the Xian family announced that they were withdrawing from the Yi family. And then they want to remarry? Xia Hao's eyes couldn't help but narrow. Could Xian Yu Fei have seen what Yi Xiao was hiding? Li Hu and the others were somewhat contemptuous. You think the Yi family is a food market where you can come and go as you please? Although Yi Fan had little expression on his face, his heart was somewhat complicated. To say that there were no feelings for Xian Yu Fei, that was a lie. The two had grown up together as children, childhood sweethearts, and had experienced so much beauty. How could they say that they could forget? However, Xian Yufei wanted to come back now, but Yi Fan couldn't possibly let go that easily. Besides, if he agreed to face Xian Yu, what should he do about his seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law? Don't, you don't want mine first. I already have a wife. Yi Xue's wife is the best. She said she would give me big fat boys. Yi Fan said with a naive face, his eyes full of happiness. Xian Yufei watched with another heartache. Last night, something must have happened, but one must not give up. Never mind, brother Fan, I'll work hard. Xian Yufei endured the pain within her heart and bowed towards Xia Hao and the others. Thank you all, I'll go and settle my father down first, and then I'll treat all of you to dinner to show my appreciation. Saying that, Xian Yufei stepped towards the ward. She's afraid she'll really hold back the tears if she continues. Yi Fan looked at Xian Yufei's forlorn back, and his heart was also a little hard to bear. But there are many things that Yi Fan can't say too clearly now. Moreover, Xian Yu Fei had withdrawn from the marriage by default, and if he wanted to go back to the old days, he had to pay some price, right? Anyway, one is a fool, and no matter how outrageous one does something, everyone understands. What Yi Fan was worried about now was that Sui Shui's company's prescription had been stolen. How should this matter be resolved? Yu Linglong had said that she would invite the great summer medical sage Lei Qianjie to come and cure herself, so she hoped that the old man would come earlier. Yi Fan just thought of this. The cell phone on his body called. It was his wife Sui Shui calling. Xiao Fan, good news. Sister Linglong has already brought Elder Lei on her way to Yun City. The great summer medical sage elder is out to help. Your dementia situation can definitely get better. Listening to Sui Shui's words on the phone, Yi Fan also secretly let out a sigh of relief. If Lei Qianjie came, then the matter of Yi Fan giving the prescription would be solved. It was just that Yi Fan was a little worried that Lei Qianjie had come to cure himself of his dementia, and he was afraid that some people wouldn't be so happy about it. Will they create obstacles for Master Ray on the way? Ish Yue's wife. When are they coming? Is it by airplane? Yi Fan decided to pay a little attention. After all, Lei Qianjie was a great Xia medical saint, and a very respected medical talent for great Xia, so he should not perish in the course of the struggle. At the same time, Yi Fan also wanted to follow the trail and go head on with those who had made a move against the Yi family. Our Mr. Wang and Mr. Xia by your side? You give them the phone. I'll talk to them. Sui Xue was still a bit uneasy about Yi Fan, afraid that if she said it, Yi Fan might not be able to remember it. Yi Fan smiled bitterly and handed the phone to Xia Hao next to him, and Sui Xue quickly gave Xia Hao the flight information in time. When Xia Hao handed the phone to Yi Fan, he instantly understood in his heart that Yi Fan was trying to go to the airport to pick up Mr. Lei, the current situation was complicated. Although there was Yu Linglong along the way, Yi Fan still wanted to ensure Mr. Lei's safety. There must be Yi Xiao's considerations. 
Go, let's go to the airport. At this time, it was less than an hour before the flight landed, and it was just the right time for Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others to go over. While greeting the crowd, Xia Hao instructed Li Hu, Brothers, be smart, and report any suspicious people to me at any time. Now Li Hu and his brothers are all energized. They had already seen that Yi Fan's underpinnings were extremely powerful, even if Yi Fan was a fool. With the Yi family being suppressed, Yi Fan hadn't suffered any losses until now. Moreover, the Zhao family, which was against the Yi family, had bizarrely exterminated their family. Li Yun Yang, who wanted to touch Princess Xian Yu, perished on the spot. Although they weren't smart, they vaguely knew that Yi Fan was afraid that he was holding back a big move. If Yi Fan awakened one day, then those of them who followed Yi Fan would be one man. One man, while Yi Fan and the others were on the move. In the northwest, in a secret residence somewhere, an old man was quietly listening to his men's report. Pavilion Elder, I just got the news that Yu Linglong actually invited the great summer medical saint to treat Yi Fan, and is already on his way to Yun City. The middle-aged man in front of the old man responded grimly. Lei Qianjie's relationship with Yi Changfeng was very good before. If it really works this time, with Yi Fan's talent, we're afraid that we'll be in trouble? The teacup in the old man's hand turned a bit, his eyebrows raised, but instead he said faintly, So, what do you want to do? I've already sent people to lurk at the Yunchang airport, and we'll stop halfway to dissuade Mr. Lei, I hope he'd better listen to persuasion. Otherwise, I'll have to apologize. The middle-aged man made a neck-wiping motion. The meaning was obvious. Intending to directly settle Lei Qianjie, you have to think clearly. Mr. Lei is a national hand hand appointed by the royal side, a treasure of Dixia. If anything goes wrong, what are the consequences? You know, the old man didn't make his attitude clear, didn't support or oppose. The middle-aged man certainly understood what the pavilion elder meant. Don't worry, pavilion elder, as long as I can stop the Yi family from recovering, I will bear all the consequences, and this matter has nothing to do with pavilion elder. The pavilion elder nodded in satisfaction. Go, in addition, urge, how is the blocking action against the Su family going? How is it that up to now? A small Su family has not been resolved? The middle-aged man's eyebrows all moved, having wanted to report on the Li family's actions. But just now, I got the news that the Li family had successfully stolen the core prescription of the Su family, and had just held a conference for less than an hour when he suddenly died violently at the engagement banquet with Princess Xian Yu. The Qi Yi fan was also present. This incident had a great impact on the Li family. The Li family's subsequent actions may have to be slowed down. If you report it truthfully, the cabinet minister is afraid that he will be angry again. So it's better to deal with it quietly by yourself. Don't worry, pavilion elder. I will definitely press for it. If it can't be resolved within two days, I will personally make a trip to Cloud City. With the demise of the Zhao family and the sudden death of Li Yunyang, the middle-aged man always had a feeling in his heart that something was not right. I'm afraid that just relying on the Lu Ran family in Tianan province and those few families in Cloud City won't solve the problem at all. Ah, Cloud City Airport. Before Yi Fan and Xia Hao and the others arrived, quite a few brothers under Li who had already lurked at the airport. Master Tiger. According to the brothers' observation, at least 20 to 30 unfamiliar faces have appeared at the airport. What do we need to do? Master Tiger's men respectfully reported towards Li Hu. Li Hu's face darkened. Why do you still need to ask me? Remove them all. But, Li Hu's men were a bit embarrassed. Master Tiger, most of them have no problem cleaning up, but several of them are martial arts powerhouses, and there are even masters above the realm of martial arts mastery. Ah, no one of the brothers is there are their opponents. This, hearing this news, Li Hu was also stunned. Although Li Hu was the underground godfather of Cloud City, the brothers under him were limited in strength, and they had no problem with ordinary people, but they could not do anything against those who were really strong. Next to him, Yi Fan frowned and quietly glanced at Wang Fugue. There was a plan in his heart. It seems that just being powerful won't work. It was still necessary to train a group of powerful experts as soon as possible. I'll stab them with a needle and drive them away. He he he. Seeing Xia Hao looking towards himself, Yi Fan opened his mouth in a naive manner. A sentence that made Xia Hao instantly breathe a sigh of relief. Xia Hao was probably aware of Yi Fan's strength. Now that Yi Fan should have completely recovered his kung fu as well. Nothing should go wrong with Yi Xiao sitting in on it. Take Yi Xiao over to take a look. Yi Xiao might have a solution. Xia Hao rushed Li Hu opened his mouth to. Next to him Wang Fugue was a little worried. Mr. Xia, is this, my big brother okay? It's better for me to step in first. If even I can't deal with it, my big brother will step in again. Good, you help me beat them up. Yi Fan wasn't too good at always stepping in, and with Wang Fugue rushing ahead, Yi Fan had less trouble. After receiving Yi Fan's permission, Li Hu's men, 
led Wang Fugue, Yi Fan's men, towards the airport crowd. Over there, a few of Li Hu's men were staring at a man wearing a duck tongued hat. The man was sneaky, and when he saw Yi Fan and the others approaching, he was immediately alert and wanted to flee away and leave. But Wang Fugue stepped forward and grabbed the man by the neck with a dark force impact. Where to run? Pust, directly knocked out control, and then by Li Hu's two men, assisted towards the airport outside. Put, put. In the huge airport, in all corners, there were constantly Li Hu's people striking, and Wang Fugue cooperated to strike together, and in the blink of an eye, they cleared a large portion of those killers lurking, there are three more behind us, they are very strong, young Wang should be careful, in fact, without Li Hu's men saying anything, both He Fan and Wang Fugue noticed it, the three men over there were hidden in the middle of a bunch of travelers, but the martial arts aura on their bodies couldn't be hidden, and when He Fan looked over there, they had been looking over here as well. They were the core members of this operation. And just now they realized that in just two minutes, all those people who were set up at the airport suddenly couldn't be contacted. So they started sweeping towards the surroundings, wanting to look for those men of theirs. And then they saw Yi Fan and Xia Hao, Wang Fugue and the others coming over. Boss, that fool Yi Fan is also here. And there's that old bastard Xia Hao beside him. The situation is a bit bad, ah? Uh? One of the skinny men watched the movements of Wang Fugue and the others as they surrounded him and said with some apprehension to a youth wearing glasses beside him. The youth with glasses is relatively calm. What are you afraid of? We didn't do anything. There are so many people here. Can they still do anything to us? Glasses youth just said half of the words, steeply saw the airport exit. His own several men were Li Hu's people precisely escorted out, heart instantly also not calm. Those few henchmen, all of whom the spectacled youth usually instructed personally, were already martial arts experts, and they were actually captured without moving? With a little thought, the young man with glasses immediately understood that his men who could not be contacted should all be controlled by Yifan and Xia Hao's people. That strong? How on earth did they do that when everyone but their own three were instantly under control? Other people he is not afraid, but Wang Fugue himself is a strong person in the realm of martial arts control. If the commotion is too big, this is after all the Cloud City International Airport. There is also an official strong man sitting in the town. At that time, he will not be able to end up in a good way ah. He had come to stop or assassinate Lei Qianjie, and if he was delayed by other things, it would not be easy for the top to explain. And what was even more annoying was that apart from Wang Fugue, when that spectacled young man and Yi Fan locked eyes, he realized that Yi Fan's body was also stirring with martial arts qi, and it wasn't weak at all? What's the situation? Didn't the intelligence say that Yi Fan had lost all his powers after becoming demented? How is it that Yi Fan's strength has been restored now? You guys block them. I'll go over to block Lei Qianjie. The spectacled youth glanced at the big screen, and it showed over there that Lei Qianjie's flight had already arrived, and that Lei Qianjie's figure had been vaguely seen in the place of the exit passage. According to the explanation from above, it was best to deter Lei Qianjie first, so that he would know what to do, and if Lei Qianjie insisted on entering the Cloud City to save Yi Fan, only then would they really take action. The two brothers of the spectacled youth, although they were unhappy in their hearts, they did not dare to disobey the youth's orders. When Xia Hao and Wang Fugue and the others surrounded them, the two youths had already taken the initiative to walk out. You guys have a lot of guts, you dare to spoil our good deed. The two youths locked onto Wang Fugue and instantly began to strike at him. The strength of those two youths was also in the martial mastery realm, and Wang Fugue's strength was almost in this realm. So if it was two against one, Wang Fugue would really be a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, big brother, what are you running for? You took my doll, give it back to me. Yi Fan stared at the spectacled youth who left, and while chortling from his mouth, he dashed over. The moment his body flickered, a melon popped out of his hand, which happened to block the bloodline of one of the two martial arts experts dealing with Wang Fugue. Pust, that martial arts powerhouse, seeing that he had already rushed to Wang Fugue, was just about to make his move when his body suddenly froze. Before he could react to what was going on, he was directly slammed to the ground by Wang Fugue's punch. Such a scene, in the eyes of outsiders, looked as if that martial arts powerhouse had taken the initiative to send himself to his death, allowing Wang Fugue to violently beat him up. Crap, this. Wang Fugue was also stunned by what was in front of him and didn't know what was going on. But with one of the two great martial arts experts down, the remaining one was much easier for Wang Fugue to deal with. With just three punches and two punches, he beat that martial arts powerhouse back. Suddenly seeing Yi Fan chasing towards another spectacled young expert, Wang Fugue was anxious. Big brother, don't run around. Wait for me. The strength of that spectacled youth was only higher than Wang Fugue. If Yi Fan rushed up and something happened, how could he explain to Mrs. Yi Shui? Before Sui Shui left, 
she asked herself to take care of Yi Fan, who couldn't afford to make any mistakes. Xia Ha knew the real situation of Yi Fan and hurriedly brought Li Hu to follow him, while saying to Wang Fugue, Young Wang, I will go over and follow. Young Wang don't need to worry, you have to trust your big brother. Think about how old Wolf Wu died. Xia Hao's words immediately awakened Wang Fugue. At that time, when Sui Shui was being chased by old Wolf Wu and the others, Yi Fan rushed in on his motorcycle. That could have hung old Wolf Wu out of shape. At that time, Wang Fugue clearly felt the martial aura stirring in Yi Fan. Could it be that Big Brother has partially awakened to Kung Fu even though he's not sober? On the other side, that spectacled young man was being chased by Yi Fan. His heart was running wild with 10. 000 C Nima's. Nima, when did I take your doll? That fool from the Yi family, is he really a fool? or is he a fake fool? However, those travelers around were unknown. Seeing Yi Fan naively chasing after him, and even some travelers tried to stop the spectacled youth. Look at you. You wear glasses, and you look like a gentleman. So why grab a little kid's doll now? Quickly take it to him. Right. Ungenerous. Don't run away. Where can you run to? The spectacled youth greeted the ancestors of these people. Get lost. The spectacled youth stared at the passageway in front of him with a deadly stare. As long as he turned another corner he would be able to see Lei Qianjie, there were also his own people lurking over there, and with the cooperation, even if Lei Qianjie refused to cooperate, with Yu Linglong, a sect master powerhouse, protecting him, his own side would be able to take care of Lei Qianjie, the spectacled youth continued to run wildly towards the front, and the more he ran, the more wrong he felt, because even though he was running very fast and had used his martial chi, what shocked him was that Yi Fan had actually kept up with him, not falling behind, and even had the intention of overtaking him? Is this what a fool should look like? Could it be that Yi Fan's demonic talent had awakened? While the Ai youth was shocked in his heart, he once again accelerated his speed, seeing that it was already less than two meters away from the Lei Qianjie silhouette in front. Mr. Lei, the spectacled youth was all set to open his mouth when he suddenly felt his back being dragged by a hand and yanked violently towards the back. Yeah, finally caught you. Bring me my doll. Quickly return my doll. The spectacled youth were all hardened and ripped backward several feet, pulling away from Lei Qianjie. Nima, killer was getting pissed off. Was I being held back? And at this moment, Yu Linglong who was following Lei Qianjie's side also reacted. What do you want to do? Yu Linglong coldly stared at the spectacled youth, her whole body aura fully opened. In the next moment, Yu Linglong saw Yi Fan and her pupils could not help but dilate. Yi Fan, why are you here? Yu Linglong frowned. What was Yi Xue doing? Wasn't she asked to take care of Yi Fan during the first month? Why did Yi Fan run to the airport alone? Crap. Nima. You're a big man. The spectacled youth greeted all the nationalists inside him at this time. Get lost. Old me didn't take any of your bullshit dolls. Get the hell out of here. The spectacled youth stared at Yi Fan with a deadly stare. And his heart was moved to kill. Anyway, what was explained from above was not to let Lei Qianjie succeed in curing Yi Fan. Then if he killed Yi Fan directly. Wouldn't that be considered completing the mission? When he moved to push Yi Fan, the young man with glasses used a little bit of force on his hands, and there was a vague chi force that impacted towards Yi Fan's body. Even if he couldn't kill Yi Fan, he could at least waste him on the spot. However, after a chi force impacted out, the spectacled youth realized that something was wrong, and found that after all of his martial arts chi force impacted towards Yi Fan, the mud went into the sea of cows and there was no response whatsoever, and Yi Fan's body stood still without any movement. More critically, as Yi Fan flipped his wrist, the Eyed Youth suddenly felt a stabbing pain in his arm. What followed immediately was a powerful chi power actually coming towards his body, instantly starting to corrode his tendons and veins, as well as his vitality power. In just an instant's effort, the spectacled youth perceived that his martial arts kung fu had fallen from the sect master realm to the martial arts mastery realm. What's going on with this? You, what the hell did you do to me? The spectacled youth shouted with a terrified face, wanting to pull away from Yi Fan. And at this time, Yu Linglong had already reacted. And when she saw the spectacled youth pushing Yi Fan, she immediately jumped up and down with fury. Unbridled. What are you doing? Moving my man. Looking for death. Boom. Without any hesitation, Yu Linglong's entire body strength above the zone sure level erupted as she slammed her fist towards the spectacled youth's chest. Click. Click. The spectacled youth swung his arms to block almost instinctively, barely blocking Yu Linglong's attack. But the bones of his arms in both hands shattered inch by inch and his body staggered back towards retreat. The spectacled youth was still thinking about how to organize an effective counterattack when his body convulsed violently, then bleeding from all seven orifices, he directly collapsed on the ground, instantly devoid of any living power. Dead? In such a situation, Yu Linglong and the arriving Xia Hao, 
Li Hu and the others were stunned. Yu Linglong's pupils dilated for a moment. She herself knew best how much strength she used. Obviously, it was just using the peak strength of control. It was true that he could make this youth in front of him seriously injured, but to directly kill him with one move, it was unlikely. Ah, what the hell is going on here? It suddenly occurred to Yu Linglong that the spectacled youth was chortling just now, saying that Yi Fan had stabbed him in the hand how. Could it be that Yi Fan made a move? But Yi Fan was clearly in a state of dementia right now. How could he behead this Zong Shi level expert so easily? And, even if they were to be decapitated, what could a burst of needles do? Jade Linglong was full of doubts as she searched for Yi Fan, and at that moment, Yi Fan had already dodged behind Lei Qianjie. Behind Lei Qianjie, another plaid shirt youth had already approached Lei Qianjie and quietly whispered in Lei Qianjie's ear, Mr. Lei, you'd better leave Cloud City immediately. Don't intervene in saving the Yi family's young master. Otherwise, we'll have no choice but to send you on your way. Aha, uh -huh. Lei Qianjie, as the great summer medical sage, while his medical skills were amazing, he also knew some martial arts kung fu himself. Lei Qianjie's connections in Dasha were very powerful, so powerful that almost no one dared to touch Lei Qianjie. And now, someone actually came to threaten himself? Lei Qianjie's face was filled with anger. Just you trash? Threatening old me? Humph, I need you guys to teach me things? Seek death. Lei Qianjie had heard the bad news about the Yi family two days ago and was already uncomfortable in his heart. The entire Dashia royal family founded the country. The Yi family is a great credit. To the end, the Yi family was suddenly exterminated the whole family. Such a tragic result. The Yi family is almost extinct. So that the world's heart is cold ah. So when Yu Linglong found herself out to save Yi Fan, Lei Qianjie didn't have any hesitation and immediately put down her work and followed Yu Linglong. The Yi family's meritocracy had indeed deterred certain people. But to do it so decisively and directly exterminate the Yi family was excessive. Lei Qianjie also held a breath in his heart. While chortling with his mouth, he slapped his hand towards the youth. A touch of coldness flashed in that youth's gaze. Old thing, this is your own death. Don't blame me. As he spoke, the youth waved a chilly dagger towards Lei Qianjie's arm. Blue light? Poisonous. Lei Qianjie, as a famous doctor, looked at the blue hardened blade and immediately understood that the blade was highly poisonous. And with an eye color that deep blue, the toxicity was definitely not weak. Is this a death sentence? Lei Qianjie wanted to retreat, but it was too late. For the youth, in addition to the dagger in his hand, had unclasped his shirt from his chest and pressed a mechanism. Pearly Storm. This belonged to the concealed weapon developed by the ancient Tang sect. Inside were countless poisonous needles, shooting out in such a way, at such a close distance. How could Lei Qianjie dodge them all? Lei Qianjie's heart sank to the bottom while he was shocked. Although he was the great summer medical sage, there was nothing he could do in the face of such a preponderance of poisonous needles. Moreover, since the other party made their move, they must have used the blood-seeking toxin. And even if they wanted to save themselves, they simply didn't have a chance. Numb nuts. Gutter. Lei Qianjie didn't have any regrets. Just anger and unwillingness to actually kill even the great summer state hand sacred doctor. It seems that the other party is already determined to make the Yi family extinct. Aya. Uh, big brother. Why are you bumping into me for a good reason? It hurts me. Abrupt, a familiar voice rang out beside Lei Qianjie, and it was none other than Yi Fan. While Yi Fan grumbled with his mouth, he reached out and pushed the shirt-wearing youth hard. The crowd only felt a blur before their eyes, and when they reacted again, the scene had changed. Originally, just after the youth had inspired the pear blossom storm, her body was face to face with Lei Qianjie, but at this moment, in just the blink of an eye, the shirt youth had already changed direction and position turning his back to Lei Qianjie and leaning into Lei Qianjie's arms, and those poisonous needles that shot out had yet to stab Lei Qianjie. The flower shirt youth so blocked in front of Lei Qianjie that he became a natural meat shield. Put, put, like a heavenly maiden scattering flowers, the body of the flower shirt youth was instantly shot into a sieve. No, no, the flower shirt youth felt the numbness and sharp pain in his chest, and a look of despair appeared in his eyes, while being a face of shock and incredulity. This is an extreme body technique that is extinct in the legend. Battle of the Stars? This stance, which could change one's position or the target's position in an instant, was the best combat stance to increase the efficiency of an attack or to escape from a pursuit. It had been lost for a thousand years and only existed in ancient texts. How could Yi Fan know it? How is that possible? Yi Fan has awakened? Something finally dawned on the youth's gradually dazed consciousness. Got myself screwed. His strength was higher than the glasses youth. The last card to move against Lei Qianjie while the glasses youth inexplicably died in the hands of Yu Linglong. But before dying, and Yi Fan also had contact. Now he himself was planted. And the reason was that Yi Fan had just put his wrist on his shoulder. 
He understood that it must be Yi Fan who had moved something, but none of that matters anymore, because, even if he knew the truth, there was no way to change it anymore. Puff, the floral shirt youth collapsed in a pool of blood, a violent sound, causing Lei Qianjie's eyes, which had already closed, to open once again and look at his chest with some confusion. No bruises, no cuts of any kind? You're not dead? What's going on here? He's not dead, and the man who tried to kill his assassin is suddenly killed by his own concealed weapon? What kind of miracle happened to make it a meter away? Lei Qianjie some bewildered look around, their own side, in addition to the Jade Linglong arrangement of those ordinary bodyguards, in is two meters away, giggling Yi Fan, see, let you do not hit me, make retribution it, deserved, deserved, Yi Fan's appearance, how do you look at it, it's unlikely to look like he saved himself ah, uh? was there a hidden master among those bodyguards who suddenly saved himself, no way, the strength of those few bodyguards, which Lei Qianjie knew very well, couldn't possibly have that kind of strength, it's Yafan, Lei Qianjie gave Yi Fan a puzzled look, although he was a demonic genius five years ago and was already a sect master powerhouse, but now he was in a demented state, ha, huh? moreover, even if Yi Fan had returned to normal, at such a close distance, and still under the attack of the pear blossom storm, trying to save himself and still be able to retreat in one piece, that was not something that a Zongshu level powerhouse could do, unless one has already attained the strength above a martial arts powerhouse, but, is that possible? Moreover, Yi Fan was so close to himself, if he made a move, he was also a martial arts expert, so how could he not feel any chi fluctuation at all three? Lei Qianjie flew to exclude Yi Fan, then apart from Yi Fan at the scene, only Yu Linglong was left with this possibility. When Lei Qianjie turned his head towards Yu Linglong's side, what he saw was Yu Linglong's equally confused eyes. Yu Linglong was still immersed in the shock of killing the Aiyang sect master expert with one move of her own. How could she still have the chance to save Lei Qianjie? In just such a blink of an eye, another patriarchal powerhouse had actually used the Pear Blossom Storm to get himself killed. The weird thing was that the other party first activated Pearly Storm, then quickly turned around in a different direction on their own, darted in front of the Poison Needles and use themselves as a living target for the poison needles to shoot them to death? What's wrong with your head? This is so unreasonable. Yu Linglong reacted first and was the first to rush to Yi Fan's side, reaching out and grabbing Yi Fan's arm as she said, Yi Fan, tell me, have you awakened? Are you lying to us? If you dare to deceive my mother, I'll chop you up. Yi Fan, who was still planning to confess with Yu Linglong, instantly felt a coldness in his pants and immediately swallowed back the thoughts in his heart. This first wife of his can be a bit of a raw deal and some things are better left for later, wake up, I just woke up this morning, why do I have to wake up again, linger wife, are you here specifically to see me, is it because you want to sleep with me, Yi Fan hugged Yu Linglong's small waist with a naive face and leaned his body very close, although Yu Linglong and the Yi family had a previous engagement, she basically had never even seen the Yi family's boss in person, much less any intimate behavior, being suddenly embraced by Yi Fan like this, Yu Linglong felt her body stiffen and a little uncomfortable, don't be ridiculous, Yu Linglong originally wanted to scold Yi Fan, but thinking that she was the one who brought so many sisters to announce on the spot that she wanted to marry him, sooner or later, she would be his woman, so just let him be, what's more, now he's a fool, but then, it was cheaper for Yi Fan, with such a close distance, Yi Fan hugged Yu Linglong and felt the loftiness of Yu Linglong's chest, which was very warm and soft, and there was also an extraordinarily fragrant fragrance, Mr. Lei, please, this is my husband, Yi Fan, Yu Linglong respectfully bowed towards Lei Qianjie, Lei Qianjie nodded, don't worry, I will do my best, Wang Fugue and Li Huhu had ended the battle at the back also rushed over with a large group of people, big brother, are you alright, Wang Fugue saw that Yi Fan was fine, his heart secretly let out a sigh of relief, turning his head to see Lei Qianjie, he hurriedly bowed respectfully and said, greetings to medical saint Lei, Lei Qianjie was almost unknown as the great summer medical sage, the key was that Lei Qianjie would never just save those bigwigs, but would also contribute quite a few prescriptions so that the common people could also receive actual benefits. Dr. Lei, I'm counting on you for my big brother. As long as I can cure my big brother, I'm willing to work for you as an ox. Wang Fugue opened his mouth with a pious face. He was also sincere for Yi Fan's good. Lei Qianjie and Yu Linglong looked at Wu Yang so many people all gathered over, and instantly also understood that these people should be here to receive themselves and protect Lei Qianjie. But just now, when Dr. Lei was in danger, who had actually stepped in to save the old divine doctor? Seeing that Yu Linglong's eyes were a bit confused, Xia Hao hurriedly stepped forward and respectfully introduced himself. My humble self, Xia Hao, five years ago, I was favored by Yi Xiao, was saved by Yi Xiao, 
And now I'm running an errand beside Yi Xiao. And I heard that Lei Medical Sage came to treat Yi Xiao. So I had the courage to bring people with Wang Xiao to support. And, hearing Xia Hao's report, a flash of shock flashed through Yu Linglong's eyes. In order to stop old Mr. Lei from treating Yi Fan, the other party actually sent out so many. HM, since she decided to continue marrying Yi Fan, then Yu Linglong had already made the decision to live and die with the Yi family. If these people wanted to stop Mr. Lei from rescuing people, they would be working against Yu Linglong. Everything went smoothly from the airport back to Su Yi Shue's place. Soon, Yi Fan was brought to the room alone by Lei Chenjie and was ready to start the diagnosis. Young Yi, let me take a look at your hand. Lei Chenjie spoke as gently as he could to Yi Fan, stretching out his hand towards him, signaling for him to let himself take his pulse. Be good and obedient. Xiao Yi, when I'm done looking at you, I'll buy you candies, okay? Yi Fan smiled faintly and directly interrupted Lei Chenjie's words. Old Mr. Lei, I've actually been waiting for you to arrive. At the same time he spoke, Yi Fan backhanded Lei Chenjie's wrist and quickly said with his mouth, Mr. Lei, the false fire is too strong. The pulse is three breaths faster. The breath is slightly disturbed. Recently the old man is not resting while well, ah. And, last night, at the hour of the day, you also drank two or two small wine. At your age, drinking can be bad for the body ah. Aha, uh -huh. Lei Qianjie's pupils were dramatically dilated for a while, and he looked at Yi Fan with a shocked face. You, for a while, Lei Qianjie didn't even know what state Yi Fan was actually in. Is it really stupid, or what? It was because the situation Yi Fan had described was completely split. Such a brilliant diagnosis. Lei Qianjie would suspect that Yi Fan has installed surveillance around himself. Could Yi Fan not be stupid? That's right, I've already awakened. It's just that I have another top secret plan that I'm not good at exposing and displaying in front of outsiders. Since Yi Fan had opened his mouth, he had no intention of keeping it in front of Lei Qianjie. After all, there were still two very important things behind that required Lei Qianjie to help before he could do so. Ha! Huh? Lei Qianjie was completely shocked. This Yi Fan, his acting skills were too good, right? He actually fooled everyone? So, the action at the airport, everything was planned and led by you. Yi Xiao, Lei Qianjie was originally still curious. Now all the clans were moving away from the Yi family, while the Xia family in the provincial city was desperately circling around Yi Fan. It didn't make sense. Moreover, in a short period of time, so many killers lurking in the airport were cleaned up. Yi Fan has twice happened to deal with their own killers to clean up. So all this is not a coincidence, but the result of Yi Fan's careful planning. Yes, Yi Fan nodded. The only one who knows about my awakening is Xia Hao. I need him to execute my plan. Then it was also you who saved me from that flowery shirt youth? Under the Pear Blossom Storm Dark Weapon Strike, you utilized the extreme stance of the bucket turning star shift? Lei Qianjie was shocked beyond words, his beard trembling. He knew exactly what that meant. Fighting star shift ah, that was a body technique that countless people wanted to obtain. Since Yi Fan knew this kind of stance, then Yi Fan must also have more other martial arts techniques. As long as Yi Fan awoke, with Yi Fan's terrifying talent, then the Yi family would not fall. Those who think of dealing with the Yi family, I'm afraid they're going to suffer. Ha, huh? it's me. In order not to be exposed, my methods were clumsy, so I've made Mr. Lei laugh. Yi Fan continued to nod his head. So, you will continue to keep everyone in the dark. Lei Qianjie wasn't stupid. After sensing Yi Fan's thoughts, he instantly understood that Yi Fan would definitely not be exposed in front of outsiders for the time being, and would continue to keep playing dumb. Then, Yi Xiao. When I come, what do you need my help for? Lei Qianjie's expression was a bit gloomy. Don't worry, Yi Xiao. I've been a good friend of old Yi Yi for many years. I will keep your situation a secret. If I can help, I will definitely not excuse myself. Yi Fan nodded. Mr. Lei, I'll wait for you to come. There are two things that I need your help with. One is that Yi Xue's prescription for beauty and skin care has been stolen. And now that the company's new product introduction meeting is just around the corner. I need your help to take a prescription to her. Lei Qianjie frowned. But I don't have any useful face prescriptions in my hands? I have. As Yi Fan spoke, his eyes swept around the room, took a notebook from the table, tore off a piece of paper, and quickly wrote down a prescription on it. This beauty cream is an extinct prescription from the Divine Farmer's Codex. Remember the fire in it. It must be controlled at 323 degrees, and it will be seared for 8 minutes. Not even a second can be bad, or the cream won't be able to be simmered. Lei Qianjie took the prescription and looked at it carefully for a couple of moments. Seeing the combination of medicines on it and the slight disparity in the portion sizes, the more he looked at it, the more grave his expression became. Although the medicinal herbs on it, most of them were common things, 
but the key to this ingenious combination, so that these herbs seem to have some marvelous reactions, and normal thinking is completely different. Wonderful ah, it really is wonderful ah, why didn't I think of that? The extinction remedy is just different. The more Lei Qianjie looked at it, the more excited he became. His old face was reddening, but instantly there was some doubt in his eyes. Yi Xiao, if you have such a superb prescription, why don't you just hand it over to Yi Xue that girl? What Su Yi Xue and Yu Linglong and the others had done, Lei Qianjie already knew all about it. Under that desperate situation, Yu Linglong and Su Yi Xue and the others actually didn't have any hesitation in announcing that they would marry Yi Fan and continue to stay in the Yi family. That takes great courage and deserves the admiration of all. Yi Fan smiled bitterly, Mr. Lei, do you think that if I am a fool and hand over a prescription, even if it is true, will anyone believe it? Moreover, even if someone believes it, how would I continue to pretend? As soon as Yi Fan said that, Lei Chenjia instantly understood that Yi Fan was trying to use his own identity to help cover for Yi Fan. Good, no problem. I'll definitely forward the prescription to Yi Shui. I'll go back at night and boil the ointment myself. And when I've succeeded, I'll be there to personally guide Yi Shui and the others. Lei Chenjie looked at Yi Fan if he had deep meaning, and in his heart, he couldn't help but start to feel pity for those who had made a move against the Yi family. You guys are going to, you're going to get played to death, and you don't even know how you're going to die. Xiao Yi, what's that other thing? Yi Fan began with a heavy face. Mr. Lei, you know about my grandfather's body, right? After so many years of dark illnesses, coupled with the recent blows, it's already at the point of running out of light. Lei Qianjie nodded. Alas, Yi Old Ye's body condition. Of course I know. I helped check it out before. It's just that my medical skills are limited, relying on medicine alone. I'm afraid that I won't be able to support it for long ah. What? Does Yi Xiao Yi have a solution? So, the second thing is, I hope that Mr. Lei can help me go and treat my grandfather, so that he can live for at least 20 more years. Of course, in order to make it easier for Mr. Lei to do so. I will teach you a set of needle techniques. While speaking, Yi Fan pulled out the silver needle from his body. Mr. Lei, you see clearly, the first needle. Guanin has tears. The tip of the needle enters the Tanjung point by three points. Use the Qi energy to impact the needle tip to tremble while gently rotating it. And use the tip of the needle to provoke the blood veins. The second stitch, Great Mercy in Buddha's Sorrow, enters the Phoenix Pool by four points. The Qi impacts and locks in the vitality. After one stitch was spoken, Lei Qianjie was completely numb. This, Yi Xiao, this is the Ghost Valley 13 Needles, the Lost Stunt Ghost Valley 13 Needles from the Divine Farmer's Pharmacopoeia? You actually mastered such a stunt, a powerful needle technique that can take lives in the hands of the King of Hell, and live and die with white bones? Lei Qianjie was shocked and jumped straight up from his spot. This set of stitches was in existence against the heavens, the ultimate dream of all medicine people, but all of them had only heard about it in ancient texts, but none of them could master it let alone learn it. And now Yi Fan not only knew this set of stitches, but also passed this set of stitches to himself without any hiding? Lei Chenjie suddenly thought of a problem. Five years ago, a legend had appeared on the Southwest land. It was said that a teenage medical immortal had appeared, rescuing countless bigwigs, and with one hand of needlework, snatching countless people back from the brink of death. At that time, that teenage medical immortal's fame was vaguely catching up with Lei Chenjie's meaning. Lei Qianjie also secretly understand a lot of teenage medical fairy rescue cases, a variety of techniques and medication above, indeed far beyond their own, do their own master are more than enough. However, since Yi Fan's car accident, the teenage medical fairy had instantly disappeared. Now that the things before and after were connected, Lei Qianjie's pupils dilated for a while. Yi Xiao, could it be that? Five years ago, the teenage medical fairy whose fame resounded throughout the entire Dashia was you? It's me too. Yi Fan spoke calmly. Did you memorize the stitches just now? If you don't remember it clearly, I'll rehearse it again. Lei Qianjie hurriedly spoke respectfully. Remember it clearly. Puff. In the next moment, without any hesitation, Lei Qianjie directly knelt down towards Yi Fan. Student Lei Qianjie. Thank you master for teaching me. Lei Qianjie's actions caused even Yi Fan to freeze for a moment. Mr. Lei, what are you doing? Get up? Yi Fan passed on Lei Qianjie's Ghost Valley 13 needles. He just wanted Lei Qianjie to help cure his grandfather. Lei Qianjie is a highly respected medical titan who has traveled across China. And Yi Fan has always been very respectful. So if he lets Lei Qianjie worship himself as a master, Yi Fan is afraid of losing his life. When Yi Fan wanted to reach out to help Lei Qianjie, Lei Qianjie's attitude was very resolute. Master, you don't have to excuse yourself. You should also know that the Ghost Valley 13 Needles, that is the needle method that changes life against the heavens. How rare and valuable. 
you passed the needle method to me. Only from today onwards, I'm Yi Xiao's disciple. The cases that Yi Xiao had saved before, I've studied them, and I'm indeed ashamed to be inferior to them. And I also forget that the master doesn't hesitate to guide me. Lei Qianjie's movements made Yi Fan laugh a little bitterly. He was only in his early twenties, but he had taken a seventy-year-old man as his disciple. But seeing Lei Qianjie's resolute attitude, Yi Fan didn't push back. Mister, Lei had better get up first. It doesn't matter what you call me in private, but when there are people, it's better to call me Yi Fan. Don't expose it. Yes, Master. Lei Qianjie respectfully stood down on one side, completely like a well-behaved little student. Then about master's condition, how can I explain to General Yu and Ishui and the others? Yi Fan frowned and thought for a while, exposing himself now would definitely not work, but if he said that he couldn't be cured, it would also make a few girls worried. How about this? Just tell them that my situation is slowly improving. My head and nerves aren't injured. It's completely possible to be cured. It just takes time to recuperate. A flash of depth flashed through Yi Fan's eyes. When this news was released, those who were dealing with the Yi family would definitely have to panic. There was hope for that fool of the Yi family to be cured. That meant that there was still hope for the Yi family to recover. They would definitely take their time to test themselves and then make a move on themselves again. Yi Fan, on the other hand, would hide in the shadows and follow the trail to find the real culprit behind the scenes and seek justice for the dead souls of the Yi family. Yes, Master, at Su Yi Shui's residence, outside the bedroom door, both Yu Linglong and Su Yi Shui were present. Both women anxiously looked over at the door of the room. Waiting for Lei Qianjie's diagnosis inside, Sui Shui all nervous fingers stirred together. Thinking of Yi Fan's courageous performance in bed last night, Sui Shui's heart was a little puzzled. Last night Yi Fan that look, it was not like a fool's appearance at all ah, but why hasn't Yi Fan come to his senses by now? What the hell is going on? Xia Hao was sitting in a chair next to him, but he was calm. Yi Xiao was obviously awake, but he had to deliberately hide himself. It was really bitter. Squeak, the door to the room was opened. Sui Shui and Yu Linglong almost bounced as they rushed out. Mr. Lei, how is Yi Fan's situation? Lei Qianjie smiled and spoke. Don't worry, Yi Fan's head and nerves aren't injured. It's just that certain places have been stimulated and are still stuck there for the time being. I need to slowly help with the recuperation. Yi Xiao should be able to return to normal very soon. You guys don't need to worry too much. Lei Qianjie's words caused Sui Shui and Yu Linglong to look at each other and finally let out a sigh of relief. Little Fan. You'll be fine soon you know? Sui Shui after all had already had that kind of relationship with Yi Fan. So it was still more natural to be with Yi Fan before. She went up and held Yi Fan's hand. With a doting face too. If Yi Fan had awakened and slept with himself again at night. How humiliating would that be? Thinking of certain images. Sui Shui couldn't help but blush. Yu Linglong also stared scorchingly at Yi Fan. Thinking about the fluctuation of martial chi she had felt before. As well as what happened at the airport today. Yu Linglong was a little confused in her heart. Was he wrong in his senses? Or was Yi Fan really not awakened? But, Mr. Lei shouldn't be lying to everyone. Yi Fan should still be in a state of dullness right now. Otherwise, if the awakened Yi Fan knows that his seven stunningly beautiful sisters-in-law, all of them are going to marry him. HM. Just that demon. He's going to be mad with joy. Yu Linglong deeply looked at Yi Fan. The heart had is a burst of waner. Really cheap this guy. General Yu. Miss Su. It's getting late. I'll go to Yi Old Ye's place first and come back tomorrow to continue helping Young Yi. Lei Qianjie said goodbye to the crowd, got into his own vehicle and left Su Yi Shui's residence. In the crowd, a youth saw Lei Qianjie leave and quietly sent a text message. Thus, in that secret residence in the northwest, Zhang Lao immediately received the news. Humph, a bunch of rice buckets. So many people intercept Lei Qianjie have been taken by others in one pot. Lei Qianjie's diagnosis has already had a result. Said that Ji Fan completely has the hope of awakening. As long as it is tempered, it will soon be able to recover. When Yi Fan recovers, still play a fart? The fuming Zhang Dalao slammed the document in his hand on the ground, his face grim. Everyone knew about Yi Fan's talent five years ago. At the age of 15, he was already a powerhouse at the level of a patriarch, which was unique and unsurpassed in the entire Grand Xia. Intelligence, martial arts, medical skills, in any aspect, it was the absolute pinnacle. Yi Fan is the dragon of the Yi family. As long as there is Yi Fan, the Yi family will immediately take off Ah, Pavilion Elder, what do we do now? If we can know that Yi Fan can awaken, then other people will definitely know as well. Those who have already split with the Yi family, after they know about this news, they are afraid that they will side with the Yi family again, and then it will be even more difficult to execute our plan. Beside the Pavilion Elder, the middle-aged man's face was also a bit unsightly. After all, all of Cloud City's actions were directly being planned by him. 
Whether it was sealing off the Su family or intercepting Lei Qinjie, both failed. It seems that he must personally make a trip to Cloud City Ah, humph, you still know this? Ha, huh? what else can we do? Since we are going to do it, let's cut off the roots and leave no scourge behind. A murderous aura flashed through Pavilion Master Zhang's eyes. Once what we've done is exposed, when the Yi family recoils, then everyone will die without a burial place. Things should be done cleanly. This time, you personally go to Cloud City to set up. The action try to select some experts. Control Realm under the Don't Go is not in a hurry at this moment, but a little bit to be thorough. Steady. Pavilion Elder Zhang let out a long sigh and muttered. Yi Chong Feng, you forced me to do this. Don't blame me. Cloud City. Lei Qinjie's car. Lei Qinjie was rushing towards Yi Chongfeng's home while making phone calls non-stop. Old Li, are you free tonight? Come to Cloud City and accompany Yi Lao for a drink. Yes, that's right. It's Yi Chongfeng. What am I doing in Cloud City? To cure Yi Fan Ah. Don't ask why. Just ask if you're coming for a drink? Since Divine Dr. Lei has opened his mouth, how could I not come? In a compound somewhere in the southwest, a shrewd old man hung up the phone. A glint in his eyes. Lei Chenjie convened the gathering in such a high profile. What does this mean? Could it be that Yi Fan is showing signs of awakening? Since that's the case, then the Li family's choices will have to change. Old Zhou, come over for a drink. Lao Lu. Lei Qianjie is completely a social bullshitter. From Sui Shui residence to the Yi family compound is only 20 minutes away. Lei Qianjie played 20 or 30 phone calls, will be able to convene their old friends. Almost all called again. Yi Chong Feng, who had all already gone to bed, completely did not expect that his home would actually be so lively tonight. Old friends who hadn't been in touch with each other much in a while were actually all gathering toward his house tonight. Ray, what's going on? Are all of them called? What's the situation? Is there some new change in Yi Fan's condition? Yi Chongfeng sat at the top and inquired towards Lei Qianjie at his side. Some of the bigwigs who had already arrived at the Yi family had their ears perked up, intending to listen to what Lei Qianjie had to say. That's their main concern. For Lei Qianjie to come to Cloud City at this critical time, to make a move for the Yi family and save Yi Fan, this was actually a very risky move. Everyone who was anyone knew that the Yi family was being targeted. It was very unwise for Lei Qianjie to choose to tie up with the Yi family at this time. But Lei Qianjie wasn't stupid, and there was definitely a reason for him to do so. Yi Xiao's situation. According to my examination, the brain and nerves are not affected by anything. There should be hope for awakening. I need to continue to observe the treatment for a period of time. Lei Qianjie said the situation very vaguely. This is Yi Fan can account for it. For the time being, he can't expose himself too much. Yi Fan hid in the shadows so that many things could be acted upon. Oh, is that so? Yi Changfeng was a bit lost and some of those bigwigs who came to the scene were also lost in their hearts. It was thought that Yi Fan was about to awaken. If Yi Fan awakened, with Yi Fan's terrifying talent, Yi Fan would be able to completely take over the Heavenly Dragon Army, and the Yi family would be able to quickly rise again and return to the top. But Yi Fan now just has the hope of awakening. That's a long way off. Some of the bigwigs knew what was really going on and immediately pretended to answer the phone and then snuck out. A fallen Yi family is not worth wasting time here. And it was still a family that could be implicated. But there is a remaining portion of bigots who think a little deeper. Lei Qian was by no means a brainless person. Since he dared to come to Cloud City and was willing to take a shot for Yi Fan. And in the middle of the night, he specifically called so many people over by phone. It was definitely not that simple. Ha ha, you guys are really true to yourselves. Good people will be rewarded. Come, drink, old Yi. You always have enough wine at home. Right? Tonight, let's not get drunk. Social bullheadedness patient Lei Qianjie is the atmosphere group on the scene, completely did not take the Yi family as someone else's home, just so built in the Yi family, in Su Yi Shui's villa, after Lei Qianjie left, Xia Hao and Li Hu, Wang Fugue and the others also left with good sense, immediately, only Su Yi Shui and Yu Linglong were left behind in the villa, looking at Su Yi Shui and Yi Fan's intimate movements, Yu Linglong's face blushed for a moment, Yi Shui, last night you guys, Yi Shui looked shy, but still nodded, N. It's a quick move. Yu Linglong glanced at Yi Fan. It was really cheap for this guy. The seven stunningly beautiful women actually all chose to marry Yi Fan at the same time without any complaint or regret. Yu Linglong was actually a bit curious herself. What was she thinking at that time? Perhaps, deep down inside himself, he was not repulsed by Yi Fan? Sister Linglong, are you going to sleep with me at night too? It's very comfortable oh. As Yi Fan spoke, he walked over and once again wrapped Yu Linglong in an embrace. His big hand recklessly touched Yu Linglong's buttocks. HM. This Yu Linglong? She even threatened to chop herself up. So she had to collect some interest. Anyway, now that he was in a state of being a fool, even if he made some moves, 
people wouldn't care. Yikes, what are you touching with your hands? Yu Linglong's entire body stiffened up when Yi Fan touched her like that. Go touch Yi Shui. I'm leaving. Yu Linglong's whole body was hot and flustered. She got up, said goodbye to Su Yi Shui Yi Fan and quickly left. This Yi Fan, still in a demented state, is so restless, if he waited for him to awaken, wouldn't he be bullied miserably? HM. I'll practice my martial arts so well that you can't beat me. Looking at Yu Linglong's panicked and fleeing appearance, a good-looking arc appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. Fighting with this young man? This young man will definitely whip you into submission. Everyone left. Sui Shui looked at Yi Fan, her face blushing. It's late. Hurry up and pack up and go to bed. Although the company's affairs were disturbing Sui Shui, Sui Shui still didn't forget her mission. That's going to start a family for the Yi family. Fertile land? Naturally, we must sow seeds in order to be able to spread the leaves. Good. Sleep. I like to sleep. Yi Fan picked Sui Shui up by the waist and quickly walked towards the bedroom. Ouch. Xiu Fan, lighten up. The room instantly resounded with a burst of juvenile sounds. Until after a flurry, all was calm and quiet, and it was already almost two hours later in. At this point, it was all the way past 11 o'clock at night. Yi Fan didn't forget that there was another good show tonight that he needed to spice up. Someone in Cloud City wanted to spend two billion dollars to kill himself and his grandfather. Yi Fan actually had a rough guess in his heart. If it was the one he had guessed, then tonight, Yi Fan would definitely make sure that he couldn't come back. Looking at Sui Shui who was sleeping over on the bed, Yi Fan quietly got up, put a pair on, avoided the bodyguards around the villa, and quickly came outside the villa. Outside the villa, Xia Hao was already waiting in his car. Yi Xiao, to the middle bridge of Cloud City. Tonight at the Cloud City middle bridge, Yi Fan had an appointment with two groups of people. One set was naturally the mysterious employer who wanted to spend $2 billion to assassinate himself, while the other set was the Wang family of Yun City. During the day, Yi Fan had finished off Wang Chao already, and Wang Zhong and the others must be going crazy. If the kidnappers of their son were found at night, they would surely not want to make a life-threatening move. At that time, let them dog eat dog. Yi Fan could get rid of both sets of enemies without moving. Yi Fan was very happy to see such a situation. When the vehicle was about to travel to the middle bridge of Cloud City, from a distance, Yi Fan had already felt the fluctuating breath over there, and there were already quite a few people hidden all around the middle bridge. These people were no other than Wang Zhong arranging killers. Family master, we've been waiting for half the night. Are the kidnappers still coming or not? Beside Wang Zhong, a Wang family bodyguard complained with some chagrin. We've been starving for half the night, and now we're so sleepy. What the hell? Are you looking for death? How did I usually raise you guys? And now that I'm asking you to do something, you're starting to gab? Wang Zhong annoyedly kicked that henchman, very angry. Ding dong. Suddenly, Wang Zhong's cell phone received a message. Dad, I don't think I'll live. They're going to kill me. I put the phone in the kidnapper's pocket. You must avenge me. Attached to the back was a picture of Wang Chao being beaten up in a KTV. Ah, son of a bitch. Give the call. Keep calling. I'll dismantle that bastard when I find him. These were naturally Yi Fan's operations behind the scenes. After doing this, Yi Fan turned Wang Chao's cell phone off again and then set it to automatically turn on after 10 minutes. Just after doing so, Yi Fan saw a familiar vehicle drive by. It was the vehicle of Yi family lookalike Su Jian's son Su Dong, the flirty red Ferrari. It's him? Yi Fan face gloomy face flashed, although the heart has already had a guess, but the results really get verified. Yi Fan is still a little chilled. Normally, Grandpa was very nice to Su Jian and Su Dong, completely treated like his own son and grandson. And Su Dong actually thought of spending two billion dollars to kill himself and grandpa. Then you can inherit the Yi group as a matter of course? HM. In that case, don't blame this young man for being impolite. Just wait for me over here. Yi Fan gave an explanation to Xia Hao, and with a flash of his body, he quickly rushed out from behind the flower bed, blocking Su Dong's car. Numb nuts, you want to die ah. Long eyes do not see the road? Su Dong, who was watching the navigation, steeply saw a person in front of him blocking his way. All startled. Open the window to the outside is a burst of curses. However, when Su Dong saw clearly that the one blocking his way in front of him was actually Yi Fan, he was a bit bewildered. Yi Fan? Are you this stinking fool? Then what the hell are you doing here in the middle of the night? Su Dong stopped the car and looked at Yi Fan with some curiosity. Didn't Su Shui bring Yi Fan home after yesterday's incident? Treadmill. Yi Fan? This fool? Has a good life. Obviously. They are all stupid like that. But they are actually looked at by the seven sisters-in-law. All of them want to marry Yi Fan. Such a good thing. Why can't it be the turn of the old man? Isn't my old man a member of the Yi family? It's the middle of the night. Yi Fan is not at Sui Shui's house. 
but wandering around here doing chicken hair? Ah, it's Dong. It's too good. Dong. I can't find my way home. I'm starving. Can you quickly take me home? Yi Fan went forward, reached out and grabbed Su Dong's arm and shook it with a pitiful look. Su Dong looked at Yi Fan with some skepticism. Was that so? Lost. For a normal person, it was indeed nothing. But Yi Fan was a child with an IQ of only a few years old. So it was indeed normal to say that he was lost. Get out of here. Old me is very busy right now. I don't have the time to pay attention to you. Su Dong was a little disgusted as he pushed Yi Fan away. Seeing that it was about to be 12 o'clock, Su Dong had made an appointment with that mysterious expert to meet at the middle bridge in Cloud City. Su Dong dreamed of getting Yi Fan killed. And at this time, in the middle of nowhere, it would have been a good opportunity to do it indeed. However, Su Dong was afraid that Yi Fan had other bodyguards around him who were secretly observing, so he ultimately did not dare to do it himself. Brother Tongue, please, take me back, okay? Or you can call my grandfather and ask him to pick me up, okay? Yi Fan stared at Su Dong, wanting to ask for Su Dong's help, a chance for himself and a chance for Su Dong. As long as Su Dong still had a little bit of goodwill in his heart and gave his grandfather a call or sent Yi Fan home, Yi Fan would leave him alive. But it was a pity that Su Dong had long wanted to get Yi Fan killed. And now that Yi Fan was here, and he was about to meet that mysterious expert soon, wouldn't it be very convenient to make a move? Hey, good ah, stinking fool, you wait here obediently for me. I will immediately go to find someone to send you back, okay? A cold smile surfaced on Su Dong's face, thinking that after Yi Fan and Yi Changfeng died, the huge Yi family would all be his own property. How cool would that comfortable and scenic day be? When he himself had power in time, he must take all seven of Yi Fan's sisters-in-law and play with them. Buzz. As Su Dong's words fell, he threw Yi Fan's arm out directly with a kick of the gas pedal, and the vehicle took off, heading towards the middle bridge of Cloud City, muttering, Idiot, you'll just wait there to die. When I see that mysterious killer, I'll immediately send you to the Western Heaven to meet those brothers of yours. Although Su Dong's voice was small, to Yi Fan, who had a keen sense of hearing, he still heard it clearly. Yi Fan's face gradually became gloomy. This is what you asked for. So don't blame me. Wang Chao's cell phone. Yi Fan had already taken advantage of Su Dong's inattention and placed it in Su Dong's pocket. When the people of the Wang family find out that Wang Chao's cell phone is in Su Dong's possession, Su Dong, even if he has a hundred mouths, he is afraid that he will not be able to explain it clearly. Go, let's go over and watch the show. Yi Fan got into Xia Hao's car, signaling Xia how to drive the car over and find an excellent observation position, quietly observing from behind the bushes. Dimly lit streetlights. After Su Dong arrived at the location, he got out of the car and looked around somewhat puzzled, his mouth still calling out, Big brother, you told me to come see you, I'm here, where are you? At this moment, Wang Zhong and those men who were hiding around were a little confused as they looked at Su Dong who had suddenly appeared, that adopted grandson of the Yi family. Su Dong, what is he doing here so late at night? Wang Zhong was a little puzzled as he opened his mouth towards the men around him. I'm not sure, but listening to him, it seems like he came over to meet some big brother. Did he accomplish something that the big brother explained? Wang Zhong's henchman had managed to steer Wang Zhong's thoughts in the direction of brutalizing Su Dong. I told you guys to call. What are you doing? Don't stop ah? Xiao Chao said that at 12 o'clock at night, the kidnapper will definitely come to Yun Chang Zhong Chao. The cell phone is on the kidnapper. We can definitely find him. Yes, house master. Behind Wang Zhong, a group of men continued to dial Wang Chao's number. I'm sorry, the number you have dialed is turned off. I'm sorry. The number you have dialed is turned off. Several times in a row, Wang Chao's phone display has been off. When the other henchman, for the fifth time, dialed, the phone suddenly showed that it was connected. Do, the henchman immediately jumped up. Family master, the phone is connected. Young master's phone isn't off anymore. Above the moon, I'm looking up. At the same time, in the open space in the middle of the middle bridge in Cloud City, a sound of a cell phone ringing suddenly rang out on Sudong. Eh, what's going on here? Why is there suddenly an extra cell phone on me? Curious, Su Dong took his cell phone out, saw the incoming call on it, and directly connected it. Hey, who the hell is this? Son of a bitch. It's actually this bastard Su Dong. Damn it. It's this asshole who kidnapped Xiao Chao and killed him. Everyone, give me a hand. Wang Zhong hid in the shadows, watching and listening to all of Su Dong's words and actions. The phone is in Su Dong's possession. And Wang Chao's last message clearly said that he put his cell phone on the kidnapper's body before he was killed. So is this proof that Su Dong is the kidnapper? The murderer who killed his son? Wang Chao? A grandson adopted by the Yi family actually dared to touch someone from the Wang family? HM. Wow. Before the phone was hung up, 
Su Dong saw countless machete-wielding bodyguards rushing out from the surrounding woods and behind the bushes, shivering in fear and pulling his legs out to escape. However, at this moment, Wang Zhong had already surrounded the surrounding area to death, and Su Dong simply did not have any path to escape. Mr. Wang? Ah, so it's you ah. You guys making such a big show. Is something happening? Su Dong could not help but let out a sigh of relief after seeing Wang Zhong appear. On weekdays, because of some business dealings, Su Dong and Wang Zhong had a few more photos. Although it could not be said that the relationship was as good as it should be, but at least they knew each other. Moreover, the other party would more or less have to give a few points of face for the sake of the Yi family. Don't give me this, beat me to death. While Wang Zhong's mouth chided, the first stick smashed on Su Dong's head, immediately smashing Su Dong's blood. Tramp, what kind of thing are you? How dare you kidnap my son, and killed him? What kind of thing are you? Bang, bang, bang. All the bodyguards swarmed up, punching and kicking. Su Dong was instantly beaten up. His ribs and arms were smashed into several pieces. Listening to Su Dong's cursing and shouting, Su Dong finally heard it. Wang Chao, the youngest master of the Wang family, is dead, or was he kidnapped and killed by himself? But he had stayed at home all afternoon to pick up beautiful women, and then came here to meet that killer big shot in the evening. When did he go to kidnap Wang Chao? Besides, he had no grudge against Wang Chao. Why did he kidnap him and kill him? Moreover, according to Su Dong's information, Wang Chao had sent someone to make a move on Sui Shui in the afternoon. That said, it should be considered an ally of one's own. Stop. Wait a minute. Mr. Wang. Is there some misunderstanding in the middle? I simply have not even seen Wang Chao. Where do I go to kidnap Wang Chao? Ouch. Su Dong endured the severe pain on his body and crawled out from the crowd, wailing towards Wang Zhong. Mr. Wang. Don't wrong a good person. Looking at the beaten up Su Dong, Wang Zhong snorted coldly and snatched Wang Chao's cell phone from Su Dong's hand. Wronged you? Oomph. Then what is this? This is Wang Chao's cell phone. The last message told me that the kidnappers were going to kill him, and that he had placed the phone on the kidnappers' bodies. What more sophistry do you have? Wang Zhong's sentence confused Su Dong who also asked, Yes, why is the cell phone on me? Treadmill. Su Dong felt like he couldn't wash himself even if he jumped into the Yellow River. He was obviously at home in the afternoon. Did not go anywhere? How suddenly there was an extra cell phone on his body. I walked from home. Just changed clothes ah, clothes are just washed. There is no other things. On the way here, he hadn't even stopped himself, and the only person he had met was the fool Yi Fan. Thinking of Yi Fan, Su Dong's head suddenly flashed with brilliance. Thinking of Yi Fan holding him in his arms earlier, and immediately understood. It must be Yi Fan's doing. Mr. Wang, it's Yi Fan. It must be Yi Fan who killed Wang Chao and then framed me. On my way here, I only met Yi Fan alone. Su Dong explained in a panic. It also came to his head that before the Zhao family was suddenly exterminated, Su Yi Shui was rescued and all the actions looked so suspicious. Previously, Su Dong did not understand why things had developed like that, and those clans that went against the Yi family did not seem to have a good end. But in this instant, Su Dong seemed to understand that Yi Fan might have awakened. All of this was Yi Fan's secret revenge operation. That fool Yi Fan framed you? Oomph, Su Dong, do you have any more face? If you want to find a backstabber, find a decent one. That fool Yi Fan, who can't even take care of himself, can still kill people? Wang Zhong took a step forward and put Su Dong's neck in a chokehold, gritting his teeth, say, where did you hide my son's body, why did you kill him, Su Dong's neck was pinched and he could barely breathe, Mr. Wang, I really didn't kill anyone, it really wasn't me, coughing, you're still talking about sophistry, believe it or not, I will directly strangle you to death, Wang Zhong was very angry, the force on his hand increased again by a few points, Su Dong's face was almost red, his eyes had bulged out, almost instinctively, Su Dong pulled out a dagger from his body and slashed at Wang Zhong's arm. Pust. Wang Zhong's arm was immediately cut open and blood flowed out. Ah, little brute. Not only did you kill Wang Chao, but you still want to kill my old man? Looking for death. Wang Zhong went completely crazy. While chortling from his mouth, he slammed Wang Chao on the ground, then snatched a battle knife from the hands of a nearby henchman and slashed at Su Dong. Let you touch my son. Let you kill my son. Put. Put. One cut. Two cuts. Mister. Wang, don't cut it, it really isn't me, it really wasn't me, you've all been tricked by Yi Fan. Oh, at the very beginning, Su Dong still had the strength to shout, but swinging his battle sword madly at Wang Zhong, but in a few moments of effort, Su Dong's body was already covered with open flesh wounds, and blood flowed all over the place, Su Dong was already out of breath and less in breath, the body jerked in place a few times and never moved again, Wang Zhong chopping tired, 
which stopped the action in the hand, a but iterative sitting on the ground, cried out, Son ah, father useless, until now have not found your body hidden in what place, but you can rest assured, Su Dong dared to kill you, there must be accomplices, Su Jian that bastard I will not let, go, a fierce light flashed in Wang Zhong's eyes, go investigate where Su Jian is for me, I'm going to break him into pieces, yes, these men of Wang Zhong's were very efficient, and the scene was quickly cleaned up, so Wang Zhong was ready to leave with his men, Xia Hao, who was hiding in the shadows, followed Yi Fan and watched the scene in front of him, and when he thought of Yi Fan's actions just now, everything became clear, what a trick to kill with a borrowed knife, just now, when Yi Fan went to find Su Dong, he must have left his cell phone on Su Dong, then by using the Wang family's means to deal with Su Dong's father and son, he could easily remove the threat within the Yi family without even having to do it himself. Su Jin's father and son were secretly planning to take control of the Yi group, and after Xia Hao investigated this news, he was still hesitant to tell Yi Fan. But now, looking at Yi Fan's actions, it was obvious that he had already known about the situation. Is it all filmed clearly? Yi Fan withdrew his gaze from the side and inquired towards Xia Hao. Xia Hao put his cell phone away and nodded. The shots are very clear, and some unnecessary scenes have been cut by hand. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched. Find a stranger and send this video to Su Jian. Let them continue to go dog eat dog. If he didn't notify Su Jian in advance, Wang Zhong would have rushed straight over and probably killed Su Jian in one go. And that would have been pointless. At least let Su Jian struggle for a bit. Let all the direct forces under his hand be exposed for a bit before he died. Then the trouble within Yi group behind him would be much less. Yes. Xia Hao answered and turned around intending to drive Yi Fan home. Now that Yi Fan was still in a demented state on the surface, before dawn, Yi Fan still had to return to Su Yi Shue's residence. In the car, Yi Fan reached out and took out a porcelain bottle from his body, handing it to Xia Hao. This is some of the pills that he had refined before, which can assist you in making an improved breakthrough in your strength and entering the realm of martial control. Ha, thank you, Young Yi, thank you, Young Yi. Xia Hao was already in his 50s or 60s, and barely stepping into the martial Dao harmonization stage was already very difficult. If there wasn't any other kind of chance, it was unlikely for Xia Hao to have any further breakthroughs at all. Although Xia Hao also knew that through the aid of pills, he could increase the probability of his breakthrough. But the problem was that elixir masters were an absolutely scarce resource in Dasha, and in the entire Dasha, there were less than 10 masters who could independently refine second grade elixirs. Ordinary people, even if they gave more money, they couldn't buy pills Ah, Inside are five pills allocate one to master tiger, and the rest, you see to it that they are allocated, but don't expose me, it's not good to be too weak when you follow me in my endeavors, Yi Fan gave a simple explanation, Xia Hao hurriedly nodded his head and said, yes, Wang Xiao sighed, Xia Hao had wanted to open his mouth to ask Wang Fugue, but thought that as Wang Fugue was such an iron buddy of Yi Fan, Yi Fan must have considered it, old one, at the mention of Wang Fugue, Yi Fan's eyes flashed with a touch of depth, if there are no surprises, Tomorrow Cloud City will have another Zongshir level expert. A smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. The Yuan Qi Dan that he had gotten at the black market should work. And at this time, the Wang family compound, back home Wang Fugue, has begun to act. Wang Fugue had arranged three times as many escort bodyguards outside the Wang family compound today. Grandpa had already gone to Yi Leoi's house for a drink. Not that anyone cared about Wang Fugue. After Wang Fugue entered the Wang family's secret room, he repeatedly confirmed that the doors and windows were closed before taking out the Yuan Qi Dan in his arms and placing it on the table in front of him, carefully scrutinizing it and feeling the energy stirring in the Yuan Qi Dan, as well as the brutal medicinal power. Big brother ah, big brother, are you really just lucky? Buying a stone at the black market for $50,000 actually hides a Yuan Qi Dan? Wang Fugue muttered, or are you hoping that I'll be a little more powerful so that I can protect you? Wang Fugue faced the Yuan Qi Dan and thought a lot. That's just it, no matter what. With this Yuan Qi pill, I can definitely break through to the sovereign realm, and I can definitely break through to the sovereign realm. Wang Fugue was also only in his early twenties, such a young zone master. In the whole of Dasha, besides Yi Fan, there weren't many more. The future was limitless. In the future, it would be possible to break through to the martial exalt realm, or even to the martial emperor realm. With this foundation, even if the Yi family was completely defeated, then with the strength of the Wang family, and the Yi family's old troops, it would still not be too much of a problem to guard the well-being of big brother and sisters-in-law. Once a big brother, always a big brother. In Wang Fugue's eyes, no matter what Yi Fan had become, he was the eternal big brother in his heart. After hesitating for a moment, Wang Fugue reached out and put the Yuan Qi Dan into his mouth and swallowed it. This Yuan Qi Dan was too flashy, 
if the news came to light, I don't know how many people would come to grab it at all costs, the Wang family's current power would not be able to keep it at all, putting it in one's stomach to assist one's breakthrough is the most secure, and on the other hand, seeing that the Yi family was now down and out, Wang Fugue also wanted to do something for his big brother, when one becomes a zone sure expert, when facing a real expert, at least one has the power to fight, the elixir instantly melted in the mouth, turning into a warm current that impacted down the throat towards Wang Fugue's limbs, the powerful energy in Qi instantly impacted Wang Fugue's mouth couldn't help but start howling and growling loudly, ah, enduring the severe pain, Wang Fugue began to force himself to calm down, absorbing the powerful energy contained in the elixir, impacting his tendons and veins, rapidly gathering and raising his martial chi. The martial aura on Wang Fugue's body was rising at a speed visible to the eye, and his body's temperament was changing, his skin was tougher, and his physique was stronger. For a time, the wind and cloud currents within the boundaries of Cloud City all began to surge up, returning home Yi Fan, already lying beside Sui Shui, feeling the fluctuation of the airflow in Cloud City, the corner of his mouth smiled slightly, the old king should be about to break through successfully, he will have another big help in the future, Yi Fan fell asleep in a daze as well, but in Cloud City, in a hotel, Yu Linglong, who was lying on the bed, couldn't sleep, for, she found a sudden surge of warmth inside her, and that warm current, in the body, warmed his tendons and veins, and the Dantian body, was actually quietly improving his roots and bones, and his martial arts chi, it's simply amazing, however, Yu Linglong recalled carefully before finally determining that the warmth had suddenly arisen after Yi Fan had touched her buttocks, Jade Linglong couldn't figure out how, she just had such a close contact with Yi Fan, and there was an extra warm current in her body, through what way did those warm currents enter her body, you can raise your martial arts chi yourself, so Yi Fan himself, Thinking of Yi Fan's terrifying talent, Yu Linglong suddenly thought of a possibility. Yi Fan had already broken through to the martial grandmaster realm at the age of 15, which was completely impossible if one cultivated at a normal rate. Had he discovered Yi Fan's biggest secret? Since he could detect Yi Fan's secret, did Sui Shui find it too? I must go and ask tomorrow. Only, there was another important question. Did Xian Yu Fei not know the secret of Yi Fan? Otherwise, Xian Yu Fei wouldn't have been so foolish to withdraw from Yi Fan's marriage. As the youngest female martial god of Great Xia, Yu Linglong's strength had also been promoted to Martial Dao Sovereign. However, because of her roots and talent, Yu Linglong had been stuck at Martial Dao Sovereign for a very long time without any progress at all. It seemed that his own cultivation path had come to an end. But now, by being in close contact with Yi Fan, one's strength and roots could be improved. So with enough contact, wouldn't one be able to strike towards the realm of Martial Zun, or even Martial Emperor? To think that after one's strength arrived at that step, one's future prospects would inevitably be another realm ah. Moreover, after one's strength reaches that point, some people should not say anything more about themselves, right? After thinking about this, Yu Linglong had already made a decision in her heart. Since this was the case, then she would contact Yi Fan more in the future. That damn bad guy, he wants to take advantage. Let him, lol. Sooner or later it's his anyway. There was no talk all night. The next day, when Yi Fan woke up, Sui Shui was still snuggled in Yi Fan's arms asleep. Although it was true that being in close contact with Yi Fan, one could obtain warmth feedback, which would be beneficial to one's body in terms of warmth and enhancement. After just two days of spending time together, Sui Shui's martial chi had actually broken through the harmonization power and impacted towards the mastery realm. But helplessly, Yi Fan's fighting strength was too strong. Sui Shui's own body was just an ordinary person. She couldn't resist. So every time she tossed and turned, Sui Shui would have to pass out for the whole night. Yi Fan was a little heartbroken. His palm was placed on Sui Shui's waist, quietly running his own martial arts chi, channeling vitality power towards Sui Shui's body, helping Sui Shui to warm up her body. It wasn't until Sui Shui's eyelashes moved a few times and she was about to wake up that Yi Fan withdrew his hand. Yikes, you're already awake. Sui Shui opened her eyes just in time to see Yi Fan staring at her cautiously. The quilt slipped off her neck, and a large white landscape emerged on Sui Shui's chest. Although the two of them had already been in close contact, Sui Shui was still a little embarrassed to be stared at by Yi Fan like this. No looking. While speaking, Sui Shui reached over to cover Yi Fan's eyes, but did not realize that when she moved like this, the quilt slipped even more, and the two watermelons were almost entirely displayed in front of Yi Fan, causing Sui Shui to shriek again. Even if Yi Fan's fixation was good, he couldn't stand such stimulation. At that moment, he pounced on Sui Shui and warmed up the morning exercises one more time before letting Sui Shui get up. Sui Shui's face was flushed, and when she looked at the time of her cell phone, she suddenly got up with some urgency to look for clothes and said, 
Not good. Time is too late. Today Sue's group is also going to hold a conference. I have to go to the company right away. It's all your fault. Su Ishue let out a pout at Yi Fan. Thinking of Yi Fan's performance in the past few days, Su Ishue was still very satisfied. Although Yi Fan still looks silly on the surface, but at least that aspect, it is still very powerful. Fast and slow, light and heavy. Yi Fan all put my quite good. Is Yi Fan really still a fool? Those things, no one ever handed over to Yi Fan ah, Yi Fan how so well? Before Yi Fan could answer, Wang Fugui's call suddenly came to mind outside Sui Shui's residence. Big brother, are you awake? Sister-in-law, get dressed and get up. I have something important to report to big brother. Wang Fugui's words caused Sui Shui's face to blush once again. It's all a shame. This Wang Fugui is also really not at all evasive. Hastily packing up, when Yi Fan and Sui Shui arrived downstairs in the hall, Wang Fugui had already been in the living room and was pacing back and forth excitedly. Seeing Yi Fan coming down, he rushed over and grabbed Yi Fan's hand. Big brother, I've broken through. I've also broken through to the sovereign master realm. Ha ha, thanks to the stone you bought yesterday. The Yuan Chi Dan inside helped me finally break through to the sovereign master realm. Big brother, in the future, I'll finally have enough power to protect you. Wang Fugue had an excited look on his face. And Yi Fan had actually sensed it last night. Adding to the fact that Yi Fan's identity was now that of a fool. So he didn't show much excitement. Patriarch? What is that? Can I eat it? Yi Fan deliberately asked a silly question, causing Su Yishuan and Wang Fugui to be speechless. No, big brother. Zongshur Realm, is the fight is very powerful look. Big brother, five years ago, when you peaked, you were also Zongshur Realm ah, he he he, now my strength can also compete with you five years ago. Wang Fugui had an excited face, because he had been with Yi Fan. Yi Fan's demonic talent suppressed Wang Fugui not by a head at all but by several levels, in Wang Fugue's heart, he had always considered surpassing Yi Fan as his ultimate goal, looking at Wang Fugue's agitated appearance, Yi Fan smiled faintly inwardly, just you, now you still want to compete with me, this young man will still abuse you with one hand, while you're making progress, I'm making progress alright, while several people were talking, Yu Linglong came, as soon as he entered the door, he noticed the change in Wang Fugue's aura, young Wang, you made a breakthrough last night? Yu Linglong stared at Wang Fugue with a surprised face. When she saw Wang Fugue at the airport yesterday, Yu Linglong had sensed that Wang Fugue was only at the strength of the control realm, and there was no sign of any breakthrough at all. And in just one night's time, Wang Fugue had actually broken through to the Zone Master realm? When did the Sovereign realm become such a cabbage? So rare? And, I made a breakthrough thanks to the stone that Big Brother bought yesterday. Wang Fugue was very clear that he had made a breakthrough solely because of that Yuan Chi Dan. Otherwise with his talent, he was afraid that it would not be possible until he was 60 years old. Stones? What rock? What the hell is going on? Yu Linglong frowned. Since the Yi family's extermination, in just a few days time, too many things had happened in Yun City. Zhao family extinguished. Wang family big young man was killed. Sui Shui was attacked. Xia Hao and Li Hu life and death to follow. Li Yun Yang suddenly exploded dead. And then Wang Fugue got the stone. Suddenly Zongshir. Yu Linglong always felt that something was wrong. It seems that invisibly, there is a hand manipulating all this. Everything that went against the Yi family did not have a good ending. And everything that befriended the Yi family received great benefits. Yu Linglong always suspected that Yi Fan had awakened. But there was no evidence. That stone. Is to spend 50. 000, 000 yesterday. The big brother looked at a lot of things. And finally had to that stone. I just bought it. Back. The big brother actually had to eat that stone raw. And finally the stone fell to the ground. So only to see the inside of the potion. Listening to Wang Fugue's careful description and repeated emphasis, Yi Fan couldn't help but give a bitter smile inwardly. This mallet, afraid that others don't know ah, described in such detail, Yu Linglong that meticulous mind, will certainly suspect, these small details, fooling Sui Shui, might easily be dealt with. However, Yu Linglong, as her sister-in-law, was also the youngest female martial god of Dasha, so she was afraid that it wouldn't be that easy to lull her over. Yi Fan Tian even let you eat that stone raw? Yu Linglong's brows tightened and her breathing began to catch. Is it really that coincidental? The stone that Yi Fan had to buy had the elixir inside it, and Yi Fan still had to make Wang Fugue eat it? It was just Wang Fugue, the mallet. Who wouldn't think much about it? According to Yu Linglong's conjecture, Yi Fan was deliberately playing dumb. This was trying to find a way to help his brother improve his strength. Yi Fan, tell me honestly, have you awakened or not? The Zhao family's extermination. Was it you who planned it? Li Yunyang's death. Was it you who moved it? As well as saving Mr. Lei yesterday. 
Yu Linglong's entire body aura exploded as she took two steps forward, and the atmosphere of the entire room became somewhat oppressive. Yi Fan looked at this future first wife of his and his heart was also bitter for a while. There are times when it's not good for a woman to be too smart. Killing. Me, I'm afraid. Who wants to kill? Yi Fan pretended to be very weak and headed towards Sui Shui behind him to hide. Seeing Yi Fan's appearance, Sui Shui had a letter to write to hurt and interrupted Yu Linglong. Big sister, you don't be too strict with Xiao Fan. On the night that the Zhao family was exterminated, Yi Fan was with me and didn't have the chance to do anything at all. Moreover, when Yi Fan was alone at home, there were bodyguards arranged by the Yi family at home, as well as bodyguards arranged by me. They all protected Yi Fan 24 hours a day, and didn't see Yi Fan leave the house at all. So how could he do it? Yeah, sister-in-law, I've actually always suspected that Big Brother has awakened, but Big Brother has been with me all along. There are so many things he didn't even have the chance to do. Wang Fu Gui also helped out from the side. Really? Yu Linglong listened to the words of the two men and became even more puzzled in her heart. Since Yi Fan didn't have the chance to make a move, what was the origin of that expert that appeared in Cloud City? Is it really that much of a coincidence? However, Yu Linglong thought about it again and realized that no matter if Yi Fan didn't wake up or if he had already woken up and then played dumb, it wasn't a bad thing for the Yi family and the people. Yu Linglong looked deeply at Yi Fan and continued to speak. Yi Fan, no matter what state you're in now, you mustn't forget that we're all your wives. Humph, if you dare to treat us badly, my old lady will definitely not spare you. Although it was a reprimand, in the end, the words from Yu Linglong's mouth became a bit pouty. Thinking of the miserable state of the Yi family, Yu Linglong felt another pang of heartache. Poor Yi Fan, for the sake of the entire Yi family, he had obviously awakened, but he still continued to play dumb. Poor Ah. Thinking of this, Yu Linglong went forward and took the initiative to hold Yi Fan in her arms. The moment their skin touched, another warm current surged into Yu Linglong's body, warming her body while rapidly boosting her martial arts chi. Sure enough, Yi Fan's body was the most special furnace pot. As long as one was in close contact with Yi Fan, one would be able to obtain that magical warmth. And Yu Linglong was almost certain that while she was getting the benefits, Yi Fan would surely get them as well. Otherwise, it was impossible for Yi Fan's strength to progress that fast. Sister Yi Shui, I have a whisper to ask you. Yu Linglong somewhat excitedly pulled Su Yi Shui to one side, her face somewhat blushing, wanting to open her mouth, hesitating for a long time still somewhat embarrassed. How the hell do you ask something like that to a yellow girl? Is it possible to ask? What did it feel like last night when you were sleeping and using those positions? However, thinking that it was related to the specialness of Yi Fan's body, as well as the future enhancement of her own martial path, Yu Linglong still made up her mind. Sister Yi Shui, when you were intimate with Yi Fan last night, did you have any special feeling? That is, if you would feel a warm current after Yi Fan and you were intimate, just after Yu Linglong's words fell. Sui Shui immediately looked at Yu Linglong with a shocked face and said, Sister Linglong, you felt it too? This is simply too amazing. Look at me. I barely have a base in martial arts, but now I have entered the stage of martial arts harmonization strength. While speaking, Sui Shui reached out and took a steel cup on the table in her hand, and with just a gentle pinch, the cup immediately transformed into a mass of scrap metal, and then running her chi, the cup was restored to its original state. This, Yu Linglong looked at Sui Shui with a shocked face. Regarding Su Yi Shui's situation, Yu Linglong naturally knew about it. This girl, who was indeed an ordinary girl before, just after following Yi Fan for a few days, had she become so powerful? It seems one's feelings were correct. Yi Fan was truly extraordinary. Then the seven of them announced that they were marrying Yi Fan, originally thought that they had made a sacrifice, but now it seems, it's still these sisters of theirs who have picked up the treasure ah. At this rate of improvement, the strength of the crowd could soar very quickly ah. In the future, even if Yi Fan remained demented, with these these beautiful wives protecting him, the Yi family would still not be bad. Besides, Yi Fan wouldn't necessarily continue to be demented. Didn't Dr. Lei say that Yi Fan was very hopeful of awakening? Sister Yi Shui, I still have some doubts. Do you think Yi Fan has really awakened? I always feel that something is not right. Yu Linglong was still a bit skeptical. Su Yi Shui's face blushed when she heard Yu Linglong's words. Sister Linglong, in fact, I also have similar thoughts. It's already been twice. When Yi Fan was in bed that, he didn't look stupid at all. Speaking at the back, Sui Shui was mortified. She quickly found an excuse to leave. Sister Linglong, you guys stay with Yi Fan. My company still has important things to leave for a while. In the afternoon, we'll have dinner together ha ha. Today was supposed to be the day that Su's group's new drug conference was held. But Li Yunyang deliberately held the conference a day early. And also stole and leaked Su's group's most central drug prescription. 
This was a deliberate attempt to disgust Sue's group and to make Sue's group look bad. But after the Lee family launched their care yesterday, there was a major change of heart at the engagement dinner in the evening. At the engagement dinner, Xian Yufei actually showed up with Yi Fan, and Cloud City Godfather Li who brought Gatling over to shock the entire audience. The key was that Li Yunyang actually died on the spot in an explosion. It's kind of karma for the Li family. Yes, Su Yishue left, and Xia Hao and Lei Qianjie arrived one after another. Yi Fan and Lei Qianjie were still alone in the room treating. Master, last night, after I gathered all the herbs, I refined three portions according to the method you told me, and I finally succeeded. Look, as Lei Qianjie spoke, he pulled out a bottle from his body, which contained an emerald green ointment. As soon as the cap is opened, the strong aroma hits your nose. Lei Qianjie was so excited that he took out his knife and made a cut to his arm, and blood immediately flowed out. Lei Qianjie wiped the blood from the wound with a paper towel, then quickly applied a little ointment on the wound. Next moment, the wound on Lei Qianjie's arm actually disappeared at a speed visible to the eye. When the ointment was wiped clean, not a single mark was left on the wound. And, moreover, it became almost whiter. Yesterday, although Lei Qianjie and Yi Changfeng, as well as a group of old brothers drinking drunk, but the second half of the night, Lei Qianjie still did not forget the things that Yi Fan explained, and experimented all night. After the ointment was brewed, Lei Qianjie had already experimented with his own arm several times, carving several wounds on his arm already. Yi Fan picked up the bottle and smelled it. Not bad, it's 80% of the level. Promoting it to the market is already enough. Yi Xue's side is going to hold a conference soon. Later on, you'll take me along to the scene in your name. Yi Fan's eyes flashed with a touch of depth. The Zhao family and Yun Chang, and the Wang family have all been pretty much cleaned up by me. All that's left is a Li family that is hardened against the Su family, and they definitely won't stop at the Su family's conference today. Yes, although Lei Qianjie was a big shot in the medical world, he didn't dare to be reckless in front of Yi Fan. The Zhao family is so huge that it can be destroyed just by saying so. Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia, but he did not move to destroy the Zhao family. Wang Xiao disappeared, and Li Yunyang exploded to death on the spot. Those who are the opponents of the Yi family, HM, they certainly won't end well. Su's group, still an hour away from the conference, Su Yi Shui, Su Hong Hai, and second uncle Su Ming Hao, as well as many other core members of the Su family, as well as the company's shareholders were all present. Big brother, the conference will be held soon now. Our prescription has been stolen and the Li family has already released it first. What should we do? Yes, old chairman. Things have been investigated clearly. The person who stole the secrets, behind the back of the provincial city Lu family backing. We also screwed people ah? Alas, this is the revenge of those who dealt with the Yi family against the Su family. With MS, Su announcing her marriage to Yi Fan. They'll surely do whatever it takes to suppress the Su group. Although yesterday at the banquet, because of Yi Fan's relationship, Su's group had already reached an important cooperation with the Xia family. With the Xia family's channels backing them up, Su's pharmaceuticals could definitely take off. But the crux of the matter is, now that the prescription that Su's group has been developing for so many years has been leaked, there is no good product. Even if there are enough channels, it's useless ah, uh, people are still more or less complaining. Su Honghai also knew what was going on and couldn't say anything. Everyone, what we are discussing now is not what the other party is dealing with us for but how we should solve this problem. Yesterday we discussed it all afternoon, and we didn't discuss any good solutions. Now does everyone have any new ideas? Sui Shui and Su Hong Hai, father and daughter, looked towards the crowd below. All of them lowered their heads. No one stood up to speak. Su Clan's R&D strength was already limited, and it was already very good that they could develop that beauty pill. Now that the prescription had been stolen, what else could they do? Unless, now we have a prescription that's even more perfect than that one with even more awesome results, it would be enough to dampen the Li family's popularity and regain the upper hand. But how is that possible? We, the Su group, can't develop it at all. And if other companies could develop it, I'm afraid they would have pushed it into the market long ago, and would still wait until today? Su Shui listened to the crowd's discussion and finally let out a long helpless sigh. Forget it, let's leave it at that. Even though our prescription was stolen, as long as we release a new one, we will still occupy more or less a bit of the market. Let's find a way to tide over the immediate difficulties first. Although Sui Shue said this on her lips, she was still very worried on the inside. Although Su's group had developed the new prescription, all aspects of the patent formalities had not yet been completed. The Li family stole their own prescription over there. If they once went ahead and filed and patented it properly, that behind the Su's group even if you want to use the prescription, you have to get the authorization of the Li family ah, Otherwise the Lee family will sue the Sue's group infringement.
This is Sui Shui the most worried about things. The words in Sui Shui's heart didn't come out. Those ordinary shareholders and management couldn't think of that. But Su Honghai and his second uncle Su Mingho could naturally think of this. But what can be done now? The invitations to the launch, as well as invited media reporters, have arrived at the launch site, regardless of whether something is good or bad. Today's launch will take a thing up to show off. Dismissed, Sui Shui rubbed her head with some fatigue. If she chose Yi Fan in this way, her own honor or disgrace did not matter. But if she really pulled the Su group into the abyss, Sui Shui was still a little bit overjoyed in her heart. Mr. Su, Mr. Xia is here, as well as Yi Xiao, Mr. Lei, they are all here. Sui Shui was making final preparations in her office when she suddenly heard her secretary's greeting. Mr. Lei said that he has good news for Mr. Su, eh? Sui Shui was stunned. Lei Qian Jia was the great summer's medical saint, and had previously contributed many good prescriptions at good prices to the people. Could it be that in the hands of the medical saint, there are still some prescriptions, specializing in helping yourself? But why would Divine Dr. Lei, as a famous Divine Doctor of the Great Xia, want to help himself? Because of Big Sister Yu Linglong, or Yi Fan? One should know that Xia Hao had come to help himself unconditionally because of Yi Fan. Sui Shui couldn't help but think of what Yu Linglong had said. Yi Fan might have really awakened and was just playing dumb in front of everyone? If that was the case, it would really be too shy. He himself had guided Yi Fan like that the night before. To no no, his previous identity, or Yi Fan's little sister-in-law ah, invite them in. Half an hour later, the Su Group's conference officially began. The launch site was in the largest multimedia hall on the first floor of the Su Group building. The site, which was large enough to hold several thousand people, was actually packed. There are pharma reps, channel suppliers, and peers, as well as some collaborators. Of course, there were more family representatives, power scouts who came to watch the fun. Everyone knew that after the Yi family's accident, Sui Shui was also one of the seven girls who announced that they would continue to marry into the Yi family. Everyone knew that those who were dealing with the Yi family would definitely not be so willing to stop. If the Su family dared to get close to the Yi family, then the other party would definitely do something and would make a move against the Su group. And assassinating Sui Shui and stealing the core medicine formula developed by the Su group was one of the means. Although the news was blocked, it wasn't difficult for those super families to inquire about it. Yesterday, Sui Shui was hunted down and got away with it. So today, all of Su's core prescriptions have been exposed and released in advance. So what should Su do? Will the Su group's launch go smoothly? Will the Li family make a scene? Everyone's gazes couldn't help but look towards a seat in front where there was a separate area. Li Zhong, the head of the Li family, was sitting there gravely with a large group of people holding computers. However, a look of contempt appeared on his face, as if everything was winning. In addition to the Li family's people, the Lu family from the provincial city also sent a representative, exchanging a few words with Li Zhong every now and then, seemingly discussing something with a smug look. Many others on the scene were there to watch and observe. They wanted to see Su's coping strategy and the Yi family's support for Su's group, because on the surface, it was the Su group's launch, a sparring match between the Li family and the Su family, but in reality, it was the Yi family behind the scene and his rivals at war. Welcome everyone to the Su group's new drug launch site, everyone please be quiet, our launch will begin soon. The host greeted everyone and welcomed the representatives who had come out, to the shock of everyone at the scene, except for Xia Hao who came to sit in. Sun Qian, the governor of Cloud City, also came, as did Elder Wang, who was friendly with the Yi family, and many other bigwigs who had retired from the public, all of whom were also present temporarily. These bigwigs, in the entire Tianan province, as well as the southwestern region, were all very prestigious and prestigious ah, never participated in a single business act, and now to the Su Group launch site. It is clear that this is to stand up for the Su Group, but also for the Yi family to support ah, of course, Many of them were the bigwigs that Lei Qianjie had called for a drink last night. The sudden arrival of so many bigwigs made the atmosphere of the scene suddenly a little weird. This drama today seems to be getting better and better. What was supposed to be a small launch seems to have become a race point. What everyone didn't know was that at this time, in the corner of the back seat, Yi Chongfeng, the old master Yi, accompanied by his escort, wearing a hat, was also sitting quietly there. Sui Shui didn't even hesitate to step forward at such a crucial time, saving face for the Yi family. Then, for the granddaughter-in-law launch, Elder Yi naturally had to come and sit in. He wanted to see who else dared to make trouble at today's launch. Master Yi, although he is old, his majesty is still there. A number of the old parts of the military were promoted by Master Yi. As long as Elder Yi doesn't die, the favor is there. When it really came to the time of the real sword, those subordinates of Yi Changfeng would still stand out without hesitation. 
Good morning everyone, welcome to your busy schedules. I am Sui Shui, president of Sue's Group. I'm sure you've all heard about the release of Sue's Group's new medicine for a long time, but it's quite coincidental that Cloud City's Lee's Group, who doesn't know when, has also begun to secretly research a beauty care pill, with almost exactly the same efficacy as Sue's Group's, and it also happened that a conference was held yesterday. As Sui Shui spoke, she turned her gaze to Li Zhong and the others on the stage. Yesterday, the Li family's launch had been broadcast live across the internet through the media. Most people knew, and many others were very clear, that although the Li family was engaged in the pharmaceutical industry, it had never been involved in the beauty business at all, nor did it have any research and development department. So how could it possibly develop a new beauty pill in a short period of time? It's basically no secret that the Li family's prescription, which was stolen from the Su clan, was stolen from the Su clan. Everyone came to see a good show today because they wanted to see how Sue's group would actually evade or solve this problem. And how will the Lee family take offense at the Sue's launch? Sui Shui was very smart, not waiting for the Lee family to open their mouth first, but throwing the question out herself first. Although things were clear to most people, there was still a part that was unaware. Sui Shui did this, at least let those who didn't know the situation understand the despicable behavior of the Lee family, instead of being confusedly brought up to speed. On the other hand, Sui Shui taking such an initiative made the Li family instantly fall into a passive position. Li Zhong and the Lu family's representative under the stage were instantly a bit bewildered. How come Sui Shui isn't following the script? According to the normal process, should not be Sui Shui on the stage to announce their new drug prescription ingredients, efficacy and patent data, and so on, and then they began to question it? But now Sui Shui came up and aimed her spear at the Li family. Make the first move? What gives Sui Shui the right? Is this going to be a straight up table turner? Who gave her the courage? But Sui Shui had already opened her mouth in front of thousands of people, and had made things clear. This was equivalent to having lit the fuse for the battle. And if Li Zhong didn't respond, then he would have completely fallen into a disadvantage. Coming here today with the Lu family's representative just to stir up the Su group's launch, Li Zhong had no choice now even though he had been in a very bad mood since yesterday. Swish, as Sui Shui opened her mouth, everyone's gazes looked toward Li Zhong, waiting for his response. The Li family is doing something really despicable. I heard that it was the Li family that stole the Su family's prescription and released it in advance. How malicious. Humph. But there's retribution for doing bad things. Didn't Li Yun Yang, the Li family's youngest master, explode to death on the spot yesterday? Let's see. The Yi family has deep roots. The Su family won't fall so easily with the Yi family's support. And the Li family's retribution. There's more to come. Beside Li Zhong, the guys who were watching the fun were not too big to talk and their voices were not suppressed in the slightest. The pain of losing his son hadn't even subsided yet, and these people deliberately stabbed Li Zhong's wounds several times. Li Zhong's face instantly turned blue, itching to rush over and strangle those bastards to death. But now that Li Zhong has racked the fire, he has more important things to do, and even more annoyed in his heart, he can only endure. Mr. Su, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Are you saying that my Li family stole your Su family's prescription? If that's the case, Please also ask Mr. Sue to produce evidence. Otherwise Mr. Sue shouldn't spit blood and mislead everyone like this ah. Li Zhong is also a veteran who has been in the business world for so many years. And he opened his mouth and grasped the key to the problem. Everyone knew that it was the Li family that had stolen the Sue family's prescription. But the problem was that the matter had also been investigated. But there was no evidence. The key witnesses, who had disappeared, might have been silenced. Even if everyone knew that it was the Li family that stole the prescription. So what? The Su family had clearly suffered a loss, but they could only break their teeth and swallow it in their stomachs. Su Ishua frowned and couldn't help but glance towards the side. All the scenes were almost exactly the same as what Mr. Xia and the others had deduced in the office. Fortunately, Yi Fan and Mr. Lei and the others had come, otherwise Su Ishua really didn't know how to react. Mr. Su, look at you. There is not much evidence. I see. You'd better not blame your own problems on others or focus on holding your conference. But let's say the ugly words in front. I hope that the new medicine released by Mr. Sue, better not be similar to the new medicine released by Miley family. If the combination of ingredients is the same, then Miley family will have reason to believe that it is you, the Sue family, who has stolen Miley family's prescription and stolen trade secrets. And I will sue until the Sue group goes bankrupt. After all, as we all know, the Lee family's launch was already held yesterday. Moreover, all of our prescription patents, Ingredients, efficacy, and pharmaceutical processes have all been filed. M.S. Sue herself had better be careful. Of course, there is also another way. If Sue's group is willing to be acquired by my Lee's group, I, Li Zhong, 
am able to consider sharing the prescription with Sue's group. I have the contract already. Li Zhong's string of words, like machine guns, were all scripts prepared in advance. After saying that, Li Zhong's heart was much more comfortable. While speaking, Li Zhong raised the contract in his hand. The purpose of coming here today was to intend to drive Su Group to the brink of extinction, bankruptcy, or being acquired by the Li family and completely ceasing to exist. Only then did it serve as a deterrent to those other forces and clans that were close to the Yi family. Seeing Su's group eat the appearance of defeat, Li Zhong's heart is very comfortable. The above accounted for the task is also finally half completed. The back will just have to wait quietly. If Su's group will still release that new drug, the combination of ingredients is certainly the same. Li Zhong will sue on the spot, suing Su's group, with their own hands of evidence patents, etc., can definitely drag down Su's group. If the Su clan didn't have the means to release the new drug, then the Su clan's conference today would be a joke. It also proved from another aspect that the Su family chose to side with the Yi family and had no room for resistance when they were retaliated against. The defeat of the Su family also meant that the Yi family had completely fallen out of favor. Those other family forces that were in a neutral state would think carefully when scrutinizing how to continue to get along with the Yi family. And Li Zhong would then recruit all of Su's clients, partners, and all of them on the spot. Now with the collapse of the Su group, if the Li family offers several times the conditions, how will those channel partners choose? Even if Su group has the support of the Xia family, it is not enough ah, after all, those channelers under the Xia family, also need to make money, also need the product in order to promote and make money, no matter what, the Su family will be finished today, Li Zhong has calculated all the circumstances and played a kettle, and the Su family has no way at all, swish, after Li Zhong's words fell, all eyes once again turned to Su Shua on the stage, the crowd was curious as to what Su Shua would actually do, how in the world can the Su family get through this difficult situation in front of them? Only, what made everyone a bit curious was that Su Shui, who was on the stage at this time, didn't have any panic. Li family master, you still have to be conscientious in doing things, or else if you do something wrong, you will be retributed. Su Shui's faint words hit Li Zhong straight in the heart. The meaning of this is obvious. You have done something wrong. That's why your son suddenly exploded to death yesterday. Don't worry. Everyone, Su's group walks the walk and sits the talk. Our new drug launch will go on as usual. I announced that the new drug developed by our Su group is called Snowface Beauty Cream. This is a salve developed based on a prescription from ancient times that can remove dark spots and can quickly repair wounds without leaving any traces. With Su Yishui's introduction, some hastily rushed out PowerPoint began to play on the big screen. The general ingredients, combinations, and efficacy of the prescription and the beauty and skin care pills released by the Li family were two completely different things. Moreover, from the PPT, the effect of the snow beauty cream is much better than the effect of the beauty pill. It can make the wound repair without any traces, which is a boon against those women who had a cesarean section. Wow! Before Sui Shui finished her introduction, the thousands of people present immediately began to explode. If the snow face cream is real, it is simply an epic-making product. In the beauty industry, it is definitely an explosive single product worth trillions of dollars. Such a miraculous ointment. Not to mention selling a few hundred dollars a bottle, that is, a few thousand dollars, a few tens of thousands of dollars a bottle, there will definitely be countless people who will buy a, Su Group actually has another anointing to release, is this playing a game of concealment, numb nuts, we've all been tricked by Su's group, so it was all a smokescreen put up by Su's group before, the Lee family spent so much effort to steal secrets and ended up stealing a lonely one, while the crowd was in an uproar, Li Zhong stared at the secretary beside him with an annoyed face and said, What's going on? Didn't you say that your people have already penetrated into the core of Su Group's top management and have grasped all the secrets? How come such a snow face cream has suddenly appeared in Su Group now? Li Zhong was very angry. In order to bring down the Su Group, Li Zhong had already spent hundreds of millions of dollars to train, by spies, and countless hours of effort. Even Li Zhong suspected that his son was also moved by the Su family. He had put his son on the line, but what he stole was such a thing that was useless. It couldn't hurt the other party's fundamentals at all. So how could Li Zhong not be angry? Mr. Li, I don't know about this, ah, uh, but I can 100% guarantee that the prescription we got is indeed the new drug that Su's group spent 10 years developing. This is definitely correct. And it's unlikely that Su group still has the energy and time to develop another new drug. Li Zhong's secretary's face was full of doubts. His head was thinking rapidly. Suddenly his eyes lit up. I understand. Su group is trying to cheat us. This snow face ointment of theirs is definitely a fake. It's just made up to fool everyone. It can't possibly be effective. Jean Yang, Li Zhong's secretary, seemed to have discovered a new continent as if he was dancing with joy, and couldn't help but praise his own resourcefulness. 
the entire process of stealing the secrets of the Su group. In fact, Li Zhong also participated in the whole process, and he also knows that the Su family is indeed unlikely to develop another new drug through. But now that Su's group has come up with another new drug at the launch site, there is only one explanation, and that is that Su's group is deceiving everyone and everyone, and that this drug can't be real at all. Mr. Su, is this medicine you are talking about really that magical? That ancient prescription you mentioned, has it been proven? Is it harmful to humans and who can bear the consequences of the side effects? Someone in the crowd had already shouted out towards Sui Shui. In fact, this is also what Li Zhong wanted to ask. Since someone opened his mouth, Li Zhong was also happy not to say anything more, but quietly watched the good show. I'd like to see how you're going to resolve this deadlock today, Sui Shui. I, Sui Shui on the stage. Although her heart has already gotten the affirmative answer from Lei Qian Jie, but still a little bottomless, slightly hesitant. It was such a momentary hesitation that those people below who were up in arms immediately caught the hint and began to follow along to build up momentum. Mr. Su, you're cheating, right? It can make wounds heal. If there is such a miracle medicine, then those other beauty companies, won't they all collapse? Yeah, it would be so easy to make money if anyone could say they used an ancient recipe to create a beauty self to sell. Fraud, Sui Shui. You're a fraud. Fraud, fraud. The emotions of all the people on the scene, mobilized by those who had the intention to do so, were instantly brought to a rhythm and began to rise high. The whole place was starting to chant and the scene was getting a little out of hand. Those channelers under the Su group were all lost in thought, and secretly they all began to think about how to go and get in touch with the Li family at a later time, to find a chance to cooperate with the Li family. Sui Shui. Is it that you don't even want to lose your face? Can you even find such a poor method? Spreading such a big lie. Isn't it broken as soon as you poke it? As soon as Li Zhong opened his mouth, the crowd below quieted down. Mr. Su, I think you'd better sell the Su group to my Li family. N, two and a half million. No more. Li Zhong was deliberately humiliating Su Yi Shui. When Su Yi Shui didn't know what to do. Next to the stage, Yi Fan's arm quietly touched Lei Chen Jia. Lei Chen Jia knew that it was time for him to go on. What? Everyone who questions the authenticity of this prescription? Is it because you don't believe in Lao Fu's medical skills? Or what? Lei Chenjie stepped onto the stage with a microphone in hand, and the moment he showed his face, he caused the crowd below to start screaming. Ha! It's the great summer medical sage. Elder Lei Chenjie? Jeez, is it really Mr. Ray? What do you mean? Elder Lei means to say that this ancient prescription was provided by him? If that's the case, I'm afraid that Su's snow face salve is mostly true. Interesting, this big show today is even better than the movie. The noisy crowd at the scene once again set off a wave of climax because of Lei Qin Jie's appearance. The mood and attitude of the crowd, however, had begun to shift. If it was just the Su family saying that theirs was an ancient prescription, everyone would still have some doubts. But now the famous medical saint of Dashia, Lei Qin Jie, personally stood up for Su's group. This wait is enough. The first person in Dashia's medical science. Isn't that even convincing? Everyone, this prescription was obtained by me unintentionally, and based on the herbs, ingredients, and refining method on the ancient document, I have already refined a salve last night, proving that the salve does have the described functions, repairing wounds, beautifying and removing spots, and it can be effective in a few minutes. Boom! Lei Qian Jie was actually really standing up for Su's group's new medicine, and he even personally proved that the ointment worked. What is this? One must know that as a famous medical saint of Dasha, Lei Qianjie had cured countless bigwigs, tycoons, and powerful people. Lack of money? Not a chance in hell. Moreover, for so many years, Lei Qianjie has never stood up for any commercial company. Ah, if there is any good formula, Lei Qianjie has directly published it on the internet. It's unusual to be so open and confident in endorsing the SOS today. But the effect of Lei Qianjie's appearance was naturally immediate. As Lei Qianjie's words fell, after the scene was in an uproar, a response immediately rang out. Lord Medical Sage has proved it. I choose to believe in Su Group. Mr. Su, I, Hongfa Pharmaceuticals, would like to cooperate with Su's group and order a batch of goods first. How about a deposit of $1 billion? I, Far Mountain Group, would also like to cooperate with Su Group with a deposit of $500 million. So please be sure to give Su a chance. Eastern Group, in the blink of an eye, there were already dozens of companies expressing their intention to cooperate towards Sui Shui and the initial estimate of the deposit alone was already tens of billions. With these funds, the development of the Su Group would not be a problem at all. Leaping to become the number one pharmaceutical company in Dasha would also not be a problem at all. Sui Shui looked at Lei Chen Jie beside her. Her eyes were happy and at the same time, there were a few moments of worry. 
As the president of a pharmaceutical company, Sui Shui was very clear about the difficulty of beauty cell development. A single portion of ointment can heal wounds and get rid of dark spots? Such an unbelievable function is completely unheard of. Seeing the situation of the scene instantly reversed, Li Zhong was dumbfounded. Just a moment ago, he himself was mocking Su's group. Was he slapped in the face so soon? Damn, what kind of food are you guys collecting intelligence for? Li Zhong kicked his secretary Jin Yang in annoyance. How did you guys count out that old thing Lei Qianjie? Lei Qianjie appeared. Even if that ointment was fake, most of them would still believe that it was real ah. Mr. Li, according to the arrangement from above, Lei Qianjie is not going to appear in Cloud City at all ah. The above arranged so many people to block the assassination of Lei Qianjie. I don't know why up to now Lei Qianjie will still be here. I'll deal with you later. Li Zhong blared fiercely at his secretary, then straightened his throat and got up to say loudly, Dr. Lei, it's not that all of us don't believe you, it's really that the efficacy of that ointment is too unbelievable. We really don't quite dare to believe that the ointment can instantly repair the wound ah, how can you prove it to us? Wow. Everyone looked at Li Zhong as he spoke again to destroy it, but on second thought, Li Zhong's words were not excessive. Isn't such a counterintuitive ointment said to be effective in a few minutes? Wouldn't it be more convincing to prove it live? Proof? How do I prove it? The best way to do this, naturally, is to make a cut toward the arm, then apply an ointment, and in a few minutes the wound disappears. No, but whose arm? Lei Qianjie was quite literally, instinctively wanting to take out his dagger and slash his own arm. But just at this time, Yi Fan beside the stage suddenly rushed out and snatched the dagger from Lei Qianjie's hand. I know, I know how to prove it, find someone to make a cut, then smear on the ointment and see if the wound is good. Won't that prove whether the medicine is real or fake? Isn't that right? Ishue's wife? Yi Fan held the dagger in his hand and inquired towards Su Ishue. Indeed. But little Fan, what are you fooling around with at this time? Su Ishue saw that Yi Fan suddenly rushed out, and with a pout, she wanted to go over and pull Yi Fan down, but Yi Fan didn't hesitate at all. Directly climbed down from the stage and quickly ran towards Li Zhong. That grandpa, just now you're the one who talked the most. Come on, you'll help prove it. Before Li Zhong could react to what was going on, Yi Fan had already rushed to him. Without any hesitation, Yi Fan swung the dagger in his hand and directly cut a foot-long slit in Li Zhong's arm. The cut was so deep that you could see the white bones inside. Ah, stinking fool, what are you doing? OMG, my arm, ouch, come on someone, help me bandage. Li Zhong stared at Yi Fan angrily, and when he wanted to reach out and punch Yi Fan, Yi Fan had already retreated several meters away. Grand Master, I'm helping you prove that the ointment works. Ha, huh? don't you suspect that the ointment is useless? Go, 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 go. Yi Fan's naive appearance made the crowd freeze. Li Zhong wanted to lash out, but when he thought that Yi Fan was a fool, and he was gambling with a fool, wouldn't he be too out of character? Helplessly. Li Zhong was dragged by Yi Fan and quickly walked towards the stage. On the stage, Sui Shui watched Yi Fan actually stab Li Zhong twice with a dagger, suddenly feeling inexplicably relieved. This Li Zhong was simply bad, stealing the Su family's prescription and deliberately trying to disgust himself at the launch site. If it was possible, Sui Shui would have long wanted to give him two kicks. Yi Fan did what he wanted to do but wasn't too good at going out of his way to do. On the other side, Lei Qianjie watched Li Zhong walk onto the stage with his hands full of blood and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. This little master of his own, but really does not eat the loss of the Lord Ah. Li family, I'm afraid I'll have a hard time next. Wow. Li Zhong was about to go on stage before the crowd at the venue reacted. Ha ha, Li Zhong is really unlucky to have been stabbed by that fool from the Yi family. Yeah, I'm afraid that even if Li Zhong was stabbed to death by Yi Fan, he died in vain. You guys say, is Yi Fan really stupid, or is he just a fake? He actually went straight up and gave Li Zhong two stabs. He's just the IQ of an 8 year old. How much more can you ask for? But having Li Zhong go up and prove it is indeed the best method. After all, Li Zhong is the person who least wants the Su family's new medicine to take effect. If Li Zhong can even prove that the ointment works, then it's a completely heaven defying ointment. Li Zhong, who walked onto the stage, was simply in tears. What kind of bad luck is this? Every time he met Yi Fan, nothing good would come out of it. Yesterday, he encountered Yi Fan at the engagement banquet, and as a result, his son died. Today, he encountered Yi Fan here. And Yi Fan as two knives almost killed his old life. Enduring the severe pain coming from his arm, Li Zhong still didn't forget to say towards Sui Shui, Mr. Su, don't make unnecessary struggles. 
If you chose to help the Yi family, you could have expected this result today. Ha, huh? Li Zhong was just halfway through his sentence when he suddenly screamed, staring at Yi Fan next to him with an annoyed expression. You're blind. What are you doing stepping on my foot? Sorry, sorry, I didn't pay attention just now. I'm just over a hundred pounds. Am I heavy? Stepping on it like this shouldn't be very painful, ah? Yi Fan had an innocent look on his face. And at the same time, he also intentionally stretched his foot back and forth over towards Li Zhong's instep and once again stepped on it fiercely twice. Ah, ah, you're going to die. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Li Zhong jumped around on the stage holding his feet in pain. Numb nuts. Yi Fan clearly didn't seem to weigh much. So how did stepping on his own instep make Li Zhong feel like a bulldozer was crushing on his instep? The backs of my own feet are about to break. Pust. Sui Shui couldn't help but laugh out loud beside her. This Yi Fan really helped himself out. LOL. If Yi Fan wasn't really stupid, with his previous methods, he would have directly slaughtered Li Zhong, right? The photographer next to him was very good at finding shots, and at this time, he had already carried the camera and gave a close-up of Li Zhong's arm wound. Lei Chenjie wiped the blood on the wound with a towel and showed the wound in front of the camera. Everyone can see it clearly, right? The wound is deep enough, right? You can even see the bones. Pust. Li Zhong felt that his heart had once again received a violent blow. Tramp. Can you stop bleeping? It's humiliating enough for me to be stabbed by a fool. And you repeat it over and over again? At this moment, those guests on the scene, the media, were staring at the several large screens around the hall, and seeing the Mori wounds on them. They couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. That fool of the Yi family, he's so ruthless when he gets his hands dirty. One cut to the bone? If you were more ruthless, I'm afraid the whole arm would be ruined. At this moment, Su Honghai, Zhang Ru, as well as Su Mingho and the core disciples of the Su family, who were sitting at the bottom of the stage, at the very front, were all nervous as hell when they saw the scene in front of them. Big brother, when did Ishui get in touch with Lord Healer Saint? Did that ointment given by Lord Healer Saint work or not? Yeah, big uncle. This is a matter of life and death for our Su clan. Sister Ishui knows such an awesome big shot and didn't even tell us. The crowd's anticipation was accompanied by a few concerns. Su Honghai was actually just as nervous as they were. Because until moments before she went on stage just now, Su Ishui hadn't told anything about Lei Chen Jie, nor had she told about the medicinal ointment. Su Honghai was all ready for Su's group to collapse in this onslaught. As a result, the scene suddenly began to reverse. Lei Chen Jie personally sat down and brought a heaven-defying ointment. How could Su Honghai not be excited? That's why you guys have to trust Ishui's choice. The Yi family's depth is not something you guys can speculate on. Su Honghai purposely held his appearance and spoke some lofty words causing the Su family's crowd of disciples to not be able to help but once again look at Su Ishue in a high light. On stage, Lei Qianjie applied the ointment evenly on Li Zhong's arm, and the camera kept giving close-ups live. The crowd clearly see, emerald green ointment smeared on. Li Zhong's skin seems to be moving like the ointment under the wound. Bleeding stopped. The skin began to slowly close. Phenomena that don't conform to current science are just happening in front of everyone's eyes as fast as the eye can see them. Everyone was stunned, all staring intently at the screen and Li Zhong looked at the changes on his arm with an incredulous expression. The ointment developed by the Su family this time is actually real? How is that possible? Stealing the Su family's prescription was a plan that the Li family had been plotting for years. Now it's hard to force the Su family to a dead end. Immediately the Su family can collapse and go out of business. Then one's mission is completed. When the Su group closes down, then the Li family will fully take over the Su family's industry and jump to become the No. One pharmaceutical company in Cloud City. At the same time, the top will surely reward themselves extraordinarily, and then the days will take off. No, definitely not letting the Su family's ointment do what it's supposed to do. At that thought, Li Zhong's arm moved, and he tried to reach out his other hand and quickly wipe off the ointment, but Li Zhong's movements, Yi Fan had long predicted it, making Xia how long ago instruct Wang Fugui to stand right next to Li Zhong. When Li Zhong was just about to move, Wang Fugui grabbed Li Zhong's arm as if it were an iron clamp. Family Master Li, what? Are you thirsty for water? I'll feed you? Wang Fugui was now above the Zhongshu realm, and his control of martial qi energy had reached another level. While hooking Li Zhong's shoulders in this way, the qi controlled Li Zhong's entire body, and Li Zhong simply couldn't even move a single finger. No, I'm not thirsty. Li Zhong was a little frightened when he saw Wang Fugui, because this Wang Fugui was famous for being a stupid big man, although he was a normal person. He was actually no better than the current stupid Yi Fan. If Yi Fan told him to kill himself now, he was afraid that Wang Fugui would not hesitate to drag his battle sword and do it. It's all the devil. The baby is suffering inside. Although Li Zhong was all anxious in his heart, 
He didn't dare to open his mouth to say one more word, and could only watch the wound on his arm heal at a speed visible to his eyes. In less than five minutes, the wounds on Li Zhong's arms, from the outside, were pretty much recovered. Lei Qianjie brought the towel and bit by bit, he wiped the ointment off Li Zhong's arm. Everyone's eyes widened as they stared intently at the screen in front of them. While Sui Shui on the stage, Li Zhong and a few others were looking towards the arm. A brand new, incredibly white arm appeared in front of the crowd. It seemed as if it had been bleached in bleach, and the color was all quite a bit more rosy and white than the surrounding skin color. The wounds that the crowd had seen with their own eyes just now had completely disappeared without leaving a single scratch. At this time, Wang Fugue has already released Li Zhong. Li Zhong some disbelief while arm turned over back and forth to check several times. Simply find traces of wounds ah. This is impossible, completely impossible. Li Zhong reached out and scratched very hard on his arm a few times in a vain attempt to find the wound he had just made, but there was still nothing to be found. Nope, you guys must have used some kind of blindfold. Or did you use some kind of magic? Li Zhong was on the verge of tears. He had clearly prepared everything today, intending to smash the Su family's scene. How did he end up on stage instead? As the Su family's trust? If he hadn't come on stage himself, Li Zhong would have definitely thought that this was a trust that the Su family had found. Li Zhong rolled his arm back and forth, and under the close-up of the camera, a thick arm kept rolling on the big screen of the scene, which was clearly seen by everyone on the scene. If anyone else had been on stage, everyone would have been skeptical, but now it was the head of the Li family personally on the stage. That was the nemesis who had stolen the Su family's prescription. And if there were any flaws in the ointment, Li Zhong would absolutely jump up and down. Such was the effect that everyone at the scene was shocked beyond words. Boom! Everyone began to boil up. Those groups and companies that hadn't given deposits just now. At this moment, they were as crazy as crazy, constantly squeezing over towards the Su family's cooperation registration desk. I, Tian Hong Group, pay a deposit of $1 billion. I hope the group, pay a deposit of $800 million. I, C Red Group. Pay a deposit of $1 billion and am willing to share all distribution channels. It is all too clear what a salve with such unbelievable results means to the market. This is at least a few trillion dollars of the market. As long as the entry, that is to pick up money ah, uh, who block their cooperation, that is to block their way of wealth. The scene was so hot that all the media extended their microphones to Sui Shui. Mr. Su, how did you do it? Did you hide the theft of the prescription from the world by announcing it earlier? Mr. Su, May I ask if it's because you brought good luck after you announced your marriage to Yi Fan? Dr. Lei, an interview with you. Is there any chance of the Yi family's young master awakening? The scene was so explosive, completely exceeding Li Zhong's expectations. Li Zhong was on stage, talking to a clown, standing or sitting. Li Zhong turned his head and exchanged a glance with Lu Rant's representative under the stage. A flash of gloom in his eyes. H.M. Sui Shui, since you won't let me have a good time, let's all have a bad time. Against the Su family, Li Zhong and Lu Rant's representatives could have prepared more than just one means. Mr. Su, don't be too happy. As far as I know, you still owe a lot of channel merchants for goods, right? Do you have that much money on your company's books now? Besides, if all the channelers don't cooperate with you anymore, how can you sell your stuff even if it's good? Li Zhong laughed grimly twice. Don't forget, everyone, now that the Su family and the Yi family are so close, if the Yi family is suppressed, the Su family will definitely suffer. Does everyone guarantee that they can make that money? This situation was something that everyone everyone was worried about. And many people came today because they wanted to see how the Su family would face today's crisis. And by placing this crisis on the table, Li Zhong was quite similar to magnifying the Su family's crisis to make it more clear to everyone. Companies and groups that were a little impulsive a moment ago are starting to hesitate. Yeah, the So's are good enough. But what happens when you have the life to earn it, but not the life to spend it? Below. Li Zhong and those suppliers arranged on behalf of Lu Ran once again began to echo the coaxing. Mr. Su, it's not that we're not benevolent enough. It's really that the situation is a bit complicated now. Mr. Su, give us a settlement. Right, Mr. Su, I also want to settle the previous hundred million dollars owed for the goods, and the fifty million dollars I owe. Under the rhythm of those channelers arranged by Li Zhong and Lu Ran, the situation at the scene was reversed once again. And hundreds of channelers all wanted to terminate their cooperation with the Su family and to get back the payment for their goods. Some of the group companies that had previously wanted to cooperate with the Su family had begun to hesitate. And just at this time, a young man stood up. Treadmill, what's wrong with your heads? Mr. Lei has come out to support us. What are you afraid of? It's just a small debt. I will all help the Su family to repay the, not to cooperate. The big deal is that I family joint Mr. Xia Old, 
to take over all the Su family channel distribution, who beep again, I killed you, a sudden voice caused the crowd at the scene to freeze, all of them turning around to look towards the youth below, the Kuo family in the city, another big family standing up to the Su family, in Guo Li's reminder, those who want to cooperate with the group and the company, immediately reacted, all exploded, right ah, regardless of how to suppress, this ointment is to pick up money ah, stepping horse actually almost caused me to miss the opportunity to pick up money, rely on, hit them damn, bang, 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 in an instant, hundreds of people on the scene began to explode, furiously punching those who were clamoring for money and channeling up merchants, it's almost a three on one, four on one situation, Shasta, all the voices of opposition weakened, this scene, Directly Li Zhong and Lu Ran that representative Qin Tao are dumbfounded. What's going on here? Why does it feel like the whole world is against you? Do you have to force yourself to play the killer? Big brother. I was thrown by my dad to study abroad. And I only learned about the Yi family yesterday. I'm sorry. Big brother. You don't know. All these years I've been away. My thoughts of big brother are like a rolling river. It's endless ah. As Guo Li spoke from his mouth, he stepped and rushed onto the stage. Grabbing Yi Fan with both hands as he continued to speak. Big brother, I haven't seen you in a few years, I realized that you're even more handsome and dashing, ha ha, honestly, have you been nourished by your sister-in-law? Guo Li didn't have the slightest intention of covering up as he joked towards Sui Xue next to him, dead thing, looking for a fight, Sui Xue not Guo Li said the face of a blush, this Guo Li Sui Xue is also familiar with, although Guo Li's family was in the provincial city, five years ago, Guo Li was with Wang Fugue, hanging out with Yifan every day, a man of letters and a man of arms, Known as the humbugs, Wang Fugue came for the martial arts, while Guo Li, with his superior intellect, was in charge of strategizing and planning, together with Yi Fan's own demonic talent. The few people's name of the three bastards at that time resounded throughout the entire Tianan province and even the southwest. It was only later that Yi Fan was demented in a car accident and Guo Li was sent abroad to study for a period of time. The trio's combination was temporarily interrupted, but the emotion is unbroken. Shit, Wei Xiaotsai, don't be so shameless. Okay, always like to rob Lousy's words. Big brother's handsome and dashing. Still need you to use words to describe it? Tell you what. I'll take big brother to Li Chuan courtyard. Those girls are strong people pouring. Seeing that his two good brothers started to pinch each other as soon as they met. Yi Fan also had a bit of a headache and his brows couldn't help but frown. These two brothers are good at everything but grabbing asses. One better than the other. Ha, huh? although Yi Fan only frowned. Wu Li immediately keenly perceived the change in Yi Fan's mood. Big brother. Are you, pretending? In the first words, Guo Li's voice was still relatively loud when he spoke, but in the latter words, his voice was much lower, and he also looked around vigilantly. This was the difference between Guo Li and Wang Fugue. Guo Li was much more cerebral than Wang Fugue. As soon as he saw Yi Fan's movements, he immediately guessed most of Yi Fan's plan and knew how to keep it a secret. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched, with Guo Li's brain, it was a bit difficult to hide it from him. In that case, it would be good to have a showdown with Guo Li when the opportunity was right. After all, many of Yi Fan's subsequent plans still needed people to execute them. Xia Hao alone, a lot of things cannot be done. And this life and death brother Guo Li, is the best choice? And, Guo Li's brain, and the ability to general management of the whole situation. Seeing Yi Fan's eyebrows raised, Guo Li instantly sensible did not continue to pursue the question, but took the microphone from Sui Xue's hand, said loudly, Bosses. Today the effect of the Su family snow face beauty cream we have seen, want to cooperate immediately seize the opportunity to sign up? First come, first served, miss this village, there is no this store, buy is to earn oh, Guo Li is the kind of natural eight faced, social bullshitter, and with a few words, he mobilized the emotions of the crowd at the scene. As for the cargo merchants that Li Zhong and Qin Tao had arranged, they had all been beaten up so much that they couldn't make any noise at all. In just an instant. The situation at the scene had already collapsed on one side towards the Su family's side. Yi Fan satisfied secretly nodded his head. There is Guo Li to help grasp the big picture. He is going to save a lot of heartache ah. Line up. Everyone. Line up for the deposit. The entire conference. Under Yi Fan's planning. With Lei Qian Jie. Guo Li and others stepping in to stir things up. Was considered to be held perfectly. Li Zhong and Qin Tao's plan was completely bankrupt. But instead. Some of the original channelers who had cooperated with the Li family had all chosen to invest in the Su family's embrace. Family Master Li, what do you mean? Do you still think that losing face is not enough? Do you still intend to continue waiting here for the new year? Guo Li looked at Li Zhong below who was still dumbfounded, and coldly chided. If it was me, I would have already found a piece of tofu and crashed to death. 
my son was played to death by himself, and he himself still has to disgrace himself here. Guo Li was deliberately picking up Li Zhong's sore spot and poking him. Li Zhong was furious. Guo Li, dog, don't think that I'm afraid of you just because you're from the Guo family in the provincial city. Humph, everyone, prepare to strike. Wow, with Li Zhong's rebuke, from around the venue, hundreds of strong men dragging swords, steel rods, and other weapons suddenly came out with a crash, and surrounded the entire venue in a group. All of you stop it. Who of you dares to try signing a contract with the Su family today? Li Zhong coldly rebuked. From behind those burly men, a batch of archers once again emerged, crossbows and arrows in their hands locking those company representatives, bosses, etc. On the scene, Li Zhong, what do you mean? Seeing the situation in front of him, Su Honghai jumped up from his seat and shouted at Li Zhong, you can't get the Su family to do anything by commercial means. So you're playing these underhanded tricks? Planning to use force to forcefully obstruct the Su family's development? Humph, isn't it obvious what I mean? Your Su family and the Yi family have gotten too close. This is a punishment from above for your Su family. When Li Zhong saw those killers he had arranged, he breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and a touch of smugness appeared on his face. Now, your Su family has two choices. Continue to stand up to the Yi family, then today is the moment of your Su family's demise. Either that or hand over Yi Fan and accept my Li group's acquisition, which will allow your Su group to continue to survive. As for the price, I said at first, 2, 5 million. Li Zhong had a cold smile on his face. His ambition was great, and since he made a move today, he was thinking of directly taking down Yi Fan and getting him killed directly. Yesterday, Li Yun Yang suddenly exploded to death at the engagement banquet, although there was no evidence. Li Zhong always felt that Li Yun Yang's death and Yi Fan couldn't be unrelated. So he killed Yi Fan to avenge his son. You dream. Sui Shui dodged and blocked in front of Yi Fan. Li Zhong, you are too despicable. If you want to harm Yi Fan, unless you step over my Sui Shui's corpse. Sui Shui had a determined face. She was already Yi Fan's woman. She had promised the Yi family's old man that she would protect Yi Fan. If Yi Fan got hurt beside her, then how would she explain to Sister Linglong? Sister Linglong, eh? Where did he go? Sui Shui suddenly realized that Yu Linglong should also be at the scene. Ah. But at this time no Yu Linglong figure. Where did he go? Sui Shui. Still think you are that high and mighty princess? Stinking bitch. Li Zhong thought that just now Sui Shui had made him lose face. And Yi Fan had even cut his arm with such a big slit. A touch of bloom appeared on his face. And with a wave of his hand. He intended to slap Sui Shui's face. Boom. But before Li Zhong's palm could swing out. The nearby Yi Fan suddenly swung up a chair and smashed it hard against Li Zhong's head. Old thing. Who dares to hurt my wife? I'll fight with him. Bang, bang, bang. Yi Fan at this time naively swung up the chair, without any reservation, one after another, ruthlessly toward Li Zhong's head to open the head and go. Li Zhong was smashed, his eyes were starry, his head cracked, his body staggered several times, staggering towards the ground. You stepped on the horse, stupid ah. Crouch, beside Li Zhong, Xin Tao, who reacted to the situation, looked at the situation in front of him with annoyance, and rebuked those burly men around him. What are you guys still standing there for? Do it. Take down all of the Su family. All of them. I'll see who dares. When those men of Li Zhong were just about to make their move, Wang Fugue jumped out from behind Yi Fan, his powerful aura stirring recklessly, shocking the few thugs who rushed at the front back several steps. The combat knives in their hands were scared and dropped directly to the ground. Clunk. The crisp voice caused everyone to look towards Wang Fugue. Some martial arts experts, sensing the stirring breath on Wang Fugue's body, were shocked for a while and exclaimed, a Zongshir level expert? Wang Fugue actually broke through to a Zongshir master? Another demonic genius has appeared in Cloud City. Nima, is genius contagious? Yeah, before, the 15-year-old Yi Fan was a Zongshir level powerhouse. And now Wang Fugue, who is following him, has also become a Zongshir level powerhouse. It's too scary. The path of martial arts, from the initiation of Huanjing, to the control realm, to the patriarch, martial arts Zun. Martial Arts Emperor. It seemed like there was only a difference of one realm, but in reality, the difference between each realm was a geometric multiplier. On the scene, although Li Zhong had prepared so many assassins, with Wang Fugue, a sect master level powerhouse, it was completely futile. Wang Fugue's strength alone was enough to be able to kill all those killers that Li Zhong had arranged. This, Li Zhong also noticed the change in Wang Fugue's aura. He had counted on everything. But he hadn't counted on the fact that Wang Fugue had actually broken through from the control realm to the level of martial grandmaster. Mr. Qin. Li Zhong some difficult to look to the side of the Qin Tao. Li Zhong although as the main executor of this action. But in fact only rushed to the forefront just. 
Behind the real control is Lu Ran sent Qin Tao. Fear what? No matter how powerful he is, he's only one person. With so many of us, we'll take action from many sides, as long as Sui Shui, or Yi Fan, or even just those company bosses who want to collaborate or capture a few as hostages. Wan Fu Gui will throw in the towel and won't dare to act rashly. With Qin Tao's explanation, Li Zhong once again had confidence. Wang Xiao, this is a matter between us and the Su family before. I advise you to better stay out of it. You can't afford to mess with the power behind me. As Li Zhong spoke, blood flowed all over his face from his head again, looking incomparably wretched. Humph, Sui Shui is my sister-in-law. The Su family's business is my Wang Fu Gui's business. Whoever dares to touch a single hair of the Su family today is against my Wang family. Wang Fu Gui didn't have the slightest intention to back down. Li Zhong, let your people withdraw now. You still have a chance. Otherwise you will know what it means to be worse than death. Before Wang Fugue could finish his sentence, he was forcibly interrupted by Guo Li. Enough, that's enough. You've finished your words. It's my turn. Boom. After Guo Li rushed out, he didn't have any hesitation and blasted his fist towards the front few killers. The powerful Qi impact instantly blasted those few killers to fly out a dozen meters horizontally, falling to the ground without any movement. Excuse me, I'm also a Zongshir level expert now. Whoever of you is not convinced can try my fists. My fists are already hungry and thirsty ah. Guo Li arrogantly waved the fist in his hand, and also glanced towards Wang Fugui with some smugness. How about it? Old Wang, you didn't expect it, did you? I was planning to show off in front of you, but I didn't think that you, this stupid big guy, had also broken through. Alas, hiss, another clan master? The humbugs by Yi Fan's side had all broken through in such a short period of time? The people at the scene were all stunned, and they couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Okay, genius is definitely contagious. How else could Guo Li and Wang Fugue have broken through in such a short period of time? With two great sect masters sitting on the scene, Qin Tao's face also instantly turned pale. With one sovereign master present, they could still find some loopholes to attack. But with two major sovereign masters in attendance, they would have almost no chance ah. Even with the threat of those archers, the Zongshu masters, who could already all form astral energy and set up a barrier could easily ward off those crossbows and arrows outside of the safe range ah. Qin Tao glanced at the scene, his eyes glancing towards the gate, already planning to bolt. Now this situation, stay here is completely continue to send head ah. Don't move at all. Be a good boy and put down the weapons in your hands. This young lady has already endured you for a long time. Qin Tao and Li Zhong were still in hesitation when a chorus of petulant shouts resounded once again from outside the crowd, and Yu Linglong appeared on the scene with a large group of camouflage-clad youths enough to number several hundred, comparing it to the number of people Li Zhong had arranged. It was basically two against one. Those archers, behind each of them stood two camouflage-clad youths, with chilling daggers in their hands, aimed at the hearts of those archers. The archer who had been murderous just a moment ago, instantly lost his temper and could only helplessly and obediently put his bow down. Those other killers arranged by Li Zhong at the scene also didn't have any choice, and under the absolute power pressure, one was taken down without missing a beat. A life and death crisis was just dissolved into nothing. The speed is ridiculously fast. The scene of all the company owners, channel partners have not yet reacted to what is going on. A storm are over. Family masterly, let's find a place to talk. Xia Hao brought Li Hu over from the side of the stage, and Li Hu's men left and right surrounded Li Zhong in the center. Li Zhong and Qin Tao's faces instantly turned pale. You, looking at the killers that were escorted away from the scene, until the last one left, Li Zhong was completely desperate. How did Li Zhong feel just so stifled? Obviously today should have been his home ground. He should have hung the Su family, making the Su family completely unable to get off the ground and then be taken down by himself. And by now, how did he suddenly and inexplicably get countered? It felt like everything was a conspiracy and that I was being put in a sack. Jade Linglong was also a powerhouse of the sovereign level, with the three great sect master powerhouses in attendance. If Li Zhong and Qin Tao still jumped out to find trouble with the Su family, wouldn't they be looking for death? In fact, what Li Zhong and Qin Tao didn't know was that apart from the three great sect masters, Yi Fan was actually already at the peak of Marshal Zun. So even if Li Zhong and Qin Tao brought ten sect masters, they still wouldn't have any good outcomes today. Yu Linglong and Xia Hao, Li Hu and the others took Li Zhong and Qin Tao away. There was a sigh of relief from the crowd. With such a tit-for-tat struggle, the Li family had completely torn their faces off with the Su family. Then the Li family will certainly not have a good ending. The Li family can almost be declared extinct. Some time ago, the Zhao family and Yi Fan against, behind the direct extinction. Now, the Li family and Su family against, or did not escape the fate of extinction. Some smart people have picked up on some of this. Although the Yi family has suffered a heavy blow, 
I'm afraid it's still not that easy to deal with. That Chilin son of the Yi family, is he really stupid? Or is he pretending to be stupid? Everyone, go ahead and play the music. Go ahead and dance. Don't let some little garbage delay everyone from making money. No? After Qin Tao and Li Zhong were pulled away, Guo Li immediately began to greet the remaining company bosses and representatives on the scene and began to continue signing up for cooperation with the Su family. In fact, at this point, there was no need for Guo Li to greet them. Everyone would be frantically signing up. After all, just now, the provocation of the Li family, everyone could see clearly. Li Zhong had united with the Lu family in the provincial city and used three means to sabotage the Su family's launch, but in the end, he ended up in the gutter and was hanged. It was clear to everyone that the Yi family was behind the Su family. Previously, when the Yi family was almost wiped out in one day, everyone was a little afraid of those rivals of the Yi family stepping forward. But now, on the Yi family's side, there are Wang Fugue, Hua Li, Yu Linglong and the other six sister-in-laws standing up. The three great sect masters are strong. The Yi family's old man still has disciples all over the world. Is the Yi family really that easy to fall? Some sharp-eyed people on the scene had already seen Master Yi sitting in the back seat, as well as those bigwigs who were usually rare to see on TV, all quietly sitting in various corners of the launch venue at this time. Mama, even the old man of the governor of Tiannan province is here. Your sister, Li family is not looking for death? Yes, I also saw the old general of Southwest Guan, sitting in the Southwest for 30 years. Ah. A handful of old bones, actually also came. Alas, poor Li Zhong. After the crowd discovered these circumstances at the scene, they immediately understood that in fact, even if Yu Linglong and Wang Fugue, Guo Li and the others didn't act, it was also impossible for the Li family to have their way. Elder Yi has personally come to sit on the fence. How could he not have a backhand? Yunqing a small Li family, actually want to lay hands on Su Group, and Yi family arm wrestling, as cannon fodder died too bad. Sign up. I want to sign up too. Ugh. That who? Don't squeeze. Line up properly. Quick. Let me get to the front. All the company bosses on the scene went crazy. And at this time, they didn't care about any image. And squeezed towards the front one by one. Wanting to grab the cooperation quota. The Sioux family's launch ended with a comprehensive victory for the Sioux family. Some of the channel merchants that the Lee family had gathered before. Some of the chicken thieves didn't get up in arms with the Lee family. And are now lamenting that their ancestors' graves are smoking. Those channelers who had messed up with the Lee family, needless to say, had been sidelined from cooperation from now on, and were sure to be hit across the board. And those of them who stayed behind can pick up money for 10 years just for the snow face cream alone. Ah. Yi Chong Fong, who was sitting in the back seat, saw the scene in front of him and secretly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Those children and grandchildren of the Yi family, when things went wrong, were thousands of miles away, and I couldn't take care of them. And the Su family is in Cloud City, right under my nose. Can you still let you bully? However, Yi Changfeng was still a bit curious. When did the Su family have such a powerful snow face cream? If there was such a product, would the Su family still be in such a panic? Moreover, the Su family's control of the entire scene's arrangement today was so rigorous that it was almost dripping with water. Even with the help of the provincial city Xia Hao and Guo Li and others, the whole can will be the scene calculated so understand. Yi Changfeng always feel that there are high people behind. Elder Yi, there shouldn't be anything else here. Let's go, let's go back and continue drinking. From all corners of the scene, those hidden bigwigs began to gather towards Yi Changfeng. Still drink ah, didn't hear dr. Lei said, Yi Young is completely have the possibility of awakening. We old guys should play a little bit of residual heat. How can not let the Yi family be bullied extinct ah? Which of your old subordinates should be greeted as soon as possible to greet it? Right, right, let's go back and plan. Those dogs, today's plan failed. There will definitely be follow-up actions. We must not let them succeed. Those bigwigs who were summoned by Lei Chenjia were all human savants among human savants. And the duel between the Su and Li families at the scene had developed too bizarrely. With the Li family losing completely. Although Yi Fan still looked dumbfounded. Everyone detected the flavor of abnormality. If Yi Fan wasn't dumb and stupid, but was faking it, then what kind of a scenario would it be? Yi Changfeng and a group of bigwigs quietly left. The core disciples of the Su family were busy greeting those company bosses, Sui Shui, as the president of the company, wanted to go over and greet them, but when she looked at Yi Fan, she was a little worried. Little sister-in-law, hurry up and go about your business, big brother here has us to take care of him, don't worry, Guo Li could see Sui Shui's concern, greeted Sui Shui, put his arm around Yi Fan's shoulder, and then quickly walked towards the bottom of the stage, when he arrived at the lounge behind the stage. Guo Li closed the door to the room and quickly said toward Yi Fan, Big brother, 
when did you awaken? Yi Fan knows that cannot hide Guoli. Guoli was Wang Fugue called Guo Xiu Tsai, its own wisdom and strategy. Mind, then Yi Fan is actually not much worse. Moreover, Yi Fan had sensed before that Guoli's own physique was also somewhat special. In addition to the normal breath in his body, there was also an ancient breath fluctuating in his body, and it seemed that an inheritance was sealed in his body, but it just hadn't been activated for the time being. It was just a few days ago, the day the Yi family was exterminated. Five years ago, the car accident was created by the Zhao family's people. By mistake, I sealed myself with a talisman seal for five years. So, Yi Fan quickly explained to Guo Li, My plan is simple. Continue to play dumb, paralyze those opponents dealing with the Yi family. Start with the Zhao family, the Wang family, the Li family, check the Lu family in the provincial city, and then track down Zhou Xiao and Shangjing, to get justice for the Yi family. Guo Li's role at Yi Fan's side had always been that of a military advisor. Yi Fan is now going to continue to play dumb. A lot of things for Guo Li to carry out, when his own mouthpiece is very appropriate. Is that so? It turns out that the Zhao family's extermination, Li Yunyang's explosive death, are all the handiwork of Big Brother. Guo Li all can't help but give a thumbs up to Yi Fan. Those opponents who are enemies of the Yi family, simply did not think that the most demonic genius of the Yi family, has already awakened. Waiting for them will be a day that is worse than life and death. In the room, Guo Li was still discussing some subsequent plans with Yi Fan. On the other side of the stage, Wang Fugui just turned his head for a split second and realized that Guo Li and Yi Fan had disappeared, and was furious and slapped his thighs, Guo Xiao Kai, you don't talk about martial virtues, where did you get your big brother, you pat the horse's ass, patting a little too much ah, leave me a little, the two of them, Yi Fan and Guo Li, were in the room and couldn't help but smile bitterly at each other when they heard Wang Fugui's huge voice outside, this big stupid chun, really speechless, so, big brother, we're going to meet Li Zhong next, as well as Qin Tao, and pry something out of their mouths, Guo Li inquired towards Yi Fan, yes, the next thing is up to you, the Li family will disappear from today, it's best to figure out who's behind the command of today's operation, it's best if you can dig up a big fish, yes, when Wang Fugui found the door to the room behind the stage, Guo Li and Yi Fan stepped out of it and greeted Wang Fugui, go, go find Li Zhong, Wang Fugui looked at Guo Li with some suspicion, Guo Xiao Kai, what did you and Big Brother whisper? Why do I feel like you guys are hiding something from me? Big Brother, tell me honestly, are you awakened? I promise I won't tell anyone else. Wang Fugui had already asked Yi Fan more than once or twice in the past few days. Although Wang Fugui looked a bit naive, he was just slow to react. Not really the stupid kind. Moreover, Wang Fugui's thinking and intelligence seemed to have been enlightened a few more points after he broke through the Zone Master. The two of them, Yi Fan and Guo Li, looked at each other without saying anything and stepped towards the door, near the Su group. In a courtyard, Xia Hao also Li who put Li Zhong and Qin Tao under control. Li Zhong somewhat unwillingly rebuked. Xia Hao, Li Hu, is there any king's law in your eyes? It's against human rights for you to restrict my freedom like this. I'm going to sue you. Boo. Li Hu was grumpy and waved the battle knife in his hand, slapping it down on Li Zhong's face. Li family master. You'd better figure out your own situation. If it wasn't for the fact that Yi Xiao had to wait for news from your mouth, you would have died a thousand times over. The King's Law? H.M. How come Li Zhong didn't think about the King's Law when he gathered so many martial arts experts, assassins, and archers to surround Su's launch site? If Li Zhong won, then Yi Fan and Sui Shui, including Li Hu, Xia Hao and the others would have a good ending. You, Li Zhong still wanted to continue to convenient two sentences. Guo Li and Wang Fugue. Yi Fan appeared at the gate. Yi Xiao, Xia Hao and Li Hu greeted Yi Fan respectfully. Yi Fan did not respond, but naively grabbed the chair next to him and smashed it several more times against Li Zhong and Qin Tao. Bad people. You are bad people. You want to bully my wife. You should be beaten. Actually to the Su family under such a cruel hand. If not Yi Fan let Xia Hao and Yu Linglong has long been arranged, afraid that today is another end. We can't find out who's behind the manipulation yet. But the crap that's rushing ahead has to be taken out first and some interest collected. Yi Fan's outburst of anger was over before Guo Li came on. Li family master, are you going to give an account yourself, or am I going to use some means? Guo Li smiled as he pulled a dagger in his hand. But that smile, it was creepy. I, pussed. Li Zhong was still hesitant. The dagger in Guo Li's hand had already stabbed a slit in Li Zhong's chest. You guys are really hateful ah, actually my big brother will be almost extinguished. Death is cheap. Guo Li genuinely regarded Yi Fan as his big brother, and after knowing that the entire Yi family had almost been wiped out, he exploded on the spot and couldn't bear to chop up all those enemies. Ah, Li Zhong looked at Guo Li with a horrified face. He didn't expect that Guo Li, 
who looked so civilized and elegant and was known as Guo Xiu Kai, would actually be so rude and play it for real, directly poking a big hole in his chest. Watching the blood flow down from his wounds, Li Zhong felt that his vitality power was rapidly draining away. You're really going to get played yourself. Li Zhong was very sure that if he didn't say something, they would really just get themselves killed. I said, I said, this action is the provincial city Lu Ran family master ordered us to do. I just organized to help Ah. The real command is him, is Qin Tao. Numb nuts, Qin Tao, you killed me. I'm going to fight you to the death. Li Zhong thought of his dead son and how he himself had now ended up in such a situation. Li Zhong knew that from today onwards, the Li family would definitely cease to exist. Originally thought that following the Lu family in the provincial capital, the Li family could get greater development. But now, Li Zhong, don't spit blood. What did we agree on before the operation? Are you stupid? Do you think you can live just because you said the plan above? Poof. Isn't it just a death? We die. Naturally there will be other people to clean up the Yi family. They can't pop up for a few days. Ah. Qin Tao spoke joyfully. But the next moment, Guo Li made a big hole in his chest as well with a knife directly. You're very noisy. Don't worry. When Li Zhong has finished his explanation, it will soon be your turn. Guo Li turned his head towards Li Zhong and said, You continue. I know that they are planning in action, before to stop the thunder god doctor to cure Yi Xiao, there is another plan behind it, it seems that a big brother is coming from above to personally test Yi Xiao, to see if Yi Xiao has awakened, there are also other people that will be sent from the provincial city, like pouring beans, Li Zhong told all the news he knew, although a part of it was already known to Yi Fan, the big brother behind Lu Ran had begun to sit down and was planning to come to Cloud City in person, which was something Yi Fan had not expected, as long as they dared to come, Yi Fan would definitely let them have no return. Are there guests coming? Is it a bad guy? Is it a bad guy to kill them? Yi Fan responded naively. Guo Li stifled a smile and looked at Yi Fan. This big brother, pretending to be really like Ah. Li Zhong, you're crazy. You really said everything. Xin Tao was frantic. He had planned to take those secrets into the coffin. But Li Zhong didn't speak martial arts and told most of the secrets. There was no point in keeping them to himself Ah. It sucks more than it sucks right? So let's just see who sucks more. I also say, I also know that there are two people who are in contact with Lu Ran from above. One is from the military, codenamed Lone Wolf. The other is Zhou Xiao from Shangjing. They are dealing with the Yi family. Apart from exterminating the family, they are also tracking down the same thing. That thing is rumored to be able to raise the value of the force by leaps and bounds. I don't know what it is specifically at the moment. Qin Tao and Li Zhong looked like they were in a race, pouring out all the secrets they knew to each other. Yi Fan and Guo Li, among others, listened to the information explained by the two as if they were watching a good show. Yi Fan had a rough idea of those people's plans in his heart. The big young man who came from the provincial city is good, but the big man who came from the military, I don't know how strong he is, and he must be treated. With caution, he must stay here, and it is better to let them not suspect themselves. It seems that he has to plan a lot. Northwest, in a separate garden, the big screen on the wall. The live broadcast is the Su Group launch site, above Li Zhong and other people's action plan. See clearly, it wasn't until the end when Li Zhong and the others were taken away that the old man next to him turned the screen off in annoyance. This is how you arranged the operation? Letting the Su Group make a big splash and the Li family all but wiped out. What kind of job did you run? What will other people think of us if we go on like this? Openly working against us, without any damage not to mention holding a launch event that was a huge success? What the hell? The pavilion elder rests his anger. It's my fault. I didn't expect them to deploy so tightly. I'll go to Cloud City myself right away and look for a chance to do away with Yi Fan directly to eliminate any future problems. When Yun Chang, Guo Li and Yi Fan, Wang Fu Gui and a few others left and re-entered the Su group, the signing at the scene was almost completed. Seeing Yi Fan come back, Sui Shui hugged Yi Fan in her arms as soon as she was deeply in love. Husband, thank you. Sui Shui didn't dare to be sure whether Yi Fan was awakened or in a state of dementia. But Su Ishue was certain of one thing. The biggest credit for the success of the Su family's launch today must be Yi Fan. Although the ones who stepped forward were Wang Fugue, Hua Li, Yu Linglong, and Dr. Lei. But without Yi Fan, would they have stepped forward? Hearing the word husband, Yi Fan couldn't help but jerk a little inside. Yi Shue this little nymph. Was she finally completely conquered by herself? He he, Yi Shue wife. You are my wife. I promised grandpa that I would guard your... I will definitely try my best to take out those bad guys. As Yi Fan spoke, he also glanced at Yu Linglong who was not far away. Yu Linglong looked at Yi Fan thoughtfully, thinking of the peculiar physique on Yi Fan, being in close contact with him, she could enjoy the warmth to aid her cultivation. It was simply amazing. 
If Yi Fan really awakened and his demonic talent came into play again, how terrifying would that be? Breaking through to the Wu Zun, martial emperor? It wasn't impossible to even reach the level of a martial saint. Ah, at that time, who else could stop the Yi family's unicorn? Moreover, Lei Qian Jie, as the great summer medical sage, what he said yesterday made Yu Linglong a bit skeptical. Lei Qian Jie had always been a very strict person and wouldn't put ambiguous information. But when he said Yi Fan's situation, he was a bit vague, only saying that there was a possibility of Yi Fan awakening, but didn't say the exact time. According to Lei Qian Jie's style, it was either possible to awaken or not. So vague. Unless, of course, it was instructed by someone more powerful to say that on purpose? Thinking of this, Yu Linglong's eyes looked sharply towards Yi Fan. Could it be that this husband of hers had really awakened? Yu Linglong had heard that Yi Fan was a famous Southwest teenage medical fairy five years ago, and in terms of medical skills, it was said that he had already crushed Lei Qianjie. If Yi Fan had awakened and conquered Lei Qianjie with his medical skills, it was entirely possible for Lei Qianjie to help cover up certain truths. Jade Linglong, as a three star female martial god of Disya, in addition to her superb combat power, her own intelligence was not covered. After a bit of speculation, she had actually speculated the truth. Yi Fan felt Yu Linglong's eyes, and Yi Fan couldn't help but thump in his heart. This first wife of his, is not so good to be fooled. It seems that in the future in front of Yu Linglong should be a bit more restrained ah. Otherwise, if Yu Linglong knew that she was no longer a fool, would she still marry herself? Seniors and friends, thank you all very much for your help in making Sue's lunch go smoothly today. It's also time for lunch. I've already arranged for a banquet. So I'll invite all of you for a casual dinner. Su Yishui warmly greeted everyone. Su Honghai and Su Ming Hao didn't know how to greet them when they saw so many bigwigs, giggling one after another. They also didn't know whether the Su family was right or wrong in their decision now. Bundled so deeply with the Yi family, those rivals of the Yi family's retaliation will definitely not be relentless ah. Only, they didn't expect that the other side would act so quickly. Su Yishui greeted everyone at the scene and was just about to leave Su's group when the sound of a siren buzzing suddenly sounded outside the door. A group of uniformed officers rush into the scene. I'm sorry. We have received a report that you have illegally gathered funds here and are suspected of falsely publicizing fake medicines. So please ask the person in charge of you to go back with us to investigate. In addition, the company account funds, we have frozen according to the law. When the investigation is clear, we'll immediately thaw. The operation was a joint effort between the police department, the FDA, and law enforcement. Boom. The sudden news was like a bolt from the blue. Officer. Are you guys mistaken? Our Su's group is a normal business activity ah, how can we be suspected of illegally gathering funds? Those funds are the deposit they paid for ordering ah. Su Yishue are about to cry. Originally today's new drug conference was successfully held, but also to recruit so many new channel business, get back so much money. Su Yishue heart is very happy. They expand the scale of production is not a problem at all. A few tens of billions could be enough to do a lot of things on its own, but... Suddenly so many uniformed officers have seized their companies and frozen their accounts. You know, not to mention the delay in production. Once the news got out, it would be a devastating blow to Su's group ah. Would those martial arts merchants who wanted to cooperate with Su clan still dare to continue their cooperation? The leading officer glanced at Su Yishui with some bitterness and said, Miss Su, there's nothing we can do. We're all just following orders. In fact, everyone knew that it was not at all about Su's group itself but rather the storm of the Yi family and those rivals who continue to struggle. Otherwise, who would have nothing to do with checking out a business conglomerate and moving so quickly? You guys, Su Yishui still wanted to continue talking. Yi Fan made a wink to Guo Li at his side. Guo Li hurriedly stepped forward and said, Sister-in-law, it's fine, they are just investigating. Let them investigate. There are us. Su's group will be fine. Guo Li and Yi Fan were both clear that these shrimp soldiers and crab generals were all just executives rushing to the front. To solve the problem at hand, you have to find the key person behind it. M.S. Su, also cooperate and have the core members of the company come with us. The officer leading the team was also in a difficult position, but there was an order from above and he had no choice but to carry it out. To take Su Ishua? Guo Li frowned and turned his head to look at Ji Fan. That's a bit of a bully, isn't it? How could Big Brother possibly put up with this? How dare you? Yu Linglong was also on fire. What do you guys mean? In broad daylight. You dare to arrest people casually. I'm here. Try arresting one of you? With a wave of Yu Linglong's hand, several of her own men surrounded her. Guns already drawn. Swish. The uniformed personnel who came had also been prepared, and had pulled out the guys on their bodies, and both sides immediately began to confront each other. The atmosphere of the scene instantly turned a bit tense, and the battle was about to start. We all know the importance of the matter, 
If only the company account is frozen, the Suze Group still have room for salvation. But if Sui Shui was taken away, then Suze Group wants to obtain business reputation in the back will be difficult. It also meant that the Yi family had failed in their encounter with those opponents. Yi Fan frowned as he pondered. Yi Fan did have many means, the heavenly king authority of the Xuan Wu war zone, and the power behind the Tianji pavilion that had not yet been activated. Any of these points were enough to be able to make the other side bow their heads, but if they were to be exposed so prematurely now, then I'm afraid that those who were really dealing with the Yi family would not dare to venture out. What for? What for? Yi Fan was still thinking. From outside the gate of Su Group, a few military trucks stopped, and from the car jumped down a reinforced company in camouflage uniformed soldiers, all of them with loaded guns. The leader was none other than Major Guafei, who was on patrol training with his team, and when he passed by the Su Group, he happened to see Yi Fan surrounded by a group of people in the middle, and immediately rushed over with his men, and in turn surrounded those uniformed personnel in the middle. They are bad people, trying to capture my wife. Yi Fan saw Guafei, his eyes immediately lit up, and he opened his mouth toward Guafei. Yesterday, when he saved Xian Yufei's father in the hospital, Guafei was recognizing his Xuan Wu Zhenqin Wang token, Guafei's major's identity, doing the other can't work, but protecting Sui Shui and the others from being captured. It shouldn't be a big problem. Guafei's eyes narrowed slightly as he listened to Yi Fan's words. Yi Fan's meaning was obvious. It was not to deal with these uniformed personnel. After recognizing the Xuan Wu Zhenqin Wang's token yesterday, Guafei reported the situation to the top at the first opportunity. The token of the Jin Tian Wang Emperor appeared again, directly alarming the highest head of Xuan Wu, who personally spoke to Guafei, allowing him to recount the details of the situation. The final order given was that all actions fully cooperate with the Heavenly King. No matter what kind of appearance the Heavenly King has, any orders must be obeyed unconditionally, even all the forces under the Xuan Wu banner. Guafei wasn't stupid and heard some other meanings from the chief's words. This youngest master of the Yi family, to be able to become the heavenly king of the Xuanwu district, he must have real skills. The key was that the way Yi Fan was now, and the top was still so defensive. That could only mean one thing, Yi Fan was most likely not demented, but was pretending, confusing the enemy? Take it down, without any hesitation. Guo Fei immediately gave the order, allowing his men to bring all the uniformed personnel under control. Those who were still trying to take Sui Shui away all lost their freedom in the blink of an eye. Although they were wearing uniforms, they were no match in front of those of Guafei's men. Whether it was in terms of numbers, or force value, in all aspects. Vice Commander Guafei, do you know what you are doing? We're carrying out our official duties. You're openly confronting us like this. Can you bear the responsibility behind it? The leading officer in that group of uniformed personnel still wanted to argue, but Guafei didn't give them any good looks. Shut up, I also want you to teach me to do things, all people, all take away, tell you, Sue's group and our military medicine supply channel, dare to Sue's group hands, is and our enemy, what is the problem, go back to say, hiss, was sentence, although the voice was not loud, but the crowd that did not leave the scene, listened to the heart trembled, when did Sue's group become the military's pharmaceutical supply channel, however, Yi Fan glanced at Guo Fei and raised his eyebrows, this young man, He's very good at what he does. Other aspects Yi Fan does not dare to guarantee, but the Tianlong army, and Xuan Wu army side, if it is from the Su group to take drugs, at least a few hundred billion dollars a year, right? Grace, it does seem like it could be operationalized. Wow. In just a moment's time, those uniformed personnel who were arrogant and infinite just now were instantly taken away. Sui Shui looked at Yi Fan with some bewilderment. When did Yi Fan know someone from the Xian Wu military? Moreover, normally, the military usually didn't interfere in the lives of ordinary people. And Gua Fei, just because of a word from Yi Fan, directly took away all of the so many uniformed personnel? That's three major departments joining forces. Sui Shui realized that she could not understand Yi Fan for a moment. What secret was Yi Fan hiding? Now that he was still in a demented state, he was so powerful. If Yi Fan returned to the state of a demonic genius, what kind of terrifying existence would he be? Suddenly, Sui Shui was full of expectations for the future. If Yi Fan awakened in the future, then it would seem to be a very beautiful thing to have himself as his wife. Su's temporary crisis was lifted, and the next problem was the freezing of the company's accounts. To freeze a company's account, it requires the joint efforts of many departments of industry, commerce and police to do so, but the most direct is the bank side. MS. Su don't be anxious. I've already called some of my old friends. They'll have news soon. Ishue. I've also contacted some of my elder friends, and they'll think of something too. Miss Su, I've already asked Yun Cheng Governor Sun Qian to find the president of the Huachi Bank, Lei Qianjie, 
Yu Linglong, as well as Xia Hao, all began to make frantic phone calls to operate for Su. Yi Fan glanced at Guo Li. I need to go to the restroom. Old Guo, you accompany me. Good. Guo Li knew that there must be another hidden backhand behind Yi Fan and answered. Then he wanted to leave with Yi Fan. Next to him, Wang Fugue hurriedly followed up and said, Big brother, I'll accompany you too. Although Wang Fugue is a little bit stupid, but recently he also realized that Yi Fan seems to have something to hide from him. Talking to Xia Hao, not even talking to himself, is his mouth that lax? Old Wang, you really are. Big brother going to the toilet. What are you worried about? I'm a Zongshir expert. Can't I still protect big brother? You just stay here. Contact your family's old man. And quickly help solve the problem at your sister-in-law's house. Guo Li was a bit speechless. This guy Wang Fugue must have realized something as well. Right right. Look at this brain of mine. Why didn't I think of it? I can ask grandpa for help. I'll call right now. While Wang Fugue was on the phone. Yi Fan and Guo Li quickly entered the company's restroom. Old Guo. Lend me your phone. With the current situation, Yi Fan decided to utilize the power of Tianji Pavilion, but didn't want to expose himself so quickly, because at that time, it was also stated in the passage in the Dragon Ring that since the old pavilion master's fall, the Tianji Pavilion wasn't all that united internally. If the news of the new pavilion master's appearance leaked out, Yi Fan's current strength was afraid that it would be a bit troublesome to deal with it. After receiving Lao Guo's call, Yi Fan quickly entered a long string of encrypted passwords on his cell phone and then dialed a number. The wind rises up and clears the night for all eternity. This was the secret language of the Tianji Pavilion, and it was also one of the inheritance credentials of the old and new pavilion masters. As recorded in the Dragon Ring, eight simple words were set out, and there was a moment of silence on the other end of the phone, and a ringing sound came out instantly. Subordinate Pang Hai, pay my respects to the new pavilion master. The old slave has been waiting for 20 years. Is Tianji Pavilion finally going to restart? Pang Hai was the chief administrator of the Tianji Pavilion. The old pavilion master had spoken to Pang Hai once before he suffered an assassination attempt and fell, allowing him to temporarily take over the internal affairs of the Tianji Pavilion, and the new pavilion master would appear 15 years later. And now, at last, the new court master has appeared. I, but it's not convenient for me to be exposed right now. Don't contact me when it's not necessary. Today, I'm looking for you because I have an urgent task. The company account of Yun Cheng Su Group has been seized. I need you to use the power of Tianji Pavilion to unblock the account within 10 minutes and block all negative news about Su Group. Can you do it? Don't worry, Pavilion Master. The old slave will do his best. Pang Hai has been maintaining Tianji Pavilion barely functioning all these years, and has already been emaciated. And within Tianji Pavilion, forces from all sides are stirring up. And with the Pavilion Master having disappeared for 15 years, he, as the chief administrator, is about to lose his ability to suppress it. At this time when the new pavilion master appeared, that was the hope for the recovery of the entire Tianji pavilion. The first mission given by the new pavilion master, Pang Hai naturally had to go all out. Although the Tianji pavilion had been consumed by internal conflicts over the years, it was still a huge organization in the top three when looking at the world, and it was still not a problem to solve such a small matter in Cloud City. Pang Hai's external identity was the president of the Trillion Dollar Consortium that dominated the 18 southwestern provinces, the Kyushu Group. In the office of the Kyushu Group, after Pang Hai hung up the phone, he practically jogged all the way across the office and pressed a switch on the wall to access the secret door at the back, passing through the dark door. Inside was a huge command and operation room, which could accommodate at least a few hundred people, with various data monitoring images and electronic screens flashing constantly. No one would even be able to think that this was actually the temporary headquarters of the Tianji Pavilion. Everyone, move immediately, activate the SSSS level action directive and execute the mission as fast as you can. At the headquarters of the Huachi Bank in Yuncheng, the President Qian Tao's head is big today. He received an order from the boss over in the provincial city, asking him to join forces with the industry and commerce, police and other forces in Yuncheng to immediately seize the account of Su's group, although all kinds of formalities were not approved and complete but there was no way that the big brother above had given a dead order, so he could only violate the rules and personally take action to seize the account of the Sioux group. The big man up there said that absolutely nothing will happen, because right after that, there will be news reports of core members of the SOS being arrested, but Chen Tao had been staring at the TV and cell phone, waiting for the news he hoped would appear, but he hadn't waited. Instead, Chen Tao's phone began to ring like crazy. First, it was Yin Cheng Governor Sun Qin who called, Chen Tao. I don't know what you're up to. I'm ordering you to unblock the Su Group's account right away. What gives you the right to seize people? Tell you. Su Group and in Xuanwu Warzone Cooperation. 
Just now arrest Su group those police personnel have been taken away by the military. Ha! Huh? Hearing Sun Xian's words, Xian Tao's entire body was blinded. What do you mean? Didn't the bigwigs up there say that there would be someone from Cloud City who would work and join forces with them? How is it that you fall back and rush out, while your teammates around you go soft? Isn't he or she just a big stupid spring? Sun Qian hung up the phone, Xian Tao is still ready to call the big brother to inquire about it. As a result, the old boss's phone call came back, split face is a scolding, Qian Tao, you find death ah, nothing to provoke the Su family for what? Don't you know that the Yi family is behind the Su family? Although the Yi family has suffered a heavy blow, but Yi old man is not still dead it, immediately unblocked. Qian Tao was bitter for a while, how could he not know the situation? The fight between the Su family and the Li family is the Yi family and their opponents fighting. Two huge forces against each other. Qian Tao these small characters simply do not have any choice ah, uh, since on the big brother's boat, knowing that he is cannon fodder, but also can only follow the action together. Then it was the other leaders from the provincial city, and even the bigwigs from Shangjing who called directly. Qian Tao's phone is almost busted, and it feels like he has stirred up a hornet's nest. A lot of people who usually can't even contact the big brother themselves are giving themselves greetings and letting themselves unblock, but Qian Tao does not have the order of the big brother above. How dare he unblock the freeze? After a dozen consecutive phone calls, Qian Tao finally found the opportunity to open the door, just ready to call the big brother of the provincial city, but suddenly saw the news on the TV. Now, insert an urgent news, the provincial city of a certain leader surnamed Li, because of suspected crimes, was arrested. For details, Please pay attention to the follow-up news. Clunk. Qian Tao the whole person is numb. Their biggest backer leadership big brother are caught in? This. Is over. And at this moment. Just 10 minutes after Su's account was seized. He was actually arrested? Qian Tao. As the chief banker of Huachi Bank's Yuncheng head office. And after so many years of mixing in officialdom and shopping malls. Naturally could not believe that this was a coincidence. Running away. It has to be run right away. Reacting. Qian Tao took a few things in his personal safe, pushed open the door of his room and tried to leave. But just as the door to the room opened, several uniformed officers were already waiting outside the door. Mr. Qian Tao, you're suspected of a financial manipulation case, please come with us. Done. Qian Tao's legs were soft, almost fell to the ground. Did he not run away in the end? We have just received an appointment from the head office's board of directors. Mr. Chen Wei will immediately take over the position of Yun Cheng's governor and handle all things in Yun Cheng with full authority. Before the uniformed personnel could leave with Qian Tao on their racks, the secretary had already announced the appointment on the spot with his nemesis, Chen Wei, and the documents issued by the head office. Chen Wei said with a smug look on his face, Qian Tao, what do you think you're doing messing with the Su family when you've had too much to eat? Honestly, I should be thanking you. You're a good person. Quickly, immediately execute my first order to unblock Su's group account and I'll personally call Mr. Su to apologize. Chen Wei knows very well himself through what channels he rose to power. The mysterious big man above gave instructions very clearly that after taking office, the first thing to do was to unblock Su's group's account and try to minimize the loss and impact. Yes, as Chen Wei's order was given, on the side of Huachi Bank, the operation quickly began. Xian Tao looked at the scene in front of him and closed his eyes in despair. Let's go. What can one expect when the big man behind one's back has been moved down? Yunshan Su's group. The moment Yi Fan and Guo Li went to the restroom, everyone in the Su group was frantically contacting their contacts, striving to try to unfreeze the Su group's account. But because of the importance of the matter, even a big shot like Lei Qianjia would have to wait for an old friend to operate, and it would take time. Yi Changfeng and the others, who had just left, also knew the news, and under the command, made a call to a few old friends. This time, the fight between the Su family and the Li family, we all know in our hearts. This is the Yi family and the enemy behind the scene in the open. Yi Chongfang's old friend, although he promised to help, but the same time is also needed. While everyone was waiting anxiously, Sui Shui's phone suddenly rang. It was the finance director who called. Mr. Su, our account is back to normal. The bank side called just now, saying that it was an operational error on their part, and expressed their great apologies. Aha, mistake? I'll believe the hell out of you. Sui Shui listened to the financial director's report on the phone and her heart was a million times more puzzled. Those people from the police just now, have made it very clear that this is a retaliation against the Su family by those opponents. How can it be due to a mistake? Su Ishua just asked several provincial leaders, explained the situation. They all said, this thing is very tricky, cannot help for the time being, politely refused. The situation on Xia Hao's side was not optimistic either. Sister Linglong, 
Is it someone from your side? Sui Shui ended the call with the financial summary and glanced towards Yu Linglong with some suspicion. Among those currently present, from the looks of it, the people contacted by the two of them, Yu Linglong and Lei Qianjie, were at the top level. It was highly likely that the ones who could handle this matter were their connections. No, the friend my grandfather hired is still on the phone. It's impossible for the account to be unblocked so soon? Yu Linglong was also full of doubts. People on her side hadn't acted much yet, and Su Group's account was unblocked? Divine Dr. Lei, you, Sui Shui once again turned her gaze to Lei Qianjie. Lei Qianjie shook his head. It's not my side. Although my old friends have promised to help, it's impossible for them to be so fast? If they didn't hire them, who could it be? Xia Hao was beside him, quietly listening to Sui Shui and the others, his gaze quietly glancing towards Yi Fan. Such a swift action could only be Yi Xiao, right? What other energy was behind Yi Xiao that he could solve things perfectly within 10 minutes? Everyone look, the phone on the hot search first news. Provincial city, a big man, because of economic crimes were arrested, but also the head of the Yunqing Industrial and Commercial Bureau Yang Mao, Yunqing Huachi Bank President Qian Mao, the Tax Bureau Zhang Mao. I do not know who shouted. Everyone has opened their cell phones, clicked on the first hot news to see. Suddenly dumbfounded. Industry and commerce, taxation, police, banks, and then that big man in the provincial capital. Isn't this a complete chain? It happens to be the department needed to seize Sue's account, and it was arrested sooner or later, and it happened to be arrested at this time? Hiss. Those present were the elite of the elite, and with a little thought, they instantly understood. These are the parties directly involved in the seizure of the SOS, but were retaliated against in such a short time. What a fine thought. Even when the Yi family was at its peak, it would be impossible to use its power in 10 minutes to arrest all the relevant people and unblock the Sioux group account at the same time, right? To mobilize so many officials to take action and balance the relationship between various forces, how much energy is needed to do so? It's horrible. But no matter what, it was clear that that force was on Sioux's side. Sioux's group's account was unblocked, and the people weren't taken away. The impact on the Sioux family was already very small. As long as those photos that some people intentionally took when those uniformed personnel came to act just now don't get out and be speculated maliciously, the Su clan will have no problem at all. Jingle bells. Su Ishue's cell phone rang again. It was Chen Wei, the newly appointed president of the Huachi Bank in Yun Chang. Miss Su, I am Chen Wei, the newly appointed president of the Huachi Bank. First of all, on behalf of the Huachi Bank, I would like to express my most sincere apologies to Miss Su, because of the irregular operation of Qian Tao which has caused trouble to the Sioux group. We will hold a special conference to explain to the public. I just already unfrozen Sioux group's account at the first time. In addition, President Pang Hai of the Kyushu group asked me to greet MS Su on his behalf, and in a couple of days, his old man said that he's going to come to visit you in person in Cloud City. Chen Wei's words caused Sui Shui to be a bit bewildered. Ah, Elder Pang? Jojo group. That is the domination of the 13 southwestern provinces, affecting the entire summer of the behemoth. The assets are said to have reached the level of trillions of dollars above. That kind of big brother usually deal with at least the provincial city and the Beijing circle. The Su family so a small family. How can enter the eyes of Pang Lao? And now Pang Lao even said that he wants to personally visit himself in Cloud City. How is this? Possible? Sui Shui hung up the phone and glanced at Yu Linglong, Lei Chen Jia as well as Xia Hao. These people, the energy of any of them, was not enough to make Pang Lao bend over to meet himself. Sui Shui also understood at this time, so the one who stepped in to save the Su family this time should be the power from Pang Lao's side, Pang old male domination of the southwest, and in the Shangjing network rich, with the Kyushu group, indeed can protect the Su group, but still too fast, less than half an hour, so that all the suppression of the Su group of people all be cleaned up, behind the Kyushu group, surely also hide this one superpower, if it wasn't sister Linglong and the others, then who would it be that could make elder Pang come out, Yefan? When Sui Shue's gaze finally landed on Yi Fan, her heart could not help but jump. Previously, Xia Hao had helped the Su group because of Yi Fan. Could it be that Pang Lao was also returning the favor? Behind Pang Lao is a terrifying force more powerful than the Yi family. Ah, is this Yi Fan's last card? But right now Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia and couldn't ask anything out. Fortunately, despite the twists and turns, nothing happened to Su. All right, everyone, now that the matter is settled, let's go on to dinner in peace. In the northwest, in the other garden, Zhang Gulao's henchman, codenamed Lone Wolf, looked at the information reported by his men and smashed the screen in front of him with an angry fist. What kind of airplane is this? A small Sioux family. We have used the energy of the big man in the province to exert pressure. Cannot handle it? Those people in Cloud City, 
They were actually killed by the military in one fell swoop. Rice bucket. Lone Wolf was throwing the information in his hand one by one, and was getting mad. When he saw the final news that even that big shot from the province had been arrested, his expression finally began to stare. What's going on? The Currency family still has the ability to get elderly arrested so quickly? Lone Wolf shocked to look at the information in his hands, including Li Lao, the provincial city in charge of the leadership of the industry and commerce, Cloud City Industry and Commerce, the bank all in this incident related to the person in charge, actually a not fall, all were arrested? Captain Chu, it's not that the brothers sect isn't working hard, we've already investigated, clearly that it's the Kyushu group that made the move, the henchman next to him opened his mouth somewhat apprehensively and reported, the Kyushu group, that old thing, Pang Hai, actually dares to meddle in our affairs? Why? There must be a reason why the Kyushu group formed such a huge behemoth with over a trillion dollars in assets. Everyone knew that it was a piece of fat meat, yet none of them dared to touch it. It was just that although Chu Fong was the head of Pavilion Elder Shang's Guard of Honor and his right-hand man, he still wasn't qualified enough to know the secret behind Pang Lao. Numb nuts, dog thing, spoiling our good deed. I'll bring someone to Tiananmen province personally and slaughter Yi Fan and that dog thing together. Chu Fong was annoyed that his actions three times had not caused any substantial damage to the Su clan and Yi family. Not only was the pavilion elder dissatisfied, Chu Fong was dissatisfied with himself. Stand still, little Fong, having followed me for so many years, are you still so fussy? Chu Fong had just gotten up when pavilion elder Zhang came in through the door draped in a piece of clothing and chided Chu Fong to a halt. Move Pang Hai. Can you move? You are merely at the strength of the Zongshu realm. Do you think that Pang Hai's strength would be weaker than yours? Besides, who's behind Pang Hai? Do you know? Looking at the pavilion elder's gloomy expression, Chu Feng said with some curiosity, Pavilion elder, what kind of person is behind Pang Hai? How could he dare to meddle in our affairs? Doesn't he know that behind us is? Don't talk nonsense. Pavilion elder Zhang hurriedly interrupted Chu Feng's words and continued to speak. Pang Hai made a move then moving the Su clan group would be troublesome. I'm temporarily unclear as to why he wants to help the Su clan group. I don't care if you go to Cloud City to do the rest of the I don't care if. You temporarily don't start a direct conflict with Pang Hai. Do you understand? That force behind Pang Hai. We still need time to operate. I guess, soon, Pang Hai's reliance will fall apart. And at that time, we'll settle the score with him. Pavilion leader Zhang frowned as he looked at the results on the screen and said with some annoyance. The crux of the matter now is that everyone knows that the Li family was supported by us to fight against the Su group, and as a result, the Li family was overthrown, and the Su family won a huge victory, so we are very passive. If we don't make some noise, those who remain neutral may have their attitudes shifted. Courtier, I know what to do. Chu Feng's eyes stared, greeted a few of his men, and stepped away from the other garden. After waiting for Chu Feng to leave, Pavilion Master Zhang rubbed his temples and let out a long sigh. Things are getting more and more out of place. Alas, casting a stone. Chu Feng, hopefully this stone of yours can make some noise. The secretary beside Pavilion Master Shang's eyes moved. Pavilion Master, you know that Captain Chu has no chance of survival if he goes this time. So why do you still let him go? Pavilion Master Zhang smiled faintly. The Yi family's matter is more complicated than we imagined. I let Chu Feng go because I wanted to see. What other cards does the Yi family hide? Could it be that the Yi family's demonic genius has awakened? As long as there is any feedback, we can quickly make adjustments. Cloud City, in the office of the president of Xian Group. Xian Yufei looked at the news about the Su family on the TV screen. Her eyes were a bit grumpy. The Su family was actually so lucky to have escaped. Alas, brother Fan. Although she said luck on her lips, Xian Yufei was very clear that it could not be luck at all for the Su family to succeed so smoothly in this encounter with the Li family. Second uncle announced at that time that he was going to withdraw from the Yi family. Why did Xian Yufei hesitate? Because Xian Yufei had also considered that those opponents had wiped out all of the Yi family's children within a day. Then they would definitely not let go of the rest of the Yi family. And even if Yi Fan was a fool, he could be beheaded at any time. Xian Yufei's judgment at that time, the Yi family could no longer see hope. But so many things have happened in the last few days. The seven sisters-in-law announced that they would marry Yi Fan at the same time. The inexplicable and wonderful extermination of the Zhao family. The violent death of Li Yun Yang on the night of his engagement with himself. Until now the Li family is completely destroyed. Xian Yufei gradually realized a problem. The Yi family, it seemed, was not as simple as one thought. The Xia family in the provincial capital, the Guo family, all spared no effort to support the Su group. It was obvious that this was directed at Yi Fan. If she hadn't withdrawn her marriage with Yi Fan, then the one standing by her side right now should be herself off. Ah. LOL. Where are brother Fan and the others now? Xian Yufei hesitated slightly and inquired towards the secretary beside her. 
When he was in the hospital, Xian Yufei had told Ji Fan that he wouldn't give up easily. He did hurt Ji Fan that day, so he would double his compensation back. Young Yi should have gone to celebrate with the Su Group's people at the Imperial City Hotel. Good. The afternoon meeting is cancelled. I'll go over to find Brother Fan. Xian Yufei briefly explained to her secretary, changed into a sexy set of clothes, and drove towards the Imperial City Hotel. Mr. Shen. You. The secretary looked at Xian Yufei's back as she left and shook her head. Mr. Xian is really, only just regained control of the company, just like this, alas, Imperial City Hotel, in the banquet hall on the 8th floor, Su Honghai and Su Mingho, the core members of the Su family, were very happy today, everyone must eat and drink well, and don't ever treat yourself poorly, the Su family can be where it is today thanks to all of you, today was just one day like the new drug launch, and the Su family had collected tens of billions of dollars in deposits, with this money, the Su family could open 10 new production assembly lines within two months, together with that snow face cream prescription that Mr. Lei gifted, it would definitely be a big explosion behind it, and the assembly line would be a complete money printing machine, so many big shots that Su Honghai and Su Mingho couldn't even come into contact with before, but now when people see the two, they have to respectfully address them as Mr. Su, this is why, Su Honghai knows very well, because Yi Fan, although Yi Fan is still in a demented state, Mr. Lei said that Yi Fan has the possibility of awakening. One day, if Yi Fan awakens and goes back to the peak state of that demonic genius, then the Su family will absolutely follow the Yi family and take off. In the crowd, some channelers were a bit indignant as they watched Su Honghai's smug look. Look at his smug look. What can you do? Who told you not to have a beautiful daughter? Don't talk nonsense, or the Zhao family will be the downfall. But you guys found a problem? Today the Su family happened such a big event. The internet actually has no information at all. Those police arrests, accounts seizure news, should not have leaked out at all ah? With that reminder, everyone quietly took their phones out and searched the internet for news. It doesn't matter if this is not searched. Once searched, all that was found was the high-profile video message of the Su family's new drug launch and the apology video of the Huachi Bank in Yuncheng. As for any other negative news about the Su group, there was nothing at all. It's not right. Ha, huh? it's too abnormal. How could those rivals of the Yi family not let the negative news fester since they made a move against the Su family? Right, if I were a rival of the Yi family, I would do the same, and I would definitely show those who help the Yi family what happens when they offend me. At this time, in the northwest direction, on a plane ready to take off, Lone Wolf Chu Phone looked at the news on his cell phone and became furious again. What's going on? What's going on? Are the media outlets we work with all mute? There are so many negative news about the Su family. How come none of them have been sent out? This was originally a trifecta arranged by Chu Fong. Seize the Su family's accounts. Arrest the core members of the Su family. Bring down the Su group. And then create public opinion so that everyone understands what will happen if they help the Yi family. Then they would use the same tactics to deal with Yu Linglong. As well as Xin Mingja's clans. But now, before the first step is taken, it's over. Captain Chu, it's not that we don't send it out. But all the media we control have been monitored and blocked. As long as there is any negative news about the Su family, at least uploaded, it will immediately be forcefully deleted after more than a second, and there are even some places where it can't be uploaded at all. It should still be the Kyushu group side that's making the effort. The Kyushu group is that strong? Chu Feng's brows tightened. It seemed that he had still underestimated the Kyushu group, even though pavilion leader Zhang had instructed him. Chu Feng actually wanted to test Pang Hai's Kyushu group before he set off. But now, Chu Feng began to hesitate a bit. After thinking for a moment, Chu Feng still made a decision. Let's ignore those first. Let's deal with Yi Fan and the Su family first. It's best to exterminate them directly. If they continue to let the Su and Yi families continue to be so arrogant, then everything that the pavilion elder had set up before would be in vain. Those neutral forces might side with the Yi family, and even those forces that supported the pavilion elder before would choose to support the Yi family. Yes, by the way, over in the provincial city, have the Lu family acted yet? After raising them for so many years, it's time for them to make some effort. A touch of gloom surfaced on Xu Feng's face. That rice bucket Lu ran. Humph, I'll go and clean him up after my Cloud City matter is over. Captain, the one sent from the Lu family side is the eldest young master, Lu Ching Yang, who has already departed. That's more like it. This time, even if Yi Fan pretends to be a fool, he won't be allowed to continue living. Yi Fan was a fool. Before, the top were hesitant to keep Yi Fan alive. But now that Lei Qianjie said that Yi Fan had the possibility of awakening, then he couldn't be kept. Otherwise, those who supported the Yi family could always still see hope. Imperial City Hotel, Yi Fan and Guali, Wang Fugui and others were sitting at a table. 
Looking at those people celebrating happily, Yi Fan frowned slightly. Although the Su family had taken a temporary victory now, Yi Fan knew that the Su family would definitely face more difficulties if they wanted to continue to develop. All one has to do is to remove all the difficulties and crush all the opponents in the cradle. Yi Fan was still pondering, when he suddenly saw a familiar figure at the main entrance. Xin Yu Fei? That little ninny, why is she here again? Yi Fan, come here and hold me. While Xin Yu Fei walked towards Yi Fan, her mouth pouted while her eyes were filled with anticipation. Before, no matter if Yi Fan was in a lucid state or if he was demented behind, he was obedient to Consort Xin Yu. As long as Consort Xin Yu waved her hand, Yi Fan would do as he was told. It's almost like the legendary Lick Dog. Concubine Xin Yu's voice was not loud, but quite a few people in the surroundings heard it clearly, and their eyes flickered over to this side. Two days ago, on the day of the Yi family's accident, the Xin family withdrew from the marriage in front of so many people, and this news was very clear to everyone. Isn't that Ji Fan's previous fiancé? What is she doing here? Yeah, does she still have the face to come? Poof. Is seeing the Su family's victory with the Yi family's support and is starting to get red in the eyes. At that time, the Xin family was in such a hurry to withdraw from the marriage and fall down the well. The people were all somewhat despised in their hearts, and they didn't have much of a good face for Fei Xin Yu. At Yi Fan's table, Wang Fu Gue, Hua Li, Xia Hao and the others had also heard Xin Yu Fei shout and all turned their gazes to Yi Fan. Looking at Xian Yu Fei dressed up so sexy and beautiful, Yi Fan had a waner in his heart, then shook his head and said, No, Miss Xian, I'm afraid that Yi Xue's wife will be jealous. While speaking, Yi Fan looked towards Su Yi Xue's side. On the other side, after Su Yi Xue toasted a few guests, she also saw Xian Yu Fei, and also quickly walked over towards Yi Fan's side then intimately wrapped her arms around Yi Fan's neck, and somewhat demonstratively said towards Xin Yu Fei, M.S. Xian, you are welcome to my celebration, come, my husband and I will toast you, in a sense, I should also thank you properly, as she spoke, Sui Shua picked up two glasses of champagne and raised her glass towards Princess Xian Yu, pain, very painful, afraid of Yi Shui's wife's jealousy, hearing Yi Fan's words, Xin Yu Fei felt that her heart seemed to be viciously stabbed by a steel needle, and a certain place in her heart was hollowed out, something that seems to have been quietly lost, never to return, congratulations, Xian Yufei raised the wine cup in her hand in front of her and clinked it with Sui Shui and Yifan, his face was a little pale, while his heart cried out, that was supposed to be mine, it was mine, I blame uncle too for having to withdraw from the marriage in front of so many people, and now it's fine, his own van would never come back, however, Xian Yufei was still unwilling, brother Fan, Thank you for helping accompany me to Li Yunyang's engagement site yesterday. I would like to treat you to a meal can I? Perhaps, if he ate alone with Yi Fan and reminisced about the past, Yi Fan would think of something and wouldn't reject himself so much? Yi Fan naturally knew exactly what was in Xian Yu Fei's mind, but the damage that Princess Xian Yu had inflicted on that day, how could it be recovered so easily? I already have a wife. You see, the first wife is also over there. I accompany them to eat have to queue up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yi Fan seriously broke his fingers and counted, eat with you. Later, although Yi Fan looked a bit naive, the logic of his answer was not faulty at all. Yeah, at that time, Xian Yu Fei did withdraw from the marriage, but in a turnaround, the seven sister-in-laws announced that they would marry Yi Fan. So Yi Fan is equivalent to one for seven, one wife for seven, with seven stunning wives like that, what do you care about the rest? Pust, Xian Yu Fei's heart was once again hit hard, was she even going to rank behind the seventh? Looks like he really hurt Van. Xian Yufei held back the tears in her eyes and secretly cheered herself up. It's okay. Must not give up. As long as one does not give up, there must still be a chance. Alright then, I'll invite brother Fan when there's an opportunity later on. Xian Yufei glanced deeply at Sui Shui. Mr. Su, I'm counting on you to take good care of brother Fan. I'll kill back at any time. Xian Yufei spoke with a serious face. Like an admonition. More like a letter of war. The scene was silent as everyone looked at Su Yishui and Xian Yufei, as well as Yu Linglong who quietly approached over from behind. It's a battlefield between women. Princess Xian Yu regretted it, wanted to snatch Yi Fan back. There are still just a few people who are a bit surprised. What's so rare about a fool? As for that, however, as long as the sober Guoli and Xia Hao and the others knew that Yi Fan had awakened, and his strength had already exceeded the peak of Martial Zun, and would soon break through to the Martial Emperor level. A generation of demonic geniuses had once again awakened, and their strength had surpassed yet another peak. Such a demonic genius, whoever gets it, is a heavenly chance. The arrival of Princess Xian Yu was just a small interlude. The crowd continued to start mingling and letting loose. Yi Changfeng old man also showed up at the banquet. 
just sitting in a private room on the second floor, looking at the scene just now. Yi Changfeng was also a burst of size. Alas, Xian family's oldest too. This is his own inability to see the form. Now he regrets it, right? However, you need to hurry up and investigate. Why is the Kyushu group helping us so much? I didn't have any dealings with the Kyushu group before. Ah, uh, Yi Changfeng said to Long Feng, the chief of the guards beside him. Also, go and check what's going on in the Xuanwu war zone. A major stepped in to arrest so many uniformed members, representing the Xuanwu battle region. Could it be that the Xuanwu battle region is also but supporting my Yi family? On the day the Yi family held their funeral, many superpowers did not send people to pay their respects, but only secretly expressed their condolences. But now, overnight, it seems like all the winds are starting to change, it suddenly turned favorable to the Yi family. What the hell is going on here? As the words fell, Yi Chongfeng's eyes sharply swept around the hall on the first floor below, then frowned and said, Ha, Su Jian has, as the CEO of Yi Group, shouldn't he be here at this time? How come I feel like I haven't seen anyone else since last night? At the mention of this time, the muscles on Captain Langfeng's face couldn't help but twitch a bit, pulling out a piece of information from his body and handing it over to Yi Chongfeng. Yi Lao, this sets the news that we have just gotten, Su Don last night, Seems to be in the middle bridge of Yun City was beheaded by the Wang family's people. Reason is that Su Dong kidnapped and killed the Wang family's great young man. Now Wang Zhong is leading people all over the city to chase Su Jian. Su Jian estimated that he should be hiding. Aha! What? Su Dong kidnapped Wang Chao? Wang Chao is also dead? Yi Changfeng raised his eyebrows. Somewhat incredulous. Was it Wang Chao who arranged for old Wolf Wu to chase after Yi Shui? Exactly. Long Feng responded. In fact, they were all very shrewd people. And as things had developed to this point, there were already very many suspicions. Because the Zhao family was thinking about Sui Shui, they secretly made several moves against the Su family, exterminating them overnight. The Wang family, because they arranged to hunt down Sui Shui, Wang Chao was killed and framed Su Dong. The key is that Su Dong and Su Jian, the two of them, did not have any good intentions towards the Yi family, and have been trying to annex the Yi family's Ah, Cloud City Li family. Li Yunyan wanted to get engaged to Xian Yufei under the arrangement of Xian Zhenghua, but as a result, because of Yi fans stirring up, it was stirred up not to mention that Li Yunyan even exploded to death on the spot. Today's Su Group's new drug launch, Li Zhong and Qin Tao were directly dealt with by Xia Hao and Li Hu, declaring the demise of the Li family. It all ties together to come to a shocking conclusion. In less than three short days, all the clans that were hostile and unfavorable to the Yi family were exterminated. Moreover, everything was closely connected to Yi Fan. Where was Yi Fan last night? Yi Changfeng felt like his heart was about to jump out of his chest. Could it be that his turtle grandson had awakened? But why didn't Su tell herself when she woke up? Elder Yi, yesterday our people were on stakeout and found that he had been at the Su family villa. Ah, the brothers heard some juvenile noises that lasted until after 11 o'clock before they subsided. As Long Feng spoke, a smile could not help but appear at the corner of his mouth. But according to the brothers' report, Xia Hao's car from the Xia family in the provincial capital had appeared twice outside the Su family villa. Although Yi Xiao's IQ is a bit lacking now, his fighting strength is still not weak. According to this state, it shouldn't take long for Yi Lao to be able to hold his grandchildren. Has it been in the Su family? Long Feng, do you think there is a possibility that Yi Fan has awakened? Yi Chang Feng keenly captured a key piece of information. What was Xia Hao doing guarding the outside of the Su family villa so late at night? Perhaps, picking up Ya Fan for action? But, our people have been staring at a 360 degree orientation ah, there are also surveillance cameras, if Yi Xiao left the Su family villa, there's no way our people wouldn't have noticed, although Lung Feng was also skeptical, he still couldn't figure it out, Humph, the people you arranged, just one Zongshu, plus a few control realm, you should know that Yi Fan was the strength of Zongshu realm 5 years ago, if he wants to leave quietly, those men of yours, can they find him, Yi Chang Feng let out a long sigh, carefully go and check again, no matter if there is any news, remember to keep it a secret. If Yi Fan has awakened without being exposed, there must be a reason for him. Yes, a glint flashed in Lung Feng's eyes. If the young master awakens, with the young master's demonic talent, then the Yi family's blood feud will definitely be avenged. On the southern outskirts of Cloud City, Su Jian had a secret manor that had been built for a long time. After getting the video sent by Strange last night, Su Jian gathered his direct line of people to move here overnight. Father, save me. Quickly save me. I'm going to be beaten to death by the Wang family's people. Father. Oh oh. Su Jian in the living room. Once again watched the video on the data. Watched his son Su Dong not Wang Zhong drag the knife and hack to death. Angry slap on the table. The Wang family is simply too deceitful. Su Dong had previously thought of working together with the Wang. Zhao. 
and Li families to jointly annex the Yi family's assets. As a result, now Wang had actually hacked Su Jian's only son to death, and that was an undying hatred. Boss, the brothers have sent word that Wang Zhong seems to have found out where we are staying and is leading people to kill this way. What do we do next? Besides Su Jian, a scarred man reported towards Su Jian, a strong killing aura stirring in his body. Outside, in the courtyard, there were hundreds of other strong men gathered, most of whom were martial arts experts. These are the assassin teams that Su Jian has operated himself over the years, and they are also the cards that he intends to use to seize power with the Yi family in the future. But now that his son had been killed by the Wang family, and the Wang family still wanted to make a move against Su Jian and exterminate him as well, then Su Jian could only pull out his bottom card and fight the Wang family to the death. Instruct the brothers to start preparing, each in their own way. Everything will be acted according to the previous arrangement, so that they will have no return. Su Jian's eyes flashed with a flash of viciousness, although he also wanted to seize the assets of the Yi family, the pain of losing his son had started to drive him crazy. Compared to the assets of the Yi family, Su Jian preferred the death of the Wang family. One thing Su Jian hadn't told his men yet was that when he was building the manor, Su Jian had quietly buried several tons of explosives underneath the manor. The weight of those high explosives was enough to flatten the surrounding kilometers. If he really couldn't kill the Wang family, Su Jian had thought about pulling Wang Zhong along with him to die with him. But, boss, the Wang family has many people coming this time, and they're not weak. They're several times stronger than us, we're afraid it's a bit difficult. The scarred man voiced his concerns. Su Jian smiled faintly. What are you afraid of? You guys have followed me for so many years. The payment for this operation has already been paid to your families. Even if you die, you won't be shortchanged. Besides, we have so many organs here. So what if they are outnumbered? Until this moment, Su Jian was still brainwashing his men. In the royal hotel, everyone was a little drunk when Guo Li's cell phone suddenly ding-donged. Guo Li opened his cell phone to an unfamiliar text message. According to the intelligence, there is a martial arts powerhouse coming from the northwest, with a strength at least at the level of Marshal Zun, and he should be rushing towards the Su family. In addition, the provincial cities Lu Dao Young, Lu Qing Yang, has already arrived in Cloud City and is also going to make a move against the Su family. Look out for caution. Although the text message was unsigned, Wu Li knew that it must be the result of the call Yi Fan had made earlier. It was a reminder to this side. Wu Li quietly brought his cell phone text message to Yi Fan and let him take a look at it. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched as he whispered. I'm afraid they won't come. As long as they dare to come, they will be able to follow the trail and find the real culprits behind the scenes. To wipe out almost all of the Yi family's entire clan and act in the six war zones at the same time. This was definitely not something an ordinary force could do. Those people who jumped in front of them were just minor characters. But it was through these minor characters that the big fish behind the curtain would be pulled out step by step. The reason why Yi Fan was playing dumb now was because he was afraid that he would suddenly awaken and scare the real culprit behind the scenes. After all, at the age of 15 is the sect master realm demonic genius. Once awakened, that is absolutely can stir the entire Dasha wind and clouds. The Yi family unicorn rises again. The recovery of the Yi family is unstoppable. Maybe those real culprits who had exterminated the Yi family would quietly hide, so that Yi Fan would never be able to find out again. Wu Li and Yi Fan were still communicating quietly. When the big screen in the hall, switching to play the song, suddenly switched to the news channel, so the crowd saw a shocking news. Insert an important news. Just now, on the southern outskirts of Cloud City, a manor, a major explosion occurred. Preliminary investigation. Is the executive president of the Yi group private behavior? Leading his men and the Wang family bodyguards firefight was unbeatable, and finally detonated the explosives. The same to die. Deaths were initially determined to be Wang Zhong, head of the Wang family, Wang Tao, a core member of the Wang family, and LV Quan, a senior leader of the Yi group. Wow! The sudden news caused the entire crowd at the scene to explode. It seems that the youngest member of the Wang family was kidnapped and had his ticket torn up last night. The news is only known to a small group of people, but it has already begun to fester today, and those in the know revealed that Wang Chao is precisely the gold master behind Wu Lao Wolf, who authorized Wu Lao Wolf to attack Sui Shui, only to fail. That night, Wang Chao was kidnapped and died, and today, the Wang family is in a firefight with Su Jian, and all of their troops were wiped out, all die together? Crap! In the second floor private room, Yi Changfeng was shocked and directly exploded. This Nima, it's too much of a coincidence, isn't it? Borrowing a knife to kill a man? Wang family moved Sui Shui. Su Jian wants to control the Yi group, and at this moment, the Yi family two major potential enemies, so self-inflicted and all extinguished? Anyone with a normal IQ would not believe that things could have developed so coincidentally. 
Was Wang Chao really kidnapped and killed by Su Dong? Why am I so disbelieving? Yi Chongfeng's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked down at Yi Fan, who was talking with Guo Li, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Xiao Fan, Xiao Fan, you hit it from grandpa so hard. The prosperity of the Yi family depends on you. The Wang family and Su Jian perishing at the same time. Such powerful news caused quite a huge stir at the scene. Everyone looked toward Yi Fan's table. Su Shui also frowned towards Yi Fan. The Wang family had only chased after them last night. And today they were met with such retaliation that they were directly exterminated again. Associated with what happened to the Li and Zhao families earlier. It was hard for Su Shui not to link these things to Yi Fan. But other people are not clear. Su Shui is the most clear. At that time, when the Zhao family and Wang Chao was killed, Yi Fan should be lying beside himself. Around the Su family villa, there are Su family bodyguards, as well as the Yi family bodyguards. Yi Fan should not have the opportunity to make a move ah. Could it be that Yi Fan had arranged for Xia Hao and the others to go into action? This incident made the crowd of those channelers on the scene once again certain of one thing. That was that although the Yi family had suffered a heavy blow, the Yi family wasn't going to die right away. And when the Yi family breathed a sigh of relief, Yi Fan would definitely fight back like crazy. Following the Yi family's Su clan, as well as Yu Linglong, and Shen Mang, Ling Yenqiu, and so on, they would definitely obtain heavenly benefits in the future. And those of them who chose to cooperate with Su's group at this point in time, the benefits they gained would surely not be small. Lucky, lucky we got on the bus early. Yeah, the Su family's account was frozen and the wind was lifted in 10 minutes. It's simply amazing. While the crowd was sighing, there was a sudden clapping sound at the entrance of the hall. Congratulations, MS. Su, today's conference was held very successfully ah, I came uninvited, ms, Su won't be unwelcome, right, a young man in a pink suit stepped towards the hall, and while walking, he kept clapping, Lu Ching Yang, you still came really fast, Wu Li as the provincial city's great young man, naturally recognizes Lu Ching Yang, this Lu Ching Yang, is the great young man of the provincial city's Lu family, is vicious and poisonous, it is said that he once killed his half-brother's mother, and at that time, Lu Ching Yang was only in his teens. Listening to Guo Li's words, Lu Ching Yang couldn't help but frown. How to listen to Guo Li's words? Something is not right ah. This Guo Li seemed to know that he was coming to Cloud City, but he had obviously gotten a call from Captain Chu only two hours ago and decided to set off on the spur of the moment. Was Guo Li's news channel so powerful? Lu Ching Yang, I advise you to better not come and join in the fun, or else the Zhao, Li, and Wang families of Cloud City will be your Lu family's downfall. It was no longer a secret that the three great families had all perished. Lu Qingyang had just seen the news of the firefight between the Wang family and Su Jian on his way to Yin City. These were all the Yi family's nemeses, actually starting to kill each other up. Not scientific at all. There must be some secrets in the middle that outsiders don't know. But backtracking back, the one who got the most benefits was naturally the Yi family. So it can be inferred from this that it must be the Yi family that moved in the middle. But now the Yi family, Young disciples, all have been extinguished, leaving a Yi Changfeng. The body is also sick, suffered such a big blow, can organize so many means, but it's not Yi Changfeng, is it that fool Yi Fan? Lu Qingyang gathered his gaze on Yi Fan, who still had that same naive look, leaning on Su Yi Shui's shoulder and holding Yu Linglong in his other hand. Numb nuts, Su Yi Shui and Yu Linglong, those were both absolute beauties. For an ordinary person to get one of them would be smoke from their ancestors' graves while Yi Fan actually had both at the same time. No, it was seven, and there were another five who were not present, but yet had also announced that they would marry Yi Fan. Lu Qingyang carefully viewed Yi Fan. Yi Fan body does not have any martial arts breath fluctuations. It still looks dumb and silly. Without any signs of awakening, it is unlikely that Yi Fan secretly shot off. Is Captain Chu overthinking this? If it wasn't Yi Changfeng or Yi Fan, then it could only be the actions of Guo Li and Xia Hao and the others. H.M. It seems that in addition to giving the Su family a little lesson, it is also necessary to give the Guo family and the Xia family a little bit of means, otherwise they will be very passive if they let their two big families follow the stirring up of the matter. Coupled with the Kyushu group's hidden hand, Guo Xiao, I think you should think about yourself first, don't mind your own business, if something goes wrong in your own home, you'll regret it by then. Lu Qingyang opened his mouth in a salty manner, but the meaning of provocative threat in his words was already very clear. The Xia family head is also oh. You guys pull out now. Maybe it's still too late. But what Lu Qingyang didn't know was that Guo Li and Xia Hao were the only two awake people around Yi Fan, and they were clearly aware that Yi Fan had awakened. The demonic genius had returned once again and was even more powerful than before. A generation of demonic geniuses came back, with Wang Fu Gui as a martial artist, plus Guo Li as a Xiu Kai auxiliary, and with the huge and incomparable Tianji pavilion backing him up. 
Who could stop them? The corners of Guo Li and Xia Hao's mouths twitched as they smiled faintly. Lu Qingyang today is mainly ordered by Chu Feng. Came to test Yi Fan, the words fell. Holding a wine glass, walked to Yi Fan and said, Yi Xiao, it's a pity that you've turned into a fool now, with such two beautiful wives. Will you use them at night? Ha ha, insults. That's already a finger in the nose insult. If Yi Xiao doesn't know how to use it, I can bring my wife at night and let me teach you off. I'll make sure to satisfy the two sister in laws. Boo. Lu Qing Yang was still muttering. Yi Fan had already made his move. Reaching out and grabbing a pot of boiling soup that had just come up on the table, he smashed it against Lu Qingyang's head. You don't have a face, Yi Shui wife said. At night they can only sleep with me. What do you want? You want to sleep. Go home and sleep with your mom. Hiss. Ah. Lousy's face. My head. Shit. You're crazy ah. The boiling hot boiling water drenched down Lu Qingyang's head. Although Lu Qingyang a few years ago was already at the peak of martial control. And now his strength was speculated by outsiders to have reached the realm of a grandmaster, but he was still scalded and jumped straight up, and was about to go crazy, because the distance was so close just now, Lu Qingyang actually didn't even have a chance to dodge. In that instant, Lu Qingyang couldn't decide whether Yi Fan was really stupid or pretending to be stupid? Yi Fan's reaction moves were that swift? Son of a bitch, you're looking for death. Lu Qingyang's whole body was filled with murderous aura, and he swung his fist with the intention of making a move on Yi Fan. Ling Long wife, I'm scared. Yi Fan was startled. His body flickered and he directly hid behind you Ling Long. That fearful look was not in the least bit like a fake. Wooly watched from the side and could not help but skim his lips. Life is like a play. It all depends on the acting ah. Good for you. Big brother, how dare you. You're looking in the wrong place to be wild here. Lao Ao's man, try moving a single hair of your sweat. Yu Ling Long stepped forward and her powerful aura began to fluctuate. At the same time, Gua Li. Wang Fugue and the three of them also stepped forward. The three great sect master powerhouses surrounded Lu Qingyang in the center. And for a moment Lu Qingyang was a little breathless. On what grounds? Could a fool, Yi Fan, have so many powerful people protecting him? Lu Qingyang knew that if he wanted to do something here, he was afraid that it would be unlikely. You can only wait for Yi Fan to fall alone, then find a chance to do it yourself. Count yourselves ruthless. Hum, you can protect him for a while, but can you protect him for a lifetime? Lu Qingyang took a step back and stared evilly at Yu Linglong and the others. I'm only afraid that very soon, Yi Fan will expose his body to the wilderness. And at that time, you guys will become real widows. Ha ha ha, do you guys want to remarry to the Yi family's old thing? Lu Qingyang laughed so wildly that Yi Fan couldn't help the murderous aura stirring in his body. Lu Qingyang also wantonly provocative, passed by the sight of Yi Fan, quietly in Yi Fan's ear. Fool, do you know? Your second brother died can be old and tragic. At that time I all stabbed him a dozen knives, but also his tendons and veins picked off one by one. He he he. In the end, that poor guy is still kneeling on the ground begging me to let you go. Unfortunately, you will soon have to go down to accompany him too. Aha! Uh -huh. In an instant, Yi Fan's pupils contracted violently. Is the real culprit who wiped out the Yi family finally starting to show his face? Yi Fan didn't expect that the Lu family in the provincial city was actually involved in the operation. Just in the southwest Vermilion Bird War Zone. The Lu family was actually involved in killing second brother Yi Ling Jun, looking for death. At this moment, the anger in Yi Fan's heart could no longer be endured, and he reached out and violently grabbed Lu Qingyang with one hand. Lu Qingyang stared at Yi Fan smugly. What? Do you still want to beat me? What can you do if I tell you the truth? This time, Captain Chu Feng had come together to take action. Even if he couldn't deal with Yi Fan, wouldn't it be an incredibly easy thing for Captain Chu Feng to deal with Yi Fan? Yi Fan knew that Lu Qingyang had come here with the main purpose of provoking himself and exposing himself. Once he was exposed, then those behind the scenes who were dealing with the Yi family would either go crazy and do whatever it took to put a hit on Yi Fan, or they would be deeply hidden. So, the silver needle in Yi Fan's hand quickly stabbed out, and a chi force entrapped the colorless and tasteless poison penetrated into Lu Qingyang's body. Not exposing it didn't mean that Yi Fan didn't have the means to deal with Lu Qingyang. At that time, at the Li family's engagement banquet, Yi Fan could kill Li Yunyan without moving, then he could likewise kill Lu Cheng Yang. However, Yi Fan didn't intend to let Lu Cheng Yang die so quickly, but to let him feel the pain of a life worse than death. Ha, huh? what are you doing? Lu Cheng Yang was stabbed with a jolt. Although it was only a sudden stimulation on the skin, Lu Cheng Yang felt that the pain seemed to go deep into the bone marrow, as if his soul was being seared. At the same time, an iffy aura began to flow through Lu Cheng Yang's body, seemingly fusing with his own tendons and veins. What's going on with this? Although he sensed that something was wrong, Lu Qingyang once again felt carefully and did not sense anything else. 
and after giving Yi Fan a fierce glare, he quickly left the scene. The Su family's banquet lasted until the afternoon before the crowd dispersed. Yu Linglong excused herself and left. Over in the southeast war zone, recently, the attacks by the eastern Ning dogs became more and more frequent. The more experts were sent. Yu Linglong needed to go back to sit in the town as soon as possible. Sui Shui returned to Su Group, began to work on the back of the pharmaceutical production. The expansion of things, with Guo Li and Wang Fugue accompanying Yi Fan, Sui Shui's crowd was also relieved. Big brother, how do we move next? As the banquet ended, Guo Li and Wang Fugue's few people walked in front, with Xia Hao and Li Hu and the others following behind. Pang Lao's side gave information that the northwest side sent a big brother, and the provincial capital Lu Qingyang came to Cloud City to prepare for action. The scream of Lu Qingyang just now. The others didn't understand. But Guo Li and Xia Hao knew that Yi Fan must have done something to Lu Qingyang. How to act next? Yi Fan definitely had a plan. Yi Fan was just about to open his mouth when Elder Yi Changfeng came down from a nearby car with Lang Feng and walked quickly towards Yi Fan. Elder Yi, Guo Li and the others greeted Elder Yi respectfully. Elder Yi had been sitting on the northern side for many years, and his title of king of the northern region was true to his name. N. Yi Changfeng was very satisfied with these junior partners who followed Yi Fan's side without leaving. You guys in are good. Guo Li and Fu Gui will not be mentioned. Mr. Xia, if there's any obstruction in your business over there in the provincial city, you can call this number to go to the provincial defense chief, Jiang Chang, who is my student, and say that I told you to go to him. While speaking, Yi Changfeng handed a business card to Xia Hao. Ah, thank you Elder Yi. Xia Hao respectfully took the business card. A huge shock ran through his heart, and his eyes instinctively glanced towards Yi Fan. The benefits of following Yi Fan's side. Yi Fan had already given before ah, so good pills, and Yi Fan's unlimited potential in the future. Even if there were no benefits, Xia Hao would do his best. Seeing that Yi Fan didn't object, Xia Hao then put the business card away. This was just a business card, but what that meant was all too clear to Xia Hao, the chief of defense of Tiannan province. That was the number three person who had crossed Tiannan. With his support, at least in Tiannan province, not many people would dare to make things difficult for the Xia family. It's an imperial sword, something that can actually work. Although Xia Hao's look at Yi Fan was hidden, Yi Chong Feng, who had been carefully observing Xia Hao, saw Xia Hao's look clearly. He's just giving a business card, and Xia Hao has to consult Yi Fan. Then Yi Chong Feng basically had 80% certainty to determine that Yi Fan should have awakened, and more than likely Xia Hao was one of the people who knew. During this time, a lot of things were done by Xia Hao accompanying Yi Fan, lead Li Hu to save Sui Shui, deal with the Li family, and use the knife to kill to deal with the Wang family and Su Jian's father and son. Everything seems to be explained. Yi Fan still needed to continue to act like a fool in front of outsiders. However, specific actions and thought plans would ultimately need to be carried out by people. Then Xia Hao was the best person to cover and execute it. And now that Guo Li had returned. As a former brother and military advisor, Wei Xiu Tsai completely fit the bill as well. So Guo Li and Xia Hao should be the ones in the know. As for Wang Fu Gui, this big stupid spring. Although the strength is good, but the mouth. So he should be hidden in the drum. After speculating about all the things, Yi Changfeng finally understood that Su's conference. How could Xia Hao arrange things so tightly? Yi Fan is a generation of demonic genius. Back then in the awakened state, whether it was talent, intelligence that was top notch, this all explains it. Now Su Jian's father and son have already died with the Wang family. My Yi group also has a not so small scale of money, and likewise needs people to help deal with it. Mr. Xia, Hua Li, I will teach Yi group to Yi Fan, and I will report to the board of directors and appoint you as the group's vice president. Is that okay? Hua Li's reaction was normal, and it didn't matter what the total was. He knew that even if Yi Fan was in a sober state and the Yi clan group was handed over to Yi Fan, Yi Fan would most likely still dump it on himself. However, Xia Hao was once again shocked. Himself an outsider, the provincial city of Xia family ahead of the family, the size of the assets is only hundreds of billions of dollars and the Yi family is completely incomparable, and Master Yi appointed himself as the vice president of Yi group in the blink of an eye, this was a great trust, this, Yi Lao, this is not appropriate, he came to find Yi Fan, the original intention was to repay the favor, but just a few short days, he gained benefits, and it was already a height that countless people did not dare to think about, Xia Hao still wanted to continue to look over towards Yi Fan for instructions, Wu Li couldn't even look at him anymore and directly interrupted Xia Hao, Mr. Xia, since Elder Yi has made such an arrangement, we'll listen to Elder Yi's arrangement. At that time, when Young Yi awakens, we will just resign again. This Xia Hao, his loyalty is commendable, but it is just too loyal. According to his appearance, 
constantly asking for instructions from his big brother, Wang Fugue and the others, perhaps do not perceive how shrewd master he is? One look and you're basically exposed. So Guoli directly interrupted Xia Hao's continued inquiry. Yi Changfeng smiled slightly beside him. It seemed that there was a reason for this Guoli's intelligence to serve as Yi Fan's military advisor. Although Guoli's talent would be slightly weaker than Yi Fan, in terms of intellect, he was at least able to follow in Yi Fan's footsteps. You guys go to the company first. I'll go say hello to a few old friends. I'll be right there. On the other side, Lei Chenjie had already gathered the group of old friends together. Those rivals of the Yi family did too much. Will the Yi family almost wiped out and not let go? Even Lei Chenjie want to kill. Is afraid that Lei Chenjie out of the treatment of Yi Fan awakened. So now people can't just sit around and wait. Previously, Yi Changfeng hadn't been much enthusiastic about Lei Chenjie's actions. But after what happened just now, sensing that his good turtle grandson had most likely awakened, Yi Changfeng also had a very strong interest. The Yi family can already see Hopa. Moreover, there are still millions of Tianlong army in the north. As long as he still has a breath in his body, Yi Zi banner will not fall. As long as the heavenly dragon army was smoothly handed over to Yi Fan, then the Yi family would not fall. It's time to start fighting back. Yi Changfeng had just left with his front foot, and next to him, another youth wearing a flowery shirt quickly rushed over. Puff, without any hesitation, that flower shirt youth directly knelt down to Yi Fan. Xiao Yi, please help me exterminate Lu Qingyang and the Lu family. If I succeed, I, Lu Mao Yang, am willing to give my liver and brain to Xiao Yi as an ox and a horse. Aha, uh -huh. looking at the youth in front of him, Yi Fan frowned. Like, it's too similar. This youth in front of him, although he wore different clothes from the Lu Qingyang who had just rushed into the venue, his appearance was 80% similar. Also surnamed Lu. This Lu Mao Yang in front of him was from the Lu family? A man from the Lu family wants to invite himself to destroy his family? What does that mean? Hua Li, who was next to him, looked at Lu Mao Yang with a surprised face and said, Second youngest of the Lu family? Haven't you been picking up chicks and making rumors with beautiful stars? What do you mean by finding Yi Xiao like this? Don't you know that in my big brother is still in a state of dementia? The Lu family in the provincial capital, at the time, had caused a scandal that was almost known to the entire upper class of Huadu. Lu Qingyang's old man, Lu Zijian slept with a girl in a nightclub back then. That is, the Lu family's second youngest Lu Maoyang's mother. But the Lu family has never recognized the identity of Lu Maoyang's mother, and even felt the existence of Lu Maoyang's mother is a shame. In the end, the Lu family's eldest young man, Lu Qingyang, stepped in and, with Lu Zijian's acquiescence, brutally killed Lu Maoyang's mother, in front of Lu Maoyang. At that time, Lu Mao Yang was only 8 years old, hiding under the bed and watching such a cruel scene. From that time, Lu Mao Yang secretly swore in his heart that he must live. And when he was strong enough, he must get his big brother Lu Qingyang and that animal-like father killed, and make the Lu family perish. Later, 8-year-old Lu Mao Yang suffered inhuman treatment in the Lu family, drinking urine, eating dog food, and finally under the shelter of a kind housekeeper, finally grew up. Lu Zijian, perhaps because of guilt or some other reason, left Lu Maoyang's one life and sent him to study. When Lu Maoyang was ostracized, he was voluntarily sent to Cloud City many years ago. On the surface is in an actress scandal. Every day spend days, all kinds of girls. But in fact, these years of time, Lu Maoyang used their own genius economic means, has quietly built several billions of companies, add up to several tens of billions of assets. Although the gap in strength with the provincial city Lu family was a bit large, surviving in the cracks was already very good. Guo Xiao. I believe in my vision. I can be sure that Yi Xiao will definitely awaken one day. Even if I gamble. I'll bet all of it. I'll bet that Yi Xiao can help me. Please. Here's a list of all my assets. While speaking, Lu Mao Yang handed Guo Li a piece of information as well as a contract. Xiao Yi please take a look. As long as Xiao Yi signs on it. All of my assets will all be Xiao Ye's. Guo Li brought the information over and looked at the eight companies listed above. His pupils couldn't help but dilate for a while. As the youngest member of the Guo family in the provincial city. Guoli's talent as well as his ability to do business was already considered to be top-notch, but Guoli's best is in the wisdom and strategy, if only in the financial management, completely by Lu Mao Yang hanging. You, these few years, you pick up girls as simply a false image? Those actresses are your entertainment company's artists. You and their speculation gossip is to help them free publicity, to make heat. Lu Xiao, really underestimated you ah, and the recent emergence of that new Antu financial, it is also you do it. You are a business genius ah. Recently bubbled up in the Southwest and 2 Financial Microfinance Company. The use of PTP model. To help small and micro enterprise loans. 
The use of big data model to assess the credit short, combined with the bank to take the funds, a short period of time to the scale of hundreds of billions of dollars, everyone investigated the background of this company, are wondering who came up with such a powerful program, but everyone didn't realize that the original genius was the second young master of the Liu family who had been sent to the border. Seeing the second young master's meaning, he totally has the feeling of making a comeback ah. However, Lu Maoyang knew that his own power was very limited and he needed the help of a nobleman. When Cloud City was destroyed, Lu Maoyang thought the same as everyone else. Even if all seven of his sisters-in-law announced that they were married to Yi Fan, it wouldn't change the trend of the Yi family's decline. But in just a few days, the Zhao family, Wang family, and Li family, who secretly took action against the Yi family, all exploded to death. The Xuanwu battle region openly supported, and the Jojo group stepped in, as well as all of Yi Fan's performances, showing that everything is not a coincidence at all. Putting it all together, Lu Maoyang decided that five years ago, the Yi family was demented that demonic genius, Yi Fan, should have awakened. He was the nobleman he was looking for. So when big brother Lu Qingyang and Yi Fan went to war, Lu Maoyang was the first to look for them. In addition to these assets in hand, Lu Maoyang had another special pitch that would surely impress Yi Fan to make a move. While Guo Li was looking at the asset table provided by Lu Maoyang, Yi Fan was also taking a closer look. When he saw that Lu Maoyang actually had a spelling Yu Yu plan, he intended to set up a new shopping platform to let everyone cut a knife. Yi Fan's pupils could not help but dilate for a while. This Lu Maoyang is indeed a business genius. Take full advantage of human nature. Use a cut to reduce the price. Let consumers actively help advertising. Spend the least amount of money to achieve maximum publicity. Since Yi Fan intends to make the Yi family brilliant again, in addition to Guo Li, the military advisor Guo Xiao Kai, he also wants Wang Fugui, the martial artist, and in addition, he needs an internal financial god, in charge of logistical business operations. And Lu Mao Yang seems to be a good candidate? Chopping a knife is good. You're a good person. Go, go with me to the Yi family to see. Yi Fan still opened his mouth naively, but when he exchanged glances with Guo Li, Guo Li had already understood Yi Fan's s meaning. Big brother is planning to let Lu Mao Yang try. For Yi Fan, the Lu family is certainly to deal with. Since the Lu family can be divided within the attack, Yi Fan will not refuse. Lu Maoyang's face was happy, as long as he was allowed to go to Yi group, then his plan would have succeeded by a large margin. If there was nothing unexpected, his own stupid big brother, at this time, should already be in the Yi group, because Su Jian and Su Dong father and son in the detection of Samrong, has found the provincial capital of the Lu family, with the official seal of the Yi group, and the Yi family signed a secret acquisition agreement. The agreement have been notarized by a third party. There is a legal benefit. Su Jian's father and son's thoughts were obvious. If they couldn't get it themselves, they wouldn't let the Yi family have a good time either. Inside the Yi group, the board of directors were all stunned when they suddenly received a notification from Yi Lao that Su Jian's father and son had died with the Wang family. The things that Su Jian's father and son had done in Yi group over the years were actually known to most of the company's patriarchs. But Elder Yi hadn't given his word. So things must be under control. So everyone is still steady. If Su Jian hadn't signed that secret contract with the Lu family before he died, then the Yi group would still be as stable as an old dog. Those two white-eyed wolves, father and son Su Jian, deserve what they get. Right, this is their downfall. Yi Lao kindly took them in and they actually wanted more. Joining forces with outsiders to try and take complete control of the Yi group. Damn it. Just, now that Su Jian's father and son have fallen, Elder Yi appointed Guo Li and Xia Hao as the company's vice presidents. What does this mean? Is it an intention to support the young master to the top? But the young master is still. Alas. The crowd was a bit puzzled by Elder Ye's decision, but most of them still agreed. Only a small number of Su Jian's direct descendants secretly sneered as they listened to the mutterings of those around them. Do you still want to take over the Yips group? Late. The contract that Mr. Su arranged before his death should take effect soon. And by then, the entire Yi group, with hundreds of billions of dollars in assets, is afraid that it won't be surnamed Yi. But Lu, Wen Yi Fan and Guali, Wang Fu Gue, Xia Hao, Lu Mao Yang and the others arrived at the conference hall of Yi Group. Lu Qingyang actually appeared here as well. Everyone, the situation is such a situation. Mr. Su Jian, the executive president of the Yi Group, has signed a contract with our Lu Group a day ago, selling the Yi Group to me for $30 million. This is the contract, notarized by the Grand Notary Office, with legal benefits. In addition, Minister Zhu of the Legal Department, when you signed the contract, you and manager you of the purchasing department were together. You can testify to the authenticity of this contract right in. The vice minister of legal affairs, as well as manager you of the purchasing department, 
These were the last two thorns Su Jian left behind in Yi group, when Su Jian was facing the Wang family's pursuit. Although he did not understand why the Wang family had suddenly approached him, Su Dong was not stupid and quickly guessed that this matter must be related to the Yi family. That's why such a backhanded approach was laid out. Of course, we accompanied Mr. Su, and witnessed with our own eyes that the Lu group had had enough of the Yi group. Thirty million dollars, that's right, hiss. After manager Yu and the two opened their mouths to confirm the news, the crowd at the scene seemed to react. Crap, are you kidding me? Yi clan's assets are all at least 500 billion dollars in size or more. Only 30 million dollars? That's no way to sell cabbage, it's a freebie. Shit, it's too dark. Su Jian is just unsettled. It's too cheap for him to die just like that. Put, the contract is void. Most of the people in the Yi group's top management have actually been drawn away by Su Jian to fight with the Wang family, and those left behind are already difficult to become a climate. The public opinion at the scene was clearly in favor of the Yi family. It is just that the key to the contract is now in the hands of Lu Qingyang, or a notarized contract with legal benefits. Is it useful for you to make noise? Oomph, this is the law, protected by the state. Lu Qingyang somewhat proudly raised the copy of the contract in his hand. Now since Ye's group is surnamed Lu, you guys should hand over also hurry to hand over. Special information research lab side, focus on handover. The reason why Lu Qingyang came to take over the Yi family in such a hurry this time was also because he came for a treasure of the Yi family. It is said that the Yi family obtained an overwhelming treasure map many years ago, which recorded a divine miracle site. Once the map is cracked and the site is entered, then one can obtain supreme benefits and even cultivate immortality. Outsiders had suspected that the reason why the Yi family had appeared with so many Zongshir powerhouses and occupied half of the Dashia military was most likely because the Yi family had already found some of the know-how in the ruins. The Yi family was exterminated this time, partly because the opponents wanted to eliminate the roots and partly because they came for the Yi family's treasure map cultivating immortality and becoming a saint. This was something that all martial arts practitioners dreamed of. Any chance that there is, it's a gamble with your life. Yi Fan was at the door of the conference room. Looking at the noisy appearance of the conference room, his brows locked. The heart is a little bit not taste. Now the core disciple of Yi family is only one left. The key is that he is still in the state of dementia. For the time being, he can't meet the crowd with a normal appearance. When people couldn't see any hope for the Yi family, they could only be scattered. It is necessary to integrate the Yi family internally as soon as possible, so that everyone can rebuild their confidence ah. Before coming here, Yi Fan had already let people investigate some information about Manager Yu, as well as the ministers of the legal department, and had not expected them to be useful. But as Su Jian's stubborn direct line, now that they were still so defensive even though Su Jian was dead, then Yi Fan would have no choice but to tear his face off. You all are so noisy. Where did the wild dogs come from? Spreading their wildness on my Yi family's territory? Yi Fan stepped into the hall, reached out and dragged a chair, staring scorchingly at Lu Qingyang. What? You weren't smashed enough at the celebration banquet for me to try my hand again? Seeing Yi Fan move so roughly, Lu Qingyang couldn't help but take two steps back in fear. Yi Fan also has Guo Li and Wang Fugue, two great masters guarding him. Lu Qingyang still does not have the certainty to kill Yi Fan with one blow, and can only endure. Yi Fan, you better not mess around, let me tell you. Now that Yi group has been acquired by me, this place is no longer surnamed Yi. You'd better get out of here with your companions. This is a business behavior. Even if you kill me, it's useless. Lu Qingyang was still afraid of death and hastily added a sentence at the end. Otherwise, if Yi Fan went crazy and really got himself killed in one hand, being screwed by a fool, dying would be in vain. I hear you. You two bad guys, eating out, want to sell the company at a low price? and reap the benefits for yourselves isn't it? I secretly saw it. Manager Yu, you secretly received a few million dollars in bribes from others. And Minister Zhu, I saw that you kept three women in one place. And five years ago, you slept with a girl and made her jump off a building. You're all so bad. Grandpa wouldn't let me say it at the time. Now I'm going to expose you all. Yefan came on stage and muttered a lot. Clear articulation. It doesn't seem demented at all, does it? The hundreds of shareholders and core senior members of the Yi group below were all a bit bewildered when they saw Yi Fan in front of them. The young master has been demented for five years, but he can finally speak and communicate normally? Saying so much information at once was really a bit difficult for him, but everyone also knew the news. The great summer medical sage Lei Qianjia had arrived in Cloud City and had already announced that Yi Fan's dementia was curable. Had it started to get better now? If that's the case, then Ye's group has every possibility of flipping off. Yi Fan, don't spit blood. When did I ever take money from anyone? Yeah, who jumped? And does that have anything to do with me? Manager Yu and all the ministers listened to Yi Fan's words and their hearts jumped in fear. 
A bribe of a few million dollars is at least a 10-year start if the evidence is conclusive. An intentional murder is even more horrific, since Yi Fan had made it clear. Then the Yi family's old man must know the truth. He just hadn't cleaned himself up for the time being. Is it finally time to pay your debt? You should speak with evidence, Yi Fan, Minister Zhu, and Manager Yu, as the top executives of Yi Group, have fought for so many rights for the company, and you still suspect them of having second thoughts. You're chilling people. While Lu Qingyang was playing the garden scene on the side, he did not forget to backhand stab Yi Fan, making Yi Fan's mind suspected by everyone. Although Ye's group was a family business, after so many years of development, there were now other external shareholders who had joined in, and the interior was not completely ironclad. Lu Qingyang's words still had an effect, and a part of the scene frowned at Yi Fan. Yi Fan was a demonic genius five years ago, his cultivation as well as many of his wits are top notch. Yi Fan is now starting to awaken and take over Yi Group. It is completely fine, but if the means used are not appropriate, it will be difficult to get all the support. Evidence? I've just got some information to share here. As he spoke, Yi Fan handed a USB flash drive to Guo Li. Old Guo, my friend said there's something good in there, so help me out and go take a look. Guo Li looked at Yi Fan with some surprise. This good big brother of his, was it really just these two days that he had awakened? When did you get all the information and details of the Yi Group's top management so clearly? In fact, when Yi Fan used Wang Chao's death to deal with Su Dong, he had already begun to start investigating, and Su Jian father and son tore their faces. It was a matter of time. Just Yi Fan did not expect. Things actually developed so quickly. Manager Yu, this is 3 million. Yi Group that steel mill project, please. After the matter is accomplished, there is another 5 million. Good talk, good talk. Manager Yu. Our incoming channels, has been stuck in the approval where over, you see, or you help dredge dredge, this 2 million, you take to drink tea, the first video drop played on the screen, with a clear shot of the image inside, manager you of the purchasing department had already received a bribe of 5 million dollars, and according to the relevant laws, manager you could go peddle a tailor for the rest of his life, you guys, don't play it, when manager you saw the situation in front of him, he was scared and directly paralyzed in his seat, his face pale. I was obviously paying close attention at the time, but how could I still be filmed so clearly? Isn't Yi Fan a fool? How come he has so much ironclad information about himself in his hands? Manager Yu doesn't need to rush. My friend said, there's a lot more exciting ones behind. Yi Fan smiled lightly without showing too much emotion and turned his head to look at the other ministers. Minister Zhu, next is your picture. It's a bit hot. Do you want to show off your well-developed pectoral and buttock muscles? Yi Fan's words instantly froze the ministers pectoral and gluteal muscles, what does this represent? Minister Zhu naturally understands, most likely that he was photographed when he was dating his lover. Since Yi Fan was able to get evidence of manager Yu receiving money, he was afraid that those circumstances about himself would be effortless. Is this Yi Fan really a fool? Or was it partially awake with the aid of Lei Qianjia's medical saint? Just so slightly out of the way, everyone was already out of their element. If Yi Fan were to completely awaken and strike out in full force, then wouldn't the Yi family's opponents be in trouble? Minister Zhu thought of this point, the heart of a million regrets. If I had known that the young master still has the hope of awakening, why would I want to get on that thief ship Su Jian? But now that it had come to this, the ministers knew that there was no point in saying more. Yi Xiao, tell me, what do you want? Minister Zhu was very clear that Yi Fan didn't directly hand over this information to the police, so he must need to do something himself. Minister Zhu is so smart. What else to do? Do you still need me to say? Yi Fan smiled faintly, a touch of evil appearing on his face. Wang Fugue didn't notice anything unusual, but next to him, Lu Mao Yang was overjoyed to see Yi Fan with such an expression, and he knew that he should have made the right bet. This demonic young master of the Yi family should have awakened a long time ago, but has been playing dumb and deliberately deceiving everyone. Indecent development. Wait until the time of complete outburst. It will be the time for the Yi family to be glorious again, right? The ministers had surmised from Yi Fan's actions that Yi Fan had partially awakened, and those shrewd people present, although their reactions were half a beat slower, gradually understood. Ah, young master, it's not even stuttering anymore. It's awakening, isn't it? Right, look at how cleanly the young master moved just now. I'm afraid a lot of company presidents can't do that, right? Dr. Lei is really powerful. Saving the young master. That's saving the entire Yi family. The Yi clan. Most of the people at the scene were happy for Yi Fan's awakening, but in the crowd, there were a few middle-aged men who grimaced and muttered in low voices, this is not a good thing, humph, those trash, they couldn't even do it by asking them to block Lei Qinjie, see, now there's trouble, 
Yi Fan's demonic talent had shocked everyone back then, while scaring them at the same time. Awakening again after five years of dementia, he wondered how far Yi Fan had gotten. Yi Fan said to let Minister Zhu think for himself. Minister Zhu took a look at the current situation and naturally understood. And Manager Yu looked at each other and faintly said, If you don't want to step on the sewing machine, just give up. What Yi Fan wanted them to do now was very clear. Just don't side with Lu Qingyang. By making the two biggest thorns that Su Jian had planted unable to function, Yi Fan would have to deal with Lu Qingyang a bit more smoothly. Manager Yu is not stupid. A little bit of thinking also understand. Slightly organized the thoughts. Opened his mouth. Yes group shareholders, just now our thoughts a little confused. Some words said wrong. In fact, at that time, Mr. Su and we did go together to meet Lu Qingyang, but did not sign a contract. Lu Qingyang's contract is a forgery. There is no such thing as acquiring the Yi group. The two didn't know what other plans and backhanders Yi Fan had, but all they could do now was to not testify against Lu Qingyang, deny the legality and validity of Lu Qingyang's contract, and try to stand on Yi Fan's side. Lu Qingyang looked at the situation in front of him with a gloomy face. His anger was about to explode. Yu Yang, Zhu Ming, are you guys crazy? At that time obviously you were present to witness. You think you now deny. Useful? All of you see clearly. The contract has Su Jian's signature. Handprint. Yi Group's official seal. And notarized materials from the notary public to prove that you guys are useless even if you deny it. Lu Qingyang shook the copy of the contract in his hand. And the noisy voices at the scene quieted down once again. Yeah. Contracts are legally binding. Not counting the fact that manager Yu and Zhu Ming were forced to turn against Lu Qingyang and not support him. That won't change the ending ah. Swish. Everyone's gazes looked towards Yi Fan's side. Yi Fan frowned and was also thinking about how to continue the next step when Lu Mao Yang suddenly dodged out from behind Yi Fan and spoke loudly. Duke Lu. What you're holding in your hand should only be a copy of the contract. Right? What's the use of just copies? In case your contract is forged? Lu Mao Yang? Lu Qing Yang had an ominous feeling in his heart when he saw Lu Mao Yang suddenly appear beside Yi Fan. From childhood to adulthood, Lu Qing Yang did not less bully Lu Mao Yang, but Lu Mao Yang never cried, staring at Lu Qing Yang's eyes, are ruthless as if they will eat themselves. Although this brother was sent to Cloud City, but Lu Qing Yang's heart has always been very scrupulous, this time to Cloud City. In addition to dealing with Yi Fan's matter, Lu Qing Yang thought about whether to make this brother also die, otherwise he could not sleep well at night. What do you mean? Knowing that you would question it so much, I brought the original contract with me. Someone, bring over the password box. Lu Qing Yang greeted towards the bodyguard beside him, and instantly someone brought over a password box, and Lu Mao Yang on the stage smiled evilly. Big brother, sorry, I happen to have a password box here. You say, exactly which box is the original now? Ha, huh? when Lu Qing Yang saw Lu Mao Yang take out an identical combination box, a strong ominous feeling had already welled up in his heart. Intuition told Lu Ching Young, this younger brother of his in Cloud City, must be quietly Lu development, get it wrong, he is afraid that sooner or later he will be planted in the hands of this younger brother, quick, quickly open it, Lu Ching Young's tone was a bit urgent, he was originally afraid of any accidents in today's action, so he had been letting his bodyguard captain bring the box with him, which contained the acquisition contract, the bodyguard at his side opened the case, and the combination box didn't contain any contract, but a set of red birthday suits. Crap, what the hell? The contract now? Where did Laozi's contract go? Lu Ching Yang was shocked by the birthday suit inside and couldn't help but take several steps backward. Storming out, looking at Lu Mao Yang with an expression filled with anger. Lu Mao Yang, is it you who's up to no good? Lu Mao Yang spoke faintly. Lu Ching Yang, rather years ago, you killed my mother. And now, this is a gift for you. I believe you will be able to use it soon. While speaking, Lu Mao Yang opened the password box by his side, which contained exactly three acquisition contracts. The contract, Su Jian did sign with Lu Qing Yang, but Lu Mao Yang had long ago bought out the captain of the bodyguard beside his big brother, and dropped the contract, playing a game of kettle. Yi Xiao, the contract is all yours to handle. Lu Mao Yang respectfully handed the password box to Yi Fan. Don't, Lu Mao Yang, you son of a bitch, are you stupid ah, that's a few hundred billion dollars of assets, you step on the horse. Lu Qing Yang was about to be furious. He had already boasted on Captain Chu's side of the Haikou. Today will be the Yi group from the economic collapse. As a result, at the end of the day, he was actually stabbed in the back by his own brother, and failed in the last kick at the door. Where to put his face? A few hundred billion? You count for nothing. Lu Qing Yang, any assets, cannot be worth to take your life? Go to my mother in the ground to repent. Lu Mao Yang coldly responded. With his current manpower and strength, 
Lu Maoyang could also invite people to make a move against Lu Qingyang, but after killing Lu Qingyang, Lu Maoyang couldn't walk away in one piece, but Yi Fan was backed by the Yi family, supported by the Guo family, the Wang family and others, and was not afraid of the storm of retaliation. Yi Fan picked up the contract in the password box and looked at it twice. The contract was real. Three copies, with a notary seal. Young Mr. Lu, all three originals are here with me. What do you think Yi Group's surname is now? Yi Fan stared scorchingly at Lu Qingyang with an evil face. I, Lu Qingyang glared fiercely at Lu Maoyang, really ready to eat Lu Maoyang alive. Lu Maoyang, count yourself cruel. Losing control of the Yi family was something that annoyed Lu Qingyang, but he was even more annoyed that this younger brother of his, who had been hiding in Cloud City for so many years, now seemed to have grown beyond his control. Lu Qingyang was somewhat regretting letting this younger brother of his be dispatched in Cloud City. Let's go. Since the original contract had been snatched away, Lu Qingyang knew that his acquisition plan for today was unlikely to succeed, and there was no point in staying here. After greeting his men, he planned to leave the scene. Stand still, just want to leave? Yi Fan coldly rebuked. My wife said, others have bullied me, there is always a price to pay. You messed up at the celebration banquet, I haven't even looked for trouble from you yet. Now, it's time to settle the score. Yi Fan did not intend to just let Lu Qingyang go. A touch of gloom appeared in Lu Qingyang's eyes. He hadn't even looked for Yi Fan's trouble yet, but Yi Fan was planning to take the lead and make a move on himself? What else do you, you want? Lu Qingyang stared at Yi Fan with some uneasiness. Although Yu Linglong wasn't there, Yi Fan still had Guo Li and Wang Fugue, two great Zongshar powerhouses by his side, and there were other bodyguards arranged by the Yi family by Yi Fan's side. Meanwhile Yi Fan's IQ seemed to be normal for a short period of time now, and I wondered if his strength had recovered as well? If that was the case, Lu Qingyang was really in trouble. Yi Xiao, he has a piece of transparent bone on his body that has been emitting a strong ancient aura, and it is said to be very helpful. For cultivation why don't you? Yi Xiao, just let him hand this thing over. Before Yi Fan could open his mouth, Lu Maoyang by his side opened his mouth and directly exposed the treasure on Lu Qingyang's body. Lu Maoyang, you're going to die. That's a family heirloom of the Lu family. It's worth a lot of money, and you just exposed it like that. Lu Qingyang covered his chest. The fact that Lu Qingyang was able to reach above the Zongshu level even in his early 30s had a great deal to do with the warmth of that bone. That was Lu Qingyang's lucky bone, and it was going to be snatched away like that? Lu Qingyang was unwilling. It is indeed a treasure of the Lu family. But what does that have to do with me? Lu Maoyang spoke indifferently. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth curled up. This Lu Maoyang did seem to hate the Lu family to the bone. Without Yi Fan opening his mouth, Wang Fugue and Guo Li had already made their move. One on the left and one on the right framing Lu Qingyang in the center. Their powerful martial arts chi keeping Lu Qingyang under control. Young Lu, hand it over. You, guys are robbing. Lu Qingyang was furious and his face was iron blue. Wanting to mobilize his entire body's martial chi to resist. However, the chi had only just been running. When Lu Qingyang discovered a desperate situation, one's martial chi was actually unable to be utilized. And the force was rapidly diminishing. Since being stabbed by Yi Fan at the Sui Shui celebration banquet, Yi Fan seemed to have a breath on the tip of that needle that was quietly corroding his internal organs, and Lu Qin Yang just moved a little bit of strength and felt as if his entire body was going to be deflated. What's going on with this? Lu Qin Yang looked at Yi Fan with a face of fear. Could it be that Yi Fan had completely awakened? The means and strength of a demonic genius is completely incomprehensible. Ah, I'm robbing you. What can you do, bastard? You can rob Yi Group. Can't we rob you? Wang Fugue is very rough. Not so good tempered. Mouth chided at the same time. Reached out a hand to Lu Qingyang's clothes ripped open. From the most intimate inside the fast semi-transparent bones ripped off. And then handed to also Yi Fan. Big brother. You see. Yi Fan picked up the piece of bone and took a look at it. And his pupils dilated for a moment. Immortal bone? Yi Fan's heart was violently shocked. From the dragon ring. Yi Fan had long since learned about the relevant aspects. Knowing that there had been some sages and great powers that had fallen across the globe, they were existences that surpassed the pinnacle of the martial arts, and after they fell, the bones of their bodies condensed into these translucent bones, which gathered the accumulation of their superb feats, as well as the accumulation of some battle experience. When a normal martial arts powerhouse wore it on their body, they could be warmed up and gain heavenly benefits, and if one were to absorb the energy and experience from these undead bones, then the benefits gained would be even greater. As it happened, the notes in the dragon ring completed the record of the immortal bones absorption transformation method. Young mister. Lu, thank you, I'll take the things. Yi Fan smiled and put the bones away, reverting back to his naive appearance. Old Gua, Old Wang, look, 
People are taking the initiative to deliver things. They are guests. What are you doing grabbing him like this? Quickly let go. Quickly let go. Young Lu, I'll see you out. As he spoke, Yi Fan's eyes reverted to a confused look while reaching out and intimately hooking his hand around Lu Qingyang's neck as if he was going to send Lu Qingyang out. Everyone else at the scene thought that Yi Fan had returned to his demented state. But only Guoli and Xia Hao knew that Yi Fan must have other arrangements. Pust. Lu Qingyang felt like his heart was broken at this moment. Being poofed with one knife after another still stabbing hard. It's a murder and a heart attack. I came here today to rob you Yi Group Ah. Finally by you guys almost even the bottom pants are stripped off. What is this? Big brother. I'll accompany you to see him off. Wang Fugue saw that Ji Fan was actually planning to go out with Lu Qingyang alone. So he quickly got up and wanted to follow along. Guo Li hurriedly stopped Wang Fugue and said. Old Wang. The order here at the scene still needs you to maintain it. Let Mr. Xia Hao accompany him. At the celebration banquet, Lu Qingyang was exposed. He was personally involved in the assassination of the Yi family members. Yi Fan was alone with Lu Qingyang. He definitely wanted to find out the truth of what happened at that time. If Wang Fugue were to follow along, there would definitely be trouble. Xia Hao immediately understood. Li Hu, bring someone to accompany me to send young Lu. Yi Fan smiled faintly and greeted Lu Mao Yang as he left the conference room. Second youngest Lu, join me. Previously, at the Su family's celebration banquet, Yi Fan was not in a good position to make a move. But this time, Lu Qingyang himself sent to Yi group. Yi Fan did not intend to let Lu Qingyang go. More crucially, Yi Fan saw the potential of Lu Mao Yang and intended to send Lu Mao Yang a favor, accepting Lu Mao Yang for his own use and helping him manage his finances. Then Yi Fan would have more time to do other things. Ha, huh? good. Hearing that Yi Fan actually rejected the help of Wang Fugue and Guo Li and the others and wanted to accompany himself out alone, Lu Qingyang's pupils instantly dilated for a moment. With Wang Fugue and Guo Li, the two great Zongshu powerhouses, he didn't dare to make a move against Yi Fan, but being alone with Yi Fan, even if one's strength was reduced, there was always a chance to make a move, right? As for Xia Hao and Lu Maiyang and the others, Lu Qingyang didn't even look at them. You know, in the parking lot underneath your own building, there are still arrangements for your own men to join forces. Does Yi Fan still have a chance to escape? Yeah Fan, Yi Fan, there is a way to heaven and you don't go, but there is no door to hell and you come. Lu Qingyang and Yi Fan. Lu Maoyang and the others came downstairs to the Yi group's parking lot together, and after finding Lu Qingyang's vehicle, before Yi Fan could say anything, Lu Qingyang took the lead and spoke. Fool, since you're here, don't go away. Right. Click. As Lu Qingyang snapped his fingers, a group of martial arts experts rushed out from a dozen or so cars around them, and the group surrounded Yi Fan and Xia Hao, Li Hu, Lu Maoyang and the others in the center. Yi Fan, I don't know if you're really stupid or not. You stayed with Guo Li and Wang Fugue. I still have more scruples and don't dare to make a move easily. But you actually don't want to die and rush down alone. Isn't this looking for death? Then I have no choice but to send you on your way first. Lu Qingyang looked like he had eaten up Yi Fan. Don't you expect them to come down to save you? Even if they were to come down, it would take a few minutes. This time is enough to kill you still a few times. Lu Qingyang had brought all the elites with him from home this time. The encirclement continued to shrink. And Lu Mao Yang was getting a little nervous. Young Master Lu, our young master kindly sent you away. You yourself so insist on bumping into a gun. You don't blame our young master for not being polite. Xia Hao coldly looked at Lu Qingyang, and in his heart, he had already sentenced Lu Qingyang to death. This Lu De Xiao is the one who's really stupid. Yi Fan had already acted so obviously. What was the meaning of bringing Lu Mao Yang along? That's to avenge Lu Qingyang. This guy didn't want to find a way to hurry up and escape not to mention that he was actually planning to make a move against Yi Fan in turn. You're welcome, ha, a demented young master, plus the Xia family master you, let me tell you, Xia Hao, honoring you by calling you Xia family master, or else calling you Xia dog, even if I'm lifting you up, don't be anxious, when the Yi family is settled, it will soon be your turn, the above had already made it clear that any of those families that were close to the Yi family would not have a good ending and had to be punished, Li Hu stared vigilantly around Xia Hao's side, ready to deal with unexpected situations, boom, Lu Qingyang spoke with abnormal excitement while Yi Fan moved. With a vicious stomp of his ankle on the ground, a powerful aura let loose and stirred, shattering the green stone floor. Countless pieces of debris sped out, precisely attacking towards those men of Lu Qingyang. Put, put, with the powerful qi, those bodyguards of Lu Qingyang didn't have any strength to resist, and all of them perished in an instant. Just now, there were dozens of experts on Lu Qingyang's side, and the situation seemed to be firmly in the upper hand, but in the blink of an eye, he was the only one left on Lu Qingyang's side who was a bare-knuckle commander. 
Lu Qingyan's pupils dilated for a moment as he looked at the scene in shock, finally reacted. Yi Fan, you're playing dumb? You're lying to us? You've awakened, haven't you? At this point, the only ones standing on the scene were already Xia Hao, Lu Maoyang and Lu Qingyang. When Yi Fan had just made his move, along with Li Hu, as well as a few of Li Hu's men were knocked out dead together. Although as the underground godfather of Cloud City, Li Hu's mouth should not be a big problem. But right now Yi Fan didn't want to be exposed in front of too many people. Xia Hao already knew that he had awakened. And there was nothing wrong with Lu Maoyang knowing his details as his future core member. As for Lu Qingyang, dead people are not going to leak information. Do you realize that now? It's too late. Yi Fan coldly took a step forward. Answer a few questions honestly, lest you suffer less physical pain. I, Lu Qingyang sensed the powerful chi fluctuation on Yi Fan's body. It had far exceeded the strength of a martial arts master. I'm afraid that it had already reached the level of martial zone, right? But on Captain Chu Feng's side, the information he had gotten was that Yi Fan was only a zone sure strength at most. If there is a lapse in judgment, I'm afraid that all of Captain Chu Feng's actions will fail Ah, The most crucial thing was that there had been a lapse in intelligence, and everyone had arranged their plans according to the information that Yi Fan had not awakened. But now that Yi Fan had awakened, the situation would change drastically. Previously, several groups of forces that were watching were informed that if Yi Fan awoke, the influence of the demonic genius, coupled with the fact that the Yi family's old man was still in his residual power, an instant reversal of the situation was possible. Thinking of this, Lu Qingyang quietly reached his hand towards his cell phone, intending to quietly report the situation here to Captain Chu Feng. Pust, not seeing how Yi Fan acted at all, a majestic chi force impacted towards the side of Lu Qingyang's pocket, directly shattering Lu Qingyang's cell phone with a blast. It's this time and you still want to report. Do you think you still have a chance? There seemed to be an invisible and majestic power in Yi Fan's body, suppressing Lu Qingyang to death and forcing him back to the side of the front of the car. Speak, who exactly is behind the Lu family? Is it the Shangjing Zhou Shao, or the Lone Wolf, the one who attacked my second brother in the Xuanwu War Zone? Who else is there besides your Lu family? According to Yi Fan's character, when Lu Qingyang had been reckless at the Su family banquet before, Yi Fan was about to directly shoot Lu Qingyang on the spot. The reason why he left him breathing was because he wanted to investigate some truth from Lu Qingyang's mouth. Follow the trail and find the real culprit who really wants to kill the Yi family, the Zhao family, the Li family, and that representative sent by the Lu family, Xin Tao, were all at a poorer level and knew very limited information. Lu Qingyang had come directly with that big brother from the Northwest War Zone, so he should know more. Humph, Yi Fan, do you think you've awakened and with you alone? You can change the ending? Dream on, the lone wolf big brother from the Northwest War Zone is already on his way here, counting the time he will be here soon. At that time, it will be the moment when your Yi family will be completely exterminated. Lu Qingyang at this moment was considered to understand that it was a mistake for him to come early to find Yi Fan today. There was more than likely no possibility of escape for himself anymore. Since this was the case, Lu Qingyang simply acted as if he was a dead pig. Even if I know some secrets, there's no way I'll tell you. You'll just wait for death. Ha ha, when you die, those sister-in-laws and wives of yours, pity them, there will surely be many men to take turns loving them. Pust. Yi Fan struck out violently. Seven star soul destroying claw. This was a secret gong method in the dragon ring, which could control the spiritual power through qi, penetrate deep into the target's head, invade the target's mind, and suppress the target's blows and torment them from the soul level. Ah, as Yi Fan ran his qi, Lu Qingyang instantly felt like his head was going to explode. What, are you doing to me? Ooh, oh oh, why does it hurt so much? Lu Qingyang looked at Yi Fan with an unbelievable face. It felt like there was a knife gouging out the flesh in his head and it was like there was a dagger picking out the bones, and the pain that drilled into his soul made Lu Qingyang's consciousness not see lax, and he began to sink. Now say it, behind the Lu family, besides the Shangjing Zhou family, who else is there, and what exactly do they want to do with the Yi family? The seven-star soul-destroying hand Yi Fan used very little, but having used it a few times before, there was almost none that could resist it anymore. Lu Qingyang was no exception as well. Those involved in the attack, I don't know about the others. But the Lu family in the provincial city, as well as my Lu family, were involved. The one who met with us was Captain Chu Feng from the Northwest War Zone. Exactly who he belongs to, we're not sure, but he's definitely from the military. And the Zhou Shao in Shangjing, itself is not that Zhou family in Shangjing, but behind him there seems to be another very powerful organization called the Holy Envoy Organization. What they are tracing is a map. After all, Lu Qingyang was at a much higher level and knew more than Li Zhong and Qin Yao knew. At least it was known that the one who made a move on the Yi family, above the top, was not a single force. On the one hand, 
there is the military, and on the other hand, there is the Holy Apostles organization. They should have joined forces and struck at the same time because of certain interests, so that they could finally strike a blow. On the military side, the breakthrough was that Chu Fong, while on the side of the Holy Envoy organization, Zhou Shao was the ultimate breakthrough. Dealing with them that was later, the person who killed Ergo in front of him had to pay first. Put, put. After the Qi impact on Yu Fan's hand destroyed all the tendons and veins in Lu Qingyang's entire body, this released him from under the seven star soul destroying claw, allowing him to regain consciousness. Ah, the pain drilling through his bones and tendons made Lu Qingyang's life worse than death, and his mouth howled loudly. Kill me, Yi Fan, you have the guts to kill me. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched, and he faintly said, I do want to kill you, but there is someone else who wants to kill you, even more than I do, so your life, let us give it to him. As he spoke, Yi Fan picked up a dagger from the ground, turned around and handed it to Lu Mao Yang, who was still a bit dazed next to him, and said, Young Lu, take revenge. When Lu Mao Yang saw Yi Fan's tactics just now, his pupils couldn't help but dilate for a moment in shock. The Yi Xiao in front of me, the demonic genius is really still a demonic genius. Good, thanks. Without any hesitation, Lu Mao Yang took the dagger from Yi Fan's hand, and after making two gestures on Lu Qing Yang's body, he stepped towards Lu Qing Yang. You, Lu Mao Yang, what do you want to do? I, we are brothers. You cannot kill me. Lu Qing Yang was not afraid to die when he saw Yi Fan, but in front of Lu Mao Yang, Lu Qing Yang was afraid. Lu Mao Yang was a piece of trash who had been bullied by Lu Qing Yang since he was a child. Why was he now so high and mighty that he could decide his own fate? Brothers? Oomph. Lu Qing Yang. Do you want face? Your conscience? Eaten by a dog. When you killed my mother at that time, why didn't you think that we were brothers? Lu Mao Yang was able to hold back for so many years, and he wasn't an oil lamp either. Looking at Lu Mao Yang who was close at hand, without any hesitation, the dagger in his hand plunged down fiercely against Lu Qing Yang's chest. Pust. A huge hole immediately appeared in Lu Qing Yang's chest, and blood flowed out along the wound, staining most of Lu Qing Yang's clothes red. Hoo hoo! You, you come for real awe. Lu Qing Yang looked at Lu Mao Yang in front of him. If you kill me like this, father won't let you go. Why don't you immediately stop? In fact, Lu Qing Yang knew that any dissuasion on his part right now would have no effect. From the moment Lu Mao Yang arranged for someone to drop his contract, Lu Mao Yang had firmly chosen Yi Fan to take Lu Qing Yang's life. It was just that Lu Qing Yang still wanted to grab the last straw. Whomph, a father? Does he deserve to be a father? Big brother, don't be in a hurry. You first go down and give my mother thanks. Soon, I will make him come down and kneel in front of my mother as well. Pust, this cut is revenge for you pissing on my head back then. Pust, this is a cut that you let steal food from a wolfhound. Pust, this is the cut that you wrote up on my neck and made me crawl through a shithole in a 10 degree below zero day. I don't know how many knives were stabbed, but in the end, Lu Qing Yang had turned into a sieve, with not a single piece of good flesh left in his body. Young Lu, almost, Yi Fan saw that Lu Qing Yang was already dead beyond death and reached out to pat Lu Mao Yang. Only then did Lu Mao Yang awaken from that grief, directly kneeling down towards the ground and heavily kowtowing three times in the direction of this provincial city. Mom, you see, I have avenged you. The person who killed you back then, has been killed by me. At night I can finally sleep. Over the years, Lu Qing Yang woke up in his sleep every day. As soon as he fell asleep, the scene that floated before his eyes was the scene of his mother being strangled by Lu Qing Yang. And now that Lu Qing Yang had finally gone to meet the king of hell, Lu Mao Yang had only ended a piece of his mind. Xia family master, the video is ready, right? Yi Fan inquired towards Xia Hao. Xia Hao opened the cell phone video. What was filmed on it was exactly the way Yi Fan was gesticulating on Lu Qing Yang's body with the dagger just now. And then combined with the way Lu Qing Yang died in the back. Anyone would think that it was Yi Fan who killed Lu Qing Yang. Yi Xiao. But Lu Qing Yang was obviously killed by me. You are so. Yi Fan spoke indifferently. In fact, from the moment Lu Qing Yang went to the Su family celebration party to cause trouble, the moment I made a move on him, he was already dead. Just now. This was just leaving him with his last breath so that you could take revenge. Besides, if you announce to the public that you killed Lu Qing Yang, with your power, can you cope with the Lu family's revenge, especially the revenge from Lu Qing Yang's grandfather's side? Can you carry it? Yi Fan stared scorchingly at Lu Qing Yang. You've gone through so much trouble and used so many castoffs to find me. Isn't this what you're aiming for? Yi Fan's earthly sobriety made Lu Mao Yang somewhat snappy. Lu Mao Yang, thank you for Yi Xiao's hand. In the future, if I, Xiao Yi, have any needs, just order. Good. What I'm waiting for is this sentence from you. And what I want is you as a person. Yi Fan didn't have any hesitation. And with one sentence, he made Lu Mao Yang somewhat unresponsive. 
Ah, this, Yi Xiao, you want me as a person, but, Lu Maiyang misunderstood, is Yi Xiao okay with this, doesn't he obviously have so many beautiful wives and sisters-in-law, why does he still like men, but thinking of the great favor Yi Fan had done for him, he gritted his teeth and said, as long as Yi Xiao likes it, I'm fine with any position, Lu Maoyang almost suffocated his red face before barely finishing the sentence, seeing Lu Maoyang's appearance, Yi Fan was somewhat in a bad mood and knocked on Lu Maoyang's head, what are you thinking about, this young man is not good at this, what I want is your brain, use your genius economic mind to help me build a huge business empire, ah, Lu Maoyang was once again depressed, this Yi Xiao, did he mean what he said, go, from now on, you don't need to hide those business plans of yours, the Yi family is your backing force, but you also have to be prepared. At the moment, I haven't been completely exposed yet, and the Yi family might still have to face a lot of pressure for quite some time. Yi Fan turned his head to look at the huge office building of the Yi group behind him. Holy Envoy Organization. Sounds like another huge group force ah, uh, afraid that it should be the same organization as the Tianji pavilion behind himself? LOL. The road ahead is very difficult. However, Lu Maoyang didn't care at all. It doesn't matter, since I'm Xiao Ye's person. I will definitely share the good and the bad with Xiao Yi. I definitely believe in Xiao Ye's strength. Five years ago, the 15-year-old Yi Fan was already at the strength of the Zongshu realm, and now after being demented for five years, Yi Fan's strength had clearly broken through the shackles of a Zongshu, and was all but at least at the martial Zun level. Together with Yi Fan's demonic talent and intellect, it was only a matter of time before the Yi family rose to prominence, leaving Xia Hao and Li Hu to deal with the scene. Yi Fan led the way towards Yi Group. In the provincial city, in the Lu family's mansion, the Lu family's head Lu Zijian received a video sent by a stranger and jumped up. Crap, what? Xing Yang was killed. This, the video was the same one that Xia Hao had handled, showing that it was Yi Fan who had beheaded Lu Qing Yang. That fool from the Yi family, how did he have such strength? Killed Chun Yang? Lu Zijian's voice was trembling. Quick, call Chun Yang right away. Someone must be spoofing. The men around him acted in a hurry. But after half a day of busy work, Lu Qingyang's phone couldn't be answered at all, and all of Lu Qingyang's men who had followed along could not be contacted. Finally, it was a peripheral driver who reported a piece of news. Family master. I saw the body of the eldest young master being disposed of. The eldest young master was killed by the Yi family's people. I also saw the second young master. With additional news from the scene coming in, combined with the video footage, Lu Zijian fell on his butt on the couch. Finally accepting the fact that his son was actually killed by that fool from the Yi family? But wasn't that fool from the Yi family still in a state of dementia? How could he be so powerful that he could decimate Cheng Yang? Besides, Cheng Yang's own strength is already above the Zongshu level ah. Then in order to kill Cheng Yang, at least at the peak of the power of the sect master to be able to, while Lu Zijian was grieving, he quickly analyzed the current situation. Although only Yi Fan's figure was seen in the video. Lu Zijian instinctively brainstormed that there must be other people present at the scene. Otherwise, it was impossible for a fool to behead his own son. It must be the Yi family who made a setup to kill their son. What Lu Qingyan was going to Cloud City for today, Lu Zijian was very clear. Captain Xu Feng had personally ordered that the Lu family should go out to deal with the Yi family and crush the Su family. Originally, Lu Zijian intended to go there personally, but because he had to receive an important person from the east, he didn't go. Now that his son is dead, should have known better and should have gone himself. Quickly, contact Captain Chu Fong immediately. This news must be reported to Captain Chu Fong. The Yi family had been suppressed to such an extent that they still dared to decapitate the Lu family's sect master powerhouse. The death of a Lu Qingyang did not seem to be a big deal to the Lu family or to Chu Fong and the others. But if it's not handled well, the early impact is very powerful. Previously, when those Zhao, Li, and Wang families in Cloud City that had struck out against the Yi family were obliterated, Everyone was still able to accept it. After all, even though the Yi family had been suppressed, their underpinnings were still very strong, and they were completely capable of dealing with those small families. But the Lu family's heritage is already the existence of the majestic provincial city. Behind it clearly stands Chu Fong and others. You have to look at the master to beat the dog. The Yi family killed the dog so decisively. It was a barefaced slap in the face. In the Cloud City International Airport, Chu Fong had just gotten off the airplane when he received a message from Lu Zijian. What? Yi Fan killed Lu Chung Yang? What the hell? Is Lu Ching Yang a pig? Actually killed by a fool? After Chu Feng received the news, his first reaction was that the news must be false. But the phone call was from Lu Ching Yang's father, Lu Zijian. Lu Zijian could not possibly joke with his son's life up. Chu Feng was still answering the phone, and his men had already converged all the other situations in Cloud City one after another. 
That video of Lu Qingyang's murder has started to ferment online. The Yi family didn't seem to have any intention of hiding the fact that it was Yi Fan who had made the move, even though Yi Fan still looked naive and demented. But so what? A fool can crush the dogs under your Chu Feng's men. What are you guys so hoity toity about? Furthermore, Lei Chenjie had said that Yi Fan's demented state hadn't harmed his nerves, and there was a complete possibility of recovery. In the future, if Yi Fan completely awakened, then the end of those rivals of the Yi family would come completely. Some of Cloud City's previously neutral clans, after seeing the video, have already decided that they plan to visit the Yi family tomorrow. On the Shangjing side, several families have also changed their tone. Those who wanted to cooperate with us before just suddenly called to say that they have urgent matters to deal with, and that the cooperation matter will be pushed back a bit. Chu Feng was answering the phone with Lu Zijian while listening to his men reporting on the various news they had just received, and their faces were all gloomy to the extreme. What these old foxes mean by cooperating to push back a bit is actually very obvious. They saw the hope of the Yi family's revival and were unwilling to take sides so quickly. Everyone was very clear about the Yi family's heritage. Although the core disciples of the Yi family were all wiped out, the Heavenly Dragon Army is still there, and Yi Fan is still there. As long as Yi Fan awakens and takes complete control of the Heavenly Dragon Army, by virtue of Yi Fan's demonic talent and overpowering strength, it won't be so easy to exterminate Yi Fan again. After listening to Lu Zijian's news, as well as the many other news from Cloud City and Shangjing that it converged, Chu Feng's expression began to become somewhat grave. Originally, before he came, Chu Feng thought that in order to deal with Yi Fan, he should be able to do it himself and it should be completely enough. After all, with the help of the pavilion elder, Chu Feng's strength had already broken through to the Marshal Zun level. And in the entire Yi family, before there was still the Yi family boss who was at the Marshal Zun realm of strength, but now the highest was only as long as Lang Feng and the Yi family elder who were Zongshu masters, right? Even if five sect master experts were to attack together so what? There was no way that they could be a match for their own Marshal Zun powerhouse ah. But now, Chu Feng didn't see it that way. As one of the six great families of the Great Xia, the Yi family was able to dominate the Great Xia for so many years, so it definitely had his heritage and reasoning. You still need to pay more attention to it yourself. Family Master Lu, the Yi family is in a bit of trouble right now, so you'd better arrange for a bit more people to come and support me. We need to settle the Yi family as soon as possible, or else none of us will have much to show for it when the time comes. Although Chu Feng was asking for help towards Lu Zijian, Lu Zijian knew that he was not qualified to refuse. Good, but, Captain Chu Feng, you also know that my Lu's personnel is very limited. The experts have all been taken away by Qing Yang, and should be in have been taken out by the Yi family's people. And then, today there are a few friends from the East Ing Black Clothes Society side have come over, and are also very interested in the Yi family's matter. Why don't we let them act together with you? Lu Zijian was not as honest as he thought, despite being associated with Chu Feng, and the Holy Envoy side, but at the same time, it also maintains close contact with the east side of the world, trying to find another to rely on. This, well, have them come to Cloud City to find me right away. Chu Feng frowned, when they had planned to make a move against the Yi family before. There were people from the Black Clothes Society of the East who had approached them. It was just that at that time, the situation was very good. So pavilion leader Zhang did not accept the people from the east. But now, the situation was starting to look a little off, and it seemed good to let the people from the east rush ahead. Just after hanging up the phone with Lu Zijian, Pavilion Elder Zhang's phone call came over. Chu Feng, what's the situation? How is it that the Lu family's great young man was killed by Yi Fan as soon as he arrived in Cloud City? How bad of an impact did this incident cause? Do you know? Northwest. In a hidden compound somewhere, Zhang Dala was holding the phone, his brows locked and a bad expression on his face. There were still bigwigs above Zhang Gulao, who had just called to reprimand him severely. Several days had passed since the Su family and Yu Linglong and the others announced their support for the Yi family, but the Su family was still alive and well now, and had even perfectly held a conference. On the flip side, looking at the people arranged on Pavilion Master Zhang's side, the Zhao family, the Li family, the Wang family, all of them fell, and even the forces that came from the provincial city were decimated before they could even make a move. The Yi family is even more arrogant to let a fool do it. This is a demonstration. Pavilion Elder rest his anger. Chu Feng knows everything. I have already arrived in Cloud City. The people from the East Ing want to intervene. I have already promised to believe that I will soon give the pavilion elder an explanation. I always feel that the Yi family is very out of place right now, and that demented demonic genius of the Yi family, I'm afraid that he has awakened. Any news, I will definitely reply to you as soon as possible. Northwest, in the compound, Zhang Golao hung up the phone. The muscles on his face twitched twice. Alas, throwing a stone. 
Chu Feng such a big stone to throw out, afraid that at that time is not able to pry out any news, then the loss will not be worth it. Pavilion Elder, is the Yi family really that terrifying? Pavilion Elder Zhang rubbed his head with some headache. According to the projector above's deduction, the Yi family will definitely produce a Qilin son, an existence that can shake the entire Disyaz, and even the global pattern. That's why the bigwigs above have gone through so much trouble and mobilized so much power to overthrow the Yi family. But everyone has erased all the possibilities, only leaving out Yi Fan, the fool, alas, I don't know if it's still too late. In Cloud City, when Yi Fan and Lu Mao Yang return to the conference hall, Guoli and Wang Fugue are giving a meeting. Everyone should be getting the news that father and son Su Jin and Su Dong have died, and the Yi clan group is ultimately my big brother's Yi clan group. So the old master has appointed me and the Xia family head as vice presidents to temporarily assist big brother in managing the Yi clan group. There's another vice president to be added. It's this Lu Mao Yang, the second youngest master of the Lu family. Everyone has just met him. He has merit to the Yi family, was sidelined by the Lu family in a short period of time, but established a tens of billions of dollars of business empire. So usually Guo Li and I, when Mr. Xia is not there, all the things of the Yi group, listen to his arrangements. A flash of sharpness flashed through Yi Fan's eyes as he opened his mouth faintly, but his words did not have any acceptance of a rebuttal. Does anyone have a problem with my decision? Yi Fan glanced at the crowd and made a symbolic inquiry. Everyone had seen Yi Fan's recent performance, although Yi Fan didn't openly announce it. But from what happened to those opponents of the Yi family, everyone had already guessed roughly that they were afraid that Yi Fan had awakened a long time ago. Such a counterintuitive means. Yes, group just now are going to be sold cheaply. Yi Fan are counterintuitive flip. Demonic genius is demonic genius. With such strength, who dares to object? My big brother asked you guys, can't you all hear me? Seeing that everyone did not react strongly, Wang Fugue slammed his hands on the table with a huge commotion, causing the crowd at the scene to be startled. No, no opinion. Firmly support Yi Xiao's leadership. The crowd responded in unison. Young Lu, you can organize the work. The plan you said before to spell out Shi Yu, you can also let go of it. It's all fine. All of the company's funds, you can just call on them to be responsible for you. You only need to be responsible for me. And you can discuss any necessary issues with Guo Xiao and Mr. Xia. Yi Fan gave Lu Mao Yang enough authority. Lu Mao Yang was touched and at the same time, the pressure in his heart was not small. Thank you for Yi Xiao's trust. I will do my best. It was also Lu Mao Yang's dream to go through the shopping mall. Before, he could only sneak around. But now that Yi Fan had given himself a super stage, then he must utilize his talent to the fullest. Ye's group will go through a drastic reform. Personnel cleaning. These are not what Yi Fan should worry about anymore. There were Guo Li and Lu Mao Yang to operate. Yi Fan directly exited the conference room and entered into a lounge next to it. After closing the door to the room, Yi Fan took out the piece of undead bone that was on Lu Qingyang. The qi energy in his hands revolved, and he began to devour and absorb the pure vitality power inside according to the method recorded in the dragon pattern ring. A soft power began to emerge from the undead bones, as if something had been activated. In the next moment, an incomparably large amount of energy began to start fluctuating with the lounge as the center. Yi Fan also instantly felt a vibrant power, madly surging towards his own body tendons, as if it had been silent for a long time and finally found a vent like, hoo hoo, Yi Fan's strength, which was already at the peak of martial zoon, began to rapidly gather ancient qi energy, and the dantian in his body continued to warm up, expand, and strengthen. Even the swaying pei firing Yi Fan's dantian was affected and began to shake rapidly also crazily absorbing the energy inside the undead bone. The fire, which was only very weak before, had become much brighter in just a few moments. So tough, Yi Fan felt the powerful energy contained in the immortal bone, and at the same time there were countless oodles of battle experience pouring into his head, his heart bursting with excitement. If he continued at this rate, then he would soon be able to break through to the martial emperor level A. Looking at the entire Grand Xia, there weren't many strong people who had reached the emperor level A. At that time, even if they surrounded them, they wouldn't necessarily be able to kill themselves easily, right? Who can stop the rise of the Yi family? Click. Yi Fan was still thinking as if he was flying, when he suddenly felt his dantian, as if something had ruptured. Was it that the shackles of the martial Zun realm had broken, and that meant that Yi Fan could break through to martial emperor again? Without any hesitation, Yi Fan continued to sit in meditation, striking the martial emperor level with all his might. After Yi Changfeng met up with the gang of old friends, he took Lei Qianjie along with him and had just arrived next to the conference room of Yi clan group when he detected a powerful energy fluctuation in the side lounge. Yi Changfeng raised his eyebrows, although he already had a guess in his heart. Yi Changfeng still inquired towards the bodyguard at the door. 
Who's inside? Elder Yi. Inside is the young master. The bodyguards at the door were personally arranged by Elder Yi. All of them were from Elder Ye's direct lineage, and the leader of them was still a Zongshu level powerhouse. So naturally, they could also detect the strong energy fluctuations inside. The young master seems to be making a breakthrough. Yi Changfeng nodded his head and rebuked Lung Feng and this sovereign captain expert. Seal off this place. No one is allowed to come near here without my order. As the words fell, Yi Changfeng pulled out a few red talisman seals from his body and urged the power of the talisman seals to form a powerful circle of flowing light that wrapped the lounge. This was something that a high person had once left behind for Yi Changfeng, which could form a protective circle, allowing the situation inside the protective circle not to be detected from the outside. Right now, Yi Fan's identity was still a demented state to the outside. If they noticed that they had reached Martial Emperor, then those enemies of the Yi family would either hide in fear and never venture out again, either they would be desperate, or even ask a strong person from outside the country to come out and kill Yi Fan in the cradle. Therefore, Yi Changfeng now also understood the need to keep a low profile. Gouge until you're strong enough, if Yi Fan had already awakened, with his demonic talent, it shouldn't take too long for him to advance to the martial saint level. At that time, Yi Fan was truly standing at the peak of the martial arts world. There were no more than 10 strong martial saints in the entire world, and almost all of them are in mortal body state. Even if they fight for each other's life, it is also the state that no one can help anyone. Only, what Yi Changfeng didn't know was that although he had wrapped Yi Fan's energy fluctuations with the power of the talisman, however, the heaven and earth anomaly caused by impacting a martial emperor was too strong. As early as a few minutes ago, above the Yi group, all began to gather powerful energy fluctuations, forming an energy vortex that had already made the Cloud City lose some of its color in both heaven and earth. In a special garden in the eastern suburb of Cloud City, a few old men wearing gray robes, after detecting the energy fluctuation, they started to activate a mysterious instrument, and then stared at the energy fluctuation magnitude on the instrument. When they saw the energy break through the final red color on the instrument, a few old men couldn't help but jump up happily. It's the immortal bone. It's the power of the immortal bone. The clue left by the master. Has it finally appeared? Are the coordinates confirmed? In what place? The master disappeared for so many years. Before leaving, let us must guard the wandering soul organization. For the young master to help. We wait. Is 20 years ah. Finally waited. The coordinates have been determined. And it's at. Right in yes group? However, the energy only lasted for a short bit of time, and now it's actually hidden? What's going on here? The crowd had just finalized their coordinate positions when they realized that the energy fluctuation had, all of a sudden, disappeared. That's not surprising, since that's a descendant of the master. It must have some special means. Breaking through the martial emperor level of strength will definitely be missed by many other martial Dao powerhouses, and hiding one's energy fluctuations is the best way to do so. Martial cultivation. In fact, is equally in line with the laws of the dark forest. All martial arts practitioners were hunters with shotguns in the dark, and no one knew exactly who would shoot first. And the best way to do that is to shoot someone first. Wait, where did you guys just say the coordinates were? After a few seconds, the few old men at the scene seemed to have reacted and inquired towards one of the old men in the technical operation with a surprised face. Yeah group ah, how? The words were just halfway through. The old man who was operating the technology also couldn't help but slam his thigh. Ah, ma. I just reacted. You guys are saying that the Yi family, that demonic genius five years ago, could it be him? Right, right, right. Back then, we noticed that kid from the Yi family. We just didn't have any evidence. And then he was demented behind us. So we didn't care. But now it seems that it shouldn't be able to run away. Ha ha, great. It turns out that the person we were looking for was right under our noses the whole time. Fortunately, we didn't act impulsively and we were almost compelled by those people to take part in the action against the E family. Quickly, notify the elders at once that the wandering souls people are going to start moving. Since the E family is the master's descendant family, we can't just ignore the E family's current situation. No air. You're already at the martial zoon level. Come with me later to check on the young lord. And if the young lord encounters any trouble, we can also step in to help. Yip's group, in the lounge. Yi Fan had run the chi in his body for 49 weeks before he finally felt that the breath in his body had only been absorbed for the most part. The energy contained inside the undead bone was too terrifying. Yi Fan's physique had been strengthened by the dragon ring very early on, yet he still couldn't absorb all the energy, and the rest of those energies were hidden in Yi Fan's tendons on their own, waiting to be utilized subsequently. Yi Fan turned his hand towards his hand, just now there was still immortal bone, at this time has disappeared cleanly, completely absorbed by Yi Fan. Stretching out in Yifan's dantian, the fire became more vigorous, 
and the qi mass formed by the qi energy in Yifan's Dantian became more solid. The strength at the martial emperor level had reached a very terrifying situation. Yi Fan had only slightly released his perception and was able to clearly feel all the movements within a radius of several hundred meters. Flowers, birds, insects and fish, as well as flies, words, and even the movements of ants and the sound of seeds breaking through the ground, Yi Fan can feel the flow of biological qi of those living beings around him. Yi Fan can also perceive it, and he can even absorb it and use it for himself. I wonder, absorbing the breath of those living beings, is this a unique ability that belongs to you? Yi Fan, of course, felt it, too, in the form of his grandfather who was guarding him outside the door. Grandpa's own martial arts qi had been stuck at the Zongshir level for a long time due to his physical injuries, but he was able to use the talismanic seal to shroud his energy fluctuations. It seems that the Yi family still has a lot of things on the bottom line that they don't know yet. However, one strength had broken through to this realm, plus there was the cover of Lei Chin Jie, saying that he was only recovering temporarily. In front of Grandpa, there was the possibility of properly displaying his strength, so that Grandpa wouldn't be too worried. Also, find a way to get Grandpa's strength up again. That way, even when he wasn't around, Grandpa would at least have the ability to defend himself. Grandpa. The door to the room opened and Yi Fan called out towards Yi Changfeng. In the past few days, the blow dealt to Yi Changfeng by the near annihilation of the Yi family was very huge, and Yi Changfeng's breath was very bad in the first two days. But today, Yi Changfeng had been red-faced after learning Yi Fan's secret. My good grandson, I've wronged you. You've worked hard. Yi Changfeng didn't say much. As soon as he wrapped his arms around Yi Fan, the tears in the corner of his eyes couldn't help but slide down. Yi Fan looked at his grandfather and wanted to open his mouth to say something. But Yi Changfeng directly interrupted him. Little Fan, if there's anything to say, let's go back and talk about it. Grandpa's behavior made Yi Fan somewhat helpless as well. With all the things that had happened to the Yi family recently, Grandpa, as the commander of the Heavenly Dragon Army, naturally noticed something, and with today's events, Grandpa should already know about his awakening. I guess when the time comes, another round of nagging will be inevitable. But when he thought of his dead brothers and uncles, Yi Fan felt happy again. Other than his missing parents, his grandfather was the last relative Yi Fan had in this world. Yi Fan extraordinarily cherished the time he spent with his grandfather. Yi Changfeng brought Yi Fan to show up at the Yi group meeting, which was considered to be an expression of the strongest support for Yi Fan. In this way, Guali and Xia Hao, Lu Maoyang and the others would not have any resistance when they carried out their plans. After doing so, Yi Changfeng hurriedly brought Yi Fan home. On the vehicle going home, Lung Feng was driving and sitting in the car were Lei Qianjie and Yi Fan. Yi Changfeng and the three of them. Good old Lei, you've kept me in the dark. If I hadn't discovered it myself, how long were you planning to hide it from me? Yi Changfeng somewhat hammered Lei Qianjie on his shoulder without any good humor. Lei Qianjie looked at Yi Fan and asked for his opinion. Yi Fan let out a long sigh and said, At that time, my state hadn't fully recovered and I didn't dare to expose it. But since Grandpa found out, don't hide it. Getting Yi Fan's permission, Lei Qianjie then hurriedly opened his mouth. Old Yi Ah, it's not that I don't say it. It's that master doesn't allow me to say it, and it's harder for me to hold it in than it is for you, right? The words are on the edge of my mouth, but I have to swallow them again. Master? Yi Changfeng listened to Lei Qianjie's words, looked at Lei Qianjie, then at Yi Fan, and suddenly laughed out loud. What do you mean? Lei Qianjie, you are worshipping my grandson as your master? Ha ha, then you will have to call me Tai Shi Gong. Quickly call me. Ha ha, Yi Changfeng was in a good mood today and couldn't even help but joke about Lei Qianjie. Lei Qianjie was a bit depressed, although I am very reluctant, but according to seniority, I should indeed call you that, Yi Shao strength, I willingly, Yi Fan was the young medical immortal who had dominated the southwest back then, ah, completely an existence that could surpass the great summer medical sage, the 13 needles of the ghost valley, and the snow face cream formula that supported the Su group, any one of them, was an astonishing existence. Okay, just kidding. Yi Changfeng interrupted Lei Qianjie and turned his head to look at Yi Fan with a serious face. Little Fan, when did you awaken? You really hid it from Grandpa so hard ah. Alas, saying that, Yi Changfeng was about to start shedding tears again. The Yi family was such a large family, and in the end, only two people were left, Yi Fan and Yi Changfeng. It was just one short day before and after, which is saddening to say the least. It was in the year that the Yi family was destroyed that I awakened. Five years ago, when I was trying out the talismanic seal, I winded myself up for five years because of the effects of the car accident, and that's why I awakened. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Yi Fan told his grandfather in detail about all the various states he had been in after awakening, since his grandfather already knew that he had awakened. 
Yi Fan didn't intend to hide it from his grandfather and told him all of his plans. Sure enough, the Zhao family, the Li family, the Wang family, including Su Jin, all came from your hands. Sure enough it's my old Yi family seed. Good job. Stepping on the horse, finally out of breath. According to the account of Lu Qingyang and those people from the Zhao family, there is more than one power group that made a move against the Yi family. There is an organization called the Holy Angels, and there are also people from the military. Lu Qingyang was involved in the operation to kill second brother, and has already been resolved. Now over in the northwest, a big man has come and intends to make a direct move against me and the Yi family. That's why I'm in a hurry to make a breakthrough. Since the other party dared to come from the northwest and make a direct move against the Yi family, their strength must be at the martial Zun realm. Yi Fan's breakthrough to the martial emperor level was also an insurance policy in case. In the back, I plan to have Lu Maoyang organize the establishment of a business group to provide strong business monetary support. In addition, a combat support team will be set up as well. Don't those people want to deal with the Yi family? Do they want to take action against the Su family? You Ling Long and these families to deter others? Then we will, bit by bit, pull out all of their minions, and finally force them to show up and have to pay the price for their actions. However, the less my identity is revealed before the real enemy shows up, the better. After listening to Yi Fan's narration, Yi Changfeng did not have any unnecessary words. The heavens will not destroy my Yi family ah. All said that my Yi family is going to produce a Qilin son. Has it finally come out? Yi Changfeng old tears, wiped a handful of tears and continued. Xiao Fan, originally after this great difficulty, I have already despaired. But now, you just let go. Go home with grandpa. Although grandpa is old, he can still help you with a stroke of strength. Yi family can be able to cross the Dasha for so many years without collapsing. Even if the royal family side also dare not act rashly, there must be the Yi family's heritage. And today, Yi Changfeng had decided that he intended to display all of the Yi family's heritage in front of Yi Fan. In the Yi family mansion, Yi Changfeng had increased the force of the family's guards by five times after returning today. Even Wang Fugue's grandfather was mobilized. Lei Qian Jie, as the strength of the control realm, also assumed the duty of a guard and participated in the vigil. After the setup was completed, Yi Changfeng then led Yi Fan towards the garden behind the Yi family mansion. Behind the Yi family mansion was a huge garden with a very wide lake. In the wigwam park where Yi Fan played countless times as a child, Yi Changfeng walked to several of the wigwams, reached out and touched the east, and drummed the west two times. The next moment, the flat ground began to shake, and the garden actually cracked, and a huge step entrance appeared. Go! Yi Changfeng greeted Yi Fan as he went down the steps, while Yi Fan was stunned as he looked at the situation in front of him. This, own small time, play in the garden for so long, also did not notice the garden underground. There is another dry ah. Even though Yi Fan had now broken through to the martial emperor level, when he released his perception just now, he was still obstructed by a mysterious force under the ground. There are still high level people behind the Yi family ah. It is obvious that in the garden is set up a forbidden system, so that it can block other people from prying. This was the first time Yi Fan had entered the garden underground. After following the steps for hundreds of meters, the bottom opened up steeply to a huge hall filled with tabletops. These are the Tianlong army generals who sacrificed their lives back then. There are 10,000 captains, there are generals, and there are ordinary carriage drivers. Grandpa remembers them all. Yi Changfeng spoke at the same time, lit a pillar of incense and handed it to Yi Fan. Give them a pillar of incense. It's time for you to know this. Originally, with the shelter of those uncles, brothers, intended to be a peaceful son of the world with you, but the current situation, you must carry the responsibility of the Yi family. When Yi Fan finished the incense, Yi Changfeng led Yi Fan to continue walking towards a gate on the side. Upon entering that gate and looking at the scene in front of him, Yi Fan was once again shocked. Nuns, pay your respects to young master. Yi Fan had just entered the door, and the four stunningly beautiful maids pounced towards Yi Fan, bowing respectfully towards him. The four great maids, with fluctuating martial arts chi, were actually all strong at the Zongshu realm, with stunning looks. And this was all for themselves? Grandpa, when did he prepare four such stunning maids for himself? Even the maids are so tough. Is the Yi family's heritage as terrifying as this? Grandpa, this, outsiders thought that by taking out all those core disciples of the Yi family, they would be able to easily shake the Yi family. Who knew that what the Yi family had shown on the surface was only the tip of the iceberg ah? Since you want to do great things, reliable and loyal manpower is a must. These people are not prepared for you by Grandpa. They were left for you by your mother before she left. Yi Changfeng had a smile on his face. Your mother said that one day, you will use them. My mother? Yi Fan's pupils dilated for a moment. Yi Fan hadn't seen his mother since he was a child. 
Can a mother anticipate what is to come and set herself up for what is to follow more than 20 years ago? And what kind of a person is one's mother? Really? Yes, your mother didn't die. She just went to a faraway place with your father. Before your mother left, she originally instructed me that if you were mediocre all your life, you would never be able to use these things. But the point is that you have not been mediocre since you were a child. And at the age of 15 you are already at the peak of the zone master's strength. If you didn't get into a car accident five years ago, at that time you should have told you these things. It's not too late to tell you this. In addition to these forces underneath the Yi family, your mother has also arranged other backstops in Dasha. There are many that I am not sure about. So you will have to explore the specifics on your own. Yi Chongfeng continued to lead Yi Fan towards the inside of the hall. Greetings to Elder Yi. Greetings to Young Master. In the innermost part, a team of black-clothed men and horses were training. And when they saw Yi Fan and Yi Chongfeng coming over, they immediately stopped the training in their hands and bowed respectfully towards Yi Fan and Yi Chongfeng in obeisance. These are the 81 dead soldiers that your mother selected for you since you were a child, and have been cultivated for so many years, called blood guards, all loyal and reliable. If you want to set up your own force, you can use them as a base to expand. When Yi Chongfeng introduced to Yi Fan, he explained to Yi Fan in a low voice, These blood guards, their physique has been extraordinary since they were young, and it seems that your mother has added some prohibitions on them. You are completely different to worry about in terms of safety and loyalty. Yi Chongfeng led Yi Fan to continue to turn in the underground halls, all kinds of contacts and resources, as well as assets, treasures. This time, Yi Chongfeng did not hide anything in front of Yi Fan. Also, the Heavenly Dragon Army token. It's time to hand it over to you. Going to the last and most secret secret room, Yi Chongfeng pulled out a black dragon token from his body and rubbed his hand vigorously on it. A chi force whisked and swept. Something seemed to have been removed from the token. Phew. In the next moment, Yi Chongfeng utilized his chi to cut a slitting Yi Fan's finger before letting the blood drip down onto the token. The Heavenly Dragon Order is warmed with the chi and blood of millions of soldiers, and has the special effect of being vaguely connected to millions of troops. The Heavenly Dragon Army Soul can even help you at critical times? This is also what your mother helped design at that time. As for what the principle of it is, I can't figure it out even now. Yi Chongfeng handed the token to Yi Fan with a heavy hand. Little Fan. Yi family, I'm relying on you from now on. Don't ever fail the Yi family. Don't fail those sisters-in-law of yours. Yi Chongfeng led Yi Fan around the underground halls, and the various underpinnings of the Yi family gave Yi Fan a new understanding of the Yi family. It turned out that behind the Yi family there is still such a huge network of people. In addition to the military, within the country, outside the country, martial arts, and the unknown backhand of the mother's arrangement, the enemy wants to completely exterminate the Yi family. It is simply impossible. Little fan. Originally, if you had stayed this dumb, I wouldn't have tossed it. But now, since you've awakened, then our Yi family must take another gamble. I may have to go on a trip to Shangjing to win a thousand future for the Yi family. And whatever you want to do, just let it go. As long as grandpa has a breath in him, he still doesn't dare anyone to just touch you. After Yi Changfeng had explained all the things of the Yi family to Yi Fan, he himself seemed to have all relaxed a lot and began to be a bit grandiose. Yi Fan secretly nodded. Grandpa, your body, under Mr. Lei's conditioning, should be better, right? Previously, Yi Fan wasn't too good at exposing himself in front of his grandfather. So he let Lei Qianjie utilize the Ghost Valley 13 needles to condition his grandfather. It's already much better. I was curious at the time. Old Lei didn't even know that strong of medical skills before. How did he suddenly become so powerful? So it was all because you taught him. Yi Changfeng was a bit excited. If my body continues to recover, in my lifetime, I might be able to break through to the martial Zun realm ah. At that time, the influence of our Yi family will definitely be able to rise another level. Helping his grandfather to improve his strength was also an aspect that Yi Fan was considering. Grandpa, let me show you. As Yi Fan spoke, he reached out and grabbed Yi Changfeng's wrist with one hand, carefully feeling Yi Changfeng's pulse. Yi Fan could clearly feel that the breath in Yi Changfeng's body had stabilized a lot more than before. These days Lei Qianjie should not have been lazy. Using the Ghost Valley 13 needles, he had already helped his grandfather to repair a lot of injuries. It was just that Lei Qianjie's own martial qi power was too weak, and the effect it had each time was very limited. Previously, when Yi Fan's strength was still only at the martial Zun level, he couldn't help his grandfather repair his injuries for a short period of time either. But now that Yi Fan had absorbed the undead bone in Lu Qing Yang's hand, his strength had broken through to Martial Emperor, and there was still residual undead bone power in his body. Helping his grandfather to repair his injuries wasn't a difficult task. Grandpa, sit down. 
I should be able to help repair the injuries in your body. Yi Fan gestured his grandfather to sit down on the seat in the secret room. The power of the martial emperor level in his body surged out furiously, at the same time mobilizing the power of the immortal bone that had not been absorbed in his body, rapidly repairing the dark injuries in Yi Chongfeng's body, making the tendons and veins that were all on the verge of withering away before once again come to life and vitality. Yi Chongfeng felt the continuous repair of the tendons and veins in his body, as well as the breath that kept getting stronger within himself, and a touch of shock appeared in his eyes. This Yi Fan, just like his mother, isn't he a normal person? Injuries that others had no way of fixing were so easily repaired in Yi Fan's hands? However, in 10 minutes time, Yi Chongfeng felt that his body had been transformed, and seemed to have instantly returned to the state of a youngster. Xiao Fan, I feel that my strength is on the verge of a breakthrough. It's just a pity that it would have been better if it had been assisted by a potion. Yi Chongfeng's strength had already been at the peak of Zongshu for a long time before, and if it wasn't for the dark wounds left behind from the battles he participated in back then, Yi Chongfeng would have long since broken through to the martial Zun realm, and now that the injuries in his body were repaired, Yi Chongfeng immediately showed signs of a breakthrough. Yi Fan smiled lightly, the matter of pills, you don't have to worry about it at all. Grandpa, as early as five years ago, I was able to refine my own Yuan Qi pills. As he spoke, Yi Fan pulled out a porcelain bottle from his pocket and handed it to Yi Chongfeng. There are five pills in here, keep them for yourself. Apart from your own breakthroughs, see what other core members of the Yi family that are worth promoting a bit. All of them can be allowed to boost their strength. If it's not enough, feel free to ask for it. Ah, this. Yi Chongfeng opened the porcelain bottle and looked at the fragrant Yuan Qi Dan inside. His mouth opened and closed. What kind of a treasure existence is this turtle grandson of his own? Is there nothing in the world he can't do? Elder Yi, young master, there's a situation outside. Someone is trying to break into the Yi family. They are very strong. And the escort battle team has already suffered quite a few casualties. Aha! Uh -huh. Yi Fan frowned. Have they finally come? Yi Fan had broken his strength to the martial emperor level before the arrival of that Chu Fong from the northwest. Just to see. That big brother Chu Fong from the northwest. What was his level? Since Yi Fan was facing him, he had to crush him with absolute strength. Chu Fong is the key opening to tear the real culprit behind the military side. And what Yi Fan wants is to be strong. Little Fan, why don't you hide first? Although Yi Chongfeng knew that Yi Fan was now awakened and not weak, he was still a little worried. After all, those who wanted to Yi family to death, their strength and background, were exceptionally powerful, this time, actually sent people directly to the main camp of Yun City to make a move. Surely also spent blood money. The Yi family was left with Yi Fan as the only seedling, and Yi Chongfeng didn't want anything to happen to Yi Fan. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Don't worry, Grandpa, since I dare to step forward, I have absolute certainty. Besides, if I can't even resist them at the martial emperor level, then there's not even much hope for the Yi family to rise. Hiss. Woody. Yi Chongfeng couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air when he heard Yi Fan's judgment of his strength. Although before, Yi Chongfeng had already roughly guessed the situation of Yi Fan's strength breakthrough. But it was still shocking to actually hear the result from Yi Fan himself. Good, good, good. Yi Chongfeng said three good things in a row. Everyone, everyone heard it, right? Our Yi family's young master. His strength is now at the martial emperor level. The heavens are not against my Yi family. In the future, Yi Fan will be counting on all of you. Yi Chongfeng bowed to the dead soldiers, as well as Yi Fan's four great maids in the underground hall. Grandpa, go up. Yi Fan greeted Yi Chongfeng and the four great maids as they went up the steps together. After I leave this gate, I will still be the same demented young master. Understand? Yi Fan was still afraid that his grandfather and the four great maids wouldn't understand, and reminded the crowd when he was on his way out. Yi Fan's awakening was only in the dark, and there were many things that would definitely be more effective to handle in a demented state. Yes, the gate of the Yi family, at this point, had been scourged beyond recognition. The gates, which were originally quite imposing, were all smashed to smithereens, with stones flying about and stepping down into a large area. The Yi family, it's just like that. Is that all the Yi family has? Chu Feng led a group of men, and without any concealment, he went straight towards the Yi family's mansion to kill them. Captain Lang Feng brought the core guards of the Yi family and tried to continue blocking. However, Chu Feng's strength was far above the level of Marshal Zun, and there were even five or six Zong Shi level powerhouses around him, so Lang Feng's men going up would simply be sending them to their deaths. Captain Lang Feng, don't waste your time. Those people of yours can't stop me. None you are a man. Get out of the way. I'm coming for Elder Yi and Yi Fan. As long as the others don't resist, I can keep you all alive. Although Lu Qingyang's death had caused Chu Feng no small amount of distress and some displeasure. However, 
After Chu Feng really brought people to arrive at the Yi family's mansion and attack the Yi family's compound, Chu Feng suddenly felt that it didn't seem to be so difficult for the Yi family to deal with it. In the face of absolute strength, any fancy maneuvers were futile. The ones Chu Feng brought today were all absolute elites who had been in the battlefield for a long time. They either did not come, or they came with the purpose of destroying the Yi family's entire clan. Although he knew that killing the last two core figures of the Yi family, one old and one young, would definitely cause an uproar in the whole of Dasha, Chu Feng had come prepared for everything. Since you're not even afraid of death, there's nothing to be afraid of. Humph, just you trash. You only dare to hide behind the back and make a move against the Yi family. And you still want to exterminate the Yi family? Let me tell you, you can't exterminate the Yi family. When the young master awakens, all of you will have to give the Yi family a burial. Lung Feng was the most loyal guard leader beside Yi Changfeng. Following Yi Changfeng for many years, his feelings towards the Yi family were very deep. Although he knew that his people were no match for Chu Feng and the others, he still brought the Yi family's guards to block the entrance to the Yi family's inner courtyard without giving an inch. Since you're looking for death yourself, don't blame me for not being polite. With a wave of Chu Feng's hand, those five or six sovereign master experts under his command took a step forward, and their entire body's martial aura began to stir. You here, together with that old thing Yi Chang Feng, are only three sect master level powerhouses, the experts on our side can completely crush you in terms of numbers, and you're still trying to put up a fight, you're completely looking for death. Before Chu Feng came, he had investigated all of the Yi family's forces very clearly. Now the Yi family, completely is the autumn wind falling leaves, the last bit of dying struggle just. I really don't know why Lu Qing Yang and the Zhao family, the Wang family and all that trash couldn't even deal with such a family that was about to fall. Phew, just as Chu Feng's words fell, from the backyard, a group of people rushed out with quick steps, Yi Changfeng and Yi Fan walked at the front, and beside Yi Fan, surrounded by four stunningly beautiful maidservants, all of them were at the Zongshu level of martial arts chief fluctuation. Moreover, behind Yi Fan, there were two more dead soldiers whose strength was also at the Zongshu level. Humph, who says that my Yi family only has three strong men at the Zongshu level? Do you really think that my Yi family has no one? Yi Changfeng gave a sullen chortle, his eyes sharply glancing up and down at Chu Feng. Although Yi Changfeng probably had some guesses about his nemesis, but Chu Feng were all upstarts, and Yi Changfeng didn't participate much in the actual things behind him, so he didn't recognize Chu Feng. Aha, in a flash. Six great sect master level powerhouses had actually appeared around Yi Fan? This Nima, what's going on here? Seeing such a situation, Chu Feng's face began to stare, turning his head toward one of his men and glaring at him with a death glare, letting them investigate the intelligence. Was this the intelligence they investigated? Didn't they say that after the core of the Yi family was killed, the Yi family was already falling apart? So how did so many strong people suddenly appear? Moreover, looking at the attitude of those maids and dead soldiers towards Yi Fan, so respectful and careful, completely worshipful and unconditionally sheltered. The combat power displayed was definitely not less than one's own men and horses ah. With the appearance of the four great maids around Yi Fan, the powerhouses at the Zongshu level, the two sides instantly reached an equilibrium. You were still wearing open pants when I was killing enemies on the battlefield back in the day, weren't you? Humph, now that you are secretly laying your hands on my Yi family, in the end, are you not even going to spare the only seedling of my Yi family? Yi Changfeng stared at Chu Feng as he continued to speak. Tell your family's master that you have the balls to let him come and confront Lao Fu back then. Ha! Huh? Chu Feng was dumbfounded by Yi Changfeng's dislike. It was because in the entire Grand Xia, everyone could not deny the Yi family's great achievements for the entire Grand Xia. It could be said that half of the entire De Xia world was fought by the Yi family army. Now everyone was just afraid that the Yi family was too powerful and they were threatened. So they just made their moves. However, Chu Feng was, after all, also the right-hand man beside Pavilion Elder Zhang, and after only a momentary loss of concentration, he immediately reacted, Elder Yi, the Yi family's downfall has already been doomed, originally intending to give you guys a decent end, you guys had to make it on your own, then I have no choice but to come personally to give you a ride, even if you still have 6 great sect master level powerhouses so what, this seat is already a peak martial zoom powerhouse, I'm going to kill that fool Yi fan in Yi Lao, can you stop me? That was Chu Feng's bottom line. Having already broken through to the peak of martial exaltation, looking at the entire Grand Xia, other than those few old demons making a move, other people would not be able to stop Chu Feng at all. In other words, Chu Feng had completely annihilated the Yi family today. And even if those vassal families and forces of the Yi family saw Chu Feng's revenge, they could not help Chu Feng. If Yi Fan hadn't awakened and his strength hadn't advanced to the martial emperor level, today, the Yi family was afraid that all of their cards would be exposed all very much organizing Chu Feng's actions. 
Yi Chongfeng raised his eyebrows. If it was before, he would have been worried. But now that he knew Yi Fan's strength and situation, Yi Chongfeng was calm and looked at Chu Feng's expression as if he was looking at a fool. Yi Fan was investigating the truth behind the Yi family's demise, and this guy had sent himself to the door. So it was just the right place to start his in-depth investigation. Yi Fan stood beside Yi Chongfeng. The corner of his mouth moved a bit as he looked Chu Feng up and down. With the strength of a peak martial Zun, it wasn't a male thing for Yi Fan to want to deal with. Furthermore, after Yi Fan devoured the immortal bone, he activated a super characteristic, teleportation. It can be instantly spurred by intention to move more than a dozen meters away. In a duel between masters, even a hair's breadth can be fatal, not to mention Yi Fan's life-saving feature of flash. When it matters, you can get in your face and turn on the big one, or run for your life. So it's totally a must-have move. Before Yi Fan could open his mouth to speak, there was a strong fluctuation of martial aura at the gate, and another group of experts appeared in the Yi family compound. Who wants to kill my young master? Get past the old ox first. Wow. With a burst of noisy footsteps outside, a group of at least 20 to 30 strong people instantly appeared in front of the crowd, in turn surrounding Chu Feng and those of his men in the center. The wandering souls? What are you guys here to make a scene? Chu Feng recognized the leader, Nyo Er, who seemed to be one of the powerful general characters within the swimming souls, and his pupils could not help but tighten for a while. The Great Summer Martial Way has been developing for many years. In addition to the major super families, there are also those traditional sects, Buddhist sects, Taoist sects, Confucian sects, Shaolin, and so on. In addition to this, some other organizations have been formed. For example, there is an official background of the Jinwu Division, as well as the civil formation of the Martial Arts Alliance Organization, the Wandering Soul, the Blade, and among them, the Wandering Soul is one of the several organizations whose influence is very powerful. It was said that the Traveling Soul had established hundreds of rudiments all over the world back then. Some foreign dignitaries were honored to join the Soul Tour Martial Arts Organization. Only later, all of a sudden, it seems that the Soul Tour Internal encountered some major changes. The whole organization began to hide low profile up, but no one dares to ignore the mighty power of the Wandering Souls organization. One must know that there were martial emperor powerhouses sitting within the traveling soul. When pavilion elder Zhang and the others were planning to make a move against the Yi family, they had secretly formed some agreements with the Wandering Souls. While the Wandering Spirits won't support it, at least don't block it. And now the people of the Wandering Soul suddenly appeared and also claimed to protect the young master. This matter is a little complicated ah. Uh. Humph, did I not make myself clear enough? I came to protect my young master. If you want to go to war with the wandering souls, just move a finger and try? Nyo Air did not seem to have a good temper and dislike Chu Feng as he directly cursed. Chu Feng was at least the secretary beside Zhang Gulao, a high-level figure of the right hand and left hand. How can you possibly take this kind of humiliation? Humph, with just a few of you trash, do you want to stop this seat? Do you think that since this seat dared to come? It would only bring such a small amount of power? Chu Feng originally did not intend to expose those forces, but now that the people of the traveling soul had appeared, Chu Feng had to make those forces work together as well. Since he intended to settle the Yi family once and for all today, he had to give it his all. Otherwise, after missing today's opportunity, Chu Feng had a feeling that the Yi family was no longer within his control. Snap! Chu Feng flicked his hand in the air, and from beyond the Yi family's enclosure, a group of veiled, Strong men with samurai swords stuck in their waists instantly appeared. Several dozens of them. The Yi family's compound was originally very wide, but with several waves of people appearing, the compound was a few degrees narrower. A martial arts powerhouse from the Easterning Black Clothes Society? Bastard. You actually colluded with the dogs of the East Japan to attack the Yi family? Do you still have face? When Nyo Air saw those Easterning dogs appear, he immediately became agitated. Asshole. Have you forgotten how the Easterning dogs wreaked havoc on my Chinese land back then? You actually colluded with them? If I don't kill you today, I'll take your name. Chu Feng did not care in the slightest about Nyo Air shouting, wanting a face? Humph, can it be used as a meal? Today, the Yi family will be destroyed. Chu Feng coldly swept everyone at the scene. I'll give you all one last chance. Other than Yi Fan and that old thing Yi Chang Feng, I can let everyone else go. As long as you all leave right away, I'll give you a way to live. Otherwise, kill without amnesty. But what made Chu Feng annoyed was that when his words fell, not a single person in the county had the intention to leave, and everyone stared at Chu Feng with a gaze that was eager to eat him alive. Do it! With a clench of his teeth, Chu Feng gave the order to fight to the men around him, as well as those Easterning Black Clothes Society powerhouses. On the side of the Black Clothes Society's powerhouses, as the leading captain approached Chu Feng, his mouth coldly said, Captain Chu, we'll act together today. 
and don't forget the agreement between us afterwards. Kill, on the Yi clan side, all the martial arts experts, under Lang Feng's greeting, also waved their battle blades in their hands, intending towards starting to meet the enemy. However, at the critical time, Yi Fan whispered towards his grandfather, let all of them retreat into the underground chamber. I'm going to go on a killing spree today. Yi Fan had endured for a long time, and Chu Feng should be considered the first high-level enemy to make a move against the Yi family. The most detestable thing was that Chu Feng actually colluded with the Eastern Ning dog, so that was even more detestable. Yi Fan hadn't planned to leave Chu Feng alive, so now he would be even more unlikely to let Chu Feng and the others go. A group of martial arts experts at the level of martial arts Zun and Zhengshir was just a group of martial arts experts. Yi Fan's strength at the level of martial arts emperor could be easily crushed with one hand. Everyone, on my command, retreat. A sudden order from Yi Changfeng caused all of the Yi family's bodyguards and martial arts experts to be confused. Those powerhouses of the wandering souls were also a bit bewildered. What's going on with Master Yi? These strong men of the Yi family and the people of the wandering souls may not necessarily not have the power to fight. Ah, why did they suddenly withdraw? All of the Yi family's bodyguards and experts, all of whom were well trained, received Yi Lao's order. And although they didn't understand what it meant, they all instantly began to retreat back. Yi Changfeng greeted towards Nyo Air and the others. Everyone, all of you retreat with Lao Fu. The matter outside has its own way to solve. Everyone instantly retreated to the entrance gate of the inner courtyard secret room, but Yi Fan and the four great maids under his command stopped outside, seemingly with no intention of going in. Nyo Air and the others had originally come over to check out the powerful energy fluctuations, and their eyes couldn't help but light up when they saw the situation in front of them. Is the young master going to do it himself? When they were observing in the base, they had already judged that the intensity of the Yi group's martial aura fluctuations before was at least at the martial emperor level. Since the young lord is of the master's direct bloodline, his strength will definitely not be weak. Go, retreat. Elder Yi was so confident in letting the young lord stay outside. He must know something. The young master claimed to the outside world that he was still a fool. But don't forget that five years ago, the young master's demonic talent that was heaven-defying existed. Everyone instantly retreated, which caused those martial arts powerhouses on Shu Feng's side who were preparing to make a move to be somewhat bewildered. What's the point of fighting when they're going all out and intend to do it and realize their opponent is gone? Captain. This. Those men of Chu Feng. Looking at the direction Yi Chang Feng and the others left. Were filled with doubts. What the hell is the Yi family up to? If it means you're planning to retreat altogether. You should take Yi Fan with you. Ha. Huh? What's the point of leaving Yi Fan here? Ha. Huh? Fool. Your grandfather withdrew but left you behind. Is this planning to treat you as an outcast? Do you know how hard it is? Let me help you out. Chu Feng narrowed his eyes and stared scorchingly at Chu Feng. Just like dealing with your big brother. Slowly cutting your big brother into pieces one blade at a time. Chu Feng waved his hand and several of his men surrounded Yi Fan from eight directions. Beside Yi Fan, the four stunningly beautiful maids, the martial aura on their bodies began to stir furiously, intending to fight at any time. Yi Fan calmly reached out and patted on the shoulders of a few maids. You don't have to be nervous. You were told to stay here to deal with the scene later. Yes, young master. Although the four great maids had never really seen Yi Fan's strength, they were aware of Yi Fan's superb martial arts talent five years ago. Moreover, when they were in the basement just now, they had personally heard Yi Fan say that his strength had reached the martial emperor level. With such strength, cleaning up these people on the scene was a complete piece of cake. Aha! Uh -huh. Hearing Yi Fan open his mouth so calmly and with a clear diction, Chu Feng was a bit bewildered, his eyes looking sharply towards Yi Fan. You're not stupid? Are you pretending to be stupid? Chu Feng looked at Yi Fan alertly and a flash of ominous feeling suddenly surfaced in his heart. So, dealing with the Li family, the Wang family, the Zhao family, as well as Lu Qingyang, all of these things, they were all secretly planned and urged by you? Chu Feng's head spun very quickly, instantly figuring out everything. Previously, Chu Feng had wondered why it was so difficult for the Zhao family, the Wang family, and the Li family to join forces and deal with the Su family. In the end, it didn't have any effect at all, not to mention that it also played itself to death. The Yi family was clearly on the verge of destruction, and there seemed to be a pair of strong hands behind them urging everything to develop in favor of the Yi family. Moreover, Lei Qian Jie, the Xia family in the provincial city, the Guo family, and Pang Lao of the Kyushu group, all willingly stood up for the Yi family, on what grounds? At this moment, Chu Feng seemed to have it all figured out. If that foolish young master of the Yi family, the demonic genius had awakened and his strength had been promoted once again, then Yi Fan, alone, was enough to be able to top the potential of all the disciples of the Yi family ah, uh, any superpower would not give up the opportunity to embrace such a golden thigh, even if it means gambling on the fate of the entire family, 
it will be done. Everyone was fooled by Yi Fan, but since Yi Fan had been pretending for such a long time, why was he showing exposure in front of himself at this moment? Unless, Chu Feng instantly thought of it, unless Yi Fan already had absolute certainty that everyone at the scene would not be able to open their mouths. Only dead people. It's not going to open its mouth. Thinking of this, Chu Feng's first thought was to take out the communication tool on his body and immediately pass the message out. Yi Fan has awakened. This was definitely explosive news, and it was imperative to let Pavilion Elder Zhang and the people behind him know about this news. Otherwise, Pavilion Master Zhang and the others would definitely have to not Yi Fan play dead. However, what Chu Feng did not expect was that just as he reached out to grab the walkie-talkie on his body, the walkie-talkie on his body, suddenly under the control of a powerful qi energy, directly floated up, not only those on Chu Feng's body, but also the cell phones and communicators on those of his men, as well as on all of the Eastern Ing powerhouses, all of them were controlled by a powerful martial Dao Qi energy, leaving from their respective bodies and floating in the air. Put, put, with the powerful Qi impact, those cell phones, earphones, all instantly exploded and turned into a pile of fragments. Yi Fan was now at the level of martial emperor, and the sound of ants acting within 500 meters around him could be heard clearly, so the cell phones and other communication tools on these powerhouses, Yi Fan naturally knew them like the back of his hand. In the work of a single thought, however, all means of communication were destroyed. You, have already broken through to the martial emperor level? Heavenly. Chu Feng looked at the scene in front of him and suddenly thought of a very frightening result. Yi Fan could control the use of martial chi to destroy so many cell phones at the same time and with such precision. Such mental power, as well as the control mastery over martial chi energy, could only be achieved by strength at the level of a martial emperor ah. I, Chu Feng's face turned pale, and his body could not help but stagger for a while, almost falling towards the ground. He had thought that he had reached the peak level of Martial Zun and could easily crush Yi Fan. As a result, Yi Fan's strength had long surpassed him by a few large realms, an existence that even ten of him could not defeat. That's right, I am the strength of a martial emperor. Yi Fan took a step forward and coldly stared at Chu Feng. I've been waiting for you for a long time, and you're finally here. Every time Yi Fan took a step towards the front, the Tarzan-like invisible pressure that pressed the air seemed to deform, and Chu Feng's breathing became a little unsmooth. There seemed to be a large hand in the air that had a death grip on his neck, making his breath start to catch. At this moment, Chu Feng finally understood that in today's situation, it looked like they were counting on the Yi family. But in reality, Yi Fan had planned everything out and laid out a trap, just waiting for himself to drill into it. Today, whether it was himself or Pavilion Master Zhang, no matter who it was, as long as they came, there was no way back. It's just a dead end. How dare you, a fool who dares to act wild here. I'll kill you. Not far from Chu Feng's side, the two berserk sect master powerhouses saw that Chu Feng was so frightened that he couldn't even speak. Some of them didn't believe in the evil, and while their mouths rebuked, they swung the battle knives in their hands, and frantically slashed towards Yi Fan's chest. The muscles on Yi Fan's face twitched for a moment, only turning his head to faintly look at the two Zongshir powerhouses as a fluctuation of martial chi fluctuated on his body. In an instant, an invisible wall seemed to have formed in the air, deadlocking those two martial arts sect masters in the air. Click, click, the battle knives in the hands of the two great sect master powerhouses shattered inch by inch and fell to the ground. At the same time, the powerful martial arts chi energy began to impact toward their arms. Arms, chest, abdomen, put, put, boom, rumble. After a sound of cutting a watermelon, the bodies of the two great masters instantly disintegrated, turning into a mist of blood that floated away with the air. Hiss, such a scene directly shocked everyone at the scene as their pupils dilated for a moment. Is this the terror of a martial emperor powerhouse? Obviously didn't see how Yi Fan moved his hands. The two great Zongshir powerhouses didn't even touch little Yi Fan's sleeves, and they had already burst into death? Die so simply? What's the point? Baka, retreat. The ones who reacted first were those eastern dogs, and when they saw that the situation was not right, the first thing they thought of was to get out of here. Under the greeting of the leading captain, dozens of eastern Ing martial arts experts, at this moment, all hated that their parents had given birth to two more legs, and desperately and madly fled in all directions. But from the moment Yi Fan was exposed in front of them, they wouldn't have any chance of surviving. So how could Yi Fan let any of them leave this place? Shu Shu Shu. Yi Fan moved. The instantaneous shift characteristic was activated. His body was like a ghost, transforming into countless phantoms, quickly interspersing between those Eastern Ing dogs, looking down from high above. An illusory residual shadow seemed to appear in the middle of those scattered easterning martial arts powerhouses, constantly scurrying about. Put. However, in a matter of seconds, all of the bodies of those easterning dogs that fled froze in place, 
and then a huge gash appeared in their chests, and lines of blood began to spray wildly. Vitality power was lost crazily. Kung Fu power disappeared. Before all the Easterning dogs could react to what was going on, the whole person had already collapsed towards the ground. His body convulsed a few times, and there was no more movement. Dozens of Easterning dogs, among which there were at least five Zongshir level powerhouses, but they simply didn't even see Yi Fan's face clearly, and they were chopped up by Yi Fan within a few seconds. The last remaining captain of the Black Clothed Society looked at the surrounding situation with a horrified face, and the battle sword in his hand couldn't help but clang and fall to the ground. Yama Dad. Don't. The Black Clothed Society, as the strongest martial arts organization in the territory of Eastern Japan, had strong men within who were all devilishly trained and had a superb will to fight. But at this moment, the Black Clothed Society squad leader Muto instantly lost any thoughts of fighting, and didn't even have the courage to commit suicide, or escape. How can we escape? On his own side, a combat squadron, which was one of the five major forces that had sneaked into Dasha, ah, had been completely wiped out without any credit. A powerful martial emperor. Any resistance is futile. Boo. Yi Fan stepped forward and smashed his fist dully on Wudo's chest, smashing Wudo wildly spraying blood after which the whole person directly fainted to death. Yi Fan stared coldly at Wu Tang, those powerful people from the east, all of them already had so many martial arts experts lurking into the territory of Disya. What did they want? Before Mudo died, Yi Fan naturally wanted to get some news from his mouth before saying anything. After throwing Wudo on the ground like a dead dog, Yi Fan stepped towards Chu Fong. Yi Fan. You. Chu Fong instinctively wanted to move his body, but realized that his legs, like lead, could not move a single bit. Feeling that Tarzan like pressure, Chu Fong knew that if he fell into Yi Fan's hands, he would definitely be worse than death. Thinking of this, a flash of viciousness flashed through Chu Fang's eyes, and urging his martial chi, he wanted to end his own life. But Chu Fong, a martial Zun level expert, in the eyes of Yi Fan at martial emperor level, it was simply trash. Yi Fan just moved his finger. A complex of martial chi surged out, easily blocking Chu Feng's entire body from all major acupoints, and Chu Feng's entire body stiffened in place. Watching Yi Fan step by step walking towards himself, Chu Feng still had a last resort, trying to bite the poison in his own teeth. However, Yi Fan was obviously more shrewd than him, and before Chu Feng moved his mouth, an air force impacted out, pulling out all four large teeth in Chu Feng's mouth, along with the poison pills behind the grooves. Seeing such a situation, Chu Feng completely despaired. In front of a martial emperor powerhouse, was he now without even the right to die? What, do you really want? Chu Feng looked at Yi Fan, since he knew that he could no longer escape. Chu Feng instead calmed down quite a bit. From the moment he had made his move against the Yi family, Chu Feng knew that wanting to bring down the Yi family was definitely not as simple as he had imagined. Moreover, when he came to Cloud City from the northwest region, even though pavilion master Zhang didn't say so, Chu Feng wasn't stupid. He was thrown out as a stone, and pavilion master Zhang was using himself to throw stones. Chu Feng most likely didn't have any good ending, but a soldier dies for a friend. Chu Feng knew what would happen to him, knew his end, yet he still didn't have any hesitation and still brought his men. Yi Fan didn't have any hesitation either, and didn't intend to use normal means to deal with Chu Feng at all. An expert of this level had been profoundly brainwashed, and normal means of questioning could not possibly have any effect at all. Have you heard of the seven star soul destroying hand? Yi Fan took a step forward and stared scorchingly at Chu Feng. Just one sentence made Chu Feng's face pale. Ah, you, you actually know that evil method. Don't, don't touch me. Chu Feng had repulsion written all over his face. As a direct core beside pavilion master Zhang, he had naturally heard of the seven star soul destroying hand, a special technique. It is said that by utilizing the seven star soul destroyer, one can destroy from the mental level, control the target's mind and can disintegrate the target's willpower to confess all their secrets. The people on Pavilion Master Zhang's side had always wanted to obtain the seven-star soul-destroying hands cultivation method, but they could have never succeeded. And now that Ji Fan mentioned this matter, it was obvious that Ji Fan was afraid that most likely he would know this technique. Boo! Yi Fan ignored Chu Feng's resistance. A stream of light appeared on his wrist and placed his palm on Chu Feng's head. As those streams of light didn't enter Chu Feng's head, Chu Feng began to struggle violently. It hurts. Don't. It hurts. Chu Feng's whole body veins were rippling, but his resistance power was obviously not enough. But in a few seconds of effort, Chu Feng quieted down. His eyes were still open, but his complexion was a pan dispersed look. Speak, who do you serve and who exactly sent you? Yi Fan stared coldly at Chu Feng, a flash of viciousness in his eyes. Yi Fan had played dumb for so long just to wait for the arrival of a big shot, and Chu Feng was already a martial Zun level powerhouse. And at this level, 
Yi Fan believed that he was already starting to get closer to the truth. Those big fish that were dealing with the Yi family were about to start surfacing as well. It's the Northwest Zhang Court Elder. It's Zhang Court Elder who was going to deal with the Yi family. All the assassination actions against the Yi family's children. Zhang Court Elder was involved in the planning. And the action plan for the Northwest region is mainly handled by Zhang Court Elder. Chu Feng's soul was under Yi Fan's control at this time. And almost instinctively, he spoke out the many secrets. Mr. Chang? Yi Fan frowned. This was that Zhang Gao Lao. One of the nine Gao Lao of Dixia, mainly responsible for the Northwest military things. Against the Yi family, they have only torn a corner of the secret. Are already involved in such a strong big man? From Chu Feng's tone, Yi Fan heard out that it seemed like this Zhang Lao was all just a part of the plan of action, and not the ultimate helmsman at all. Behind cabinet master Zhang, there is another boss. And who is that? Above Zhang Gao The only thing more powerful would be the Dasha royal family. Could it be that the Dixia imperial family wanted to make a move against the Yi family? HM. If that's the case, Yi Fan doesn't mind letting Dasha change the sky. Yi Fan once again pressed Chu Feng, originally wanting to ask Chu Feng for information about the person behind Zhang Golao from Chu Feng's mouth. But Chu Feng did seem to not know, bleeding from all seven orifices. And in the end, the mental pressure seemed to be too great, and the whole person directly collapsed and fainted to death, and did not explain any other useful information. However, Knowing from Chu Feng that Pavilion Master Zhang was one of the big fish, this information was already enough. Since Zhang Galao had shown his head, then Yi Fan would not keep him for the new year. The important clues have been opened, so start along with Zhang Galao, and none of those big fish in the back will be able to escape. Kill them all. Yi Fan instructed the four great maids around him to deal with Chu Feng's stunned men, while Yi Fan walked over to the Black Clothes Society Captain Mudo, and similarly utilized the Seven Star Soul Destruction Hand to torture the Eastern Ing dogs about their plans. Not tortured yet do not know. Once tortured actually found that the Easting dog in Dasha alert five such powerful forces, and the purpose is to assassinate Dasha's senior officials, attack Dasha's geniuses and important people, create chaos. Yi Fan couldn't help but think of Yu Linglong in the first instance, his own first wife, charging the first front line in the southeast. Her strength was only at the peak of the Zongshur. If she encountered these eastern war teams, she was afraid that she would still be in trouble. Gotta find a way to remind her. It would be best to find a way to help Yu Linglong improve her strength. The fastest way for Yu Fan to help improve his strength is to have intimate contact with Yu Linglong and let his warmth flow back to Yu Linglong. Inside the Yi family's secret room, Yi Changfeng retreated all the people to the secret room. This terrifyingly uninformed Longfeng and the others were anxious. Elder Yi, what do you mean by leaving the young master and the four great maids outside? The young master hasn't awakened yet? Yes, Elder Yi, the young master is the last soul seedling of the Yi family. Nothing can happen to him. These direct lineage forces of the Yi family were genuinely worried about Yi Fan's safety. In fact, not only them, even Yi Changfeng himself, was very worried. If he hadn't seen Yi Fan's arrangement, Yi Changfeng wouldn't have categorically let Yi Fan face those people outside alone. Wandering Souls Neo Air and the others were slightly more at ease because they had monitored Yi Fan's strength in advance. Then, when he associated it with the fact that Elder Yi had now brought so many people into the secret room, Neo Air instantly figured it out. The young lord was playing dumb and then wanted to do it himself, but didn't want to expose his strength, so he deliberately let the people withdraw in order to just create an opportunity for him to do it himself? Thinking about this, Nyo Air hurriedly spoke, Don't worry everyone, we, the traveling souls, have other experts sitting outside, the strength may all reach the martial emperor level, we won't let anything happen to young lord, besides, you guys have to believe in Xiaoya's strength, before Xiaoya's car accident. Xiao Yi was such a demonic genius that he had already reached the strength of the zone master level. It's been five years. Maybe Xiao Ye's strength has already gotten a breakthrough? Didn't Divine Dr. Lei say that Xiao Yi will soon awaken as well? So maybe if Xiao Yi participates in more battles, he can awaken even faster, right? Niu Air suddenly opened his mouth, immediately easing Yi Changfeng's embarrassment. Lei Qian Jie, who was beside Yi Changfeng, also hurriedly responded. Right, right, right. Yi Xiao's situation. According to the old man's speculation, his strength in terms of martial arts should have recovered. Yi Lao and Yi Fan is outside. Also want to take this opportunity to test Yi Xiao. Moreover, there are still experts of the wandering soul sitting outside. It will be fine. A few people sang along and rounded things out though. However, Leng Feng and the others always felt that something was strange. Although the people were in the underground chamber, Yi Fan had heard clearly about the conversation in the underground chamber after ending the battle. With Nyo Air interjecting like this, Saying that it was the people of the traveling soul who had taken care of Chu Feng's assassination warriors. It was also just the right time to keep things under wraps. 
After the four great maids outside had pretty much cleaned up the battlefield, Yi Fan knocked on the door of the secret room and reverted to his demented state. So many people died. What a powerful old man. Yi Fan displayed a shocked look in front of the crowd. However, while speaking, his eyes were directed towards Nyoji. That deep, sharp gaze, where does it look like dementia? The young lord is really high. After holding back for so many years, to strike now with strength at the martial emperor level, it was clearly the young master who had killed Chu Feng's group, but he was looking for someone to take the blame, making it convenient for the young master to continue to play the fool and pretend to be a pig eating a tiger. Ah, right, it should be our wandering soul's elder Wu who made a move. I told you, these trash, can't threaten the Yi family. The crowd came out of the secret room and surveyed the Yi family compound. Aside from the smell of blood still permeating the air, everything was normal here, and it seemed as if Chu Feng and the others had not even been here. The arrogant way that Chu Feng wanted to wipe out the entire Yi family before, if Chu Feng and the others had not died, then it would have been impossible for Yi Fan to stand here so peacefully. Was it really the expert of the traveling soul who got Chu Feng and the others killed? But why are they avoiding these witnesses from the Yi family? Although the Yi family's direct lineage forces were puzzled in their hearts, but now that the situation was like this, everyone had the good sense not to ask more questions. It was just that the gazes of the people looking at Yi Fan were filled with some curious looks. Perhaps, this young master, was already a little different from before. Nyo Air had come today to pay his respects to Yi Fan. Now that the Yi family's crisis has been lifted, Nyo Air bowed towards Yi Lao and said, Yi Lao, I would like to talk to Yi Xiao alone for a couple of moments. Yi Lao, look, at this, Yi Changfeng glanced towards Yi Fan. Follow me. Yi Changfeng brought Nyo Air and Yi Fan into the secret room once again. After the door of the room was closed, Nyo Air respectfully knelt down directly to Yi Fan. My subordinate, captain of the 38th team of the Wandering Soul. Nyo Air pays his respects to the young lord. Please atone for your sins. It has taken us so long to ascertain the existence of the young lord. Captain Nyo, what's going on here? Our Yi family and the traveling souls usually don't have much interaction. So how come you guys are addressing Yi Fan as young master? Is there some misunderstanding in between? Yi Changfeng saw that Yi Fan didn't open his mouth. So he raised the question in his heart. Yi old man, this is a token that the master gave us before he left. Saying that the young master will naturally believe it when he sees this. As Nyo Air spoke, he pulled out a jade pendant remnant from his body and handed it to Yi Changfeng. Seeing that jade pendant remnant, Yi Changfeng's face changed. Xiao Xu's jade pendant remnant? How come it's in your hands? While Yi Changfeng was shocked, he pulled out the other half of the remnants of the jade pendant from his body. And the two remnants came together with just the right amount of tightness to form a completed jade pendant. I don't know the specifics. The master gave this to us when he saw us for the last time and told us to make sure to pass on the wandering soul to the young master. Yi Changfeng nodded and turned his head towards Yi Fan. Little Fan, this is true, it is indeed your mother's arrangement. It seems that in addition to these forces of the Yi family, your mother has also arranged other backhanders. Only after receiving his grandfather's affirmative reply did Yi Fan faintly speak. Get up, the powerful force that was the wandering soul. Yi Fan had heard of it before, now on his side. In addition to the mysterious celestial pavilion inherited from the dragon mark ring, he had another big helping hand, then one would have a little more confidence in dealing with those enemies of the Yi family. The matter of my awakening is not known by many people at the moment, and you count as one of them. For the sake of my subsequent plan arrangement, it cannot be exposed for the time being, understand? Although Nyo Air had mostly understood his plan, Yi Fan still urged once again, yes, my subordinate will definitely keep it strictly confidential. If the young lord has anything that is not convenient for the Yi family to come out, he can leave it to us. Our dean said that young master can completely trust the wandering soul. Nyo Air responded respectfully. The dean has pretty much taken care of things over in Shangjing, and will personally come to pay a visit to the young lord in a few days. So when it is convenient for the young lord to do so, he will complete the handover ceremony. This is not urgent, but when it comes to things to do, there is indeed one thing that needs to be done by you all. I found out about someone when I was interrogating Chu Feng. As Yi Fan spoke, he turned his head to look at his grandfather. Behind Chu Feng is Zhang Gala, who is responsible for the military affairs in the northwest. Big Brother's fall was a direct strike by them, but it was deduced from Chu Feng's words that behind Zhang Gala, there is another person who is instructing them to act. I suspect that there is a shadow of the royal family behind Pavilion Master Zhang. In this matter, you wandering souls go and start investigating, and have a definite result as soon as possible. Yi Changfeng let out a long sigh. It's really him, alas. In fact, it is not important to investigate or not. The entire Disya power high level there are only so many people. Who wants to make a move against my Yi family? In fact, everyone is clear. 
It's just that I didn't expect them to do it so absolutely and so stealthily. In one night, they actually beheaded all ten core children of my Yi family. Yi Chongfing's eyes were red. They really don't miss old feelings at all. Originally, the old man was going to resign himself to his fate. But now, we, the two of us masters, are joining forces to make them pay for their blood debts. Yes, the traveling soul will do whatever it takes to fully support the young lord. But to deal with pavilion master Zhang, we still need to plan step by step. Currently, their nails in Cloud City have been pretty much pulled out. Next, we have to destroy all of their arrangements in Tiannan province, so that after they have no more power to take action against Qingxue, Linglong, and these girls, we'll then go all out on their main camp. Yi Fan also agreed with his grandfather's proposal. The seven sister-in-laws have made so many sacrifices for the Yi family. I will use all the power I can muster to build their family into a top-tier Disya powerhouse. But externally, I'm still the same fool. There are many things that you just know in your heart. Grandpa, when the few people came out of the secret room, Yi Fan once again reverted to that demented state. The day has been late. Sui Shui Company things also dealt with poor not. The heart has been thinking of Yi Fan, personally drove over to pick up Yi Fan home. Little Fan, thank you. In the car, Sui Shui drove while looking at Yi Fan with a face full of gratitude. Today, the Su family encountered the situation. If not Yi Fan's side has so well thought out arrangements, I really do not know what will become of the Su family. It is estimated that it may really be a few million to be acquired by the Li family. Yi Shui wife, you are my wife ah, are going to give me a big fat boy? No need to thank between us. Yi Fan looked at the absolutely beautiful beauty beside him, and his heart was also a burst of waner. Such a superb girl, choosing to marry herself at the most difficult time for the Yi family. Those enemies of the Yi family must all be cleaned up, and these girls must be guarded in order to be able to afford their emotions towards them ah. Xiao Fan, you have awakened? Are you alright? Sui Shui heard Yi Fan's words. Her logic was clear and she looked at Yi Fan with a face full of anticipation. Wife, what are you talking about? Yi Fan knew that Sui Shui very much wanted to confirm his state, but right now Yi Fan's state had already exposed a lot of people. If he continued to be exposed, then Yi Fan's plan behind him would not be able to be executed. Therefore, Yi Fan still planned to continue hiding it from Sui Shui. Moreover, another important aspect was that Yi Fan hadn't figured out how to face Sui Shui, these sister-in-laws, yet, if he is now awakened. Will the other six wives marry him or not? Chu Feng had brought so many powerful people to attack the Yi family in Cloud City, and had even united those martial arts powerhouses from the Eastern Ing. Though the plan of action is secret, when for those who are interested, the eye is always on this side. Northwest, somewhere in the compound, Zhang Gulao tapped his fingers on the desktop with some uneasiness, looking at the gradually darkening sky, his brows tightly locked. What's going on? There is still no news from Cloud City? Chu Feng, as his personally trained right-hand man, whose strength was already above the martial zoom level, led the team to deal with a Yi family that was about to collapse. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And, whether it succeeds or fails, it's almost a day old now, so there should be news. Two, right? Pavilion Elder. There is still no news. Moreover, Captain Chu Feng we also can't contact. The secret agents we sent out. I don't know what's going on, but they've all lost contact as well. The assistant beside Pavilion Elder Zhang. Looking at the news that kept coming back on the tablet, was in his heart having some panic. In order to deal with the Yi family, they had planted three vassal families. The Li family, the Wang family, and the Zhao family, in Cloud City. And they had also set up a very large number of undercover agents. The Zhao, Wang, and Li families had been inexplicably wiped out. And that's not to mention. But now it was that those hidden spies they had set up, one was exposed and one immediately disappeared. None of them could be contacted. The last news that came in was still in the afternoon, and they reported that they saw Captain Chu Feng arranging for people to enter the Yi family compound, but at the same time they saw experts from the Wandering Souls go to the Yi family compound. What? The Wandering Souls have also interfered in the Yi family's affairs? Aren't they staying neutral? Damn. It's going to be bad. Zhang Gulao's face immediately changed when he heard that the Traveling Souls had also entered the Yi family compound. Sure enough, the next moment, news finally came from Cloud City side. Pavilion Elder. Assistant's voice is trembling. Cloud City has news. Captain Chu Feng and all his men are completely wiped out. It is said to be the Wandering Souls Elder Wu made a move. The experts at the level of the Martial Emperor. All exterminated. None of them live still. Ah, shit. Zhang Dalao angrily swept the teacup on the table to the ground and angrily chided. Those bastards from the Traveling Soul. What do they want to do? Rely on. What means did the Yi family actually use? Actually invited the Wandering Souls to make a move? Trouble. If he couldn't get the Yi family killed this time, 
He was afraid that it would be troublesome if he wanted to completely get the Yi family killed later on. Zhang Gala was very annoyed. Moreover, what Zhang Gala was even more worried about was that all the people Chu Feng had brought with him had all been wiped out. Did they actually die so cleanly? Even if the wandering souls people made a move, wouldn't Chu Feng know to arrange some people outside to countermeasure? Nearly hundreds of strongmen, so many sovereign masters, and not a single one of them came out alive? That's not normal. Moreover, although Chu Feng was indeed loyal enough, if Chu Feng once loosened his tongue and exposed himself behind him, then his own identity would be exposed, and the ones involved would be the real bigwigs behind him, and the entire De Xia would have to be shaken off. If it really caused the Yi family to fully counterattack and the Tianlong army all started to get restless, the scene would be out of control. What now? The assistant was also a bit flustered. The wandering soul siding to the Yi family's side was a very strong signal. The Kyushu group had already stood over, along with the influence of the traveling soul, and Lei Qianjian mediating from there. Then, many of the original forces that didn't see the Yi family would probably stand up for the Yi family. Continue to make a move. Immediately arrange for a few other families in the provincial city to fully suppress the Su group. Must not let the Yi family and the people around them get better. If they get better, we won't get better. Zhang Dalao's expression was a bit unsettled. In addition, arrange for our people to fully test Yi Fan. I want to be clear. That fool, to the ground is really a fool. Or is he pretending to be a fool? Zhang Dalao always felt that something was wrong. So many things had happened to the Yi family lately. But all of them, in the end, were handled very properly and in the Yi family's favor. Behind the scenes, there seemed to be a pair of big invisible hands manipulating everything. And still, the owner of those big hands is very wise and thoughtful. These, it was not like Yi Changfeng could arrange. But if it wasn't Yi Changfeng, who could it be? After a series of orders were given one after another, the entire southwest region, it seemed, began to boil. All those clans and forces associated with Pavilion Master Zhang had been ordered to surround the Su clan on all fronts and suppress those seven granddaughter-in-law clans of the Yi clan. It's no longer a secret fight. It's now out in the open. If Cabinet Master Zhang and the others didn't make some moves, they were going to be in a very passive position. After waving his assistant out of the room, Zhang Dalao took out a worn-out cell phone and dialed an encrypted number. Boss, the situation has changed a bit now. My assistant, who was dealing with the Yi family in Cloud City, was taken out by the people from the wandering souls. The news was blocked for an afternoon, and we only got the news at this moment. What's a wandering spirit doing here? Didn't we agree before that the Yi family had all been greatly injured, leaving a fool and an old thing to be left alone? Why did you guys suddenly start acting again? The person on the other end of the phone was also a bit surprised and annoyed to hear the traveling soul intervene. Boss, the situation is more complicated than we thought. Although the Yi family has suffered a great deal of vitality, it has recently shown signs of recovery. That foolish young master of the Yi family, he must also perish, or else he will always be a scourge. Please decide. Boss, I know. I'll think about it. You guys had better be quiet lately. Don't make too many small moves. Southwest side. The situation is very complicated lately. One can't get it right. Involve yourself in it, and die without knowing how you died. Also, Chu Feng's matter. You will wipe your own tail clean. Otherwise, if something really happens, even I can't protect you. Yes. In addition to Pavilion Master Zhang who was concerned about what was going on in Cloud City, Huadu in Tiannan Province, the Lu Ran family, and Lu Zijian were all concerned about what was going on in Cloud City. After getting the news from Cloud City, the two great lords had almost the same reaction. What? Captain Chu Feng was actually killed by the people of the Traveling Soul? Not a single survivor? Crap! Yi family so lucky? It was actually able to invite the people of the Traveling Soul to take action? Especially Lu Zijian. His eldest son Lu Qingyang died in Yi Fan's hands. Lu Zijian was still counting on Chu Feng to bring his men, so he could finish off Yi Fan's entire family and avenge his son's death. But now that Captain Chu Feng himself had hung up, what the hell was there to avenge? According to Lu Zijian's information, the bastard son that he had been the least optimistic about before seemed to be raising funds, and it seemed that he was planning to make a move against the Lu family and take it down completely. The Yi family's life is really good. The wandering spirit has struck. We're in a bit of trouble. With the support of the Yi family, if the Lu family did not receive the support of the other forces on Xu Feng's side, the Lu family would simply not be able to carry on Lu Maoyang's blow to the Lu family. Lu family, Lu Ran was also in mourning after learning the news. Nuts, a broken Yi family, how can it be so troublesome to deal with? Zhao family, Wang family, Li family all planted. Lu Ran's eyes flashed a touch of depth, turned to look at his son Lu Hao beside him and said, Hower, tomorrow you go to a trip to Yun City, use some other means. Pay attention not to directly conflict with the Yi family. It wasn't that Lu Ran wanted to make a move against the Yi family. 
but the Zhao and Li families, and after the Wang family's demise, the Yi family could quickly investigate that the three great families were behind the Lu Ran family. If the Yi family was allowed to slow down, they would definitely make a full-scale move against the Lu Ran family. Taking advantage of the fact that both the Yi family are now and the Su family are still in the stage of powering up, it is better to strike first. Yes, Lu Hao answered. I remember. It seems that the Lu family and the Su family signed a contract before, but at that time, because of the Yi family, we never executed that contract, but now it might come in handy. After his son's reminder, Lu Ren could not help but see a light in front of his eyes. It is indeed a good means, but you have to be careful yourself. Lu Qingyang has Su Jian and Su Dong father and son in his hands to leave the contract behind, and all of them did not get the favor. Xia Hao and Guo Li, Wang Fu Gui these people, are not vegetarian. No, Lu Hao's eyes flashed with a touch of depth. In Lu Hao's heart, he still despised Ji Fan and Su Yi Shui. How much more can a fool, and a small family from Cloud City only, make waves? As long as you don't mess with the behemoths of the wandering souls, you won't have much of a problem. Cloud City, Su's villa, after a night of tossing and turning, Su Shui was all limp in Yi Fan's arms, her eyes looking at Yi Fan in a daze. In his heart, he was also curious. Wasn't Yi Fan still in a state of dementia? Why was his energy so good? The key was that the kind of warm feedback obtained after every intimate contact with Yi Fan allowed Su Shui to obtain very many benefits in just a few days. His own physical qualities had become stronger, and Su Shui herself possessed the strength of a martial Dao harmonization power level. If this continued, Su Shui an ordinary person who didn't cultivate, was afraid that she would become a Zongshi level powerhouse. Yi Fan also noticed the change in Su Shui's body qi. With Su Shui in his arms, Yi Fan also began to think in his heart that he should find someone whose martial arts kung fu was still good and give Su Shui some pointers. And Captain Bull 2 of the Wandering Soul seems like a good candidate. Although Su Shui was tossed around all limp at night. The next day, just as the day dawned, Su Shui woke up very early. Su Shui had planned to get up quietly on her own. But just as soon as she moved, Yi Fan opened his eyes and stared at Sui Shui, all looking at Sui Shui a little embarrassed. Fan, you're awake? I have something to do in the company today. Is it okay for you to play alone at home? Sui Shui really wanted to accompany Yi Fan, but there was no way that the company had too many things to do. And now that she already had the snow face beauty cream given by Lei Qin Jie, along with the channel support from the Xia family, Su's group was a great opportunity to develop. Ish Yue's wife. I'm going to join you. What are you going to be busy with? Yi Fan's current plan was to support and grow Su's group before anything else, and Yi Fan would do his best to help with any troubles Su's group had. Su Shui let out a long sigh as she dressed. Alas, hasn't Su's group now announced to the public the miraculous effects of the Snow Face Beauty Cream? It has also gotten so many orders, but now there's still one more trouble. That is, if we want to officially start producing the ointment, we still need to get the production license from the Pharmaceutical Association. But Yu Chang, the president of the Southwest Pharmaceutical Association, won't give face to anyone, and it's useless for Dr. Lation to step in. The only thing he likes is some antique paintings and calligraphy. I'm going to go to an antique street to buy two pairs of paintings and calligraphy, then visit Yu Chang to see if I can pass the Su Group's production license as soon as possible. This production license quota is very tight. In the entire Southwest region, there is said to be only one quota this year, and our Su Group's rival, the Jean family is also actively fighting for this quota. If the quota is snatched away by them, our Su group will be in big trouble. So many orders, can't be delivered on time. Just the liquidated damages. It's not a small amount. Su Shui didn't care if Yi Fan could understand, and recounted everything to Yi Fan. Yu Chang, president of the Southwest Pharmaceutical Association? Yi Fan felt somewhat familiar when he heard this name. After a quick thought in his head, he immediately remembered that Yu Chang's name was on the list of core members of the Tianji Pavilion in the Dragon Ring. Yu Chang was ostensibly the president of the Southwest Medicine Association, but in reality, he was the head of the assassination hall of the Tianji Pavilion, with high strength. According to the instructions in the Dragon Mark Ring, ever since the accident of the old pavilion master of Tianji Pavilion, Tianji Pavilion had been in a semi-silent state. For the sake of Su's group, Yi Fan had informed Pang Hai before, then this time, Taking the opportunity to deliver the ancient painting, you can also point out Yu Chang. After all, right now, Yi Fan needed more helpers as he had to fight those real culprits who were dealing with the Yi family. I also want to follow along. I like those antique paintings and calligraphy the most. Issue a wife. I am very good at choosing. Take me along. Okay? Yi Fan's eyes followed some peculiar changes after activating the dragon ring at that time. Having activated a function similar to the magic pupil, Although it was a bit of an exaggeration to say that he could see through, 
Yi Fan could see things that other people couldn't see as long as he ran his chi towards the area around his eyes. The last time he and Wang Fugue went to the Cloud City underground trading market, it was by utilizing the special ability of his eyes that he discovered the Yuan Chi Dan wrapped in that stone. Well, since you want to follow along, I'll take you along, but you have to be obedient. Don't run around. Understand? Sui Shui looked deeply at Yi Fan. Dr. Lei Shen also said that Yi Fan's current situation is to be accompanied more. Go to more places that Yi Fan was familiar with before. Perhaps it could stimulate Yi Fan to awaken as soon as possible. Previously, Yi Fan and Wang Fugui's favorite place to go was the Antique Street. Perhaps, after going to those places, Yi Fan would be able to recall something and recover a little memory. The Antique Street in Cloud City was relatively famous in the whole of Dasha. It's huge and full of goodies. Although it was only about 9 in the morning, the Antique Street was already crowded. Wan Bao Pavilion, a separate nine-story building, was decorated in gold and blue, a little different from the surrounding buildings. Sui Shui brought Yi Fan and came straight here. Since he was going to visit Yu Chang, it was natural to send good things. However, before entering the building, Yi Fan's eyes suddenly noticed that next to him, on a small antique store, two middle-aged men were furtively holding a pair of paintings and seemed to be peddling them to the owner again. At the martial emperor level of processing, Yi Fan could clearly perceive all the movements within the surrounding 500 meters. Yi Fan's eyes only stared, and he detected the ancient aura fluctuating on that scroll. That old painting is a good one. Hello? I'm looking for your shopkeeper Wu. I want to buy two good things from him. Can you convey this for me? Sui Shui was familiar with the shopkeeper of Wanbao Pavilion before, and contacted shopkeeper Wu before she came. The receptionist lady should have also received the greeting from the shopkeeper. Seeing Sui Shui's arrival, she warmly greeted, Mr. Su, shopkeeper Wu explained that if you come, he will directly take you to the inner room. Please follow me. Yes, Sui Shui greeted Yi Fan, and then she planned to follow the receptionist lady into the inner room. But at this time, Yi Fan's sharp hearing has clearly heard, next door to that store, those two men, actually intends to $1,000 will be sold that scroll. According to Yi Fan's judgment, that scroll was worth at least $10 million. It was sold for $1,000. If he went over there, wouldn't he be able to pick up a few things? Thinking of this, Yi Fan said towards Sui Shui, Yi Shui wife, you go in first, I'll go to the restroom and come over to you, okay? This, Sui Shui is a little hesitant. In her impression, Yi Fan is still in a demented state. If he is lost, now so many people are staring at Yi Fan, something happens, Sui Shui can't afford it ah. Don't worry wife, I won't run around, and I've grown up so there won't be any problems. Yi Fan stared searingly at Sui Shui. Sui Shui pondered slightly for a while. Judging from Yi Fan's performance in the past few days, Yi Fan's IQ seemed to have recovered quite a bit. Anyway, it was just inside the Wanbao Pavilion, so nothing should happen, right? All right then. Sui Shui saw that the receptionist was still waiting for her, and she was too embarrassed to keep people waiting for too long. If there's anything, be sure to call me. Ha! Huh? Sui Shui followed the receptionist lady in but also did not forget to give the other receptionist at the front desk to urge. Beauty, trouble you to help me to keep an eye on my husband. He intellectually a little. Miss Su, don't worry about going. Nothing will happen in the Wanbao Pavilion. After Sui Shui followed the receptionist lady into the inner room, Yi Fan quickly walked towards the location of the restroom. And after turning the corner, with an instantaneous movement, the person had already arrived in front of the store next to the Wanbao Pavilion. And at this time, the store owner is trading with the two men. We can say in advance, $1,000, one hand to pay, one hand to deliver, overhand cannot be regretted. Ma San, the store owner, held back his inner excitement, even though he couldn't decide whether the painting was real or fake, but even if it's a fake, it's also a better imitation of that kind. A thousand dollars to collect, turn around if you meet the wrongdoer, at least you can pit a few tens of thousands of dollars is not much of a problem. Yi Fan was on the side, holding his cell phone, quietly recording the scene. The two men got a thousand dollars and quickly left the scene, leaving with their mouths still muttering, this single earns good, numb nuts, fifty dollars received from an old lady's hand, turned around and sold a thousand dollars, no loss, ha ha, that's a black heart, Yi Fan sighed, since they were all black hearted guys, there was nothing to feel guilty about Yi Fan's later actions, just after the two men left, store owner Ma San couldn't wait to open the scroll and scrutinize it again, this scroll, it looks like the brush is strong and powerful, the lines are clear, and the meaning is profound. Signed by Wu Daozi, it is a fierce tiger going down the mountain. In all aspects, it's just that the color of the scroll is so worn that it doesn't really sell. 
It's a pity that the craftsman who highly imitated this scroll was too eager to make the scroll too old, but it's not bad at all. Ma San lifted the scroll up, so he was ready to hang it in a conspicuous place in the store. When you meet someone who doesn't know what they're doing, with the power of the scroll's brush, it's not a bad idea to pitch yourself against them anyway. Boss, this painting, $1,500, I'll take it. Before Ma San could turn around, Yi Fan had already dashed to the entrance of the store and smiled at Ma San. Ma San froze. $1,500? This youth in front of me has a very sharp eye ah. His own $1,000 collected. This guy will add $500 of hard work? Handsome. You're kidding. This is Wu Daozi's real work. I spent a million dollars to get it with great difficulty. If you don't buy it, don't mess it up. Ma San said in a serious manner. As if he really spent a million dollars. If you are sincere to buy, I also give you a sincere price. 300000 I'll cut it off. Ma San spoke with an air of heartache while his eyes were fixed on Yi Fan, observing the change in Yi Fan's expression. The business of antiquing is supposed to be in the eye of the beholder. All the antique bosses, who are not good in other aspects, but in terms of reading people, they are absolutely all human beings. A word to say, test your expression change, if you are rich and powerful, not too much shocked jaw for 300, 000, then the boss may not sell you below this price. It was a pity that Ma San had met Yi Fan. Yi Fan had recorded all of Ma San's transactions just now. So how could he have been punked by Ma San? Boss, the heart can't be too black. Take a little bit of hard work and get over it. Boss might as well watch something first. As Yi Fan spoke, he smiled as he stepped forward and opened the video he had just recorded in his cell phone. Inside was a clear record of the transaction process between Ma San and those two men. The price. You. Ma San's eyes flashed with a flash of sharpness. Searingly staring at Yi Fan, what do you want? Ma San usually didn't have a good reputation on this street and was known to be dark, although Ma San had always wanted to change his image. Every time he came across something good, Ma San still instinctively wanted to hack others a little more, and there hadn't been much business lately. If this video in Yi Fan's hand was exposed, then Ma San basically didn't need to do business in Cloud City. I just said, I came to buy the painting for $1,500, you take $500 for the hard work, you're not at a disadvantage. Yi Fan knew the true value of this painting. Not to mention one million dollars, even ten million dollars was not bad, but Ma San was too dark, and Yi Fan came here to teach Ma San a lesson. You, counted on you to be ruthless. Ma San fiercely glared at Yi Fan, at this time behind Ma San, as well as gathered a few bare-chested strong men, looking at Yi Fan with unfriendly eyes. But at this moment, because Ma San was displaying this scroll, quite a few onlookers had gathered around. Everyone is here to see the fun, the antique market, everyone's favorite is a place where they hope to pick up the pieces themselves, or it's fun to watch someone else pick up the pieces, $10,000, you take the painting, and we won't say anymore, Ma San had wanted his men to make a move and drive Yi Fan away, but with so many people here, Ma San still had to be concerned about the impact, so he could only hold back his patience to bargain with Yi Fan, $1,500, you can consider it for 10 seconds, nowadays, technology is so advanced, if it is exposed, your loss will be more than so many tens of thousands of dollars. Yi Fan looked as if he was eating Ma San, making Ma San very upset. But again, he had to admit that Yi Fan was right. If Yi Fan posted the video online and it festered a little, then Ma San's store could just close down. You, kid, you are deliberately looking for trouble, is not it? The boss behind me is Wu Old Wolf. You'd better think clearly. To buy the painting, give 10, 000 dollars, take the painting and go away otherwise tearing up the face, to everyone who is not good. Ma San approached Yi Fan and chided in a low voice. Old Wolf Wu, Yi Fan was stunned. Originally, when he took a shot at Ma San like this, Yi Fan was still slightly overjoyed in his heart. But when he heard that behind Ma San was actually Old Wolf Wu, he was immediately relieved. Old Wolf Wu was the guy who almost killed Su Ishiwa's wife. Not a good thing. Moreover, Old Wolf Wu had already been cleaned up by Xia Hao and Li Hu and the fierce tiger hall had already been disbanded, and Ma San was actually using old Wolf Wu's name to flaunt his power? You can try, I'll count down to three, three, two, one. Yi Fan didn't have the slightest intention of giving in and directly started counting down. Such a strong Yi Fan made Ma San go crazy. The youth in front of him, Ma San always felt somewhat familiar, but momentarily forgot where he had seen him. As Yi Fan's last count came out, Ma San clenched his teeth fiercely. Good, count you hard, you win. Yi Fan dared to bet, but Ma San didn't dare to. Ma San coldly shoved the speech scroll into Yi Fan's arms. Take the money. Yi Fan smiled faintly and pulled out 15 red tickets from his body, handing them to Ma San. Do business in the future and be conscientious. 
I'll remember you. Kid, you better watch where you're walking. Masan took the money in his hand and angrily walked towards the inside of the store. Originally intended to use the scroll to make a hard profit, the result was revealed on the spot. Only tearfully earned 500. Alas, Masan threatened Ji Fan, and before Yi Fan could say anything, a girl's pouting voice suddenly came from the crowd. Handsome guy, can you sell me this painting? I'll offer 8 million dollars. Hiss. The young girl's words instantly caused the crowd at the scene to suck in a breath of cool air. The scroll you just bought for $1,500, and you're offering $8 million for it? These two aren't here as a double act, are they? The crowd turned their heads toward the young girl. The young girl was wearing a long green dress, with a yellow belt tied around her waist, binding her small waist in plain sight, and her exquisite curves, showing incomparable charm. It's Ren Shuiying, the daughter of the Ren family in the provincial city? It is said that Miss Ren is also a master of antiques. Ah, she can offer $8 million. There must be her reason. Could it be that we have really witnessed a heavenly leak today? Ma San, who had just walked to the entrance of the store, couldn't help but stagger his body when he heard the price of $8 million. Stopping his body, he turned around to see Rin Shuiying, then spoke with some bewilderment. Beauty, you're not kidding, right? If this painting is really worth $8 million, you're a huge douchebag yourself. Skybreaker's riches were already in his hands. And then that kid snatched them away from him the hard way? Boss, do I look like I'm joking? Ren Shuiying spoke faintly, turning her head to look towards Yi Fan once again. And at this time, Yi Fan, ignoring Ren Shuiying, took out a bottle of mineral water and splashed it against the surface of the scroll. Wow, the people present were directly stunned. Boy, what are you doing? Right, that pretty girl just now already offered $8 million. Aren't you ruining the painting? Ugh, the crowd sighed, but only Ren Shuiying, Seeing Yi Fan's movements, could not help but see a bright light emerge in her eyes. Looks like I've met a connoisseur today. Handsome guy, how about I offer 10 million dollars? Ren Shuiying actually raised the price by 2 million dollars again. Such an action that the crowd was completely confused. Obviously, Ren Shuiying had seen something, or else as a huge extended family in the provincial city of Huadu, Ren Shuiying would not have been able to raise the price so unjustifiably. Fizzle, Yi Fan still didn't open his mouth. And when the water luster had almost moistened the scroll, there was a fluctuation in his chi, and he reached out and grabbed a corner of the scroll, then tore it with force, in the crowd's shocked gaze, it actually tore off a layer of film on the surface of the scroll, as if it was a layer of adhesive paper covering the scroll, and as the layer of film was torn off, the real picture scroll inside was immediately revealed, the color is bright, the strokes are clear, and the lines are clearer, Wu Daozi's seals are all clearer, set painting, I know, it's the legendary set painting. This outer layer is the sheepskin protective film, and the inner one is the real one. Oh my god. This is actually Wu Daozi's real handwriting. We've got a great deal. Not to mention 10 million dollars, even 20 million dollars. Handsome, how about I offer 15 million dollars to sell me this painting? A cash deal. I'll offer 18 million dollars. The crowd at the scene instantly exploded. This is indeed too powerful. A painting bought for $1,500 is turned around and someone else offers $20 million for it. That's a 10. 000 fold windfall. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched, and the moment the film was torn apart, the flowing ancient aura in the scroll was all absorbed by Yi Fan under the pull of his chi. Yi Fan could clearly feel that as that ancient aura was absorbed into his dantian, the dantian stretched out, and the dancing flame seemed to flourish for a few moments, and the flames all became brighter. It seemed as if the ancient aura of the scroll was as much sustenance and firewood for the fire as it was nourishment for that mysterious payload in his own body. For Yi Fan, no matter if it was $20 million or $200 million, although the money was indeed quite a lot, but for Yi Fan, it was just a number. Behind Yi Fan was the Yi Group, the Wandering Soul Organization, and the Tianji Pavilion that hadn't been fully disclosed. If Yi Fan wanted money, he could shake a country by moving a finger. The main reason why Yi Fan had the painting on his mind was because Yi Fan needed the ancient aura from the scroll. Now that the ancient aura in the scroll had all been absorbed by Yi Fan, the scroll didn't really mean much to Yi Fan anymore. However, for Ma San, losing $20 million on a scroll would be worse than killing him. Ma San was dazed in the doorway for several seconds, and finally reacted at this time, walking quickly to Yi Fan's side, grabbing Yi Fan's arm and saying, Give me back the painting. I'm not selling it. As he spoke, Ma San reached out and tried to grab the scroll back. Yi Fan's body flashed as he coldly said, Boss, you're robbing me? What do you mean? The scrolls have obviously been sold, and you still want to rob them back. I'm afraid it's unlikely. Kid, don't be ungrateful. How dare you grab food from a tiger's mouth? In Yun City, there are not many people who dare to grab good things from me. 
Ma San, Ma San stared coldly at Yi Fan as he continued to speak. Kid, you'd better obediently return the scroll to me, or I'll make your life worse than death. As Ma San's words grew gloomy, several strong men behind him surrounded towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan's mouth twitched. Boss, you're afraid that you haven't gotten the situation right, right? Let's not talk about other things first. The big brother behind you, old Wolf Wu is dead. You wouldn't be unaware of that, would you? Moreover, I can tell you that he was killed by me. Do you want to go down to accompany him? As Yi Fan spoke, a strong murderous aura stirred out from his body, instantly causing Ma San's heart to tremble violently. He naturally knew that something had happened to old Wolf Wu. Only, people at his level only knew that old Wolf Wu seemed to have offended young Master Yi as well as the Su clan, so he was cleaned up. It was unclear what exactly was going on. Being reminded by Yi Fan, Ma San once again took a serious look at Yi Fan and seemed to remember who Yi Fan was? ISNT this. That fool from the Yi family? Why was Yi Fan not stupid at all at this time? What the hell is going on here? Handsome, how about selling me this painting for 30 million dollars? Ren Shuiying squeezed over from the crowd, both reached out and grabbed Yi Fan's arm, gently shaking it, the loftiness of her chest bumping against Yi Fan's arm, not caring in the slightest. My grandpa's going to have a birthday soon. I don't know what kind of gift I'm going to prepare for him. So handsome, you'll satisfy my heart's desire, okay? As Rin Shuiying's body shook, the neckline of her chest shook, the hem of her skirt all slipped halfway down her shoulders, and half of the whiteness of her chest was exposed. Although it was only a glimpse, Yi Fan could not help but have his pupils dilated for a while. The phoenix pattern? Below Rin Shuiying's collarbone, Yi Fan clearly saw a golden phoenix pattern flash by, and six years ago, when Yi Fan was carrying out a secret mission in the provincial city, he was almost attacked and died. And at that time, it happened to be a girl who saved herself. At that time, the night was very dark, and without seeing the girl's face, Yi Fan saw the golden phoenix tattoo on the girl's collar. After six years, he actually met the girl who saved his life again in Cloud City? What a coincidence of fate. If you save your life, you should return the favor. But he's got seven wives now, so maybe he won't come over. Since Rin Shuiying liked the scroll, let's give it to her. Beauty is really good at filial piety. In that case, this scroll will be given to you. While speaking, Yi Fan reached out and shoved the scroll in his hand into Ren Shuiying's hand. Ha! Ren Shuiying was all stunned. Handsome. Your. The surrounding crowd was also dumbfounded. Thirty million dollars of scrolls. Said to give it away? How dirt cheap is this? Not bad. And the most depressed is Ma San. His own treadmill to spend a million dollars want to buy back. Yi Fan did not agree. Turned around and gave someone else beauty? Is this a deliberate attempt to disgust yourself? Asshole. Ma San originally wanted to start cursing, but thinking of Yi Fan's identity, the words stopped at his mouth. Ma San greedily looked at the scroll in Rin Shuiying's hand, wanting to open his mouth and ask Rin Shuiying for it, but he didn't have the guts to do so either. Yi family and Rin family, any one of them, Ma San couldn't afford to mess with them Ah, The key was that the big brother behind himself had fallen, and it was indeed in Yi Fan's hands that old Wolf Wu had fallen, and although Ma San had eaten a heavenly mute, he didn't dare to have any complaints. Boss, just let it go, that's 30 million dollars? Ma San had already given up, but the few bodyguards around him were a bit puzzled. If we let them leave this place, we won't have a chance if we want to do it again? Bullshit, do you think we have a chance here? Do you know who they are? One is the only young master of the Yi family right now. The other is the two Rin family's daughter. Try touching one of their fingers? Ma San's eyes glanced towards the surroundings. Although on the surface, only Yi Fan and Rin Shuiying appeared by themselves. But secretly, he did not know how many strong people were secretly escorting them. Ma San watched as 30 million dollars slipped away from his eyes, but could do nothing about it. Ren Shuiying looked at the scroll in her hand, still surprised. Handsome guy, you really gave it to me just like that? This is 30 million dollars? Why? When Ren Shuiying looked at Yi Fan's appearance, she also felt somewhat familiar and kind. But for a moment, she couldn't recall exactly where she had seen Yi Fan. But opening her mouth and giving herself a 30 million dollar scroll made Rin Shuiying feel very overwhelmed. Right, it's for you. Because, you're a good person. You deserve a good reward. After saying that, Yi Fan turned around and intended to leave. He had left to leave for too long. If Sui Shui couldn't find himself, he was afraid that he would be anxious again. Good people have good rewards? Rin Shuiying listened to Yi Fan's words and pondered. Seeing that Yi Fan was about to leave, she hurriedly called out to Yi Fan. Handsome guy, wait a moment. While speaking, Ren Shuiying reached out and pulled off a jade pendant that was close to her chest, so she intended to hand it to Yi Fan. Beside Ren Shuiying, a young girl wearing jeans hurriedly spoke. Miss, you, have to think twice. This jade pendant is the old master this to you as a dowry. 
Ren Shuiying hesitated for a moment, but still continued to hand out the jade pendant. I don't like to owe others anything. This is a jade pendant from my family. It should be good too. Just give it to you. The words paused. Ren Shuiying said with a somewhat blushing face, If you're free next month, you're welcome to come to the Ren family to attend my grandfather's birthday banquet. After saying that, Ren Shuiying's face blushed to the back of her neck. Yi Fan took the jade pendant that Ren Shuiying handed to him. The jade pendant was still warm with Ren Shuiying's body temperature, and there was a trace of aroma on it, which was a bit charming. Looking at Ren Shuiying's shy appearance, Yi Fan couldn't help but think of that night six years ago again, under the cold winter, when he was almost killed. It was this young girl in front of him who used her own body to help warm her body. This friendship, Yi Fan always remembered in his heart. At that time, it was because he already had Xian Yufei. And now, with Xian Yufei and herself backing out of the marriage, and the seven sister-in-laws announcing their marriages to themselves, he had seven wives all of a sudden, and it didn't seem to have much of an impact if he had one more? Good, I will definitely come. Yi Fan looked deeply at Rin Shuiying, the girls who were kind to him. Yi Fan didn't want to let them down. And just as Yi Fan was about to withdraw his gaze, he suddenly discovered that Rin Shuiying actually had a few strands of black lines wrapped around her forehead, while there was also some blood red color in the middle. Aha, a bloodbath? Ren Shuiying this is being used by means. Recently the blood and light disaster haunting Ah, and it is still a very serious blood and light disaster. Yi Fan frowned, it would be fine if he hadn't encountered it himself, but since he had, he couldn't just sit back and do nothing. Yi Fan glanced at Ren Shuiying's wrist. On Ren Shuiying's wrist was wearing a bracelet. Beauty, show me your bracelet. While speaking, Yi Fan reached out and grabbed Ren Shuiying's wrist, removing the emerald green bracelet above it, his hand fluctuating with qi energy, quickly sealing several mysterious patterns on the bracelet. Within the last half a month, be sure to wear the bracelet all the time, and be sure not to get wet. It will keep you safe. This was a peace talisman seal. Yi Fan had comprehended the talisman seal in the dragon pattern direct. Yi Fan had tried it many times. This peace talisman seal had a very powerful effect. Before Yu Linglong left this time, Yi Fan had quietly engraved several talismans on Yu Linglong's personal belongings. As for Yu Linglong didn't know it, it was also best to hope that Yu Linglong wouldn't be able to use these talismans. Oh, good. Although Rin Shuiying didn't understand what Yi Fan was doing, but looking at Yi Fan's appearance, it seemed that he really cared about himself. Bye bye. Yi Fan took the jade pendant and quickly walked towards the Wanbao Pavilion, disappearing in front of Rin Shuiying in the blink of an eye. Ren Shuiying looked at Yi Fan's back as he left and frowned slightly, muttering as she left with her maid, Why do I feel that handsome guy just now is so familiar? It always feels like I've seen him somewhere. Cluck. Miss, you are moving to spring. Look at you. You even gave away your personal jade pendant. You know that jade pendant. You are wearing it in that place every day. Looking for a fight aren't you? Ren Shuiying's face burst with shyness, and while her mouth pouted, she suddenly felt that the place where she had just come into contact with Yi Fan's wrist actually had an additional warm current surging through her body. Warm currents? Noticing this, Rin Shuiying's pupils couldn't help but contract for a moment, immediately thinking of the teenager she had met six years ago. That night, when he had wrapped his arms around him, he had also received so many warm currents in his own body, allowing his martial chi to improve by leaps and bounds. Ha, huh? it's him. It's him from six years ago. Thinking about everything in it. Ren Shuiying couldn't help but pout excitedly. Fate is really too amazing. Xiao Chang. Immediately go and investigate clearly. What kind of person is that handsome guy just now? I want to know all his information. Yes, the maid next to her was clear about what happened to Miss six years ago. And Miss all these years. Never contacted any boys. Always looking for that teenager back then. Now that Miss has found her intended. The maid was also genuinely happy for Ren Shuiying. Congratulations Miss. Now and in the past. The favorite is the same person. Ren Shuiying's face was full of excitement and at the same time a bit shy. Hoomph, that bad guy. He definitely recognized me. I told you. Why did he send me 30 million dollars of scrolls for no reason? Nasty. At the same time, Ren Shuiying silently read in her heart. Next month, when grandpa's birthday party is coming, you must come. If you had come, half my troubles would have been solved. When Yi Fan re-entered the Wanbao Pavilion, Sui Shui and the Wanbao Pavilion shopkeeper Wu had just come out of the inner room together. Sui Shui was also holding two wooden boxes in her hands, and perceiving them from the outside, there was also an ancient aura fluctuating inside. Shopkeeper Wu, how embarrassing is this, such an expensive thing, you have given it to me directly, not even money, I'm. Sui Shui looked at Boss Wu with a face full of gratitude, Yi Fan was sort of listening to understand, Shopkeeper Wu this has selected two good things, directly to Sui Shui, do not intend to ask for money, 
Judging from the fluctuation of that ancient and simple breath, what shopkeeper Wu gave out must be something good, at least worth tens of millions of dollars. Mr. Su, don't be polite to me, we can all see the righteous behavior of Mr. Su, Miss Yu Linglong and the others, for Mr. Su to be able to firmly support the Yi family at that time, we bosses all admire that. As boss Wu spoke, he saw Yi Fan appear and hurriedly stepped forward and owed Yi Fan, saying, Young Yi, our boss asked me to convey that although we can't openly show our support for the Yi family, we can still contribute if there is anything we can use. These two items, let's call them a meet and greet gift. The Wanba Pavilion was showing goodwill towards the Yi and Su families. Su Ishue also kind of understood that. When shopkeeper Wu sent himself antiques, it was not for his own face, or for Yi Fan's face. Some of the things that had happened in Cloud City recently, although many of them were blocked from the news. However, the Xiao, Li, and Wang families had successively perished, and the great young man of the Lu family in the provincial city, as well as the butler of the Lu family, had all fallen in Cloud City, so these news could not be concealed after all. Moreover, at the Su clan's new drug launch, there was such a big turn of events that Dr. Lation helped Su clan to stand up, as well as those other bigwigs who showed up. All signs indicated that the Yi family was not as weak as everyone thought. Moreover, so many mysterious forces had begun to gather towards the Yi family. Those bigwigs were the best of the best of the best. If they made such a choice, they must have some news that outsiders didn't know. For example, Yi Fan had awakened? It's not too late for Marlborough to get on board. Thank you guys, the people who helped my wife are all good people. Yi Fan didn't show his dementedness extraordinarily, but responded in a more normal manner. Lei Chenjie had already laid the groundwork for Yi Fan before, saying that Yi Fan would gradually awaken. So it was completely normal for Yi Fan's IQ to slowly grow from the level of an 8 year old to a 10 year old now. Shopkeeper Wu, my husband, his situation. You should know something. You understand more, Sui Shui explained to Shopkeeper Wu. But Shopkeeper Wu looked deeply at Yi Fan. No harm. No harm. Yi Xiao was a genius demon back then. In time, he will definitely return to the peak again. After a few people chatted for a couple of minutes, Sui Shui was in a hurry to visit Yu Chang, so she planned to say goodbye and leave. But right at this moment, a group of people rushed in aggressively from outside the Wan Baoga building. Ha! Isn't the court of 10,000 treasures a bully? Today, this young man is going to come and see how the level of your Wan Bao pavilion really is? Last time at the treasure appraisal conference, you won my brother, causing my brother to jump and get seriously injured. Today you must pay the price. The leader, a young man in a floral shirt, had someone next to him on a simulcast as he stomped toward the hall. Everyone netizens, Everyone look clearly ah, this is the headquarters of the Wanbao Pavilion. We are here today to kick the field, to see if the Wangbao Pavilion has the guts to take our challenge. Seeing this group of people coming, shopkeeper Wu couldn't help but frown. It's this group of people again. It's never ending. What's going on? Seeing the situation in front of her, Sui Shui couldn't help but open her mouth to inquire as well. They are the people of the Sun family in the provincial city. Last year in the treasure appraisal conference, our Wanbao Pavilion to participate in the competition. And his brother met. In the final final, his brother error to hit the eye, will be a vase age judgment is wrong, and finally was defeated by us. They cannot stand the defeat. Jumped from the second floor, broke his leg. Since then, the Sun family has been staring at our Wanbao Pavilion, coming to pick fights every other day. At first, we didn't take it seriously, but it's getting more and more excessive behind us. It's clear that there's someone behind it who's up to something. Wanbao Pavilion's signboard for many years has always suppressed their son family's jewelry lodge head-on. As long as Wanbao Pavilion is suppressed, only then will they be able to come out on top. The corner of Boss Wu's mouth curled up. It doesn't matter. Some petty tricks. Old man can handle it. Shopkeeper Wu is the titan of the antique world in the whole of Dasha, and he is a man of true talent. After sitting in the Wanbao Pavilion for so many years, there are rarely times when he misses. Said. Wu Boss stepped forward. Greeted the Grand Master of the Sun Family Sun Dishing said, Sun Grand Master, Treasure Appraisal Conference Competition, are each based on their own ability? Things have been so long, the Sun Family cannot afford to lose? All of you netizens have bright eyes, you may as well make a judgment. As the chief handler of Wanbao Pavilion for many years, Mr. Wu still had two brushes. He went up and greeted the netizens in front of the camera, and immediately wrenched back some of the public opinion. Sun Dishing was dumbfounded by the dislike. This, Shopkeeper Wu grasped the initiative and immediately rode the wave of victory. But since Wanbao Pavilion dares to open here, it is naturally not afraid of anyone's challenge. Young son, since you brought someone here today, let's play a big game. Let's make a bet. If I win, in the future, please don't play these small tactics. The competition between our two families, 
Let's just play fair on the stage. Hearing that shopkeeper Wu actually agreed to today's challenge, Sun Dishing's face immediately surfaced with a touch of joy. Good. Shopkeeper Wu is bold and generous. Let's play a big game today. If you won Bao Pavilion wins, my son family's jewelry lounge will directly withdraw from Cloud City and not have any competition with Wanbao Pavilion. But if I win, your Wanbao Pavilion also withdraws from Cloud City. Do you dare? Sun Dishing is very cocky and directly pushes the Wanbao Pavilion into the fire. Jewelry fast size and business. Originally inferior to Wanbao Court. Withdrawn also withdrawn. But Wanbao Pavilion will not necessarily dare to go down. Boss Wu frowned. Some indignation looked at Sun Dishing. This Sun Dashao came without good intentions directly pushed himself into the fire. His own promise is not good. Do not agree also cannot. The live streaming data now shows that there are millions of them all watching. If shopkeeper Wu refused, then the face and credibility of Wanbao Pavilion would also be immediately swept away. Ah, good. It's a deal. Although shopkeeper Wu was confident, his heart couldn't help but thump when he saw Sundishing's men carry in several porcelain vases from outside. Because of those porcelain vases, shopkeeper Wu looked at them several times. And for a while he actually couldn't tell their vintage. That's a bit annoying. Next to Sui Shui. Seeing that the situation in front of her suddenly took such a big turn, she was a bit conflicted. Whether she should go or not. Ish Yue's wife. Let's take a look before we go. I seem to have remembered something. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Yifan's mouth from the moment those porcelain vases were brought in. This sun dishing is very sinister ah. Those vases have been tampered with. Relying on normal means of identification. It is impossible to detect. If he didn't step in to help, shopkeeper Wu would definitely lose today. For the face of the two antiques sent by shopkeeper Wu, Yi Fan decided to take the plunge. Ha, huh, Fan, you remembered something? Well, then let's take a look here. When Sui Shue heard that there was a possibility of Yi Fan's memory and IQ being restored, she immediately looked elated. All other things were not as important as this. In the middle of the hall, Sun Dishing moved five porcelain vases, which had been set out on the table in a row. Sun Dishing face probably looked at the shopkeeper Wu. Today Sun Dishing was originally prepared. He is not afraid of the shopkeeper Wu how many kinds of identification methods. Afraid of the shopkeeper Wu did not agree to the challenge. Then he in addition to the addiction to the shopkeeper Wu. Cannot cause any substantial harm. Shopkeeper Wu. These five bottles. I got them from the antique market. But the year is now unknown. Please bother Wu boss to help Paul my look. But as long as Wu boss will be three of the bottles of the correct year to determine out. Even if Wu Boss win how? Sun Dishing and the few men beside himself glanced at each other, their eyes full of complacency. These five porcelain vases were imitated by the top foreign craftsmen they had hired at a high price for three months. It's not right to say it's fake, because every single porcelain tile in it is real. But it wouldn't be right to say it's true, because just a single porcelain vase, are with dozens of pieces of fragments spliced together, and then outside to do a high level of restoration process. From the outside cannot be seen at all as broken a porcelain vase. But in fact, those fragments used in a porcelain vase were sampled separately from those of the five dynasties and then pieced together. Wu shopkeeper even more powerful. Can judge the age of one of the porcelain tiles? It is determined that the age of the vase. Sun Dishing immediately can use another piece of porcelain tiles to refute the Wu shopkeeper. Therefore, in today's bet, from the moment manager Wu agreed, Wan Bao Gu had already lost. Because Sun Dishing's topic is equivalent to two people playing rock, paper, scissors to win or lose. But you play first, he plays later, and he can always change the shape he plays according to the shape you play. So how can you win? As a titan of the antique world, the strength of shopkeeper Wu himself was not something to be blown away. From the moment the five porcelain vases were set up, shopkeeper Wu was carefully observing and smelling the vases. But after just sniffing one of them, shopkeeper Wu's face changed. Because shopkeeper Wu found that the flavor of the porcelain vase was a bit disordered and unstable. Like the Song dynasty, like the Tang dynasty, and even some Ming and Qing dynasty flavors. This, shopkeeper Wu was instantly baffled. In accordance with normal reasoning, if a vase has been restored, this is a very normal thing, but not so with more than one dynasty of ceramic tile splicing ah. Moreover, the key is that shopkeeper Wu picked up the porcelain vase, carefully observed it, and also used a magnifying glass, and could not see any traces of restoration on it at all. The first vase is this, the second vase this is this, looking at five porcelain vases one after another. They all took more than 10 minutes. However, shopkeeper Wu did not say a word, not daring to make any judgment. Shopkeeper Wu actually had a rough guess in his heart. Sun dishing this time to bring the porcelain vase, should be imitated by masters? Restoration of no trace, with a variety of dynasties of porcelain pieces spliced together, is to dig a pit for themselves ah, no matter which dynasty they say, sun dishing will easily refute their own. Fooled, 
Shopkeeper Wu had realized the problem. But this is a young conspiracy, even if he knows the scheme of it. Now Wu promised even in front of millions of netizens to say it. People will not believe himself. Ah, how about it? Does Shopkeeper Wu see it? Let's meet Boss Wu's profound knowledge and explain the origin of these porcelain vases. Ah, look at the Wu shopkeeper for a long time did not open his mouth. Sun dishing face proudly in front of the Wu shopkeeper shaking, but also intentionally on the live camera to show off. Everyone see clearly. Ah, this is the Wanba Court Wu master in the identification of the five porcelain vases I brought. Alas, to be honest, some of the disappointment. Ah, it turned out that the Wanba Court. But so, everyone, don't go away. Help be a witness. We had a bet just now. Sun dishing kept showing off. The staff of the Wan Bao Pavilion all gathered around, furious. But there was nothing they could do. They didn't dare to do anything to Sun dishing at all. Liar, big liar. You're shameful. You actually use fake things to cheat Boss Wu. While everyone was at a loss as to what to do, and shopkeeper Wu's forehead was covered in beads of sweat, Yi Fan suddenly stepped out from the crowd, pointing at Sun dishing's nose and cursing. A sentence that instantly attracted the attention of the crowd. Especially in the live broadcast room, the crowd of netizens immediately began to boil. And who is this? How do you call Sun Shang a liar? I also feel something is wrong. I still trust Master Wu. The atmosphere that had been created with great difficulty was instantly destroyed. And Sun Dishing was very angry as he pointed at Yi Fan and said, "Who the hell are you? What's the matter with you? Come on, throw him out." Sun Dishing was rushing to bring down Wan Bao Gu this time, so he naturally wouldn't allow anyone to disrupt his plan of action. Now that shopkeeper Wu had taken the bait, all that was left was the final step to drive the Wan Bao Pavilion out of Cloud City. Wan Beige left. Yunchang Antique Market. Most of the business is not to their own jewelry fast. From behind Sun Dishing, several bodyguards immediately rushed out, intending to make a move on Yi Fan. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth curled up. Just now when the porcelain vases appeared, Yi Fan, through his magic pupil, saw clearly that those porcelain vases were specially restored. Using porcelain pieces from different dynasties, how could shopkeeper Wu, no matter how powerful he was, how could he identify so many porcelain pieces at once? Don't! I don't want to go out. I want to expose you as a big liar. Yi Fan smiled faintly. His body flickered quickly, dodging the grasp of several bodyguards. Those two burly men, seeing that they actually couldn't even catch such a skinny youth, felt their faces very overwhelmed, and their movements couldn't help but speed up by a few points. And as Yi Fan saw the opportunity. While avoiding the two bodyguards' grasp, a chi energy on his wrist fluctuated gently, pushing one of the bodyguards impartially, just enough to knock over one of the porcelain bottles at the very edge and fall towards the ground. Clunk! With a crisp crunch, the porcelain vase fell to the ground and shattered into countless pieces. In response, the sudden change caused all the people present to freeze in place. The target that was used as identification suddenly broke, or Sun Dishing's own bodyguard knocked down the vase. Whose is it? The crowd was still amazed. But Yi Fan suddenly snatched the cell phone of the live broadcast, pointed the camera at the fragments below, and then reached out to take a few fragments in his hand and called out in feigned surprise, "Yeah, this piece I recognize is the fragment of the Tang Dynasty. This piece is the Song Dynasty, and this piece is the Ming Dynasty." Ha, Master Wu, a porcelain vase in the middle. How there are so many dynasties of porcelain pieces? You see, on the outside surface of these porcelain tiles, there is a layer of mysterious wrappings that. Once torn open, will reveal the secrets inside. Yi Fan spoke at the same time. Will be one of the pieces of porcelain in the hand with chi strength a tear. Immediately, the outside of the layer of false surface layer torn open. Inside the pasted fragments, immediately presented in front of the live broadcast netizens, but also presented in front of the Wu shopkeeper as well as the scene of the crowd of onlookers. Looking at the situation in front of him, shopkeeper Wu couldn't help but wipe the beads of sweat from his forehead. In fact. The situation of the porcelain vase. Shopkeeper Wu had already speculated pretty much what Yi Fan had said, but the point is, it's not good for him to state the situation directly himself. And now, with Yi Fan suddenly appearing and exposing Sun Dishing, or Sun Dishing's own bodyguard knocking over the table, Sun Dishing couldn't find any faults with Wan Bao Pavilion at all. The netizens in the live room instantly exploded. Crap! I told you something was wrong. So mean? Sun's family plays really dirty. I'll never shop at Sun's house next time. Garbage! Instead of thinking of how to do business properly, you think of playing these insidious tricks. Disappointing! Those netizens who had just supported Sun Dishing, the public opinion instantly began to fall side by side towards the side of shopkeeper Wu as well as Wan Bao Pavilion. Young Master Sun, this is a bit mean of you. The look on shopkeeper Wu's face began to relax, and when he looked at Yi Fan, his eyes were filled with gratitude. Now, 
Shopkeeper Wu was almost 80% sure that Yi Fan was not stupid at all. If Yi Fan was in a state of dementia, would he have rushed over so coincidentally? And so coincidentally made Sun Dishing's bodyguard knock over the table? Absolutely not. Ah. Sun Dishing hesitated for several seconds before reacting. The live broadcast of the phone has been snatched. Damn. Who are you? You dare to rob my cell phone? You idiots. What are you waiting for? Snatch the phone back. Sun Dishing was on the verge of going mad. The live broadcast room is so many netizens are witnessing today's provocation ah. If it fails, the jewelry fasting will have to be withdrawn from the cloud city. Moreover, once this matter has fermented, even if the jewelry fast does not withdraw, the original little business, I'm afraid that it is basically negligible. Which one of you dares to touch my big brother? Before Yi Fan could do anything, a roar came from the crowd and Wang Fugui's huge body appeared on the scene. Seeing the two bodyguards rushing over, Wang Fugui did not have any hesitation. Bushy hand, left and right each grabbed one, ruthlessly smashed together, directly smashed stun thrown out. Put, those bodyguards under Sun Dishing, although they were also martial arts experts, but Wang Fugui was now all at the Zongshir level of power, and dealing with these bodyguards was simply like playing. In the blink of an eye, the bodyguards around Sun Dishing were all smashed to death. What, do you want? You can't compete. Do you plan to use force? Sun Dishing knew that he was at a disadvantage and planned to play pitiful to turn public opinion around. Do you know who I am? I'm the eldest son of the Sun family in the provincial city. You'd better not touch me. Ha ha, then do you know who my big brother is? He is the only young master of the Yi family right now. Yi Fan, you dare to touch him. Aren't you afraid? Wang Fugue spoke out Yi Fan's identity, and Sun Dishing was instantly dumbfounded. That fool from the Yi family? Let's just say that when he saw Yi Fan just now, he looked so familiar. Nima, is it so unlucky to meet a fool to make trouble? You can't say it yourself even if you have a point. Moreover, even if he could make himself clear, but the Sun family still didn't have any chance of winning when they went to mess with the Yi family now ah. Uh, I, fake, all of them are fake. When Yi fan saw that Wang Fugue, the great fool Chun, had come, he became even more reckless and pointed at the remaining few porcelain bottles towards Sun Dishing. Having a broken porcelain vase as proof of the latter is a good thing. Boss Wu also took the initiative. Young son, the remaining four, do we still need to smash them open one by one to verify them? What those porcelain vases look like? Sun Dishing himself knows better than that. Smashing it open is a complete slap in the face. You, you, count you ruthless. Sun Dishing knew that he was planted today, but in the hands of a fool. I really don't know whether Yi Fan, coincidentally, sabotaged his own plan or deliberately came to sabotage his own plan. As he spoke, Sun Dishing wanted to reach for the cell phone in Yi Fan's hand, but Yi Fan did not agree. The bet, you just bet on, you this liar. If you lose, you jewelry fast, you have to roll out from the cloud city. All of you babies, you say it is so? While Yi Fan was chiding Sun Dishing, he didn't forget to greet the millions of netizens in the live broadcast room. Since the Wanbao Pavilion chose to help the Yi family, then Yi Fan naturally won't let them help for nothing, and this time when they bump into it, then they will help the Wanbao Pavilion to suppress the jewelry Jai to the extreme. Right, a man should do what he promises. We are the witnesses of millions of netizens to the bet just now. Don't try to deny it. The public opinion in the live broadcast room had begun to boil. Sun Dishing's teeth were itching with anger, but there was nothing he could do about it, because just now has established the bet. Though it was a verbal agreement and no one pursued enforcement, but now is the age of the network. The power of the netizens is very powerful. Sun Dishing although very much do not want to admit, but at least in face, or must make a statement. Shopkeeper Wu, you've won, I, Jewelers Lodge, am willing to gamble and accept defeat, and will leave Cloud City as soon as possible. Sun Dishing had no choice but to repeat his promise again to the camera, and looked at Yi Fan gloomily, is this always okay? Yi Fan inquired toward Wang Fugue by his side, old Wang, do you think this is okay? Wang Fugue has some silly potential, it's useless to talk with your mouth. Three days later, this young man invited a few bulldozers to go over. If you see the jewelry fast still there, on behalf of the netizens to push them, everyone say good? Wang Fugue disliked that huge face plate on the screen and chided towards the crowd of netizens. Immediately once again caused the crowd of netizens in the live broadcast room to have a boil. Good, good, yes. Not only the netizens in the live broadcast room, but the crowd of onlookers at the scene also began to boil and shout. Sun Dishing took the cell phone from Yi Fan's hand. Greatly shut down the live broadcast, and then with a few of his own men, rolled and crawled away from the Wanbao Pavilion building. Today's loss of face can lose a big deal, was full of confidence to find Wanbao Pavilion trouble, but now the results are stolen chicken cannot eclipse rice, their jewelry fast are played waste, 
Sun Deshing. What good thing you do. You did not say you want to take down the Wanbao court today. How just now I received a phone call. All all to terminate cooperation with my jewelry fast. What is going on live online? Ah, stupid. Just coming out of the front door of the Wanbao pavilion. Sun Deshing received a call from his father. Dad. I. Get your ass back here right now and tell it like it is. You tell. What am I going to tell the board now? They're going to kill us. Asshole. Sundishing was almost deafened by his father's voice on the phone. With a long sigh, Sundishing could only helplessly and quickly rush towards the Sun family. And in the Wanbao Pavilion building, after Sundishing left, shopkeeper Wu gave Yi Fan a meaningful glance and respectfully bowed a total to Yi Fan. Young Yi, thank you for saving me today. Shopkeeper Wu was very glad that he did what he did today and directly gave Sui Shui two antiques. Although those two antiques, their value had indeed been in the tens of millions. The value that Yi Fan had just offered to help had long exceeded 10 million. If Wanba Pavilion really fell into Sun Dishing's trap today, and lost its credibility from then on, and wasn't believed by everyone, then the loss would be at least a few billion dollars. And if the Wanba Pavilion was screwed over, the loss would be even more than tens of billions of dollars. More importantly, the existence of the Wan Bao Gu is still other more important roles that cannot be measured by money. Shopkeeper Wu is polite. You helped my wife. It's only right that I help you. Yi Fan responded with a faint smile. The logic was normal. The statements were clear. And Su Yi Shui beside her was listening with some confusion. Was Yi Fan now in a state of wakefulness? Or was he in a state of dementia? Su Yi Shui was a little confused. But at the moment, with so many people here, Su Yi Shui couldn't be bothered to ask more. Before Boss Wu could say anything, a staff member beside him suddenly walked quickly to Boss Wu's side and whispered in Boss Wu's ear. Elder Wu. The young lady said that the item can be taken out now. Yes. Hearing the words of his subordinates, a flash of light flashed in the eyes of shopkeeper Wu. The lady was indeed still shrewd enough to have discovered Yi Fan's potential as well. Although the Yi family had suffered such a heavy blow, as long as Yi Fan was still alive, the Yi family's potential in the future would surely be limitless. Now that Yi Fan had awakened, those who were dealing with the Yi family were afraid that they should not be able to sleep. Young Yi, please wait a moment. You've done Wanbao Pavilion such a great favor. We must show our gratitude. As he spoke, shopkeeper Wu quickly stepped into the inner room. And when he came out again, he was already holding an ancient wooden box in his hand. Young Yi, this thing, has been in our store for a long time. Although I have studied it for many years, I have never known what use it actually has. Xiao Yi is a demonic genius. When Xiao Yi awakens, it can definitely come in handy. And this thing can be considered to bring out his maximum value. As he spoke, Shopkeeper Wu respectfully handed the box to Yi Fan. Although Shopkeeper Wu had already guessed that Yi Fan had awakened. But since Yi Fan had not exposed himself, then Shopkeeper Wu had cooperated in acting together. Oh, thank you, Shopkeeper Wu. Yi Fan just released his perception to perceive the box, and his face began to look a bit grave. Yi Fan was in possession of a magic pupil that could see through to probe almost everything. However, Yi Fan had just carefully perceived it. But he suddenly realized that his spiritual power at the martial emperor level was actually unable to probe what exactly was inside the box. Outside of the things inside the box, it seemed to be surrounded by a layer of mysterious aura, and Yi Fan's current spiritual power and perception was actually unable to break through. But fortunately, Yi Fan could detect that the things inside the box had a few affectionate feelings towards Yi Fan. When Yi Fan and Sui Shui left from the Wanbao Pavilion, shopkeeper Wu looked at the backs of the two as they left, and a pleased smile appeared on his face. Yi family, a dragon is going to come out. Alas, those who made a move against the Yi family are really too short-sighted. As the words fell, Boss Wu quickly entered the secret room in the inner room and dialed an encrypted phone. Miss, the thing you asked to be handed over. I have already handed it over. However, that is the most important thing for Miss, and relates to the fate of the entire family. Isn't it too risky to just hand it over to Yi Fan? At this time, in the Kunlun Mountains, in an elegant courtyard, a young girl with bare feet, Sitting on a rattan chair, holding a tablet computer in her hand, looking at the surveillance on it, while answering the phone call from Boss Wu. Elder Wu, I believe in my vision. If Yi Fan can't even shelter my family, then there is no hope for the revival of my Ruan family. Elder Wu you remember, since we have chosen Yi Fan, then we must trust him unconditionally. In the future, if Yi Fan has any needs, Wan Bao Gu must help at all costs. After all, he is the man I have my eye on. Hanging up the phone with shopkeeper Wu. The young girl looked at the emerald green jungle outside the courtyard and muttered, Yi Fan, we are destined to be destined in our past lives. I hope that you will awaken earlier. The entire ancient martial arts world. There would have been a place for your Yi family. I hope you can really rise up ah. There's only so much I can do to help you. In Cloud City, 
After Yi Fan and Sui Shui left from the antique street, Sui Shui drove while looking at Yi Fan with some confusion. Little Fan, are you awake or in a demented state right now? I can't even figure it out. Saying that Yi Fan was demented, but all of Yi Fan's behavior just now seemed very logical, and could even be said to be very ingenious, making Sun Dishing so stifled that he had suffered a secret loss, and still had no way to call out his pain. Issue a wife, I very much don't understand what you're talking about, but I have a feeling. My head doesn't seem to be as foggy as it was before, and I'm remembering things. It seems like I was pretty good before. So many things, I am acting instinctively. Perhaps, in the near future, I will be able to completely remember what happened before. Yi Fan knew what kind of things Sui Shui was concerned about, and in order to keep Sui Shui from worrying too much, Yi Fan made his state a little bit more vague, but also let Sui Shui see hope. This was also in line with what Lei Chenjie had said, that he needed time to slowly awaken. Ah. Xiao Fan, have you finally sobered up a bit? Great. Yi family needs you very much right now. If you don't come to your senses again, I don't know if Sister Linglong and us can still hold on. Sui Shui excitedly parked the car on the side of the road, wrapped her arms around Yi Fan's face and kissed him fiercely. Then it seemed to remember something. If Yi Fan was sober, as Yi Fan's previous little sister-in-law, now with Yi Fan so like this, wouldn't that be too shy? Little Fan, last night, Sui Shui somewhat shyly inquired towards Yi Fan. Wanting to see if Yi Fan had awakened last night. Of course Yi Fan knew what Sui Shui was thinking. Yi Shui wife, what happened last night? Did you not sleep well? Did I do something bad? Yi Fan once again reverted to that demented look, making Sui Shui confused. Yi Fan was a little demented again? Ugh, there's nothing. Let's go. Let's go find Mr. Yu Chang. I hope he'll like it if we bring something today. Sui Shui glanced at the two antiques given by the shopkeeper Wu next to her. One was a famous painting from the Song Dynasty and the other was a jade unicorn. Yi Fan faintly smiled. If Yu Chang is really the Tianji Pavilion's assassination hall head, then even these two gifts, not in his eyes at all. Perhaps, Yu Chang is also waiting for his own appearance. The Southwest Pharmaceutical Association was in a separate building in the southern suburbs of Cloud City. This is the entire Southwest, all the medicine bigwigs, as well as the official joint organization to form a semi-official, semi-civilian medicine institutions, although he usually kept a low profile. Major pharmaceutical manufacturers, if they wanted to produce a new drug, or expand their scale, expand their plants and so on, they needed his approval. So the position of the president of the pharmaceutical association became significantly important, and became the position that everyone was pursuing. But what was annoying was that the president of the medicine association, since Yu Chang took office 20 years ago, had never been changed, no matter what other people tried to do, even using the power of Shangjing to try to oust Yu Chang from that position they were unsuccessful. This made the outside world even more jealous of Yu Chang's background and strength. All the major manufacturers in the back can only curry favor with Yu Chang. It was only 10 o'clock in the morning, and the lounge outside of Yu Chang's office was already packed with people, because there is only one new drug production quota left in the second half of the southwest region. All the major manufacturers have pulled out all the stops to come and please Yu Chang, and Yu Chang is not at all shy about his hobbies. Everything is based on the calligraphy and paintings delivered. When Sui Shui led Yi Fan into the rest hall, everyone's gazes couldn't help but look towards Yi Fan and Sui Shui's side. Ha, huh, isn't that that fool from the Yi family? Yeah, Sui Shui is really bold, really carrying this fool around at all times. However, did you watch the Su family's new medicine conference yesterday? The Su family really developed such an awesome beauty cream. That's something. It seems that the Su family is also rushing for this quota today. Alas, we are all probably cannon fodder. Not necessarily, the Su family's nemesis. The Jean family of the provincial city is also seeking this quota. The Jean family's energy, at present, is much stronger than the Su family can be. As the crowd spoke, they couldn't help but turn their heads in the other direction of the lounge. Over there, a young man in a suit and a few assistants were sitting on chairs, and all around them there were several empty seats, so no one dared to approach at all. It was no one else but Jean Yang, the eldest young man of the Jean family in the provincial city. Seeing Sui Shui come in, a wicked smile surfaced on Jin Yang's face. Yi Shui, long time no see, I knew you would come. Today look at you. You've been working too hard lately. You've lost weight. As he spoke, Jin Yang intended to reach out and stroke his hand towards Sui Shui's cheek. Sui Shui's face sank. Jin Yang, please show some respect. I have a husband. Aha, uh -huh. seeing Jin Yang in this state. Yi Fan frowned. Looks like there's something going on between this Jin Xiao and Yi Shui's wife. Previously. Yi Fan had only roughly heard that Sui Shui had a very stalker suitor before she finalized her engagement with the seventh brother of the Yi family, who was even more difficult to deal with than Zhao Tianlong. 
but at that time, Yi Fan did not have an in-depth understanding. Now it seems, could it be the Jin Yang in front of him? Jin Yang's arm was opened by Sui Shui and was not annoyed at all. Instead, she looked at Yi Fan with a look of contempt and said, Husband, Yi Shui, are you talking about that dead Yi family's seventh son? Or this stupid punk in front of you? Ha! Before, when you entered the Yi family, I wouldn't say anything. I can't afford to mess with the Yi family. But now that the Yi family's seventh son is dead, and the Yi family is on the verge of collapsing, so why are you suffering? Jin Yang took a bouquet of roses behind him and handed it to Sui Shui with both hands. Yi Shui, be my girlfriend. You know, from the time I was in high school, I pursued you. Until now it has been almost 10 years. There is a foundation of affection. And, you are also rushing to the pharmaceutical production quota today, right? As long as you do my girlfriend, I cannot compete with you for this quota. Let your Su family get this quota. At that time, your Su family can take off. United with my Jin family, the pharmaceutical industry in the southwest, who else can compete with us? Jin Yang said with a sincere face, saying that Yi Fan almost believed it. At this time, Yi Fan also understood that Jin Yang was the suitor of Su Ishue from before. However, looking at Su Ishue's appearance, it seemed that she was not a fan of Jin Yang. Jin Yang, can you stop being so boring? I've told you countless times before that I'm not interested in you and asked you not to pester me. Now I have a husband. That's Yi Fan. No matter what he is like, I will give her many children. So don't make a fool of yourself. Sui Shui tightly held Yi Fan's wrist. Xiao Fan, don't be angry. There was nothing between me and him before. I am already your woman. In this life I will definitely only be your woman. Yi Fan's heart warmed as he listened. These extremely talented girls, who were so good and loyal to the Yi family. He must become stronger to be strong enough to protect them. Do you hear me? My wife said that I'm his husband. You're pestering someone's wife like this. Do you want to be ashamed? Yi Fan stared at Jin Yang. His killing aura was quietly released. A spiritual power that penetrated deep into his soul impacted out, causing Jin Yang's body to tremble. Snap. Before Jin Yang could react, Yi Fan had already snatched the rose from Jin Yang's hand and slammed it on the ground, stomping on it several times, trampling it to pieces. Grandpa said that if anyone bullies my wife, let me beat them back. Snap. The next moment, Yi Fan actually really raised his hand and slapped hard on Jin Yang's face, making half of Jin Yang's face instantly red and swollen. Crap. You tread horse. A fool. Actually dare to hit me? You seek death. Jin Yang only said two words. Did not do anything? Suddenly and inexplicably received a beating. Angry Jin Yang stormed, scolded his men, then intended to make a move on Yi Fan. Which one of you will try to touch a hair on my big brother's head? You guys are afraid to forget. Who is my big brother? Yi family's only only seedling. Yi family now although suffered a heavy blow. Also is not you these cats and dogs can bully. You are not afraid to die on try to see? Wang Fugue burst out and stood out from the gate. The martial Dao Chi stirring in his body set off waves of Chi throughout the room. A grandmaster? Jin Yang and those assistants around him were dumbfounded. The Wang family, as a vassal family of the Yi family, had been Yi Fan's grandfather's lieutenant general since Wang Fugue's grandfather was Yi Fan's grandfather. Wang Fugue's father was also Yi Fan's father's right hand man. Although the Yi family was now suffering from a heavy blow, Wang Fugue's father was still trying his best to stabilize the situation in the Heavenly Dragon Army. Even if the Yi family fell, the might of the Wang family was still not to be underestimated. Yu, although Jin Yang was incomparably annoyed in his heart, but facing Wang Fugue and Yi Fan's identity there, Jin Yan didn't dare to have any excessive action, at least on the surface. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it in secret. What's going on? Are all of you so reckless? Wanting to get a pharmaceutical production quota. How dare you fight here? From inside the office, a male secretary wearing glasses stepped out. His eyes sharply swept a glance at the crowd. The scene was suppressed by Wang Fugue's atmosphere. Instantly disintegrated. Aha! Uh -huh. Yi Fan's eyebrows twitched. A small secretary was actually at the martial zoom level of strength? Although that secretary had hidden his aura very deeply, it was only just for a moment, but Yi Fan still clearly perceived it. In that case, Yu Chang's identity as the head of the assassination hall should not be false. The appearance of this secretary dissolved the tension at the scene, and Jin Yang found a step downhill. Hoomph, kid, count yourself lucky. Jin Yang stared at Yi Fan and let out a vicious sentence, then stared at Sui Shui with some resentment and said, Sui Shui, you'd better not regret your decision today. Dare to reject me Jin Yang. I guarantee that you won't be able to get the medicine production quota today. At that time, even if you have a supreme beauty ointment, so what? You can't produce it. Don't come begging me at that time. Jin Yang coldly stared at Sui Shui with an air of victory. For the sake of today's medicine quota, 
Jin Yang had spent a heavy amount of money to bring back two treasures from the realm. According to the Grandmaster, both of them contain a strong ancient and simple atmosphere. And, the most crucial thing is that Jin Yang has learned secret information from various channels. That is, those antiques that Yu Chang was looking at had a mysterious and ancient aura fluctuating on them. And those that didn't have an ancient aura, Yu Chang directly passed them all. Just now, Jin Yang had looked at the two antiques that Sui Shui had brought with her. And although they also had a fluctuating ancient aura, they were not the kind of ancient aura that Yu Chang wanted. Therefore, Jin Yang concluded that Sui Shui was bound to lose. Sui Shui looked at the room full of people and was also worried. After all, before Sui Shui asked Lei Qianjie a medical sage to step in, Yu Chang still did not let go. Can he knock on Yu Chang's door now with just the two antiques in his hand? Trash who misses other people's wives. How can you conclude that you can definitely get the quota? Yi Fan coldly glanced at Jin Yang. On the contrary, I think that I, Su's group, will definitely get the medical quota today. After the words were said, Yi Fan gently patted Sui Shui's wrist. Wife, don't worry, I will definitely help you get your hands on the medical quota today. After determining that Yu Chang was the head of the Tianji Pavilion's assassination hall, then this quota was 100% locked in for Yi Fan. According to the information conveyed in the Dragon Pattern Ring, Yu Chang, the head of the Tianji Pavilion's hall, was the old pavilion master's absolute beloved, and was trustworthy. As long as he revealed the token, as well as that code word, as the candidate for the new pavilion master, there was no reason for Yu Chang not to convince himself. Humph, a waste of. Just you, what do you use to take it? With your mouth? While Jin Yang sneered at Yi Fan, it suddenly occurred to him that just now, when Yi Fan took advantage of his inattention, he directly slapped him with his hand. And Jin Yang himself also knows some martial arts chi energy, are about to reach the realm of control. Actually even Yi Fan's slap did not avoid. That meant that Yi Fan's strength, even if he was now demented, was still at least above the control realm. Fear of being slapped again. When Jin Yang finished speaking, he hurriedly covered his cheeks with his hands. It's okay to be smacked once, but if you're smacked a second time, you'll really lose face. It's hard to say anything when you've been beaten up by a fool, right? The key opponent's identity was there. Even if he wanted to do something, he didn't dare to do it easily. It can only be a dumb loss. However, Jin Yang only had two hands, and reached out to cover his cheeks, but couldn't cover his crotch, before Jin Yang could react. Yi Fan had already struck lifting his foot and viciously kicking Jin Yang in the crotch. Put, put. It was the sound of a broken egg, and Jin Yang fell to the ground with a painful thud right then and there, his body bending into a prawn. Ah, crap, my egg. Yi Fan, you stepped on a horse looking for death. Woo, the feeling of broken eggs made Jin Yang's entire face swollen red, twitching in pain, and finally fainted directly, lying on the ground like a dead dog. The few bodyguards beside Jin Yang, somewhat fearful of looking at Yi Fan, hesitated for a moment, will only Jin Yang help up? Quickly sent towards the hospital side, Jin Yang left, and the atmosphere of the scene once again became subtle. The first time Jin Yang was beaten just now, it could be said that it was a coincidence that Jin Yang was not prepared. However, Jin Yang had clearly defended himself the second time, but he was once again violently beaten by Yi Fan, and he directly fainted. Who says that young master of the Yi family is a fool? It's obviously very smart. Okay. He also knew how to make a sound and beat up Jin Yang like this. Everyone knew that Jin Yang's strength was above control, almost at the level of a zone sure. And if Yi Fan could hang him, that meant that Yi Fan's strength was at least above that of a zone master. Five years, that demonic genius young master of the Yi family, although he was demented, his talent didn't seem to have fallen. The way everyone looked at Yi Fan changed in an instant, and so many family representatives were lamenting that even if the Jin family couldn't get this spot, they were afraid that it wouldn't be the turn of any other family. After all, there was still a Yi family back Su family in front of them. On the other hand, the most shocked was the secretary under Yu Chang. Although he wears glasses, he is not actually nearsighted at all, and wears them merely to hide certain things. He was clearly in the room just now, so close to Yi Fan, but his strength at the martial Zun realm failed to stop Yi Fan's attack not to mention that he didn't even notice how Yi Fan did it at all. When something like this happened, there were only two outcomes. One was that Yi Fan had not used his martial chi at all, while the other was that Yi Fan's strength had far exceeded his own, so he was simply unable to detect it. You guys want to fight for that spot too? Take something out. The secretary, who was originally a bit fiery, after noticing Yi Fan's abnormality, her attitude towards Sui Shui obviously softened quite a bit. Thanks, the stuff is here. Sui Shui respectfully handed the stuff to the secretary. After the secretary took away the antique from Sui Shui's hand, she looked at the time on her watch then glanced around towards the crowd in the hall and said, 
It's about time. The Su family pharmaceuticals item is the last one. The quota for who exactly is coming out very soon. So everyone wait a little bit. After the secretary finished speaking, he quickly entered the room inside. But in five minutes, he walked out holding a large pile of things. Everyone, I'm sorry. This time, the medicine production quota belongs to the gene family. All the others, please take your things back in order. Mister, you asked me to thank you for your kindness. LOL. The crowd at the scene side. So many people fought for it. And there was only one spot. Many people actually came to just try their luck. The result of losing the election was something they had expected. Sui Shui was also full of loss. And after going up to bring the antique she had given over, she greeted Yi Fan. Hubby, let's go back. Yi Fan smiled faintly and said towards Sui Shui, Wife, can you show me the antique in your hand? Sui Shui was a bit puzzled. For you to see? Next to him, Wang Fu Gui aptly helped. Sister-in-law, it's good to let my big brother take a look. My big brother is very powerful. Last time he found the treasure. Oh, Sui Shui answered and handed the antique in her hand to Yi Fan. The moment Yi Fan received the antique, his wrist moved quickly, running his chi to quickly carve a mysterious pattern in the antique box, which was precisely the secret order of the pavilion master of the Tianji pavilion. The moment Yi Fan made his move, that secretary of Yu Chang seemed to have sensed something and looked sharply towards Yi Fan's side, but found nothing. Yi Fan observed a few eyes and rehanded the antique to Sui Shue, Ish Yue's wife. The most precious part of this antique is the box. Why don't you let them take a fresh look? The box is more precious? Sui Shui answered with a frown. Was this Yi Fan talking nonsense? Or had he really discovered something? Although Sui Shue didn't quite understand, she hesitated when she thought about what Yi Fan had shown before. Next to him, Wang Fu Gui was a bit impatient. Sister-in-law, you have to believe in Big Brother. Big Brother is very powerful. And before that, he brought me to pick a super treasure in the antique market. Come on, sister-in-law, give me the stuff. As he spoke, Wang Fugui took the box from Sui Shua's hand and then walked over towards that secretary of Yu Chang. Brother, take another look? Yu Chang's secretary had no intention of continuing to watch, because the quota had already been set. There was no point in watching it again ah. But when he thought of the fluctuation of Marshall Chi he had just detected for a moment, that mysterious fluctuation of breath, even though it was only a momentary detection, he was very sure that that martial aura truly existed. Could it be that the fluctuation of breath was fluctuating out from Sui Shui's stupid husband? Humph, what are you looking at? Sui Shui, the quota has already been determined. What else do you want? Do you think the two things you brought can be compared to the things I brought? Before that secretary of Yu Chang could say anything, at the entrance of the room, Jin Yang once again suddenly appeared. Despite the broken egg in his pants, Jin Yang simply bandaged it and entered the room with a funny look with gauze wrapped around his crotch. Jin Yang was very confident in his antiques, so he didn't want to miss the moment when the quota was announced. As Jin Yang spoke, he instinctively reached out to grab the antique box in Wang Fugui's hand, but upon noticing the martial arts chi stirring in Wang Fugui's body, he immediately took a step back with some scorn. Secretary Zhang, I think you shouldn't waste your time. The quota has already been determined. Hurry up and get Elder Yu to sign. Can you? Jin Yang somewhat smugly dissuaded Yu Chang's secretary. When Jin Yang turned his head to look at Sui Shui, his face was gloomy as he said, Humph, Sui Shui, I said long ago, there will be a time when you beg me. Now that the quota has been determined, your Su family has no chance. Your Su group's beauty cream is no longer good. Without a production license, what can you do? Giving face? I don't believe that with this young man's means. Can't he still handle you? Jin Yang chided Sui Shui and Yi Fan for a while. And when he saw that Yi Fan's face seemed a bit off, he shut up in a hurry. Yi Fan's strength was a bit weird, and Jin Yang was very jealous. Just a moment ago, Jin Yang had already contacted the family side and sent a stronger expert to protect himself. And before that expert arrived, Jin Yang didn't dare to be too reckless. Secretary Zhang, why aren't you moving? Jin Yang do arrive for a while, but noticed that Secretary Zhang seemed to have no intention of leaving, while his eyes stayed fixed on the box in Wang Fugui's hand. You're teaching me things? Secretary Zhang's eyes flashed sharply as he glared at Jin Yang. Although the quota has indeed been announced, it is not unchangeable. Secretary Zhang's words instantly made Jin Yang's heart thump. Secretary Chang, a touch of ominous feeling had already surfaced in Jin Yang's heart. While Secretary Zhang had already walked to Wang Fugui at this time, reaching out to pick up the box in Wang Fugui's hand, glancing towards Yi Fan, and his gaze finally landing on Sui Shui. Mr. Su, this box, I'll take it in and then let Elder Yu take another look at it, but how it will turn out, I don't dare to guarantee it. After the quota was announced just now, those family representatives on the scene had already planned to leave. 
but the scene suddenly appeared such a change. The antiques taken by the Su family, actually sent back again, got a chance to resurrect. Things are starting to get interesting. Everyone started to stay back again, wanting to see how things would really turn out. As I said, today's quota is my wife's. You won't have any chance. Yi Fan looked at Jin Yang lightly and spoke coldly. Wang Fu Gui also helped out from the side. When my big brother says that the quota is the Su family's, it's the Su family's. If you dare to rob the Su family's quota, I don't mind beating you to death. Humph, Wang Fu Gui, do you think your Wang family and my Jin family will be afraid? Even though the Su family stuff is taken back in, you think you'll have a chance? Dream on, Jin Yang was still talking tough. But as soon as Jin Yang's words left his mouth, the face slapping moment came. The door of the room opened from inside in a hurry. Secretary Zhang walked out with a grave face, respectfully walked to Su Yi Shui and Yi Fan, and actually bowed. Mr. Su, Mr. Yi, Mr. Wang, Elder Yu invites you to go in and talk in detail. Ah, Su Yi Shui looked at Secretary Zhang with some difference, completely incredulous. For so many years, those family representatives who wanted to get the quota were lucky to have the opportunity to meet with Secretary Zhang and never had any chance to talk to Elder Yu individually in detail. And it's pretty obvious what it means to talk in detail so individually. Secretary Zhang, what do we do? The quota. Just now, Jin Yang was completely dumbfounded. The situation in front of him, even a fool, can see some clues. The quota just now is null and void. Everyone please return. Elder Yu just said that the quota belongs to the Su family and no one can change it. Secretary Zhang faintly announced the result. In fact, this result, from Secretary Zhang's behavior just now, everyone had already guessed the general result. Ah, this, Jin Yang's face instantly turned pale. The Jin family had spent too much effort for this quota. Not only money, but also contacts, can be very costly, with the aim of launching a new drug. If they missed this spot, not only would all of the Jin family's previous efforts go down the drain, but if the Jin family couldn't produce the new drug on schedule, the capital chain would break, and they might even go bankrupt. Ah, Secretary Chang. Jin Yang still wanted to fight for a bit, but Secretary Zhang had already guided Yi Fan, Sui Shui, and Wang Fu Gui towards the inner compartment. A few of Yu Chang's bodyguards stopped Jin Yang and spoke coldly. Mr. Jin, please return. This, Jin Yang was completely dumbfounded. Just now it was clear that he had already gotten the quota. The Su family actually re-allowed Yu Chang to look at the antiques, and Yu Chang actually re-identified the antiques, and invited Sui Shui and the others in allowing the Su family to get the quota. What kind of tactics did the Su family use? The Jin family was all defeated? It's amazing. Are you guys leaving? I still want to see what's going on. You guys, look at Jin Yang. That smug look just now. Now he's defeated, isn't he? Listening to the whispers of those family representatives around him, Jin Yang's heart was as hard as eating Xiang. How could the final result be like this? Looking at the closed door of the room, Jin Yang's eyes flashed a touch of ruthlessness. So what if the Su family got the quota? The Kuriki family is a tiger with its teeth pulled out. As for the Su family, the Jin family didn't even look in the eye. Inside the compartment, Yu Chang respectfully looked at the antique box in front of him, his face filled with shock. This antique, just now Yu Chang has seen, there is not much ancient atmosphere fluctuation on it, and it is not what he wants. But when it was brought back again, on that antique box, an arcane pattern of lines actually appeared. That pattern. It was the secret order of the master of Tinji Pavilion. Back then, the last order given by the old pavilion master before he disappeared was for Yu Chang to wait in Cloud City for the new pavilion master to appear. Yu Chang has been waiting here for almost 20 years. And now, the courtier's order has reappeared. Does this mean that the new court master has appeared? Yu Chang is the head of the strongest assassin hall of Tianji Pavilion. Although the old pavilion master had disappeared for so many years and Tianji Pavilion had become chaotic internally. The assassin hall in Yu Chang's hands did not have any chaos and was not subservient to any faction. The only person Yu Chang was loyal to was the Tianji pavilion master. Just now, before the antique was brought in for the first time, there was no pattern on the box, and the second time it was brought in, there was a mysterious pattern. On it then it means that the pattern was sealed and engraved in the moment just now. The new loft master is probably inside the parlor outside, because this Tianji pavilion command tattoo, only the pavilion master himself would seal it and it wouldn't be passed on to any other person who wasn't the pavilion master. Squeak. When the door of the room opened from outside and Secretary Zhang appeared in the room with Sui Shui, Wang Fu Gui, and Yi Fan, Yu Chang quickly got up and respectfully said, Mr. Su, I'm really sorry for the slow reception just now. As he spoke, Yu Chang's eyes swept sharply towards Sui Shui and Wang Fu Gui's several people. 
Sui Shui had martial qi above the level of Huan Jin on her body, and the qi fluctuation was not strong, as if she had cultivated martial qi, it was obviously not possible to be the Tianji Pavilion master candidate. As for Wang Fugue Yu Chang was aware of it, the youngest member of the Wang family in Yin Chang, his strength was already above the Zongshi level, which was already a very good achievement. However, with such talent and ability as Wang Fugue's, if he wanted to take charge of the entire Tianji Pavilion, it was obvious that he was still nearly on fire. In the end, then, the only one left was that young master of the Yi family, Yi Fan, the fool of the Yi family that everyone knew. Yi Fan had shown amazing cultivation talent since he was 5 years old, and at the age of 15, he had already broken through to the Zongshi level, and was even on the verge of breaking through to the Martial Zun level. At that time, Yi Fan's perverted talent had indeed caught Yu Chang's attention. This was because time-wise, Yi Fan's rise to power was perfectly aligned with the time when the old pavilion master disappeared. At that time, Yu Chang suspected that Yi Fan was not obtaining the old pavilion master's inheritance to behave so powerfully. But just when Yu Chang was planning to investigate Yi Fan in depth, Yi Fan had a car accident and became demented, losing all his kung fu, and Yu Chang's investigation of Yi Fan was terminated. And now, Yi Fan once again appeared in front of Yu Chang, along with the Tinji Pavilion's secret order. Yu Chang had to suspect Yi Fan. When Yu Chang's powerful perception swept toward Yi Fan, the first thing he felt was a thick, dense and a few familiar martial arts qi energy, and even a feeling of Tarzan oppression came to his face. Martial Emperor level? The martial emperor strength that Yi Fan had displayed was at least above a third grade martial emperor, while Yu Chang's strength had only just broken through to a martial emperor some time ago. When Yu Chang still wanted to continue probing deeper, a powerful spiritual force gushed out, roughly forcing Yu Chang's body to take a step back. That spiritual power seemed to sear into the depths of Yu Chang's soul, causing Yu Chang's body to vibrate violently. Yu Chang knew that this was Yi Fan's warning to himself that he had probed too far and crossed the border, but Yu Chang was a bit curious. Since Yi Fan was the Tianji Pavilion Master and was now in a very awakened state, why was he still acting like a demented fool? However, since Yi Fan had arranged it this way, he naturally had his reasons. Elder Yu, you are too kind for you to give Su Clan this spot. Yi Shui is very grateful. I don't even know how to express the gratitude in my heart. While Su Yi Shui looked at Yu Chang gratefully, her heart was really curious. Just now, she had clearly handed the antique to Yu Chang already, but she was beaten back. Just taking it back again made Yu Chang change his decision. Why, Mr. Su, you don't have to thank me. Haven't you already given what you should have given? Same as what your husband said. What's in the box isn't important. The box is more valuable than what's inside. While speaking, Yu Chang glanced at Yi Fan. Mr. Su, in the future, if there is anything that Su group can use from my old man, feel free to open your mouth. Mr. Su, Mr. Wang, I would like to talk to Yi Xiao alone. Is that okay? Yu Cheng had basically determined that the Tianji Pavilion Master was Yi Fan, he just needed to confirm it again. This, Su Ishua looked at Yi Fan with some concern, while Wang Fugue also had a wary look on his face. Elder Yu, this isn't appropriate, is it? Wang Fugue knew that Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia and was very aware of Yi Fan's safety at all times. Yi Fan knew that Yu Cheng had something to talk to himself alone, and Yi Fan also had something to explain to Yu Cheng. After all, the Tianji Pavilion was such a huge organization that what Yi Fan understood was still very limited. Moreover, if he wanted to completely control the Heavenly Mechanism Pavilion, it was obviously not possible to rely on Yi Fan alone. Wanting to take revenge on the Yi family, although there were those institutional forces left behind by his mother, one more Tianji Pavilion would naturally not be wrong. Issue a wife. It's fine. You guys just wait for me outside. I can protect myself. As Yi Fan spoke, he reached out and grabbed Su Ishue. Sui Shui was a bit puzzled, but she still keenly sensed that Yi Fan seemed to be much better than before already. His memory and IQ had recovered quite a bit. Perhaps leaving Yi Fan to have more contact with other people would be very beneficial to Yi Fan's recovery now? Then, Fugue, let's go out. Little Fan should be fine. Sui Shui greeted Wang Fugue, nodded at Yi Fan and quickly left the room entrance. Sui Shui didn't know where she got her confidence, and was very trusting of Yi Fan. She believed that Yi Fan could definitely handle everything and would definitely be fine. Su Ishue and Wang Fugue had just left the gate in the front foot, and Yu Chang started to move in the back foot. The thirteen flying daggers in his hand, with strong qi energy, shot rapidly towards Yi Fan from eight tricky angles. The sound of breaking air, which tore the void apart, all emitted a loud wail. That powerful qi fluctuation showed that the martial Dao qi carried on the flying daggers that Yu Chang had projected had already reached the martial emperor level of strength. And the underhandedness is what kills. Yi Fan knew that this was a test and a kill. 
if he is really Tianji Pavilion Master, then these flying daggers, he should be able to easily next, if he is not imposing as a pavilion master, then Yu Chang will be really good not to be merciful will behead himself. Yi Fan knew that he had to show a bit of real skill so that Yu Chang could completely submit, without any hesitation. Yi Fan's instantaneous shift characteristic was fully activated and his body disappeared in place, easily avoiding the attack of the 13 flying daggers. However, Yi Fan's movements didn't stop there. The strength of a third grade martial emperor was fully exerted, and the martial chi in his hands was on the verge of materializing. Stacking chop, Yi Fan's mouth gently rebuked. The martial chi in his hand instantly superimposed 18 times. Originally the strength of the third grade martial emperor. In a moment, the combat power exerted, completely geometrically multiplied, the real combat power, are comparable to the strength of the fifth grade martial emperor. Buzz, under the impact of the two powerful chi energies, the air in the entire room let out a wail. The air was forcibly torn apart with a sharp, violent sound. The thirteen flying daggers, which had contained a powerful force under the impact of Yi Fan's powerful chi, were instantly forced to stop in the air, seemingly frozen in the air. Aha! Noticing that Yi Fan's strength had gotten such a crazy boost in an instant, a flash of shock flashed through Yu Chang's eyes. Yi Fan's strength was actually stronger than he thought? It had all reached the fifth rank of martial emperor? This! Click! Click! As Yu Chang's flying daggers paused in the air, the next moment, those flying daggers were crushed by the impact of the powerful chi energy, and all of them shattered into a pile of debris, falling towards the ground. Just one move, strength high and low, immediately judged clearly. Yi Fan's strength was completely crushing Yu Chang. If Yi Fan wanted to make a move to kill Yu Chang, it was very unlikely that Yu Chang would be able to avoid it. Pavilion Master redeem yourself, subordinate Yu Chang, pay respects to Pavilion Master. My subordinate Zhang Chao, greetings to the pavilion master. The moment the flying dagger landed on the ground, Yu Chang immediately knelt down towards the ground and respectfully paid his respects towards Yi Fan. Zhang Chao, the secretary next to him, also knelt down to pay his respects. The two men were shocked and surprised in their hearts as they kneeled down. They hadn't expected at all that the pavilion master they had been waiting for almost 20 years, who was actually right next to them, was that foolish young master of the Yi family? They were aware of Yi Fan's talent before he was demented. At only 15 years old, he had reached the Zongshu realm. Now it was even at the level of martial emperor. The key was that Ji Fan was only in his early 20s now. Ah, in time, what kind of achievement would Ji Fan be? Tian Ji court is saved. Ji Fan himself walked to one side of the chair and sat down, speaking faintly, get up. With the sudden appearance of the pavilion master's order, you guys have suspicions and the need to test it can be understood. Now if you have any doubts, you can ask me about it. Subordinate does not have any doubts. Now that pavilion master has appeared, it must be an order from the old pavilion master. I will lead the killer hall and unconditionally obey any order from pavilion master. Although Yu Chang stood up, he still stood respectfully in front of Yi Fan with a pious face. Yi Fan looked at Yu Chang's appearance and secretly nodded in his heart. As expected, it was just like what that old man in the dragon ring had said. Yu Chang was worth trusting. Currently, the only ones who know my identity are you and Elder Pang. Tianji Pavilion's old pavilion master has fallen for so long. There must have been problems internally for a long time. I need time to unclutter. Currently there are no other tasks that you need to carry out. However, I need you to secretly go and investigate clearly. In the end, who wants to exterminate my Yi family? I need evidence. In addition, the seven clans that are related to the Yi family need to be sheltered and assisted by the Tianji Pavilion from all aspects. Yi Fan knew that although he had decapitated Chu Feng and exterminated the Zhao, Wang, and Li families, the other party's retaliation would definitely come even more crazily. If it was a time when it was inconvenient for him to step forward, he was afraid that relying on the strength of Xia Hao, Wo Li and the others alone would still not be enough. If he used the Yi family's power, he would probably expose himself very quickly. The best way to do this was to have the power of the Celestial Pavilion step in, as well as the power of the Wandering Souls to assist from the sidelines. Yes, my subordinate will do his best to shelter the seven clans. Yu Chang was probably aware of the Yi family's situation, which seven families Yi Fan was talking about. Yu Chang naturally knew well. When Yi Fan walked out from inside, Sui Xue and Wang Fugui went up with worried faces and asked, Big brother, husband, are you alright? Yi Fan smiled faintly. It's fine. Secretary Zhang followed along behind and came out, respectfully saying towards Sui Xue, Mr. Su, this is the production license signed by our elder Yu. The Su family can carry out the production of new medicines at any time. If Mr. Su encounters any trouble, you can contact me or Elder Yu at any time. This is our business card. While speaking, Zhang Chao handed Su Yishu with the two business cards in his hand. 
both with a few moments of fear in his eyes. The Sui Shui in front of her, that was the pavilion master's wife. Luckily, he hadn't made things difficult for Sui Shui before, or he wouldn't even know how to die. Thank you Secretary Zhang. After leaving from Yu Chang's place and sitting in the car, Sui Shui was still full of doubts. Hubby, what did Elder Yu say to you? Also, what exactly did you use to make Elder Yu suddenly agree to give the license quota to my Su group? Sui Shui was now becoming more and more skeptical of Yifan, suspecting that Yifan had already awakened a long time ago. If that was the case, it would be too shy for her to be that intimate with Yifan at night. After all, Sui Shui had been treating Yifan as if he was in a state of dementia, and so many of the movements and postures, it was Sui Shui who took the initiative to guide Yifan to do them. Didn't say anything ah? I just have some research in antiques and discovered the secret of that box, and Elder Yu and I discussed the knowledge of antique identification. As Yi Fan explained this, Wang Fugue who was driving in front of him quickly helped out. Yes, sister-in-law, as I said, my big brother has his own means when it comes to antiques. Sui Shui still wanted to continue to ask a few more questions when she suddenly received a call from the company. Mr. Su, someone from the provincial city came to look for you, saying that Su's group had signed a major project with them before, and that if the project wasn't carried out now, they would have to pay a huge amount of liquidated damages. Hearing the phone call from the secretary, Sui Shui couldn't help but thump in her heart, and her face paled at once. Is it time to come after all? Uncle Tu's one drunken mistake at the time was going to bring about the end of the family after all. Good, I'll be right back. Sui Shui hung up the phone and said to Wang Fugue in front of her, Fugue, drive to Su's group. Later you help take care of little Fan. I'm going to the company to handle a little something. But what Sui Shui didn't know was that Yi Fan had already heard what Sui Shui was saying on the phone clearly. The Su group had encountered trouble again, and although Yi Fan didn't know what it was for the time being, there was one thing that Yi Fan was sure of. It must be those people on Zhang Golao's side who had started to retaliate. If they don't suppress the Su group, their majesty will suffer a great blow, and those who join them in taking action against the Yi family will doubt their strength. When Yi Fan and Sui Shui left from Yu Chang, Jin Yang had set his eyes on Sui Shui, bringing a convoy of cars to follow Yi Fan and Sui Shui and the others behind them. Vaguely presenting a U-shape that surrounded Sui Shui's car. In the back of a black business car, a henchman beside Jin Yang said with some hesitation, Young Jin, do you really want to make a move on Miss Su? You are trying to pursue MS. Su, Jin Yang coldly glanced at his men and chided, I need you to teach me how to do things, get everyone to do it and crash it. I want production license slots. Understand? Jin Yang did have an interest in Sui Shui before, but Sui Shui had already clearly rejected him. And that bastard Yi Fan even made Jin Yang lose face in front of so many people. Compared to Sui Shui, obviously the production license is more important. This time if you can't get back the license, the Jin family loss will be big. Go home the old man is estimated to peel him a layer of skin to go. Further, Jin Yang had long hated Yi Fan and Sui Shui with itchy teeth and had to take this breath. Yes, with Jin Yang's order. From the left and right of Sui Shui's blue BMW, several vans, and a few pickup trucks, all accelerated towards Yi Fan's several people's vehicles. Yi Fan sat in the vehicle and sensed the pursuing vehicles when he set off from Yu Chang. These trash vehicles, with Yi Fan's current strength of a third grade martial emperor, even without any other external assistance, he could easily deal with them and crush them, so he didn't care at all. But before Yi Fan could do anything, Wang Fugue had already sensed the situation outside. Big brother, sister in law, sit tight, someone is trying to kill us, humph. My old Wang is not that easy to bully. As the words fell, Wang Fugue stepped on the gas pedal to the end. The vehicle whistled and rushed out, instantly coming to a sharp acceleration, a perfect drift, easily dodging the impact of the left and right two small trucks. Bang! As Wang Fugue drove towards the front and impacted, the two pickup trucks behind him violently collided together, and the front end was instantly scrapped. Crap! Behind! Not far away! In the business car, Jin Yang saw the situation in front of him. His mouth could not bear to brick burst a foul mouth. Horse, luck actually so good? Continue to act. Do not stop. I don't believe. We are so many people. Still can't kill you. For this action, Jin Yang have mobilized dozens of vehicles to act together. Is determined to Yi Fan and Sui Shui life. More vehicles accelerated towards Yi Fan and whistled. What neither Yi Fan nor Jin Yang knew was that at the other end of the street too. In a stretch Lincoln. Several people were looking at the scene in front of them with no binoculars. Interesting. We haven't made a move yet, but Jin Yang made the first move. The youth put down his binoculars and frowned slightly, as if he was thinking about something. Beside the youth, the henchman proposed, Young master, why don't we go up and add more fire? Help Jin Yang out and just get Yi Fan killed? The youth smiled coldly, 
if he fan died so easily, then he would have died five years ago, humph, besides, you guys don't forget that Captain Chu Fong personally came to Cloud City to make a move, and with the strength of the Martial Zoon realm, all of them fell, although the news we got was that the traveling soul made a move, but behind the Yi family, it's definitely not as simple as we think, might as well keep looking, on the street, Wang Fugue completely showed his superior car skills, moving left and right on the street at a fast speed, just like driving a bumper car, avoiding the impacts of those vehicles arranged by Jin Yang again and again, after dodging a dozen times in a row, Wang Fugue was also on fire, what the fuck, is it over, Wang Fugue's forehead was already covered in sweat, his nerves highly concentrated, sister-in-law, quickly called Wei Xiaotsai and asked them to send backup, Wang Fugue saw that more vehicles were surrounding him, and it was beyond his control, which is why he asked Su Ishue to call and ask Guo Li for help. Yes, Su Ishue just dialed the phone. From the front of the street, four small trucks, actually retrograde, side by side towards this side of the impact, will Wang Fugue all the way sealed, and behind them, again, were four pickup trucks, blocking off the road as well. Jin Yang sat in the car, looking at the situation in front of him, a cold smile surfaced at the corner of his mouth. Humph, this time, Let's see where you guys are still running towards. A car accident is simply the best way to kill someone. As long as you, Sui Shui, are dead, how else will the Su family's quota be enforced? As for Yi Fan, if you really killed Yi Fan, I'm afraid that there are still people who will thank you, right? The Jin family is going to be rich. Jin Yang's face was full of complacency, proud of the action he had arranged. Wang Fu Gue, facing such a desperate situation, was also really and completely anxious. Quick, sister-in-law. Take big brother out of the car. Let's escape through the flower bed next to us. I'll protect you. Wang Fu Gue, as Yi Fan's loyal lapdog, was always in charge of Yi Fan's safety. Yi Fan knew that Wang Fu Gue's current strength at the zone master level, in the face of such a major car accident, if he were to avoid it with all his might, he would not have much problem protecting himself, but to protect three people at the same time, Wang Fu Gue was obviously a bit overwhelmed. Boom, rumble, when Yi Fan was just about to make a move. On the other road on the side, two 20-ton heavy trucks roared over, impartially, just in time to shatter all eight of those small trucks on impact, crushing them into a mass of scrap metal. Those small trucks, weighing a few tons, were still lethal in front of the BMW sedan, but in front of those heavy trucks, they were just like papier-mâché, destroying them and crushing them all directly. Crap! What the hell? Such a coincidence? Jin Yang was completely dumbfounded when he saw the situation in front of him. Wang Fugue also touched a bead of sweat on his forehead. Too lucky, Sui Shui. On the other hand, had an elation appear on her face and turned her head to look at Yi Fan with a face of infatuation. Although there was no evidence, Sui Shui's sixth sense knew that all of this must have something to do with Yi Fan. After the two heavy trucks took care of those smaller trucks, the two drivers quickly jumped down and quietly made a gesture in Yi Fan's direction. Yi Fan could see clearly that this was an internal gesture of the Tianji Pavilion. Did Tianji Gu make a move so soon? As the head of the killer hall, Yu Cheng had arranged for people to protect him in such a quick time. It seems that Yu Chan's ability and means are both excellent. And like Peng Hai, he is also one of the two powerful generals of the Tianji Pavilion's internal civil and military forces. Yi Fan eyes flashed a touch of depth. With the support of these competent generals, those who destroyed the Yi family's full door will surely surface soon, and the blood debt will be paid. With the power of Tianji Pavilion secretly coming to their aid, all those vehicles arranged by Jin Yang were somehow hit by other vehicles where the drivers were beaten. All of them were instantly dumbfounded. Jin Yang was so angry in the business car that he went crazy and cursed. What the hell is going on? Are they all pigs? How did you arrange this? Why are these people so unreliable? Jin Xiao. I didn't ah. These people are all professionally trained and selected. And it's absolutely impossible for them to make any mistakes when carrying out a mission. The secretary beside Jin Yang hurriedly spoke. The current situation. It's obvious that someone has secretly made a move. Otherwise how could there be two driving cars appearing at the same time to the left and right of Su Ishua's vehicle? Jin Xiao. Why don't we just hurry up and withdraw first? This secretary by Jin Yang's side is really something. Analyzing the situation in front of him. Although he was not really involved in the planning of the truth of the matter. He had speculated the truth of the matter pretty much. However, at this time, Jin Yang was killing red eyes. Such a sophisticated plan had failed to kill Su Ishua. So what chance would there be in the future? Withdraw. Withdraw a chicken feather. If we don't kill them today, what chance will we have in the future? Jin Yang was very clear that if he let Sui Shui leave today, it would be much more difficult for him to make a move on Sui Shui again in the future. Moreover, that production quota, which fell into the hands of Su's group, 
the news would soon ferment. At that time, the Su family's development would become more and more rapid, while the Jin family's credibility and development would all be severely sidelined. Today, Su Ishiwa must be taken down. At the very least, it should keep Su Ishiwa out of action and involved in the leadership of the company. You, go over, drive the other two cars, and crash with me. Jin Yang's eyes flashed a flash of viciousness. I don't believe it. Can't I get you killed today? A fool and a pussy. Jin Yang looked around. There were no more other trucks, sedans or the like nearby. When Yifan and Sui Shui were hit by their own arranged vehicle just now, a truck came over to rescue them, and now that he had done it again, even if there were still people who wanted to save Yifan, they couldn't have done it so quickly, could they? Jin Young. Well, although the secretary beside Jin Yang was reluctant in a hundred ways, but Jin Yang had opened his mouth, he couldn't refuse, so he could only get into another car and urge the bodyguard to start the vehicle, and together with Jin Yang, they continued to chase towards Yifan and Su Ishui's vehicle. At this time, Su Ishui in the sedan was stunned as she looked around. Eight vehicles in pursuit of him, so besieging him, were actually stopped at the critical moment by two trucks that suddenly rushed by. Su Ishui was also the daughter of a powerful family, so she naturally knew that this was not a coincidence. Su Ishui turned her head to look at Yifan. What she was wondering was whether this was a force arranged by Yifan, or was it some other force protecting in secret? Yifan just exchanged the knowledge of antique appraisal with Yu Chang. Did Yu Chang change his original decision and give the production quota to himself? Su Ishiwei couldn't believe it. But one thing Su Ishiwei was sure of was that she should have chosen the right one when she chose Yifan. Although there would still be a period of hard times to come when he followed Yifan, the future would definitely be bright. Buzz. Wang Fugue was still continuing to drive. When he heard the roar of the engine behind him, his face couldn't help but change, and he spoke coldly. Still coming? If the tiger doesn't give out, do you really think I'm a sick cat? Wang Fugue pulled his sleeves up and said to Su Ishue, Sister-in-law, you help hold the steering wheel first. As he spoke, Wang Fugue's entire body jumped out directly from the car window. The peak strength of his own sure did not have any reservation. Wang Fugue faced a van that came impacting from behind and swung the fist in his hand and smashed it directly. Boom! The powerful chi energy from Wang Fugue's arm directly smashed the entire front end of the vehicle and the van instantly came to a halt as black smoke began to rise from the front end. The moment Wang Fugue made his move, Yi Fan could see clearly from the car that a golden stream of light was faintly floating on Wang Fugue's back. Basilisk Armor Wang Fugue's body actually contained a special physique pattern, the Xuan Wu Armor, which was the most natural shield if it could be completely activated and mastered. When utilized properly, attacks under a martial emperor would not be able to do anything at all under the Xuan Wu Armor. This brother of mine really isn't so bad after all. A smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth. It seemed that sometimes, later on, he would have to continue to raise Wang Fugue's strength a bit, even though this guy's brain is a bit naive. When it comes to fighting, it's still unambiguous. The van, that secretary of Jin Yang, because the van stopped, instantly hit by the face, panicked and climbed down from the car, crawling towards the distance. Boom! That secretary of Jin Yang had just left less than 5 meters when the van behind him exploded directly. With such a scene, on the other side, Jin Yang, who hadn't rushed over yet, froze once again, treading on the horse. This Wang Fugue, is he also a fool? Does he really want to die? Jin Xiao, do we still have to continue to rush up? The driver in front of Jin Yang, his legs and stomach were shivering in fear. The situation in front of him, if he rushes up, it's a complete head scratcher. Dash my ass. If you don't leave at this time, are you waiting to die? Jin Yang didn't have the good sense to knock on the driver's head. Jin Yang had already sensed that a super powerful martial chi was rapidly approaching. On the opposite side of the road, a large group of convoys were approaching this way. Most likely Yi Fan's rescuers had come. That driver was so amazed that he couldn't wait to push the gas into the tank, and the vehicle whizzed off. Today is really take Yi Fan and Sui Shui have no way out, can only continue to find the opportunity to do it later? Alas, although he was not willing to do so, all of Jin Yang's men died. Ding dong. Jin Yang's vehicle had just left a few hundred meters away when his cell phone suddenly received a text message. Immediately transfer 1 billion to Su's group as a moral damage fee to Su, or you'll regret it. Aha! Uh -huh. Jin Yang's heart thumped. Is there any big shot behind the Su group that hasn't made a move yet? Revenge so soon? But after thinking about it for a few seconds, Jin Yang didn't take the message seriously. With all the spam nowadays, it was highly likely that it was a deliberate threat. However, in the next moment, the bodyguard beside Jin Yang pointed at Jin Yang's chest in horror and said, Young Jin, your chest, chest, what happened to my chest? Jin Yang looked down towards his chest with some uncertainty, only to see several red dots gathered on his chest. 
seemingly locked by a sniper. Ah, this, Jin Yang nerves immediately began to tense up. Quick, drive the car to hide under the shelter. Although Jin Yang wasn't sure if these red dots meant that the snipers were locking themselves in, Jin Yang didn't dare to gamble ah, if you lose the bet, it's your life. Bang, Jin Yang's vehicle was still moving when a burst of gunfire suddenly rang out the window. In the next moment, the bodyguard beside Jin Yang was directly pierced through, killing him on the spot. Ding dong, another text message was sent over on Jin Yang's phone. This time it's your bodyguard. Last warning, next time it's your turn. Be good, if you can hide for a moment. Can you hide for a lifetime? Our people are everywhere. We'll give you 10 seconds to think. At the same time that another text message was sent over, Jin Yang realized that the red dots on his chest had once again increased by several, and were actually shooting from different directions. Such a situation has been very telling. That meant that those who were secretly protecting Yi Fan were obviously not just one, but many. Jin Yang was violently shocked in his heart. Wasn't Yi Fan a fool? The Yi family was clearly on the verge of collapse. Where did so many people manpower come from to protect Yi Fan? The strength of the other party has just been seen by Jin Yang, said sniping his bodyguard. The next moment instantly killed the bodyguard. If he dares to slack off a little bit, afraid that his life will really be lost here. I'll pay. I'll pay okay. While speaking out of his mouth, Jin Yang panicked and got down from the car, raised his hands towards the void, then quickly pulled out his phone and dialed his father's number. Dad, save me. Immediately make a payment of one billion dollars to the Su group. I'm being targeted with a sniper rifle right now. Asshole, didn't you go for the production slot? How come you're being threatened for a billion dollars? On the other end of the phone, Jin Yang's father was very angry. I've been reminding you to keep a low profile, but you always refuse to listen. So now it's okay? Father, you quickly arranged to call the money. I only have 10 seconds. If it is any later, you will wait for your son to collect the corpse. Jin Yang was suffocating. All this time, why is his old man still muttering there? First save his life is important ah, good, 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 I'll arrange to transfer the money right away. Jin Yang's old man had gotten a son late in life, and it was rare to have such a son. A billion dollars was a huge amount of money for the Jin family, but compared to Jin Yang's life, it was nothing at all. On the other end of the phone, Jin Yang's father quickly arranged for the transfer. The moment the transfer message was confirmed, Jin Yang realized that the red dot on his chest had disappeared. At the same time came a text message. Be at peace in the future. If you dare to find Yi Xiao, Mr. Su, and the Su group have a bit of trouble, will take your life at any time. Looking at the content on the text message on his cell phone, Jin Yang's face was gloomy to the extreme. He knew that he had planted himself this time, and he had planted himself completely. After spending such a large price to transport the antique back from outside the country, he had intended to get the production quota from Yu Chang. As a result, not only was the production quota snatched by the Su group, but the assassination that he had arranged for Sui Shui and Yifan also failed. In addition to compensating the Su group with a billion dollars in moral damages, the key up to now, who was secretly protecting Yifan and Sui Shui, who was making a move on Jin Yang, Jin Yang knew nothing. That is to say, even if the Jin family seeks a claim from the Su group, it is not in the right name and is not justified, because the Jin family turned over a billion dollars. The notes are said very clearly, is a voluntary donation, there is also a donation contract. Damn it, Jin Yang slammed his fist fiercely on the seat, a flash of gloom in his eyes, Sui Shui, this stinking bitch, and Yi Fan, that fool, would never just let it go, you wait for me, if I can't deal with you, I'll find someone who can, it will definitely not end well for you, not far away, the youth who had been watching the show, seeing Jin Yang holding his hands up to surrender outside the car, a wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he said to the henchmen around him, See, the Yi family's heritage is stronger than what you and I imagined. So, don't do it easily. Once you do it, it has to be 100%. Don't give them any chance. I, young lord is right. I will continue to arrange for people to follow up and wait for the opportunity. Go. The youth was satisfied with his opponent's performance and waved his hand for his men to leave, while his eyes glanced evilly towards Yi Fan's direction and muttered, He he, only someone like this is worthy of being my opponent, right? It's finally not so boring. While the youth was looking towards Yi Fan's side, Yi Fan seemed to have sensed something and his eyes were sharp as he looked towards the youth's direction. The powerful perception of the martial emperor level was released, but there was no abnormality over there. However, Yi Fan's sixth sense could clearly sense that there was something weird. There must be hidden experts over there that he hadn't noticed. It was also this feeling that made Yi Fan realize that in this world, there were too many strong people who were heading out of the scope of his own cognition and that he still needed to continue to work hard and strive for higher breakthroughs before he could do so. 
mother had left so many means and aids for herself. Surely it wasn't as simple as simply letting herself fight for supremacy in the Grand Xia. Above the wandering souls, as well as above the Tianji pavilion, there were definitely more powerful existences. It's just that, at his current level, he's not touchy-feely enough. It's okay, the other car, count on him to run fast. Wang Fugue smashed one of the cars directly and was going to go and smash the other car. But Jin Yang ran faster and Wang Fugue was worried about Ji Fan and Sui Shui being attacked by other parties, so he gave up the chase. Wang Fugue's intelligence couldn't even notice that there were actually other people in the shadows who helped intercept today's assassination. While Wang Fugue drove towards Su's group, Yi Fan's head was thinking about the troubles that Su's group had to face, and how he had already helped to solve a lot of them. Who's up to no good today? However, now that Yi Fan, behind him, had stood a number of super organizations and family forces, as well as those cards left behind by his mother, Yi Fan was not as flustered. With the capital to arm wrestle with those people, soldiers come and go, water comes and goes, the car accident in Cloud City had just ended, but Ren Shuiying, who had returned to the provincial capital, had suffered another bizarre car accident. Ren Shuiying had plucked an authentic ancient painting from Cloud City, and had met a man who made her smooth. Ren Shuiying was so happy that she drove back to the provincial city with the maid beside her, intending to arrange the birthday banquet behind for her grandfather. But right after the vehicle got off the highway and entered the provincial city of Huadu, at an intersection, the vehicle Ren Shuiying was traveling in ran into trouble. An intersection, four directions, there were actually four heavy trucks, simultaneously from four directions, crashing towards Ren Shuiying's sedan. Ren Shuiying is obviously in accordance with the traffic light rules and regulations of walking, but instantly surrounded by four heavy trucks in the center, 360 degrees without a dead angle surrounded by a group of people, and ruthlessly hit and go. Those heavy trucks are pulling rocks, full weight, if the impact is solid, then Ren Shuiying's small car, I'm afraid to be squeezed into a discus. Damn, have they all started to be so reckless? Looking at the situation in front of her, Ren Shuiying chortled out of her mouth. In Ren Shuiying's heart, she could actually probably guess what kind of people made the move. She just didn't expect that they would actually dare to be so reckless and make a move on Ren Shuiying in broad daylight in Huadu. Boom, rumble, four trucks, without any suspense ruthless impact on Ren Shuiying's sedan. The sedan Ren Shuiying was riding squeezed into a mass of scrap metal. Ren Shuiying simply did not have any chance to dodge the escape. Call the police. Call 120 for an ambulance. Ugh, it's useless to call an ambulance now, isn't it? Can't you see that the car has been deformed and turned into a piece of scrap metal? How can a person still be alive? It's a pity. I saw it just now. It was two girls driving the car, so young to lose their lives. Such a tragic car accident. The scene immediately gathered a large number of people. The crowd of those older women. Adults have lamented. Some even want to go forward to help. In the four heavy trucks. A few drivers with bottles in their hands staggered out of the trucks, then dropped straight to the ground with no intention of escaping. Obviously, the people who planned this operation know the law, and a drunken hit and run that kills someone is just a couple of years, not the death penalty. In the crowd, a few youths wearing sunglasses went up to check it out, saw that the sedans were in that state, quietly took two pictures, then quickly hid into the back of the crowd and dialed an encrypted phone number. Boss, you've seen the photos. Right? For heavy trucks have crashed Rin Shuiying's sedan like that. It's categorically impossible to be alive. To avoid exposure. We'll retreat first. Yes. Those few youths had just retreated when the sedan, which had been hit into scrap metal in the middle of the four heavy trucks, suddenly moved. It was followed by gravity kicking in from the inside a few feet. Then, a warped car door was opened from inside. Rin Shuiying and her attendant Xiao Qing by her side staggered out of the car, their heads still a bit dazed. The maid, Haru had a gash on her forehead, not a big one, and the blood had stopped flowing, and Ren Shuiying actually didn't have a single scratch on her entire body, not even a broken skin. After a few seconds of shock, Ren Shuiying looked at the sedan with an incredulous face. The entire sedan has been hit by the impact of no one intact, all broken into pieces, but only the front and back of the driver's compartment, leaving a place two feet wide, just enough to accommodate the driving Xiao Qing, as well as sitting in the back of the Ren Shuiying safely avoided the impact. How is that possible? Ren Shuiying frowned as she pondered the scene in front of her. Even the passenger compartment had been shattered, leaving only the main cab so intact? It's not scientific. Miss, this, Xiao Qing was beside her and also saw the situation in front of her, noticing that it was very abnormal. Ren Shuiying was still thinking, when she suddenly felt a burning pain in her wrist, and when she looked down towards her wrist, she froze, only to see Ren Shuiying's wrist, that originally emerald green bracelet, at this time has turned black and charred. 
The intense searing pain came from the very spot where the bracelet had been placed. Ren Shuiying was a bit puzzled as she reached out to touch the bracelet on her wrist, and in the next moment, the bracelet, which had already turned pitch black, turned into a piece of powder and dissipated with the wind. On the other hand, Ren Shuiying's wrist skin was left with a circle of arcane lines, still flickering with streams of light, fluctuating for a few moments, and finally disappearing. Ren Shuiying was ice smart, and after a few seconds of slight reflection, she instantly understood. It's him. Ren Shuiying thought of the time in Cloud City when Yi Fan ended up taking away the bracelet on his wrist and then quickly sealing something on it. Could it be that Yi Fan was sealing these lines on his bracelet at that time? Definitely. Ren Shuiying's family had a huge power, and the things that they had touched were much more than usual. Ren Shuiying knew very well that in this world, there was that category of people who were called talisman masters, who were the ones who could seal some special patterns and play a special role at critical times. And Yi Fan is definitely that kind of person. Miss. Who is it? That handsome guy from Cloud City? The maid next to her was puzzled for a moment. And when she saw Ren Shuiying's expression, she immediately guessed the general idea. He saved Miss's life. Such a favor. Miss has no way of repaying him. She can only give her body in return oh. Giggle. The maid snickered beside her. And the two of them hijacked and laughed again. Although Ren Shuiying was retorting to Xiao Qing with her mouth, she was sweet inside. Is this the magic of fate? To have yourself and that big brother meet again and make so many connections? But thinking about today's assassination, Ren Shuiying's face couldn't help but sink. Those people, they're too arrogant. They actually dare to be so reckless. Grandpa is still alive. Hum. After a slight hesitation, Ren Shuiying dialed her grandfather's phone. Grandpa, I've encountered an attack in Huadu. Someone wants me dead. You send someone over immediately. In Cloud City, Yi Fan was still on his way to the Su group when he suddenly noticed a change in a mark on his hand. And the corner of his mouth couldn't help but smile slightly. Did Rin Shuiying's bloodbath come so quickly? The peace talisman had taken effect so quickly, but from what he had sensed, Rin Shuiying's life should not be in danger. So much the better. Yi Fan had just retrieved his thoughts when his cell phone suddenly received a message from Guo Li. Brother Fan, a message came from Pang Lao's side. The Lu family in the provincial city has begun to act again. Lu Ran's son, Lu Hao, personally came to the Su group. It is said that he wants to execute a contract that the second master of the Su family had signed before when he was drunk and that if it is not handled properly, the entire Su group will have to lose money in it. However, when Pang Lao was investigating the Lu family, he discovered a secret about Lu Hao. Although Lu Hao was sinister, he loved his mother very much, but his mother accidentally jumped to her death when he was a teenager, and Lu Hao has been investigating the truth. But the truth of the matter is that, because of the Holy Angels organization, a big man had his eyes on Lu Rant's wife, so Lu Hao's father personally sent his wife to the Holy Angels big man's bed. Lu Hao once let slip to the public that if anyone could find the murderer who killed his mother, he could give up all his life after taking revenge. I've already sent the relevant evidence to Brother Fan's mailbox. Yi Fan looked at the text message on his cell phone and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. This Lu Ran, really ruthless ah, for the development of the Lu family, actually even his own wife can be sacrificed. If Lu Hao knew the truth of the matter, then the Lu family would be lively. Sons and fathers fighting with swords, ha, huh? interesting. The Lu family was so crazy to control the Zhao family, the Li family, and the Wang family to deal with the Yi family, and it was the tragic end they deserved. With what Lu Hao needed in his hand, Yi Fan instantly thought of a way to deal with Lu Hao. Ishu a wife, let me accompany you to the company, maybe I can help with the company? Yi Fan tenderly hugged Su Ishua's arm and leaned his head on Su Ishua's shoulder. Su Ishua hesitated slightly for two seconds. Thinking of Yi Fan's previous performances, she nodded her head and said, Good. Although Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia, when he was in the antique street, Yi Fan had said that he seemed to have remembered something, and his IQ was recovering rapidly. Previously, Yi Fan's IQ had been maintained at 7 or 8 years old, but now it should at least be in the teens, right? Yi Fan had accumulated so many contacts before the accident, it might really come in handy. Su Clan Group, a group of executives gathered in the conference room, nervously looking at a youth at the top. That youth was no one else but Lu Hao who came from the Lu family in the provincial city. We all see clearly, this is the second master of the Su family. Su Ming Ho Su on behalf of the Su family group and my Lu family signed a betting contract. That year, the Lu family invested 100 million to the Su family group. The Su family group needs to expand the scale. Within three years, the total amount of production to break through tens of billions of dollars, the market share to break through 50%. If you can't do it, the Lu family will take over the full range of the Su family group. Moreover, according to the contract, not only are the assets of the Su group to be regulated by the Lu family, 
But it is also stated very clearly in the additional conditions that all the core disciples of the Su family have to listen to the Lu family's arrangements. In other words, if I, Lu Hao, have my eyes on one of the Su family's women, they must all serve me unconditionally. This contract is stamped in fair by the Great Summer Martial Arts Alliance. You don't have to doubt it. I investigated. Su's group scale in recent years is only a few billion. The scale is obviously not up to standard, right? Su's group My Lu family is going to be ready to take over. You all better prepare the transfer contract first, and then think about how to assist me to run Su's group later. Lu Hao sat at the top with a smug look on his face. With that contract in hand, can't Lu Hao easily pin down the Su family? As long as the Su family was pinned down and made to suffer, then there would be an explanation to the above. Those who had made a move against the Yi family, all they needed was to let the others see the tragic end of helping the Yi family. Young Lu, we can't be sure of the authenticity of the contract you said for now. And since Mr. Su is not in the company, we can't carry out your orders. A few of the company's executives were still very supportive of Su Yishui. Although there was a company stamp on the top of the contract, people did not intend to listen to Lu Hao's orders. He he, there's no point in dragging this out. When the Su family stood up to the Yi family, they should have had to think of their own downfall. Lu Hao coldly chided and was about to continue speaking when the conference room room door opened from outside. Su Yishui and Yi Fan, Wang Fu Gui pushed the door in, seeing Lu Hao. Su Yishui couldn't help but chide. Lu Hao, you are too despicable. The contract of that year, you know clearly that it was signed after the second uncle got drunk. At that time we talked about this matter, clearly agreed that that contract was voided. What do you mean by taking it out like this now? Su Yishui arrived, and those executives of the Su clan group at the scene instantly breathed a sigh of relief, as if they had found their backbone. Ha, huh, what do I mean? Isn't this very obvious? For those properties of the Su group, I cannot want them, but for Mr. Su, this absolutely beautiful body, I am very eager to try it out ah. Uh. Anyway, the contract is so agreed. Mr. Su has no qualification to refuse. Otherwise, everyone in the Su family will be hunted down by the Martial Arts Alliance. Mr. Su should understand, right? Lu Hao's eyes recklessly surveyed Su Yishui. If his eyes could act, I'm afraid Lu Hao would have already stripped Su Yishui naked with his eyes. That richly aggressive look made Su Yishui feel uncomfortable. Yi Fan who was standing beside Su Ishue, moved his body and blocked in front of Su Ishue, gently pinching Su Ishue's wrist and said, Wife, don't be afraid, I'm here. Although it was only a soft sentence, it caused Su Ishue's heart to tremble. Has Yafan really grown up, knowing that you have to protect your wife? Although it was just such a soft sentence, it made Su Ishue feel a strong sense of security. Lu Hao's move against the Su group was originally aimed at Yi Fan, and when he saw that Yi Fan had stepped forward, a touch of contempt surfaced on his face. Is this the stupid retard of the Yi family? Such a beautiful woman. Actually married to you. Really blind. Night you know how to sleep? Why don't we find a hotel and I'll teach you on the spot? A touch of evil surfaced in Lu Hao's eyes as he stared scorchingly at Sui Shui. Sui Shua absolutely beautiful body. Lu Hao but thought for a long time ah. If it is pressed under the body, it must be super comfortable. Get off my wife's seat. Yi Fan stepped forward and grabbed Lu Hao by the neck forcibly pulling him towards one side. Also, my wife said that whoever dares to call me a fool will beat the hell out of him. Snap. Without any hesitation, Yi Fan swung his own arm and viciously slapped Lu Hao in the face. Five clearly visible fingerprints instantly appeared on the left side of Lu Hao's face, and half of his face was red and swollen. Ah, crap. How dare you hit me? You're also worthy of hitting me? Lu Hao jumped up in place in pain with an unbelievable face. While howling from his mouth, he turned towards a gray-robed old man beside himself. Uncle Wang, what's the situation here? Lu Hao had heard something about Yi Fan before he left and knew that Yi Fan was not to be messed with, so he specifically brought the strongest bodyguard in the family. Uncle Wang's strength was all on the verge of reaching the martial Zun realm, and he had a certain prestige in the southwest region. According to past experience, if someone was going to make a move on himself, Uncle Wang would intercept the other party's movement before they did so. Ah, why did you actually let Yi Fan get it today? Young Lu, this Yi Fan is a bit weird, he moves. Too fast. I didn't even notice it just now. Xiao Lu be careful. The gray-robed old man's face was grave, and his eyes were full of caution as he looked at Yi Fan. As a martial arts powerhouse, he was very clear about how fast Yi Fan had moved his hand just now. With his peak strength of a zone sure, he couldn't even see how Yi Fan made his move. With such strength, he was afraid that he was at least above the martial zone realm, and it was simply not something he could deal with. Now Uncle Wang also understood why the strong man from the northwest direction, who had brought so many experts with him, had fallen in the Yi family. Swimming Soul's help was one aspect. If there was no Swimming Soul's help for the Yi family, 
Would those strong men in the Northwest really be able to exterminate the Yi family? I'm afraid that may not be the case. Fortunately, today's visit to Cloud City was not to compete in a contest of force either. Liu Hao came here today, mainly to use the Martial Arts Alliance's contract to make things happen. Although Liu Hao was a rich second generation, he was not stupid. He knew very well what Uncle Wang meant. This was a hint to him, not to fight hard with Yi Fan. After all, everyone knew that Yi Fan was just a fool, and if he himself was killed by a fool, it would be a wasted death. Seeing that Yi Fan seemed to be planning to continue, Liu Hao hurriedly called Yi Fan to a halt. Wait a minute, I'm not here to fight today. Putting aside the others, the contract between the Su group and the Liu family. This is true. Today I'm here to take over the Su group. By the way, all the people in the Su family will have to be slaves to the Liu family. This is a contract that has the martial arts alliance's impartiality. You guys always dare not violate it, right? As Liu Hao spoke, he glanced towards the other two middle-aged men and women next to him. The ones coming from over there were representatives of the Martial Arts Alliance. Yes, folks, we testify on behalf of the Martial Arts Alliance that the contract is valid and the signing process was legal and compliant. If it is unilaterally not enforced, our Martial Arts Alliance will pursue it to the end. The influence of the Martial Arts Alliance was even higher than the official one within the Great Xia. In the era of reverence for martial arts, martial arts is above all else. Officials do things, may also be in accordance with some rules. But the martial arts alliance's way of doing things, may be even more brutal. Life and death to look down. Do not serve. Previously, there had been many examples of going against the meaning of the martial arts alliance and going against it, but without exception, all of them did not end up well. As soon as the words of the two representatives of the martial arts alliance came out, the scene was all quiet. All those core senior leaders of the Su clan, were silent, and a mournful mood filled the room. The martial arts alliance had stepped in. No matter how powerful the Su clan was, they wouldn't dare to fight against the martial arts alliance? Yi family is now also declined. If the Yi family heyday, perhaps also can break a wrist. But now, moreover, Yi Fan was a fool. Did he know how to fight against the martial arts alliance? Looking at the atmosphere of the scene, Lu Hao was very satisfied. Looking at Yi Fan and Sui Shui with a smug face. Yi Fan, I know that five years ago you were a genius, but now you are a fool. So what if you can fight? Yi family has fallen. Such a beautiful beauty. You don't deserve to have. Your wife is destined to be my woman. What can you do to me? If you kill me, the martial arts alliance will definitely not let you go. Lu Hao also relied on the amulet of the martial arts alliance so he dared to come to Cloud City. Snap. Before Lu Hao's words fell, Yi Fan once again made his move and slapped Lu Hao hard on the right side of his face again. Five fingerprints surfaced again. This is symmetrical from left to right. Lu Hao's face is puffy and swollen, just like a pig's head and his eyes are squinting. The nearby Uncle Wang instinctively prepared to intercept, but his wrist had not even been raised yet. Yi Fan's attacking movement had already been completed. He did not have any chance to protect Lu Hao. Quick! It's too fast! Sweat beaded on Uncle Wang's forehead as he looked at Yi Fan with a face of fear. While in his heart, he sighed. Is this the power of a genius demon? Just slightly out of hand. He simply could not even touch the skin? If Yi Fan wanted to kill all the people present today, I'm afraid that none of them would be able to stop him, right? In fact, where does Uncle Wang know that he is guessing conservatively? Yi Fan is already in the strength of the Martial Emperor realm, if Yi Fan goes all out. Not to mention these people at the scene, even if you look at the whole of Dasha, there are not many people who can fight against Yi Fan ah. Nima, you want to die ah. Lu Hao opened his mouth and was ready to swear at Yi Fan. Being hit in the face by Yi Fan once could still be explained that it was an accident, but being hit twice. It was definitely not as simple as an accident. Yi Fan was really strong. So the words of cursing in Lu Hao's mouth were finally swallowed back hard. Lu Hao turned his gaze towards the representatives of the Martial Arts Alliance next to him. Those two representatives of the Martial Arts Alliance had received benefits from Lu Hao and naturally had to speak for Lu Hao at this time. Yi Fan, today, Lu Xiao is here to talk about the contract and the matter of taking over the Su's group. If you make another move, we in the Martial Arts Alliance will have to intervene. Business matters. We still want people to use business means to solve them. Next to her, Sui Shui also let out a long sigh and reached out to pull Yi Fan's sleeve and said, Little Fan, calm down, let's sit down and have a good chat. Yi Fan said indifferently, What's there to talk about with this kind of person? As the words fell, Yi Fan quickly walked towards Lu Hao. What do you, you want to do? Two slaps in a row had already scared Lu Hao. Seeing Yi Fan walk over, Lu Hao's voice trembled a little, instinctively wanting to move backward. Yi Fan's mouth twitched. Nothing, I want to make a deal with you. Speaking at the same time, Yi Fan will open his cell phone. Will Guoli sent over the information to open? 
Above is Lu Hao mother jumped some video information. In Lu Hao mother behind, a man's appearance flashed. Before Lu Hao could see clearly, Yi Fan put his cell phone back. But at this time, Lu Hao has been shocked pupils or a burst of dilation. You, how do you have this video? You know the truth about my mother's death? Quickly, tell me, please, you let me do anything. Lu Hao's attitude changed instantly, and his arrogant appearance just now was completely different, reaching out and pulling Yi Fan's arm and shaking it nonstop. Over the years, Lu Hao has spent too much energy and effort to investigate the truth of his mother's death. At that time, the mother jumped off the opposite side of the building. There was supposed to be monitoring, but Lu Hao went to investigate many times. We're told that at that time the monitoring was broken. Lu Hao simply cannot get the monitoring. And why does Yi Fan have this surveillance in his hands now? Wasn't Yi Fan a fool? How did he strike and pinpoint his softest spot? However, at this time Lu Hao has no heart to think about these things. He now urgently want to know. When the murderer who killed his mother, in the end who is it? He wants to give his mother revenge. Anyone, who dares to harm his mother, Lu Hao will definitely not let go. What I need you to do, you know very well. Yi Fan put his cell phone away and looked at Lu Hao indifferently. Lu Hao froze and immediately understood. I revoke. I revoke this contract and will no longer pursue any responsibility from Su Group. Without any hesitation, Lu Hao asked his men to bring the password box over. Then took out the three stamped contracts inside and displayed them in front of Yi Fan before respectfully handing them over to Yi Fan. Young Yi, the contracts are at your disposal. There's no other backup? Yi Fan raised his eyebrows and stared searingly at Lu Hao. Lu Hao shook his head like a wave drum. No more. All the originals are here. Yi Shao rest assured that even if there is, I will not pursue it. If Yi Shao cannot, I represent Lu's group. On the spot to sign a disclaimer contract. Lu Hao was afraid that Yi Fan wouldn't believe him. And on the spot. He had his secretary draft a waiver of liability contract, signed it himself, then stamped it and handed it to Yi Fan. Yi Fan handed the stamped contract and the previously signed contract to Sui Shui at the same time. Wife, check the contract and see if there are any problems. Sui Shui looked at the contract in her hand. Her entire body was confused. This, what kind of magic does Yi Fan have? It was the same when he took the production quota from Yu Chang just now. He just asked Wang Fugue to send the antique back again. And Yu Chang passed. And now when dealing with Lu Hao, it was the same. Yi Fan just quietly said a few words to Lu Hao. And Lu Hao was so good and soft. There's nothing wrong with it. Uncle Tu also said that there were just three contracts at the time. And they're all here. After getting Su Yi Shui's affirmative reply, Yi Fan opened his cell phone and said to Lu Hao, Give me your mailbox. I'll send you all the information. But speaking beforehand, you can judge the authenticity of the matter yourself. Also, friendly reminder, before you find out the truth of the matter, You'd better be psychologically prepared. Prepare yourself mentally? What does that mean? Lu Hao was still a little confused in his heart. But when he opened the information that Yi Fan had sent to him in his mailbox and read a few lines, he jumped up in excitement. No, it's not possible. It's absolutely impossible. My father, how could he be like this? Yi Fan, did you deliberately make some fake information to trick me? The information sent by Pang Lao was very detailed. From how Lu Ran contacted those people from the Holy Envoy, how the big brother of the holy envoy looked at Lu Hao's mother, and how Lu Ran talked to Lu Hao's mother alone and how he dissuaded. Even, at that time, in the hotel room, the father appeared in front of the camera. In other words, the father was there when the mother was insulted. All of the processes are explained in detail, aided by some video footage. At first, Lu Hao was agitated and wanted to argue with Yi Fan, but in the back, seeing the video information inside to testify, Lu Hao gradually calmed down. The information Lu Hao investigated before, in fact, many aspects, are pointing to their own father. Just, at that time, the key evidence is missing, and Lu Hao also does not believe that his father, for the sake of power, will send his own wife to other people's beds, so he is not willing to believe just. And now, some of the clues and evidence provided by Yi Fan happened to fill in those key evidence missing from Lu Hao's investigation at that time, and all the chains made sense. It eventually pointed to a fact that Lu Hao was very reluctant to believe, but had to accept. It was really the father, Lu Ran, who had forcibly bewitched his mother and then sent her to the bed of that big shot from the Holy Angels organization, currently in the process of being defiled, and after he came to his senses, he couldn't bear to be humiliated and then jumped directly from the 18th floor. Ah, darn it. Lu Hao finished organizing all the information, and his entire body was about to collapse. One is his favorite mother. The other is his most respected father. Lu Hao did not expect that his father would actually do something like that. It's all the Holy Angels organization. Back then, when my father wanted to join the Holy Envoy organization and serve the Holy Envoy, 
Many people in the family were against it, but my father didn't listen, and gradually kicked those people in the family out of the core position, and in the end, the Lu family in the provincial city, such a huge family ended up being reduced to a vassal of the holy envoy organization, Yi Fan, no matter what purpose you had for telling me this information, but I still thank you, at least I know the truth of the matter, this revenge, I will definitely avenge, maybe we'll have a chance to work together in the future, Lu Hao looked deeply at Yi Fan, greeted Uncle Wang, and quickly left from the Su group conference room, Lu Hao has grown up very quickly inside Lu's group, and already has the vague intention of taking over his father's position, Lu Hao had little problem trying to deal with Lu Ran, but in fact, the one who directly killed Lu Hao's mother was that big guy from the Holy Angels organization, and Lu Hao had to find that guy from the Holy Angels organization and kill him in order to avenge his mother's death, but after so many years, Lu Hao, through his father, also probably knew that the power behind the Holy Envoy organization was very huge, it wasn't easy for Lu Hao to find the big man and kill him, it was impossible for him to fight against the Holy Angels organization on his own, not even if the entire Lu family were to make an all-out effort, Lu Hao needs allies, and Yi Fan, behind also the Yi family, Yi Fan has strength and intelligence now, seems to be awakening, naturally the best choice of ally, Lu Hao was even more keenly aware that behind Yi Fan, besides the Yi family, there seemed to be another powerful force secretly supporting him, that power was an existence that could rival the Holy Angels organization, wow, after Lu Hao left, in the Su group conference room, it instantly started to blow up, that settled, that was a contract that the representatives of the martial arts alliance had justified ah, Lu Xiao actually revoked it just like that, yeah, the Su group has nearly 10 billion dollars in assets to say the least, what means did Ji Xiao use to make Lu Hao give up so easily, the Yi family is really the Yi family, even if Yi Fan is just a fool, he is still powerful, perhaps, Mr. Su made the right choice, while the crowd was discussing, their eyes were burning towards Yi Fan, in fact, at the same time that the crowd was puzzled, Sui Shui was also puzzled as to what means Yi Fan was using, Van, what the hell is going on here, Sui Shui held the contract in her hand, the three originals were all here, now as long as those contracts were thrown into the shredder and pulverized, the one that threatened Su's group, was eliminated, Su's group previously lacked a prescription, although it was Lei Qianjie who contributed the prescription, Sui Shui now also felt that the prescription should have been given to Lei Qianjie by Yi Fan, after all, although Lei Qianjie is the great summer medical sage, but such a heaven defying beauty cream, if Lei Qianjie had known the prescription long ago, he should have already contributed it, why wait until now, specifically and exclusively licensed to the Su group, Su's group lacks funds, just now, Sui Shui has already got the news from the finance department, the Jin family because of secretly planning the assassination of Sui Shui and Yi Fan, voluntarily compensated for the spirit of 1 billion at any time fee, as well as the support of the provincial city Yun Fei Yang, Hua Li, as well as Xia Hao and other people, and secretly, there is also the support of Pang Lao, the Su family has the funds they need, the prescription they need, and the production quota is in hand, no one will be able to stop the development of Su's group in the future, before the Su group and the Li family, and the provincial city of Lu family fight, secretly is actually the Yi family and behind those who deal with the Yi family sparring, now it seems that those opponents of the Yi family, temporarily has suppressed the wind of the Yi family, Yi Fan core disciples have basically all died, and the only one left is Yi Fan, a fool, but in addition to Yi Fan, who has such a powerful means to secretly come to plan all this, I made a deal with Lu Hao, I think, very soon, the Lu family in the provincial city is going to have their chickens come home to roost, let's just sit back and wait to see a good show, Yi Fan smiled evilly, before Sui Shui could continue to ask anything, Yi Fan once again reverted to that demented look, I'm hungry, I want to eat, old Wang, take me out to eat, I want to eat ice cream, some of the situations that Su's group was currently encountering, Yi Fan had already helped to resolve, allowing Su's group to take a breath for the time being, having cleaned up Chu Fong all by himself, and having caused those murderers so much damage, they definitely would not be willing to rest, and would definitely have follow-up means, however, Yi Fan inherited those killers within the Yi family, as well as the wandering soul organization left behind by his mother, Yi Fan has also decided that he will no longer wait for other people's enemies to come to his door, but will take the initiative, however, Yi Fan cannot be completely exposed for the time being, the specific implementation plan, can only let Guo Li and Xia Hao, as well as Yu Chang and others to implement, seeing Yi Fan suddenly recover into such a state, Sui Shui was a bit helpless, but the heart is already very happy, at least now Yi Fan always have time to be awake, completely return to normal should be just a matter of time sooner or later, Fugu eh? 
I still have to deal with company matters, so you can help take brother Fan out for dinner first. Sui Shui tenderly kissed Yi Fan on the cheek. Come home early tonight. Now Sui Shui also knew that there were other forces protecting Yi Fan in the dark. That tragic car accident was blocked by those bodyguards, and an ordinary killer should not be able to harm Yi Fan. So he was also relieved to let Wang Fugue take Yi Fan away. Yi Fan and Wang Fugue had just left from the gate of Su Group when a red BMW stopped in front of Yi Fan and a beautiful woman in a sexy long dress got off and walked towards Yi Fan in a graceful manner. Van, the one who came was no one else but the Xian Yufei who had previously withdrawn from the marriage at the Yi family's funeral. Today's Xian Yufei, obviously specially dressed to some, also painted a little lipstick. The whole person looks full of wild and charm. Seeing Xian Yufei appear, Yi Fan's mood was a little complicated. For this and his childhood sweetheart who grew up, although at the time at the funeral, Xian Zheng was announcement, Xian Yufei acquiesced, so that Yi Fan was very sad, but after all, it's the first love, and it's not so easy to forget it completely, I apologize again to brother Fan, at that time to withdraw from the marriage, is the second uncle's own initiative, at that time, that kind of situation, my father is seriously ill, I have to consider the development of the family, a lot of things, really helpless, now the second uncle has already been expelled by my left the family, brother Fan, can you give me another chance? Now Xian Yufei was very regretful. In just a few days time, the Li family, Zhao family, and Wang family, who were against the Yi family, had all been wiped out. And within the Yi family, the father and son of Su Jian, who had been on the verge of taking power, had suddenly disappeared. In other words, the Yi family was now all under Yi Fan's control. How could this have been accomplished by a fool? Concubine Xian Yu was 60% certain that Yi Fan was deliberately playing dumb, while confusing the crowd. She herself was secretly making a move to quietly remove those rivals of the Yi family. Just thinking about this, Xian Yufei couldn't wait to give herself two slaps. She herself grew up with Yi Fan. What kind of talent Yi Fan had? She should have known best ah, a demonic genius like that, who didn't suffer any injuries in a car accident, and just had his IQ affected? That's not scientific, is it? Only, Yi Fan pretending to be a fool can pretend for five years. Yi Fan is afraid that he has long encountered the scene today. Poor self actually stupidly agreed to the second uncle's request to withdraw from the marriage, and also withdrew from the Yi family in front of so many people. His own behavior, compared to Yu Linglong and Sui Shui, was indeed too chilling, but after she and Yufei thought everything through, she still couldn't give up on Yi Fan, so she had been looking for a chance to be alone with Yi Fan and prayed for his forgiveness. Looking at the beautiful person in front of him, Yi Fan let out a long sigh. What are the chances? There was only one time. She and Yufei had already missed it. So how could it be so easy to go back to the past again? The opportunity is gone. I already have a wife. You don't want me anymore. Why do you still come to me? Yi Fan stared at Xian Yufei with more or less a complaining tone in his tone. Aha! Uh -huh. Wang Fugue was listening to Yi Fan's words from the side. Even if he was no longer stupid, he could hear that Yi Fan's tone seemed to be starting to become normal. Big Brother is sober already? Why does it feel like Big Brother is really different from before? It seems that his sixth sense was accurate. However, in the face of complex emotional problems, Wang Fugue has some headaches, and even worse, how to intervene. After all, when they grew up together, Xian Yufei, Wang Fugue, and Yi Fan often played together. Brother Fan, I was wrong. Ouch, my foot twisted. Xian Yufei was almost close to Yi Fan when her body suddenly stumbled and almost fell towards the ground next to her. If it was before, when Xian Yufei was in such a situation, Yi Fan would have been the first to step forward and hold Xian Yufei up. But this time, Although Yi Fan saw it, he stood calmly in place and just watched Xian Yufei fall towards the ground. Xian Yufei also had martial arts kung fu in her body. So naturally, she wouldn't really fall down. She was only doing this because she wanted to test Yi Fan. When she was about to fall, Xian Yufei stood up again and pouted at Yi Fan. Brother Fan, even if you don't love, when you see someone about to fall, don't you even reach out to help? As her mouth pouted, Xian Yufei felt her heart ache terribly. Nothing can go back to what it was before. Before, if he was tired, Yi Fan would squat down and take the initiative to walk on his own back. If he is thirsty, Yi Fan will immediately buy water for himself. Even if he walks on the road, Yi Fan will be attentive and guard himself on the side. The emotions are really fading now. Tears were swirling in Xian Yufei's eyes. Everything was caused by her own confusion. Now that you want to make up for it, you don't even have a chance? What more do you want from yourself? Did she, a girl, have to strip naked and crawl into Yi Fan's bed? If Yi Fan was in a sober state, and he had slept with Yi Fan, perhaps Yi Fan would still admit it. But what exactly was Yi Fan's state right now? Xian Yufei couldn't decide. 
In case Yi Fan put himself to sleep and didn't admit it, what was he to do? When Xian Yu Fei was still frustrated, Yi Fan suddenly spoke, I'm hungry. Yu Fei, are you hungry? If you're hungry, let's go eat together. Yi Fan was still soft hearted after all. Unwilling to see his former childhood friend so lost, he still opened his mouth to invite Fei Xian Yu. Last time, Xian Yu Fei took the initiative to invite herself to Su Yi Shui's celebration banquet. At that time, Yi Fan gambled and didn't agree. But now Yi Fan still loosened his lips. Ha, huh, is it okay? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Go. Xian Yu Fei's mood, which had been frustrated to the extreme just a moment ago, instantly improved a lot. Almost instinctively, Xian Yu Fei quickly stepped forward, walked to Yi Fan's side, took Yi Fan's arm, and walked towards her BMW. Yi Fan wanted to struggle away, but looking at Xian Yu Fei's expectant eyes, he ended up not opening his mouth. Wang Fugui watched the actions of the two men from the side, although a little naive, but at this time, he was very sensible, turning his head toward his vehicle, while his mouth was a long sigh. Alas, these two people, are really enemies. In the BMW, Xian Yu Fei was a little excited, and her hands were shaking as she drove. When she had been around before, Xian Yu Fei didn't know how to cherish it, and now that she had lost it, she knew how to cherish it even more. Brother Fan, I really realized that I was wrong myself. At that time it was me who shouldn't have hurt you. I shouldn't have been so confused. I don't want to lose you. We once went through so much together. I know that you are not so easy to forgive me for the time being. I will definitely try harder to get your understanding. In the BMW, Xian Yufei kept muttering under her breath, apologizing and explaining towards Yi Fan. What they didn't know was that not far away, a van was quietly staring at them. Numb nuts, why are you so annoyed? That fool from the Yi family followed into Princess Xian Yu's car. Do we still have to continue to make a move? P.S. See here our iron powder. Ask for a recommendation and monthly votes. Support Mr. Son. Move a fart. You've got your head caught in the door. Don't you know that those clans in Cloud City that made a move against the Yi family recently didn't have a good ending? You want to die early. Don't drag us along. Inside the van, several men in black suits argued with each other. But the mission explained above. Today is the deadline ah. Let's test out Xian Yu Fei's true strength. If we fail to complete the task, how should we explain to the above? Wait for the night. That fool from the Yi family, he can't be with Princess Xian Yu all the time. As long as we wait for Princess Xian Yu to fall alone, then we'll make our move. Quickly follow up. Don't lose him. A few people muttered in low voices, but they didn't know that their conversation was clearly heard by Yi Fan in the vehicle in front of them. The reason why Yi Fan had invited Fei Xian Yu just now was that his heart was soft on one hand, while a more important aspect was that Yi Fan realized that Fei Xian Yu was being followed. It seemed that someone was trying to do something bad to Princess Xian Yu. Although the two were now having problems with their previous relationship, Yi Fan did not want to see anything really happen to Fei Xian Yu. Therefore, Yi Fan's invitation to Fei Xian Yu was a disguised form of protection for Fei Xian Yu. At the same time, Yi Fan also wanted to figure out who were those who wanted to make a move on Princess Xian Yu again. The Xian family had already drawn a line with the Yi family at the funeral that day, so it was reasonable to say that those rivals behind the Yi family shouldn't be able to make a move against the Xian family, ah? But if it wasn't those behind the Yi family, who had the Xian family in mind? Yi Fan chose a hot pot restaurant, and Xian Yu Fei, Wang Fugui several people sat on the second floor by the window, while eating hot pot, can clearly see below in the van, the actions of the several suits of youth. Although Yi Fan had only inadvertently scanned, the few youths in the van below still felt the hairs on their bodies stand up and sweat. Big brother, what's going on? Why do I always feel like someone is staring at us? It's like being stared at by a poisonous snake. I feel uncomfortable all over. One of the youths wearing glasses reported towards the leading middle-aged man in front of him. Big brother, you say, that fool up there, has he already discovered us? The middle-aged man's own strength was also at the peak of Zongshir, almost entering the martial zoom level of strength. That aura, if any, he naturally detected. But he wasn't sure that the aura was coming from Yi Fan's side either. All of you are suspicious. That fool from the Yi family, how could he be that powerful? Give me a good stare and build up your strength so that you can make your move later. If we get it, that bitch Xian Yufei. The brothers can all have fun. Yes. At the mention of Xian Yufei's stunning figure, a flash of excitement surfaced in the eyes of the people in the car. For a meal meal, Xian Yufei took care of Yi Fan the entire time. Wang Fugue can't stand it next to him. Yu Fei, can you take it easy? I'm full of dog food. What did you do earlier? Look at little sister-in-law and there. Wang Fugue is also a man of nature. Seeing Xian Yufei so lowly and lowly, his heart is not a good taste, and he could not help but mention Sui Shui and Yu Linglong in them. Although Wang Fugue couldn't guess the truth of it, from the current situation, 
Wang Fugui could still see some future directions clearly. In just a few days, the Xia family in the provincial city, the Guo family, as well as the Kyushu group, the traveling souls, were all approaching the Yi family, and none of the families that were against the Yi family had a good ending. The many circumstances indicated that the Yi family could not be brought down so easily. When the Yi family slowed down, there were still millions of Tianlong army supporting them behind them. At that time, the Yi family's rise to power again was a sure thing. What's more, the great summer medical sage Lei Qianjia had also said that Yi Fan was fully capable of awakening, and that with more training and stimulation, his big brother would soon awaken. When big brother awakens, big brother's heaven-defying talent activates, the future is limitless ah. Sui Shui and Yu Linglong's seven sister-in-law's choices, although they were a bit painful for a short period of time, the benefits they would gain in the future would definitely be heavenly. Old Wang, you know my situation. Second uncle was controlling the family at the time and I was momentarily confused. But I still love brother Fan in my heart. You have time to help me talk about it. The chopsticks in Xian Yufei's hand stopped, and tears were about to start dripping down again. If she hadn't withdrawn from the marriage at that time, perhaps the one standing by Yi Fan's side right now would have been herself. Not Su Yishu A. Much less those other six sisters-in-law. Yevon is on his own. But now, even if he went back, he would only be one-eighth, or even one-tenth. However, even so, Xian Yufei didn't have any complaints. The result of everything is self-inflicted now. There's nothing to say. After the meal was finished, Yifan insisted on sending Xian Yufei home first and watched Xian Yufei enter her room before leaving with Wang Fugui. Two minutes after Yifan's vehicle left, the few black clothed men hidden in the shadows showed up and muttered with some annoyance. Numb nuts, that fool of the Yi family has finally left. Otherwise, with Wang Fugui and Yifan here, it's not really easy to make a move. That fool, can't kill and can't be killed. The matter of Jin Yang attacking Yi Fan. Although the Jin family wanted to keep the news sealed, but those news were like wings, flying around Cloud City, Tianan Province, and the Grand Xia martial arts circles. Jin Yang attacked Yi Fan, Sui Shui failed, and his own fleet suffered heavy losses, and he was forced to compensate the Su group for a billion dollars of moral damages. These news appeared to be circulating unintentionally. But only those who had reached a certain level knew clearly that this was someone behind the scenes intentionally pushing the envelope, deliberately letting these news fester in the martial arts circle. This was a warning to everyone else to be careful and not just hit on Yi Fan and the Su family, or else Jin Yang would be the next step. This time, these people who made a move on Princess Xian Yu were just a private team of bounty hunters in the martial arts world, usually taking on some missions. It wasn't like they had any deep grudges with Princess Xian Yu. So naturally, Fan couldn't go and fight for their lives. All move smartly, the test is over. If you have a chance to eat meat, eat it. If you don't, withdraw immediately. I feel that there is something wrong with the atmosphere tonight. The middle-aged man instructed his men, and the group of people quickly tumbled in towards Princess Xian Yu's villa compound. And two minutes after Yi Fan's vehicle left, Yi Fan suddenly called Wang Fugui to a halt. Old Wang, go back immediately. I suddenly remembered that I still have something at Xian Yufei's house. I'm going to get it back. Although Wang Fugui was puzzled as to what else Yi Fan had left behind in Fei Xian Yu's house, Wang Fugui never carried out Yi Fan's words 100%. Yes, Wang Fugui answered, immediately turned around and rushed back toward Xian Yufei residence. In the villa, Xian Yufei went into the shower room when she returned home. Taking off her long red dress, Xian Yufei showed off her stunningly beautiful body in the mirror. Your own body really looks good ah. Front and back, concave and convex, where there should be meat there is meat. Flat belly. When the tattooed breasts on his chest unraveled, the pair of large phoenixes instantly broke free of their bindings, both on the verge of flying out as if they were on the verge of flying out. Such a stunningly beautiful body. If it was cheaper for someone else, Xian Yufei's heart was not willing. Himself belongs only to Van. Back when he was still a youthful age, he himself had been that close to Van, and it was absolutely impossible to accept anyone else. After Xian Yufei had finished admiring her figure, she picked up the clothes next to her and placed them in front of her nose and took a deep breath. There was still Yi Fan's flavor lingering on it. That's what a man tastes like. All those other trash. What with Zhao Tianlong and Jin Yang? They don't deserve it. Xian Yufei was just about to go turn on the faucet to take a bath when she suddenly heard light footsteps outside. Xian Yufei was immediately alert. What kind of person? Xian Yufei practiced martial arts with Yi Fan at that time, and although her talent was not as good as Yi Fan's, she had already reached the strength of the control realm. Of the people outside that lurked in, only the middle-aged man in the lead was at the sovereign realm. The others were only at the control realm. So naturally, they couldn't hide their aura. Xian Yufei clearly remembered that after she came in, she had unlocked the front door, as well as the villa's living room door. 
It's impossible for ordinary people to get in. With a chortle from her mouth, Xian Yufei couldn't even wait to wear the intimate clothes inside, quickly putting her jacket and long skirt over her body before staring vigilantly at the door of the bathing room. At the same time, Wang Fugue also drove and arrived outside the gate of Xian Yufei's villa. Wang Fugue had planned to go in with Yi Fan, but Yi Fan refused. I'll just go in by myself. You wait for me a little bit outside. It might take a little bit longer. I need to look for something. Wang Fugue's mind was spinning very fast at this moment, but a wicked smile appeared on his face. Good. Looking for something. I'm afraid it's an excuse. LOL. Big brother is demented. But it's an old love. No. The state of big brother now. It should have recovered quite a lot. Later, we must find an opportunity to inquire about it. Anyway, Xian Yufei's villa was this big, and there couldn't be any danger inside. Big Brother's strength had all been restored to the martial exaltation realm, and it wasn't that easy for ordinary people to kill him. You'll be less of a sentry out there yourself. Wang Fugue put the seat down, and his mouth was humming a little song. In the bathroom in the villa, Xian Yufei was nervous to the extreme. Although she was only at the strength of the control realm, she had clearly sensed that outside the door, there were at least three people staring into the shower room. Sneaking into one's villa this late at night is definitely not a good person. Xian Yufei stared at the entrance of the room while picking up her cell phone and dialing Yi Fan's number. Brother Fan, save me. Previously, when she grew up with Yi Fan, Yi Fan, Wang Fu Gue, Guo Li and several others also often went out on missions. And when they encountered danger, Xian Yufei, almost instinctively, all turned towards Yi Fan for help. Yes, on the phone, Yi Fan answered, causing Xian Yufei to be stunned. Yi Fan knew he was in danger? Didn't Yi Fan leave already? Why did he come right away? Xian Yufei called Yi Fan, just seeking psychological comfort. She is also very clear that even if Yi Fan understands her own meaning, when Yi Fan arrives, I am afraid that it is all too late. Boom! Not even waiting for Xian Yufei to think more, the door to the shower room had already been roughly kicked open. The men in black suits quickly rushed in towards the shower room, their figures flashing while the martial arts chi on their bodies fiercely stirred. The two control realm killers who rushed at the front swung their fists and greeted Xian Yufei in front of her chest. You guys. Xian Yufei had long been prepared for battle and similarly swung her fist to block. Bang bang. Two dull thuds. One person facing two people's attacks. Xian Yufei was naturally not an opponent, and was shaken back by the powerful chi force, hitting the wall behind her. The walls were all cracked open by the impact, while a smear of blood flowed from the corner of Xian Yufei's mouth, and her face instantly paled. Xian Yufei's talent was average, and without the aid of external forces, she might only be able to stay in the control realm for the rest of her life. And the opposite hands are two peak control killers. Xian Yufei did not just internal organs were shaken. It has been very lucky. Is that all you can do? It seems that the higher-ups think too highly of you. Ha! Huh? The middle-aged man in the lead snorted coldly and stepped forward, grabbing Xian Yufei's shoulder as he stared coldly at her. The above said that you have a pattern on your chest, so let the brothers take a look at it today. As he spoke, the middle-aged man reached out his hand with the intention of tearing towards the clothes on Xian Yufei's shoulders. Fizzle. The red dress on Xian Yufei had just torn half of her body, and half of her white collarbone was exposed, when an air force suddenly shot out of the door, causing that middle-aged man to instantly tense up, his entire body's sweaty hairs exploding as he flew and tried to dodge towards the side. But to the middle-aged man's horror, the force that shot out was actually able to turn. His strength at the Zongshu realm had dodged three times in a row and that chi energy behind him was still locked onto him in a dead heat. Put, put. Flying in were two flower seeds that happened to block the middle-aged man's bloodline. The middle-aged man's strength of the sect master realm was instantly unable to be utilized. His body staggered several times and almost fell to the ground. Retreat quickly, there are experts. The middle-aged man was already at the peak of the Zongshur's strength, but the other party was able to hold himself so easily, indicating that the other party's strength was at least above the martial Zun realm. Staying any longer on his own would be a total giveaway. So he greeted his men and tried to leave. But it was too late. Put, put. Didn't even see the silhouettes outside. Only heard countless flower seeds hurtling towards the room. Blocking all seven or eight killers in the room. All the people into the sinews were blocked. They couldn't exert any martial arts chi at all. Walking became a problem. And finally all of them were paralyzed on the ground. This, Xian Yufei looked at the situation in front of her. Are shocked pupils a real enlargement? Just now was that the sect master realm of the strong man grabbed. Xian Yufei are already completely desperate. There was surely nothing good that could come from falling into the hands of these people when one was dressed so coolly. The key was her own strength. She was not a match for those people at all. Xian Yufei was still thinking about how to deal with it when an expert appeared. Thinking of the phone call she had just made, 
Xian Yufei tentatively called out towards the outside. Brother Fan, is that you? Xian Yufei's heart burst with excitement. Just now she had only called Yi Fan. If Yi Fan had made a move, it would mean that Yi Fan's strength was at least in the martial Zun realm. Yi Fan must have awakened. Pust. A phantom flashed outside. And before Fei Xian Yu could react to what was going on, a seed also struck Fei Xian Yu's acupoints. And Fei Xian Yu's eyes went black on the spot. And she directly fainted. The one who rushed in was naturally Yi Fan. The moment Xian Yu Fei collapsed to the ground, Yi Fan wrapped his arms around Xian Yu Fei and then walked towards the bedroom. The Xian Yu Fei in his arms, originally in has been put in the gap. At this moment the skirt has been torn in half by that middle-aged man. Inside that absolutely beautiful scenery in front of the chest swaying, white big phoenix are about to fly out. Yi Fan couldn't help but feel a fire in his heart as he watched. And where he came into contact with Xian Yu Fei's skin, a stream of warmth soared towards Xian Yu Fei's body, rapidly boosting Xian Yu Fei's martial arts chi strength. The payroll shakes. Yi Fan similarly received warm feedback from Fei Xian Yu, and his own strength was rapidly increasing, putting Xian Yu Fei back in her room and gently covering her with a quilt. When she returned again, Wang Fu Gui had already rushed in. Big brother, are you all right? Wang Fu Gui looked at Yi Fan with a nervous face. His little sister-in-law Su Yishua asked Wang Fu Gui to take care of Yi Fan. Wang Fu Gui didn't want anything to happen to Yi Fan. Otherwise Wang Fu Gui wouldn't be able to explain to Su Yishua. Now that Yi Fan was at the tip of the storm, he didn't know how many people were staring at him, and he was still careless just now. I'm fine. Yi Fan glanced at the killers lying on the ground wailing. They wanted to make a move on concubine you. Old Wang, you interrogate them. Yes, Wang Fu Gui answered without any politeness. And in the next moment, he directly made a move to grab one of the killers and slammed it hard against the wall. Asshole, actually dared to make a move on my ex-sister-in-law. Looking for death? Wang Fu Gui was furious in his heart. Under his own eyes, he actually dared to make a move. If not for his big brother's own good strength, I don't know what would have happened. Ah, that assassin's entire body's tendons and veins had been blocked by Yi Fan. And in the face of Wang Fu Gui's rampage, there was no room for any resistance at all. And he could only let Wang Fu Gui's crazy hands, his head cracking open, and blood flowing all over the place. Pust. Wang Fu Gui's hand movements did not have any pause. Continue to other killer's hands. Thigh smashed. Arm pinch burst. In just a few dozen seconds of work, those killers on the scene, had all hung up their colors, not a single one intact. The whole Wang Fu Gui in addition to the hands, did not open the mouth to ask a question. Will be the leader of the middle-aged man are depressed. Big brother. Do not fight. Do not fight. The two masters, you are asking ah. They were all depressed and on the verge of freaking out. Originally, he thought that Ji Fan was already very crazy. But he didn't expect that Wang Fu Gui, who came behind him, was even crazier than Yi Fan. It was clear that they had agreed to interrogate, but without asking a single question, they just started punching. If the beating continues like this, I'm afraid I'll really be beaten to death here. Will you guys talk if I ask? Wang Fu Gui stared coldly at the group of killers, a touch of evil surfacing at the corner of his mouth. Why don't you let me properly take out my anger for my big brother before you say anything? I say, we say everything. We didn't come to kill Xian Yufei. We were just commissioned by Zhou Shao of Shangjing to come and test Xian Yufei's potential. I begged the two masters to spare our lives. The leading middle-aged man's voice shivered in fear when he saw Wang Fu Gui bring over a bottle of boiling water again. This Wang Fu Gui, is he evil? That boiling water. If you pour it in your own crotch, that acidity. Just thinking about it makes your whole body shiver ah. Trying out Princess Xian Yu for what potential? Wang Fu Gui's hand movements paused for a moment as he continued to chortle at the leading middle-aged man. Specifically I don't know, but according to what I overheard Zhou Xiao on the phone, it is said that Miss Xian Yu Fei's mother is not an ordinary person, and that Xian Yu Fei should have genetically inherited some special physiques. If Xian Yu Fei activates those physiques, she will definitely have a very great future in the future. The leading middle-aged man's mouth was still rambling, while Yi Fan was in deep thought. A special physique? Just now. When he held Xian Yufei in his arms, Yi Fan did feel a mysterious fluctuation of breath in Xian Yufei's body, which seemed to be warming up Xian Yufei's body, and also attempted to help Xian Yufei to impact the blocked blood veins. He had grown up with Xian Yufei for so many years, but he hadn't found anything special about Xian Yufei ah. However, when Yi Fan thought of Jin Yang, as well as Li Yun Yang of the Li family who were also crazy and couldn't wait to marry Fei Xian Yu, there were more than likely these reasons behind it, right? What secrets does Princess Xian Yu have on her? Moreover, Xian Yufei's matter once again involved Shangjing Zhou Xiao, the Holy Angels. It seems like a trip to Shangjing is needed as soon as possible to figure out what's going on with that Holy Angels organization. The one who made a move on the Yi family was not just the people on the military side, 
But people from the Holy Envoy organization also joined in, supposedly looking for a pair of maps. But up to now, Yi Fan didn't have any clues about the maps either. What is the secret behind the map? All the doubts lingered in Yi Fan's mind. Yi Fan's brows were tightly locked and his head was thinking rapidly. But the current information was indeed too little. Yi Fan couldn't find any clue. Big brother, what to do with these people? Waiting for the middle-aged man to finish explaining all the information he knew, Wang Fugue made a move to directly beat all of them into a fainting stupor, collapsing on the ground like a dead dog. Notify Xia Hao and have Li Hu come and deal with it. These killers, all of them, were killers and existences with blood on their hands. There was no need to be merciful. Yes, while Wang Fugue was arranging these assassins, Yi Fan stepped towards the upstairs once again. Just as I pushed open the door to the bedroom room, there was a gasp from inside. Ah, in the room Xian Yufei had already awakened, and had just taken off her own clothes, which happened to reveal the big phoenix on her chest, white and erect, and was ready to change her clothes, when Yi Fan happened to walk in. Xian Yufei was in a state of shock, and after seeing that it was Yi Fan, her covered movements hesitated slightly, then slowly let go, and deliberately displayed her chest towards the front, and said somewhat shyly, Brother Fan, just now it was you who saved me, you awakened? Yi Fan turned his head to avoid Xian Yufei's proud scenery, and his mouth answered, I just came back to get an item, and I happened to see them make a move on you, old Wang made a move to knock them all out, and I came up to see you. Yi Fan didn't answer Xian Yufei's words directly, right now Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia externally, and for the time being, he didn't want Xian Yufei to know his secret, seeing that it wasn't Yi Fan who saved her. Xian Yufei's eyes flashed with a flash of loss, but her complexion quickly returned to normal. Oh, but Xian Yufei is sure of one thing, there has been an extra stream of warmth in her own body, the kind of warmth that can only be generated when she is in contact with Yi Fan. Yi Fan's talent has not been lost, just now must be Yi Fan hugged himself up, no matter what state Yi Fan is in, after all, still can't let go of himself? Thinking of this, Xian Yufei seems to have made a certain decision, her whole body without a single strand, quickly walking towards Yi Fan, while her heart is shyly secretly saying, look, look, anyway, sooner or later it is yours, brother Van, I want to be your woman, although she was very shy, Xian Yufei still opened her mouth and spoke towards Yi Fan with a flushed face, once upon a time, we grew up together, it was so beautiful, I don't want to miss it, as she spoke, Xian Yufei moved closer towards Yi Fan's arms, Xian Yufei is very confident in her own figure, she is already so seductive in her own clothes, and now she is even more so without a single strand of clothing, such a stunning beauty, appearing naked in front of you, it is hard for any man to refuse, Yi Fan looked at the approaching beauty, and his heart was also a little hot, one must admit that Xian Yufei was really pretty, and Sui Shui was two different styles of beauty, Sui Shui had a bit of imperial sister's charm, while Xian Yufei had a bit more wilderness and demonic, especially the seductive eyes, which had a bit of exotic flavor, but when he thought of consort Xian Yu withdrawing from the marriage at the funeral of his uncles and elder brothers, Yi Fan's heart ached. Now you want to be your own woman. What did you do long ago? Although before, Yi Fan could be good to Xian Yufei without any bottom line or dignity. But this is not a reason for Xian Yufei to be reckless. Licking dogs also have dignity. Once they don't love anymore, then they are fearless. Saving Princess Xian Yu was only because she couldn't bear it in her heart. But Xian Yu wants to be his own woman. Yi Fan cannot pass that hurdle in his heart. Yi Fan's figure flickered and once again dodged Xian Yufei towards the side, while his mouth was puzzled. Yufei, why do you want to be my woman? What does it take to be my woman? Shouldn't you be your own woman? A flash of confusion flashed through Yi Fan's eyes, reverting to that demented look. Xian Yufei's eyes were a bit sultry, and at the same time, there were a few moments of loss. Is Yi Fan really still in a state of dementia? But Xian Yufei didn't want to give up just like that. Hasn't your Ishui wife taught you yet? This is how. You don't know how. I'll teach you. Xian Yufei had already decided. No matter what state Yi Fan was in now, she would first take Yi Fan down herself, and then she would say, the raw rice would be cooked, and she would become Yi Fan's woman, and it would be best to have Yi Fan's seed. In this way, in the future, when Yi Fan came to his senses, he couldn't leave himself alone. Xian Yufei came closer and reached out to wrap her arms around Yi Fan's neck, the large phoenix on her chest demonically rubbing against Yi Fan's arm, the soft touch, and the amazing elasticity. Meiji Fan a little unable to hold on, after all, before was so deeply loved lover, now although there is a rift, but she and Yu face tenderness, Yi Fan is still a little incapable of resisting, however, thinking of those seven who had made such great sacrifices to guard the Yi family and to guard themselves, Yi Fan's heart still recovered its sanity, a friend in need is a friend in need, at the uncle's funerals, 
The seven sisters-in-law were the real deal, and one could not live up to the feelings they had for one another. I'd better let Ishua's wife teach me. A smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth, and a chi fluctuated in his hand, pressing a few times on the back of Xian Yufei's neck. A wave of drowsiness came over Xian Yufei and she fell asleep in Yi Fan's arms once again in a daze. Yi Fan wrapped his arms around Xian Yufei and walked towards the bed. Rest well. The damage that Princess Xian Yu had done to herself could not be repaired in a day or two. But just at the moment Yi Fan put Xian Yufei down, Yi Fan's arms suddenly detected another potential breath fluctuation in Xian Yufei. Yi Fan's eyes condensed. The golden aura around his eyes began to fluctuate, and his pupils all turned red. As Yi Fan's eyes began to penetrate Fei Xian Yu's skin, entering Fei Xian Yu's tendons and veins of his body, carefully checking it out. Soon, Yi Fan found a black aura deep within Xian Yu Fei's dantian. The aura was bizarre and seemed to have taken on a spirit of its own. When Yi Fan's breath went in to check it out, the black mass of breath actually intended to disintegrate itself and hide. Aha! Yi Fan was now at the martial emperor level. And with the inheritance and the dragon ring, his mental power was exceedingly powerful. And after quickly analyzing the black aura, he immediately linked it to a bizarre means learned in the ring. Demented evil? The massive black breath in Fei Xian Yu's body was a kind of evil soul taking evil art from the ancient times, similar to the southeastern region's subdued head, by arranging some special means on the target, so that he could remotely control the target to act according to his own meaning. Princess Xian Yu is being regaled? Yi Fan frowned. The Xin family was nothing more than a merchant family in Cloud City. They hadn't offended any big shots. It was worth them paying so much attention to Xin Yufei Ah. Uh? Yi Fan's head was racing with thoughts, and he couldn't help but think of the information that those killers had just passed on. There was also a mysterious force behind concubine Xin Yu, and even young Zhou from Shangjing was thinking about it. So it was estimated that the force behind concubine Xin Yu was really strong. What kind of a power is that? It seemed that when there was a chance, one had to find Uncle Xin and ask him about it. The art of soul regeneration was tricky for other people, but Yi Fan had the inheritance of the dragon ring from the Tianji Pavilion, which happened to have a way to deal with it. The most crucial thing was that Yi Fan had the salary flame in his body, which was the nemesis of these evil arts. Yi Fan hesitated for a moment, and with a flick of his wrist, from his own Dantian, he guided the salary flame out from his fingers, then quickly invaded in towards Fei Xian Yu's body, following the tendons and veins, and quickly reached Fei Xian Yu's Dantian. From multiple directions, they besieged towards the black mass of breath. That black regal aura sensed the salary flame's arrival and seemed to be very frightened, wanting to find a path to escape, but they were all blocked back by Yi Fan's control of the payload. Soon, the black soul regenerating breath was all wrapped up in the salary flame, and then began to scorch inside Fei Xian Yu's body. Boing boing, the black breath was connected to Xian Yu Fei's spirit, and as it burned, Xian Yu Fei seemed to be in some pain, and a wailing sound came out of her mouth. Yi Fan released his martial aura and warmed Xian Yufei's spirit, and only then did Xian Yufei feel better. In just a few tens of seconds, the black soul regenerating aura in Princess Xian Yu's body was all scorched clean by the salary flame. After checking again and confirming that there wasn't any other soul regenerating aura in Fei Xian Yu's body, Yi Fan then withdrew the salary flame from Fei Xian Yu's body and pulled over the quilt to gently cover Fei Xian Yu. The moment Yi Fan was ready to leave, he suddenly thought of a problem. Since Consort Xian Yu was controlled by the Dementor technique, then at the funeral scene, Consort Xian Yu withdrew from the marriage with herself. Was it Consort Xian Yu's own intention, or was she controlled by the Dementor technique? However, Yi Fan's mind just flickered. What the truth really was, it didn't matter now. Yi Fan's task now, don't is to assist the rise of Su's group, shelter the seven sister-in-law's family, investigate the murderers behind those who harmed the Yi family, avenge the Yi family, and write the name of the Yi family. As for the rest, nothing matters so much. Yi Fan glanced at Xian Yu Fei and turned around to leave through the bedroom door. And just at the moment when the black aura on Fei Xian Yu's body was completely scorched clean, in Shangjing, in a separate garden, a youth suddenly sat up from his bed in shock, his mouth furiously spraying a mouthful of blood. Ah, who spoiled my layout? Zhou Xiao? What's wrong? What happened? The youth had just shouted out, and a large group of bodyguards immediately poured in outside the door, with the leading bearded man glancing around with a nervous face. This youth was no one else but Zhou Ming, the general head of the southwest region within the Holy Envoy organization. Five years ago, after Yi Fan's accident, Zhou Ming had quietly arranged the soul regeneration technique on Fei Xian Yu, so that on one hand, he could use Fei Xian Yu as a puppet to cultivate his spiritual power, and on the other hand, he could use Fei Xian Yu as one of the ports for his intelligence perhaps. The most crucial thing was that Zhou Ming also knew the identity of Xian Yu Fei's mother through some channels. It was highly likely that Princess Xian Yu's mother was a descendant of a servant of the Divine Gate Clan, 
and the divine sect is the life and death enemy of the holy angels organization. Zhou Ming had spent so much effort in arranging the soul regeneration technique on Fei Xian Yu, originally hoping to make a breakthrough from Fei Xian Yu. It had been five years, and although the soul regeneration technique on Princess Xian Yu hadn't perhaps yielded any useful information, nothing had gone wrong either. But just now, Zhou Ming realized that the soul regeneration technique that he had placed on Fei Xian Yu was suddenly broken. Princess Xian Yu had lost contact with herself, and Zhou Ming had suffered a backlash. Immediately send someone to find out. What exactly happened to Princess Xian Yu in Cloud City? Who has come into contact with Princess Xian Yu today? I want to know all about Princess Xian Yu. Zhou Ming touched a handful of blood at the corner of his mouth as he continued to speak. Also, contact those assassins we sent out to test Princess Xian Yu and have them report on the situation immediately. Zhou Ming's words had just fallen, and a four-eyed boy in the crowd immediately opened his mouth. Zhou Xiao, an hour ago, we lost contact with those killers. Just now. The information that came back from the life detector was that the group of killers had, all dead. What? Zhou Ming's pupils dilated for a moment, and he stood up from the bed in shock, his brows locked. The reason why Zhou Ming had sent that group of assassins to test Princess Xian Yu was because they weren't very famous and didn't belong to any of the forces, so basically no one would notice. But he had only just made his move, and all those killers were reunited? Zhou Ming knew that among those people, the leader was at the strength of the Zongshu realm which was not a low strength for the whole of Dasha, who on earth meddled in Princess Xian Yu's affairs, the Yi family? But Xian Yu Fei had obviously already withdrawn from Yi Fan's marriage ah, there was absolutely no need for the Yi family to continue to pay attention to the Xian family's affairs, and wasn't Yi Fan a fool, so how was he going to meddle in Xian Yu Fei's affairs? Young Zhou, the intelligence has come back, according to our brother's covert observation, just now Yi Fan and Wang Fugui went to Xian Yu Fei's residence and haven't left yet, aha, uh -huh, Yi Fan again? Zhou Ming was very clear about what had happened in Cloud City recently. The Zhao family is destroyed, the Li family is destroyed, and the Wang family is destroyed. All the clans that were unfavorable to the Su and Yi clans didn't have a good end. Moreover, the Chu Fong sent by the northwestern side, a powerful person of the martial Zun realm, had intended to go and wipe out the Yi family completely, but happened to encounter the experts of the Wandering Souls, wiping out Chu Fong and the others. Zhou Ming's brows tightened as he muttered. Was it really the strongest of the wandering souls who did this? Has Yi Fan, awakened? Have the people from the various teams in Shangjing come over for a meeting early tomorrow morning? A glint of gloom flashed across Zhou Ming's eyes, he had to make a trip to Cloud City himself. At that time, together with the northwestern side, the purpose of making a move against the Yi family was for the Yi family's pair of maps. But the ten core disciples of the Yi family had all been decapitated, and no clues to the map were found from them, and only that fool Yi Fan had no check on him. The clue to that map should mostly be in Yi Fan. The demand for the map from above had reached the point of fire, and if he could find the whereabouts of the map as soon as possible, the above would surely reward him even more. In Cloud City, Yi Fan and Wang Fugui left Xin Yu Fei's residence and drove straight home. Yi Fan had just entered the gate of Su Yishui's villa when he saw another acquaintance. Sixth sister in law Cheng Rulin also came. Little Fan, I just happened to come to Cloud City to do some errands and stopped by to see you. Are you feeling better? When Cheng Rulin saw Yi Fan come in, she tenderly went forward, took Yi Fan's hand and looked up and down. Cheng Rulin's skin was very good, and while pulling Yi Fan's wrist, her face was so flushed that she was about to pinch out water because of her shyness. Such a shy girl, before at the funeral, but with Yu Linglong and the others so determined to publicly announce that she wanted to marry Yi Fan, and it's still seven people marrying Yi Fan together to give the Yi family a new branch. It was evident how determined Ching Rulin was. Rulin's sister-in-law. I'm already much better. Today Ishue took me to an antique street. And I remembered a lot of other things. Only I can't remember a lot of things. He he he. But dr. Lei said that I'll get better slowly. Rulin's sister-in-law. Give me a hug. Looking at the beautiful person in front of him, Yi Fan didn't know how to express his emotions. It's not like you can fully reveal that you've awakened and express your concern. It can only be half true. Half sober half demented, seeing Yi Fan's unfolding embrace, Cheng Rulin's face was full of blush, glancing at Su Ishue, but eventually shyly snuggled into Yi Fan's arms, since she had already announced in front of so many people that she was going to marry Yi Fan, from that moment on, everyone would think that Cheng Rulin was Yi Fan's wife, little Fan, in the future, don't call sister-in-law, call your wife, got it, Cheng Rulin wrapped her arms around Yi Fan's neck and gently taught Yi Fan, to sister Linglong and Mange they are all, your wives too, Although she was shy, Ching Rulin was still pleased in her heart to see Yi Fan in such a state. After all, at that time, when the announcement was made to marry Yi Fan, Yi Fan was in a completely demented state, not even in a lucid state for a second. 
And now, Yi Fan's IQ had recovered to the point where he was in his teens, and in time, Yi Fan would definitely be able to recover to his former peak state. Yes, Yi Fan replied seriously, his eyes sharply noticing a flash of sadness in Ching Rulin's eyes. Rulin's wife, are you in some kind of trouble? I see that you are a bit unhappy. Ching Rulin froze and looked at Yi Fan with some doubt. Her emotions were hidden so deeply that Yi Fan actually noticed them all? No, nothing, it's just that our Qing family's jewelry business recently suffered some impact before and we cooperate with the supply channel business. In recent times, all and we cancelled the cooperation. We hoarded the raw stone. Already can't support for long. Alas, I heard that General Songpa from the Burmese side is going to come to Dasha in the next two days to renegotiate the agent of Dasha's Jadeite raw stone. So I wanted to come and try my luck to see if I could have a chance to get the raw stone from General Sungpa's hands, so that I don't have to be taken by those channelers within Dashia. Although Ching Rulin didn't specify, Yi Fan was very clear. Now that the Qing family was experiencing all this trouble, it should all be because Ching Rulin continued to stand up to the Yi family, openly announcing that she wanted to marry herself. Those murderers against the Yi family are suppressing the Qing family behind the scenes. Don't worry wife Rulin, I will definitely help you get the Emerald Proxy. You don't have to worry, Yi Fan tenderly patted Ching Rulin on her back, while his head remembered the burly man in Burma. Back then, Sung Pa could owe Yi Fan several lives. You, how can you help? Ching Rulin looked at Yi Fan with some surprise. A smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. I appreciate your kindness. You'd better feel at ease and get well and recover as soon as possible. Otherwise, our sisters won't be able to support us. The ones who had already been suppressed now were the Su family, the Qing family, and it was feared that soon. It would be the turn of the Xin family, the Yu Linglong family, and the other people's families. The granddaughters of the seven great families simultaneously announced their marriage to Yi Fan, continuing to be deeply bound to the Yi family. Those who dealt with the Yi family would surely not stop. I can really do it. Wife Rolin, you have to believe me. Yi Fan looked at Ching Rolin with a serious face. He very much wanted to open his mouth and tell Chang Rolin that he only needed to say one word, Song Pa, not to mention giving the agency to himself. Even if he was asked to give his life to himself, Song Pa probably wouldn't even hesitate. After all, five years ago, when Yi Fan infiltrated into Burma in pursuit of a drug dealer, within three days, he saved Song Pa three times, and helped Song Pa take care of his biggest rival. If it wasn't for Yi Fan's help, Song Pa's entire family would have been exterminated long ago, not to mention today's supreme position of dominating the northwestern part of Myanmar. Alright, it's not early, Yi Shui. You hurry up and take little Fan to bed. Counting the days, Xiao Fan has accompanied you for a few days. You have to seize the time with. Next month, Xiao Fan can belong to me. Cheng Rolin looked at Sui Shui with a jocular look. Yi Shui sister, Xiao Fan won't be. You have to teach him more well. If you won't, or not at night I'll come and guide you guys. Pust. Hearing Cheng Rolin's words, Yi Fan was inwardly speechless. Sister-in-laws, you really don't treat me like an outsider. Ching Rolin came at night to instruct Sui Shui on how to seduce men? The image, completely unimaginable, is simply beautiful. However, Yi Fan actually had some vague expectations in his heart. If Ching Rolin and Sui Shui were together, what kind of scene would it be? However, Yi Fan also knew that it would be a long time before such a scenario could be realized for fear that at least those mortal enemies of the Yi family would have to be resolved. Sister Rolin, you're bad, Yi Fan. He's not stupid at times. Humph, soon you'll be able to experience it. If you're in a hurry, I'll let you have it tonight. Sui Shui was full of shyness, but in turn, she also teased Ching Rulin. Put, no way. Although Ching Rulin's mouth said a lot, but in reality it's all on paper. Mouth pouted and ran quickly towards her bedroom. In the doorway also delicately twisted her waist, to the back of the Yi Fan said. Fan, still stupidly standing for what ah? Hurry up and go to bed with Yi Shui. We're all waiting for you to give the Yi family a new branch. That charming eyes, as well as the hot body, see Yi Fan a burst of fire. In his heart, he even sighed. What virtue and ability he had, actually getting seven such stunning favor at the same time. Yi Fan was even in a trance for a moment. On the day of the funeral, Xian Yu Fei withdrew from the marriage. Was it a blessing or a curse for himself? After all, one for seven doesn't seem to be a loss for himself. Good, I'll listen to Rulin's wife. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth surfaced a touch of evil, and in the next moment, before Sui Shui could react, he wrapped his arms around Sui Shui and quickly rushed up towards the second floor bedroom. Ah, Xiu Fan, lighten up. Sister Rulin, you're too bad. You've only been here for a day and you've taught Xiao Fan bad. However, although Sui Shui was complaining with her mouth, in her heart, she was vaguely looking forward to it. It's that saying, women don't love, women don't love. 
On the second floor of Su's villa, there was a burst of juvenile songs. Cheng Roland downstairs are affected by the tossing and turning. Most of the night did not fall asleep. Inwardly regretted to death. Why do you want to come to Sui Shui here to live? They are not looking for abuse? Cloud City, gradually enveloped by night, returned to silence. But the provincial city, the Lu family, is not destined to be peaceful tonight. Lu Hao learned from Yi Fan's mouth that back then it was actually his own father who killed his mother with his own hands. So in the afternoon, he rushed back to the provincial capital at a rapid pace, and only after quietly making some arrangements did he return home. In the study, Lu Ran was a bit surprised to see Lu Hao come in. How are you came back so soon? How are things going in Cloud City? Did the Su family take it down? What is Yi Fan's situation now? The three major vassal families under the Lu family, the Wang family, the Zhao family, and the Li family were all exterminated. Although all the information rumored outside had nothing to do with the Yi family, it was all car accidents, or being chased by enemies and destroyed. But Lu Ran's side naturally knew that this was the Yi family making a move. And it was also highly likely that it was Yi Fan making a move. So Lu Ran is now very eager to take action against the Su family to give an explanation to the above. And at the same time, he also wants to figure out Yi Fan's situation as soon as possible. Lu Hao grimaced, stared dead at Lu Ran, and popped out a few words through his teeth. How exactly did mother die at that time? Lu Ran also noticed something wrong with Lu Hao's face, stood up from the chair, frowned and spoke. Didn't I tell you many times about this matter? Your mother was in a bad mood at the time and jumped to her death. This matter is also very sad to me ah. Why do you suddenly mention this? Give you one last chance. Say, how mother really died at that time. Lu Hao was trying his best to suppress his emotions. He thought it would be good for Lu Ran to open his mouth and defend himself a few times. But the muscles on Lu Ran's face twitched a few times. Then he loudly scolded. Asshole. Lu Hao. You have hardened your wings. Is this the attitude you have when talking to me? The Lu family is not your turn to be in charge right now. Your mother's death was already investigated clearly at that time. Are you crazy today? Although Lu Ran was chiding Lu Hao with his mouth, he was actually a little apprehensive inside. Lu Hao has always been a good boy. Today he went to Cloud City and came back so abnormal. He must have found something. Snap. Lu Hao reached out and slammed a stack of printed photos and information on the table. Lu Ran. You animal. Take a good look. What is this? How can you bear it? Sending your own wife to someone else's bed. And letting someone else insult her in front of you. Has your conscience been eaten by a dog? You deserve to die. Seeing those photos on the table, Lu Ran's eyes flashed with a flash of panic as he quickly picked up two of them and glanced at them. In the photo, Lu Ran pressed his wife on the bed. The picture was extraordinarily clear. And the other man next to him, although it was just a back, Lu Ran knew that it was exactly the big man in the Holy Envoy organization. How air. Where did you get these photos from? You listen to me. This is fake. It is all a false accusation. It is a false accusation. Lu Ran stumbled and almost fell to the ground. His mouth was still lying and defending. But Lu Ran's flustered expression had long since betrayed him. Clang. Lu Hao reached out and pulled out the combat knife on his body. The tip of the knife pointing at Lu Ran. Today, I will avenge my mother's death. Lu Hao was also at the strength of the Martial Dao Mastery Realm. His entire body was agitated with Martial Dao Qi. And the room was filled with a solemn atmosphere. What do you want? Unbridled. Lu Ran's heart was agitated. Even if your mother died because of me at that time, I had no choice but to do so. I was forced to sacrifice your mother for the sake of the family's development. You, as a son, actually dare to hold a knife against me? Don't make excuses here. For so many years, you have deceived me for so many years. Moreover, even if you sacrificed for the family, do you need your mother to do something like that? Have you ever thought about it? A woman who was humiliated by her own husband sending her to someone else's man's bed. How desperate and broken she was inside at that time. You just don't deserve to be a human being. While Lu Hao chortled with his mouth, he swung the battle sword in his hand, whistling and slashing towards Lu Ran. There was a fluctuation of chi on Lu Ran's body, easily avoiding Lu Hao's attack. Both father and son were at the strength of the control realm, and it wasn't easy for either to take the other. Someone come. Take this sinner down for me. Lu Ran's face sank as he saw Lu Hao's battle sword slash at the tables and chairs behind him, blasting them to smithereens. It could be seen that Lu Hao had already moved to kill himself. After all, Lu Ran was already old. If he fought Lu Hao alone, Lu Ran didn't have much chance of winning. With Lu Ran's chortling, outside the room, the Lu family's chief steward, Wang Wei, dodged and appeared, standing respectfully at the doorway. Family master. Young master. Quickly, take this sinner down. Don't be afraid of getting hurt, is going to teach him a lesson. The old man is not dead yet, and he dares to be reckless. Humph, Lu Ran's eyes flashed with a touch of coldness. In his eyes, 
there is only power and allegiance to the Holy Angels organization. As for the sun, if you're dead, you're dead. The big deal is that you'll have a few more. He doesn't care. Wang Wei and Lu Ha glanced at each other before speaking faintly. I'm sorry, family master. Forgive me for having difficulty carrying out your orders. Aha! Uh -huh. Wang Wei's words instantly made Lu Rant's heart thump. The Lu family's strongest bodyguard head, the family's chief administrator, actually disobeyed his own orders? Wang Wei, do you want to rebel? Don't forget that I am the head of the Lu family. You serve my Lu family. Who are you to disobey orders? Lu Ran was a bit flustered as he dodged Lu Hao's attack while chiding Wang Wei. Wang Wei coldly spoke, by virtue of the fact that Madam has been kind to me. Back then, it was Madam who took me in, and only then did I get where I am today. What young master did today is also what I have always wanted to do. It's just that there were some things I didn't see with my own eyes before and wasn't sure. But today, seeing those evidences and videos, I would love to say, Lu Ran, you really aren't human. Hearing Wang Wei's words, Lu Ran's heart completely cooled down. Wang Wei was indeed taken in by Lu Hao's mother after he was injured back then, recovered and then stayed in the Lu family. With Wang Wei's strength, he could totally have a better future. The reason why he stayed in the Lu family was just to repay the favor. Phew. When Lu Ran was once again forced to dodge in front of Wang Wei, Wang Wei struck, smashing his fist on Lu Ran's back. The powerful impact of Qi energy blocked Lu Ran's entire body's blood veins instantly, and his body stiffened in place. Young master, next, whether to kill, or stay, you see to it. Wang Wei knows how to go in and out, although Lu Ran killed his wife, but after all, the chase is just a matter of people's father and son's own affairs. It would not be good for Wang Wei to continue to intervene. Kill? Oomph, it would be too cheap to let him die just like that. I'll make him kneel in front of my mother and repent for the rest of his life. Lu Hao coldly grunted. The battle knife in his hand did not hesitate and stabbed in at Lu Ran's dantian. Do not ah, ah, hower. I'm your own father ah. Seeing Lu Hao move, Lu Ran let out a desperate wail from his mouth. Now with the help of that big brother of the Holy Envoy organization, Lu Ran had already broken through to the control realm. That big brother had promised that after the Yi and Su families were dealt with this time, the big brother would give him an elixir of immense value to assist him in God's promotion to the sovereign realm. If the Dantian was destroyed, then all the dreams behind himself would be a mirage. There's treasure in the chamber inside, and treasure. Son, I'll give it all to you. Pust. No matter how much Lu Ran begged, Lu Hao didn't have any intention to stay his hand. The battle knife pierced in ruthlessly, destroying the Dantian completely before stopping. From today onwards, the Lu family is fully taken over by me. Lu Hao, Lu Hao stared coldly at Lu Ran. I've long since grown tired of seeing you hanging out with those trash from the Holy Envoy and those people from the Eastern Ing Dogs. Pass on my order. From this moment on, terminate all cooperation with the East Ing people, and carry out a full-scale suppression of the East Ing Dogs. Immediately sever all ties with the Holy Envoy organization. We, the Lu family, will not be the dogs of the Holy Envoy. Lu Hao passed out one order after another, and someone outside immediately began to carry it out. Over the years, Lu Hao has entered the core leadership of the Lu family, and is the actual controller of the Lu family. Therefore, even if Lu Ran died, it still didn't affect the continued operation of Lu's group. Are you, you crazy? Lu Hao, do you know what benefits they will give us from the Holy Angels organization? I spent so much effort to join the Holy Angels organization. You actually. Lu Ran still wanted to continue to chatter. Lu Hao waved his hand and smashed Lu Ran into fainting, then used Lu Ran's pupils to open the secret room in the study. Someone come, chain him up with a dog chain and make him kneel in front of my mother's statue to repent. As soon as he entered the secret room, Lu Hao was attracted by the ancient aura of several boxes inside. The scroll in one of the boxes was very familiar to Lu Hao. It was the very same map scroll that the sacred envoy organization had asked the Lu family to keep investigating. It turns out that my father had already found the scroll and hadn't gotten around to turning it in yet. Lu Hao pondered a little for a few seconds, reached out and picked up the scroll then took out his cell phone and dialed Yi Fan's number. Young Yi, I have a pair of scroll maps here. They were searched from my father's secret room. They should be related to the sacred envoy organization. I'll send someone to send them over to you first thing tomorrow morning. Cloud City, Su's Villa Compound. Yi Fan after a bout of exercise, is refreshed to run the power. Suddenly received Lu Hao's phone call. Yi Fan will know that Lu Hao should be back to already clean up his own father. But Lu Hao also seized a map from Lu Ran. Could it be that this is the map that the holy angels are looking for? Good, Yi Fan answered. But in his heart there was some doubt as to why Lu Hao was doing this. To know, just in the daytime, Lu Hao also brought people to come to Cloud City, to suppress the Su group ah, within a day, to their own attitude change so big? Xiao Yi, 
I have just announced that the Liu family will cut off all dealings with the Holy Envoy organization and those trash from the East Ding with immediate effect. Moreover, the list of all the names associated with the Liu family. I will hand them over to Xiao Yi tomorrow morning along with the scroll. So please forgive the Liu family for the wrongdoings they did before. On the phone, Liu Hao respectfully recounted the matter. Yi Fan listened with some skepticism. This Liu Hao, still has such vigor? Is it a bitter trick? Hanging up with Liu Hao, Yi Fan immediately dialed Guo Li's cell phone. Old Guo, let Pang Lao's side investigate the Liu family situation and get back to me as soon as possible. If Liu Hao really had such vigor, Yi Fan didn't mind helping him out. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, no matter who it was, as long as they were on the opposite side of the Holy Angels organization, as well as those real culprits who had exterminated the Yi family, they were all friends. Yi Fan turned his head to look at the lazy look of Sui Shui beside him, and then felt the martial chi in his body. Because of the feedback from the warmth gained from the close contact with Sui Shui and the power given by the Immortal Bone earlier, Yi Fan had now broken through to the Martial Emperor level, but the rate of progress is still too slow. Yi family's old mansion, there is actually an underground palace, mother actually laid out so much for herself in advance, left behind the four great maids, and so many dead soldiers, even the wandering souls are the power that mother left for herself, the holy envoy organization was so frantic in infiltrating every corner of the grand Xia. what they were planning was definitely not simple, the strength of one's martial emperor might not seem low enough on the surface, but if one were to face a stronger expert, or another level of powerhouse attacking and killing, would one have the cards to save one's life? How could one guard the Yi family and these sisters-in-law? How can one avenge the Yi family? But Yi Fan's physical quality was very overpowering. But Sui Shui had been an ordinary girl after all, and couldn't resist Yi Fan's madness at all. LOL. There are times when it's not good for a man to be too strong. Originally, there was still Ching Roland downstairs, and Yi Fan could sense that Ching Roland was not asleep. Why don't you go down now and get some more exercise? Thinking of Ching Roland's stunning figure, Yi Fan also had a few flutters. Only then, his own identity as a fool would be recognized. It's not the time to be exposed yet, so let's hold back a little longer. Since Ching Roland came to Cloud City because she wanted to get the Emerald Agent, Yi Fan naturally had to help get it done. These things, on the surface, were directed at the Su family, the Qing family and others, but in reality, they were directed at the Yi family. Yi Fan, the seven sisters-in-law's families must be protected from the cold. Yi Fan once again ran his kung fu for a few rounds, then went to bed and fell into a deep sleep. But in Cloud City, Jin Yang was full of depression. Sitting and drinking with a youth who was no one else but the eldest young master of the Sun family of the provincial city's jewelry family, Sun Deshing, Sun Xiao, you don't know, I've never been so suffocated, I've been wise for a lifetime, but I've actually been fooled by a fool, you know, southwest region of the pharmaceutical production quota, I obviously have got my hands on, the last moment, I do not know what Yi Fan that fool did, Yu Chang that's stupid, actually really will be the production quota to the Su group, brother heart bitter ah. The production quota was lost not to mention that in the end, Jin Yang arranged the assassination of Yi Fan and Sui Shui. All of his own people were wiped out, and he was also locked by a sniper, forcing himself to transfer a billion dollars of moral damage to the Su group. Jin Yang was now psyching himself out when he spoke, his eyes always vigilantly checking in all directions, afraid that he would be targeted by a sniper again. Jin Yang didn't even know how he should explain to his father and his family when he went back this time. Su's group got the production quota and the 1 billion cash given by himself, plus that beauty cream announced at the conference. So marvelous function. As long as the production line will be built and start production, it will be a complete money printing machine ah. Young Jean, don't be sad, that fool of the Yi family is a bit evil. Mourning my situation you also know. Originally I was going to bring to smash the scene of the Wanbao pavilion, but in the end was also Yi fan that fool bad, but also in front of millions of netizens face to apologize for the disgrace. Jewelry lentils in the future business. I'm afraid it's even more difficult to do. Sundishing held up his wine glass, a touch of gloom flashing in his eyes, but just in the afternoon, a big shot in Shangjing contacted me, introduced General Songpa, the general of the Burmese country who came to Dasha, to me, and at this time is staying in the hotel next to me. Hum, with General Songpa's support, a Wanba pavilion counts as a chicken feather, and the jewelry business of the Qing family in the provincial capital, if they want to do it, they all have to look at the face of Laozi. General Sangpa of Burma? That's the one who controls 70% of the Jadeite stones in Myanmar? I heard that he came to Dasha, this time to redistribute Dasha Emerald Raw Stone Agent's right thing. Sun Young is also close to the water tower first get the moon ah? Jin Yang eyes flashed a touch of envy. There is if Sun Dishing really can be Sangpa General hands of the Jadeite Raw Stone Agent right to get hand. 
that the Sun family immediately to become a first class Dasha Manchana. LOL. How come you haven't met such a big shot yourself? Young Jean is well informed enough. You are right. General Songpa this time to Dasha is to redistribute the Jadeite agent rights of the matter before in the Qing family friendship of the family will not have another opportunity. The big man in Beijing has already talked to General Songpa. This time the Emerald agent right. 100% sure is my son family. Tomorrow's investment meeting, just a formality. Sun Dishing had a smug look on his face. At this moment, he even wanted to take the initiative to call Yi Fan and Wanbao Pavilion shopkeeper Wu and ask them to personally come to the investment site tomorrow to see his signing ceremony. There is also the Qing Rulin who announced that she was married to the fool Yi Fan. Hum, should also come tomorrow, right? According to the Shinjing Big Brother's request, when the time came, he must be properly humiliated. So that those who were close to the Yi family would know what would happen to those who supported the Yi family now. After the Emerald Proxy was taken care of, the order given from above was to bring down the Qing family's jewelry group at all costs. The source of goods should be jammed, the sales channel should be blocked, and the partner should be deterred from cutting off. Anyway, there is just one thing, to make Qing's jewelry group have a hard time, and it is better to go bankrupt. Listening to Sun Dishing's words, the less Jin Yang felt in his heart, originally thought that he had come to find a resonance. All the bitter people who had been repaired by Yi Fan, but it turned out that the other party had already disembarked first. Tinkerbell. Sundishing was still depressed when the cell phone on his body suddenly called. A very long string of encrypted calls. Previously, Sundishing had dialed it when he saw the great uncle of the Heavenly Patrol Division reporting to the top. Usually on the other side of a phone call like this, it's a big shot. Sundishing did not dare to be slow, and quickly put the phone on. Hey, which one of you? I'm Pavilion Master Zhang. Looking for you to discuss something. Aha! Uh -huh. Jin Yang hesitated for a few seconds. His brows locked. Zhang. You. The hairs of sweat on Jin Yang's entire body stood up. And then he hastily stopped his mouth. Right. That's right. It's the one you're thinking of. Zhang Gallo. Who is in charge of the Northwest military affairs. On the other end of the phone. It's the Zhang Gallo who is secretly mobilizing people in the Northwest region. The head of the escort under his command. Xu Feng had come with the intention of clearing away the last obstacles of the Yi family, and as a result, the men and horses he had brought with him had all perished, making Pavilion Master Zhang a little anxious as well. Yi family this last bit of obstacle, delay cannot be solved, above a lot of plans will not be able to implement, above the big boss said, if the Yi family thinks on what trouble, he cannot protect themselves, although Chu Feng was dead, Zhang Gulao wondered if Chu Feng had given himself up before he died, if the Yi family side caught the traces, following the vine, investigating to their own head, when the Yi family slowed down this breath in, then it is very troublesome, the Yi family that old things credits back then, all of them were fought out with real bullets, and his authority in the military was extremely high, as long as Yi Changfeng still had a breath in him, then if the Yi family wanted to move pavilion master Zhang, there was really no one who could stop them, so, Zhang Gala was in a hurry, although pavilion master Zhang had quite a few other strong men under his command, he didn't dare to send them out easily anymore. So he found Jin Yang, wanting to kill someone with a borrowed knife. At least make some moves so the top sees their value. Otherwise, Zhang Gala knew very well that if he was useless, the top would quickly discard him. I know you're skeptical about the identity, so I'll do something to prove it. Your eldest uncle, Jin Mingliang, has been serving as the deputy director of the Tiannan Provincial City's Heavenly Patrol Division for 10 years, right? I'll greet him right away and directly promote him to a full director. The credit will go to you. You can call to confirm. I'll call back in five minutes. Ha! Huh? After the phone hung up, Jin Yang was still a bit dazed. That one of the nine pavilion elders of Dasha, pavilion elder Zhang, had actually called himself? Or are you looking for yourself to discuss things? In order to convince himself, with one direct sentence, he promotes his eldest uncle to the position of a full director? The Tiannan province's official director of the Heavenly Patrol Division. That was already considered the absolute top level of Tiannan province, and could be said to be the number four person in Tiannan province. Previously, a large part of the reason why the Jin family had developed so well in the provincial city was because of the identity of the eldest uncle. Although the eldest uncle was only a deputy director, most people in the provincial capital had to give the Jin family a few points of face. And if the eldest uncle has been promoted to a full director before he turns 60, then after a few years of work, it is entirely possible that he will enter the upper capital and become one of the bigwigs in the upper capital Ah, Then the Jin family can definitely rise to another level under the influence of the eldest uncle Ah. At least, it won't be too much worse than the Sun Dishing family. In an instant, Jin Yang's eyes looked at Sun Dishing with much more confidence. Jin Yang just ready to call home. 
Father Jean Mingdong's phone has called. Son, good news ah, heavenly good news ah, your eldest uncle just got the news from the organization, said the organization decided, let your eldest uncle promoted, ha ha, promoted to the position of the main bureau, the phone said that it is your credit, what is this all about, before his father could say two sentences, the phone was grabbed by his eldest uncle Jean Minglion next to him, great nephew, quickly tell your eldest uncle, in the end, what kind of big shot did you know, today you used a billion dollars, did you go to recognize this big shot, great nephew, uncle told you, if you spend a billion dollars, is to recognize that big man went, I must praise you, that used simply too right, ha ha, you have to know, big uncle promote this thing, simply not a billion dollars can be fixed, thank you ah, big nephew, in the future there are any requirements, in addition to the wife cannot give you, the other requirements casually mentioned, on the other side of the phone, it wasn't even Jean Yang's turn to speak, the eldest uncle and father on the phone took turns to give a rainbow fart, blowing Jean Yang all the way up to the sky, vaguely, I could also hear also grandpa's satisfied laugh, as well as my mother's happy, modest voice, for a moment, Jean Yang felt that his vanity had been greatly satisfied, did you spend a billion dollars on yourself to get to know the big guy, of course not, one is totally targeted by a sniper and is buying his life for a billion dollars, however, Jean Yang was not stupid, after such a thing happened today, Zhang Golao found himself, and before that, the news of the previous disagreement between court elder Zhang and the Yi family, Jin Yang had probably heard some of it, now that Zhang Golao had found himself what he meant, Jin Yang had guessed roughly, when Zhang Golao found Jin Yang, he should be borrowing Jin Yang's hand to deal with the Su clan, or Yi fan, right? Although Jin Yang was clear that he was going to be used as a gun, but there was no way that the other party's origin was big enough and the benefits given were strong enough. Jin Yang had no reason to refuse Ah. In that case, if he had spent a billion dollars, perhaps he could be considered to have paved the way for getting to know cabinet master Zhang, right? I'll stop talking for now. That big shot is going to call. Jin Yang directly interrupted the elder brother and father's words, and the two people on the other end of the phone, the elder brother and father, were very cautious and quickly spoke, right, right, you take care of that big shot first, we definitely won't ask much. When you come back, Big uncle will personally convene a celebration banquet for you. Jin Yang hung up with his eldest uncle, his father, and Zhang Golao's phone call came over. Still the same encrypted phone call. The news from the home site is already in place, right? The appointment from the organization will arrive in concrete to take effect tomorrow. This is just a meeting gift. Or for your eldest uncle, the gift for your father, as well as you, will only be better than this. All the resources in my hand can be unconditionally utilized for your Jin family. And within a year, your Jean family can become a first-class powerhouse in Dasha. After displaying his strength, Pavilion Master Zhang continued to describe the subsequent beautiful blueprint to Jean Yang. Jean Yang wasn't stupid, and after determining that it was Cabinet Master Zhang on the other end of the phone, he knew that what Cabinet Master Zhang had said was not bragging at all. As one of the nine pavilion elders in the Grand Xia's upper capital, that was definitely the group of people who held the highest voice in the Grand Xia. As long as they were willing, they could completely make a family take off with a single word. Cabinet Master Zhang, I have understood all your meaning, what do you command, what do you need me to do to the Su clan and the Yi family, although court elder Zhang said that it was unconditionally possible to utilize court elder Zhang's resources, if you really believed that the other party was saying that it was unconditional, then you would be the fool, if there are no conditions, why should the other person, who is not related to you, help you, young Jin is indeed a smart person, a little bit of understanding, Zhang Galao is also indeed anxious, and did not beat around the bush, what you have to do is very simple, is to replace me, from business, assassination, all aspects of the siege of the Su group and the Yi family, to be able to get rid of one, even if you make a great achievement, at least to make them not good, this was similar to what Jin Yang had thought, as Zhang Golao contacted Jin Yang to ask him to step in to deal with Yi Fan and the Su clan, I understand, it's just that, on the side of cabinet secretary Zhang, Yi family, I also arranged for assassination today, but in the dark, there seems to be a very powerful force protecting Yi Fan, and I'm afraid that the power in my hand is not enough. This is natural. I have arranged the departure of the compulsion masters from the Miaojiang compulsion religion side. Tonight should be able to arrive in Cloud City. All of them will listen to your deployment. In addition, the Southwest Hegemony Financial Group, all the funds, adding up to at least hundreds of billions of dollars, you can casually call, and my contacts in the Southwest region. Later I will send a list to you. I will also give them a good greeting in advance. They will all listen to your command. In short, there's only one request. 
and that is to make Cloud City as chaotic as possible, and it's best if a few people can die. Jin Yang's heart was violently shocked as he listened. Hegemony Financial Group, that's a financial oligarchy that dominates the Southwest. Asset scale, can be more than Zhang Golao said hundreds of billions so simple. Ding dong, Jin Yang was still in shock when his cell phone received an email. Jin Yang just opened it and glanced at it, and his pupils contracted in shock. Deputy Governor of Tiananmen Province, as well as the Deputy Director of the Department of Patrol and Defense, and officials of all sizes in Cloud City. In the entire Tiananmen Province, almost half of the important positions are held by Zhang Gur. In several other provinces in the Southwest, there were likewise key positions filled with Zhang Gur's people. Zhang Gulao was really anxious, and all of a sudden, he handed over his economic power, official connections, and secret assassins, all to himself, allowing himself to lead the fight against the Yi family and the Su group. Is this going to be a complete tear down and fight to the death? I understand, Cabinet Master Zhang. When things come to fruition, everything is fine. If it fails, everything is my Jin Yang's private action, and all the culpability will be borne by me alone. Today, this phone call from you will be considered as if it had never been made, right? As Jin Yang spoke, the button to record on his cell phone was working with a flash being used as a gun, naturally have the consciousness of being used as a gun, if you don't leave yourself a way out, the whole Jean family if they are pulled into the situation of no return, then how can they afford to the Jean family ancestors and ancestors, young Jean is indeed a smart man, I can't help but like you a little, ha ha, I want to take you as my god grandson, Zhang Gulao burst into laughter over the phone, not knowing whether what was said was true or not, the corner of Jean Yang's mouth curled slightly, let's wait until after the matter in Cloud City is over, Although Pavilion Master Zhang had given Jin Yang such a huge power, Jin Yang instead did not have a trace of relief, and his mood instead became a bit gloomy. Jin Yang didn't know if he had made the right or wrong choice. It was a big gamble. If he won the bet, then the Jin family would be brilliant and prosperous from then on. If he lost, then the Jin family would be completely finished. It was just that. From the moment Zhang Galao called Jin Yang and helped Jin Mingliang to be promoted to a full director, Jin Yang had no choice. If Jin Yang didn't agree, the Jean family was afraid that it wouldn't end well. Jean Yang finished answering the phone and re-entered the tavern. His face was all red. What good thing is going on with young Jean? When Sun Dishing saw Jean Yang's appearance, he immediately raised his wine glass towards Jean Yang. Jean Yang smiled evilly. Young Sun, from now on, we are allies again when it comes to dealing with Yi Fan. If Sun Xiao has any key information, remember to make sure to share it in time. Ha ha, originally in a somewhat irritable mood. Once he thought of the hegemony group, as well as the terrifying lethality of the Miao Zhang compassion cult, Jin Yang was immediately in a much better mood. No matter how powerful Yi Fan was, he was just a fool. That mysterious protective force around Yi Fan could protect Yi Fan at any time, but it couldn't protect Su Yi Shui, and Cheng Rulin, and all those other friends and brothers at any time, right? As long as he took the strongest members of the compulsion sect out and poisoned a few of them, he would be accountable on Zhang Gulao's side. Those poisonous parasites of the Miao Zhang compassion cult were the ones who caused the devastation of the people within the boundaries of Dasha back then, with tens of millions of dead people. The current royal family of Dixia, after uniting all the major forces of Dixia's martial arts path, took three years of effort to drive those poisonous parasites of the compassion sect to the depths of the 100, 000 mountains of Miao Zhang, and a dead order was given. Without the permission of the official Dasha, any compulsion master, shall not leave the Miao Zhang area. Otherwise, everyone will be punished. Zhang Gulao had invited those compote masters from Miao Zhang, and also had to let Jin Yang lead the way. And the purpose was also very simple. The companions were blatantly inconvenient in Cloud City and needed Jin Yang to arrange cover. Well said, good to say that. Besides that big brother in Shangjing, there is another big young man who is also interested in the Yi family. Waiting for tomorrow I'll ask him if it's convenient or not. We can talk together then. Maybe there's some good ideas to deal with the Yi family now. The great young man that Sun Dishing was talking about was the same youth who had been secretly observing Jin Yang's actions during the day. He didn't belong to Shangjing, nor was he in the provincial city, but was a great young man from another level, the same level as the lady behind the Wanbao Pavilion. This time, when he came to Cloud City, he naturally came for that map of the Yi family. It was just that seeing Jin Yang's actions so easily neutralized during the day made the youth more cautious in his subsequent actions and decided to wait and see for a while longer. If Yi Fan was just a fool then there would be no difficulty in dealing with him. However, if Yi Fan had awakened and was just playing dumb, then Yi Fan would be too scary and had to be treated carefully. The next morning, Yi Fan had just woken up when Sui Shui wriggled in Yi Fan's arms. Little Fan, today I'm going to go outside to inspect the factory's address, 
so I might not have enough more time to take care of you, so you can stay with Sister Roland. Ching Roland still had a few more days to stay in Cloud City, so having Yi Fan accompany Ching Roland was a way to cultivate a relationship in advance. In addition, Yi Fan said yesterday that he could help the Ching family to get the Jadeite Ross Stone Agency, although Cheng Roland did not quite believe it, but Sui Xue saw the many miraculous means of Yi Fan. To the second is some belief. By letting Yi Fan accompany Ching Rulin, maybe the problem of the Emerald Raw Stone Agency that was giving the Ching family a headache would be solved? Yes. Yi Fan rubbed his big hand on Sui Shui's body for a while, and tossed Sui Shui again before getting up with Sui Shui. In the dining room on the first floor, Ching Rulin had already prepared breakfast. Only that Ching Rulin's face was full of dark circles under her eyes, and her demeanor seemed to be tired. Rulin's wife. What's wrong with you? Didn't you sleep well last night? Yi Fan looked at Chang Rulin's appearance and deliberately asked. This Ching Rulin's wife. Still very interesting. Last night she was still so poking fun at herself. Wanting to instruct Su Yi Shui on the spot. Now she knows how powerful this young man is. Right? Humph. You still have the nerve to ask. You guys really don't care about other people's feelings at all. Are you a cow? With all that commotion last night. Tossing and turning in the middle of the night. How could Ching Rulin sleep well? Cheng Rolin didn't expect that Yi Fan was actually that strong even though he was still a bit demented. Then, when the time comes, will he be able to resist? Thinking of this, Cheng Rolin couldn't help but feel a blush on her face and hurriedly lowered her head to hide her inner embarrassment. However, she did not know that in fact, her inner thoughts, Yi Fan had already guessed about it. Wainer smiled. At the end of breakfast, Sui Shui went to work at the company. While Cheng Rolin drove Yi Fan to prepare for General Sampa's Jadeite Rostone Agency Rights Investment Fair. Xiu Fan, when you go in later, don't run around, stay close to me, and it's best to hold my hand all the time, so you don't lose it, if you lose it, there will be bad people who will take you away, you know, Cheng Rulin stopped the car in front of a business hotel in Yunchang, and when she got off the car, she was still urging Yi Fan, looking at Yi Fan's harmless appearance, Cheng Rulin also felt a heartache, Yi Fan's parents disappeared when he was a child, and he was raised by his grandfather with great difficulty, and he was also a generation of demonic geniuses with an unlimited future. But because of a car accident, he became such a demented and stupid person as he is now. What was even more tragic was that the entire Yi family had been exterminated. And when the Yi family's old man died, Yi Fan didn't even have anything to rely on. Little Fan husband, don't worry, we will definitely stay with you all the way. No matter how many difficulties lie ahead, no matter if you can awaken or not, we will honestly be your wife and give you many big fat boys. While speaking, Ching Roland's eyes reddened with motherly love and reached out to tightly embrace Yi Fan in her arms. The plump body pressed in front of Yi Fan. Yi Fan felt Ching Roland's gentleness, and the aroma of Ching Roland's body, and a wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Sister-in-law, I'm not a fool anymore. I can't stand it if you keep this up. Ching Roland twisted her body slightly, and then she noticed the changes in Yi Fan's body. And Yi Fan's weapon had already begun to raise its head majestically, and was ready to fight at any time. Put, you're a bad guy. You're not awake yet, but your body is solid. Ching Rulin was a bit shy and wanted to dodge, but thinking that she was Yi Fan's person sooner or later, her face was a bit flushed, but she hugged Yi Fan even tighter. Little Fan husband. Ching Rulin's eyes flashed with a charming luster, and while her mouth exclaimed softly, she suddenly tilted her head and her red lips printed toward Yi Fan's lips. MMM. It is sweet in the mouth and full of an aromatic flavor. Originally was his own wife. So extreme. Yi Fan naturally will not refuse. Instantly anticlimactic, a mouth will Chang Rulin's cherry mouth hold. Aha, uh -huh. Chang Rulin was already shy, and when she found out that Ji Fan actually took the initiative to attack towards herself, she couldn't help but have her pupils dilated in shock. But then she was intoxicated by that marvelous feeling, and her whole body went limp in Yi Fan's arms, letting Yi Fan's big hands claim over her body with impunity. This deadbeat, who said he was stupid, obviously so will. HM, Chang Rulin was shy again, and a little more frank. For a long time, Ching Rolin was kissed about to gasp for breath, only then reluctantly separated from Yi Fan, perceived the hotel entrance, back and forth so many people in and out, Ching Rolin pouted, reached out in front of the chest of Yi Fan punched a little, Fan, you bad death, just no bully me, that pampered and coquettish look, looking at Yi Fan really eat his fingers, all want to now Chang Rolin on the ground to do the right thing, Yi Fan's strength urgently needed a breakthrough, in addition to the assistance of the immortal bone, the salary warmth, was the fastest method, light sui shui alone, completely insufficient, he he he, Yi Fan reached out and wrapped his arm around Ching Rulin's small waist as he stepped towards the inside of the hotel, the worse is yet to come, aha, uh -huh. listening to Yi Fan's words, 
Chang Roland's expression froze, and for a moment, she couldn't tell what state Yi Fan was in right now. Is it a state of dementia, or has it awakened? The reason why Qing Rolin took the initiative to kiss Yi Fan just now was because she thought that Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia, and even if she took the initiative herself, she wasn't too shy, but if Yi Fan was just now in a state of awakening, and he took the initiative to go like this ouch, wouldn't T that be a shameful personal death? You know, just a few days ago, Cheng Rolin was still Yi Fan's sister-in-law, by mistake, after the facilitation of various forces, she actually became Yi Fan's wife, it's also the magic of fate, however, not allowing Ching Rolin to continue to think about it in detail, Ching Rolin immediately noticed the marvelous changes in her body, warm currents, just now, after her skin contact with Yi Fan and her intimate contact, Ching Rolin realized that a powerful warm current had suddenly appeared in her body, that warm current surged and fluctuated within Ching Rolin's body, Warming Ching Rulin's body while rapidly raising Ching Rulin's martial chi. This, to be in close contact with Yi Fan and actually gain such a benefit? Now Ching Rulin seemed to have some understanding that in just a few days, Su Shui had already stepped into the realm of martial arts, and was on the verge of breaking through to above mastery. Is that why? Ching Rulin's eyes were filled with light as she turned her head to look at Yi Fan. Yi Fan actually had such a heavenly secret in his body. This should also be the reason why Yi Fan was so demonically elevated before, right? Although Yi Fan had been in a car accident and was demented, his talent was not lost, but that Xian Yu Fei actually gave up Yi Fan, that is completely giving up a treasure ah, later there is his regret, since Yi Fan had such a powerful talent, shouldn't he have a closer contact with Yi Fan as soon as possible, and, to share the secret with the other sisters, after all, only when everyone's strength had increased would those murderers who had made a move against the Yi family be more fearful and not dare to easily continue to make a move against the Yi family. Yo, isn't this the stupid young master of the Yi family? Oh, in the Wanbao pavilion you are very powerful ah, today and want to come here to spread wild? Yi Fan and Shang Rolin had just entered the door when they saw an old acquaintance. It was none other than Sun Dishing who had fought with Yi Fan over at the Wanbao pavilion. That game, Sun Dishing is holding the mind of certain victory to deal with Wanbage. The result is because of Yi Fan's stirring, Sun Dishing in front of millions of netizens to lose face, almost completely cut off the business of the jewelry fast. Today, Sundishing had been afraid that Yi Fan would not come. After all, if Yi Fan didn't come, he would have no place to pretend. Yi Fan was here now, and even came with Ching Rolin, and Sundishing immediately felt full of spirit. The purpose of that big brother in Shangjing arranging a meeting between Sundishing and General Sunpa was to choke off the source of Ching Rolin's Jadeite Raw Stone and bring down the Ching family. Ching Rolin openly announced that she wanted to marry Yi Fan. That was also an enemy. M.S. Ching. I heard that the Qing family is in big trouble, with no source of raw jadeite, your group's hoard of goods, I'm afraid it won't even last a month, right? Sun Dishing face bitchy continue to speak, quietly tell Miss Qing, Sampa general this time and Dasha all the schedule, are I personally responsible for? The Emerald Agent's right to the quota, have been internalized, is my son family? Miss Qing do not need to waste effort, how about this? If Miss Qing kneels down and begs me, licking my leather shoes clean, I might be in a good mood and be able to give the Qing family a little share of the original stone, so that the Qing family can renew their lives for a few days. Ha ha, Sun Dishing very much enjoyed this feeling of pinching others, looking at Yi Fan standing next to him with a blank look on his face. Sun Dishing continued to speak. It's a pity, Yi Fan, although you have such a beautiful wife, but you are just a fool. There is a good cabbage. You can't keep what can you do? At that time, when your wife is bullied by other men in front of you, you probably still want to clap your hands. Sun Deshing, don't go too far, dare to bully my wife, I'm not done with you. Chang Rolin frowned and chided as she listened to Sun Deshing's vicious language, but Sun Deshing is no longer the same Sun Deshing before. With the support of the big brother in Beijing, Sun Deshing non-bottom, I bullied you so what? You Qing family are difficult to protect themselves, still want to protect the Yi family? Oh, tell you, very soon, you Qing family all the sales channels, as well as the source of goods channels, will be cut off. You then kneel to beg me are useless. Yi Fan listened to Sun Dishing's words from the side and frowned. From Sun Dishing's words, Yi Fan heard other meanings. It was true that Sun Dishing had already feuded with Yi Fan before, but Sun Dishing's own family hadn't had the guts to dare to fight against the Yi family, even if the Yi family had already declined. And now that Sun Desmond's situation seems to be backed by the big boys, HM, have those against 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 the Yi family made another move? Previously, when he was at the Wan Bao Pavilion, Yi Fan's conflict with Sun Dishing was limited to just helping Boss Wu. But now, Sun Dishing actually counted to his head, but also want to use the Jade Agent right thing to blackmail Ching Rolin. Yi Fan naturally cannot endure. 
Pust. While Sun Dishing was still only focusing on his own words, Yi Fan had already begun to take action, and as soon as he ripped off Sun Dishing's shoes, he directly shoved them into Sun Dishing's mouth before Sun Dishing could react. Yi Fan was still afraid that Sun Dishing's mouth couldn't be stuffed. After the tip of the shoe entered Sun Dishing's mouth, Yi Fan also thoughtfully slapped the back of the shoe and stuffed most of the shoe all the way into Sun Dishing's mouth. Oh, Yi Fan, you are looking for death. Sun Dishing felt like his mouth was about to burst and tears were flowing down his cheeks. There is also the stench of their shoes, but also in the crazy toward the Sun Dishing mouth surging in, the sour smell. So that Sun Dishing nausea want to vomit, but cannot spit out. Difficult to be crazy, but compared to the nausea in his mouth, what made Sun Dishing more annoyed was the humiliation. Today's investment conference, although Sun Dishing no, just a form, but now still came to hundreds of company representatives. The scene has come to a few hundred people. As we all know, today's investment meeting was organized and chaired by Sun Dishing. A portion of the population also knows that the choice of General Sampa's agent has basically been internalized to be Sun Dishing. And it was under these circumstances that Sun Dishing was actually bullied by Yi Fan in his own territory. That's just humiliating. If he didn't give Yi Fan a little lesson, not only would Sun Dishing's face fall off, but the big man behind Sun Dishing was afraid that he wouldn't let Sun Dishing go either. After all, that big brother in Shangjing, who was so supportive of Sun Dishing's appearance, was trying to get Sun Dishing to suppress Qing Rulin and the Yi family. Come on, people, get him for me. Sun Dishing let out a rebuke, and from the side of the hall, a group of black clothed bodyguards rushed out in a hurry, all of them stirring with not so weak martial chi energy. Most of them were at the strength of the control realm, and several of them were actually at the strength of the sovereign realm. The most crucial thing was that Yi Fan realized that these martial arts experts were actually not from Disya, but from the East. Sun Dishing has colluded with the dog of the East. According to Disya's regulations, any Eastern Ng martial artist who entered Disya's territory was required to report. I'm afraid that Sun Dishing didn't report the appearance of so many powerful people here at once, right? Or perhaps, the official level opened the door on purpose? After all, many of those who were dealing with the Yi family were obviously in high positions, and without official support, it would be impossible for them to so easily take action against the core disciples of the Yi family in the six battlefields at the same time. How dare you? Who dares to touch a hair on our young master's head? Yi Fan was still considering whether or not to kill all of these Easterning dogs. Behind Yi Fan, for stunningly beautiful young girls in jeans flashed and took the lead in rushing out towards those martial arts bodyguards. Bang, bang, bang. With just a few easy moves, those Easterning martial artists were all smashed to the ground, as if they were dead dogs without movement. The four stunning young girls turned around and respectfully bowed to Yi Fan. Young master, master has ordered that from now on. Let the four of us and young master not move an inch and be responsible for young master's safety. These four young girls were the four major maids that Yi Fan's mother had left for Yi Fan, and their strengths were all above the Zongshu realm. Good, Yi Fan was not repulsed, with these beautiful women around, it was eye-pleasing to look at, and some simple things could indeed be left to them to deal with the hands. Swish, there were hundreds of people on the scene, and all their eyes were originally gathered over here. Now that the four stunning maids had ended the battle so easily, the gazes of the crowd became even sharper. Everyone looked at the situation in front of them with curiosity. Those four great maids that had appeared, those were all strong people at the Zongshu realm. Hadn't Yi Fan's core ten disciples all been decimated? And the outside world had rumored that the Yi family was on the verge of collapsing? How is it that the Yi family still has such powerful experts? Sun Dishing managed to pull the shoe out of his mouth with great difficulty, and was dumbfounded when he saw that he had arranged for the eastern killer warriors to be taken care of so easily. What's going on here? It's not the same as what that big guy in Shangjing said. That big brother above supported himself when he said that the Yi family had already exhausted its gas. The ten core disciples were decimated, and those strong people around them had all left to scatter in all directions. Moreover, according to their accurate intelligence, the Yi family originally didn't have many strong people above the Zongshu realm. But now, the four stunningly beautiful maids were at the Zongshu realm out of the blue. So how could this continue to be fun? Young master, is this fellow also beheaded by the way? Those who collude with the Easterning dogs are no good. Among the four maids, the leading one was named Xiao Wen. Although she spoke to Yi Fan with a gentle voice, the means of her actions were not ambiguous at all. Vivian's words caused Sun Dishing's neck to shrink. Sun Dishing's own strength was only just stepping into the martial arts path. There was no way he could be a match for the four attendants. If they really made a move, then Sun Dishing would die for sure. When he thought of this, Sun Dishing frantically gestured to the other martial Zun powerhouses in the dark, signaling for them to make a move. However, the few martial exalted powerhouses hidden in the shadows were not the least bit moved, and they also gave Sun Dishing a voice message. This is not a suitable place to make a move.
find another opportunity. The atmosphere was starting to get awkward. All the gazes burned at Yi Fan. The outside world knew that Yi Fan was a fool. How Yi Fan would handle this matter would make everyone have a new understanding of Yi Fan. Yi Fan made a judgment after a little thought. He knew that sun dishing was just a pawn rushing ahead, and his death or life was simply insignificant. If Yi Fan wanted to kill sun dishing, it was as easy as crushing an ant. The important thing was to deal with the people behind sun dishing, so that they would be humiliated, defeated and furious, and then jump out on their own. Fun fun fun. He likes dogs. I want to see him crawl on the ground like a dog and bark like a dog. Yi Fan had a naive look on his face, and while barking, he clapped his hands at the same time. That look, if it wasn't a fool, a ghost wouldn't believe it. LOL. Seeing Yi Fan in such a condition, the people present could not help but let out a long sigh. That genius demonic young master of the Yi family was really still demented. If they were in their place, sun dishing would definitely not have a good ending. But how did they know that just now? When Yi Fan was stuffing the shoes into sun dishing's mouth, the salary breath in his hand had already invaded sun dishing's body and had long ago taken control of sun dishing's vitality breath. Wanting sun dishing's life was just a matter of moments. Still not doing what my young master did. Do you want to die? Xiao Wen took a step forward. Her entire body's martial aura fluctuating as she crushed towards Sun Dishing. Sun Dishing's face was bitter, and he was on the verge of crying as he looked at all the guests at the scene. If he kneels down and learns to bark like a dog, it would be even more humiliating than apologizing at the Wanbao Pavilion last time. Moreover, counting the time, General Songpa should be getting up and coming downstairs soon. If he saw himself like this, would the cooperation between the Sun family and General Songpa be affected? Sun Dishing was still hesitant. Another maid beside Yi Fan, Nan Sheng, as well as couldn't wait any longer, yanked up a chair and smashed it against the bend of Sun Dishing's leg. Can't you kneel down? This lady will help you kneel. Pust. Sun Dishing was smashed straight toward the ground to kneel down, although the eyes are full of stifled, but did not dare to have any have any more words. You guys, do you know who is behind me? The of Shangjing Sun Dishing just wanted to continue to open his mouth to name the big brother who supported him but suddenly saw a pair of sharp eyes in the crowd staring at him dead on. Threateningly, that was the very same person that Big Brother sent to assist Sun Dishing. They say they're assisting, but really they're just spying on themselves. Sun Dishing heart tightened, knowing that they cannot expose the Big Brother behind. 10,000 grievances, can only be a person alone to bear alone. Woof woof, Sun Dishing suffocated tears were about to stay out, and had no choice but to lie down on the ground and learn how to bark like a dog while starting to crawl around the hall. The bitter fruits of one's own planting can only be swallowed by oneself. The ten or so strong men of the Eastern Ing were actually inferior to even the four great maids of the Yi family. Now Sun Dishing was somewhat regretting agreeing to that big man's hands. With the same idea as Jin Yang, Sun Dishing knew at the time when he agreed that he was obviously giving that big brother in Shangjing a gun by going out like this. But he didn't expect the Yi family to be too strong. But at this moment, it was too late for Sun Dishing to regret. Right now. Sun Dishing was hoping that the powerful martial zoom sent by that big brother in Shangjing would clean up Yi Fan. Or, on Jin Yang's side, he could get rid of Yi Fan. Otherwise, now that he was representing the Sun family, he had already formed a life and death feud with Yi Fan, the Su family, and the Qing family. When the Yi family slowed down, then his own family would definitely be the first to fall into cannon fodder. Ah. Wow. Sun Dishing just crawled a few steps, a footstep sounded outside the hall, and a middle aged man with a big belly, surrounded by a group of camouflage-suited youths, walked quickly towards the door of the hall. General Sampa. General Sampa. There were people who knew each other. Their gazes were instantly attracted, and they greeted the middle-aged man with a face of excitement. This man, is the border area of Burma, the largest armed leader, but also control of Burma's largest emerald mine. Cheng Roland stood beside Yi Fan and also wanted to go up to greet General Sampa, but she was a little apprehensive in her heart. After all, the previous volume of the Qing family was not even close to reaching the ground level to negotiate with General Sanpa. LOL. How wonderful it would have been if he had gotten to know General Sanpa. Even if General Sanpa didn't hand over the Jadeite Rostone agency to himself, casually helping to say a word, the Qing family's later days would definitely have to be much better. Yi Fan looked at the sight of Qing Roland's face expression constantly changing. Will Qing Roland's mind guessed more or less? Tenderly embraced Qing Roland's small waist said. Rule and wife rest assured. Emerald agent must be your. Immediately, Sangpa will come over to take the initiative to greet you. Sangpa said hello to me? How is that possible? Cheng Rulin froze, then laughed a little. It's true that the Cheng Rulin family is a little famous for running jewelry in the southwest, but it's not up to the qualifications of having a direct conversation with General Sangpa. And since I didn't know General Sangpa at all before, how could he possibly say hello to me? 
At this time, Sun Deshing, who was lying on the ground and learning to bark, also sneered, What do you think you are, General Song Pa taking the initiative to greet you? Dream on, Pust. Sun Deshing just talked too much. Yi Fan didn't have any hesitation and kicked Sun Deshing's mouth violently. I let you learn how to bark like a dog. Why don't you listen? Grandpa said that if a dog doesn't listen, you have to beat him until he does. Sun Dishing's heart that suffocated ah, tears were coming to his eyes. Nima, he was at least the young master of a big family in the provincial city. When had he ever been bullied like this? And in front of General Sampa, too, the face is clean. You know, what Sun Dishing represents now is a big shot in Shangjing. What will General Sangpa think when he sees it? This side of the movement naturally attracted the attention of General Sangpa. General Sangpa could not help but turn his head to look at this sight to see Sun Dishing actually kneeling on the ground to school dog barking. General Sangpa frowned and was just about to open his mouth to reprimand, but suddenly saw Yi Fan standing beside Qing Rulin. At the same time General Sangpa looked towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan was also staring at him with a smile on his face. Ah, this is not. General Sangpa mouth exclaimed, just ready to reduke out. The ear suddenly came a subtle voice, do not expose, I am now the Yi family demented fool. Next to my wife Ching Rulin, the president of the provincial capital Ching family jewelry group. You look at it, a comment that instantly stunned General Sangpa. What is this? General Sangpa had naturally heard of that demented demonic genius of the Yi family. Fifteen years old is a strong person of the sovereign realm. If he didn't have a car accident five years ago, now, five years later, he is at least a strong person of the martial Zun realm ah. The key is youth. The future is completely unlimited. But as it happens, it was at that time that a car accident turned the genius of the Yi family into a fool. And even more coincidentally, General Sangpa only figured out at this time that the one who had saved himself and helped cure his daughter three times in the border area at that time was the genius demon of the Yi family. Yi Fan is going to play dumb. General Sangpa thought a little, and then understood. The ten core members of the Yi family had all been assassinated. And if Yi Fan didn't keep a low profile, the Yi family would be finished. Yi Fan introduced Ching Rulin by his side. What this meant was already very obvious. The people who are here today are all here for the Emerald Proxy. Since the Ching family was in the jewelry business, it was natural for them to do the same. Yi Fan to Songpa, is the grace of reconstruction? Without Yi Fan, there is no Songpa now all the things. Without Yi Fan, there would be no Songpa. A small agency, Yi Fan can look at, that is Songpa's honor, without any hesitation. Sangpa pushed away all the people surrounding him and jogged all the way towards Yi Fan and Ching Rulin's side. All eyes moved this way following Sangpa. When Sun Dishing saw General Sangpa coming over, a flash of surprise flashed in his eyes. General, quickly, save me, Yi Fan, this trash, bullied me. Sun Dishing knew that the black bodyguard beside General Sangpa was also at the Martial Zun realm. If General Sangpa had stepped in, he could have certainly saved himself. Get out. Seeing Sun Dishing crawling towards his feet, General Songpa didn't even look at him, coldly rebuked him, kicked Sun Dishing away, and continued to walk towards Yi Fan and Ching Rulin's side, and extended his hand towards Ching Rulin from afar. Ching Rulin's pupils dilated for a moment, looking at the scene in front of her, all in disbelief. Is General Songpa really here to see himself? Miss Ching, I've heard a lot about you. Ching's jewelry's market share in the southwest is getting bigger and bigger. I've wanted to work with Miss Ching for a long time. If we join forces together we can definitely make our business even bigger. General Songpa enthusiastically stretched out his hands and shook Ching Rulin's, but at once, Ching Rulin was confused. It's true that the Ching family's jewelry business is doing well, but it's not that exaggerated, is it? General Songpa had wanted to work with himself for a long time. How had he not heard about it before? Ching Rulin thought of what Yi Fan had just said, that General Songpa would soon come over to find himself, and it had become a reality so quickly? Ching Rulin wasn't stupid. She knew very well that the fact that Sangpa was treating herself so well must have something to do with Yi Fan. Is it the Yi family connection? But the Yi family is in a situation where everyone is avoiding it. And General Sangpa actually has such vigor to stand up to the Yi family? What kind of magic was in Yi Fan? This is Miss Qing's husband. Yi Xiao, right? Young Yi is such a demonic genius. If he's fine from a car accident, he must be blessed with heavenly fortune behind him. Miss Qing don't worry. Young Yi will definitely wake up. General Songpa saw Ching Rulin's gaze toward Yi Fan and hurriedly extended his hand toward Yi Fan again. Young Yi, long time no see. General Songpa held Yi Fan's hand and fiercely shook it a few times, looking at Yi Fan's eyes filled with a burning heat. There was gratitude, admiration, and submission in those eyes. To Yi Fan, General Songpa was truly convinced. Previously, when he was in the southwestern border area, Yi Fan was still just a teenager, yet he showed great composure. 
And the key to this was that he swept through tens of thousands of troops by himself, as if he was in no man's land. When he killed those drug dealers, his strategy, kung fu, and methods were all worthy of the title of genius demon. Miss Ching making such a decision in front of so many people is truly a woman's hero, making Song Pa sweat and admire. Miss Ching will surely be blessed with heavenly fortune in the future as well. Song Pa didn't mince his words of praise, a rainbow fart, praising both Yi Fan and Ching Rolin fiercely. The praise made Ching Rolin a little embarrassed. General Song Pa is too polite. This is all what I should do. General Song Pa please come inside. Miss Ching, Yi Xiao please. General Song Pa made a gesture of invitation to Ching Rolin and Yi Fan. And only after seeing Yi Fan move, Sung Pa then lagged a step behind Yi Fan and followed along towards the inside of the hall, leaving Sun Dishing alone on his knees, his head a bit messy. No, shouldn't he be the one accompanying General Sampa into the hall now? Didn't he work hard for most of yesterday's night, saddling up and serving, just to show how good his relationship with General Sung Pa was in front of so many people today, to win back some face for the Sun family? How come in the end, you've given yourself away again? General Sung Pa, you, Sun Dishing wanted to stand up and call out to General Song Pa, but beside him Yi Fan's maid, Nan Sheng, was not polite at all. Looking for death aren't you? Keep climbing. Nan Sheng's chiding caused General Song Pa to glance this way. After noticing that the martial chi energy fluctuating on these four attendants of Nan Sheng were all at the Zongshu realm, General Song Pa couldn't help but secretly touch the beads of sweat on his forehead. Luckily, almost, he himself was just a little bit close to being taken to the ditch by Sun Dishing. If he really announced that the Emerald Agent's rights would be given to the Sun family today, then he would have completely offended the Qing and Yi families. The Yi family was so powerful now. How could offending the Yi family possibly end well? Cheng Rulin accompanied General Song Pa into the hall and sat down on the main seat, and the scene instantly quieted down. Earlier, everyone thought that today's proxy had been internalized and was the Sun family's. But now, from General Song Pa's words just now, everyone heard out that General Song Pa wanted to join hands with the Qing family. And the meaning of that was already very obvious. Today's proxy is afraid to fall into the hands of the Qing family? But what does the secretary have to do with it? General Song Pa, allow us to introduce ourselves. I am the Southwest Su family, engaged in the jewelry business for many years, with very wide channels. A middle-aged man below stood up and introduced himself towards General Song Pa. If General Song Pa gives me the agency, I'll make sure to double the sales several times over before. Right, my young family can do it too. We have the number one number of physical stores in the entire southwest region. Our channels are more mature, not comparable to those other small families. Someone started. The following people have begun to introduce their own company's advantages. All want to get this emerald agent. After all, Sangpa General's general agent in Dasha, that the scale is at least 100 billion level, which the profits of the individual is tens of billions of dollars. If the sales can be up to hundreds of billions of words, a freight of the light profits can be hundreds of billions. More crucially, this agent in the hand, more represents as a status and network grasp. General Songpa looked at the crowd lightly, and after a few people opened their mouths and their words fell, Songpa raised his hand. Everyone, don't waste time. Today I am very thankful to all of you for coming to participate in today's investment promotion. But this time, the attribution of the Emerald Agent Right problem, I have decided. The next 10 years of the Emerald Agent Right, will be all by the Qing's jewelry agent. In the future, I Song Pa and Dasha all the emerald related business, are by the Qing's group full agent. Ha, Cheng Rulin's shocked pupils dilated for a moment when she heard Song Pa's words. Although Cheng Rulin had already guessed such an outcome from Song Pa's words just now. However, when Song Pa actually announced the results, Cheng Rulin still felt that it was somewhat unreal. And, profit wise, something needs to change. General Song Pa continued to add, Cheng Rulin didn't have any opinion. I agree. Before the agent's profit share was 30%. The Qing family can accept 20%, or 10% is fine. Cheng Rulin came to touch base today, mainly to solve the problem of the Qing family's source of goods being cut off. As long as you can take care of the problem of the Qing family's supply of goods, the supply of goods is not pinched off by those rivals of the Yi family. Not to mention that there are still profits. Even if there are no profits, Cheng Rulin is also willing. What's more, even though it's only 10% profit, that's at least tens of billions of dollars. The representatives of those clans below watched with a pang of redness, but there was nothing they could do about it. M.S. Ching, you have misunderstood. The profit change I said is not to reduce the agent's profit, but the profit share in the future. 50-50, or 60-40. 60% for Miss Ching is also possible. As Sung Pa spoke, his eyes looked towards Yi Fan next to him, observing the change in Yi Fan's face. Of course, if Miss Ching has problems with her funds for the time being, 
It's okay if I don't want the profits for the time being. Song Pao was afraid that the conditions he offered would make Yi Fan unsatisfied, and if Yi Fan got angry, then he would be in trouble. Originally, Song Pao gave the agency to Ching Rulin, it was to return the favor. Things should be done beautifully since they have to be done. Ah, 50-50, General Song Pao, you this. Chang Rolin excitedly all stood up. Somewhat incomprehensible look at General Song Pao. Hiss, those delegates down there, no matter how stupid they are, can see that something is not right. General Song Pao and Yi Fan, before Chang Rolin, must have had certain relationships that people didn't know about. Because, now, the decision made by General Song Pao has gone against the laws of business. Don't want profit. What kind of business is that? Song Pao looked at Yi Fan, knowing that if he didn't explain, people would definitely make wild guesses, even speculating that there was something between him and Ching Rulin. I am not joking, truth be told. I have some previous connections with Young Yi, who saved my life in the border area five years ago, and since Miss Ching is Young Yi's wife, it would be Song Pa's honor to work with Miss Ching. Phew, when Song Pa explained this, Ching Rulin was instantly relieved. So that's it? Chang Rulin thought of what Ji Fan said yesterday, saying that the Emerald Agent will definitely be his own. Is it that time? Yi Fan already knew? Yi Fan has awakened? HM, this dead bad guy, if this lady knows that he dares to lie to me, there will be a good time for him. Wow, those delegates below were in an uproar after General Sampa's explanation. Then what the hell is there to play? So people Yi Xiao has already laid out today's events? Alas, demonic talent is just not the same, even though you are now demented. You still have someone to shelter you. It's just that. Doesn't General Sangpa know that the Yi family is in a state right now? If you stand up to the Yi family at this time, I'm afraid that you'll run into big trouble in the future. The scene was in an uproar. While Sun Deshing, who had crawled over from a distance, heard General Sangpa's final decision and could no longer think of anything else, rising directly from the ground. General Sangpa, didn't Big Brother and General Sangpa all agree yesterday? This time, the Emerald Proxy must be given to my son family. Why did you suddenly give it to the Qing family? Sundance was sure to prevent the proxy agreement from being signed. The Qing family is the big man's nemesis ah. The big man in the capital let Sun dishing out. The purpose is to suppress the Qing family. And now, the emerald power all fell into the hands of the Qing family. Then still suppress the ah. Moreover, with the emerald proxy in the hands of the Qing family, then they have the initiative. It was feared that for the sake of a smooth supply of goods, those who had previously promised the Sun family to join together to deal with the Qing family would all turn against the Qing family's side. Humph, Sun Deshing, do I know you well? Does this general still need you to teach me things? Sun Pa stared at Sun Deshing with a cold face and said, If you dare to continue to talk too much, beware that I will chop you up and throw you out to the dogs. General Sun Pa, as an armed head commanding tens of thousands of people, was angry, naturally had a majesty that pressed Sun Deshing momentarily into some trembling. But, General Sun Pa, don't forget, if you give the emerald proxy to the Qing family, then those conditions that Big Brother promised you can't be done. Moreover, Big Brother still has some information about you in his hands. So when it comes to light, it won't be good for anyone. Sun Dishing was also really anxious, and directly said many of the words that the Big Brother had instructed him to say in front of so many people. A sentence that completely enraged Sanpa. Are you threatening me? Sanpa stood up with a mischievous sound and stared coldly at Sun Dishing. Is it your intention, or is it the meaning of that trash in Shangjing? Tell your master. Just him. This general hasn't looked at him in the eye. To cooperate with him is to give him face. Not to cooperate with him. So what? Do you really think that without him? This general can't conduct business in Dasha? In the crowd. The young man sent by the big man from Shangjing was furious when he heard Sun Dishing's words. Stupid. How can you say something in front of so many people? Besides, how can an armed leader like General Sampa be threatened? LOL. Anthony, go break his legs and throw him out. Sangpa held back the anger in his heart, leaving you alive. This is for the sake of my daughter's virtue. If it was according to my previous temper, I would have dragged my knife and hacked you to death long ago. Yes, beside General Sangpa, a burly man flashed out, his body's martial chi rapidly stirring, clicking twice, directly breaking both of Sun Dishing's legs on the spot, and then threw them out towards the hall beyond. Ah, my leg. Ah. Sun Dishing pain in the mouth issued a miserable scream, tearing his heart and lungs rolling on the ground, miserable screams in the hall to resonate. Compared with the physical pain, Sun Dishing more desperate is the heart grief and despair. If we mess up this time, what should we say to the bigwigs in Beijing? After all, on the side of the big man in Shangjing, he had already given the Sun family so many benefits, and he himself must be punished if he did not reciprocate. Gentlemen, 
Do any of you have any more comments? After Sun Dishing's matter was dealt with, General Songpa swept a glance at those other clans and representatives present. In the future, the emerald jewelry industry of Dasha will still need all of you to come together to support it. Good talk. Good talk. No comment. No comment. Sun Dishing was in such a state. Those families present, where would they dare to say more? Since that's the case, M.S. Ching, let's sign the contract on the spot. Just now I've asked my secretary to change some of the terms of the contract, and the split ratio as well. You can have your legal affairs check it over. Song Pao respectfully handed several contracts to Ching Rulin and signaled for her signature. Ching Rulin was still hesitant, but Chi Fan took the first step and handed the signing pen to Ching Rulin, Rulin's wife. Sign it. There won't be any problems with the contract. Since he knew his identity, Song Pa naturally didn't dare to pull any tricks in front of Yi Fan. If Song Pa dared to make any small moves, then Yi Fan would have at least a hundred means to deal with him. Good. After what happened just now, Chang Roland had unconditional trust in Yi Fan. Picking up the signing pen and quickly signing a few points of the cooperation documents, there were dozens of other media outlets on the scene, but most of them were arranged by Sun Dishing and the bigwigs behind him. There was some hesitation at this point as I watched several other media outlets take pictures of the signing scene in front of me. Reporter Zhang, do you think we should take pictures or not? Right, I've got my press release written and I'm just waiting for the photos. But now this, shoot the shit, just pull out. Alas, as long as they've already paid, it doesn't matter. Merchants conference, finally to Ching Rul and one hemp ended, before the ceremony was over. A large group of people at the scene surged forward and congratulated Ching Rulin. Miss Ching, before our company and the Qing family had some misunderstandings, I'm here to apologize to Miss Qing, but also ask Miss Qing to be generous and not to be general with us ah, in the future we still want to cooperate with Miss Qing? Right right, M.S. Qing, before we took possession of a batch of goods M.S. Qing has not paid, I will immediately arrange for financial transfers, our future cooperation will continue to last. Everyone was fawning over Qing Rulin, including the bosses of the Su family and other big jewelry companies in the southwest all of whom went up to ingratiate themselves with Ching Rulin. It's impossible not to please. Most of the sources of Jadeite within Dasha come from Burma, and now the general agent within the territory of Dasha, all by Ching Rulin control in the hands. If the Ching Rulin offended, then there is no source of goods in the future. They either from other channels to buy high price sources, or can only go out of business. Although Ching Rulin was somewhat flattered, she was after all the president of a $10 billion company, and she quickly began to cope with these scenes with ease. M.S. Ching, you first busy. Don't know your husband can conveniently lend me a few minutes. I have some words I want to talk to Yi Xiao alone. Sung Pa looked at the scene in front of him and took the time to open his mouth towards Ching Rolin. It had been another five years since they had seen each other. And Sung Pa did have some things he wanted to say to Yi Fan. And the bottom line is that Sung Pa's girl has been messing around for years. And in order to find her big brother, Sung Pa has to finish the job. This, although Sung Pa was not a bad person. Ching Rulin was still a little worried about Yi Fan's safety. The maid next to her, Xiao Wen, spoke up, Miss Ching, don't worry, with us here, nothing will happen. As the four major maids arranged by Yi Fan's mother, they clearly know that Yi Fan has actually awakened, and their strengths are all at the level of Martial Emperor. Looking at the whole of Dashia, there are not many people who can harm Yi Fan. Ching Rulin had indeed seen the strength of Xiao Wen in Nanching just now. Okay then, anyway, he's right on his heels so nothing should happen. With Ching Rulin's permission, General Song Pa greeted Yi Fan and led him towards a nearby lounge. When the door to the lounge room closed, General Song Pa hugged Yi Fan tightly as soon as he could. Young Yi, I haven't seen you in five years, I've missed you to death. Yi Fan pushed General Song Pa away as he said indifferently, I'm not interested in men, speak up, what do you want to say to me? Song Pa didn't get angry either, but said with a somewhat gloomy face, Young Yi, I already know something about the Yi family's situation roughly. Moreover, last night, after I arrived in Cloud City, one of the pavilion elders over in Shangjing contacted me and asked me to cooperate with the Sun family to suppress the Yi family and the Qing family. And at that time, I didn't know that you were the demonic genius of the Yi family. General Sampa held nothing back about his actions last night, giving all the information he knew. That big man in Shangjing is named Tang Zhang, is one of the nine cabinet elders, belongs to the Tang family in Shangjing, before and I have some interactions, using his relationship, delivered some weapons to me, relying on the hands of some of my handle, today Sundishing would like to use this as a blackmail, but will this seat be afraid? After hearing Song Pa's words, Yi Fan's face clouded over, Don Young, another courtier, HM, together with pavilion master Zhang, who was sitting in the northwest, 
There were already two major pavilion masters who had openly made a move against the Yi family. Cloud City is almost over. The next step is to deal with those minions, will be the other side of those subordinate family all settled. To that time, everything is going to be water. Behind the real culprits, all should be to the surface, right? I know, you're not to blame for this, without knowing, if I were you, I would have chosen the same way. After all, within the great Xia, no one would easily offend a pavilion elder if they weren't overly connected. Thank you Yi Xiao. In addition, there is another thing. My daughter, are disturbing me for five years, has been to say to come to you, to marry Yi Xiao. I really cannot stop. This time all followed together. Yi Xiao, if you are convenient, let her follow the sight of tea and water is also possible. Song Pao was full of heartache when he spoke of his daughter. Though the thought that the cabbages he had worked so hard to raise were about to be swept away by pigs made Sumba feel bad. But if this pig was Yi Fan, Song Pa felt a little better in his heart again. After all, he was very clear about Yi Fan's strength. Although Song Pa already knew that there were already so many girls around Yi Fan, but with Yi Fan's character, his own daughter wouldn't be wronged if she followed him. Moreover, with the existence of the relationship between the daughter, in the future, perhaps they will also follow along with the light, will be more solidly embraced by this golden thigh. Oh, Angel, counting the time, that little girl should have grown up. She's here too, mentioning that daughter of Songpa's. Yi Fan also sighed for a while. At that time, when Yi Fan was 15 years old, although he only stayed in the place where Songpa was for about a month, but at that time, Songpa's 13 year old daughter, a pestered around Yi Fan, made Yi Fan delicious food, and also knitted a scarf for Yi Fan, and even swore that she would grow up to be a wife for Yi Fan. At the time, Angel was only 13 years old, but already she was considered to be a beautiful woman with exotic airs and graces. Yi Fan also did not know how Songpa, such a groovy man, had given birth to such an absolutely beautiful and tender daughter. Although five years had passed, and then thought of that spiteful girl, Yi Fan's heart was also a burst of waner. Let's meet and talk when we have time. At that time, when he was on a mission in Burma, Yi Fan didn't think that much about it, and certainly didn't take Angel's sworn word seriously. But Angel did. When Yi Fan and Songpa came out of the lounge, outside Ching Rulin was still receiving those family representatives. Hundreds of company representatives, all of them had to come to curry favor with Ching Rulin, even if each of them only said one sentence. It would take quite a bit of time. Yi Fan was just about to go to the entrance of the hall to take a break, when several men in suits carrying a box hurriedly walked towards Yi Fan. After seeing Yi Fan, he respectfully bowed to Yi Fan and said, Young Yi, it was Young Lu who asked us to come to you, Xiao Lu asked us to give this box to you. Yi Fan took the box from the hands of those men in suits and thought about what Lu Hao said last night. This Lu Hao also in ruthless role ah, learned that his father killed his mother. Lu Hao really knight with his own direct line of men. The father abolished, with a dog chained in front of the mother's statue of repentance. Moreover, according to the news of the in-death investigation on the side of Pang Lao of Tianji Pavilion, Lu Hao also actually really cut off the contact with the Eastern Ning dog, as well as those of the Holy Envoy organization, and all the cooperation was terminated comprehensively, with a few pep in his step. Yi Fan opened the box and the first thing that caught his eye was an ancient parchment map. Although it was only a fragment, it shone with a rich ancient flavor. Yi Fan only sensed it for a moment and noticed how valuable it was. There was a fluctuation of breath on his eyes, and Yi Fan urged his magic pupil to sweep around the parchment. On this parchment map, underneath those arcane patterns, there was another mysterious pattern hidden, which seemed to be the pattern of a heavenly palace. But because it was a fragment, there was only a very small part of it. Looking deeper through the demonic pupil, in that heavenly palace, there were still some vague fluctuations of illusory images. Is this the same map that the holy angels wanted? They want what was in that palace? This map hid two pieces of information. One was a map of the inner structure of the earth palace, and the outer layer of the map. Was it pointing to the hidden location of the heavenly palace? Associating those experts and information that his mother had left behind for him, as well as the information from Xian Yufei's mother's side, Yi Fan suddenly had a conjecture. Is your own mother the one behind the god's gate? Is she also connected to the holy angels? But his parents had disappeared from the time Yi Fan was born, and there was no word from them until now, and there was no place for Yi Fan to ask if he wanted to. Perhaps one could learn part of the truth after one actually had access to those mysterious holy messengers. There are also some lists below. Part of them are the vassal families under the holy envoy, and the list of the eastern Ing dogs lurking in Dasha. In addition, there are also some key undercover agents arranged by the above to lurk around the Yi family. Lu Xiao said that everything Yi Xiao himself will see to it. A few men in suits respectfully left after safely handing over the password box to Yi Fan. And after Yi Fan had memorized everything on the sheepskin map, his gaze then shifted to the list below. 
When Yifan picked up the list and saw the list of a few familiar families on it, his expression couldn't help but be grave. They were actually the other party's secret agents arranged around the Yi family? If not for this list of Lu Hao, I'm afraid that the Yi family will have to suffer major losses in the future. Ah, Tian Chang Foods Company Limited. This is the company that is mainly responsible for the Yi family's food ingredients, as well as catering. Divine Eagle Security Group. This was the company that was mainly responsible for the Yi family's peripheral security. There's another transportation company. Through this list of Lu Hao's, it appears that either all of these companies, or the higher ups in them, have been infiltrated by the holy angels. These companies, almost all the people in the Yi family are covered with food, clothing and shelter. It can be imagined. Even if the other side if not on the battlefield to arrange the assassination of the core disciples of the Yi family, usually find an opportunity to poison the meals in the Yi family, or to create car accidents and explosions. Yi those core disciples, it is estimated that they still have to suffer, even if the final result is not so horrible as it is now. But the Yi family is afraid that it will still have to lose a great deal of awe. Yi Fan grimly put the information back into the password box, then dialed Guo Li's phone. Old Guo immediately informed Pang Lao to investigate these companies. The faster the better. Although according to the information from the previous investigation on Pang Lao's side, Lu Hao did make quite a commotion in the Yi family, making a move on his father, and drawing a line in the sand with the holy envoys, the people of the East were indeed all true. But after all, before the Lu family can Zhao family, Li family, Wang family behind the leading family. Now although the attitude has changed, Yi Fan still cannot trust. Yi Fan's side had just hung up with Guo Li when his cell phone received a call from his grandfather. Little Fan, is it convenient for you to speak? Today some of our old buddies are having a gathering, which is also considered a gathering of the Yi family's direct lineage family. And I think you should come and make an appearance. Yi Fan also happened to be about to call his grandfather to give him instructions. Okay, where is it? I will definitely come. Now that the Yi family's descendant disciples were all wiped out, the hope of revitalizing the Yi family all rested on himself. Grandpa gathered those old fellows together, also to tell everyone that the Yi family hadn't broken the flame. It's in a building outside the hotel of Tianchang Foods Company Limited, the biggest heavenly private room. Grandfather Yi Chongfeng's words instantly caused Yi Fan's heart to tighten. Is it coming so soon? Today happened to be the time when all those first families of Grandpa gathered together. If at this time, the crowd's meals were tampered with a little bit. Then all the people were afraid that none of them would be able to run away. Grandpa, remember, you must instruct everyone that after entering the outside the building hotel, everything, don't touch it, and don't even drink any water until I arrive. Remember that. Yi Fan's tone was a bit grave. Also, have Lei Qian Jia make sure to follow you around, just in case of accidents. Ah, good. Although Yi Changfeng didn't understand why Yi Fan had arranged it this way. But his grandson was now at the martial emperor level and the superhuman abilities that he had displayed were something that Yi Changfeng had already seen. Naturally all of them listened to Yi Fan's arrangements. Hanging up with his grandfather, Yi Fan immediately called Guo Li and Lu Qingyang, Xia Hao and the others. Arrange for your men to gather towards the outbuilding. There will be action later. For safety's sake, Yi Fan also called Captain Niu heir of the Swimming Souls. Captain Niu. Mobilize all the forces the swimming souls can muster to help focus on monitoring the movements of these company personnel. Yi Fan read all the lists to Nyo Air in detail. Lu Hao had already defected from the Sacred Envoy Organization and the Dogs of the East, and when the Sacred Envoy Organization side learned of the news, they would surely arrange for the evacuation of the important people under them at the first opportunity. And Yi Fan's arrangement was that he couldn't let those lurking members leave so easily. If it wasn't for Lu Hao's list, Yi Fan wouldn't have been able to notice that there were actually so many enemies lurking around the Yi family, in such an important position. Yi Fan couldn't help but think of the information he had previously learned from Zhao Dekang and the others. Those who wanted to bring down the Yi family had gone to great lengths to achieve their goal. Yes, as Yi Fan's order was given, the entire cloud city began to boil. Although on the surface, it remained quiet. Secretly, the brothers under cloud city's godfather Li Hu, those elites of the traveling souls, and the forces that Xia Hao, Gua Li, and the others had arranged in Cloud City began to act. They were rushing towards the Lulu Hotel, forming a several layered encirclement outside the Lulu Hotel. At the site of General Song Pa's investment conference, Sun Dishing was still still kneeling on the ground, looking at the scene with a depressed face. Seeing Yi Fan walking towards himself, Sun Dishing immediately tensed up and looked at Yi Fan with a resentful face. Yi Fan, what else do you want to do? I'm telling you, you definitely won't have a good ending. Behind me. Yi Fan crouched down and stared scorchingly at Sun Dishing. Do you want to say that it's Pavilion Elder Tang Zhang behind you? It's useless. No matter who it is that wants to get my Yi family killed, I will make sure that their entire family is buried with them. 
Yi Fan's words caused Sun Dishing's entire body to freeze in place. Yi Fan, you, previously, when he was in the Wanbao Pavilion, Sun Dishing had suspicions that Yi Fan's demented appearance was feigned. However, there was no evidence at the time, and the actions Yi Fan had shown didn't seem to indicate anything. But at this moment, Yi Fan had so easily told all the people behind his curtain. That meant that Yi Fan must have made arrangements in the dark, and already knew all the other party's actions. Yi Fan wasn't stupid. You're not stupid? You are pretending? You. After Sun Dishing figured out Yi Fan's situation, he looked at Yi Fan with a horrified face. Yi Fan was able to pretend to be demented for five years, escaping those enemies of the Yi family who surrounded him, and then secretly laying out his plans. He had already cleaned up almost all of those families in Yun City that were unfavorable to the Yi family, and even the Lu family in the provincial city didn't run away. Yi Fan was too scary. You're right, I am just pretending. Unfortunately, you know too late. Yi Fan stared evilly at Sun Dishing. Usually when Yi Fan told them the truth, he had already announced the other party's death sentence. Because Yi Fan's secret, except for the few people he trusted the most to know, Yi Fan would not expose it easily. And if you want the secret not to be revealed, the only people who won't talk about it are the dead. Ah, you, everyone. Sun Dishing was horrified, thinking of Yi Fan's terrifying means. If Yi Fan was in a sober state and knew that he was treating the Qing family like this, and still wanted to deal with the Yi and Su families, then how could Yi Fan possibly let himself go? Sun Dishing opened his mouth, so he intended to cry out in shock. But the next moment, Sun Dishing realized that although his mouth was open, he could not make any sound, and his mouth began to spit white foam, and his body began to twitch uncontrollably. Woo! Sun Dishing's mouth whimpered unwillingly, wanting to say something, but he clearly felt his entire body's vitality power draining away. The strength of the whole body was being withdrawn a little. Yi Fan in the very beginning when he met Sun Dishing, in Sun Dishing's body arranged the salary fire chi energy, wants Sun Dishing to die, just need to move a finger thing, to his enemies, Yi Fan was never merciful, with the development of things, Yi Fan is soon to leave the cloud city, deep into the provincial side to investigate, then this kind of enemy, must be solved before it is too late, cannot stay for the new year, soon ba, you take care of it, looking at Sun Dishing who gradually stopped breathing, Yi Fan opened his mouth towards Sung Pa who was following him. Yes, with a wave of Sung Pa's hand, several of his men dragged the already dying Sun Dishing out, not far away from the crowd. The young man sent by Tang Zhang could only let out a long sigh of helplessness when he saw the situation in front of him. On one hand, Sun Dishing was too stupid. On the other hand, Yi Fan was too strong. So it leads to, all the arrangements of the cabinet, Sun Dishing are not yet much play. It died, and even buried himself. That youth silently retreated and after leaving the investment site, he then dialed the Shangjing Pavilion Elder's phone. Pavilion Elder, the mission has failed. The Emerald Proxy has been taken by Qing Rulin. What? The agency was snatched away by the Qing family. Are you guys mistaken? Sun Dishing manned. What is he up to? Tang Zheng on the other end of the phone heard the news reported by his men. His voice steeply raised 8 degrees. Last night, didn't I all call General Song Pa and arrange everything? Today's investment meeting, just go through the formality ah. Tang Zhang thought that he had that kind of friendship with General Song Pa, and this matter of agency should be a trivial matter that could be easily resolved. Things have been arranged to this point. Sun Deshing, even if he is a pig, he can still complete the subsequent actions ah, get the agent right, completely cut off the source of the Qing family, and then from the channel sales, the full range of suppression of the Qing family, playing the price war, with less than a month, the Qing family will fall. Sun Deshing has died, the death is a bit strange. I don't know if Yi Fan has made a move, or those four made experts beside Yi Fan have made a move. Without any reservations, the youth recounted what he had seen in detail to Tang Zhang. When Tang Zhang heard that the Yi family had actually arranged for there to be four great Zongshu realm attendants, his expression couldn't help but begin to gaze. The Yi family's heritage, it seems that it hasn't been fully utilized yet. A few of their pavilion elders had thought that after getting rid of those core disciples of the Yi family and leaving a fool behind, the Yi family was no longer enough to worry about. But now, so many days have passed, and that old thing from the Yi family, and that fool are alive and well. Lei Qianjie had already been in Cloud City for so many days. If Lei Qianjie really had a method to cure Yi Fan and make him completely awake, then everyone's life behind them would really be bad ah, in the back from the mouth of his men. Moreover, he learned that Sangpa had actually been saved by Yi Fan. Tang Zhengdu couldn't help but slam his fist on the table. Numb nuts, this Yi Fan, in the end, how many other secrets do we not know? Previously. When Zhang Gulao's side was blocking the Su group, at the critical time, Xia Hao from the provincial city appeared and solved the problem of Su group's sales channels. 
so that the Zhao family was all thrown off. One of them, Xia Hao, also made a move because of Yi Fan's saving of his life. Geniuses and demons, are they really this powerful? Pavilion Elder, what should we do now? All the previous arrangements have already failed. Do we still have to continue with the suppression plan against the Qing family? As the youth spoke, he glanced at the hotel building over there. Because the Qing family had gotten the Jadeite Rostone Agency, countless family representatives were now out to curry favor with the Qing family. As for the previous blocking order issued by the vassal families on the pavilion master's side, it had little effect at all now. Of course I'm going to continue. Humph, if the Qing family doesn't fall, then our action against the Yi family is a failure. What will others think of us? Those seven bitches announced their marriage to Yi Fan. And if we don't do anything, it'll be a slap in our face. Tang Zheng pondered for two seconds and continued to speak. You immediately go to the provincial city. I just got the news that the Lu family in the provincial city has had a change of heart. So many of us have been exposed. And that side of the provincial city needs to be rearranged. A few other vassal families, after raising them for so many years, it is also time for them to play a role. Yes, the youth answered. Then are the Marshall Zoon experts we invited from Eastern Ning going to make a move? Hands, of course we have to do it. Numb nuts, those garbage in the East Ning, these years from us here to take how much benefit to go. Light eat white food, not work how to line, give them a dead order. Can give enough temptation, let them hands to kill Yi Fan, as long as can kill Yi Fan, this seat wife can give them. Damn Yi Fan, luck is so good every time, I'd like to see just how long you can be lucky. Can a fool still protect seven families? Numb nuts. If you're pissed off, you'll just ask the bigwigs above to come down. And if you're at the level of a martial emperor, I don't believe that you can't be killed? In the merchant's hall, after dealing with Sun Dishing, Yi Fan and a few maids walked towards Cheng Rolin's side. Cheng Rolin just finished entertaining a group of company bosses, and seeing Yi Fan walking over, she held Yi Fan's arm with a gentle face and said, Xiao Fan's husband, have you finished chatting? What did you talk about? Yi Fan smiled evilly and spoke naively. General Songpa said that his daughter also wants to marry me as his wife. What do you think I should do? A sentence that instantly made both Ching Rolin and Songpa a bit snappy. This he Xiao, is he really stupid, or is he just a fake? General Songpa, you are. Ching Rolin is also a little speechless. General Songpa actually sent his own daughter to steal her husband. While speaking, Ching Rolin held Yi Fan's arm tighter, as if she was swearing her sovereignty. M.S. Ching. Just now the old master called and wanted to invite Yi Xiao back to attend a meeting. So we'll go back first. Xiao Wen saw that the atmosphere of the scene was a bit off. So she hurriedly opened her mouth to break the awkward atmosphere. Oh, then you guys go. And call me when it's over. Cheng Rolin looked at Yi Fan with a loving face. She still had a lot more to say to Yi Fan. This time she got the Emerald Agent. She had to thank Yi Fan properly. Only, exactly how to thank them. Cheng Rolin hadn't thought about it yet. Yi Fan and the four great maids left from the merchant's hall and drove quickly towards the Lulu Hotel. And at this time, the Lulu Hotel, on the surface, looked calm. But in fact, the periphery had been filled with people from Yi Fan's side. But at the same time, inside the hotel, a large group of martial arts powerhouses had gathered. And those were the men lurking under the holy envoy, in the back kitchen of the restaurant. A group of youths dressed as waiters gathered together. And a leading middle-aged man chided, just now. We got a call from Zhou Xiao, the Lu family in the provincial city has had a change of heart, and it is highly likely that we will be exposed. If the Yi family learns of our identities and investigates us, we will surely die. So, Zhou Xiao has arranged for us to complete today's mission as soon as possible, and regardless of whether the mission is successful or not, Zhou Xiao will arrange for us to leave. Our plan is simple. First we will start through the meals, the poison in the drinks, and if there are still people who are not dead, then we will go and make up for it. I hope it's best to wipe out all those full-fledged members of the Yi family. Did everyone hear what I said? The leading middleman's eyes flashed with a touch of sinister. No one should make any mistakes in today's matter. Otherwise if Zhou Xiao above traces it, no one will have a good ending. Yes, Tian Chang Foods Limited. The entire company is already a force under the Holy Angels Organization. For the orders of the Holy Angels Organization, it is absolute execution. Look carefully, everyone. For the toxin in the drink, you should use this colorless and tasteless one, and it should be a chronic poison, otherwise if the first person drinks it and has a problem with it, the ones after them won't drink it, in addition to the wine and water, when you put poison in the dishes, according to the color and flavor of the dishes, different dishes, put different poisons, to make sure that, no one dish is missed, while the middle aged man was still in the kitchen instructing his men on poisoning, Yi Fan, accompanied by the four great maids, had already arrived at the Luai Lu Hotel. At this time, the hotel, unlike usual, 
had been covered with bodyguards inside and outside. As soon as Yi Fan appeared, the bodyguard at the door stopped him. What for? The hotel is not receiving today. Please come back another time. In order to deal with this wave of the Yi family's full-fledged power, the Lulu Hotel directly stopped the entire hotel's business. How dare you? This is Yi Xiao. How dare you not answer? Xiao Wen let out a rebuke, causing the heart of the bodyguard at the door to tremble, and immediately looked Yi Fan up and down. And after a slight comparison, he immediately determined that what was in front of him was Yi Fan himself. The leader above said that no one would be let in, and added that if they were going to Yi Fan's meeting, they could go in. Yi Fan was the first young master of the Yi family. Was he considered a low to go to a meeting or not? Aye. These bodyguards at the door seemed to be a little unresponsive for a moment. Yi Fan sniffed the air and had already detected several toxins drifting through the air. Time was already running out and there was no extra time to waste. Get out. Yi Fan suddenly struck out, and the Qi at the martial emperor level instantly smashed a few bodyguards at the doorway and flew out, directly fainting in place. In the hall, those other bodyguards still wanted to continue rushing over when Xiao body and exploded a chi force, forming an invisible barrier in the air, blocking everyone while immobilizing their figures in place. Take me to the hotel's head chef. Yi Fan grabbed one of the foremen, and while the seven-star soul-destroying hand was activated, he said towards Nanching at his side, you immediately go to the heavenly character room and lead the old man and the others to withdraw. Yes, soldiers divided into two ways. Yi Fan followed that foreman and quickly rushed towards the chief kitchen on the third floor. The other way Nanching quickly rushed towards the heavenly private room. Yi Fan wasn't too sure what exactly was the situation with the other party's arrangement inside the Lulu Hotel, so he was very cautious. The wandering souls people had already moved out, but Yi Fan had told them not to come in directly from the main door, but to descend from the roof rope, and at this time they were already outside the windows of the heavenly numbered private room. If there was any movement inside, they would be the first to act. In the kitchen, the leading middle-aged man had just had his men distribute the various poisons and mix them into the rice and wine, when another man in a pink suit appeared in the doorway surrounded by a few minions. How's it going? Mr. Lee, all these things I provided are very powerful, right? This leading man's name was Lee Dong, the general manager of this restaurant, and he was in charge of all the actions today. Mr. Poison is indeed a good tactic. Lee Dong glanced at the room next to him, where several dogs, pigs, cows and so on had died all of which had been used before to test whether those toxins actually worked. We only used one drop of the toxin before, and it poisoned two cows, three goats and five dogs to death. And for this banquet of the Yi family today, I directly asked them to add half a bottle, so no one can run away. Li Dong greeted the slutty pink-clothed youth with satisfaction. Don't worry, Mr. Poison. After the success of this operation, our boss will definitely fulfill any conditions that Mr. Poison has, as long as we can. The complete extermination of the Yi family was the biggest headache for the above. If this plan of action could not only destroy the Yi family, but also wipe out all those direct lineage forces of the Yi family, then the top would surely be so happy that they would wake up from their dreams laughing. Good to say, well said. What I care about is the Yi family's copy of the map. If there is any news from the boss's side, just remember to notify me, even if it's a copy. Give me a copy. Duke Poison sucked a mouthful of milk tea and nodded. It tastes good. Do you want to try it? No, 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 Li Dong shook his head like a wave drum, I just ate, my stomach is still full, Nima, on the level of martial arts, everyone was scared of the poisonous prince, anything he touched could contain severe poison, and who dared to touch the milk tea he drank, that's fine, you guys continue, I'll go over to the sky character private room again, and move the air a little bit more, just in case they don't eat or drink, then they can't stop breathing, right, it's still Mr. Poison who is thoughtful, Pop, pop, snap, before the poison duke could answer. A sound of applause suddenly rang out from the doorway. Li Dong, you really are a good calculator. The Yi family asked you to be in charge of the Yi family's meals, and handed over your life and body to you. And this is how you repay the Yi family? Planning to poison all of us? A cold chortle appeared at the gate, and it was Yi Fan and his own maid, Xiao Wen, and the others who came. Ha, when Li Dong saw Yi Fan's sudden appearance, he couldn't help but cry out in shock. The look on his face was a bit flustered. That expression, like a small child who had done something wrong. However, Li Dong was more curious because he had also seen Yi Fan several times. After the car accident, Yi Fan is indeed no different from a fool ah. How come there is no dementia at all now? Moreover, beside Yi Fan, when did so many beautiful maids appear? The martial chi energy stirring in their bodies was above the level of a zongshir. It was troublesome for them to come here at this time. A touch of ominous feeling had already surfaced in Li Dong's heart. Young Yi, 
Why did you suddenly come? We are busy preparing to serve the food. Yi Xiao went to the room and waited for a while. I will arrange to serve the food right away. Li Dong didn't quite understand what exactly Yi Fan meant for a moment. His mouth answered vaguely, wanting to muddle through. Would Young Yi like to have a piece of candy first? If Yi Fan was a fool, he would really be fooled. But at this moment, Yi Fan's strength was at the martial emperor level, and his intelligence, already further than his previous peak state. How could he be fooled by Li Dong? Can't you understand human language? I said you poisoned the rice and tried to kill all of our Yi family. Tell me how you plan to explain it? Hmm, the situation was not good. Li Dong couldn't help but thump in his heart, wanting to turn on the intercom to contact his boss, but he was stared at by Yi Fan's gaze and didn't dare to move at all. That, Yi Xiao, you misunderstand. How can there be poison inside the rice? I personally stared here. All safe. Yeah, the food isn't poisoned? Then this bowl of chicken soup. You drink it and show me? Ah, this, Yi Xiao, Li Dong was dumbfounded. That fool from the Yi family actually knew such tactics? Li Dong burned a glance at Yi Fan. From Yi Fan's eyes that were glittering with essence, Li Dong could see that the stupid young master of the Yi family was not stupid at all. I'm afraid that my own plan of action is doomed today. Yi Fan brought three Zongshu level maids to the kitchen, fearing that they were coming for them. Xiao Yi, don't joke. This is the ingredient specially prepared for those bigwigs in today's banquet. How can we dare to move it easily? As he spoke, Li Dong kept winking at the poison duke next to him, signaling for the poison duke to make a move. The poison duke was known as the poison maniac of the southwest region, using poison in unpredictable ways that almost no one could match. Even a strong person of the martial Zun realm would have to be cautious when facing those toxins of the poison duke. Those powerhouses below the martial exalt realm had to be courteous when they saw the poison duke. When Prince Poison saw that Yi Fan had personally come to the kitchen, he realized that something bad had happened and he had certainly seen clearly the wink that Li Dong had given him. He also knew that there was only one chance to make a move against the Yi family, and if he failed once, even though the Yi family was now down and out, it was not for them, these small shrimps, to deal with when they counterattacked. Therefore, just in such a moment when Yi Fan spoke just now, the Poison Duke had already utilized 36 toxins to Greek Yi Fan's body without stopping, but what shocked the Poison Duke was that no matter what toxin he used, doubled, or even ten times the portion sprinkled towards Yi Fan's body. Yi Fan and the few attendants around him stood still. Not a single thing happened. The Poison Duke's most powerful group of poisons were on the verge of disliking Yi Fan's mouth, but Yi Fan still didn't have any reaction. The Poison Duke was getting skeptical. Nima, is this still human? The Poison Duke had experimented countless times over the years since his debut, and even experts in the martial Zun realm had to be affected when faced with the Poison Duke's combined toxin attack. Yi Fan was not affected at all. Could it be that Yi Fan was already above the martial Zun realm? Seeing the two of them, Li Dong and the Poison Duke, frowning at each other, their eyes bulging out, Yi Fan coldly smiled. All right, why don't I give you guys a tweeter and I'll just stand still and let the Poison Duke give me his toxin again. As he spoke, Yi Fan reached out and dabbed a bit of the toxin that the Poison Duke had waved on Yi Fan's clothes and placed it in his mouth for a taste. The toxicity is very strong, but the formula is still missing a few things, such as raspberries and half summers. If you add those two things, this toxicity of yours can be strengthened by at least 10 times, and there is also a paralyzing effect on the target's nerves. Ha, huh? the poison duke's entire body went numb when he saw Yi Fan's actions and heard his words. Punch in the face. It's a blatant slap in the face humiliation. It was clearly the poison duke who used poison on Yi Fan, but it turned out that he ate your poison like candy. No shit. And commented on how good or bad you were. Duke Poison knew that he had met an expert today. Not only an expert in martial arts chi but also an expert in using poison. But rumor has it that Yi Fan is not a fool? How come Yi Fan was so powerful now? Easily crushing everyone on the scene? Unless, Yi Fan hadn't been stupid at all five years ago and had been playing dumb to confuse the crowd? Thinking of this, the Poison Duke's figure flashed, and he intended to rush out towards the door. Phew! With a flick of his wrist, Yi Fan swung those poisons that the Poison Duke had just swung to Yi Fan's place in the same way towards the Poison Duke. All of it back to you. The Poison Duke smiled faintly. The toxins he had configured himself, even if they were all poured into his mouth, so what? The poison duke was confident that he had a hundred ways to detoxify himself. But the moment those toxin powders that Yi Fan swung came and touched the poison duke's skin, the poison duke's face changed. Not good. The toxicity of becoming has changed. In such a short amount of time, Yi Fan actually collected all the toxins that he had swung out not to mention that he also switched the order of their combinations, strengthening the previous toxins by at least a hundred times and making them a hundred times more tricky. Just like what Yi Fan had just said, those toxins returned from Yi Fan's hands already had the effect of paralyzing the nerves. 
After the poison Duke reacted, he panicked and tried to remove the powder from his skin, but his wrist only just reached out before it froze in the air. In the next moment, foaming at the mouth, his body fell down towards the ground, his body twitching unceasingly. However, Yi Fan had controlled the amount very well, and although the poison duke fell to the ground and lost his ability to move, he did not faint to death, and his eyes were still able to turn, and he was still able to clearly see everything in front of him. As the poisonous duke fell, Li Dong's entire body instantly had all of its strength drained out of it, and his legs went limp, directly paralyzing towards the ground. The poison duke was the biggest reliance of today's action, and the poison duke himself was also a powerhouse of the Zongshu realm, the strongest expert on Li Dong's side of the scene. As a result, the poison duke and Yi Fan exchanged blows, and not even three seconds later, he had already collapsed on the ground. What's the point of playing when your biggest asset is down? What? Are you drinking it of your own accord, or do I feed you to drink? Yi Fan coldly stared at Li Dong. At the same time, his eyes sharply swept towards those other cooks in the kitchen. All of you be conscious, don't let me do it. Otherwise, you'll all be worse off than dead. For these scum in front of him, from the moment Yi Fan stepped into this place, he had never thought of leaving a living soul. All these bastards were thinking of using the poison to completely wipe out the Yi family, while also removing all those direct lineage forces of the Yi family. They were all so vicious, why would Yi Fan be kind to them? Yi Xiao, I'm wrong. Li Dong was paralyzed on the ground, his mouth feebly screamed. At this time, Li Dong's heart is more or less regretful. If he had known that Yi Fan had long been no longer a fool, then he wouldn't have agreed to make a move against the Yi family even if he was beaten to death. Now bury your life in it. Numb nuts. I don't believe it. A fool. What waves can he turn up? Among the dozens of chefs, there are a few youths whose eyes flashed a touch of viciousness, greeting the brothers around them. Brothers, copy the guys, take the chopper and go together. They only have four people. With so many of us doing it together, there is always a chance to get Yi Fan dead. They knew before they poisoned today that what they did was to turn around the operation. Once you fail, you are bound to die. Now that Yi Fan had caught them in the act, they were going to die either way. So they thought about taking a chance. Hoo hoo. Five or six strong men waved the kitchen knives in their hands and actually really didn't know what to do and came towards Yi Fan in an onslaught. Hoomph. Yi Fan just snorted coldly as a chi force impacted out, easily blasting the kitchen knives in the hands of those burly men into shreds, shooting out and accurately piercing through the throats of those chefs. You shouldn't have messed with me. Put, put. Each piece of debris that shot out reaped the life of a villain. However, in a matter of seconds, all of the other people from the hotel at the scene, except for Li Dong and Mr. Poison, were all killed on the spot. Drink! Yi Fan stepped forward and stamped his foot on Li Dong's chest, condescendingly looking at Li Dong. I'll give you one last chance. Woo! Li Dong was on the verge of tears. He knew best what was in the chicken soup. The arsenic in the chicken soup just now was put in by Li Dong himself, and it was naturally self-evident what would happen if he drank it. Although Li Dong was reluctant in a hundred ways, he knew that if he did not drink, he was afraid that he would be met with an even crazier encounter. Trembling, he brought up the bowl of chicken soup and drank it in one desperate gulp. Li Dong then quietly lay on the ground and waited for death. Are you satisfied? Ha ha. Yi Fan, tell you, you can't fight them. The above will surely avenge us. Your Yi family will all perish sooner or later. Li Dong stood up stiffly and waited for a few dozen seconds, realizing that nothing had actually happened to him. Li Dong was all a bit puzzled, picking up the bowl on the table and looking at it. I'm fine, this chicken soup really isn't poisonous, ha ha. Li Dong couldn't help but laugh happily. His life was not meant to be, but laughing, laughing, Li Dong cannot laugh. Mouth eyes, nasal cavity, suddenly began to flow blood. The body instantly fell toward the ground, began to convulse violently. You, however, in a few seconds of effort, Li Dong's entire body went limp, like a dead dog not moving at all, without any vitality power. Blame. Yi Fan glanced at Li Dong indifferently and turned his head towards the poison duke next to him. Now it's your turn. Yi Xiao. Spare my life ah. I. I was forced to. The poisonous male looked at Yi Fan with a horrified face as he came towards himself. His body was controlled all over. Unable to move at all. And the look of horror in his eyes had reached an unmatched level. What do you think of the letter? Yi Fan picked up a kitchen knife and gesticulated in the crotch of the poisonous duke. Frightening the poisonous duke so much that his body shivered and his crotch got wet. Straight up pissed off, Yi Fan fanned his nose, still staring scorchingly at the poison duke without opening his mouth. That sharp eyes, looking at the poisonous male's heart creepy panic, insisted for a few seconds, finally collapsed. I confessed. I said, Tian Chang Foods Limited's boss Li Chang to find my hands, promised to give a billion dollars. At the same time, 
also promised to give me the Yi family's copy of the mysterious map debris, which is said to lead to the heavenly palace out of the head. The heavenly palace was once the ruins of gods and goddesses. There are superb treasures inside, and there are also some fragments that can allow one to obtain heavenly benefits. The poisonous male told all the information he knew to Yi Fan, and seeing that Yi Fan's eyes didn't seem to have the intention of letting him go yet, he finally had no choice but to continue to open his mouth. Yi Xiao, there are still good things on my body. There is a piece of debris on my body that is all given to Yi Xiao, so please Yi Xiao spare my life. Without waiting for Yi Fan to make a move, the maid at his side stepped forward and pulled out all the things on the poison duke's body. There were several bank cards, and cell phones, and a few other miscellaneous items. What caught Yi Fan's attention was one of the purple stones, which seemed to be wrapped in a layer of something on the outside, suppressing the powerful fluctuations of the ancient aura inside. Is this the so-called god and goddess fragment? Yi Fan picked up the fragment and released his perception to feel it. He could clearly feel the powerful energy fluctuation inside, and there was still some vague connection between the breath inside and the salary firing Yi Fan's body. It was just that. Right now, Grandpa and those full-fledged forces of the Yi family were still in the building outside the building and the danger had not been lifted, so now was not the time to study this, Yi Xiao, is it possible to let me off the hook now, seeing that Yi Fan's face changed for a moment, Mr. Poison thought that he finally had a chance to live, and hurriedly opened his mouth, there are also several billions of dollars in those bank cards, and the passwords are all six sevens, all of them are also given to Yi Xiao, I only beg Yi Xiao to spare my life, Duke Poison really does not want to die ah, he is still young, now have reached the strength of the sovereign master realm, in the future, if you get other opportunities, it is completely possible to continue to break through to the strength of the martial zone, and even the martial sage realm, the life expectancy can be increased by a lot. Yes, Yi Fan answered and put the shards away, getting up and walking towards the kitchen door. The poison duke was happy in his heart and had just breathed a sigh of relief when Yi Fan's maid next to him made a move. Pust. The dagger in the maid's hand stabbed straight down at the poison duke's heart and Dantian. The vitality power in the poison duke's body instantly began to rapidly dissipate. His eyes flashed with a touch of disbelief. Beauty. Yi. Yi Xiao didn't say that he spared me. You guys. As the poisonous duke spoke, blood began to flow out of his mouth and nose. Humph. My young master spared you. But we don't want to spare you. The maid drew her dagger out. Put those bank cards away. And said coldly. All the scum who want to exterminate the Yi family. And still want to live? Dream on. The poison duke felt the coldness of his body and convulsed violently for a few times. A look of despair flashed in his eyes, and eventually his body went limp powerlessly. To the last moment, the poison duke's heart was regretful. He very much regretted listening to Li Cheng's compulsion at that time and came to participate in this operation. He completely didn't expect the Yi family to actually have such deep heritage, and the key was that Yi Fan was no longer a fool, and his strength was still far beyond the martial Zun realm. At this time, Tan Chang Food Company, LTD. In the general manager's office, Li Cheng anxiously paced back and forth with his cell phone. He was waiting for news from the outside of the building. Once today's plan was successful, then Zhou Xiao would definitely give heavenly rewards, and putting himself in charge of the entire Southwest was possible. At that time, Tian Chang Foods Limited was definitely a first-class family in Dasha, and one's own position and power could definitely reach a new peak. But half an hour had already passed, and there was still no news coming from the side of the outside the building hotel. Li Cheng suddenly remembered that his computer is connected to the hotel side of the monitoring. Li Cheng immediately opened the monitoring to check the monitoring of the hotel entrance. Seeing Yi Changfeng and all those direct subordinates of the Yi family enter the hotel, a touch of smugness surfaced on Li Cheng's face. These old things, once they enter the building beyond the building, if they take a sip of water, they don't want to come back alive today. Suddenly, Li Cheng saw a special person on the monitor. Ye Fan? He was not surprised that Yi Fan arrived here. But Li Cheng was surprised that Yi Fan actually made a move to smash the bodyguard at the door directly, and also led people to run directly to the main kitchen. Looking at Yi Fan's appearance, it didn't seem like he was demented. Ah, not good. Li Cheng hurriedly tuned the surveillance screen to the main kitchen, and as soon as the screen opened, Li Cheng immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air. The person in charge of the building outside the building, Li Dong, and also the poisonous eunuchs all fell to the ground and did not move, and those other chefs, they also did not have breath. Something did happen. Without any hesitation, Li Cheng panicked and started to pick up his cell phone, picked up one of the suitcases he had packed in advance, and planned to run away from the office. Once the poisoning plan fails and the Yi family retaliates, Li Cheng knows that he has absolutely no chance of surviving. However, Li Cheng had just walked to the door of the room when the door opened from the outside, and several martial arts experts stared scorchingly at Li Cheng. Mr. Li, 
Where are you going in such a hurry? This was someone Yifan had arranged. A strong person from the wandering soul, the leading captain. His strength was at the sovereign realm, and the other four henchmen. They were all masters of the control realm as well. Li Chang was only a small shrimp who had just stepped into the Martial Way Harmonization Force, and his body was almost unsteady in the face of the aura suppression of five strong men. I'm going out for a meeting. Who are you guys? Why did you barge in without an appointment? Although he had already guessed the general idea, Li Cheng still held a few chances and wanted to muddle through. Get out now, or I'll call the police. Don't pretend, Li Cheng. Our young master invites you to come. Without any hesitation, a few wandering soul experts stepped forward and urged their martial chi. Directly controlling Li Cheng, all the tendons and veins in his body were blocked, and all the communication tools on his body were confiscated. The wandering soul strongman in the hands of Tian Cheng Foods Limited at the same time. The President's Office of the Divine Eagle Security Group Limited. The Chairman's Office of Hongda Transportation Limited. All the people on that list provided by Liu Hao, who had just received the order to retreat from Zhou Xiao in Shenzhen one second, were controlled by all the people from the traveling souls who had rushed to the city the next second, betraying the Yi family, being bribed by the Sacred Envoy Organization, lurking around the Yi family in a vain attempt to wipe out the Yi family completely. What awaited them would be a punishment worse than death. Outside the building hotel, after Yi Fan and the three maids settled the matter in the kitchen, they quickly rushed towards the Heaven's Character private room on the eighth floor. Nan Shang, who had gone to the Tianji private room in advance, had already sent back word that the current situation in the Tianji private room was normal for the time being. Outside of the Heavenly Room, although there were many bodyguard experts gathered, there was currently no intention to make a move. The personnel of the outdoor poisoning program have all been killed and the person in charge, Li Dong, has also been killed, so these direct forces of the Yi family should not be in any danger for the time being. Yi Fan was slightly relieved, when he passed by a bathroom, Yi Fan said to Xiao Wen and the others, I'm going to go to the toilet, you guys just leave one of you to wait for me, and the remaining two, go over to the Heaven's Character private room first. After entering the inside of the bathroom, Yi Fan had just finished solving the problem, and was shaking the bird again when a silhouette outside suddenly broke in and directly crashed into Yi Fan's arms, holding milk in his hands. Yi Fan thought at first that it was Xiao Wen who had suddenly barged in, but when Yi Fan took a closer look, he realized that it wasn't at all. The young girl in front of her was wearing a short denim skirt, a slim little waist, a stunningly beautiful figure, concave and convex, indeed a superb. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the beautiful woman hurriedly apologized, but when she suddenly saw the amazing weapon in front of Yi Fan, she froze for a few seconds, then instantly reacted, and a scream came out of her mouth. Ah, rogue, the beautiful woman screamed while scrambling to cover her eyes. Rascal, why did you break into the lady's restroom? Get the hell out of here. Shameless, the beautiful woman screamed while her hand squeezed so hard that the milk in her hand spiked out, dripping right onto her own short skirt in splotches. As the case may be, anyone who looks at it will be floored. Young master, what's wrong? Xiao Wen, who was outside the door? heard the scream and rushed in as well, and happened to also see such an astonishing size of Yi Fan, her shy face flushed with a blush. Young master, are you alright? Although at that time, when they were selected to become Yi Fan's maidservants, they were prepared for the fact that they were following Yi Fan and were meant to do anything for him at all costs, including when Yi Fan had a need, they had to actively help with it. But after all, they were all still yellow blossom girls, and it was still a bit humiliating to see such a hot picture so abruptly. I'm fine. Yi Fan was also a bit embarrassed, and hurriedly let the little bird back into the cage, then coughed and said to the beautiful woman in his arms, Big sister, look carefully, this is the men's restroom, to say hooligan, you should be the hooligan, right? You nonsense, how can this be a men's restroom? I, short skirt beauty mouth is still arguing, but when she saw the men's urinal in the toilet, immediately dumbfounded, is this really the men's room? Own this, humph, with a cold snort. The beautiful woman panicked and tried to rush out of the toilet, but Yi Fan pulled the beautiful woman. Wait a minute, just now you've seen me naked, you've taken advantage of me and you want to leave like this? What, I took advantage of you? Where did I take advantage of you? The short-skirted beauty looked at Yi Fan with some depression. What floated in her head was still the huge size of Yi Fan just now, which lingered. Woo, eyes are unclean, thoughts are unclean. A man, what's the fear of being looked at? The beautiful woman muttered. Then what do you want? Perhaps because she was at a disadvantage. The beauty's tone of voice gradually weakened. Hoomph. It's all because of that young master of the Yi family, saying that he doesn't allow everyone to move around. Water can't be drunk, and things can't be eaten. What the hell? It's someone from the Yi family's direct power? Hearing the young girl's words, Yi Fan froze, 
Then a wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. What do I want? It's simple. Since you're looking at me naked, you let me look at you too, and we'll be even. You wish, rascal. You're dreaming. The short-skirted beauty stared at Yi Fan with some annoyance. Can that be the same? It's not like I intentionally wanted to look at your. You're a man. It's not like you'll lose a piece of meat if you're looked at. Humph, rascal. Yi Fan laughed dumbly. Didn't you guys say that you want equality between men and women? Why is it okay for you guys to look at men, but not for us to look at you? I. The short-skirted beauty was so dumbfounded by the dislike that she didn't even know how to respond. Nan Shang's words suddenly came from Xiao Wen's earphone, and Xiao Wen hurriedly said to Yi Fan, Young master, those bigwigs in the private room are a bit impatient. Some of them want to eat, you see? Yi Fan also knew that somehow letting people come for such a long time without eating or drinking, they would definitely have opinions. Count your luck. What you owe me. Next time we meet, I'll look back. You don't want to renege on your debt. Yi Fan let go of that short-skirted beauty and smiled evilly. Humph. The short-skirted beauty once again pouted. Still next time? In the future. This girl will definitely not meet you again. After the young girl left, Yi Fan greeted Xiao Wen and said, Let's go. Make a quick trip over there. Also, have the people outside send over a few mice. I need them right away. Yes. After arranging everything, Yi Fan and Xiao Wen quickly rushed towards the Heavenly Character Private Room. Outside the door of the Heavens Character Private Room, there was a large group of bodyguards gathered at this time, and these were all arranged by Li Dong. They were waiting for orders from Li Dong and Li Chang, but they didn't know that their bosses had all been taken down. Yi Fan entered the private room, and just as the door opened, he heard noisy voices inside. Yi Lao, what is the situation now? You asked everyone to come here to discuss things. How come everyone is not allowed to drink the water on the table? What in the world is the situation? Why don't you give everyone an explanation? Just a moment everyone. It was that grandson of mine who called me to tell everyone to stay put. He'll be here in a minute. He'll be able to explain it all to you for sure. Yi Chongfeng had also explained countless times, but some of those first-line forces that came today did not believe in Yi Fan's ability. Moreover, although Yi Chongfeng had already screened the candidates once, Yi Chongfeng still didn't dare to guarantee that all the direct lineage forces hadn't been bribed. After all, with the current situation of the Yi family, it was normal that some people would find another way out. Elder Yi, it's not that we despise young Yi. Although Yi Fan was a genius demon before, but after the car accident five years ago, he became so demented. What can he do now? Alas, if it wasn't for your face, Elder Yi, none of us would have come today. Yes, Elder Yi, we all know very well that the Yi family is now facing a very crisis situation, and all of us must join together in order to get through it, but you shouldn't pin your hopes on a fool. Elder Yi, the heavenly character private room, set up five large tables, the representatives of the Yi family's direct lineage present, a full 40 to 50 people. Everyone stared scorchingly at Yi Chongfeng, waiting for Yi Chongfeng's continued explanation. We all came here with sincerity today. Old Ji must let us have a sip of water, right? There were already people at the scene who couldn't help themselves, and a middle-aged man sitting in the front row picked up the water on the table, opened the cap and intended to feed it into his mouth. Wait. Suddenly, a chortling voice sounded at the entrance of the room, and Yi Fan and his maid, Xiao Wen, appeared at the front door. While Yi Fan's mouth chided, his figure flashed rapidly, and in the blink of an eye, he had appeared in front of the middle-aged man, reaching out to take the water away from the man's hand. Yi Xiao, what do you mean by that? The middle-aged man frowned a little, although they all thought Yi Fan was a fool, but in front of so many people, the water that was about to be fed to his mouth was snatched away. He was still a little bit upset about his face. Uncle Zhang, you'll know later. Yi Fan answered towards the man in front of him, and said towards the maid at his side. Xiao Wen, have you prepared the things you asked them to prepare? Everything is ready. As she spoke, Xiao Wen asked the Yi family's bodyguards at the door to bring up a few mice in cages. Without saying much, Yi Fan poured the same water that Uncle Zhang wanted to drink just now into the bowl of the mice. Several mice in the cage immediately came forward and licked the water from the bowl. The people in the booth all looked at the situation in front of them with a puzzled look of curiosity. What is Yi Xiao doing? This foolish young master of the Yi family, after being demented five years ago, often did things that were incomprehensible. This brings the rats to the party. You're not going to let them go straight to the table later, are you? There was a commotion down there. And just when people couldn't help but ask questions, the little white mouse in the cage suddenly began to convulse violently, foaming madly in its mouth. And then its body froze directly losing its vitality power. Three mice in a cage, all killed instantly. Ah, this. Everyone on the scene all dumbfounded. The situation in front of them even if they are stupid they can see clearly. The water in front of them is poisonous. 
Crap, the middle-aged man from earlier jumped directly in place and shouted excitedly, Nima, this water is poisonous? I almost became a guinea pig. The crowd, shocked, pushed away all the glasses of water, and bottled water, in front of them. Among these direct lineage forces of the Yi family, there were a few who were already strong in the Zongshu realm, and all of them had attainments in the use of poison. But the water was poisoned just now and they didn't notice it in the slightest. Ha! Huh? While the crowd was shocked, they were even more curious about Yi Fan. A fool! How did he know? Not just in the water. Yi Fan opened his mouth indifferently, then opened the other cage, and a few mice climbed directly from the cage to the table, and made their mouths towards those delicious dishes on the table. But in three seconds, same result, a few mice had only taken two bites of the chicken soup on the table, and died straight away on the spot. Wow! The crowd at the scene was thoroughly agitated. Nima, these people, they're just too much, poisoning the water and poisoning the dishes. Do they really want to drive them to extinction? Numb nuts, ye old man, you just give the order right away. We fight them, these vicious and mischievous guys. I'm afraid that all of them who are associated with the Yi family will not be spared. Brothers, let's not concede to anyone, let's do it with them. The atmosphere of the scene was instantly pushed to a climax. There were dozens of people on the scene and most of these were majors or top presences in a particular industry. On weekdays, they were all dependent on the Yi family for development, and now that the Yi family was in trouble, they remained unflinching. However, in the crowd, there were still a few, who saw the situation in front of them without much expression change on their faces, and even, there were a few points of resentment in their eyes. Although that look was just a flash, Yi Fan still keenly captured the change in expression. But now, those opponents who had made a move against the Yi family, their underbelly minions, Yi Fan had pretty much cleaned them up. The Yi family had some underpinnings and secrets, and it was time to let them know. The Cloud City Zhao family, the Li family, the Wang family, the great young man of the provincial city Lu family, as well as the Northwest Sen Chu Fong, all perished in Cloud City. If the Yi family didn't expose a little bit of their underbelly out, those opponents wouldn't continue to reveal their fox tails. The crowd at the scene was emotional for a while, but finally calmed down a bit. At this point, the elites and bigwigs finally reacted and began to wonder about one thing. Elder Yi, young master Yi fan him? This is, thinking of the situation just now, the crowd only reacted at this time. Just now Yi fan used mice as experiments, and also let everyone not to move anything here in advance. Obviously does not look like a fool possesses the intelligence and tactics ah. Yi Changfeng glanced towards Yi fan, and after receiving Yi fan's permission, this pointed towards Lei Qianjie at his side. This great summer medical sage, Mr. Lei, Everyone knows about it, right? Divine Dr. Lei has already examined Yi Fan and said that Yi Fan is already slowly recovering and will soon be completely back to normal. One of the purposes of gathering everyone here today is to give you an official announcement of this news. Wow! Yi Chongfeng's words instantly caused the scene to explode. Congratulations to Elder Yi! Congratulations to Elder Yi! Has Yi Xiao finally awakened? The heavens have not failed my Yi family. Ha ha! With Young Ye's demonic talent. Those enemies who slaughtered my Yi family's sons and daughters must be paid in blood. Almost all of the people at the scene boiled over, some congratulating towards Elder Yi and some towards Yi Fan. They knew very well what it meant that Yi Fan had awakened. With such a demonic talent, Yi Fan was already at the Zongshu realm five years ago, once his talent was restored. I'm afraid that Yi Fan would be able to break through to the Martial Zun realm very soon, right? With a strong person of the Martial Zun realm sitting in the Yi family, it would not be so easy for the entire great Xia to wipe out the Yi family without moving. And the most crucial thing is that once Yi Fan completely awakens, then the Yi family will have a backbone. Those families and forces that depend on the Yi family will also have a backbone. And the millions of Tianlong army will also have a backbone. When people can see the hope for the future, they will naturally be more active in doing things. Everyone on the scene was abuzz. And instantly they all looked as if they had been pumped up. Yi Chongfeng waited for everyone's emotions to calm down a bit before continuing to speak. Everyone, Mr. Yi is very thankful that you were able to come today. Although Xiao Fan's situation has improved, it's only partially improved now, and it's still unstable. Sometimes he'll be demented. Sometimes he'll be temporarily normal. The Yi family still needs all of you to continue to give your full support. Next to him, Lei Qianjie also spoke up. Yi Lao is right. Yi Xiao's current situation is only one third recovered. If he wants to completely recover, at least three more months are needed. His current state of wakefulness can only be sustained for up to an hour a day, and he will become demented at any time. Lei Chenjie felt his face burning as he spoke. What was Yi Fan's situation was very clear from the time he was invited by Yu Linglong to treat Yi Fan. Yi Fan was simply completely back to normal, and his strength was even more heaven-defying. 
Lei Chenjie had already worshipped Yi Fan as his master, and now he had no choice but to cooperate with his master in acting together. Lei Chenjie and Yi Changfeng spoke in tandem, both having discussed with Yi Fan in advance. The reason why a three-month recovery time was set was because Yi Fan had left a buffer space for his opponent. If Yi Fan had all recovered now, with Yi Fan's superb talent, those opponents would probably be too scared to continue. But now that Yi Fan hadn't completely recovered yet, and if three months were needed for complete recovery, then after the opponent hesitated, he would definitely continue to make his move and wipe out Yi Fan and the Yi family as a whole during this three-month window period, before Yi Fan completely recovered. That's pretty good too. Five years ago, Yi Xiao was the number one demonic genius of the Great Xia, so as long as there is hope for recovery, he can definitely make it to the top again. That's right. Don't worry, Elder Yi. During the time you go to Shangjing, we will definitely do our best to guard the Yi family and protect Yun Yi. Previously, Yi Changfeng had said that he planned to make a trip to Shangjing to win a thousand future for the Yi family. This trip to Shangjing, although the North had millions of Tianlong army as a bargaining chip, Yi Changfeng's situation was still very dangerous. So Yi Changfeng was arranging that Yi Fan must be separated from himself. And although Yi Fan's own power was no longer bad, Yi Fan's true strength had not yet been exposed, and those direct lineage forces of the Yi family around him had not been gathered and his own people all saw the hope for the future, and moreover, they would not sell their lives. That's why this time, when the Yi family's direct lineage was gathered together, they were also preparing for a counterattack of revenge. Mr. Yi thanks you all. Yi Changfeng bowed towards the crowd. I've let you all suffer. Let's change places in chat while eating. When the crowd in the private room started to move, Yi Fan gestured to the window. Shu shu shu. In an instant, those wandering soul powerhouses hidden outside the window broke the window and rushed towards the entrance of the private room. Aha! Uh -huh. The crowd at the scene all froze. There were actually so many strong people hidden outside the window, so many big shots in the booth, and not many of them even noticed what was going on outside? These people, are all arranged and arranged by Yi Fan? Elders, settle down less. There are still some minions from outside the building outside the door. Let them go and clean it up. Yi Fan smiled faintly and explained to the crowd. Although it was just a simple sentence, it allowed the crowd to truly see how powerful Yi Fan was. From the very beginning of stopping the crowd from eating all the food at the site and not drinking a single drop of water at the site, to the later part of the story when the maids were sent to first pacify and then control those killers in the main kitchen, and the windows were arranged for their own people to be ready for any contingency. All of it, 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 all of it. When all the Yi family's direct forces stopped, Yi Fan saw the short-skirted, stunningly beautiful girl in the crowd behind him. At the same time that Yi Fan saw that young girl, that young girl also saw Yi Fan and tried desperately to hide behind an old man. Yi Fan Wainer smiled. That pretty girl in the back. Don't hide. I see you. Come over for a chat? Yi Fan suddenly opened his mouth, causing everyone at the scene to look towards the back. The scene today are basically some old people. Middle-aged people? Come to the teenage girl is only the last that a beautiful woman. That was the old man of the Han family's own granddaughter. Han Yu Yu A. The old man of the Han family. Han Wuji. Had been doing intelligence work with Yi Changfeng for almost 50 years. And now he was about to retire. And this time he brought his granddaughter here. So he should also be seeing the world. Xiao Fan? Yu Yu A. Yi Changfeng glanced at Yi Fan and then at that cold Yu Yu A behind him. Somewhat not understanding what Yi Fan meant. Yi Changfeng was very clear that there was no shortage of beautiful women around Yi Fan. The Xian Yufei who had previously clamored to withdraw from the marriage. The seven sisters-in-law behind her. And the four great maids arranged by Yi Fan's mother. Any one of them would be superb. And what did Yi Fan mean by setting his eyes on Kolju Yu again? Grandpa. That beautiful woman smells good. I want him to stay by my side. Okay. The essence in Yi Fan's eyes suddenly disappeared. Instantly becoming a bit demented. Such a scene caused all the people at the scene to be stunned. Is Yi Xiao's condition really a bit unstable? You were so smart a moment ago, and now you're stupid? Alas, I hope that Dr. Lei can do it as soon as possible and completely cure Yi Fan's condition ah. However, a smug smile surfaced at the corners of the mouths of those few guys lurking in the crowd. Luckily, there's still a chance. Today's situation must be immediately reported to the leaders above, so that they have to make appropriate countermeasures as soon as possible. Old cold. Yi Fan had opened his mouth like this. Although Yi Changfeng somewhat did not understand Yi Fan's purpose, he still opened his mouth and called out towards his old buddy Cold Wuji. Cold Wuji brought his granddaughter, Cold Yu Yu A, forward in quick steps and spoke respectfully. Yi Lao, if Yi Xiao needs the company of Yu Yu A, I think Yu Yu A will be very happy to do so. 
Cold UUS stomped her feet in annoyance next to her. Grandpa, I don't want, HM, this ye fan, he must have done it on purpose, just now in the toilet, she stepped on his foot, and also looked at ye fan's so shameful place, ye fan intentionally asked herself to be beside him, surely her heart is not in the right place, moreover, how did ye fan look like he was in a state of dementia, he must be faking it, intuition told cold yu yue that this ye fan, could not be served well, grandpa, I want it, she smells so good on her body, I smell it every day and it's very comfortable. Yi Fan also pulled Yi Chongfeng's arm and shook it a few times. Cold Yu Yue still wanted to continue to speak, but Grandfather Cold Wuji directly interrupted Cold Yu Yue's words. Yu Yu Eh, listen to me. Stay well by Yi Xiao's side. Yi Xiao sees you. That's your honor. Everything listen to Yi Xiao's arrangement. Any request, you have to execute it 100%. Do you understand? This is an order. Cold Wuji's cold eyes disliked Cold Yu Yue's words of continued refusal. A flash of light flashed in Cold Wuji's eyes as he looked at Yi Changfeng and then at Lei Qianjie, plus some of Yi Fan's previous actions linked together. Cold Wuji already had a rough guess in his heart. They are afraid that they are deliberately putting on a show. Cold Wuji also did not understand why Yi Fan wanted Cold Yu Yue to stay by his side, but he vaguely felt that this was a great opportunity for the Cold family. Young Yi, since you like my granddaughter, it's yours. You can arrange for her to do anything, especially the four words anything which Cold Wuji said with extraordinarily deep meaning. Yi Fan couldn't help but listen to a burst of wainer. Does the old man mean he can get his granddaughter to help warm the bed? This old man, he must be thinking the wrong way. Yi Fan left behind Cold Yu Yue just to let Cold Yu Yue help take care of the intelligence work Yi Fan needed later on. It wasn't just Cold Wuji who thought wrongly. All those other Yi clan's full-fledged forces at the scene thought wrongly and were whispering. Alas, it's a pity that my granddaughter didn't bring it today. I didn't catch this heavenly fortune. Yeah, nuts. I want to go and snatch a granddaughter over and send it to Young Yi's bed. But Yi Xiao is now a fool. Aren't you burying your granddaughter's happiness like this? You tread horse is the fool. You use your brain to think about. Now Yi Xiao is still a little silly look. There is still a possibility to look at these ordinary girls. If it is wait for Yi Xiao sober, we these granddaughters, I am afraid if queuing up can't get into Yi Xiao's eyes. Now and Yi Xiao make out. In the future when Yi Xiao completely awakened, can't raise pants and not recognize it. Listening to the crowd below discussing in tongues, Yi Fan was also helpless. Greeted the extremely reluctant cold Yu Yue left the private room and headed towards the front door of the Luelu Hotel. You did it on purpose. You just want revenge right? Humph, a man with such a small mind. Heart are you still a man? In the elevator, cold Yu Yue finally found a chance to open her mouth and directed an output at Yi Fan. Aren't you already seen if I'm a man? I still doubt if you are a woman. Why don't you show me too? You still owe me a favor. Yi Fan responded lightly, instantly causing Han Yu Yue's face to blush as she pouted. Shut up. Next to the cold Wuji originally did not notice what the two were saying, suddenly heard his granddaughter chiding, immediately frowned. Yu Yu, to Yi Xiao to be respectful understand? From now on, you are a maid beside Yi Xiao. You have to listen to Yi Xiao and everything, otherwise, Yi Xiao, you can just spank her ass all you want. Ah, cold Yu Yue was depressed. Grandpa, how can you be like this? He's obviously this is to get back at me. Revenge. What revenge? Cold Wuji continued to speak. Don't say anything. You 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 need to contain Yi Xiao more. Right now Yi Xiao is still in a state of dementia. Why are you angry with a fool? Stupid? Cold Yu Yu F rose, looked at the appearance of Yi Fan next to her, and snorted coldly in her heart. This guy, he's not even stupid alright. He just did it on purpose. But Grandpa's attitude was so strong. Cold Yu Yue knew that there was no use in opposing himself, so he could only let out a long helpless sigh and look for a chance to escape behind him, regardless of whether Yi Fan was a fool or not. Cold Yu Yue did not want to accompany such a rogue. The crowd came out from the main entrance of the Lu Wai Lu Hotel together, and saw a large black crowd gathered outside, almost a thousand. The front leader is Guo Li, Wang Fu Gue, Xia Hao, Li Hu, Lu Mao Yang and others. In addition to the masters and the wandering soul will be outside the building of the boss Li Chang escorted in the forefront. Behind there are some of the senior leadership of the Hongda Transportation Company, some of the senior management of the Divine Eagle Security Group. Elder Yi, these people, what do you think should be done with them? Although the wandering soul captain, Nyo Air, asked Elder Yi for instructions again, his gaze actually looked towards Yi Fan, waiting for Yi Fan's instructions. Yi Changfeng glanced at Yi Fan and spoke temporarily detain them at the traveling soul base. When today's events are over, I'll personally come and talk to them. As Yi Changfeng spoke, his eyes stared sharply at the few leading executives. A good number of them were personally hand-picked by Yi Changfeng.
but he didn't expect that they would actually be bribed by the Holy Envoy organization, and in the end, they intended to completely exterminate the Yi family, a wolfish thing, those rivals of the Yi family were also getting more and more rampant, Elder Yi, the other restaurant has been arranged, please get on, with the matter of the traitor temporarily dealt with, Wu Li went up and reported towards Yi Chongfeng, everything was laid out and arranged by Yi Fan in advance, Yi Chongfeng nodded, very satisfied with this little brother of Yi Fan's, and opened his mouth to introduce towards the Yi family's direct lineage power, this is Guo Li, the young master of the Guo family in the provincial city, he grew up wearing open pants together with Xiao Fan, and has always been the dog-headed military advisor beside Xiao Fan, you all have more to bring up in the future, in the future, it'll be the world of their young people, Yi Chongfeng's light-hearted words caused the hearts of all the Yi family's direct lineage forces present to tighten, a seemingly casual sentence of introduction, but it has already shown that Master Yi's mind, this is the intention to hand over power, in order to pave the way for young people, the scene does not move to gather so many people, which is not extensive there are wandering souls those martial arts powerhouses sit in the town, everything is Yifan in the center of the arrangement scheduling, this once again shocked the hearts of the crowd, a sober Yifan really isn't something to mess with, moreover, from the partners gathered around Yifan, it seemed that Yifan's squad was already taking shape, Wei Xiuzai served as a military division, Wang Fugui main force, informants also know that the provincial city of Lu family second youngest Lu Ma Yang has defected to Yifan, should be the future of the god of wealth in Yifan's class, in charge of financial. Sure enough, are geniuses attracted to each other? These demonic geniuses gathered together. The moment Yifan completely awakened, I'm afraid that the entire pattern of the great summer would have to change Ah, uh, Under Guo Li's arrangement, the crowd boarded the vehicle that was going to another hotel. Cold Yu Yue and Yifan's maid, Nansheng, Xiao Wen, rightfully sat in the same car as Yifan, looking at the sullen and displeased cold Yu Yue by his side. Yi Fan's mouth smiled slightly. You don't think that I let you follow me just because of your looks, do you? Otherwise, what's that? Humph, rascal. Cold Yu Yue responded with some lack of curiosity. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Cold Yu Yu, although you are very pretty, but by my side. Yi Fan, will there be a lack of pretty women? Five years ago, when I was crisscrossing the globe, the imperial consort of the peak of Bulai, the princess of Itali, and the prince consort of the East Ing, were all devoted to me? and I couldn't even look at them, let alone you, you are, too small, while speaking, Yi Fan intentionally glanced towards Cold Yu Yu's chest, it's not very hurtful, it's extremely insulting, Cold Yu Yu's mouth pouted, shameless, what's so small about her, it's AD, what else do you want, HM, Cold Yu Yu Ah provocatively pushed her chest out towards the front, as if in demonstration, Xiao Wen, take the stuff out, Yi Fan didn't continue to talk too much, signaling Xiao Wen to take out a bunch of bank cards and hand them to Cold Yu Yue. In here is 20 billion dollars. I want you to. What are you doing? Want to use money to buy me? Tell you. I'm not that kind of person. You're too insulting me. Stop the car. I want to get off the car. Cold Yu Yu saw the pile of bank cards in Xiao Wen's hand, completely angry and disappointed. Yi Fan was also a bit speechless. Big sister, can you finish listening to my words? It deserves a beating. As Yi Fan spoke, he reached out and wrapped his hand around Cold Yu Yu's small waist and slapped Cold Yu Yu's buttocks twice. Pop, snap, a crisp ringing sound rang out in the car, and Cold Yu Yu instantly screamed, "Ah, you're shameless! You actually, actually spanked my ass!" Ah, Yi Fan didn't pay any attention to Cold Yu Yu, but continued to speak. "I'm giving you twenty billion dollars to build me an intelligence network that only accepts your control and management within three months, no matter what ways and means you use." Ha, huh? Cold Yu Yu. Who was still feeling the fiery pain in her butt, instantly froze when she heard Yi Fan's next words. Give 20 billion dollars to build your own intelligence network? Cold Yu Yu looked at Yi Fan with some incredulity. Why me? This Yi Fan? Is he so bossy? It's 20 billion dollars out of the gate without blinking an eye. You're not afraid that I'll roll up the money and run away? Cold Yu Yu looked at the bank card in Xiao Wen's hand with a shocked face. That's 20 billion ah, not 200 dollars. Although the Cole family was also a family under the Yi family's vassalage. The entire family's assets added up to just a few billion dollars. Now that Ji Fan's situation was in such a crisis, where did Ji Fan, a fool, get so much money from? He he, your cold family has long been tied together with my Yi family depth, and your information I have in-depth understanding. From the time you were 13 years old, your grandfather sent you abroad to the KGB. Me 6, lurked and studied for so long, it was originally used as your grandfather's successor to cultivate. Yi Fan's words caused a flash of shocked jaw in Cold Yu Yu's eyes. These covert operations, Grandpa said, 
only he knew, he knew himself, and back then when Cold Yuyue was born, she didn't reveal her relationship with the Cold family, and grew up directly in a secret place, and it was only in the last two days that Cold Yuyue had appeared in the Cold family, and Yi Fan had actually made his bottom line so clear, this Yi Fan, how could he be the fool everyone thought he was, you big liar, you lied to everyone didn't you, Hoof, Cold Yuyue shocked jaw at the same time, cannot help but have a few points of admiration, if Yi Fan didn't play dumb to fool those rivals of the Yi family, he was afraid that five years ago, Yi Fan would have already died. Now, Yi Fan continues to lurk and play dumb, but quietly gathers the Yi family's direct lineage. Is this an intention to fight back? In fact, you know very well that if I didn't play dumb, I would have died five years ago. Yi Fan looked deeply at Cold Yu Yue. The situation is just like that. If you think you can't do it, you can pretend that today's words weren't said. Anyway, looking at you, you're just a vase with big boobs and no brain. Yi Fan deliberately stimulated Cold Yu Yu. Sure enough, when Cold Yu Yu A heard this, she was instantly unhappy. What did you say? Who said I have big boobs and no brain? Isn't it just forming an intelligence system? Which ear of yours heard that I can't? Oomph, I'm going to prove it to you. If I accomplish my goal in three months, you have to apologize to me on your knees. In the toilet, you've all defiled my eyes. Cold Yu Yu A was clearly gambling. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Good. After three months, if you finish what I said, I will definitely apologize to you properly on my knees. One step to the stomach. Yi Fan smiled evilly, while in his heart, he added silently, apologizing is fine, and so is getting down on your knees, but the circumstances and location of the kneeling are debatable. There's only one place a man should be on his knees. Because of the list intelligence sent by Lu Hao in time, Yi Fan laid out his plan in advance, eliminating all those betrayers lurking around the Yi family and also avoiding a poison murder case at the outer house. It just so happened that Zhao Tianlong's father, Zhao Dekhang, had also said before his death that there were other infiltrators from above in Cloud City, so this should be the group. It's also the last of Cloud City's hidden forces, right? Yi Fan took a long breath of relief ping. The nail in the Cloud City was purged. Then the next step, Yi Fan is to go to the provincial city to get things done. Only by using greater temptation can the real culprits behind it all be aroused. Although the two court elders, Zhang Gulao and Tang Zhang, were already in high positions of power and authority, with the two court elders, it was still almost interesting to want to make a move on the Yi family's core disciples in the seven war zones at the same time, behind the two major courtiers, there was someone else, Yi Fan wanted direct evidence, more critically, a move had been made against the Yi family, and in addition to the forces on the pavilion elder side, the sacred envoy had also joined in, this time, when the Lu family suddenly defected and gave this list, and Yi Fan destroyed all of the last deployments of the Holy Envoy in Cloud City, that Zhou Xiao and Shangjing should not be able to resist, right? On the airplane from Shangjing to Cloud City, Zhou Xiao was squinting and resting when he was suddenly woken up by the assistant beside him. Zhou Xiao, something big has happened in Cloud City. All the manpower that we have set up in Cloud City, 10 minutes ago, were all wiped out by the Yi family, in conjunction with the wandering souls, Xia Hao, Li Hu and others. The assistant looked at the information in his hand. His face was a bit ugly. Moreover, the poison killing operation arranged today was a total wipeout, and those full fledged forces of the Yi family were unharmed. What's even more annoying is that apart from the death of the poison duke, everyone else has been taken alive, and I'm afraid that your identity, Young Zhou, has been exposed. Damn it, Zhou Xiao, who had just woken up, listening to the news reported by his men, was so angry that he violently slammed his fist on the seat, and the powerful qi energy caused the entire airplane to lurch. The assistant jumped in fear. Zhou Xiao, please be gentle. We are now on an airplane. If you dismantle the plane, we will all die. Zhou Ming also realized the situation in front of him and suppressed his chi for a bit, but the anger on his face was not suppressed in the slightest. Bunch of losers, stupid pigs, the arrangements that we have set up for so many years have all been destroyed in an instant. How will we still be able to govern the Yi family in Cloud City in the future? Although Zhou Ming was furious, things still had to go on. What other news is there from other sides? The Shangjing Tangzheng court elder let the Sun family's sun dishing fail to seize the agency, and in the end, I don't know whether he was killed by Song Pa's people, or by Yi Fan. The Sun family, moreover, has been subjected to insane retaliation. Northwestern cabinet master Zhang has also stepped in, allowing Jin Yang, the youngest member of the Jin family in the provincial capital, to step in and join forces with the compulsion sex compulsion masters, intending to plan an operation in Cloud City. In addition, just now, at the private meeting of the Yi family's direct lineage forces, Yi Changfeng released the news that Yi Fan has begun to awaken, and now he can be awake for an hour a day. 
And Lei Qinjie said that within three months, Yi Fan can be completely back to normal. After listening to the report of his men, Zhou Ming's eyebrows were wrinkled into twists, and finally sighed long and helplessly. Alas, five years ago, should not be merciful to Yi Fan, back then should send him to the Western Paradise. Now, we do not have much time. Three months. If within three months, we cannot completely solve Yi Fan and Yi family words, we all have to suffer. Contact Tang Zhang and Pavilion Master Zhang for me immediately. Yi Fan is starting to awaken. That demonic genius. I don't know what he'll do to deploy. We must act jointly and ring our strength together. Yes, the assistant answered. Thinking of the current situation in Cloud City, he said with some concern, Zhou Xiao, the situation in Cloud City is not good right now. Should we go back in a few days? In just a few days time, none of the clans that had gone against the Yi family had a good ending. All of them perished. Even Captain Chu Feng under Northwest Pavilion leader Zhang, a powerful person of the Martial Zun realm, had not been spared, and died without even knowing exactly in whose hands he had died. Although Zhou Ming was a member of the Holy Envoy organization and had some special means, but if he happened to run into a sober Yi Fan, would he be Yi Fan's opponent? Now that Yi Fan has begun to awaken, how many more days, asshole, do we have to wait until he has a baby? Oomph, speed up, Zhou Ming coldly scolded his assistant. I'm not that stupid. Although the Yi family has already purged most of the forces we deployed, there's still a part of the force that Lu Hao doesn't even know about. Before I figure out Yi Fan's bottom line, I won't make a direct move. A touch of gloom flashed in Zhou Ming's eyes. There was another wave of forces that the Holy Angels organization had set up in Cloud City, and some of those forces were still Yi Fan's classmates back then. By organizing a reunion and creating some conflicts, they would naturally be able to see Yi Fan's true situation. In Cloud City, in the vehicle where Yi Fan and Cold Yu Yue were, Cold Yu Yue had already gambled on agreeing to Yi Fan's request, but the moment her body twisted, she suddenly felt an abnormality in her body. Warm currents? There were actually several more strands of intense warmth in one's body, spreading out from the place where one's buttocks had been slapped, then warming one's body's tendons and veins, which in turn continued to be transformed into martial Dao Qi, rapidly raising one's strength. This, Cold Yu Yue thought she felt wrong at first, but after she quieted her mind and felt it carefully, she finally determined that the source of the warmth was generated from the place where Yi Fan had spanked her buttocks and surged into her body. So evil? Could this be due to Yi Fan's demonic genius? Just by being spanked by Yi Fan, you can boost your strength? And Yi Fan himself relied on this warmth to boost his strength? Cold Yu Yue glanced at Yi Fan, very much wanting to continue to verify her inner thoughts, but at this moment it was not good to open her mouth. She couldn't just stick her but up and request Yi Fan to beat herself once more, right? After hesitating for a moment, Cold Yu Yue suddenly grabbed Yi Fan's wrist and took a bite at it. Here we go. Here we go. When the skin touched, that familiar warmth surged from Shanya's lips into Shanya's body once again. It was only when the bite went down that Cold Yu Yue realized that Yi Fan's arm was actually as hard as steel, almost chipping her own teeth off. Are you a dog? Yi Fan lightly glanced at Cold Yu Yue. Humph. Cold Yu Yue shook Yi Fan's arm away and pouted. I just want to verify the warmth of whatever it is you're carrying. If you want to verify, you can totally kiss on my face. Yi Fan rolled his eyes. This cold Yu Yu A was really a rose with thorns? Hot enough. You wish. Cold Yu Yu A's face flushed with a blush. Her mouth pouted. And her head couldn't help but think of the spicy scene she had seen in the restroom. His own eyes were unclean. He couldn't shake off the scene he had seen. He was ashamed. It's all because of this big asshole Yi Fan. But when she thought of the mysterious warmth in Yi Fan's body, there was again intense envy in cold Yu Yu A's eyes. As long as one had intimate skin contact with Yi Fan, one could gain enough warmth to gain heavenly benefits. If one spent enough time with Yi Fan, wouldn't one's strength be able to surpass that of a Zongshir, a Martial Zun, or even impact a superpower in the Martial Saint realm? Vaguely, Cold Yu Yue realized that she seemed to have found a golden thigh. Should I hold it? The other restaurant that Guoli had arranged was not far from here. The people discussed specific responses while eating and it was only when the meal was almost done that Yi Fan signaled his grandfather to follow him to the nearby lounge. What's wrong, little Fan? Yi Chongfeng drank a little wine and was red-faced, completely different from the disheveled look he had before. Grandpa, this map scroll, have you seen it before? Yi Fan took out the sheepskin scroll sent by Liu Hao and handed it to Yi Chongfeng. As soon as Yi Chongfeng saw this scroll, his expression immediately became excited. Finally, I saw such a scroll again. Xiao Fan, you really are the Yi family's unicorn son ah, alas, Yi Chongfeng let out a long sigh and said, when our Yi family was attacked and backstabbed on such a large scale, they came for such a map, it's just that the outside world knows that the Yi family has a pair of such maps, but what they don't know is that the Yi family actually has seven pairs of such maps, 
that point to a place of gods and goddesses, which are said to contain endless feats of skill, and are even rumored to contain the secrets of cultivating immortality. Seven pairs? Yi Fan's heart thumped, he already had a pair of fragments in his hand. If seven fragments were gathered together, it was estimated that the complete map could be spliced almost together, right? Cloudtop Heavenly Palace, is that the ruins of the gods and goddesses? Is this where the Divine Gate came to originate? Where are those maps? Yi Fan was a bit curious, since his grandfather knew about these maps, why didn't he talk to himself about this last time when he was introduced to the Yi family's underground palace? Yi Chongfeng shook his head, those maps were brought back by your mother. Back then, after you were born, your mother gave seven pairs of maps to your seven older brothers to keep with them. But now, your seven older brothers have all perished, and those seven pairs of maps, alas, but according to the character of your seven older brothers, they were in danger, we'll definitely find a way to save those maps. Your mother has said that the secrets in those maps are related to the life and death of the entire world's living beings, as well as the future prosperity of the Yi family. You must collect them all as soon as possible, and not let them fall into the wrong hands. The map of the heavenly palace, that was the key to enter the gods and goddesses. Once those people from the holy envoy organization entered the heavenly palace first and got the words of the inheritance inside, then I was afraid that more people would suffer. The point was, if those nemeses of the Yi family were allowed to get the inheritance inside, it would be even more impossible for Yi Fan to avenge his brothers and uncles, and to protect his sister-in-law and the Yi family, to resolve. Yes, Yi Fan answered. Originally, according to Yi Fan's plan, after purging the enemies of Cloud City and Tiannan province, Yi Fan also had to make a trip to the place where his brothers had perished, to investigate the truth of their perishing clearly. Now, it's just one more little task. While investigating the murderers of his brother and uncles, he has to find those missing maps by the way. After the gathering, when Yi Fan came out from the hotel building, Sheng Rulin had already driven and waited at the gate. Seeing Yi Fan come out, Sheng Rulin went forward with a happy face and reached out to hold Yi Fan's arm intimately and said, Little Fan, here. Originally, last night, Sheng Rulin was still worried about what to do with the emerald source when the Qing family was suppressed. As a result, when Yi Fan made his move today, General Songpa directly changed his attention and handed over the Emerald Agency of the entire Dashia to the Qing family. After the news will be transmitted to the Qing family, the entire Qing family is boiling. Father uncle, as well as grandfather and other shareholders of the core patriarchs, all praise Qing Rulin, but also to Yi Fan impressed. Qing Rulin fought a lot on the way here. Yi Fan had helped himself so much, how on earth should he repay him now? Although on the day of the Yi family's funeral, Qing Rulin, along with her sister-in-law Yu Linglong and the others, announced that they were marrying Yi Fan. It was discussed that each person would accompany Yi Fan for a month to open up the Yi family, but when things really came down to it, Qing Rulin was still a little shy. She was her sister-in-law before, after all. And, in the middle of the day, did she have to drag Yi Fan to the hotel? It was okay that Yi Fan was a fool now, but in case Yi Fan suddenly came to his senses at some point, wouldn't he die of shame? After waiting for Yi Fan to get on the car, Chang Rulin looked at Yi Fan, the big sunny boy beside her and a touch of fascination flashed in her eyes. Little Fan husband, do you, like me? Yi Fan froze and looked at Ching Rolin's appearance, not knowing what Ching Rolin meant. Of course like ah, Rulin's wife is the best. Yu Fei's wife doesn't want me anymore, and I have Yi Shue's wife, Rulin's wife, and Linglong's wife, so much more. He he he. Yi Fan answered Ching Rolin naively, and that simple look caused Ching Rolin another heartache. Poor Yi Fan, the family suffered that kind of disaster. So critical time, Xian Yufei that girl, actually also withdraw from the marriage. Salt in the wound. Xiao Fan husband, what I want to tell you is that although I have been internalized as the daughter-in-law of the Yi family very early, the object is sixth Lang. But, because they are in the military all year round, we don't have anything at all. We haven't even held hands. You don't mind. In fact, Qing Rulin didn't know why she was explaining this to Yi Fan. Yi Fan is a fool in front of his eyes. His own purpose of marrying him at the very beginning was entirely to repay the Yi family, to take the heat for the Yi family, and to continue the bloodline. But an Yi Fan get along with these days down. Ching Roland do not know how he is. It seems that Yi Fan has a strange magic. Attracting Ching Roland head will always involuntarily think of Yi Fan. Seems to vaguely their own destiny has been linked together with Yi Fan. Although Ching Roland was very loose with her mouth. In reality, when she really wanted to do something, Ching Roland was very shy again. Listening to Ching Rulin's words, Yi Fan instantly understood that Ching Rulin was afraid that she would mind. But what Ching Rulin didn't know was that although Yi Fan had been demented for five years, during the five years, Yi Fan was just his soul sealed by himself. And many things, 
Yi Fan saw very clearly. Seven sister-in-laws, although they are the nominal daughters-in-law of the Yi family, but in reality, one of them has not happened anything, and they have not even seen each other a few times. It was nothing in the first place. Why should I mind? Now that Roland's wife is treating me so well, I can't even wait for my heart to ache. Yi Fan reached out and wrapped Ching Roland in his arms as he spoke. The moment his skin touched, that warmth arose once again, warming Ching Roland and at the same time feeding back to Yi Fan, helping him raise his strength, feeling the beautiful person in his arms. Yi Fan's big hands recklessly began to move on Ching Roland's body, going deeper into the valley and climbing higher, outlining the extreme contours of the human body. Feeling Yi Fan's palm, Ching Roland's whole body was paralyzed in Yi Fan's embrace, her lips involuntarily kissed towards Yi Fan, closing her eyes, while her heart secretly said, dead bad guy, you are willing to toss as much as you want to toss it, sooner or later it will be yours anyway, only, Ching Roland was a little worried that it was that bad now that Yi Fan was still in a demented state, in the future, if and when he comes to his senses completely, just how bad must he be, at that time, will your sisters be able to handle it, the car's atmosphere are beginning to charming up, Yi Fan body agitation, and now urgently need to improve their own strength, Yi Fan is very tempted to Ching Roland here will do it, however, Yi Fan still stopped at the critical time, although Cheng Rulin would not object. Yi Fan felt that this was still too disrespectful to Cheng Rulin. At the very least, it has to be in a place that's passable. In a car. Ahem. Try that later. After a long time, Cheng Rulin sat up somewhat disheveled from Yi Fan's arms and looked at Yi Fan with a face full of tenderness. Little Fan husband, don't worry, before you completely awaken, we, the seven sisters, will definitely do our best to protect you and we will definitely not let you suffer any harm or aggravation. Although Cheng Rulin's body and bones looked soft, the words she uttered were very hard. Eh? Yi Fan also secretly said in his heart, Sister-in-law, your announcement at the funeral is the guardian of the Yi family to go well. You risked the world, together to marry a fool in the Yi family. Such courage, such a woman's temperament. I, Yi Fan, how will I fail you? Sister-in-law, I'm not a fool anymore. It's just that, right now. Because of the situation being forced upon them, they can't be exposed for the time being. Yi Fan's words had just fallen, when the voice of the maid, Nan Cheng, knocking on the car window suddenly sounded outside the car window. Young master, there is a call from your high school classmates. They said that they are going to agree on a reunion. All of their classmates are going. Only you are missing. Do you want to go? Nan Cheng still holding Yi Fan's phone in his hand. The phone came from the class leader Chi Jun. Yi Fan, all of us know that you are stupid five years ago stimulated, but it is because of this, you should come out and walk around all the more ah, uh, to see us maybe remembered something again, suddenly not stupid? Chi Jun's words didn't sound like much at first, but when analyzed carefully, it was quite possible to hear the mocking color in Chi Jun's words, next to it, there is also the voice of Chi Jun's dog leg Wang Tao, Yi Xiao, come out and finish together ah, uh. I heard that your sister-in-law is married to you, bring together to come out to play ah, uh. ha ha, let us also see. The cell phone was on speakerphone, and Cheng Roland could hear it clearly in the car. Before Yi Fan could say anything, Cheng Roland snatched the phone. Very well, isn't it just a class reunion? Let's come to the party and see if any of you dare to bully my husband to his face. Cheng Roland really couldn't help Yi Fan being despised and insulted like this. Five years ago, Yi Fan could be a generation of demonic geniuses. Ah, uh, you are the pride of heaven, the first among the young generation of Dasha, only because of a car accident became now like this, coupled with the Yi family was backstabbed, Yi Fan should be trampled like this, hanging up the phone, Cheng Rolin pulled Yi Fan's hand and said, little Fan, don't worry, everything is with my wife, isn't it just a reunion, I will let them see that whoever dares to despise my husband will have to pay the price, next to him, Nanqing knew Yi Fan's clarity, knew that Yi Fan was fully awake, and was still waiting for Yi Fan's orders, Yi Fan smiled faintly and said to Cheng Rolin, good, let's go to the reunion, there are some old classmates that we haven't seen for a long time indeed. Yi Fan's eyes flashed a deep. All these years have passed. Not holding a reunion early. Not holding a reunion late. Suddenly holding a reunion at this time. And deliberately urging. So that he must take his sister-in-law to attend the reunion? This reunion? I'm afraid it's not that simple. It's highly likely that it's a honky-tonk banquet. Yi Fan's current treatment. But not afraid of any of their means. Yi Fan is afraid of instead those hiding in the dark waiting for the opportunity to do something. It's good to go there and see what other small fry are planning to play dirty tricks behind the scenes. In the southern outskirts of Yun City, in a compound, hearing the affirmative answer on the phone, Chi Jun turned his head somewhat sardonically towards the side. Next to Chi Jun was none other than Jin Yang, 
as well as Zhou Xiao and a group of his men who had arrived from Shenzhen. Seeing Zhou Xiao nodding, only then did Qi Jun continue. Then remember the address. It's at the Cloud City Hotel. Our classmates will be over there right away. So hurry up and come too. After saying that, Qi Jun hung up the phone and somewhat ingratiatingly said towards Zhou Xiao, Zhou Xiao, that's all we can do. That guy Yi Fan has been a fool since five years ago. I've seen that lack of brain countless times. Is he really that scary? Zhou Xiao didn't say anything. And Jin Yang beside him spoke. Whether or not it's that powerful. The next step is up to you guys. If things are done right this time, the benefits will not be lacking for you guys. Jin Yang had received the support of Pavilion Master Zhang, and had originally planned to unite with the strongest members of the Compulsion Sect to directly strike at Yi Fan and the brothers around him. However, Zhou Ming contacted Pavilion Master Zhang in time to tell him the news of Pavilion Master Tang Zheng's failure, and contacted Jin Yang in the first place. Deciding to combine the power gathered on Jin Yang's side with the power Zhou Ming himself had at his disposal to lay a life and death trap for Yi Fan. Don't worry, Xiao Zhou. It is an honor for us to follow Xiao Zhou. We will definitely not disgrace our mission and let Yi Fan have no return. A flash of ruthlessness flashed across the faces of several people, Qi Jun and Wang Tao, who were ready to fight for their lives at any time. But Zhou Ming waved his hand and said, Letting you organize the reunion is not to fight for your life. All you have to do is to make sure that Yi Fan comes to the scene and then create some conflicts. You don't have to care about the latter. What I want to see is whether Yi Fan is really stupid or pretending to be stupid. Zhou Ming, as the white-robed emissary of the Holy Envoy organization, controlling the entire southwest region, as well as having the authority to assist in the entire Grand Xia operation, naturally thought much more meticulously than Jin Yang. According to the information Zhou Xiao had so far, all the soul-taking techniques he had arranged on Xian Yufei had been broken. And the only people who had gone to the vicinity of Xian Yufei's villa that night were Yi Fan and Wang Fugui. Zhou Ming was now very skeptical that Yi Fan had awakened. Otherwise it couldn't have been that coincidental. Moreover, the Chu Feng captain under the Northwest Zheng Pavilion Elder, Zhou Ming has seen the strength of the Martial Zun realm, but also with so many Zongshir powerhouses, the siege of the Yi family actually died silently. This is too unscientific. Under normal circumstances, Chu Feng, as Zhang Gulao's beloved, even if something went wrong in dealing with the Yi family, he always had to stay outside to ventilate the situation, right? But now, no matter what means and methods were used by people like Pavilion Master Zhang and Zhou Ming, they were simply unable to obtain information about the Yi family scene at that time. Although the wandering soul declared that it was responsible for this matter and explicitly said that Chu Feng was sniped by Niu Er with his men, Zhou Ming always felt that something was not right. Yes, after Qi Jun and the others left, Zhou Ming said to Jin Yang, Young Jin, Pavilion Master Zhang should have explained the situation to you, right? Now that we're on the same boat, have all the compulsion masters from the compulsion sex side been put in place? I'm afraid that today's action will mainly depend on them. N. The people from the companions. They arrived this morning. If it wasn't for the fact that I was waiting for Zhou Xiao, I might have even moved ahead. Jin Yang was a bit upset about Zhou Xiao's sudden intervention, but Zhang Gulao's side said that Zhou Ming's position was even stronger than his and told Jin Yang to make sure that he unconditionally listened to Zhou Ming's command, so Jin Yang could do nothing about it. In addition to the people from the compulsion division, I plan to get Sui Shui over as well. At that time, the two sisters-in-law, Cheng Rulin and Sui Shui, will both be tied up, so that Yi Fan can only choose one to live. Ha ha, that's a good show. Jin Yang was still resenting the damage Yi Fan had done to him. In front of so many people, he was disgraced, and with the failure of the attack at the back, Jin Yang was forced to compensate a billion dollars. This revenge must be avenged. Suit yourself. I won't be there at the scene, but I want to know all the details of the scene clearly. Zhou Ming still kept an eye out. Chu Feng went to see Yi Fan and didn't even come back alive in the end. Although Zhou Ming had some special abilities and techniques bestowed upon him in the Sacred Envoy organization, and his own strength was at the peak of Martial Zun, and his true combat power, even more so, was at the astonishing level of a Martial Emperor, Zhou Ming was still very cautious and would not take risks easily. Cloud City Hotel. Chi Jun is really a bunch of classmates from that year called most of them. After all, the Chi family still had some influence in Cloud City. Plus Chi Jun said that Yi Fan will also be there. Most of the students still came. Everyone these years, have heard that Yi Fan accident, had a little demented. Want to care about Yi Fan? The private rooms had already been arranged. Jin Yang's people had also been arranged. And those parasites from the compulsion cult had already disguised themselves as waiters and security guards and lurked in the Cloud City Hotel. Everything was ready. Just waiting for Yi Fan and Ching Rulin to arrive. Crunch. When the five black Maybox stopped at the front entrance of the hotel, Shi Jun and the others were stunned, their eyes automatically looking to the side. 
they thought some big shot had come, but when the door of the Maybach at the front opened, Chi Jun and the others were dumbfounded. Yi Fan? The one who got down from the car was actually Yi Fan? At this moment, Yi Fan was dressed in a well-tailored black suit. His hair was in shape, his face had well-defined lines, he was aggressive and domineering, his eyes were sharp, and when he swept over the people present, they felt that their souls seemed to have been cut apart. With every step, the entire aura seemed to change. This, is he still the stupid young master of the Yi family? Yi Fan looked like this, where was the slightest hint of a fool in his body? Beside Yi Fan, following along down was Cheng Rulin. At this time, Cheng Rulin has changed into a red dress, slender and full body. Slender, sexy without losing elegance, angel face, devil's body. Cheng Rulin gently held Yi Fan's arm in an intimate manner, totally a match made in heaven. In front of the vehicle, Wang Fu Gui and Guo Li, also dressed in western clothes, stood on Yi Fan's left and right sides, and reached out their hands to Yi Fan and Cheng Rulin, saying, Big brother, sister-in-law, please. Behind them were Yi Fan's four stunningly beautiful maids, all of whom were also dressed up in playful, flamboyant, or sexy, styles, this row, this specification, abominable. It was loaded to the hilt by him. Chi Jun had planned to show off his newly bought Lamborghini in front of Yi Fan, thinking that the Yi family had been hit so hard that the economy was already in jeopardy and would collapse at any time. The result, Yi Fan out of the blue is so many limited edition Maybach, anyone can buy their own Lamborghini a dozen. Chi Jun now felt like a clown in front of Yi Fan. Back then, whether it was in terms of family history, power, intelligence, and accomplishments, Yi Fan was the one that shone the brightest. Five years later, even after the Yi family had suffered such a heavy blow, the Yi family still hung on to beat them. Yi, Yi Xiao, you're here. Shi Jun was still planning to call Yi Fan by his name, but when the words came out, he instinctively changed it to Yi Xiao. It seemed that at this time, calling out Yi Fan's name was a bit inconsistent with Yi Fan's temperament at this time. Have all the students arrived? Yi Fan glanced at Chi Jun, sensing the aura on Chi Jun's body, and couldn't help but frown. Compassionate breath? The Qi army and the compulsion cult have joined forces? A long time before, Yi Fan had gotten news that those rivals of the Yi family had contacted the strongest members of the compulsion sect to secretly make a move against Yi Fan and Grandpa. Had they finally acted now? Figuring out what was going on behind the scenes at today's reunion, Yi Fan's heart was instantly clear. Miao Jiang parasite religion. Those terrible poisonous parasites, killing invisible, in the eyes of other people, that is an incomparable horror of the existence of once let those poisonous parasites into the body words. Even if it is a martial arts zoon realm of the strong, the brain is likely to be poisonous parasites thirsty for bites clean. But Yi Fan, but not afraid, because in the inheritance of the Tianji Pavilion, there is a supreme treasure of the compassion sect, 10,000 compassion tripod, the most honored holy relic of that compassion cult, and the origin of all the compassions. All the poisonous parasites of the compulsion religion. The origin comes from the 10,000 parasites tripod. In the 10,000 parasites tripod, there is a golden compulsion emperor. Can order all the poisonous parasites and parasites. Is more than the compulsion religion master also useful symbol of authority. Once the compassionate emperor came out, all the poisonous parasites had to submit. Today, Yi Fan wanted to see who was behind Shi Jun and the others. Yi family those rivals arranged in the cloud city of the dark sun. This should be the last wave. After solving this wave, grandfather should move to go to the capital, and Yi Fan should go to the provincial city to continue to investigate the truth in depth to go. All arrived, just in the private room above. Yi Fan, I haven't seen you for a few years. I didn't expect you to become stupid after such a serious car accident. Alas, Shi Jun is also a rich second generation after all. Although he was shocked by Yi Fan's temperament at the beginning, he quickly adjusted and while guiding Yi Fan towards the private room, while testing towards Yi Fan, I'm getting stupid? Who says I'm stupid? I'm clearly not stupid. Okay? Snap. As Yi Fan argued with his mouth, he raised his hand and slapped Chi Jun in the face. Roland's wife and Ishua's wife both said that whoever is calling me a fool will slap him. Ah. I. Chi Jun was staggered and almost hit the wall. So depressed that he was about to go crazy. Yi Fan. I'm just concerned about you. You stepped on the horse. Chi Jun was halfway through his sentence when he steeply deflated. Are you sick in the head? What's the point of bothering with a fool? Today, Chi Jun's main task was to lure Yi Fan here. And naturally, Jin Xiao and Zhou Xiao's people would step in behind him. If plan A didn't work, then another plan would be executed to lure Yi Fan and Qing Rulin to another place where Yi Fan would have to completely perish. Then the task that Zhou Xiao had explained to himself was complete. HM, Yi Fan, don't blame me. Originally I don't have any deep hatred with you, but I can't help it that Zhou Xiao promised to give too much. 
Pills that could advance to the realm of control. Ah, those weren't something that could be bought with money. As well as the envoy privileges of the holy envoy organization that was in charge of the Tiananmen province, supreme power, and strength enhancing pills, these were enough to drive the Qi army crazy. Yi Xiao, I was wrong, I should fight. Just now I was just quick with my mouth. You are not a fool. I am a fool. Qi Jun was afraid that Yi Fan would be unhappy and not go to the private room. Then all of Qi Jun's arrangements for today would go down the drain. So he could only coax Yi Fan. As he spoke, Qi Jun even swung his own palm towards his face. Looking at Qi Jun's appearance, Yi Fan smiled coldly at the corner of his mouth. HM, old classmates, actually joining the camp against the Yi family, you are asking for trouble. As Qi Jun led Yi Fan towards the private room, he exchanged a quiet glance as he brushed past the waiter. Those waiters were none other than Jin Yang's henchmen, as well as compulsion sect powerhouses in disguise. On the side of the compulsion sect, the leader was Ling Yun, the third elder of the compulsion sect. From the moment Yi Fan entered the door, Ling Yun had set his eyes on Yi Fan and quietly released seven types of poisonous parasites, intending to invade Yi Fan's body. But what shocked Ling Yun was that no matter how powerful the poisonous parasites he released, those poisonous parasites all fled back like crazy after getting close to Yi Fan's distance of three meters, as if they had encountered something terrible. Young Jean, there's something odd about this Yi Fan. After waiting for Yi Fan to go upstairs, Ling Yun quickly dodged to the control room on the side and reported toward Jin Yang. There seems to be something terrifying on him, restricting our poisonous parasites from approaching. In the control room, Jin Yang's brow was furrowed as he looked at the surveillance on the wall and pondered for a few seconds before speaking. Is it that evil? Isn't it just a fool? Even the poisonous parasites can't help him? This is troublesome. Previously, Jin Yang arranged a car accident attack, but the result was that there was a strong obstruction halfway. Yi Fan was unharmed, and Jin Yang was also locked by a sniper, forcing him to compensate for a billion dollars of moral damages. So this time, Jin Yang directly hid in his room, so no one would be able to keep an eye on him anymore, right? It's just that this Yi Fan, even though he's become a fool, his kung fu is still so powerful. And if the people of the compulsion sect can't help him now, how can they get him killed? Elder Ling, is there something wrong with your poisonous parasites? Jin Yang frowned. Zhang Gulao gave himself such great authority this time. He could even mobilize all the latent forces within Tiananmen. And Zhou Shao personally came to supervise the battle. If he didn't make some achievements, it wouldn't be good to explain to Zhang Gulao and Zhou Shao. Uh, impossible. Not only did I do it, our young master also did it. Neither of our two poisonous parasites were able to invade into Yi Fan's body. Ling Yun's face was a bit gloomy. If this direct invasion didn't work, then he could only count on Qi Jun and the others to get their hands on the alcohol and drinks. Jin Yang nodded and said to a few waiter-dressed henchmen around him, Later on, you guys will cooperate with Qi Jun and make sure Yi Fan and Cheng Rulin drink the drinks they prepared. Yes, in the private room, when Yi Fan and Cheng Rulin arrived, there were already almost three tables sitting in the private room. Seeing Yi Fan arrive, Everyone basically stood up and gave a warm welcome. Young Yi is still so handsome. Sister-in-law is so beautiful. Congratulations to Mr. Yi. Most of the students held a very large amount of goodwill and warmly greeted Yi Fan Cheng Rulin. Cheng Rulin was a little embarrassed as she followed Yi Fan. But today's reunion was supposed to be a Hongmen banquet prepared by the Qi army. So naturally it couldn't be smooth sailing. Taking advantage of the interruption of the middle student's words, Qi Jun's lapdog Wang Tao spoke up. Sister-in-law Rulin. I remember that before. Sister-in-law Roland was the wife of Yi family's sixth Lang, right? Oh, now that you're married to Yi Fan again, how does it feel to serve two brothers at the same time? Why don't you share it with everyone? Sister-in-law Roland? Ching Roland and Yu Linglong's seven sister-in-laws announced their marriage to Yi Fan at the funeral at the same time, which was something that everyone everyone knew. Moreover, the main purpose of those seven sisters-in-law marrying Yi Fan was to shelter the Yi family, which was clear to everyone. But everyone is very sensible not to mention this problem. And Wang Tao opened his mouth and directly brought up the most acute problem, which is dislike face open big, provoking Yi Fan. Of course this was also the task that Zhou Shao had given them, to deliberately create a conflict and test what kind of situation Yi Fan was in. Yes, sister-in-law Rulin, satisfy everyone's curiosity. Yi Fan, a fool, will he sleep at night oh? Shi Jun also hurriedly opened his mouth at the side and added, however, Qi Jun had just been slapped by Yi Fan and was a bit scared, and as he spoke, his body couldn't help but retreat two or two steps backward. LOL. The words of both Wang Tao and Qi Jun instantly caused the private room to erupt in an uproar. Wang Tao. Qi Jun. What are you two doing? Today is a class reunion. Why are you talking about this? That's right. Everyone knows about the Yi family's situation. We're here today because we care about Yi Fan, 
so don't go too far. Among the students, a good number of them stood out somewhat indignantly to help Yifan. However, Chi Jun and Wang Tao's table, as well as a few other great young men, snorted coldly and opened their mouths to retaliate. What can't be said? Rulin's sister-in-law and the other women heroes ah, on the day of the funeral, in front of so many people announced that they were going to marry Yifan, did it all, still not letting people say it? Rulin's sister-in-law, don't you think so? You, guys don't go too far. Our sisters announced that kind of decision at that time. What was it for? Aren't you guys clear about that? Chang Rulin's face turned cold as she stared scorchingly at everyone present. Do you guys really think that you can trample on Yifan at will just because he had a car accident? This young lady is not one to be messed with. Beside Ching Rulin and Yifan, Woli and Wang Fugui's faces were gloomy when they saw the actions and words of Chi Jun and Wang Tao and the others. Tramp, you guys dare to disrespect my big brother and sister-in-law. I'll get you killed. Wang Fugui was short-tempered and rolled up his sleeves, intending to make a move. But Guoli stopped Wang Fugui. Old Wang, don't be in a hurry. Although big brother is temporarily demented. He has never been a lord to be messed with. Let's see how big brother handles it first. Chang Rulin's intimidation didn't work at all. It was true that the influence of the Qing family in Dasha was not small, but that was inside the provincial city, whereas in Cloud City, Chang Rulin, a weak woman, did not have any usable manpower in her hands, and could not deter Qi Jun and Wang Tao. And behind Wang Tao and Qi Jun, there was Zhou Xiao as well as Jin Yang and others backing them up. They had set up hundreds of people all around for this operation today just so Yi Fan could only reveal anything. After the scene clamored for a while, everyone's eyes finally gathered on Yi Fan. Everyone wanted to see just how Yi Fan planned to act. The corners of the room, 360 degrees, were covered with cameras. In the compound on the southern outskirts of Cloud City, Zhou Ming was staring at the wall full of CCTV images with a scrutinizing look on his face, staring at Yi Fan's movements from multiple angles. Humph, such an insult. If you're not a fool, you definitely can't help but fight back. Right? As long as you make a move, this young man will be able to judge your situation. A flash of gloom flashed across Zhou Ming's eyes. Those ten core disciples of the Yi family had all been cleared out. But the last remaining old thing in this fool of the Yi family, after using so much power, actually always failed to get rid of them. This made Zhou Ming very annoyed. In the private room of the Cloud City Hotel, Yi Fan's strength at the martial emperor level, after entering the room, had already detected the 23 cameras in the room. Yi Fan knew that it must be the people behind Chi Jun and Wang Tao staring at this place. Chi Jun and Wang Tao had openly insulted Ching Rulin in such a way. So of course Yi Fan would not just let them off the hook. But how to do it? That requires careful consideration. Using martial arts Chi? No. Yi Fan saw the boiling hot pot on the table, and the corner of his mouth sketched out a good looking arc. Rulin's wife, are they bullying you? Yi Fan tilted his head and opened his mouth towards Ching Rulin with an innocent face. Ching Rulin's heart warmed. Aha, but it's okay, as long as you. Before Chang Rulin's words fell, Yi Fan had already stood up. How is it okay? Ishua's wife said that only I can bully you guys. No one else can bully you. You bad guys, apologize to my Rulin's wife. While Yi Fan chortled with his mouth, his hand steeply slammed on the table with force. Wow, the hot pot that was boiling on the table jumped up, and the pot full of boiling water, without missing anything, all splashed towards the faces of Chi Jun and Wang Tao as well as a few other doglegs. In the middle of Wang Tao and Chi Jun, there was originally another student who helped Yi Fan. It was reasonable to assume that all that boiling fire base spilling out must have scalded that classmate as well. But the weird thing was that those hot pot ingredients that were waved out, as if they had eyes, when they passed in front of that classmate, they happened to diverge and avoid him. Only a few drops dripped down, and the rest were all splashed onto the faces of Wang Tao and Chi Jun and the others. Ah, crap, my eyes. I yet, my crotch. My neck, cough, four or five students, including Chi Jun and Wang Tao, didn't react for a moment, and the rolling pot of hot pot base greeted them all. In an instant, their faces were scalded with blisters, and even hairs fell out of their pants, and they could vaguely smell the smell of roasted meat, which was presumably on the verge of being scalded. Yi Fan, you, are you crazy? Chi Jun himself knows a little bit of martial arts chi energy, and at the critical time, he used his chi energy to block most of the boiling water. Only a big blister was scalded on his neck, and while wiping his wounds with a towel, he growled madly at Yi Fan, Chi Jun and a few brothers around him, while chiding with their mouths, dragged their chairs and wanted to greet Yi Fan. Eh, what do you want? Want to fight? Wang Fugui stepped forward and used his head to directly knock a man beside Wang Tao flying backwards. Don't go too far. Classmates reunion should be a good one. Wang Fugui chortled and turned his head to give Yi Fan a dumbfounded look. 
Is this intentional on Big Brother's part? Or is it a coincidence? Just happened to punish them a bit? Those who had the same doubts were Jin Yang in the surveillance room, and Zhou Ming in the compound in the southern suburb. Such a coincidence? Zhou Ming's eyes gazed up, replaying the footage he had just recorded several times over, scrutinizing Yi Fan's movements, wanting to find clues in between. But no matter how carefully Zhou Ming searched, he finally realized that although the results were clear, Shi Jun and Wang Tao and the others were punished, and a few of his brothers were even scalded. Yi Fan's movements just couldn't be found to be broken in any way. Everything seemed so natural, as if Yi Fan just unintentionally touched over the hot pot base and then happened to burn Shi Jun and the others. Had he guessed wrong? Yi Fan was still in a state of dementia. The soul regeneration technique being broken was a complete accident? The booth. Because of the steep change, the atmosphere of the scene got a little weird. All of the classmates were injured, and Shi Jun and Wang Tao came up and attacked Yi Fan with such a clear target. According to the normal situation, the class reunion should not be able to go on, but when the waiter cleaned up the scene more or less, Shi Jun actually adjusted his mood again. Yi Xiao. Just now it was us and Wang Xiao who spoke with the wrong attitude. We shouldn't have asked Roland's sister-in-law those questions. Come on, we're classmates for a while. I'll toast you and your sister-in-law a cup. How about an apology for you guys? While speaking, Shi Jun and Wang Tao had already walked over with two glasses of wine and raised their glasses towards Yi Fan and Ching Roland. This, Ching Roland looked at the two glasses of wine that were held out to him with some hesitation. The situation now was obvious that Shi Jun and Wang Tao didn't have any good intentions today, so these two cups of wine must be problematic as well. Wei Xiao Tsai, we should make a move, right? Wang Fugue said with a nervous face beside him. Even Wang Fugue knew that there might be something wrong with this wine, so naturally Yi Fan knew it as well. Behind the surveillance, Zhou Ming and Jin Yang were both staring at the images in the surveillance with burning eyes. Humph, Yi Fan, as long as you drink the cup of wine today, your Yi family will be completely finished. Jin Yang was so excited that he just wanted to help Yi Fan pour that cup of wine in. The wine has been put a lot of poisonous parasites by several poisonous parasites masters. The most powerful one of them is called the Three Corpses Brain God Parasites. Once Yi Fan drinks the champagne down, those poisonous parasites will enter Yi Fan's body and control Yi Fan's head insanity. Yi Fan was originally a fool, if not three corpses brain got compulsion control, afraid that when the time comes to let him take the knife to cut his grandfather, he will not hesitate to agree, right? The Yi family's old man was hacked to death by his own stupid grandson. No one could blame anyone else for this news being released, could they? Die a silent death. Chi Jun. I don't think Yi Fan should drink now since his body hasn't recovered yet, right? There were still students on the scene who were discouraging Chi Jun but they were a little afraid of the Qi family's power and didn't dare to speak too loudly. Zhang Hua, what do you mean? How can I express my sincerity if I don't drink the wine I gave Xiaoyi to apologize? This wine must be drunk. Shi Jun chided at the boy who opened his mouth. The threat in his eyes was very obvious. Why don't you drink it for him? The corner of Yi Fan's mouth curled up and took the wine cup from Qi Jun's hand. Speaking faintly, Qi Jun, does this wine have to be drunk? Grandpa said, we do classmates. We have to help each other. For the sake of the friendship of classmates, I forgive you, the wine or not, right? Yi Fan was giving Chi Jun a chance. If Chi Jun didn't continue to force Yi Fan to drink, Yi Fan might have left Chi Jun alive. But Chi Jun was already crazy at this time, and all that was on his mind was how the top would reward him after getting Yi Fan killed. Moreover, a single glass of wine could control Yi Fan and completely overthrow the Yi family, and Chi Jun didn't need to spend any other means at all. With such power and status at their fingertips, how could the Qi army possibly give it up? Of course you must drink, Young Yi. Look everyone is still waiting. If you drink this cup of wine, only then will my heart be at peace. Shi Jun hooked Yi Fan's neck and said to Yi Fan with a smile on his face. Looking at Qi Jun's performance, a flash of loss passed through Yi Fan's eyes. This Qi Jun is determined to get himself killed? In that case, don't blame me. I'm not the same fool I was back then. Good. Drink. Then, Yi Fan took the wine glass in Chi Jun's hand and gently shook it in his hand a few times. Yi Fan's action made Chi Jun's heart flutter and he was a little nervous. This Yi Fan, shouldn't have discovered the end of the wine glass. Jin Yang and Zhou Ming, who were behind the surveillance, were also staring at Yi Fan without taking their eyes off, carefully observing his every movement. The wine had poisonous parasites in it. This was clear to Zhou Ming and Jin Yang. As long as Yi Fan drank it, even if Yi Fan was at the strength of the martial Zun realm, so what? Being invaded by poisonous parasites. Since ancient times, they had not heard of anyone who could resist the erosion of poisonous parasites. If the poisonous parasites weren't so powerful, the compulsion sect wouldn't have been able to plague the entire De Xia back then. In the private room, when Yi Fan picked up the wine cup, Shang Roland's heart was in her throat. Xiao Fan, 
This wine, really want to drink it? Ching Rolin was a little confused as to what exactly Yi Fan meant. In fact, how could Ching Rolin know that when Yi Fan entered the room, he had sensed the problems with the compounder in the room as well as the three alcoholic beverages. When Yi Fan picked up the wine cup, because of the 10,000 compulsory tripod and compulsor emperor in Yi Fan's body, those three corpse brain god compulsions lurking in the wine cup instinctively wanted to escape. It was only when Yi Fan urged the password that those poisonous parasites settled down. Yi Fan put the wine glass in front of his nose and sniffed it, just at the moment when Chi Jun was about to open his mouth. Yi Fan spoke. My wine is not sweet. I just saw that you put sugar in your wine glass. I'm going to drink from your wine glass. Ha! Huh? Chi Jun was confused. Yi Fan wanted to drink from his own wine glass? This Nima. When did you put sugar in your own wine glass? Your own wine glass is clean. Nothing in it. Did not say that Yi Fan is a fool. But now look at Yi Fan is not at all like a fool ah. Actually know to drink their own wine cups of wine. That to Yi Fan lay out of the poisonous parasites. But also how to get to Yi Fan's body to go? Young Yi. It's better to forget about it. Right? Chi Jun opened his mouth. Still wanting to argue. But Yi Fan's subsequent actions made Chi Jun directly collapse. Let's swap drinks. While Yi Fan chortled with his mouth. He raised the wine cup in his hand and poured it into Chi Jun's mouth. Gulp. Chi Jun it did not react. Full of a big mouth. Directly swallowed all. Pupils are shot to burst of violent dilation. Nima. Yi Fan's wine glass has poisonous parasites in it. Now. All those poisonous parasites have entered his body. Those parasites Jin Yang had brought with him had said that some of those poisonous parasites they had arranged in the wine cups they could control. And some they couldn't. For example. The bloodthirsty compulsion. Once it enters the host's body. Then it will frantically start devouring the host's essence blood until it sucks the target clean. Chi Xiao. Yi Fan. You. Wang Tao was holding his wine glass next to him. His body couldn't help but take a step back. Somewhat fearful of Yi Fan. Sure enough, when fools go crazy, they don't follow the rules at all. However, Wang Tao didn't dodge at all. Yi Fan took the wine glass in Ching Roland's hand as well and poured it into Wang Tao's mouth as well. I know. You must have put sugar in your wine glass as well. Humph. You guys are too cheap to put sugar in our wine cups. Gulp. Without any suspense. Wang Tao also drank all of that cup of poisonous compote with a full stomach. Cheers. I forgive you all. Yi Fan lifted up Chi Jun's glass of wine, and after finishing it in one gulp, he didn't forget to clink it against Chi Jun's and Wang Tao's glasses. Tinkerbell. The crisp sound of clinking glasses resounded in the private room, causing the hearts of the crowd to follow. Both Chi Jun and Wang Tao's entire bodies were frozen in place, their bodies completely stiff. Cheers to you. I ex your ancestors. Dying. Dying. The two of them. Chi Jun and Wang Tao glanced at each other, and there was no way to hide that knife man's eyes. Vomit. Almost simultaneously, both men reached up and quickly dug toward their throats, trying to hook themselves into vomiting and spitting out the wine they had just consumed. But it was too late. The drinks were all down and, as their movements intensified, both men realized that their noses were bleeding. This was a sign that the bloodthirsty parasites were beginning to suck the essence blood from their bodies. Poisonous parasites into the body. They are already certain death. Poof. The two of them, Chi Jun and Wang Tao, staggered physically and took two steps backward, sitting on their chairs with their asses, their faces pale. Yi Fan smiled coldly, his heart understanding. At this time, he was still utilizing the 10,000 compulsions tripod to control the poisonous parasites in the two men's bodies, not letting them completely and totally explode. After all, with so many students here, it still wouldn't be good if they caused a scene. Ha, huh? Young Chi, Young Wang. What's wrong with you guys? Isn't it just a glass of wine? Getting drunk so quickly. Your drinking capacity is too bad. Yi Fan deliberately flirted with the two of them. Since you are all drunk, then want today to end here? I should also go back. Otherwise Yi Xue's wife should be worried about me. Yi Fan is trying to escape. He knew that there must be other people behind Chi Jun and Wang Tao who were secretly manipulating them. And Yi Fan was trying to make the people behind them show themselves. Their plan to kill with poisonous parasites had failed but they definitely wouldn't just give up. Don't, Young Yi. I'm just a little dizzy just now. I'll be fine after a little rest. Chi Jun forced a smile and wobbled as he stood up. Since we're here, we should get together today and help Young Yi remember the happy things he did when he was in school. Right, right. Wang Tao followed suit and stood up, wiping the blood from in front of his nose and helping out. As they spoke, the two men winked at the waiters around them, meaning that they should contact Jin Xiao to figure out what to do. Two cups of poisonous compulsion liquor were drunk by them, and they knew that they were already bound to die, and their mentality had already changed. Since his own death could not be changed, he had to pull a back. Even if he died, he must have Yi Fan buried with him today. 
Yes, then let's all stop standing and sit down to eat together. Let's chat while eating. Yi Fan greeted everyone as if he was the host. At the end, he didn't forget to care about Chi Jun and Wang Tao. Are you guys really alright? I see you all have nosebleeds. Should we go find a doctor? Pust. The two of them, Chi Jun and Wang Tao, were cursing their mothers, killing people to kill them? Nima. Originally, the two of them had planned to find a chance to sneak away and seek the help of those parasites to suppress the poisonous parasites in their bodies, or at least to keep themselves alive for a longer period of time. But now that Yi Fan had said so, they were too embarrassed to leave. It's okay, it's okay, maybe I drank too much wine, that's good. When the people were seated and started eating, Ching Rulin beside Yi Fan was looking at Yi Fan with glowing eyes. This fanny husband, who says he's stupid, when those two guys scolded themselves just now. They poured a pot of hot pot to Ching Rulin to take out their anger. And while drinking, Yi Fan was in a state of dementia and actually used the most primitive method to easily break the game. In time, after Yi Fan's complete awakening, with Yi Fan's talent, it would only be a matter of time before the Yi family took off. The seven sisters themselves, who chose Yi Fan, originally only did so to repay the Yi family and shelter them. But now, does it look like he's hugging a golden leg? The key was that Yi Fan still had that mysterious warm current in his body that could boost his strength. Ching Rulin had already decided that as long as there was an opportunity, she must be Yi Fan's woman as soon as possible, and have more intimate actions with Yi Fan. Perhaps then, her strength could also be raised above the sovereign realm? At that time, one could also not be a vase, but rather be by Yi Fan's side to contribute to Yi Fan, right? At the entrance, Wang Fugui looked at Yi Fan and those classmates talking and laughing with a puzzled face. His mouth muttered towards Guo Li, Wei Xiao Tsai, tell me honestly, has big brother awakened? This brain of mine, it's a bit spinning, how do I feel that familiar flavor coming back? Big brother, two simple moves and you fooled them, that's awesome. The corner of Guo Li's mouth twitched, don't think blindly, didn't mister, lay say it, big brother's brain didn't suffer any damage, recovery takes time just, now it's already starting to slowly recover. It's not strange to have this kind of behavior. Although Wang Fugui had already detected some abnormalities, Guo Li still didn't dare to tell Wang Fugui the truth. In case Wang Fugui, the loud mouth, exposed the truth and spoiled Big Brother's long-term plan, it would be troublesome. In the private room, in addition to Qi Jun and Wang Tao, both of whom were black-faced, the rest of the crowd, all of whom were smiling and happy, the atmosphere was peaceful. In the Yingcheng Hotel surveillance choke, Jin Yang watched the action in the private room, angry and kept pacing back and forth. Stupid pigs, a bunch of stupid pigs, a group of people who were actually fooled by a fool. As Jin Yang chided, he turned his head towards Ling Yin, who had entered the door. Elder Ling, how is your attempt again going? Ling Yin shook his head with a grave expression. Not good. Just now when Yi Fan was drinking with Qi Jun and the others, Lao Fu and a few other experts of the compulsion sect tried again. Almost all the poisonous parasites were tried, but the result was the same. None of the poisonous parasites dared to come close to Yi Fan. On this Yi Fan, there must be something that makes the poisonous parasites very scrupulous, and it is very likely that the Ling Yin also guessed at the long missing item from the compulsion sect, the holy relic of the compassion cult, the 10,000 compassion tripod. When the current compassion sect master took the throne, he didn't have the 10,000 compassion tripod in his hand, and his name was not correct. If the 10,000 compulsion tripod was really in Yi Fan's possession, and he himself could get the 10,000 compulsion tripod, then wouldn't he be able to command the entire compulsion sect? What? Jin Yang was already not surprised by the many strange places on Yi Fan's body. Yi Fan was, after all, the direct young master of the Yi family, and although he was demented, the treasures of the people he protected around him, were certainly not lacking. The compulsion sect's holy relic, the 10,000 compulsion cauldron, Ling Yan's words caused Jin Yang's eyes to light up as well. You mean, the treasure that can command the entire companion sect? Ling Yun nodded. Precisely, the 3,000 poisonous parasites of our compulsion sect can attack almost all living beings in the world, and there is almost nothing that can stop all of them, but only the 10,000 compulsion tripod, as the source of the poisonous parasites, which also houses the ancestor compulsion emperor of all the parasites, can restrain all the parasites. Once we can get our hands on the 10,000 compulsion tripod, then we will be in control of the entire compulsion sect. Jean Xiao, please make sure you help me today. What it means to be able to get the 10,000 compulsion tripod, you know very well, that you will definitely not be short of benefits in the future. Elder Ling Yun was very ambitious, and Jin Yang probably knew that. Within the compulsion sect, because the current sect master did not use normal means to get to the top, so it was not an ironclad one, and everyone coveted that position of the sect master. And among them, 
Elder Ling Yun was one of the important parties. Good, a glint flashed in Jin Yang's eyes. Back then, the compassion cult had spread across the entire Grand Xia. If he assisted Elder Ling Yun to take the throne, then wouldn't he really be in the eye of Elder Zhang? At that time, I, Jin Yang, can also become a dominant force in the world. The more Jin Yang thought about it, the more excited he became, and he chirped towards the people around him. The brothers over there who made a move on Sui Shui. How is it going? Back to Jin Xiao. We've followed your arrangement. Hacked into Sui Shui's cell phone and blocked Yi Fan's cell phone. Then contacted Sui Shui with another cell phone to make her come out and look for Yi Fan on her own. And we should get it right away. That's good. Su clan group. Sui Shui was in the middle of seriously planning for the manufacturing of a new drug. But she suddenly received an unfamiliar text message. Ish Yue's wife. Come save me. The four short words made Sui Shui's heart instantly tangled up. The only one who could call her that was Yi Fan. However, didn't Yi Fan go out with Ching Roland this morning to participate in the Jadeite Agent Rights Investment Fair? There were also four major maids following Yi Fan around. How could something happen to Yi Fan? Sui Shui immediately found Yi Fan's phone and dialed it. Only to find that Yi Fan's phone was not working. Sui Shui dialed Ching Roland's phone again. And still couldn't get through. Sui Shui has some panic. Once again find Wang Fugue in Guo Li's phone. After dialing out are the same result. Are unable to connect. But Sui Shui to call their own father. And can get through. Did something really happen to Yi Fan? Sui Shui was just about to try calling Yi Chang phone when that unfamiliar number sent a text message again. Miss Su. Don't expose any information. If you come alone, Yi Fan can still live. If you let any third person know the information, then you'll be waiting to clean up for Yi Fan. At the back of the text message, there was also a photo attached of Yi Fan and Ching Roland getting off the bus together. Such a situation with a falsehood made Sui Shui urban panic. Have those rivals of the Yi family finally come with a vengeance? Isn't Yi Fan so powerful? Why was he kidnapped all of a sudden? Where did Wang Fu Gui and Guo Li and Xia Hao go? But at this time, Sui Shui's heart was full of worry about Yi Fan. She couldn't care less, and replied to the message in a panic. Where should I go to see Yi Fan? The panicked Sui Shui didn't think much at all. If the other party really had Yi Fan under control, they would only have killed him long ago. How could they still allow themselves to see Yi Fan? Moreover, if Sui Shui went, would they let Yi Fan go because of Sui Shui? The Su family was nothing more than a vassal family of the Yi family, and it did not pose any threat to those opponents at all. As the saying goes, caring is messy. Sui Shue didn't even think that much because she was too concerned about Yi Fan. In an abandoned cement factory in the western suburbs, you have half an hour. Come here now. Seeing the information prompted on the text message, Sui Shue hurriedly got up from her office, and as she left the office, she said to her secretary, Xiao Tang, if I'm not back in two hours, call and tell Yi Lao. Tell Elder Yi what? The secretary inquired towards Sui Shui with some confusion. I'll email you the details later. Sui Shui wasn't stupid enough. But what Sui Shui didn't know was that this was supposed to be a setup today. Jin Yang and the others were trying to use Sui Shui and Ching Roland to coerce Yi Fan. When Sui Shui left from the company, in a Ferrari car opposite the company, Xian Yufei looked at the direction Sui Shui left and followed after her with a frown. Humph, Yi Fan, this guy, the phone can't even be reached. Yi Shui should have gone to find Yi Fan. Right? Alas. If I hadn't withdrawn from the marriage at that time, how good it would have been. Xian Yufei drove the car while quickly following Sui Shui as she traced her way. Now Xian Yufei regretted so hard that she couldn't even give herself two slaps. Yesterday, Xian Yufei's home was attacked and she almost perished, when Yi Fan suddenly appeared at the critical time. Although Yi Fan said that those killers at the scene were handled by Wang Fugue, Xian Yufei had an intuition that those killers were definitely taken down by Yi Fan. Moreover, when Xian Yufei and Yi Fan's skin contacted each other, she clearly felt the warmth returning from Yi Fan's body. And in just a short period of time, Xian Yufei's strength had already broken through to the peak of control. If she hadn't withdrawn her marriage with Yi Fan at that time, and instead became Yi Fan's woman, I'm afraid that she would have reached the strength of a zone master by now, right? During this period of time, those who were against the Yi family all somehow perished, and the Xia family in the provincial city, and even Pang Lao of the Kyushu group had all stepped in to help Yi Fan. Concubine Xian you completely didn't expect Yi Fan to have so many powerful connections. With these connections of Yi Fan, it would not be easy at all for those opponents of the Yi family to completely overthrow Yi Fan. Moreover, Lei Chenjia had said that Yi Fan was already slowly awakening. When Yi Fan awakens, then it will be sooner or later that the Yi family will take off Ah, So Xian Yu Fei had to speed up and gain Yi Fan's understanding. It was best to have any intimate relationship with Yi Fan before he completely woke up. Otherwise when Yi Fan woke up and understood everything, then Xian Yufei would be even more helpless. Cloud City Hotel. In the private room, 
a meal was finally finished, and Shi Jun and Wang Tao were about to go crazy. Those parasites in his body, though secretly suppressed by a compounder, were on the verge of emptying them out. If they didn't end the meal, they were afraid they would collapse at the table. Young Yi, we had a good time at the class reunion today. We can't just break up like this, right? Let's transfer to the second place? Shi Jun and Wang Tao endured the severe pain in their bodies and invited Yi Fan with fake smiles. Just now, Jin Yang had already passed them a message that the assassins from the East Japan side were already in place, and the hostages that Jin Yang had captured were also in place. As long as Yi Fan arrived there, with a hostage in his hands, Yi Fan would definitely be at a disadvantage. The two hooked Yi Fan's shoulders left and right, fearing that Yi Fan would not agree. Ching Rulin was also a bit worried. Xiao Fan, it was just a reunion that made so much trouble. If they went to another place, they didn't know what else was waiting for them. This Qi Jun and Wang Tao obviously didn't have any good intentions. Had I known they were so bad, Cheng Rolin wouldn't have agreed to come to the reunion before. Go. Must go. Happy drinking today. There has to be a second one. I'll drink alone with Qi Xiao. Yi Fan pretended to be drunk and seemed to be very close to Qi Jun and Wang Tao. Yi Fan came to the reunion because he wanted to dig out the mastermind behind them. Now Qi Jun and Wang Tao have been unable to fight. Wu Yi Fan led to the second scene. Should be the meaning of the person behind the curtain. This should also be the last wave of the power of the cloud city. Yi Fan will not clean them up. Yi Fan marching into the provincial city is also not assured. Xiao Yi is bold. Let's go. The car has been arranged for Xiao Yi. As Qi Jun spoke, he greeted Yi Fan with the intention of leaving. Cheng Rolin was anxious and asked Guo Li and Wang Fugui beside her for help. Guo Xiao. Wang Xiao. This, Guo Li had already guessed what Yi Fan meant and nodded towards Cheng Rolin. Don't worry sister-in-law. With us here, nothing will happen. Cheng Rolin glanced at Guo Li and Wang Fugui, and behind them were the four great maids, that were all at the Zongshu realm. With so many powerful people around, Qi Jun and Wang Tao and the others shouldn't be able to do any harm to Yi Fan, right? What's more, Yi Fan's own strength wasn't weak. After hesitating for a moment, Cheng Rolin then followed Yi Fan onto the vehicle arranged by Qi Jun, while Guo Li and the four great maids followed along behind. Wang Fugui was a little anxious when he saw that Yi Fan and himself weren't riding in the same car. Gui Xiotsai. Big brother is riding in a separate car from us. There won't be any problems, right? Those two bastards, Qi Jun, don't have any good intentions. Hua Li, as the military advisor beside Yi Fan, his own perception, naturally, was very strong. Hua Li could see the situation in the private room clearly. Qi Jun had deliberately created a conflict and tampered with the drinks. Yi Fan must have known about it, but Yi Fan had easily diffused the crisis while playing dumb. Now that Yi Fan had agreed to follow him to another place, he must have his big brother's own arrangements. It'll be fine. Big brother definitely has something in mind. Guo Li was quick with his mouth and almost revealed himself. For safety's sake, I'd better transfer a batch of those dead soldiers from the Yi family over. As the words fell, Guo Li quickly gave orders to mobilize the blood guards left behind by Yi Fan's mother to follow the caravan. While Qi Jun's side acted, Jin Yang and Ling Yun, the elder of the compulsion sect, also started to act, driving a shortcut and speeding towards the cement factory side. Reporting to Jin Xiao, Sui Shui has arrived at the place. The brothers have already taken her down. Jin Yang received a report from his men. In addition, there is also an unexpected surprise. Xian Yu Fei, who had previously withdrawn from marriage with the Yi family, actually followed along. Originally, we didn't intend to arrest that stupid girl Xian Yu Fei, but that stupid girl actually asked us not to hurt Sui Shui and told us to rush at her. So we just went along with it. Princess Xian Yu is here too? Jin Yang's mouth twitched as he thought about that extremely beautiful woman. Xian Yufei and Yi Fan grew up as childhood sweethearts, and even though they retired from marriage, if Yi Fan was in a sober state, he definitely had feelings. Doesn't that give you more leverage? With Yi Fan's two women in hand, are you still worried about not being able to take Yi Fan? Very well. Order them to stay put. Don't mess around, and don't touch a single hair on their heads until I get there. Understand? I have a great use for them. Jin Yang's tone was grave. Xian Yufei and Sui Shui were just bargaining chips, and Jin Yang did not intend to harm them until the last resort. If Yi Fan and Yi Changfeng died, there would be no one in the Yi family to take revenge for them. But behind Sui Shui and Xian Yufei, there were still two big clans. So if they caused some unnecessary trouble, the ones who suffered behind would still be themselves. Yes, in the southern suburb of Yun Chang's special garden, Zhou Ming stared at the picture on the monitor, his heart still torn. Zhou Xiao. Just now Jin Xiao sent a message that they have taken control of both Sui Shui and Xian Yufei, and are now heading towards the cement factory. Should we follow along? 
Zhou Ming scrutinized the surveillance footage, replaying it almost frame by frame, but whether it was looking at Ji Fan drinking, or looking at Ji Fan knocking over the hot pot, any action, nothing could be seen, as if everything was really the behavior of a fool. But the final result oriented was that Yi Fan did not suffer any loss in the reunion event. It's not right. It's very wrong. This Yi Fan has a problem. Zhou Ming frowned and thought for a while before finally speaking. Go. We have to go. But just don't observe secretly from a kilometer away. Once something is wrong, retreat immediately. Also, that martial arts powerhouse from the east. You can get them ready for action. That easterning martial Zun powerhouse was originally arranged by the Shangjing Pavilion Elder, Tang Zhang for the operation, but Sundishing had now hung up and Zhou Ming had arrived in Cloud City, so that Marshal Zun expert was also assigned to Zhou Ming to direct the operation. Yes, the cement factory in the western suburb of Cloud City, originally in the deserted for many years, the building are collapsed stepped a lot, the square in front of them have been overgrown with weeds, but today, it's starting to come alive. When Jin Yang arrived with his men, Sui Shui and Sui Shui had already been tied up. Jin Yang, it's you, what do you want? When Sui Shui saw that it was Jin Yang who appeared, she was shocked and at the same time, her eyes were filled with annoyance. I didn't expect you to be so despicable. I didn't promise to be your girlfriend. You actually have such dirty tricks. Tell you what, I have a husband. Even if I die, I won't let you have your way. Sui Shui's chest trembled with anger. Although she was angry, she was still so beautiful. Next to her, Xian Yufei struggled violently. Bastard, don't you guys touch Sister Su. If you have anything come at me, if you guys dare to touch a hair on Sister Su's head, I'm not done with you, Miss Xian. You don't have to be like this. If they are coming for Yi Fan, it's only right that I die for Yi Fan. You've already withdrawn from the Yi family. There's no need to wade through such muddy waters. Sister Su, you mustn't say that. I'm already very regretful now. At that time withdrawing from the marriage wasn't my own intention. It was completely arranged by Uncle Tu secretly. At that time, I didn't know what was wrong. It was as if a ghost had possessed me. I was in a trance at that time. If I can save Sister Su today, I'll have an explanation for Yi Fan. Xian Yufei said with great affection. And after Su Yi Shui heard it, a flash of emotion could not help but flash through her eyes. LOL. If I had known, why would I have done it in the first place? Pop, pop, snap. Jin Yang clapped his palms closer and looked at the two with an evil face. What a sisterly love. Oh, it seems that this young man's charm is too strong. Are you also anxious to get into my bed? Don't worry. After resolving Yi Fan, this young man will definitely fulfill your wishes. Sui Shui, I really can't figure it out. What do you want? Is it not good to follow me? Have to marry a fool. Can he let you feel the joy of being a woman? Jin Yang actually wanted to touch Sui Shui, but his men reported that Chi Jun and the others were about to arrive. Jin Yang didn't dare to be careless. Quick, hang them all up. From the first floor to the fifth floor, almost 20 meters high. If they fall, they shouldn't survive. After watching Sui Shui and Xian Yufei being hoisted up on both sides of the building, Jin Yang finally breathed a sigh of relief. You too. When the time comes, let's see who Yi Fan will actually choose to live. Ha ha. Jin Yang not only wanted Yi Fan to die today, he also wanted to kill and kill. Zhou Ming saw Jin Yang's deployment through the surveillance on the way here, and a smile surfaced at the corner of his mouth. Humph, capturing Yi Fan's two women. The means is a bit despicable, but it's methodical. His own woman was kidnapped like this. How could Yi Fan not be indifferent if he was sober? Later on, let's get a little closer and observe from a distance of 500 meters. Yi Fan shouldn't be able to make much of a wave this time, right? The Holy Envoy organization had given a death order from above, making it imperative for Zhou Ming to take care of Yi Fan within a week. If the mission can be accomplished today, Zhou Ming is not considered to be under much pressure. Yi Fan and Ching Roland sat in Shi Jun and Wang Tao's car, and the vehicle kept whistling towards the front. The surroundings were getting more and more remote, and Cheng Roland was noticing something was wrong. Aren't we going to the second singing? Where are you guys taking us? Although Cheng Roland was not familiar with Yun City, she knew that the current situation should be that she was already out of the Yun City area. Miss Ching, don't be anxious, we'll be there soon. Chi Jun's speech was a little weak. Because of the poisonous parasites moving around in his body, Chi Jun felt that his internal organs had become a ball of glue. But for the sake of that position of power promised by Zhou Shao, he was still forcing himself to hold on. Little fan. The situation is not right ah. Where are they taking us? Ching Roland turned around and looked towards the back. Little fan. Wang Fu Gui and Lao Guo who were following behind are also gone. Stop the car. Stop the car. A touch of ominous feeling surfaced in Ching Roland's heart. Shi Jun and Wang Tao really didn't have any good intentions with their plan. Originally, with Wang Fu Gui and Guo Li, 
as well as the four great maids accompanying him at the back. Ching Rulin's heart was still a little more at ease, but now, Chi Jun and the others didn't know when they actually got rid of Guo Li and the others, and they accompanied Yi Fan by themselves, so if something happened, how could they possibly protect Yi Fan? Yi Fan sat next to him with a faint smile at the corner of his mouth. Behind Guo Li and Wang Fugue, they were halfway across the road, blocked by an overturned excavator, so they were separated from the vehicles in front of them. Things certainly couldn't be that coincidental. Everything was arranged by Qi Jun and Jin Yang and the others. Yi Fan was merely using the trick to make Guo Li and the four great maids delay and arrive later. If those few experts beside Yi Fan didn't separate apart, those people hiding behind Qi Jun would not dare to take action easily. I'm afraid, M.S. Cheng, don't be in a hurry. There's still a minute to go. As Qi Jun spoke, he sprayed some spray into the car, and a sense surfaced in the car. What are you doing? Cheng Rulin gave a wary chortle. But in the next moment, her eyes were in a daze, and her entire body directly slumped over towards the seat. Yi Fan frowned, a drug that makes people unconscious? H.M. This Qi Jun and Wang Tao, in order to achieve their goal, they really do everything. Ha, huh? why did Rulin's wife suddenly fall asleep? Yi Fan deliberately played dumb and inquired towards Qi Jun. When Qi Jun and Wang Tao saw the Qing Rulin finally shut up, they secretly took a long breath in their hearts. It's fine. Sister-in-law is probably just too tired. We'll be there soon ah. We'll definitely make you very happy and joyful today. Qi Jun and Wang Tao looked at each other. After using so many tactics today, I finally got rid of Guo Li. Wang Fugue and those four big maids from the Yi family in the back. And mesmerized Qing Rulin as well. In the end it's just this idiot. And it's much easier to deal with. If they weren't afraid of the martial Qi on Yi Fan's body, both Qi Jun and Wang Tao would have wanted to take matters into their own hands and directly finish off Yi Fan. The vehicle finally stopped outside the cement factory. Qi Jun and Wang Tao, with an evil face, said to Yi Fan, Yi Fan, you first don't come down in the car, let's make a game, okay? Yeah, yeah, I love making games. A touch of gloom flashed in Yi Fan's eyes, just now when he was approaching this place. Yi Fan's martial emperor level of perception was released and he had already perceived the situation here pretty much. It actually has the scent of Princess Xian Yu and Sui Shui, and Jin Yang, HM. Is Jin Yang behind the Qi army? Returning from the medical association, Jin Yang attacked and killed Yi Fan and was forced to pay out a billion dollars, and still hasn't grown a memory? Still want to make a move on himself, even have hit the attention to Sui Shui and Xian Yu Fei body, moving his own woman, that was Yi Fan's reverse scale, looking for death. However, when he detected Jin Yang's aura, Yi Fan actually detected another subtle aura fluctuation, 500 meters away from the scene. The aura fluctuating on that body was peculiar and it was a bit similar to the god and goddess fragment that Yi Fan had obtained. Yi Fan's head flew through his thoughts and he quickly understood the relationship. Jin Yang, as the youngest member of the Jin family in the provincial city, if it was just his own power, after being punished last time, he would definitely not dare to take action against himself easily again. Behind Shi Jun is Jin Yang, and behind Jin Yang there must be another big brother supporting him. Therefore, the real big man behind all the actions today should be that mysterious big man hiding in the shadows. Although Yi Fan didn't see Zhou Ming directly, Yi Fan's superb mind speculated and had already guessed the truth of the matter. When Yi Fan sensed Zhou Ming, Zhou Ming also detected a vague force of perception. Morano Kuan, did you feel a force of perception just now, prying for our location and power? Zhou Ming frowned and inquired towards the East Ing martial arts powerhouse beside him. There was a reason why Zhou Ming had chosen the distance to be 500 meters away. This was because according to experience at the martial level, 500 meters was the range that a strong martial emperor could perceive. Zhou Ming was cautious and worried that if Yi Fan's strength was at the martial emperor level, then he could escape himself. No ah, uh, Jun Shou, you're having an illusion, aren't you? Such a fool, I just sensed it. There are indeed some martial aura fluctuations on him, but at most, he is only at the sect master realm, so how could he possibly be able to perceive so far? Next to the Eastern Ing powerhouse, Murano Koji said with a confident expression, Wait. It's best if Jin Yang Sai can solve Yi Fan. If not, I'll step in and end the fight in three seconds at most. Zhou Ming didn't make a sound beside him. His brows furrowed. Things were too smooth today. Yi Fan had a wise master like Guo Li under his banner. And the four great maids, so easily isolated at the back? Just smoothly letting Yi Fan face Jin Yang's tactics alone? It's not normal to be smooth. On the square in front of the cement factory, after Qi Jun stopped the vehicle, he gave a wink to a few of his men who were approaching outside and a few of them immediately rushed up, grabbed Ching Rulin, and flew towards the outside to pull him away. Where are you taking Rulin's wife? Yi Fan spoke coldly. Just now, 
Yi Fan had already seen clearly that Jin Yang was on the third floor and had already hoisted Xian Yifei and Sui Shui to the height of the fifth floor. Now that Qing Rulin had been taken away, was this an attempt to threaten himself with three women? H.M. A murderous aura flashed across Yi Fan's body. Today, no one here, no one will leave here. Even if the three women were tied up at the height of the fifth floor at the same time, Yi Fan did not have the slightest scruple. Don't forget that Yi Fan had awakened an instantaneous movement characteristic when he absorbed the immortal bone. With such a small distance, Yi Fan could save all three girls in an instant. There was no chance of the other side making a move. However, before making a move to save the people, Yi Fan had another matter to settle. That is the big man hidden in the dark. Yi Fan cannot be exposed for the time being. Once you do it, then all the people who see the truth, all of them will have to die. Therefore, before Yi Fan made his move to save the three girls, he had to take care of that big brother first. At the same time, Yi Fan also wanted to see who was the one hiding behind the curtain. We're playing a game ah, I'll hide your wife first, then see if you can find it the fastest? Shi Jun looked at Yi Fan's demented appearance and finally felt a bit of satisfaction in his heart. HM, aren't you Yi Fan a bull, but you're just a fool after all. Treadmill, earlier, in the private room, he had caused himself to drink those poisonous parasites, and now he felt like he was going to die, but just to die, he had to pull Yi Fan on his back, oh, is that so, have you guys hidden it then, Yi Fan was ready to get down from the car, but was stopped by Chi Jun, but in fact, Yi Fan had already seen all the movements outside through the gap in the sunshade, those two henchmen of Chi Jun had already tied up Cheng Rolin and were likewise hanging from the fifth floor, it's ready right away. Shi Jun watched the action over there and saw Jin Yang gesture an OK sign above the third floor before he spoke with an evil look on his face. It's done. Yi Xiao, please get off. As he spoke, the two of them, Chi Jun and Wang Tao, quickly dodged a few steps to the side. Ha ha, I didn't expect it. Yi Fan, we meet again so soon. Yi Fan had just stepped out of the car when Jin Yang laughed maniacally from the third floor. Young Yi, how is it? Look at the gift I prepared for you. Do you still like it? At this time, Sui Shui and Xian Yufei, who were hanging at the height of the fifth floor, had already seen Yi Fan. Sui Shui's heart was greatly shocked, and she finally understood Jin Yang's thoughts. Jin Yang was not rushing towards Sui Shui at all, but towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan, run, quickly get out of here, don't care about us. Sui Shui frantically screamed towards Yi Fan, hurried back to find Grandpa, they'll take your life. Xian Yufei also spoke up from the side. Brother Fan, run, on the way here. I've already notified Master Tiger about the situation over here. So run. They'll be here to save you soon. Cheng Rulin, who had just been hoisted up, hadn't awakened for the time being because of the effects of the medicine. Watching three flowery girls hanging in the air. All this was the handiwork of Jin Yang and the big guy behind him? H.M. Yi Fan laughed coldly in his heart. Moving this young woman. Today all of you will perish here. Yi Fan, how dare you try taking a step. If you dare to take a step. I will immediately throw these three women from the fifth floor. Jin Yang sneered from the third floor and chided towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan cocked his head below and looked at the situation above. Are you? You guys making a game? Why did you tie my wife up so high? I'm not playing games with you guys. At this moment, Yi Fan had a demented look, completely dumbfounded. Jin Yang watched all for a while speechless. He kidnapped Yi Fan's three women, but Yi Fan is a fool. That guy should not just leave those three girls behind and run away by himself, right? If so, wouldn't all the plans he had arranged be invalidated? Right, this is making a game. This game can be fun, and there's a next step. As Jin Yang spoke, he winked at the henchman next to him. Bang bang. Jin Yang's men next to him immediately reacted and quickly smashed dozens of beer bottles in front of Yi Fan, and the glass dregs immediately shattered all over the place. See all that glass in front of you? Now crawl over from there on your knees, and I'll give you a chance to choose between three girls to put down. Jin Yang laughed out loud from above finally releasing his pent-up frustration from these days. Numb nuts, isn't the power behind Yi Fan very strong? HM, in the middle of nowhere, all of Yi Fan's rescue forces were isolated. So let's see who else can save this fool. Fan, don't kneel, you run. Sui Shui chided towards the bottom with a sobbing voice. And in her heart, she all regretted a million times. Had she known that when she couldn't get her phone out, she should have thought one step more and tried with another phone off. As a result, he ended up becoming a bargaining chip to coerce Yi Fan, leaving him in a dilemma. Brother Fan, it doesn't matter if we die or live. You must live well and avenge the Yi family. Avenge us. Run. Just like that time when we were chased by the bad guys. Keep running. Xian Yufei was beside her, recalling the past, and her tears couldn't help but fall. Are you and Yi Fan, after all, destined for each other? 
As Yi Fan listened to Xian Yufei's words, he also remembered those lives and deaths that he had experienced with Xian Yufei before. Only, Yi Fan was a bit curious. Sui Shui was captured. How come Xian Yufei was also captured? Didn't Princess Xian Yu announce that she and the Yi family had both retired? Neil, why Neil? That above that's so much glass. Kneeling down, the knee must flow a lot of blood. I am afraid of pain. Yi Fan looked at Jin Yang lightly, without the slightest hint of panic. The fifth floor is almost 20 meters high, which is high for the average person. But for Yi Fan, it was a very easy height. Even if Jin Yang put the three girls down at the same time, Yi Fan was sure that he could safely save them before they hit the ground. What are you afraid of? Only if you kneel will they have a chance to live. Understand? Humph. Yi Fan, don't pretend. Now you have to kneel even if you kneel. And you have to kneel even if you don't. Chi Jun finally couldn't help himself from the side. And while his mouth chided, a scowl surfaced on his face. Yi Fan faintly looked at Chi Jun. This Chi Jun really does not miss the friendship of classmates at all. In that case, let's give you a ride. Do I have to kneel? Then why don't you demonstrate for me first? We are the best classmates. Aren't we? As Yi Fan spoke, his ankle stomped on the ground. The Qi energy of the Zongshu realm stirred out, and he reached out and violently grabbed the wrists of Qi Jun and Wang Tao, and then threw them towards the pile of glass dregs like sandbags. Put, put. The moment the two men hit the ground, their chests, knees, and bellies were almost entirely pierced by those glass slivers. Ah, ah, ah. My chest. My crotch. The two of them, Qi Jun and Wang Tao, immediately cried out in pain and wailed loudly. They were about to die, and before they died, they had to suffer such torture. Yi Fan, are you crazy? The most depressed one was Wang Tao. He clearly didn't open his mouth just now. How come even he had to be thrown in with him? At this time, Qi Jun and Wang Tao, two people, lying on a pile of glass scum, even move do not rush to move. The blood on the body clattered and flowed, straight to the two people who were already weak. According to this speed, I am afraid that it will soon bleed clean and die. Jin Yang saw such a situation on the third floor and was furious. Yi Fan, don't you understand what I'm saying? I'm asking you to crawl over on your knees. It has to be you crawling over on your own knees, not someone else. I don't climb. I don't climb. Can't you see that they have only climbed so little and have shed so much blood? Hum. You think I'm stupid. Or you come to climb. Right. I come up and pull you to climb well. Looking at Yi Fan's burning gaze on himself, Jin Yang could not help but tremble. He had the illusion that Yi Fan seemed to have played everyone. Treadmill. Who's the fool? Anyway, it's horrible. So much blood. It's horrible. Oh, I'm going home to my grandpa. While Yi Fan screamed out of his mouth, he suddenly swung his wrist and his body ran rapidly towards the outside of the abandoned factory. The direction he ran in was exactly the direction where Murano Koji and Zhou Ming were. He's going to run? Quickly. Stop him. Jin Yang was all depressed and about to go crazy on the third floor. All the plans today were perfect. But Jin Yang had forgotten that Yi Fan was a fool. Thinking differently from normal people. Normal people. So their wives were captured. Definitely want to find a way to save their wives. But Yi Fan, this fool, saw so much blood and was directly scared away. Su Yi Shui and Xian Yu Fei, who were tied up on the fifth floor, saw that Yi Fan actually really didn't care about them and ran away. And a flash of disappointment surfaced in their eyes. LOL. Didn't Dr. Lei say that Yi Fan was about to awaken? And every day there would be an hour of awakening time. How come Yi Fan is like this now? At Jin Yang's order, from behind the abandoned building on the side, a large group of martial arts experts rushed out and then tried to stop Yi Fan. However, that group of martial arts experts were generally only at the martial control and harmonized power stages. What do you want? Let me tell you. If you block me, I will be very angry. Get out of the way right now. Yi Fan rebuked at the group of killers, and his entire silhouette was like a brute bull. Madly charging forward. Boom. Bang bang. Yi Fan's powerful chi exploded. Seemingly tearing the air apart. Those killers who wanted to block Yi Fan were all instantly smashed away. Falling hard to the ground without any movement. Yi Fan seemed to be panicked. The whole person seemed to roll up a wild dragon on the ground. And from those weeds, he continued to rush towards Zhou Ming and Murano Koji's side. Hoomph. Sure enough. A fool. His wife has been kidnapped and he's actually thinking of escaping on his own. Murano Koji looked at the direction Yi Fan was rushing over and sneered. Baka, just in time to come. Throw yourself into the net. When you come, this father will kill you with one move. However, Zhou Ming, who was standing beside Murano Koji, thought otherwise. The actions that Yi Fan displayed, although they did all seem, were indeed demented, but the final result oriented. No matter if it was dealing with Qi Jun and Wang Tao in the private room, or here in the abandoned factory building, 
Yi Fan directly chose to escape and leave. For Yi Fan, it was the most favorable. Moreover, when Jin Yang told Yi Fan to kneel down, Yi Fan himself didn't kneel down and made Qi Jun and Wang Tao suffer a defeat. This is so not normal. It was very likely that Yi Fan was playing dumb. Morano Kuan, do you need my help? Zhou Ming inquired politely towards Morano Koji, but inside, he actually wanted to retreat. His intuition told him that he was afraid that he would suffer if he continued to stay here today. No need, Morano Koji responded, and in the next moment, his mouth couldn't help but chortle out in surprise. Crap, so fast. The two of them, Morano and Zhou Ming, were only talking for an instant, but Yi Fan had actually dodged from 500 meters away to within 100 meters. No good. Zhou Ming's heart thumped. Yi Fan didn't even use 3 seconds even though he had just instantly moved such a long distance. This was definitely not the strength of the sovereign realm, or even the strength of the martial exalt realm. Yi Fan was afraid that he had already reached the martial emperor level of strength, and this fellow had been hiding his clumsiness. Moreover, Yi Fan might not be stupid at all, and everything was an act. Previously, when Xu Feng, the direct henchman of Northwest Cabinet Master Zhang, was taken out, it was probably Yi Xiao himself, not some wandering souls expert at all. Now that Yi Fan had been guided here so easily by Qi Jun and Jin Yang and the others, it wasn't that Qi Jun and Jin Yang were so tactful, but rather that Yi Fan had deliberately waited here. The purpose is to wait for yourself. Without any hesitation, Zhou Ming's body flashed rapidly and he intended to flee towards the distance. But at this moment, Yi Fan, with another instantaneous shift, had already arrived in front of Zhou Ming. What Yi Fan had just sensed in the car was Zhou Ming's aura. The aura that was very similar to the aura of the god and goddess remnants was the one that emanated from Zhou Ming. The object that Yi Fan was going to make a move to exterminate was Zhou Ming. As for Murano Koji, although he had also reached the martial Zun realm, Yi Fan had not yet looked at him. At the martial emperor level, with the movement of a finger, he was completely crushing the powerhouses of the martial Zun realm. Boom! Without any hesitation, Yi Fan struck out with a kill. Yama chop. A berserk breath frantically chopped over, sweeping across to cut Zhou Ming down. Quick! It's too fast. So fast that Zhou Ming had absolutely no chance to dodge. Although Zhou Ming had also reached the martial emperor level of strength with the special power, but obviously the strength was still a few points weaker than Yi Fan. With Yi Fan's crazy move, Zhou Ming was afraid that even if he received it, he would be seriously injured. At the critical moment, Zhou Ming grabbed Murano and blocked him horizontally while his body rolled towards the ground without any regard. Boom! With an earth-shattering roar, the powerful chi at the martial emperor level impacted Murano Koji's body, and although Murano Koji had martial chi to protect his body, the strength of the martial exalted realm, at the martial emperor level, was simply unbearable, and collapsed in an instant. Murano Koji's entire body exploded and Murano Koji didn't even let out a single scream as he directly went to the western sky, and taking advantage of the 0.1 second gap in space, Zhou Ming barely avoided Yi Fan's surefire move, only receiving the residual power impact, but not suffering any major injuries. With his clothes blown out and his hair upside down, he looked incomparably wretched. Murano Koji's body exploded, and the smell of blood filled the air. Zhou Ming had already stood up from the ground and stood opposite Yi Fan, staring at him with a wary face, what a young Yi, so you've been playing dumb the whole time. Yi Fan looked Zhou Ming up and down. You're that Zhou Xiao from Shangjing? Someone from the Holy Envoy organization? Zhou Ming's strength was barely at the martial emperor level. But there was a peculiar aura on Zhou Ming's body that was very similar to that in the god and goddess fragment. And Yi Fan was a little unsure if he would be able to kill him with a single strike. But since he was exposed in front of Zhou Ming today, Yi Fan had no intention of letting Zhou Ming leave alive. This was the first time that Yi Fan had met someone in the Holy Angels organization, and it was also a good opportunity to thoroughly understand the Holy Angels organization. It seems that Yi Xiao already knows quite a bit. Humph, if I had known this, five years ago, I shouldn't have been soft-hearted. I should have just sent you to the West as well. Zhou Ming was now very regretful that back then, thinking that Yi Fan had turned into a fool, he could rest easy. As a result, this fool has now become the Yi family's biggest problem. Humph, Yi Fan snorted coldly as his entire body exploded with qi energy, coldly chortling, today, let's start with you, and use your blood to sacrifice to the dead souls of my Yi family, suffer death, Yi Fan's entire body exploded with martial qi, and the air around him seemed to form a vortex, Zhou Ming, as a person from the Holy Envoy organization, although he did not directly fight just now, Yi Fan also sensed that this Zhou Ming, I'm afraid, was not easy to deal with, so Yi Fan's move was to go all out, on Zhou Ming's side, through the moment he used Murano to block Yi Fan just now, he also probed Yi Fan's strength clearly. He he, Yi Fan, 
Although you surprised me by having reached the martial emperor level of strength, but with this amount of strength, you want to kill me? Do you think it's enough? The Holy Envoy organization side had said that Zhou Ming's current strength, coupled with the undercard given to him by the Holy Envoy organization, in order to completely obliterate Zhou Ming, it would take at least a strong person at the martial saint level to be enough. Boom! Zhou Ming's entire body's martial emperor level qi also began to fluctuate, similarly forming an air vortex that violently tossed and turned. From a distance, it looked like two tornadoes were poised and ready to crash together. Yi Fan's face was a bit gloomy, without any unnecessary nonsense. The instantaneous movement characteristic was launched in an instant. His body appeared around Zhou Ming like a ghost. Yama Chop. In just an instant, Yi Fan's body moved quickly, forming attack formations in all eight directions around Zhou Ming. Moreover, the attacking warblade was not illusory, but a real attack. It was only because Yi Fan's speed was so fast that it didn't cause a time lag. And from Zhou Ming's point of view, it appeared as if Yi Fan had started to surround Zhou Ming from eight directions at the same time. Crap, how could you do that? Fighting for your life as soon as you come up? Zhou Ming was surrounded by eight of Yi Fan's phantoms, and as he felt the powerful martial qi oppression around him, Zhou Ming no longer had any relaxed look on his face. Strong. It's too strong. Yi Fan's Yama Chop. The power seemed to be infinitely stackable. Originally, Yi Fan's strength was only at the level of a martial emperor, but the Yan Luo Chop that was exerted seemed to have superimposed five or six levels in an instant, and had vaguely all but reached the combat power of the martial saint realm. And it wasn't just one person who did it at the same time, but eight Yi Fan did it at the same time. How could Yi Fan be that fast? Zhou Ming began to panic, instinctively trying to find a break to escape. But Yi Fan had long ago calculated all his thoughts. Heaven and Earth Cage. Yi Fan's mouth once again chortled, and a raging Qi force impacted out, forming a golden flowing light cage in the void, trapping Zhou Ming in the center. Powerful Qi fluctuations. That golden cage is about to materialize. Moreover, it was not just martial arts Qi but also contains spiritual power. Zhou Ming just tried to break the cage to escape, but only just touched the cage. The soul as if burned. Pain. He retracted back half a step. The golden flowing light cage itself was even more incomparably hard, and Zhou Ming's martial qi energy, in a short period of time, could not be broken. Escape. It's impossible to escape for the time being. Then there is only one battle. Zhou Ming's face smiled bitterly as he reached out and stuffed a handful of pills into his mouth. This was the blood chi pill bestowed upon Zhou Ming by the Holy Envoy Organization, which could forcibly stimulate the blood veins and elevate one's realm at critical times. HM. Don't think you're the only one with means. This young man's means are no worse. In an instant, Zhou Ming's own strength had exploded by several levels, and it seemed as if they were all about to break through from Yi Fan's eight silhouettes. Without any hesitation, Zhou Ming swung the battle sword in his hand and blasted towards Yi Fan in a vain attempt to break his killing formation. Boom. Rumble. The two monstrous martial arts chi forces collided together, emitting a shocking explosive sound, the air seemed to be torn, emitting a burst of wailing, the powerful chi force lifted the surrounding sand and stones, and the surroundings were even more heavenly and dark for a day, and the flying sand and stones were gone, this heaven and earth was eclipsed by the two great martial emperor level powerhouses making their move, Zhou Ming barely used all of his strength to block Yi Fan's Yan Luo Chop, but the clothes on Zhou Ming's body at this time were once again cut by the blade, they all shattered into pieces, and his body was left with several cuts, even the fight in his hand had been broken, and he was in a sorry state, and within Zhou Ming, he was even more violently shocked, his pupils dilating for a while, this Yan Luo chop that Yi Fan utilized, in the end, what kind of extreme technique was it, without utilizing any life draining techniques, it was actually possible to exert such a powerful battle blade power, you've been moving and knocking out so many drugs yourself, you can barely resist, Humph, thought how powerful you are, now it seems to be nothing more than that, although his heart was shocked, Zhou Ming's mouth was not at all convinced, don't worry, I will soon send you to reunite with those brothers of yours, crap, still coming, before Zhou Ming could finish the sentence in his mouth, he only saw Yi Fan gathering several super huge qi bubbles in his hands once again and smashing them towards him, boom, those qi bubbles, from the outside, looked very beautiful, but the moment they touched Zhou Ming, they directly exploded, with the same destructive power of a peak martial emperor, Boom, rumble, Yi Fan is just like endless, non-stop spitting bubbles, just less than 10 seconds, will be Zhou Ming fried deflated, one broken arm, skinned back, one eye lost, at this moment, Zhou Ming had already lost his fighting strength and was trapped in the heaven and earth cage, panting heavily, horse, you want to go crazy ah, not just kill a person, how do you feel like you want to destroy the world, Zhou Ming's heart originally existed a trace of fluke, thinking that Yi Fan stopped there, if it was just that, 
With the special kung fu means taught over at the Holy Envoy organization, Zhou Ming would still be able to escape, but Yi Fan's next wave of attacks came again. This time, what Yi Fan utilized was the salary fire deep in his dantian. The vaguely emerging fire danced on Yi Fan's palm, and in the next moment it directly swung towards Zhou Ming, wrapping him in a cage and directly burning. Yi Fan had verified before that the mysterious salary fire deep in his dantian could also cauterize everything, even the soul. Snicker. In just a moment, the salary flame broke all of Zhou Ming's protective astral aura and set Zhou Ming's body on fire. Put, put. In just an instant, Zhou Ming's body turned into a piece of powder that dissipated with the wind, and Zhou Ming's vitality power instantly dissipated as well. However, Yi Fan noticed that the moment Yi Fan's body was burned and crushed, a white color flashed by and instantly disappeared. Yi Fan frowned and released his own perception to probe, and he didn't detect any of Zhou Ming's aura within a 500 meter radius. This is dead? It's too unbeatable isn't it? Yi Fan muttered with his mouth as he inspected the large pit hole that was dozens of feet in circumference and determined that Zhou Ming was completely dead, and at this moment, a kilometer away, a white silhouette leaned against the wall, vaguely resembling none other than Zhou Ming. Hearing Yi Fan's words, Zhou Ming almost spewed out a mouthful of blood. Motherfucker, don't you know you're a martial emperor expert? Frying and burning again, who can carry it? I've been fucked to death by my old man's stoned ass. Zhou Ming's current state was amazing and it could be said that he was a human being because he still had the appearance of a human being, but not like a human being, because his body was somewhat illusory and in an unstable state. This was precisely the bizarre secret technique from the Holy Envoy organization side that allowed Zhou Ming to exist in such a state even after he had been blasted to pieces. Shit, Yi Fan is so strong. No, I must immediately report Yi Fan's intelligence sharing. Zhou Ming muttered in his mouth, panicked and found his cell phone, just ready to make a call. The whole person instantly bang ported. Ha, huh, what am I doing with my cell phone? I seem to be to do a very important thing. But in the end is to do what? How did the old man give forget? Zhou Ming's entire person was directly blinded. Wait, I came from Shangjing to Cloud City to deal with Yi Fan. But my men failed. Then I came to Cloud City. And then, Laozi became like this? What exactly happened in the middle? Zhou Ming was very annoyed and spun around in place thinking for half a day. But nothing came to mind. It seems to be like having Parkinson's syndrome and not remembering anything. After arriving at Cloud City in the middle, until the end of the battle just now, it seemed that all the memories of this period of time had been erased? Forget it, my old man's body is in an unstable state right now. I have to get my body's problems sorted out first. Zhou Ming muttered a couple sentences to himself, then dialed an encrypted number. Lord Holy Envoy, something has gone terribly wrong on my side. I can't remember exactly what happened, but my body has been destroyed. I'm asking for your help. On this side of the abandoned cement factory, Jin Yang and a group of his men had planned such a meticulous operation today with the purpose of taking Yi Fan down. As a result, when Yi Fan saw that pile of glass dregs, he was actually scared away directly. So many people stopped Yi Fan and couldn't even stop him. Immediately afterward, Jin Yang and his men saw two major tornadoes dueling not far away. But in just a few moments, peace was restored there. Shit, what the hell? Was it an easterning powerhouse that made a move just now? Was Yi Fan not already taken down? Jin Yang didn't realize that Zhou Ming had actually arrived at the scene as well. Jin Yang tried to contact Zhou Ming several times, but Zhou Ming's phone connected but never spoke. What's going on here? Right now, on Jin Yang's side, the strongest experts were only Elder Ling Yun of the Compulsion Sect, as well as a few of Pavilion Elder Zhang's patriarchal henchmen who were lurking in Cloud City. If all those reinforcements from Yi Fan arrived, could they deal with Yi Fan? Today this action, if it fails, then the Yi family side of the force retaliation up. Jin Yang is bound to bear the brunt ah. Jin Yang looked at the three girls dangling above, which was Jin Yang's biggest bargaining chip. Numb nuts. I hope Yi Fan had better be in a sober state how good is that? At least when Yi Fan is sober, he won't care about his wife's death or life. Ishu a wife. I'm back. While Jin Yang's head was thinking about what to do next, Yi Fan's voice suddenly sounded outside the factory building, and with a flash of his body. Yi Fan quickly appeared outside the factory building. Sui Shui, who was hung up, originally had some loss in her heart. But seeing Yi Fan suddenly reappear, that feeling of being lost and found made Sui Shui so excited that she was on the verge of tears. Hubby, although shy, it was the first time Sui Shui called out in front of so many people. You fool, what are you doing back again? Xian Yufei was beside her, and when she saw Yi Fan's eyes looking towards her, her heart couldn't help but tremble. This Yi Fan, does he still have me in his heart? On the other side, Cheng Rulin also woke up, and seeing the situation here, with a face of self-blame and anxiety, she said, Sister Yi Shue, I'm sorry, it's me who didn't take care of Yi Fan, 
I shouldn't have promised them to come here. No, Ruolin's wife, there's nothing to be sorry for. If they don't kill me today, they'll think of other ways to kill me tomorrow as well. Since I'm here today, let's settle this together by the way. Once and for all, a touch of gloom surfaced in Yi Fan's eyes. Today, everyone present must die. Aha! Yi Fan's words and attitude caused Su Shui and Xian Yufei, Qing Ruolin to be stunned. Yi Fan is already awake? According to what Lei Qian Jia had said, Yi Fan had an hour or so of awakening time every day. Could it be that Yi Fan had awakened at this critical time? Jin Yang also discovered the change in Yi Fan's state and smiled evilly at the corner of his mouth. Yi Fan, it seems that you are now in an awake state. Ha ha, the game can finally start exactly. Now give you a chance. Three women. You choose one to live. Children only make choices. Adults, naturally all of them. Yi Fan smiled faintly, looking at the three women above him with tenderness in his eyes. Yi Fan's words made Xian Yufei's heart follow with a thump. Adults all? What does Yi Fan mean? Either himself? Has he? Finally admitted to himself again? Yi Fan paused in his words and continued towards Jin Yang. Jin Yang, now I'm also giving you a chance. Immediately put the three of them down and obediently kneel down and beg for forgiveness. I can promise to spare your family as long as you live. Ha ha ha, Jin Yang burst out laughing. Yi Fan, do you have the qualifications to negotiate with me now? Don't forget. All three of your women are in my hands. Moreover, by now all your reinforcements are nowhere to be seen. Just by yourself. Do you still want to leave from here? The brothers in charge of the alert outside reported that by now Guoli and Wang Fugui and the others were still a few kilometers away, and had been blocked from arriving over here. There was only one Yi Fan on the scene, even if Yi Fan's strength was that of a Zongshir, or even a martial Zun realm. So what? Jin Yang had so many experts arranged by Zhang Golao in his hands, and three women in his hands as hostages. Could he not take Yi Fan? Crossbowman. All lock on. With a wave of Jin Yang's hand. From the third floor, and the balconies on the fourth floor. Dozens of reinforced steel crossbows all locked onto Yi Fan. These modified steel crossbows are more powerful than sniper bullets. Martial powerhouses below the level of Sovereign could be killed in seconds. And even powerhouses in the Martial Zun realm were very afraid. I'll give you 10 seconds to kneel on the glass crumbs and choose. Otherwise, all three women will be buried with you. What a pity, Jin Yang shouted from above while turning towards Ling Yun at his side. Elder Ling Yun, don't forget, if you take down Yi Fan today and get the 10,000 compulsive cauldron, you must pull the Jin family behind you. Ling Yun stroked his beard and smiled faintly. Don't worry, Jin Xiao, I, Ling Mao, am a person who will repay any favor. I will definitely not let Jin Xiao's help today go. At this time in front of the cement factory, next to the pile of glass dregs, although Qi Jun and Wang Tao were rescued but their vitality and strength has been dissipated almost, lying on the ground, like a dead dog. However, they still had their eyes open, holding on to their last breath, wanting to see Yi Fan being taken down. Yi Fan smiled faintly, walked to Qi Jun and Wang Tao, squatted down and said, at least you guys are classmates. You guys really don't remember the love of classmates at all. That's right. Let me tell you, before in the private room, I was faking everything. I gave you guys a chance, but you guys keep trying to get me killed. So I'll have to let you guys drink those poisonous compote drinks on my behalf. Everyone who makes a move against my Yi family must die. A flash of sternness flashed in Yi Fan's eyes, and that sharp look made the souls of both Qi Jun and Wang Tao tremble. Pust. In the shocked, unwilling eyes, Qi Jun and Wang Tao two pupils a burst of dilation. Mouth wildly sprayed a few mouths of blood. Head a crooked, on the spot death. Yi Fan stood up and looked toward Jin Yang on the third floor. It was his turn next. Did Yi Fan talk Qi Jun and Wang Tao to death? Jin Yang was probably aware of Qi Jun and Wang Tao's situation. They had been poisoned by the poisonous parasites into their bodies, although their bodies were already very weak. Elder Ling Yun had also said that there was still a period of time before they died, but Yi Fan obviously didn't do anything, just squatted like that and said a few words to them, and those two trashy losers died? What kind of magic is this? The three girls hanging on the roof of the building saw Yi Fan standing up. Sui Shui first opened her mouth. Xiao Fan, you choose Yu Fei. Today, Yu Fei would not have been caught. She was caught by Jin Yang and the others in order to save me. You are former lovers. She still can't forget you. Aha! Uh -huh. Xian Yu Fei wasn't captured by Jin Yang and the others, but rushed up on her own for Sui Shui. This made Yi Fan a little surprised. This Xian Yu Fei, has she finally reacted now? But at that time, at the funeral, why did you withdraw from the Yi family in front of so many people as if you were possessed? The first thing that came to Yi Fan's head was that mysterious soul regeneration evil art. Could it be that at that time, Fei Xian Yu was really controlled by soul regeneration? Was it not her intention to withdraw from the marriage? Brother Fan, 
You should choose Sister Ishui. Sister Ishui has been with you for such a long time. She might even have your flesh and blood. Xian Yufei also hurriedly opened her mouth to remind Yifan from the side. Right, husband little fan. Hurry up and save Sister Ishui. We must continue the bloodline for the Yi family. Cheng Rulin added from the side while expressing her approval of Fei Xian Yu's decision. Husband little fan. Don't worry. None of us will blame you. In our next life, if there is fate, we will still marry you as a wife. A touch of regret flashed in Cheng Rulin's eyes. Originally, after getting along with Yi Fan for so many days, Cheng Rulin had already developed feelings for Yi Fan, and was planning to give herself to Yi Fan. As a result, this happened today. Listening to the words of the three women, Yi Fan was speechless for a while. What's going on? Are you all so eager to die? Being my woman, how can I let you die? Jin Yang on the third floor was made to have his head in big by Ching Rolin and Sui Shui and the rest of the people who said one thing to the left and one thing to the right. Shut up, all shut up. Beep again. This young man will throw all of you down. Yi Fan, there are still three seconds left. Do you choose or not? If you don't choose I'll make my move. 3. Jin Yang is a little impatient up there ready to start the countdown. But the three in his mouth had only just been shouted out when Yi Fan's body on the first floor below suddenly turned into a phantom and disappeared from the spot. Yi Fan disappeared? A touch of ominous feeling had surfaced in Jin Yang's heart. Quick, protect me. Jin Yang chirped at the bodyguards around him, causing all the surrounding bodyguards to form a circle, protecting Jin Yang in the center. Yi Fan's strength was at least above the sovereign realm. Jin Yang was aware of that, and his own strength in the control realm was not Yi Fan's opponent at all. While chortling with his mouth, Jin Yang kept retreating towards the back. Shoo shoo shoo. There was an ear splitting cracking sound outside the empty factory building the air being torn apart by the fast-moving object. Sui Shui's hands were tied in the air. Her arms were a little numb, but suddenly she felt her waist being wrapped around her. And then in a blink of an eye, the whole person had already appeared in the third-floor factory building. Those who felt the same way were Ching Rulin, Xian Yufei, before a few people could react to what was going on. They had already been rescued from high in the air by Yifan and safely appeared on the third floor of the plant, feeling the solid floor under her feet. Sui Shui was astonished and couldn't believe that the situation in front of her was real. Hubby, this, Van's husband? Ching Rolin and Sui Shui both stepped on the floor with their feet to confirm that this was true before they opened their mouths towards Yi Fan with shocked faces. Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached out to slap Chang Rolin and Sui Shui on their asses. What? Doubt your husband's ability? I said, I'm very strong. Yi Shui wife, aren't you clear? Yi Fan's sentence caused Sui Shui's face to blush. This deadbeat. HM. Brother Fan. Thank you. Xian Yufei stood silently at the side, somewhat at a loss for words. Before, he was Yi Fan's closest lover, and it should have been her who flirted with Yi Fan. And now, because she had withdrawn from the marriage once and completely hurt Yi Fan, now although Xian Yufei felt that her relationship with Yi Fan was slowly improving, there was always a gap in it. I yet, Jin Yang and his men, who were on the opposite side, had retreated to the corner, and couldn't believe their eyes when they saw that Yi Fan had actually instantly saved all three women so easily. Jin Yang Du rubbed his eyes together and looked at them carefully again before confirming that Yi Fan had indeed saved all three women. A bunch of rice buckets. Do they all grow up eating Xiang? Jin Yang was very angry and scolded those crossbowmen outside. Weren't they aiming at Yi Fan at all times? How come they hadn't made a move after Yi Fan had saved all the people? But Jin Yang also knew after scolding them that it was useless to scold them. After all, even Elder Ling Yun, who was beside Jin Yang, as well as a few other sect master powerhouses had not realized how Yi Fan was moving. Those crossbowmen, how could they possibly keep up with Yi Fan's speed? Elder Ling, everything depends on you. You, get on. Jin Yang's voice trembled. Sui Shui and Chang Rulin, Xian Yufei three people were saved by Yi Fan. Jin Yang lost the most important bargaining chip. Yi Fan's next action is bound to be unscrupulous ah. Zhou Xiao, where did that Easterning expert go? Hurry up and get him over here to help ah. Jin Yang was frantically dialing Zhou Ming's phone while chiding towards Ling Yun. But what makes Jin Yang depressed is that just now it is clear that the signal is very good here in the plant, and now all the phones cannot be dialed out. It seems that this place has been isolated from the world. Of course, what Jin Yang knew even less was that the previous Easterning powerhouse, Murano Koji, an expert of the Martial Zun realm, didn't even have a chance to make a move before he was directly crushed and pulverized. After Yi Fan greeted Sui Shui and Ching Rulin, he turned his head to look at Ling Yun at the front, as well as a few other sect master powerhouses and said, you guys go together, there's no need to waste time. All of you must die today anyway. The last word, death, contained an infinite coldness that impacted out, causing Ling Yun and several other sect master powerhouses to tremble. Obviously, Yi Fan's strength was far above theirs, 
at least all of them were at the martial zoon realm. Numb nuts. Intelligence completely mislead, said what Yi Fan at most only the peak of Zongshur. Lao Zi X his ancestors. Ghost of the peak of Zongshur. Yi Fan now showed the strength. At least are in the peak of the Wu Zun. Yi Fan, don't you dare. I am the third elder of the compassion sect. When I have all the compassions out, it will be your time to die. Be a good boy and kneel down to beg for mercy. Ling Yin hardened his head and released all his poisonous parasites from his arm, including his own poisonous parasites, intending to fight with Yi Fan. It was just that what Ling Yin didn't know was that his strongest battle power couldn't even reach Yi Fan's lower limit. What he thought was the ceiling was actually not even as good as Yi Fan's floor. The compulsion religion violates the ban and leaves the 100. 000 mountains of Niaojian without authorization. Everyone will be executed. You are afraid that you have forgotten it, right? Yi Fan opened his mouth indifferently, and with a flip of his wrist, a small black tripod surfaced in Yi Fan's palm. As Yi Fan urged the password, a golden beetle crawled out of the small black tripod. 10,000 Compulsion Tripod. The Compassion Emperor is really the 10,000 Compassion Tripod. The 10,000 Compassion Tripod is actually in the hands of you fool. Seeing the thing in Yi Fan's hand, Ling Yun couldn't even speak well in his excitement. The wonderful thing about the 10,000 Compulsion Tripod, not simply just control those poisonous parasites and parasites in the Miaojiang so simple. There are other more behind the wonderful. Just a lot of people do not know just. The 10,000 Compulsory Tripod could be considered a treasure that all martial arts powerhouses in Great Xia wanted to obtain. Ling Yun's eyes were glowing when he looked at the 10,000 Compulsions Tripod in Yi Fan's hand. That's right, it's the 10,000 Compulsive Tripod. But if you have the life to see it, can you have the life to take it? I'll give it to you. Can you take it? Yi Fan coldly smiled, and the mouth command was once again urged. In the palm of his hand, the Compass Emperor flapped his wings and a snorting sound came from his mouth. In the next moment, those poisonous parasites that had already poured out of Ling Yun's arm just now seemed to have received some sort of order and began to frantically drill towards Ling Yun's body. It began to devour Ling Yun's skin and internal organs like mad. Ah, what are you doing? What's going on here? Have they all gone mad? Ling Yun panicked and urged his mouth to stop the poisonous parasites from attacking him, but suddenly realized that all the poisonous parasites were no longer under his control. Even the intrinsic poisonous compass, which had gone completely insane, drilled into Ling Yun's heart, tearing it apart in the blink of an eye. The compassionate emperor could control all the poisonous parasites in the world, and the suppression and majesty of that bloodline was not something to be blown off. Woo! Soon, Ling Yun's body fell down towards the ground uncontrollably. Blood began to flow out of his mouth eyes, and nose, and his body convulsed violently. From the skin of his body, there were still parasites drilling out from it, waving their wings towards the compulsion emperor on Yi Fan's side, as if they were pleasing and inviting for credit. The parasites that you raise yourself end up killing the host. Ling Yun did not rest in peace until he died. Compulsion had always been Ling Yun's proudest card and means, but as a result, before he could even make a move, he was easily crushed by Yi Fan and died under his poisonous compulsion. By Ling Yun's side, there were also the four great patriarchal powerhouses that Zhang Golao had arranged for, originally intending to act together with compassionate Ling Yun, but now Ling Yun had hung up before he could do anything about it. They, the four great patriarchs, were all a bit scared out of their wits, and they all turned their gazes towards Jin Yang. After all, Jin Yang was the chief commander of this operation. Tada, tada. Jin Yang was surrounded by several bodyguards, and his crotch was already a wet mess. In such a situation, Jin Yang was directly scared to death. Yi Fan easily saved the three women. Jin Yang was still harboring a fluke, thinking that Ling Yun and a few sect masters, with their compulsion, were able to intercept Yi Fan, and that if that martial Zun expert from the east came over again, he would have a better chance of winning. However, until now, the strong easterning people over there did not have the slightest intention of making a move, and then associated with the two tornadoes seen earlier, Jin Yang seemed to understand something. This Yi Fan, I'm afraid that he only took the lead and had already killed that martial Zun powerhouse? Even the strongest martial arts honors were not Yi Fan's opponents. These minions of his own were naturally even less of a match for Yi Fan Ah. Poof. Thinking of this, Jin Yang did not have any hesitation. Directly kneeling down to Yi Fan. Yi Xiao. Spare my life Ah. I'm wrong. I was obsessed and kidnapped Sui Shui. I won't dare to do it again in the future. I beg Yi Xiao to spare my life. In the future I will definitely be an ox as a horse to repay Yi Xiao's favor. Jin Yang's movements were extremely exaggerated, and while kneeling on the ground, he kept kowtowing to Yi Fan. Those few other patriarchal powerhouses of Zhang Galao instantly reacted when they saw Jin Yang's actions. Poof, poof, in the blink of an eye, the entire third floor, Jin Yang and the killer bodyguards he brought with him, all knelt down towards Yi Fan, 
Please spare Yi Xiao's life. The crowd pleaded and pleaded almost in unison. A picture that was quite a bit more imposing. Yi Fan smiled coldly. Jean Xiao, if you had known this, why did you bother? You were already warned when we were competing for the quota. Afterward, you arranged for an assassination, and I ignored you. You actually still don't know how to repent, and you still want to continue to make a move? Yi Fan took a step forward and looked at Jin Yang condescendingly. If someone is intent on killing you, would you let him go? Since Yi Fan had decided to expose himself in front of these people, he had no intention of leaving a single survivor. These people had long been dead in front of Yi Fan. Yi Fan, turns out that you have already awakened a long time ago, and you have been lying to us and fooling all of us? Jin Yang looked at Yi Fan with a horrified face. If that was the case, then Yi Fan's heart and means were too terrifying ah. Uh, that's right, I just fooled all of you. Now let's see, who's the fool now? Yi Fan stared scorchingly at Jin Yang with that harmonic look, causing Jin Yang to instantly suffer a 10. 0, 0, 0 point blitz. Pust. Jin Yang felt like his heart had been viciously stabbed, and he was on the verge of vomiting blood. At this moment, Jin Yang somewhat understand why Wang Tao and Shi Jun was Yi Fan said dead. This Yi Fan, simply too angry ah. He had worked so hard to set up such a killing game, but it turned out that everything was in Yi Fan's calculations. Even, in the end, the killing game became Jin Yang's own grave. Wanting Yi Fan to spare his life was obviously impossible, because in Jin Yang's place, if Yi Fan wanted to kill himself like that, then there was no way he would let Yi Fan go. In that case, Yi Fan, don't be too happy too soon, since I have to die. I'll have to drag you along with me in my death. So let's die together. Ha ha, Jin Yang burst into a wild laugh. A flash of despair surfaced in his eyes. Then he reached out and ripped his clothes apart with one hand. Inside Jin Yang's clothes, there was actually a large ring of explosives tied up. The fuse had been pulled and was smoldering as if it was about to explode at any moment. While Jin Yang laughed maniacally, he wanted to go forward and hold Yi Fan in a deadly embrace. But Yi Fan just smiled coldly. Die together? You're overthinking it. To die you die by yourself. In the next moment, Yi Fan reached out and wrapped Sui Shui, Cheng Rulin, and Xian Yu Fei's arms around the three of them. And with an instantaneous movement, several people instantly arrived at the square on the first floor a few dozen meters away. Boom! Rumble! The explosives exploded instantly, and the huge factory building was instantly blown away. While there were also the miserable screams of those bodyguard killers inside. Jin Yang, I ex your mother. I don't want to die yet. Jin Yang, I won't let you go even if I become a ghost. As the smoke cleared, the entire abandoned cement factory was a dusty ruin. Yi Fan's powerful perception was unleashed. And after the ruins, the few sect master powerhouses, as well as the other killers, had all been devoid of any living breath, and had either been blown to pieces, or had perished instantly. As for those killers lurking around the plant, Big brother, big brother are you alright? It's all Gui Xiaotsai's fault. He had to ask for compensation from those people. He pissed me off. This side had only just calmed down, when Wang Fugue and Guo Li and the others, flew towards this side. On the way here, a few killers who were in the way instinctively tried to swing the combat knives in their hands to block the way, only to be directly sent to the west by Wang Fugue's two slaps. Those killers on the periphery had long since been cleaned up by those men Guo Li brought with him. Not a single survivor was left at the scene. What can I do? There was a big explosion there just now. Bang. All gone. Yi Fan opened his mouth with a naive face and responded to Wang Fugue. At the same time, he reached out his hand and directly felt around Ching Rulin's body. Rulin's wife. Are you alright? Is there any place that was injured by the explosion? Yi Fan's big hand Ching Rulin's small waist. Buttocks non-stop groping. As if there is magic. So Cheng Rulin's face hot. Uncomfortable. No. I'm fine. Although Cheng Rulin had now fully accepted that Yi Fan could examine his body. It was not here ah. There are so many more people here now. Xian Yu Fei and Sui Shui watched from the side as Yi Fan instantly turned into this state. A touch of sadness couldn't help but appear in their eyes. With Yi Fan in such a state, it was obvious that he had reverted back to being demented. LOL. Fortunately, just now Yi Fan was in an awake state ah. Otherwise, Sui Shui and Xian Yu Fei, Qing Rulin and the others were controlled by Jin Yang. And if Yi Fan was killed by them, those three would really regret it for the rest of their lives. He had clearly promised Elder Yi that he would shelter the only bloodline of the Yi family and start a family for the Yi family. Su Ishue looked at Yi Fan and then at her stomach. She and Yi Fan had been together for a while, and her stomach hadn't moved at all. Is it that your body is too weak? It seems that it is necessary to seize the time, so that Yi Fan can speed up the plowing off, or else a month's time will come, and Yi Fan will have to go to the provincial city side. With seven sisters, you can't afford to be left behind yourself. Humph, Guo Xiao Kai. Fortunately Big Brother is fine. 
If Big Brother loses a hair of sweat, I'll fight you to the death. Wang Fugue confirmed that Ji Fan was fine, and only then did his face look better towards Guo Li. Guo Li was depressed for a while beside him. Wang Fugue this mallet, this is all arranged in advance by Big Brother Ah. Is Big Brother intentionally let us all not appear here? Big Brother's strength and situation can't be fully exposed right now. If there are too many people on the scene, how will Big Brother strike? Can't you see that those who saw Big Brother's strike are now all dead? Zhou Ming, the ultimate assault plan planned by Jin Yang, ended up with Jin Yang and the people of the compulsion cult all wiped out. That easterning powerhouse by Zhou Ming's side perished, and Zhou Ming himself was beaten out of his soul, left in a bit of a ghostly, inhuman state, and had almost forgotten who he was. Yi Fan glanced at the huge ruins, a sigh of relief in his heart. Those rivals of the Yi family should have all been cleared of the last lurking forces in Cloud City, right? Cloud City was safe for the time being, and it was already difficult for the opponents to block Su's group again. The next step was to go to the provincial city, on the one hand, to assist the Qing family to fight with those nemeses, and to completely clean up those nemeses minions in the Tiananmen province. On the other hand, to go to the Xuanwu war zone, to look for the tattered map on the body of the second elder brother, and on the third hand, naturally to go deeper into the vengeance, and to find those core enemies who dealt with the Yi family, and to settle all of them one by one and to pay the debt of blood in blood. Yi Fan turned his head and suddenly frowned when he looked towards Sui Shui. There's something wrong with Sui Shui. Around Sui Shui's head, several black baleful auras actually appeared. When Yi Fan and Sui Shui made out last night, there was nothing on Sui Shui. But today there was on Sui Shui? A Feng Shui expert is secretly making a move on Sui Shui? There are still people in Cloud City who are not happy? A touch of gloom flashed in Yi Fan's eyes as he walked over to Sui Shui and said, Yi Shui's wife, where did you go in the morning? I want to be with you in the afternoon. Su Ishua looked at Yi Fan. Her gaze was full of tenderness. In the morning, I went to the new plant to check it out. In the afternoon, I'll stay with you properly, okay? After experiencing such a life and death, Su Ishua had also figured out many things in her heart. Good. I'll go to the new factory building as well. I want to see what the new factory building is really like. Yi Fan had already determined in his heart that the problem was definitely in the new factory building. Old Gua. Will you accompany me? Yi Fan still needed to act like a fool in front of outsiders. And if he found a problem, he still needed someone to handle the execution. Right now, the only people who knew Yi Fan's identity were Xia Hao, Guo Li and the others. A life and death killing game, a clear calm. It seems like nothing happened, but in reality, there are far more waves behind the scenes. Right after Yi Fan and Wang Fugue, Guo Li and the others left, a van approached the side of the cement factory at speed. A few youths came down from the van and looked at the situation in front of them. Their faces were grave. Then they dialed a few phones. Northwest. Somewhere in the compound. Cabinet Master Zhang was playing chess with an old man when his men suddenly came in with a tablet and reported. Although Pavilion Master Zhang was extremely well cultivated. When he heard the news reported by his men, he was still shocked and stood up directly from his seat. What? Everyone from the Golden Sun and the Compulsion Sect was wiped out? That third elder of the Compulsion Sect, Ling Yun is also dead? Is this, Yi Fan not even afraid of the compulsion sex methods? The flat-headed henchman next to him shook his head and said, the pavilion elder, the specific situation we are not clear at all. All the people who were at the scene at that time, there was not a single survivor. Our distant brothers only saw the explosion. Jin Yang and the people of the compulsion sect didn't pass on any useful information. Jin Yang they were blown up in the end, or whether they had undergone other changes, we don't know at all. In addition, Zhou Xiao sighed. And what happened to young Zhou? Didn't he also go to Cloud City? He should have participated in this action plan as well. Ah, uh, when Pavilion Master Zhang heard the words of his men, his heart couldn't help but thump. Zhou Xiao is the spokesman of the Holy Envoy organization. Under the gift of the Holy Envoy, Zhou Xiao has a lot of heavenly skills, and even has the strange ability of immortal body. In terms of comprehensive combat power, Zhou Ming had even reached the Martial Emperor level. Could it be that Zhou Ming was also defeated in Cloud City? Word has come from the Shangjing side that Zhou Xiao is dead. Ha, huh? dead? Are you kidding? The chess pieces in Pavilion Master Zhang's hand fell to the ground. Zhou Ming, who was at the level of Martial Emperor, died in Cloud City. So who in the world was secretly making a move? Even if the swimming soul had meddled in the Yi family's affairs, if they wanted to behead a strong person at the level of a Martial Emperor, it would have to be the swimming soul's few old men who did it, right? But according to the intelligence, those old things of the wandering souls didn't leave the headquarters base at all. The Shangjing side said that Zhou Xiao was considered dead, and not completely dead, because of the Saint Envoy side of the bizarre secret technique. Zhou Ming manless, ghostless escaped, but just the specific battle at that time, 
but forget all about it. This coincidence? Zhou Ming died, coincidentally forgetting all about the battle at the time? You don't even know who you fought with? Just got the news in the morning. Tang Zhang's side of the arrangement of Sundishing failed. Even the general of Burma and Yi Fan have friendship. This Yi Fan, in the end, how many more cards? Zhang Galao rubbed his head with some headache. Now he very much doubted that Yi Fan had awakened. Pavilion Master Zhang had joined forces with Pavilion Master Tang Zhang and gathered so much power to seal off the Yi family and suppress the Su clan and the Qing family, all of which ended up being invisibly dissolved. There must be someone high up behind the Yi family, but Yi Chanfeng is dying of old age. Can he do it? Pavilion Elder, should we inform the young master? The young master has already returned from the four holy lands over the nine Sephiroths to complete his studies, and it is said that they have all become the nine Sephiroth sacred lords shut in disciples, and their strengths have all broken through the martial zone. When the time comes, let the young master personally make a trip to the Tiananmen province to find out what Ji Fan's situation is? The secretary beside cabinet master Zhang inquired tentatively, making a move on Yi Fan's other top 10 core disciples went smoothly, but the only thing that took so much effort to deal with was that old thing and fool from the Yi family at the end, and the most crucial thing was that there was no first-hand information about Ji Fan's real situation, those who had contact with Yi Fan were either all dead, or like Zhou Ming, who had forgotten all of his memories at the time. It was necessary to probe Yi Fan's bottom line clearly. Pavilion Elder Zhang pondered for a few seconds and spoke with some gravity. Let's wait until Little Fong returns, but the Tianan side does need one to go over and get the situation straightened out. Zhang Dalao let out a long sigh, a little worried in his heart. The two great powerhouses, Chu Fong and Zhou Ming, had successively suffered defeat in Cloud City. The Yi family was becoming increasingly difficult to deal with Ah. However, if they didn't bring the Yi family down, they were afraid that as the Yi family continued to investigate deeper, sooner or later, they would investigate themselves. The Holy Envoy organization side had said that if they really had actual evidence, they wouldn't hesitate to treat themselves as an outcast. Court Elder, a call from the compulsion sect side, should I answer it? Pavilion Elder Zhang was still thinking when the cell phone on his secretary suddenly rang. Catch, Pavilion Master Zhang knew that all of the experts of the compulsion sect had been wiped out, and even third elder Ling Yun had died. So the compulsion sex side must have known the news. Pavilion Master Zhang, what's the situation? How come my compulsion sex side is showing that third elder Ling Yun's life and death card has ruptured? Is Ling Yun dead? There are also several other experts of the compulsion sect, and their instinctive parasites are all dead as well. What's going on here? The one who opened his mouth on the other side of the phone was the compulsion sex sect master Zhuang Bifen. His tone somewhat anxious. Although third elder Ling Yun had always been a threat to Zhuang Bifen's position, Third Elder Ling Yun's compulsion techniques, as well as his strength, were still very beneficial to the development of the compassion sect. At the very least, with the Third Elder around, some external forces would have to weigh their options if they wanted to make a move against the compassion sect. But with the Third Elder dead, that would be a weakening of the power of the compulsion sect. The back of the compassionate sect wanted to negotiate with the allies outside. The bottom line was quite a bit less. Yes, Sect Master Zhuang, the experts you sent this time together with the men I arranged, all perished in Cloud City, the specific cause of death, we are investigating, with all our might, but one thing is for sure, this matter is certainly not unrelated to Yi Fan, Elder Zhang continued to detail the situation, according to Jin Yang's arrangement, they had kidnapped and guided Sui Shui, Xian Yu Fei and Yi Fan, Cheng Rulin and the others to the cement factory, but in the end, the cement factory exploded, and all of Jin Yang and the compulsion sect were wiped out, but Yi Fan and his three wives, were not the least bit okay, damn it, Zhuang Bifen cursed over the phone, it must be Yi Fan who messed up, five years ago, Yi Fan was that kind of demonic genius, you guys keep saying that he's a fool, I seriously doubt that he has awakened a long time ago, pavilion master Zhang, we've all lost so much, things can't just be left alone, can they, we haven't even found those precious things of the Yi family yet, if they fall into other people's hands, won't you lose a lot of money for everything you've done before, Pavilion Elder Zhang snorted coldly. Of course we can't just let it go. My grandson is coming back soon from the nine specters of the four great sacred lands. I have already notified him to ask the experts of the sacred lands to come out. And you, the compulsion sect, will also send a group of strong men to come at that time? So we must exterminate Yi Fan in the cradle. Yes. In the eastern suburb of Cloud City, Sui Shui drove Yi Fan towards the new factory side while opening her mouth. Xiao Fan. In fact, Yu Fei's mind is not that bad. Today she could have not come, but seeing that I was captured, she followed up and wanted to save me before she was captured. Are you too indifferent to her? The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched as he listened to Su Yi Shui's words. Xian Yu Fei's appearance at the scene today really made Yi Fan somewhat surprised. 
Xian Yufei that day at the funeral, so determined to withdraw from the marriage with himself, and then later regretted, three times to pursue himself. Today, over at the cement factory, when threatened with death by Jin Yang, Xian Yufei was even willing to sacrifice herself to preserve Su Yishui. Yi Fan couldn't help but think of the soul regeneration evil art on Fei Xian Yu. Could it be that Fei Xian Yu was really controlled at that time? It was Yu Fei who didn't want me first. Hum, is you my wife? Then what do you say should be done? Yi Fan was of course in a sober state, but Yi Fan left this dilemma to Su Yishui. Su Yishui hesitated for a moment and continued to speak. Actually, it's very good. Originally, you guys are the best couple. Why don't you give her another chance? Xiao Fan? Anyway, you already have seven wives. It's okay to have one more. After saying that, Su Yishui's face was all a blush. What are you doing to yourself? You think Yi Fan doesn't have enough wives? Yi Fan in her heart also a burst of waner. It seems that this Su Yishui sister-in-law is truly for their own consideration ah. However, Yi Fan heart added a sentence. If it is Xian Yufei to join the words, afraid of more than seven ah. Provincial Rin Shuiying, that girl, six years ago, but with their own big phoenix warmed their own one night, saved their own life. I'm afraid I can only repay the favor with my body, right? He he, there are already many wives, let's talk about it later. Yi Shui wife, we should be almost there, right? Yi Fan's powerful perception was released, and he had already sensed that there was a very eerie baleful aura stirring in the vicinity, and the flavor of that aura was very similar to that on Su Yi Shui. N, just turn a corner ahead, Su Yi Shui answered, looking at Yi Fan's naive appearance, she didn't know what exactly Yi Fan was thinking in his heart, and could only drop the topic and concentrate on driving towards the factory side. At this time, in the newly selected factory building of Su Group, a few construction workers were organizing a few acacia trees in the factory yard. Beside a few workers, a middle-aged man in a tunic was burying several plastic bags filled with blood towards the tree. Yen Taoist, quickly withdraw. Su Yishui suddenly came to the factory building again. You if you are found, or some trouble. The robed man's earphone suddenly came a voice. Yen Taoist did not have any hesitation. Will not be buried in the hands of the bag to carry. Flying towards the side of the plant flash and go. Just short of the last point of the seven star absolute break formation will be completely formed. At that time the seven break invasion. Sui Shui by the break erosion. The king of heaven came also cannot save her. Hmm. This time to run to dry chicken hair. Daoist Yen muttered under his breath as he ran. What he didn't know was that death had already arrived. Daoist Master Yen. Those means you set up. They won't be exposed. Right? If you are exposed. Our young master will not care about your. The man in the headset continued to mutter, but Daoist Yen became a little impatient. Hoomph, shut up, our Mao Shan lineage, and you are only in a cooperative relationship. Let's use this tone of voice to talk to the seat. Daoist Yen's body rushed into the side plant at a rapid pace, hiding his aura and looking towards the plant's main entrance. At the gate of the factory, Yi Fan and Su Yi Shui arrived. As soon as he stepped out of the car, Yi Fan felt a strong hidden aura permeating the entire plant. That's right, it's the plant that's the problem here. A golden stream of light flowed around Yi Fan's eyes as he swept his eyes sharply towards the surroundings and found the source of the fury in seven directions of the plant. Heavenly pivot, shaking light. The entire orientation is laid out according to the seven stars and the big dipper. Seven star extinction formation? Hoomph. Sure enough, someone has moved in the plant. Yi Fan's research on formations and the inheritance he obtained from that dragon ring five years ago could be countless times stronger than these low level formations. This little tactic could not be difficult for Yi Fan. But these evil formations, the resulting fury, invaded into the bodies of ordinary people. Sui Shui and the others would not be able to carry it. The locust tree beckons. Seven star absolute fury formation. Of which the most critical eye of the formation is the old acacia tree in the green belt opposite the main door of the plant. A few workers are still over there in the construction. The old acacia tree is not fully loaded. The formation is not fully formed. And there seems to be something missing inside. After determining the key to the formation, Yi Fan had a plan in mind. Xiao Fan. This is the new factory building. There are enough 10 production lines here to cope with the sales of the snow face cream in the southwest. It should be enough. In addition, we are still looking for a new factory building over in the provincial city. If the sales are good by then, we will expand the scale over there in the provincial city. Su Yishui took Yi Fan's arm and introduced the situation of the plant to Yi Fan. Yi Fan nodded, while his eyes were fixed on the construction over the green belt. Seeing the excavator helping with the work, Yi Fan's eyes rolled. Issue a wife. That digging machine is so much fun. I want to play. This, Xiao Fan, that one is a worker in construction ah. Will you, play that? As Sui Shui spoke, she turned her head to look at Guo Li who was following behind her. 
Wo Li naturally knew that his big brother had awakened, and since he was going to play digger, naturally he wasn't playing casually, and he must have found some kind of clues. Wo Li was also an expert above the Zongshu realm, and when he first entered the plant, he vaguely sensed that something was wrong as well. This factory building of Su's group seemed to be much colder compared to other places, and as soon as he entered here, it seemed that the temperature was lowered by several degrees. There's definitely a problem here. Sister-in-law, if big brother wants to try, let him try. If sister-in-law is worried, I'll just accompany big brother. Sui Shui nodded. All right then. Guo Li was one of Yi Fan's best brothers and his strength wasn't weak. If Guo Li accompanied Yi Fan, Sui Shui would be quite relieved. I want to play with your excavators. Let me play with them. Okay? Yi Fan walked over and opened his mouth to the workers, while his gaze swept sharply over a few people. There was nothing wrong with most of the workers, but the contractor who led them had a touch of evil about him, and his face was too white to look like a normal worker. Hearing Yi Fan's words, the contractor spoke with a smile on his face. Mr. Su, this is the stupid young master of the Yi family, right? It's said that his IQ is a bit abnormal. How dare Mr. Su let him play with such a dangerous machine? I think it's better to forget about it? The contractor knew that there was a secret under the acacia tree, and his heart was a little weak, so naturally he didn't dare to let Yi Fan play digger here. In case Yi Fan dug out the secret under the acacia tree, it would not be easy to explain. If someone who knew what they were doing uncovered their plan, both master and themselves would suffer. Who are you calling a fool? You're the fool. Your whole family is a fool. Snap. Before that contractor's words fell, Yi Fan suddenly stepped forward and slapped him directly on the face. My wife said, Whoever says I'm a fool, I'll beat them up. I, the contractor was so depressed that he was about to go crazy, but when he saw Sui Shui and Guo Li beside him, he just wanted to open his mouth to curse, but he stiffly held back his anger. This intention of his own was for naught. It's really stupid to bother with a fool yourself. Now the key is still to stop Yi Fan from moving the excavator. Yi Xiao, the excavator is too dangerous. I think you'd better not play with it. The contractor held back the anger in his heart and continued to dissuade Yi Fan but Yi Fan didn't pay any attention to him at all. Instead, he quickly stepped forward and directly rushed to the side of the excavator's cab, and threw that driver out with a handful of carries. I want to play. I want to play. You go aside. That excavator driver. He's also a Taoist priest from Maoshan pretending to be a Taoist priest. He himself knows some Kung Fu. Yi Fan came up he had wanted to resist a little, but in the end, he didn't expect to be thrown out so easily. Senior, the driver walked over to the pack leader and called out in a low voice. Shut up. Don't talk nonsense. Improvise. The contractor responded grimly, while his eyes were fixed on several key points in the green belt. Under those spots, the master had buried several dead black dogs, and several babies. Let's stand over there, where there are people. That fool shouldn't be digging around. As long as we don't dig into those key points, there won't be any problems. The contractor didn't move and took two steps and the driver and the driver happened to stand on those points. But what they didn't know was that Yi Fan had long seen the source of the fury here clearly, which happened to be the two spots where the contractor and the driver were standing. If he said that they didn't have a problem, killing Yi Fan wouldn't believe it. Yi Fan sat down in the cab and Guo Li followed him up and got into the cab. Big brother, what's the problem here? Yi Fan face a burst of gravity. Let the brothers who followed me block the entire plant. No one is allowed to go in and out. A very absolutely poisonous array has been set up here. There are dead black dogs buried underneath there, as well as baby corpses, so you will step in and take them down. They are just small minions, and there are still big fishes behind them. I will go and track them down. Good, Guo Li answered, and his heart thumped. Although Guo Li does not know much about Feng Shui, but heard that the dead black dog, as well as the baby, these are very bad and evil things, buried under the new factory building, must be aimed at the Su group and Yi family. Start playing, Yi Fan shouted stupidly from his mouth and maneuvered the excavator, without any hesitation, directly digging down towards the direction where the contractor and that driver were. Phew! Seeing that excavator arm swinging rapidly, digging down towards himself, the contractor instantly scared hairs upside down. Treadmill! This fool! Is he crazy? Boom! The digger almost grazed the packer's thighs as it dug down, deep into the ground beneath him. Crap! The packer and the one driver beside him were going limp with fear. This Yi Fan, is he really a fool? You, are blind. Can't you see that there is someone in front of you? The contractor's mouth chided, his legs trembling. The driver next to him looked down toward the crotch of the bagman, who was already wet and dewy at this time. Senior brother, your crotch, you scared to pee? The contractor all hated to bite his stupid senior brother. I know, and I need you to say it. Yi Fan in the cab, did not pay any attention to the words of the foreman, 
but continue to operate the excavator digging, will be the foreman stood under the feet of the land directly turned over, not the slightest concern about the sight of someone, will be several tons of heavy soil sand and gravel, towards the two men's heads dumped, crazy, crazy, at this point, the two packers couldn't care about anything else anymore and could only move aside towards the side, although they were very reluctant to have their secrets dug up down there, but after all, lives mattered, Yi Fan was a fool that everyone knew, a fool that could do anything, he had just been slapped, and he had already been considered to have been beaten for nothing, if he had been killed by Yi Fan, it would have been for nothing, soon, Yi Fan excavated three times, and dead dogs with fresh blood appeared under the ground, then there was a clay pot containing the body of a baby girl, all still bloody as well, in a situation that made people very uncomfortable, and most crucially, Yi Fan realized that underneath the baby girl's clay pot, a line of blood had formed, seeping into the soil, seemingly intending to interconnect with the formations in the other six places, Yi Fan's magic pupil opened, found that the direction of the bloodline spread, the other side also has the same bloodline spread over, between the two bloodlines, just a foot away, to be connected, woo, when Yi Fan dug out that clay pot, Yi Fan even heard a whimpering sound from underground, the entire air seemed to be filled with an aura of resentment, and the sky seemed to darken a few points as a cloudy wind struck, big brother, did you just hear the sound of a baby crying, next to him, Vuoli's face was a bit cautious, although it was broad daylight, Vuoli was still a bit wary of encountering such a bizarre situation, Yi Fan nodded, don't worry, with me here, there won't be any problems, remember not to let anyone leave this place, this Feng Shui master has some strength, this formation is just a blindfold, there is another, more evil formation behind it, eight sons are filial to their mothers, this is the more sinister one of the formations, behind the seven star absolute fury formation, together with the eight sons and filial mothers formation, this Feng Shui master is planning to utilize the seven star absolute fury formation to suck the blood of Sui Shui and the workers of the plant, and then warm up those baby brats, with the ultimate goal of raising that super mother, Ha, huh? Sui Shui also saw what was dug out from under the dirt, although Sui Shui didn't understand, but seeing the dead dog below, and the corpse in the clay pot, Sui Shui also understood that this must be a bad situation, and her mouth couldn't help but let out a cry of alarm, and at the same time, the baleful chi on Sui Shui's forehead fluctuated, and Sui Shui seemed to be affected by it all, her body staggering and almost falling, the contractor and the driver at the edge of the green belt, seeing the situation in front of them, also had a gloomy look on their faces, senior brother, are we being exposed, what should we do, the contractor was so angry that he wanted to give his stupid senior brother a kick, how would I know what to do, master is right over there, if there's really any big problem, master will definitely have to step in, as the contractor spoke in a low voice, his eyes could not help but look towards the side of the factory building next to him, and at this moment, Daoist Yen, who was hiding in the plant next to him, saw the eyes of the two disciples looking this way and the whole person immediately almost jumped up, crap, what are you two idiots looking at, although Yi Fan had dug out the secret under the acacia tree, it seemed like an unintentional move, but Daoist Yan already had a strong ominous feeling in his heart, he always felt that Yi Fan was doing this on purpose, and that Yi Fan must have discovered something, those two disciples of his own must have been suspected to be targeted like that, aren't they giving each other directions by looking their way at this time, pust, damn, the formation was partially broken, and Daoist Yen quickly suffered a backlash and couldn't help but open his mouth and spray out a mouthful of blood, unlike the normal eight sons filial piety mother formation in Feng Shui, the formation designed by Taoist Master Yen, all the blood is not fed to a mother corpse, all the blood is fed to Taoist Master Yen himself, Taoist Master Yen is a Maoshan Feng Shui master, but wants to use evil methods to get his power up as soon as possible, on this side of the green belt, in the excavator, Yi Fan made a face towards Guo Li, Woolley immediately jumped down from above and chided the contractor. What's going on here? It's not enough that you planted acacia trees here. What are you doing burying these things here? Ah, uh, we don't know ah. Uh. Big brother, these things really don't have anything to do with us ah. Uh. The contractor and that excavator driver were still planning to muddle through, but they didn't know that Guo Li and Yi Fan had long seen through their tricks. Woolley continued to interrogate the contractor and the driver, while Yi Fan continued to dig a few excavators after the raid drove the excavator once again digging towards another part of the plant, boom, rumble, but a few moments of effort, had been built almost almost completed plant, seven or eight green belts, all were dug up, but just like the situation in this green belt just now, Yi Fan dug up baby corpses and dead dogs from several other places as well, this, Sui Shui was stunned as she looked at the situation in front of her, was Yi Fan really so coincidental that he happened to find so many problematic parts of the scene, sister-in-law, 
Big Brother had a brief moment of lucidity just now, and discovered the problem down below. Someone is setting up evil formations in the plant, trying to harm you. Willie saw Sui Shue's puzzled eyes and explained to Sui Shue in a low voice, Did Ji Fan have a short awakening time again? Now that Ji Fan was waking up more and more, was Ji Fan finally close to fully awakening? With all the eight places in the plant that had been tampered with being dug up cleanly, Daoist Yen, who was hiding in the side plant, could no longer hold back, his body staggered, and he fell directly to the ground, foaming at the mouth. No, this is not a coincidence, it must not be a coincidence, Yi Fan must have discovered the formation that Lao Fu had set up, this is coming at Lao Zi, only, what Daoist Yen couldn't understand was that Yi Fan was just a fool. How did he have such powerful kung fu and no feng shui? He had cracked his seven star extinction formation and eight sons and filial mothers formation so easily? After a moment's hesitation, Taoist Master Yen dragged his frail body and then tried to quietly slip out through the other gate of the plant. The plan to use the formation to deal with the Su family is definitely going to fail. And Taoist Yen has also discovered a secret of Yi Fan. This Yi Fan, although the outside world says that he is a fool, but from the fact that Yi Fan can crack the formation, Yi Fan is definitely not a fool. Daoist Yan's idea was good, wanting to escape immediately and to spread the news as soon as possible so that the rest of the people were clear about Ji Fan's situation. But when Taoist Master Yan came through the other gate, only just stepping out, he saw Yi Fan driving a digger, waiting for him with a smile. Daoist Yan just showed up. Yi Fan swung his mechanical arm and slammed a digger down hard against Daoist Yan. Daoist Yan had never seen a digger's arm that could swing so fast and with a powerful chi impact. If it really smashed into him, he was afraid that his entire body would be smashed into pieces. Although his body was very weak, Daoist Yen quickly dodged towards the side, narrowly avoiding Yi Fan's attack. Sure enough, it's you who messed up. Touching my Yi Fan's wife, didn't you see the consequences of the Zhao, Wang, and Li families? Yi Fan got down from the excavator and looked at Daoist Yen with an evil face. Those sharp eyes looked at Daoist Yen's heart. You, you really aren't stupid at all. You're pretending. Everyone has been fooled by you. When Daoist Yen heard Yi Fan speak, he completely confirmed at this moment that the stupid young master of the Yi family was not at all as stupid as the outside world had rumored. Those who dealt with the Yi family continued to take action against the Yi family, but the result was that all those minions suffered. When Daoist Yen were all aware of these news, he was still curious as to who, exactly, had gotten all those people killed without moving? Those opponents of the Yi family had not understood until now. Now, Daoist Yen understood that everything was secretly laid out by Yi Fan. That's right, I'm just pretending. If I didn't pretend to be stupid, you scums, how could you jump out on your own? Yi Fan took two steps forward and stared scorchingly at Daoist Yen. Honestly explain, and who told you to make a move against the Su family? Was it Shangjing Zhou Xiao, or Pavilion Master Zhang, or Pavilion Master Tang? Humph, I don't know what you're talking about. Daoist Yen responded, a flash of viciousness in his eyes. Yi Fan, you're very smart, but you shouldn't have come alone to chase after old me. Five years ago, your talent was demonic and you did reach the sect master realm. But don't forget that I am also at the peak of sect master strength. Old me is not afraid of you. Daoist Yen still had a few moments of confidence left. Pulling out the battle sword on his body and enduring the weakness of his body, he intended to fight Yi Fan to the death. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Who said I'm only at the Zongshu realm? Yi Fan gently waved his hand, and a majestic chi energy surfaced on Yi Fan's wrist. Yi Fan just moved his fingers and those agitated qi energy obediently changed into any shape. The fluctuating martial qi energy was on the verge of materializing words, and the power contained within it even made the air whale as if it was being torn apart, transforming forms with qi. Crap, you've reached the martial emperor level? Your sister, Daoist Yen was confident just now, but at this moment, he instantly broke his defense. Originally, he thought that Yi Fan was a fool, but it turned out that he was extremely smart and fooled everyone. Originally, he thought that his strength could hang Yi Fan, but in the end, he realized that he was at the top of his game, and he couldn't even touch other people's heels. The end of your life's endeavor is just the beginning of someone else's. Clunk! Daoist Yen directly threw his battle sword to the ground, not having any more courage to make a move. He himself was nothing more than the strength of a Zongshir, and with the super difficult to cross great realm of martial Zun in between, any resistance was meaningless. The one who made me do it wasn't the Zhou Xiao you mentioned. Nor was it any pavilion elder. Rather, it was the eldest youngster of the ancient martial arts family, the Feng family, Feng Xianxiao. Without any hesitation, Daoist Yen directly sold the person behind him. To die a Taoist friend is not to die a pauper. This was what Daoist Yen insisted in his heart. Although Daoist Yen and Feng Xianxiao were also only in a cooperative relationship, at this point in time, this pot could only be covered on Feng Xianxiao. 
the ancient martial level has also intervened? Yi Fan frowned, the situation was getting more and more complicated now ah, Zhang Guo's side of the military, Zhou Shao and the Holy Angels organization behind it, now the ancient martial arts family has stepped in as well, more and more people are staring at the Yi family ah, the so-called hands on the Su family, should be in just a front, the ultimate goal, I'm afraid, is the Yi family's map fragment, but the point is, the Yi family doesn't have any map fragments in their hands right now either. According to what grandpa said, those map fragments of the Yi family were all placed on the seven brothers, and now with the seven brothers fallen, those map fragments, even the Yi family themselves do not know the whereabouts, however, the fact that so many people were staring at the heavenly palace map fragments made it even more clear that those map fragments were very important, Yi Fan had to find those seven lost fragments as soon as possible, he couldn't let them fall into the hands of those rival enemies of the Yi family. Since grandpa said that that place where the gods and goddesses had been left behind had some high level martial arts techniques and even secret cultivation methods, if those opponents really went in ahead of them, then the Yi family would really be finished. Yes, the ancient martial wind family made the old man do it, so I can't do anything about it. Young Yi, please spare my life, I promise not to go against the Yi family in the future. Daoist Yan pretended to look pitiful and bowed respectfully to Yi Fan, begging for mercy towards him, but a cold glint appeared in Yi Fan's eyes. Today it was he who discovered this guy's feng shui formation, that's why he saved Sui Shui's life, and that's why this guy conceded, if he did not know feng shui, Sui Shui died, afraid that he would not even know how to die, humph, I can give you a pain in the ass if you give an honest explanation, moving my wife and still wanting to live, do you think it's possible, Yi Fan's body chi fluctuated, ready to strike at any time, Taoist master Yen was all pressurized and unable to move, when he saw Yi Fan's action, a flash of panic flashed in his eyes, Ye shall spare your life, I, am a disciple of Mao Shan, if ye shall kills me, it is against Mao Shan, please ye shall think twice ah, Mao Shan, that's bullshit, Yi Fan snorted coldly, if he would have exerted all those inheritances in the dragon ring, not to mention Mao Shan, even those celestial masters of Longhu Mountain would have to call out an ancestor when they saw him, the area of Mao Shan, how could Yi Fan look at it in the eyes, seeing that his threats were ineffective, Daoist Yen completely despaired, and finally a fierce light appeared in his eyes, since that's the case, then I'll fight you, shu shu shu, as Daoist Yan's words fell, from Daoist Yan's sleeves, countless pieces of paper people sped out, soaring against the wind, forming a powerful martial arts expert in a matter of moments, chopping towards Yi Fan, and at the same time, the doorway of the empty factory building, instantly began to emerge a thick black smoke, the sky and the earth were eclipsed, an eerie atmosphere will be covered in a circle of 10 feet, Yi Fan could almost feel the biting killing aura on the blades of those paper masters, you actually know the evil arts of the puppet corpse sect? Looking at the situation in front of him, a smile appeared at the corner of Yi Fan's mouth, this Taoist priest of Mashan knows quite a lot ah, the puppet corpse sect originally originated in western Hunan, and before that it was that group of corpse catchers who made some talismans to facilitate corpse catching, so they refined some talismans and pasted them on those corpses to control their movements, and to prevent the corpse from being caught at first sight. Some of them in the back gradually took a different path and began to consider controlling paper people with talismans, or even controlling living people with talismans, to do some illegal deeds, killing people and stealing from them. In the ring's inheritance, there were also some detailed techniques of the puppet corp sect, although Yi Fan had never used them, the specific instructions and techniques were very clear to Yi Fan. Facing those attacking paper people, Yi Fan didn't use any martial arts chi at all. He just reached out and concluded a few seals in the air and violently slammed down towards the ground. Up, with a resounding sound, a golden eight trigrams pattern pressed towards the ground. The moment it touched the ground, golden streams of light began to impact in all directions. Those paper figures with biting killing moves immediately stopped their movements in their hands the moment they were affected by the stream of light, and their bodies stiffened in the air. The surrounding mist also instantly dispersed. Three meters away, Yen Daolong, who had picked up his battle sword, was just about to bolt when he saw the dispersing mist and instantly froze, looking at Yi Fan in the 8 trigrams formation with an unbelievable face, how is this, possible, how can you be so demonic, Taoist master Yen had heard that Yi Fan's talent was very demonic, and that he had already reached the realm of a grandmaster at the age of 15, but he didn't expect that Yi Fan's feng shui talent was so demonic as usual, his own 8 sons and filial mother's formation was broken, the 7 star absolute fatalities formation was broken, and finally, even his own puppet corpse evil controlling technique, Yi Fan also cracked it so easily, hoo hoo, before Daoist Yen could react, Daoist Yen was shocked to realize that the paper killers that he had originally bred and controlled had actually all turned around and were frantically encircling towards him, 
Ha, Taoist Master Yan's mouth could barely close in shock, and he hurriedly concluded seals to stop those paper slayers from attacking, only to find that no matter what seals he used, they were useless. Even if Taoist Yan bit his finger and used his essence blood as a guide, he still couldn't control those paper killers. Put, put, with incredulous eyes, Taoist Yan could only watch as the battle knives in the hands of the five paper slayers stabbed through his chest. Oh, you, how on earth did you, tell me. Taoist Yan looked at Yi Fan in shock, unable to figure out before he died. Why did Yi Fan even know the means of the puppet corpse sect? Yi Fan smiled coldly, because, I am your ancestor. As the words fell, Yi Fan waved his palm, the salary fire swayed, and an air force enveloped Taoist Yan, whose body instantly turned into a pile of fragments, along with those paper people dissipating into thin air. A gust of wind blew, swirling up the dust on the ground. If it wasn't for the huge crater left by the excavator on the ground, no one would have guessed that a Maoshan clan master level expert had just fallen here. When Guoli and Sui Shui rushed this way, Yi Fan had already returned to that demented look. Bad guys, bad guys were driven away. Yi Fan smiled innocently at Sui Shui. Looking at Sui Shui's heart warmed and a heartache came over her. Going forward, she tenderly embraced Yi Fan in her arms, her face full of pampering. This brother in law husband, though often not in his right head, is a constant protector of his sisters, even if he was in a demented state, as long as he was aggravated or in any danger, Yi Fan would not hesitate to step in at the first opportunity, poor Ye Fan, get well soon, when he embraced Su Yi Shui, Yi Fan felt his wrist on Su Yi Shui's body and made sure that Su Yi Shui didn't have any more fury on her body, then he breathed a sigh of relief, but then there were a few worries in the back of his mind, those opponents of the Yi family seemed to have changed their strategy now, Knowing that they wouldn't be able to curry any favors by making a move on Yi Fan, they began to make a move on the people around Yi Fan. LOL. It is necessary to eliminate all those opponents as soon as possible, so that there will be peaceful days ah. In addition, it was necessary to make Sui Shui and Yu Linglong and the others stronger as soon as possible, so that they would have the ability to defend themselves. And the fastest way to make Sui Shui and the others stronger was to get more intimate. Yi Fan glanced at Sui Shui. This Sui Shui and himself had been together for some time. Under Yi Fan's nourishment, his complexion was much better, and his own martial arts chi had all reached the realm of control. If he practiced his martial arts and assisted with pills, breaking through the sovereign realm wouldn't be a big problem. As long as one reached the sovereign realm, it wouldn't be so easy for others to harm Sui Shui. After all, in the path of martial arts, sect masters were not cabbages. Yi Fan arrived at the plant and, like a madman, destroyed the plant that was about to be built, and all the green belts had to be redone. This time, it was Guoli who personally arranged for the construction team to come over. A few people left from the scene before the site of the factory building. In a building, a young man's face retracted his gaze from the entrance of the factory building and reported towards a young man seated in the room. Feng Xiao, all the formations arranged by Taoist Yan have been destroyed, and the plan to use the formations to deal with Sui Xue has completely failed. Moreover, I suspect that Taoist Yan must have betrayed you. In the room, a young man wearing a black t-shirt sat at the top holding a cup of tea in his hand, gently sipping it, and faintly saying, failure is inevitable, and letting Taoist Master Yen make a move is nothing more than a stone-throwing action, but to fail so quickly is a bit of a surprise, this youth was no one else, it was the same youth who had watched from afar when Jin Yang had attacked Yi Fan, the ancient martial arts wind family wind with a smile, this time, this young man has already determined that Yi Fan is definitely not stupid, but is pretending to be stupid, a wicked smile emerged from the corner of Feng Xianxiao's mouth, Although that Guo Xiaotsai from the Guo family in the provincial city is not too bad in terms of intelligence, but with him, he probably can't deal with Taoist Master Yin yet. Continue to keep an eye on Yi Fan. Observe for a while longer and the game between us will officially begin. Yes, going back to Cloud City, Sui Shui had to go back to the company to deal with things. Yi Fan, on the other hand, returned to the Yi family's old mansion with Guo Li, with the four great maids, and gathered those direct forces left behind by his mother, including Cold Yu Yue, Lu Mao Yang, Xia Hao, Lei Qian Jie, as well as Yu Chang from Tianji Pavilion, and the second captain of the Wandering Solox were all present. All of you did not leave the Yi family at its most critical time. I, Yi Fan, on behalf of the Yi family, thank you all. Yi Fan bowed to the crowd, and the truth that I have awakened is only best known to all of you. Right now, those minions that the enemy has planted in Cloud City, I've already purged almost as much. I intend to make a trip to the provincial city, and by the way, I will go to the Xuanwu war zone to investigate the specifics of the attack and death of my second brother. And by the way, I will be looking for the same thing. So I need to make arrangements for the situation in Cloud City. Mr. Xia, 
The Tiger Master under your banner. Cooperate with Captain Yo Air to shelter the Yi family headquarters in Cloud City, as well as the safety of the Su family. You old man, the people under your banner, to start walking to the provincial side of the city. I remember some internal subordinate families, has long been stupid, just this trip, can also be them to clean up a bit. Lu Mao Yang, the plan to let you integrate the resources in your hands to create a new business group. You need to speed up, when we really completely tear our faces off with the enemy later on. We'll need a lot of financial support. It's all up to you. What Yi Fan didn't make clear to everyone is that Yi Fan has guessed that his mother has a relationship with the divine sect, and that he may have to face even more in the future. But right now, the most important thing, is revenge. To kill all those enemies of the Yi family clean. Return the Yi family spirits of justice, to the Yi family bow a thousand future. Shangjing, in a secret base, on the operating table, several special syringes and instruments are inserted into the head of a torso on the operating table. From that syringe, a white light flashed, and the next moment the torso on the operating table sat straight up, gasping for air. I, Zhou Ming, have been reborn again? The man came down from the operating table, feeling his body, and Marshal Chi, I haven't lost my strength. Great. The man in front of him spoke and thought in the exact same way as Zhou Ming. It is that Zhou Ming, who escaped the white light from the cement factory although he is inhuman and ghostly. He is still Zhou Ming. Zhou Ming felt it slightly and suddenly noticed a white-robed old man in the corner of the room. Hastily running all the way towards the old man, he respectfully knelt down and said, Subordinate, I pay my respects to Lord Saint Envoy. Thank you Lord Saint Envoy for saving my life. That white-robed old man person's entire body was tightly wrapped by the robe, straightly revealing two eye sockets, and the eyes inside were covered by streams of light, so it was not clear to see the exact situation. Get up! The white-robed old man gently waved his hand and helped Zhou Ming up. Tell me specifically, what exactly did you go through in Cloud City? How did you destroy your own physical body? When it came to what happened in Cloud City, Zhou Ming was both angry and bewildered. What exactly he had experienced in Cloud City? Zhou Ming really couldn't recall at all, but only knew that Cloud City was terrifying. And when it was mentioned, Zhou Ming was a bit intimidated. Lord Holy Messenger redeem me. I really can't remember a single thing about how my body's condition was actually caused. The last thing I remember is that Jin Yang and the people from the compulsion cult arranged an assassination operation against Ji Fan over at the cement factory. But I was cautious and didn't go to the scene at all. I don't know what I actually got myself into. Zhou Ming was a little apprehensive in his heart. As the representative of the Holy Envoy organization in the southwestern region himself, he had been urged countless times from above to take Yi Fan down and find those maps of the Yi family. But after such a long time, not only did he not get Yi Fan killed, but he himself suffered such a severe injury, all of which required the Holy Envoy Lord to step in and help. Even worse, those vassal clans that the Holy Envoy had set up and planted in Cloud City were almost completely wiped out, with not a single one left behind. The white-robed old man let out a long sigh. Forget it, also do not blame you. I have just probed your thinking, found that your memory about that section has been completely erased. The hands must be a high person. Strength is too much stronger than you spiritual power, even more powerful than me. The Yi family is not easy to deal with, and that fool Yi fan, whether he is a fool or not, we still need to probe more before we can do so. The white-robed old man continued to speak. You take a short break to adjust, and immediately move to go over to Tiananmen province again. Feel the latest intelligence. A few clans at the ancient martial level have also set their eyes on the Yi family. What we want, we definitely can't let them grab it first. Yes, Lord Saint Envoy, it's just that my strength. Zhou Ming was a bit helpless, now although he was already at the martial Zun realm of strength. However, after this destruction of his physical body, Zhou Ming realized that his strength at the martial Zun realm was still not enough. The Holy Envoy Lord nodded, and a white light wrapped Zhou Ming, and a powerful Qi energy madly poured towards Zhou Ming's body. A moment later, the white-robed elder released Zhou Ming's wrist. Alright, the limit of what your current body can carry is only a third-grade martial emperor, and with those extreme-grade martial skills I imparted to you, it's more than enough to deal with the trash of the mundane world. Thank you, Lord Holy Envoy. Thank you. Feeling the powerful fluctuations of Marshal Chi within his body, as well as some special inheritance, Zhou Ming's face was on the verge of breaking into a smile. At the Martial Emperor level, if he met Yi Fan again, he would not lose, would he? Yi Fan was already in the demonic sovereign realm five years ago, but after being demented for five years, even if his strength had progressed, he would at most be in the Martial Zun realm, right? He himself had the Holy Envoy Lord to directly raise his strength to a third grade martial emperor. So wouldn't he crush Yi Fan at that time? In Cloud City, when Yi Fan returned to Su Yi Shue's villa after arranging all the forces clearly in the Yi family, the two of them, 
Sui Shui and Chang Rolin, were chatting, Sister Yi Shui, I have an unforgiving request, can you lend me Yi Fan for two days first, after two days, I'll return it, Chang Rolin had already tasted the sweetness from Yi Fan, as long as one had intimate contact with Yi Fan, one could obtain that magical warmth, thus rapidly improving their strength, if she were to become Yi Fan's woman, the rate of enhancement should be doubled even more, after this kidnapping incident, Cheng Rolin also figured it out. One must not be a vase and pull back for Yi Fan. Not to say how much to help Yi Fan, but at least to have the ability to defend himself. LOL. Sister Rolin. You can't help it so quickly. Have started craving for little fan? Sui Shui laughed and teased Cheng Rolin. I'm afraid you won't be able to resist then. Cheng Rolin was already shy. And when she was teased by Sui Shui, her face was even more red to the back of her neck. Aya. Uh, dead Neezy. You're bad. I'm not thinking of opening up for the Yi family. Look, dealing with so many enemies of the Yi family, we still need to leave the Yi family's bloodline as soon as possible is the best. Although Qin Rulin said this on her lips, in fact, there was another thought inside. Just shy, now that Yi Fan hadn't completely awakened, he himself could be Yi Fan's woman while Yi Fan was demented. Otherwise, when Yi Fan had completely awakened, as Yi Fan's previous sister-in-law, and now being Yi Fan's woman, although Qin Rulin was a demon, she was still a little embarrassed. On the contrary, Sui Shui, with the longer time she spent with Yi Fan, she instead became more open, thinking of Yi Fan's amazing fighting strength every time. Sui Shui blushed and pulled Chang Rolin's shoulder, whispering in Chang Rolin's ear. After hearing this, Chang Rolin almost directly exploded. What? Together. Yi Shui's sister. You. Chang Rolin thought that the word himself was more demonic type, but every thought that after Sui Shui became Yi Fan's woman, she actually wanted to let go so open. Sui Shui was stunned by Ching Rulin's voice. Rulin's sister, you want me. Anyway, we are so openly declared to be Yi Fan's wife, and Yi Fan is really strong. By then, sooner or later, we are still not. Although Sui Shui and Ching Rulin were chewing their ears and whispering in their room, but for Yi Fan who had already reached the level of martial emperor, he could hear the movement of an ant around him clearly, and he naturally heard the voices of his two women in the room. Yi Fan also did not expect that this Yi Shui wife of his actually had such vigor. Grace, why don't we try it tonight? I'm back, Yi Shui's wife, Rulin's wife, what have you been chatting about? Yi Fan suddenly stepped in, and his sudden voice startled Su Yi Shui and Chang Rulin in the hall. Thinking about the little secrets the two of them had talked about, the two girls blushed even more in shame. Oops, what is all this chatting about yourself? No, nothing, Chang Rulin was a bit overwhelmed, her hands not knowing where to put them. After all, Chang Rulin's intimacy with Yi Fan was limited to cuddling. I've even kissed, and I've only fantasized and heard about all the things men and women do. Little fan, we are talking about the evening. Sui Shui saw Chang Roland's shy look and couldn't help but want to poke fun at him, purposely saying the words halfway. Frightened, Chang Roland hastily reached out to cover Sui Shui's mouth. It's really nothing, Sister Yi Shui. Don't talk nonsense. Although Yi Fan was now in a state of dementia, if Yi Fan knew that the two of them, himself and Sui Shui, were actually quietly chatting about something as shameful as that, in the future, Ching Rulin would really have to be too ashamed to raise her head. The two of them joked around a bit. Yi Fan looked at the two of them playful appearance. Even if the loose robe slipped down, amazing white big phoenix are revealed. The two of them do not care in the slightest. Yi Fan was instead enjoying the stunning scenery from the side. Slender thighs. Slender little waist. White shoulders collarbone. Soaring big phoenix. One of the pair. Yi Fan has already captured. The other pair. Yi Fan should soon also be captured. Any one of these extremely beautiful women was a national beauty. And now, Yi Fan had seven of them at once. LOL. One had to become stronger as soon as possible in order to guard these women of his and to avenge the Yi family's spirits. Ah, Ishu's sister. What I just said. Do you promise no? I also want to get stronger quickly. I don't want to drag Yi Fan back. Chang Rulin's face was a little shy, but she was resolute. After experiencing today's kidnapping incident, Chang Rulin knew that if she was not strong enough to be Yi Fan's woman, she would only be reduced to a vase in the future. Of course, Sister Rulin, now we are all one. Yi Fan is mine and yours, to be able to seed the Yi family as soon as possible. That's what Sister Linglong instructed us before. Su Shui held Ching Rulin's hand. I can't wait for Sister Rulin to be seated earlier. The seven sisters-in-law, if any of them had the bloodline of the Yi family, the significance of this would be very significant. This meant that the Yi family would immediately have a new bloodline to pass on. Even if the outside world didn't know that Yi Fan was no longer a fool, knowing that the Yi family had a new bloodline inheritance, many of the forces watching would immediately change their attitudes towards the Yi family by 180 degrees. 
Cheng Rulin face a happy, just ready to speak. The phone suddenly rang sharply. What? The younger brother and the Shangjing Xinxiao bet, both lost tens of billions of cash. Put the Qing family are betting on the. Father was also lost. Bastard thing. His head ate Sean? Receiving the call, Qing Rulin was instantly about to explode. Qing Rulin mother gave birth to two siblings. Sister Qing Rulin, the ability is very strong. In charge of the Qing's group of hundreds of billions of dollars of asset scale, is the daughter of heaven. But Qing Rulin's younger brother Qing Xiaocheng is uneducated. Every day just no idle, picking up girls, playing cards. But before, but there is a certain degree of proportion. Even if you play poker, win or lose a few tens of thousands of dollars will close. How this time actually bet so big, and will be the Qing family assets are betting on. But also the father are lost to the Shangjing Shen less. Sister, quickly come to save me. They said that you must come to the scene. If you do not come, they will immediately cut off my legs ah. Sister, the phone Qing Xiao Chang with a crying voice begging for help. Qing Rulin's brows were furrowed and she didn't even know what to say. I'll clean you up when I come back. Although Cheng Rulin hadn't turned on the cell phone's external playback, Yi Fan was listening clearly from the sidelines. On this side, Cheng Rulin has just taken the Emerald Agent right in the hands of General Songpa and the Xin family in Beijing, so coincidentally, bet with the young master of the Qing family, and happened to bet the entire assets of the Qing family, and they need Cheng Rulin to be there? HM. With a little thought, Yi Fan understood that this should be the backhand of that pavilion master Tang Zhang and Shangjing. It's coming at you. Previously, he had assisted Sun Dishing in trying to grab the Jedi proxy rights with Qing Rulin. After the failure of Sun Dishing, the assassination of the Eastern Ing experts was also unsuccessful, and the kidnapping plan of Jin Yang and others in Cloud City also failed subsequently. This declared that all the layouts of those rivals of the Yi family in Cloud City had been destroyed, and in such a situation, it was feared that they were not quite as good as the people behind them to account for it. So they should be in a hurry now, and must make a little achievement right away to show the people above them their value. Yi Fan was still thinking, his own self suddenly received a text message as well. Pavilion Master, just received the news. There are some strange situations over there in the provincial city. There are several construction underground cracks. There is black mist coming out and it is spreading towards the surrounding area rapidly. According to the previous experience, this should be some evil chong to come out to scourge Dasha. Suppressing these evil changs is the essence of our Tianji pavilion's work. Pavilion Master, do you think we should make a trip to Huadu? Evil Chong out of the world? Yi Fan couldn't help but think of the inheritance in the Dragon Ring, which did say that the Great Summer Sages had sealed a lot of rebellious Evil Chong underground. Relying on the formation set up by the Sages, it has been possible to suppress those Evil Chong, and now those seals are starting to loosen? Or maybe someone is deliberately breaking those seals? HM. It looks like a trip to the provincial capital. Huadu. Is a must. I'll set out tonight. Just have Elder you secretly keep watch. Yi Fan had just returned a message when Ching Rulin's side had ended the call. Sister Yi Shui, something big has happened to my family. I need to rush back right now. Look, Ching Rulin looked at Su Yi Shui with an expectant face. Ching Rulin had seen the fighting prowess that Yi Fan had shown today, and although Yi Fan was in a demented state most of the time, there were still times when Yi Fan was awake. When facing the bullying of the Xin family in Shangjing, with Yi Fan by her side, Ching Rulin was going to have a little more confidence. Go, Sister Rulin. Yi Fan has already started to awaken. He can definitely help some by tagging along. Su Yi Shui said to Qing Rulin. At the same time she walked to Yi Fan's side and looked at Yi Fan with a burning look. Little Fan, we are all your women now. When you follow Sister Rulin to the flower capital, you first have to protect yourself, and then you have to protect Sister Rulin from being bullied. Do you understand? Yi Fan's heart burst with Wainer. Understood, Yi Shui's wife. Whoever bullies my wife baby, I'll beat them up and fly. Yi Fan waved his arm, and although he acted a bit naive, the words he said were from his heart. The Xin family in Shangjing, in front of so many families have had the fate of extinction, they still do not know how to die to rush forward? This trip to Huadu trip, Yi Fan intends not to retain his strength, will certainly make a mess of Huadu. Cheng Rolin led Yi Fan as he flew towards the provincial city of Huadu, still in the car. Yi Fan quietly informed Guo Li to use Pang Hai's power to secretly monitor the behavior of the Xin family's eldest young man unparalleled to ensure the safety of Qing Xiaocheng's life. This would have been directed at myself. Qing Rulin and the other six sisters-in-law had married themselves and were already their own women, and now that they had awakened, then they must not let the people of the Qing family be harmed. Rulin's wife, there's no need to rush, I'm here, I'll protect you, won't let them bully us. Yi Fan looked at Qing Rulin's anxious appearance, reached out and grabbed Qing Rulin's wrist, a breath of vitality didn't enter into Qing Rulin's body. 
warming her body while regulating Ching Rulin's mind. A warm current entered Ching Rulin's body along her wrist. Ching Rulin instantly felt a warmth in her body, and the anxiety and worries in her heart instantly seemed to dissipate, and her heart was extraordinarily peaceful. It seemed that with Yi Fan around, nothing was a problem. Is this his man? Chang Rulin realized more and more that she hadn't chosen wrong. Xiao Fan husband, today things are settled. Evening, we, thinking of the things behind, Chang Rulin's face blushed for a while, and directly snuggled in Yi Fan's arms. A breath emerged from Yi Fan's wrist and pressed Ching Rulin's blood veins, causing Ching Rulin to fall asleep directly. Driving back to the provincial city from Cloud City would take at least two hours, and Chang Rulin couldn't do anything on the way, so it would be better for her to just fall asleep. In fact, what Chang Rulin had just said to Sui Shui, Yi Fan heard clearly. Chang Rulin wanted to lend herself to the provincial city. Naturally, she wanted to be Yi Fan's woman, because by being in close contact with Yi Fan, one could gain warmth to enhance their strength. And such a quick method of enhancement was indeed the fastest shortcut. The most crucial thing was that Yi Fan could feel that Ching Rulin had moved emotionally towards himself. Thinking of this, Yi Fan held Ching Rulin tightly in his arms and kissed Ching Rulin on her forehead. Hua Du, the economic center of the entire Dasha region, is a prosperous city comparable to Shangjing. In the southern suburb of Hua Du, in a clubhouse, the young master of the Ching family, Ching Xiao Chang, was being guarded by several bodyguards. In front of Ching Xiao Chang, there was a young man in a white shirt sitting in front of him, and it was none other than Shen Xiao Xiao, the eldest son of the Shen family in Shangjing. Young Master Cheng, didn't you say that your sister would definitely come to save you? Two hours have almost passed. Your sister should be back from Cloud City, right? Let's see. Why don't I collect some interest first and cut one of your thumbs? Shen Xiao Xiao stared at Qing Xiao Chang with an evil face, and in his heart, he was actually somewhat contemptuous. The Qing family's daughter, Cheng Rulin, the person looks extremely good. Ability IQ. All aspects are top. But this younger brother. Is a wimpy thing. He just used a little bit of trickery. This guy fell for it. Hing's family tens of billions of dollars in cash all taken by themselves. Even their own father mortgaged to brush their own toilets for a month. Of course Xin Xiaoxiao's purpose is not these. The Xin family of Shangjing. Is one of the six most powerful families in Dasha. And is not a family that lacks money. Xin Xiaoxiao came this time. Was authorized by his grandfather. Came to make a move against the Qing family. The Yi family was almost wiped out. Ten core disciples died in one day. Anyone with a discerning eye knew that this was someone trying to deal with the Yi family. And everyone was avoiding it. And those seven grandson daughters-in-law of the Yi family. Not only did they not back down. They actually announced at the funeral of those disciples of the Yi family that they would marry Yi Fan at the same time. This had a big impact on the plan of action on the side of grandpa and his allies. Originally, ten sons and daughters of the Yi family died in one day. Which should have been an earthquake for the whole of Disya. But the fact that the seven women heroes didn't leave them alone was slapping them in the face. On the side of grandpa and his allies, they had already sent countless waves of people back and forth to deal with the Yi family, against the Su family, and the Qing family. The result was actually a total loss. Even the Yi family seemed to be getting stronger and stronger the more they fought, and the imperial family in Shangjing had received a request for an order from Elder Yi, who was planning to go to Shangjing. It seems that he is looking for a new commander for the millions of Tianlong army in the north. Then the candidate for the commander-in-chief could naturally only be Yi Fan. Together with the fact that the great summer medical sage Lei Chenjia had already arrived in Cloud City for several days, publicly announcing that Yi Fan's head had not been damaged, and that there were now signs of recovery, and that at most in March, he would be able to fully recover. At that time, Yi Fan completely awakened and took over Yi Changfeng to take charge of the millions of Heavenly Dragon Army. With Yi Fan's demonic talent, who could stop the rise of the Yi family? At that time, Grandpa as well as his allies, and even the people behind Grandpa, will all suffer, right? That's why Grandpa sent Shin Xiaoxiao here, with the aim of catapulting the Yi family, or at least destroying the Qing family, Cheng Rulin, even if Cheng Rulin was forced on her, this would still be a powerful blow to the prestige of the Yi family. That was why Shin Xiao had planned this action today, starting with Qing Xiao Chang. Don't, don't worry, Xiao Shun, my sister will definitely come, my sister loves me the most, look I didn't even inform my father. She will definitely come to save me. Qing Xiao Chang was very confident in his sister. Looking at Qing Xiao Chang's silly look, Qin Xiao burst out laughing. Qing Xiao, have you thought about it? I let your sister come over to save you. How can your sister save? Give money you've already lost all the liquidity of the Qing family to me. If it's a fight, I've got a strong person of the martial Zun realm by my side. Do you think your sister can find an expert of the martial Zun realm to come? This, Qing Xiao Chang didn't think that much at first. And at this time, being reminded by Shen Xiao Xiao, 
he immediately began to be alert. You, Shen Xiao Xiao, tell you that you don't hit my sister's attention, otherwise I'll fight you to the death. Shen Xiao, you're despicable. The moment you started betting with me, you weren't aiming at me, you were aiming at my sister. Right? You're shameless. I'm going to inform my sister. Qing Xiaocheng finally reacted and struggled to call Chang Rolin. Late, Shen Xiao Xiao smiled evilly. The room next to me is all ready, and the cameras are all in place. So when the time comes, it will be a full live broadcast of the intimate images of your sister and I. Don't worry, I'll definitely leave you alive, so that you can appreciate how your sister is being pressed by me underneath her body. The fact that the big boss of the Xin family in Shenjing slept with the Yi family's granddaughter-in-law was the biggest insult to the Yi family. Tang was letting Xin Xiaoxiao make a move, and it was a very vicious move. If Xin Xiaoxiao's plan succeeded, if the Yi family didn't do something about it, then the Yi family's face would be completely swept away, and all those old parts of the Yi family that had previously supported the Yi family would probably have to give up on the Yi family. And if the Yi family really did anything to the Xin family, it would be a direct confrontation with the two major giants of Shangjing, and it would also involve the four great sacred grounds of the nine Sephiroths. Moreover, the most crucial this way, the Yi family exactly what bottom card, to be all exposed. The people behind Tang Zheng can then uproot all of the Yi family and completely wipe out the Yi family. Shen Xiao, Miss Qing and the others have arrived, right in front of the clubhouse, it's just that, that fool from the Yi family also followed them, sis, don't come in, sis, this is a trap, hearing that Qing Rulin had arrived, Qing Xiaoqiang loudly chided towards the outside of the private room, but this private room was soundproofed, so how could Qing Xiaoqiang's voice be heard outside, go, gag him with a rag, his job is done, a cold smile appeared at the corner of Xin Xiaoxiao's mouth, have the next room make that potion, Later I'll make that bitch Ching Rulin wave like a fiery horse. As for that fool, it's just right for him to come. Humph, letting him watch his wife get fucked on the spot would be a bigger shock to those diehard Yi family members. Right, a touch of evil surfaced in Xin Zhao's eyes. Better yet, directly piss off that old thing Yi Changfeng. In fact, in Xin Xiaoxiao's heart, he had never quite believed what grandpa had said about the situation. It had always been set up there that Yi Fan was a genius demon. And the recent events in the Yi family in Cloud City were a bit strange and it was highly likely that they were all secretly manipulated by Yi Fan. Xin Xiaoxiao didn't believe it. Could a fool still manipulate the whole situation? HM. This time, Cheng Rulin actually brought Yi Fan along with her. So Xin Xiaoxiao would definitely not let go of this opportunity to directly get Yi Fan killed. And those bigwigs behind Grandpa would definitely look at themselves differently. Right? Xin Xiaoxiao's judgment of Yi Fan. Even if five years ago Yi Fan's strength had reached the peak of Zongshu, now that Yi Fan was awakened, his strength was at most at the martial Zun realm. This time when Xin Xiao acted, both the family and grandpa's side had sent strong guards from the martial Zun realm. Wouldn't it be easy to take down Yi Fan? But what Xin Xiao Xiao didn't know was that Yi Fan's strength had already reached above the third rank of martial emperor. Any movement within a 500 meter radius could not escape Yi Fan's ears. Qing Xiao Cheng Xiao just now, as well as Xin Xiao Xiao's orders and arrangements, Yi Fan was still outside the door of the clubhouse and had heard them clearly. Cheng Rulin's driver parked his car in front of the clubhouse. Yi Fan looked at the door of the clubhouse. Thinking of Xin Xiaoxiao's arrangement just now, there must be a cold snort. Humph, actually started thinking about your own wife, and you're planning to use a camera to broadcast live? Then this young man will definitely fulfill your wish. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitched as he picked up his cell phone and sent a message to Guoli. Go and get me a few majestic wolf dogs over here. Give them to be excited enough. Understand? You want to insult this young man's wife in front of the camera then this young man will definitely let you experience the feeling of being bullied by a wolf dog. Ah, how did I fall asleep? Are we there already? Yi Fan reached out and pressed a few times on Cheng Rolin's blood veins, and Cheng Rolin instantly woke up, looking around somewhat blankly. N, already arrived. Miss Ching, let's go in together, outside the car door. Yi Fan's four great maids were already in place. Nan Cheng, Xiao Wen, Qing Dao, Peonia, the four great patriarchal powerhouses were along the way with a shocking aura, which made Ching Rulin feel quite at ease. Previously, Ching Rulin only knew that Yi Fan had a deep heritage, but she didn't know that the original Yi family's heritage was actually so strong. The ten core disciples were all only strong at the Zongshu realm, while the Yi family still had four great Zongshu realm maids accompanying Yi Fan after the core disciples perished. Only, as Yi Fan looked at the four beautiful maids in front of him, his heart was still somewhat dissatisfied. The strength of the Zongshu realm, when placed in Cloud City, was already enough for self-preservation. However, Yi Fan would have to make a big fuss about Hua Du in the future and enter the upper capital. The strength of the Zongshu realm would not be that helpful to Yi Fan. Must find a way to get their strength up as well as soon as possible ah. And naturally, 
The fastest way to improve is to make all the four great maids their own women and get warmth from themselves. But that seems a little too soon. Pop, pop, snap. Yi Fan and Chang Rolin had just entered the hall of the clubhouse when Xin Xiaoxiao came down from the stairs clapping. Miss Qing is really on time. If ms. Qing was five minutes late. Your brother's third leg would not have survived. And the Qing family would have been extinct. Mr. Xin. My people are already here. Where is my brother? Release my brother immediately. Qing Rolin stared angrily at Xin Xiao. Looking at Xin Zhao's gloomy face. Miss Qing don't be in a hurry. Our two first time meeting. How can we also need to cultivate feelings first? Xin Xiao Xiao stared at Qing Rolin with a greedy face. His eyes swept up and down. And it seemed that he wanted to peel off Qing Rolin's body. It's really the best of the best. Such a best of the best. Actually wants to marry that fool Yi Fan. What a waste. Didn't your parents teach you that it's rude to stare at someone's wife like that? Xin Xiao Xiao all wanted to reach out and touch it when Yi Fan beside him spoke up. For such an uneducated guy. Grandpa said. Just beat it up directly. Seeing Yi Fan open his mouth. Xin Xiao Xiao suddenly laughed. Ha ha, a fool who still knows it's his wife? Do you know what wife means? It means to sleep together at night. But tonight, your wife is going to sleep with me. Do you want to come and watch together? Xin Xiao Xiao teasingly surveyed the demented Yi Fan in front of him. With Yi Fan in such a state, Xin Xiao Xiao really couldn't believe that this was the demonic genius from five years ago. Snap. Xin Xiao Xiao only cared about what he said. But he didn't expect that Yi Fan actually rushed directly to him and slapped him hard in the face. The crisp ringing sound rang through the hall, causing everyone on the scene to freeze. Stinking fool, how dare you hit me? Xin Xiao Xiao covered her red and swollen cheeks, somewhat incredulous. Xin Xiao Xiao, as the family heir, had been trained by top martial arts experts since he was a child, and his strength had already reached the realm of a grandmaster, but he hadn't actually dodged Yi Fan's slap? And what was even more shocked were the two great martial Zun powerhouses beside Xin Xiao. This is the strongest person that the Xin family invited from the ancient martial arts family. The two major martial Zun experts, so close that they didn't defend themselves against a fool who made a move on Xin Xiao, and when Yi Fan made his move, they didn't notice exactly how Yi Fan did it. Still barking? Looks like it wasn't beaten enough. Snap. Yi Fan's mouth rebuked, raised his hand and smacked Xin Xiao Xiao's face with another one of those. This time, Xin Xiao Xiao both cheeks are symmetrically red and swollen. The pain Xin Xiao Xiao jumped up, but even more difficult is the heart. This is a bare face ah, uh, a fool will be their own beat a time even if but also beat. Ah, god-killing son of a bitch. I will kill you. Xin Xiao is almost mad. He stepped on the horse this time with so many experts. Is to find Xing rule in trouble. How to go out of the division before the first death ah. Xin Xiao Xiao's mouth wowed and his martial aura stirred violently. Just when the crowd thought that Xin Xiao Xiao was going to make a direct move on Yi Fan, Xin Xiao Xiao suddenly turned his figure and actually backed up quickly before hiding behind the two great martial Zun experts. Elder Kong. Elder Chao. Please take action and capture him. Yi Fan's two slaps had struck Xin Xiao Xiao with some fear in her heart. He was at least a strong person of the Zongshu realm. But when facing Yi Fan, he actually did not have the slightest possibility of dodging. And he was afraid that Yi Fan's strength had far exceeded his own. Xin Xiao doesn't want to come and give away his head. Yes, the two great martial Zun realm powerhouses, Elder Kong and Elder Chao, stomped their feet and wrists on the ground. And their bodies instantly rushed in front of Yi Fan. The martial arts chi energy in the hands of the two men began to violently impact and it looked like they were about to make a move on Yi Fan, who was all ready to make a move. However, Elder Kong and Elder Chao suddenly saw a pendant on Yi Fan's neck, and the attacking movements of their hands instantly stopped. Both of them were almost the same action. Their bodies made a sharp turn and actually withdrew back instantly. Xiao Shun. Our purpose today is not to deal with Yi Fan. It's better for Xiao Shun to strike out in some other way. When the two dashed back to Xin Zhao's side, a touch of panic still surfaced in their eyes as they transmitted their voices to each other. Old Kong. You've seen it clearly, haven't you? That is indeed the Nangong family scepter pendant? That's right, it's the scepter pendant of the Namgong family. Why is it on that fool's body? That's it, Nima. That scepter pendant is a symbol of the highest authority of the ancient martial alliance. It should be worn by Miss Nangong personally. What is the relationship between this Yi Fan and Miss Nangong? How did it appear on Yi Fan? What is this foolish young master of the Yi family? Is he born to be so attractive for women to like? Yi Fan had been a little confused as to why the two great martial Zun experts had suddenly stopped moving the moment they made a move on him. But when he heard the two muttering language, Yi Fan couldn't help but look down towards his chest. This pendant that Yi Fan wore on his chest was exactly the one that in the Wanbao Pavilion, Counselor Wu said that their lady had forwarded to him. At that time, Yi Fan just felt that there was some kind of strange vitality power in that pendant, which vaguely sensed with himself and gave Yi Fan a very comfortable feeling. So he wore the pendant on his body. So, 
Is this the scepter of the ancient martial arts alliance? An existence that could, in principle, command the entire ancient martial arts world. Namgung family. It seems that that Miss Nangong, giving herself something is not a lightweight. Elder Kong. Elder Chow. What are you, doing? Grandpa and Grandpa invited you guys here to deal with Yifan Ah. Xin Xiao Xiao was on the side and had been waiting to see Yifan's joke. As a result, the two of them, Elder Chow and Elder Kong, actually withdrew their hands the moment they made their move. Such an action directly confused Xin Xiao. Young Shun, it's indeed right for us to come and help, but I feel like it's a bit immoral for the two of us to bully a fool at our age. Old Kong says it's like that, right? Right right right. The most important thing for us martial arts people is to put morals and be civilized. Dealing with a fool like this is really degrading. Old Chow, I didn't sleep well last night and I suddenly feel a bit sleepy. Why don't we go back to bed? That's exactly what I was thinking. So let's go. In Xin Zhao's shocked eyes, the two great martial Zun powerhouses, Chao Lao and Kong Lao, after vaguely owing Yi Fan, retreated towards the main door at a rapid pace. Two against one is immoral? Civilized? Are you kidding me? In the martial arts, life and death are not important. You're going to civilize me? Speak of Nima, Xiao Shun. Don't call us when there's nothing going on. And don't call us when there's something going on even more so. On pavilion elder Tang Zheng's side, we'll explain ourselves. Xiao Shun better think of other ways. We haven't been here today. The silhouettes of the two instantly disappeared without a trace. But the sound was still coming. Nima, the two are not stupid. Yi Fan has the scepter of the ancient martial arts alliance on his body. That means that behind Yi Fan is at least using the support of the Nangong family. Although the Chao family and the Kong family were not weak in the ancient martial arts world, it was clearly unwise to offend an allied family. So the two suddenly buggered off, leaving Xin Xiao Xiao alone in the wind. Who am I? Where am I? What the hell did I do? Although only Yi Fan and Chang Roland had come to the scene, from the strength of Yi Fan who had just slapped himself twice one after the other and had not dodged himself, Yi Fan's strength was at least above the martial Zun realm. After the departure of Elder Kong and Elder Chao at the scene, the strongest strength on Xin Zhao's side was only at the peak of the Zongshir. If they really fought, Xin Xiao did not have any chance of winning. Ha, huh? weren't they going to fight? Why did they suddenly run away? Yi Fan smiled evilly and spoke towards Xin Xiao. Do you still want to continue barking? As he spoke, Yi Fan rubbed his palms as if he was planning to strike at any time. Xin Xiao Xiao looked bilious. His hands will cover his face. Depressed or almost crazy. I, I don't generalize with you. Xin Xiao Xiao was also speechless. He had thought that Yi Fan was still bullying, but it turned out to be that he had been violently beaten up by a fool. M.S. Ching, your brother mortgaged all of the Qing family's assets. If you want to redeem your brother, you always have to pay a small price. Xin Xiao Xiao held back the anger in his heart and turned his head to target Ching Rolin. Since Yi Fan, the fool, was not easy to deal with, then as long as Ching Rolin was taken down, the effect achieved would be the same. Just what Xin Xiao Xiao didn't know was that the current Yi Fan, wasn't stupid at all, and his strength was already at the martial emperor level. All of Xin Zhao's movements were clowns in front of Yi Fan. Mr. Xin, what exactly do you want? Chang Rolin frowned and chided towards Xin Xiao. Xin Xiao looked at Chang Rolin's coquettish appearance, his mood instantly better. What I want is very simple. Miss Ching accompanied me alone to talk about. Time is very short. Three minutes is enough. Three minutes Xin Xiao Xiao were still bragging, before Xin Xiao Xiao so many times, have not lasted a minute. Looking at Xin Xiao Xiao's lewd appearance, Cheng Rulin immediately guessed what Xin Xiao Xiao wanted to do. You're dreaming, I have a husband. You're shameless. Ha, Miss Ching, feel free to scold me however you like. Anyway, you have to be clear about one thing, now that your brother has lost the Qing family and even your father to me. If you don't promise me, then your Qing family will be destroyed today, and your face will be disgraced. Xin Xiao Xiao felt little pressure when he spoke to Qing Rulin, and seemed to be pleased that he could completely pin down Qing Rulin. Of course, you can also take everything back in another way, that is to bet with me again. Xin Xiao stared at Qing Rulin evilly, guiding Qing Rulin step by step. Bet? Good ah. I'll bet with you. I like to bet the most. Yi Fan coldly smiled from the side. Killing and killing, let Xin Xiao Xiao completely despair good. You, a fool, what's the point of betting with me? A glint surfaced in Xin Xiao Xiao's eyes, and a fire began to ignite in his heart again. If he were to guide Yi Fan to bet with himself and lose the Yi family to him as well, the sensation caused would definitely be even more enormous. Betting your life, do you dare? Yi Fan's sentence was like a bomb that directly blew Xin Xiao a bit confused. Next to her, Cheng Rulin was also filled with worry. Xiao Fan, don't mess around. Ching Rulin thought that Yi Fan was still dealing with the state of dementia and opened her mouth to try to continue to dissuade Yi Fan. However, the four attendants beside Yi Fan knew that the young master had fully awakened a long time ago, 
Don't worry Miss Ching, our young master's gambling skills are very good, he has never lost before. If I lose, my life belongs to you, you can kill me on the spot, I definitely won't resist. If you lose, in addition to all of the Qing family's assets being returned, your life belongs to me. Yi Fan explained, we're going to play big, do you, dare, how dare you. Actually, Shen Xiaoxiao was somewhat afraid to do so, especially seeing Yi Fan's burning eyes. Shen Xiaoxiao wasn't even sure if Yi Fan was in a state of dementia or had awakened. If Yi Fan was a fool, with the thousand arts experts on his side, he would definitely not have any problems dealing with a fool. But if Yi Fan had awakened, and Yi Fan's strength was above the martial Zun realm, what if he played a trick and denied the result? Shen Xiaoxiao was still hesitant when he suddenly received a call in his earphone. Shen Xiaoxiao, don't worry, the sacred envoy organization side has already dispatched experts at the martial emperor level to lurk around the clubhouse and bet against him. A martial emperor level expert has arrived? Was it all behind grandpa's back that showed up? Nima, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Shen Xiaoxiao immediately felt his waist straighten, how powerful Yi Fan was. At most, he was only at the strength of the martial Zun realm, right? HM, since the sacred envoy organization side had sent a strong person at the martial emperor level, it was impossible for Yi Fan to leave from here alive, regardless of the outcome of the bet he made with himself today. Good, I'll bet with you. Shen Xiaoxiao smiled evilly, but if I win, don't blame me for bullying a fool like you. Miss Ching, you can testify from the side. Ching Rulin was a bit at a loss for words. Xiao Fan, can you really do it? Yi Fan smiled faintly. Rulin wife, how can a man say no? While speaking, Yi Fan reached out and pinched Ching Rulin's buttocks, causing Ching Rulin's mouth to let out a burst of pout. Looking at Yi Fan with some doubt, little Fan husband, you, Yi Fan nodded, it won't take long. But dealing with Shen Xiao shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yi Fan has awakened? Cheng Rulin was finally sure. Since Yi Fan had awakened, nothing would be a problem. After all, during the day today, Cheng Rulin had also witnessed Yi Fan make a move to save Cheng Rulin, Xian Yu Fei, and Sui Shui all at the same time, instantly moving out of the range of the explosion from as high as a five story building. The powerhouses of the Martial Zun realm were all null and void in front of Yi Fan, and Yi Fan's strength after awakening was at least above the Martial Emperor level. So today's situation, surely, is stable. But this bad guy, how did he pinch himself there in front of so many people? Yi Fan had already awakened. But before, he was Yi Fan's sister-in-law. And now he was going to be with Yi Fan. And if Yi Fan was in his awakened state, wouldn't that be a shame? Thinking about her plans for tonight, Chang Rolin couldn't help but blush for a moment. Shen Xiaoxiao, full of confidence, brought Yi Fan and Chang Rolin, as well as the four great maids to a private room in the clubhouse. In the private room, there had long been bodyguards arranged by Shen Xiaoxiao, as well as a few masters of the thousand arts sitting across the table. What we're going to play today is very simple. We're going to play the fried gold flower that we're all familiar with. Whoever is bigger, is considered the winner. Shen Xiao introduced the rules with a smug look on his face, and a scar-faced man from the scene began to prepare to deal the cards. Shuffle and cut. Everything was natural. With so many people staring at the scene, it seemed like everything was normal for that master of the thousand tricks to move. However, Yi Fan only took a faint look and discovered the end. Although that thousand arts expert's movements were fast, Yi Fan was a martial emperor powerhouse with magic pupils, and he still keenly captured the moment that thousand arts expert made his move. That master of the thousand tricks moved his fingers one after another the moment Yi Fan cut his cards, cutting several aces all the way to 246, and 135 is replaced with third kings. In this way, if the cards were dealt normally, what Yi Fan got in his hand would be three kings, while on Xin Zhao's side, what he got would be three aces. Three old kings is actually pretty big in a hand, and anyone is bound to call if they get a hand like that. This is why so many people will lose their money in gambling. Those masters of the thousand tricks can control any card you want, and any card he wants. You think your hand is big enough, that's just the kind of hand he wants you to have, and his hand is just that much bigger than yours, enough to beat you just enough. When you bet all your assets on it, you end up with nothing. That's why there's a saying, 9 out of 10 bets are fraudulent, and no bet is a win. Don't touch a bet even if you are 100% sure. Your 100% is just what others make you think is 100%. Of course, Yi Fan, as a martial emperor powerhouse and with the instantaneous shift trait added to his body, any technique was completely useless in front of him. The moment that scar-faced man dealt the cards, Yi Fan made his move. A vague fluctuation of qi energy in his hand. At the moment the cards flew out. Using qi energy to catalyze that cardboard to quickly misplace the position. 246 position of the cards. And 135 all the cards were switched. So, 
The final result was that the three aces originally sent to Xin Xiao all went to Yi Fan, and Xin Xiao was holding three old kings. After the cards were dealt out, Xin Xiao and the scar faced man glanced at each other. The scar faced man secretly nodded to Xin Xiao, and a smug smile appeared at the corner of Xin Zhao's mouth when he received the scar faced man's affirmative answer. Yi Fan, is the card I dealt you okay? Yi Fan took the card in his hand and looked at it, and said with an excited face, What a big card, no problem, no problem, you guys didn't make a mistake, did you? With such a big deck, I'm going to raise my bet. Yi Fan, this fool is actually going to raise the bet? Xin Xiao Xiao froze, he invited the foreign masters of the thousand tricks, long ago will be today's betting winners and losers internalized. Yi Fan actually want to raise the bet? What do you want to raise the bet? Xin Xiao Xiao's heart heated up. If he guided Yi Fan to lose the Yi family's assets as well, Grandpa would definitely praise himself. I, I'll bet my entire Yi family's assets, and my grandfather's life as well. Is that okay? Yi Fan said with a serious face, I can make a note. What? Qin Xiao Chang had only lost his dad to Xin Xiao earlier, and Yi Fan was going to bet on his grandfather as well? Xin Xiao Xiao's mouth was about to smile crookedly at such a good thing delivered to her door. Ha ha, of course you can, of course you can, come on people. Get Yi Xiao a paper and a writing receipt. Xin Xiao Xiao ordered the men around him, all a bit impatient. Before Yi Fan died, he actually had to pull his grandfather down. Was it really the thinking of a fool? Although it was not enough to get Yi Changfeng killed with a note, it was still legally valid for the first young master of the Yi family to stake the assets of the Yi family. Yi Fan stopped instantly when he was about to write, I bet on the Yi family, and Young Xin has to bet on something corresponding to that. Ah, uh, right. Xiao Xin should also bet the assets of the Xin family as well as Xiao Shen's grandfather, and the Tang family's assets as well in order to equalize with the Yi family, right? This time, the one who spoke for Yi Fan was the maid by his side, Nan Sheng. Regarding Xin Xiao Xiao's background, Yi Fan's side had already investigated it clearly a long time ago. Grandpa Tang Zhang is one of the nine great summer pavilions, morning instruction sun dishing Rob Cheng Rulin's emerald agent failed. The evening let the grandson personally, this time, naturally, cannot let Tang Zhang stay out of it. Aha! Yi Fan side actually made his information so clear? Xin Xiaofa froze for a few seconds, but instantly realized that it wasn't like the relationship between his Xin family and his grandfather. Tang Zheng's family was a secret. After all, the Yi family was one of the top mansions in Dasha, and it wasn't strange to know this information. Although Yi Fan was a fool, the few maids around him definitely had their own channels for obtaining information. Although Xin Xiaoxiao sensed that there was something wrong with the request made by the maid, this big gamble was a bet on Yi Fan's life the entire Yi family's assets, and Yi Chongfeng's life, as long as Xin Xiao wins, even if Yi Fan doesn't die now, with this bet, it will make the Yi family lose face, and make those close to the Yi family lose hope and patience, good, the bet's on, get a pen, brush up, without any hesitation, Xin Xiao wrote the note as well and then pressed her handprint, it wasn't that Xin Xiao Xiao didn't suspect, it was really that these bets that Yi Fan had placed were too tempting, all of this, what grandpa and the people behind him wanted, the experts that grandpa had invited from the ancient martial arts family had retreated, and the people behind grandpa had sent strong people at the level of martial emperor to sit in on the scene, so Xin Xiao Xiao would have to put on a good show today even if he had to fight for his life. It's okay now, isn't it? Xin Xiao Xiao looked at the two copies of the note placed in the center of the table, not caring much at all about the one he had just written. In Xin Xiao Xiao's opinion, with the strong man of the thousand arts invited back from abroad to deal with a fool, he read a sure win situation today. Qing Xiaochang also has a master of the thousand tricks around him, and today they all lost their bottoms, a fool, but not at their mercy? Until now, Xin Xiaoxiao didn't even know that the cards he thought he was sure to win had already been quietly changed by Yi Fan. Of course, Xiao Shun, please open the cards. Yi Fan responded with a faint smile. Do you still need to open the cards? Young Yi, if you dare to agree to bet with me today and dare to step into this gate, you've already lost. Xin Xiaoxiao spoke with a confident face. I don't know if Yang Yi's previous bet counts? Yi Xiao's life. I want. Your people will resist? Xin Xiao played with the dagger in his hand and stared at Yi Fan with a cold face. If Yi Fan really honored his promise and let himself kill him, then how great this credit was. Xin Xiao simply dared not imagine. Grandpa and his allies, as well as those behind him, had spent a heavenly price in order to deal with the Yi family. After the deaths of the Ten Core Disciples, those vassal clans that Cloud City had set up behind them in order to deal with this fool and old thing of the Yi family had all been lost. Of course I won't resist. This is a gambling contract with a written note. So naturally, one must honor his word. Yi Fan stared indifferently at Xin Xiao Xiao and continued to speak. Then, if Young Xin loses, will he honor his promise as well? Xiao Yi is joking. I said that today here. 
It's my home ground. I will never lose. As Xin Shao spoke, he glanced towards the door of the private room. The martial emperor powerhouse behind grandpa had already arrived. With such an expert in attendance, Xin Shao didn't put Yi Fan in his eyes at all. Before the cards are opened, everything is possible. Xin Shao might as well make it clear. If you lose, your grandfather, the Xin family, including your life, all belong to me. Is that right? Yi Fan once again pursued the question. Seeing Yi Fan with such an attitude, Xin Shao began to feel a little hairy in his heart. Why was Yi Fan so sure? But the master of the thousand arts that he had hired had just given himself a clear signal that everything was under control. Ah, vaguely, Xin Shao already had an ominous feeling. However, Xin Shao still chose to believe in the means of the masters of the thousand arts and continued to speak stiffly. Of course, I, Xin Shao, have a mouthful of spittle and a nail, and my words definitely count. Open the cards. Yi Fan spoke again. So calmly that Xin Shao Shao was a bit nonplussed. Open on open, Yi Shao. It seems that you do not die until you reach the Yellow River. Ha! I have three aces in my hand. An absolute ace. What are you going to win with? Xin Shao Shao turned over the cards on the table and flung them fiercely towards the table. Ching Rulin beside Yi Fan tugged at the corner of Yi Fan's coat with a tense face. Although she knew that Yi Fan in his awakened state must have the means to deal with it. She was still worried. Snap! The cards fell on the table. The three kings clearly visible. The scar-faced man in charge of dealing the cards instantly froze when he saw such a card. Those bodyguards behind Shen Shao also froze. Shen Shao, do you not know how to read? This is clearly three kings. How come it's three aces? Yi Fan smiled evilly. The three aces are clearly with me. I'm the ace. This bet. I win. Yi Fan gently flipped his side of the cards over and three aces surfaced in front of everyone's eyes. Ha! Huh? Shen Shao Shao looked at her three cards incredulously and was directly dumbfounded. How is this possible? What's going on? What the fuck is wrong with you? Shit. Shen Xiao Xiao excitedly rushed to the front of the scar-faced man who dealt the cards, grabbed the scar-faced man's neck with both hands, and growled angrily. Didn't you agree to deal me three aces? How did it get to Yi Fan's side? Shen Xiao. I. Don't know ah. Uh, when I shuffled the cards, I had already shuffled them, and in the moments before the cards were dealt, I also looked at the cards below. And the three aces should indeed come to Young Shen's hand by all rights. That scar-faced man was puzzled while his pupils dilated for a while, and he was also filled with shock. Moments before the cards were dealt, he even looked at them. But why did they change after they were dealt? That's not possible. Shen Xiaoxia was angry for a few seconds, looking at the scar-faced man's confused eyes. His heart continued to gradually calm down. This expert in the art of thousand tricks was hired by himself from outside the country at a high price, and he had already cooperated with Shen Xiaoxia many times. He had faith in his skill and loyalty, but now that the cards are presented this way, it can only mean one thing. He cheated. The scar-faced man also thought of this problem, and a flash of shock appeared in his eyes as he spoke to Shen Xiao. Yi Fan cheating? Shen Xiao Xiao was still a bit unsure even though she had thought of it, but he's just a fool? How does a fool go about cheating? I'm afraid not many people would believe that, right? But now the cards have been presented like this. If you admit it, then Shen Xiao Xiao's life belongs to Yi Fan. Shen Xiao willing to gamble, willing to lose, I won, according to what I just said, your life belongs to me, your grandfather, all the assets of your Shin family, all belong to me, as Yi Fan spoke, he took the note from Shin Xiao Xiao and intended to put it away, but Shin Xiao Xiao violently pressed the note down and coldly spoke, Yi Fan, you cheated, you cheated, this game doesn't count, typical thievery, I cheated, Shen Xiao, you can't talk nonsense, take out the evidence ah, uh, where did you see me cheating? Yi Fan's face also began to gloom. If it wasn't for the purpose of pitting the Shin and Tang families, Yi Fan would have already made a direct move to start the fight. Call the monitor. Let the clubhouse people come to call the monitor. I want to see the monitor. With Shen Xia Xiao's call, the club staff immediately moved to a few computers. We'll be in the room of the surveillance called out. Slow down 10 times to view. There is no problem. Slow down 40 times to view. Still did not find any evidence of cheating. In the end, after viewing almost frame by frame, he still didn't see any evidence of Yi Fan cheating. But Shen Xiao Xiao and the scar-faced man knew clearly that the cards they had prepared had ended up like this, and it must have been Yi Fan or someone around him who had moved. But the point is you can't find any evidence. What else can you say? Poof. Shen Xiao Xiao's legs went limp and he directly paralyzed on the ground. A few hours ago, Shen Xiao Xiao was still mocking Qing Xiao Chang for losing his father. And now Shen Xiao Xiao had also lost his father and grandfather and grandfather all. And to a fool. Yi Xiao, please don't kill me, okay? If you don't kill me, I'll buy you a lot of candies, I'll buy you a lot of delicious food. Until this moment, Shen Xiao Xiao thought that Yi Fan was just a fool. He still thought that Yi Fan could not possibly have a hand in it. 
and that the only ones who could have a hand in it would be the maids around Yi Fan. Candy? Of course I'm going to eat it, but I'm going to get it myself. Yi Fan smiled evilly, and with a fluctuation of qi energy in his hand, he easily pushed Qin Xiao Xiao away from him, and brought over the note he had written, handing it over to Xiao Wen by his side. The scene is all recorded, isn't it? According to the situation of this note, make a video and send it to the internet. Let the netizens judge it. Didn't Xin Xiao want to use this bet to deal with the Yi family and sweep the Yi family's face? Then Yi Fan would return the favor in his own way. Don't. Don't ah. Xin Xiao Xiao then noticed that Xiao Wen had been holding a cell phone in her hand, recording the scene. The Yi family, as the Di Xia's top gentry, although it had suffered a heavy blow, its influence was not something that a single family, the Xin family, could fight against. It could be imagined that when Yi Fan transmitted this video footage online and fermented it, what impact would it have on the Xin and Tang Zheng families? Tang Zheng, one of the nine great pavilion elders, actually instructed his grandson, Shen Xiao, to go and bet with Yi Fan, and the key was that Shen Xiao bet with a fool, and even lost the bet, losing his own grandfather to brush the toilet for Yi Fan. It's just a strange shame, and with such an action, the influence generated was more powerful than the actual effect. Those clans that had previously remained neutral might all revert back to the Yi family's side. Shen Xiao Xiao still wanted to come over and grab the note, but the four attendants beside Yi Fan were all at the strength of the Zongshu realm, so Shen Xiao Xiao couldn't even get close. Nancheng stepped forward, from Shen Xiao Xiao's side to take all the notes made by Qing Xiao Chang before. Qing Xiao Chang's loss of the transfer off the Qing family, in addition to cash, all returned. Snap! Shen Xiao Xiao powerless fell to sit on the ground, look a little stagnant. How can he not figure out? Today's own plan is obviously so smooth. Why did he end up a fool cannot fight? After slightly hesitating for a few seconds, Shen Xiao suddenly realized, Yi Fan, you're not stupid at all? Right. You're in an awakened state, right? Shen Xiao Xiao stared at Yi Fan somewhat frantically, his gaze full of shock. If Yi Fan was in his awakened state, it would be too terrifying, ah. Yi Fan was a demonic genius five years ago, so if he played dumb for five years and developed obscenely, what point did his strength reach now? Yi Fan smiled faintly. Do you only understand now? Isn't it a bit late? Just now. Yi Fan has received the news that Guo Li has brought people over and surrounded the entire clubhouse. All the staff members have been taken down, and all the monitoring hard disks have been controlled. The cell phone signals here were also all unshielded, and it was impossible for Xin Xiao to pass any information out. Yu Chang also arrived with his men, lurking around, and had spotted a martial emperor powerhouse trying to approach. Yu Chang's men were the most elite and strongest members of the Tianji Pavilion's killer hall, all of whom could fight across levels. As Yu Chang personally stepped out, that martial emperor expert who wanted to approach, wandered around for a long time, never daring to make a move. Ah, you, quickly, quickly call and inform grandpa and grandpa. Xin Xiao with a horrified face rebuked towards the bodyguards and henchmen behind her. This Yi Fan was too scary. Xin Xiao Xiao now felt as if she had gotten inside a bureau set up by Yi Fan. The news that Yi Fan had awakened already had to be notified to grandpa and grandpa, otherwise they didn't know how much longer they would be lied to. But after those men of Xin Xiao Xiao took their cell phones out, they found that all the messages could not be sent out, and the cell phone signals had all been blocked. Xiao Shun, there's no cell phone signal. I don't have a signal here either. Everyone has no signal. Listening to the report of his men, Xin Zhao's heart completely cooled. He opened his cell phone and confirmed that there was indeed no signal. Yi Fan, this is all your trick right? Xin Xiao Xiao understood that everything was definitely Yi Fan's trick. Originally, Xin Xiao Xiao thought that Yi Fan was already dead when he stepped into this clubhouse. But it turned out that the moment Yi Fan stepped into this clubhouse was the beginning of Yi Fan's plan. Yi Fan, Ching Rulin, don't be too happy. Don't forget that Qing Xiao Chang is still in my hands, and none of you want him to die, right? Xin Xiao Xiao was still making a final struggle. Squeak. Just as Xin Zhao's words fell, the door to the private room opened, and Guo Li appeared in the private room with a few elite henchmen, along with Qing Xiao Chang. Sis, it's great that you're okay. Quickly go. This bastard is not good intentioned. Want to bully you. Sis you quickly go, don't care about me. Although Qin Xiao Chang is a bastard, but was genuinely loving to Qin Rulin. Until now, he still didn't understand what the situation was. Seeing that Qin Rulin was fine, he was relieved and pushed saying Qin Rulin, so he wanted Qin Rulin to escape. When Qin Rulin saw Guai Li appear, she knew that everything should be under Yi Fan's control. Call brother-in-law. Qin Rulin pulled Qin Xiao Chang towards Yi Fan and introduced him. Ah, Qin Xiao Chang didn't react for a moment and Cheng Rulin hurriedly continued to add, didn't you see that it was your brother-in-law who brought someone to save you? Cheng Xiaocheng glanced at Guo Li on the scene, then looked at the card game on the table, and instantly seemed to understand, 
brother-in-law. So you know gambling too? Let's exchange more in the future when we have time. Xing Xiaocheng's eyes were glowing and while looking at Yi Fan, his mouth couldn't help but speak. Yi Fan looked Xing Xiaocheng up and down and turned his head towards Qing Rolin, Rulin's wife. Hand him over to me for a week and I'll put him on the right path. Qing Rolin was stunned. And then she quickly nodded. Good. In order to let Qing Xiaocheng on the right path, the family, as well as Qing Rolin, have not spent a lot of effort, but just cannot take Qing Xiaocheng. But Yi Fan was such a demonic genius, he definitely had a way. And when Qing Xiaocheng heard Yi Fan and Cheng Rulin's conversation, he suddenly felt a cold feeling in his back, an ominous feeling. What are you going to do? Yi Fan ignored Qing Xiaocheng and instead turned his gaze to Shen Xiaoxiao with a smirk. At this time Shen Xiaoxiao were completely desperate. They thought they could use Qing Xiaocheng as blackmail, but it turned out that Yi Fan's people had actually saved Qing Xiaocheng. You, don't be arrogant, Yi Fan, let me tell you. My grandpa also invited a martial emperor expert to come and help. All of you present today. No one wants to live. Xin Xiaoxiao looked towards the door and the window with a worried face. As early as 10 minutes ago, grandpa's side said that the martial emperor experts had already arrived in the vicinity. How come they haven't shown up yet? What Xin Xiaoxiao did not know was that the martial emperor experts sent by the holy envoy side, after sensing the presence of Yu Chang and the others, were two kilometers away and did not dare to move at all. Asshole, what's going on? How come the people from the Tianji pavilion have started to move as well? That stance. It seems like they're coming right at us. An old man in a long shirt closed his eyes, feeling Yu Chang's strong probing aura. Elder, should we move on? If we don't go over there, I'm afraid that Xin Xiao will be finished. Humph, going to a fart? You are not aware of the power of Tianji pavilion. Their killer hall. As long as they strike, there is no case of failure. Three of their martial zoon experts can disable a martial emperor powerhouse. I'm not willing to go and send myself to death. Withdraw. In the clubhouse, Xin Xiaoxiao was still waiting for the martial emperor expert to show up. Guo Li and Yi Fan glanced at each other, smiled evilly, and ordered a few of their men to take Xin Xiaoxiao down and drag him towards the prepared room next to them. Xin Xiaoxiao himself was also powerful in the Zongshu realm, but at this moment, he didn't know why, but his whole body's power actually couldn't be utilized at all. You. What are you doing? Let me go. My grandfather is Tang Zhang. If any of you touch me, I'll kill your whole family. Without any hesitation, Guo Li and a few of his men pushed Xin Xiaoxiao into the room that he had prepared for himself earlier. Only that as soon as Xin Xiaoxiao entered, he realized that seven or eight brawny wolf dogs, all of them male dogs, were actually placed inside. Those wolfhounds, each with red eyes, looked as if spring had arrived. Please give us a great live broadcast. Xiao Shun. Guo Li ordered the door of the room to be closed and the miserable screams of Xin Xiaoxiao instantly came from inside. Ah, don't, let me out, you're not human, HM, if this young man hadn't awakened, then it would be Rulin's wife who would have to suffer today, wouldn't it? To his enemies, Yi Fan had never been merciful, glancing at Qing Rulin by his side, Yi Fan couldn't help but feel a heartache in his heart, following these women of their own, it was really hard for them as well, the Yi family had not yet risen again, and those enemies had not yet been completely resolved so they would always be harassed. This time, Tang Zhang's own grandson came looking for things, so let's use Xin Xiaoxiao to open the door and teach them a lesson. Let them know the pain. They had killed the ten core disciples of the Yi family, and they had to let them know the pain of losing their loved ones as well. Two kilometers away, that martial emperor powerhouse immediately retreated after sensing that something was wrong, and at the same time notified Tang Zhang and Shangjing of the news. What, Elder Feng? Why are you retreating? What will my grandson do if you retreat? Tang Zhang's heart went cold after receiving the call from the Martial Emperor Powerhouse. The fact that people from the Tianji Pavilion's Killer Hall had actually appeared around the clubhouse was not a normal sign in the first place. With this Martial Emperor expert arranged by the Holy Envoy organization retreating, his own grandson would probably have a bit of a hard time dealing with Yi Fan and those few attendants by his side. And if Yi Fan had those other experts by his side joining in as well, wouldn't his own grandson be at a disadvantage? Besides, Elder Feng, those assassins from the Tianji Pavilion, how are you sure that they are heading for Yi Fan? Tang Zhengdu jumped anxiously. Elder Feng, why don't we trouble you to go back and at least bring out my grandson? Thinking about what happened to Sun Dishing in the morning, Tang Zheng's heart became more and more uneasy. Although Yi Fan was only a fool on the surface, who knew how many more cards he had? He had clearly arranged for General Sun Pa to butt heads with Sun Dishing. And in the end, the Emerald Proxy still fell into the Qing Rulin family. Emerald Agency writes, that's a fortune worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Together with the snow face cream announced by the Su family, that was also a profit scale of hundreds of billions of dollars. 
Just these two items alone would provide more than $200 billion of financial support to the Yi family campsite in a year. If Yi Fan were to awaken at some point, it would be a sure thing that the Yi family would rise again. Now the people of the Tianji Pavilion are involved again. The last time the Su family thing, Pang Hai in the appearance of the. Now it seems that the Tianji Pavilion must also have some kind of mysterious connection before Yi Fan. I don't want to go and die. If you want you, Pavilion Elder Tang. You go yourself. The words paused. Elder Fong suddenly spoke in a somewhat strange tone. Tang Pavilion Elder. You'd better go online now and watch an explosive video. And a wonderful live broadcast. But you'd better be psychologically prepared first. The key word is to lose grandpa. Aha. Uh -huh. In Shangjing, in the courtyard of the Tang family. Tang Zhang was a bit puzzled as he asked the men around him to open the short video and tried to search for it. A clear video popped up. Ye shall see clearly. This is the note I made. I put my grandfather Tang Zhang, the Tang family, as well as all the assets of my Shen family, including my life all bet on. If I lose, my grandfather will go to your grandfather's house to brush the toilet for your grandfather for a month. Watching the beginning of the video, Tang Zhang's entire body was instantly bad. For this video to be sent out, it meant that his grandson had definitely lost and Yi Fan had won. Shen Xiao, you lost, now your grandpa should come to my house right away to brush my grandpa's toilet. Don't play tricks oh? In the video, Yi Fan naively glanced towards the camera's side. If you cheat, grandpa said he would spank your ass. Asshole. Tang Zhang was furious and his face was blue. It was true that Tang Zhang had asked his grandson to go to Huadu to deal with the Qing family. But it was just enough for him to deal with the Qing family and insult Qing Roland to discredit the Yi family. Didn't let this asshole bet all of the Tang and Shen families on a bet with a fool. Now it's good. Shen Xiao was actually won the bet by a fool. And the video was even uploaded to the internet. Although it was impossible for Tang Zhang to actually go to the Yi family to brush the toilet for Yi Changfeng. Tang Zhang was one of the nine court elders. Was he shameless? And this disgrace, as well as not Tang Zhang himself disgrace. Rather, it is those people behind Tang Zhang who are disgraced ah. So many of their magnates out. Even a fool can't deal with it. Are they pigs? At this moment, Yi Changfeng, who was in Cloud City, also saw the video. He was so happy that he laughed out loud. Well done, tramp. It's really my Yi family's seed. It's so relieving. Yi Changfeng had been in charge of the Heavenly Dragon Army for so many years, and his prestige was extremely high in Disya. After the Yi family's accident, Yi Changfeng secretly investigated. In fact, also found out the side of Pavilion Elder Zhang and Pavilion Elder Tang Zhang. Only the evidence is insufficient. And if you make a move, you can't have a substantial impact on them at all. So Yi Changfeng had been holding back the anger in his heart as he waited. Now that Yi Fan had helped to take a breath, Yi Changfeng was happy from the bottom of his heart. Elder Yi, the young master's awakening time seems to be getting longer and longer. Yi Changfeng nodded and said, Indeed, for such a good thing, I must call Tang Zhang to congratulate him. Kill and kill. The grandparents and grandchildren think exactly the same way. In Shangjing, Tang Zhang was about to go mad after watching the video. But it's not over yet. Tang Zhang's men had just slid the video down a bit towards the bottom, when another live stream popped up, directly causing Tang Zhang to all but jump. Crap, isn't that Xin Xiao? Xin Zhao's entire body was torn to shreds and, ah, bastard, such a hot picture. How come it's still not banned? Tang Zhang understood the rules of the platform. It was reasonable to say that such a picture, which was against the rules, should have been banned a long time ago, right? Tang Lao. We called by phone and complained about the situation, but that day said, there are other people above greeted. This live broadcast must be given greater traffic, to let everyone in the country to see. Tang Zhang's eyes closed and he let out a long sigh. The Yi family is starting to fight back. Before Tang Zhang could relax for a moment, Yi Chongfeng's phone suddenly called. Tang Zhang, long time no see. Today I received an unexpected gift. I simply love it too much. Ha ha, so I want to ask, when are you coming to my house? To help me brush the toilet? The whole country can be a witness. Your grandson will you lose? You can't afford to play, right? Pust. Tang Zhang felt a hard stab in his heart. Deliberately. Yi Changfeng definitely did it on purpose. Ye old man, you are joking. This is all made by their young people jokingly. You should not take it seriously. Although Tang Zhang hated to kill Yi Changfeng a thousand times in his heart, but as long as Yi Changfeng did not break his spirit, the entire Disya, any pavilion elder, including those of the royal family, would not dare to be reckless in front of Yi Lao. No, I'm going to take it seriously this time. I'm waiting for you to come to my house to brush the toilet. Otherwise, I'm going to send a video as well. Just to say that you, Tang Zhang, don't keep your word. You're a lousy dog. Ha ha. Yi Changfeng laughed extraordinarily well on the phone. Also, those eight wolf dogs as fighting power. 
is really fierce, your grandson's body is really great. If your grandson has another son, it should be considered a dog X is no run. Ha ha, before hanging up the phone, Yi Chanfeng did not forget to stab Tang Zhang in the heart. Pust. Ah ha. Tang Zhang was on the verge of going crazy with anger. He himself was lost by his grandson. And his own grandson was even bullied by a pack of wolf dogs. Where would the Tang and Shen families put their faces? The point is, when something like this happens, the repercussions are sure to be ripple. As the nine pavilion chiefs themselves, that is the face of Dasha. I'm afraid that the royal side is pressured by public opinion and will have to make a move on themselves, right? Snap. Tang Zhang, who was furious, violently smashed his cell phone onto the ground, smashing it to pieces. Yi Fan, Yi Chong Fong, you two dogs, I will definitely send you to the western paradise. Tang Zhang and the others completely did not expect that because of a thought at that time. They did not make a move on Yi Fan and Yi Chong Fong, so it caused such a disturbance to the present. Before Tang Zhang's breath calmed down, the phone on the other side of his men rang once again. Elder Tang, there's a call from the royal family. Elder Tang, you've seen what's happening on the internet, and as a nine pavilion elder, your face has been damaged, degrading the majesty of the royal family. Just now, we discussed this within the royal family and felt that now that public opinion is winding down, it's better to suggest that you take shelter from the wind for a while. Therefore, we have decided to suspend your position as a pavilion chief, so you can rest at home for a while. The chief executive on the royal side called personally, not to discuss at all, but to give a direct order. Good. Tang Zhang's face was surprisingly calm. He is very clear. His own side, successive action failure, his grandson this outbreak of such a big public opinion, to their own behind those people with a very bad influence. Even the situation is somewhat unfavorable to those behind themselves. After all, so many of their own powerful families have jumped into the open to take action against the Yi family, and the result is still being fooled by a fool. Those behind himself are treating himself as an outcast. Boo. Ending the call, Tang Zheng angrily smashed the other cell phone as well. Ah, damn it. Damn it. How is it so hard to deal with a fool? And an old thing? They didn't even make much of a move. And they destroyed all of their so many layouts? Now we can only hope for action from Cabinet Master Zhang's side. Contact Cabinet Master Zhang for me. Old Tang, I've already seen the online video, and I know about the royal family's decision. Alas. Old Tang don't be anxious. Things will soon pass. My grandson has come back. This time invited one of the four holy places. The nine ghosts holy place experts to come to help. No matter from the force, or many other aspects. Completely crushed the Yi family. Make sure that in Huadu will be Yi fan that fool to finish. In order to end the future trouble. Hearing that pavilion elder Zhang had actually invited a powerful person from the nine sepulchral sacred grounds to take action. Tang Zhan was shocked in his heart. And at the same time had a few moments of elation. For everything. I'll be counting on Brother Zhang, if we can't solve that idiot Yi Fan again. I'm afraid that Brother Zhang will also be in trouble. The nine cabinet ministers, though highly placed and powerful, they were the ones who rushed to the forefront to deal with the Yi family. But in reality, there was another even stronger big brother behind them. Last time, cabinet leader Zhang had received a call from the big brother behind him. And once any more major problems arose, even he could not protect the nine cabinet leaders. Those who were going to deal with the Yi family were mysterious and had a very large amount of energy, which was why the nine pavilion masters were willing to follow them. But it was also true that when they got their hands dirty, they didn't hold back in the slightest. Something just happened on Tang Zhang's side, and he was directly abandoned. Don't worry, brother Tang, this time it must be foolproof. Good, I'll contact the people on the East Japan side. That Marshal Zun expert died so unexplainedly today. The Black Clothes Society on the East Japan side won't be able to rest easy. Hua Du. In front of the south suburb clubhouse, Yi Fan had just come out from the gate, when he suddenly received a secret report from Captain Nyo Air of the Traveling Souls. Yi Xiao, our Traveling Souls Intelligence Department has just gotten the news that the second youngest member of the Yi family was being hunted down and killed, and the last stop of his escape. He went to a slum area in the southern suburb of Huadu, and he had a short stay over there, but the specific location we are still investigating, and as far as we know, those nemeses of the Yi family have also been lining up the slum area recently, and seem to be looking for something. The ghetto in the southern suburbs of Huadu? Looking for something? Yi Fan couldn't help but thump in his heart, and immediately thought of the map remnants on his grandfather's second brother. Those nemeses of the Yi family, who had gone through so much effort to make a move against the Yi family. On the one hand, the Yi family's power was too strong, and on the other, a more important aspect, was that they were rushing towards the map? So now what they were looking for must be that map fragment. It had been so long since the Yi family disciples had been killed. They should have lined up all the places where second brother lived and fought. 
and since the slums were the last stop, it was highly likely that the clues to the map were in the slums, there was no time to lose, and it just so happened that he was in Huadu himself and had to make time to explore. Ruolin's wife, you go home first, I'm going to meet some old friends and come over to you later. Yi Fan turned his head towards Ching Ruolin and greeted her. Good, little Fan, I'll wait for you to come back at night. A blush surfaced on Ching Ruolin's face, thank you for today. At night, I'll give you a surprise. Before coming back from Cloud City, Ching Ruolin had made a decision in her heart to be Yi Fan's woman as soon as possible, and after experiencing what happened today, the decision in Ching Ruolin's heart became even stronger. Yi Fan has been awakening for a longer and longer period of time, and the combat power that has been shown, as well as the strategy, the means, all of them are the demons of the demons. The demonic genius from five years ago had returned, and it was the best decision for her to announce that she was marrying Yi Fan. The key was that every time after being in close contact with Yi Fan, one could obtain that mysterious warmth, allowing one's strength to increase by leaps and bounds. If she were to be Yi Fan's woman, she might be able to directly advance to the sovereign realm. At that time, one would have the ability to defend oneself and would not be just a vase by Yi Fan's side. Just, the thought of their previous status, the night to be that intimate with Yi Fan, if Yi Fan is demented state, Chang Rolin is still good. If things go halfway, Yi Fan suddenly awakened. It is simply to be ashamed of the individual. Good, sister-in-law wait for me. What was the matter Ching Rolin was talking about? Yi Fan could of course guess a rough idea. So Yi Fan deliberately gave Ching Rolin an evil look. And also specifically called Ching Rulin a sister-in-law, so that Ching Rulin was even more pouting. You, are bad, this deadbeat, he must have done it on purpose. Ching Rulin took Ching Xiaochang to the car and left, leaving only Guo Li and the four major maids around Yi Fan at the scene, which was the absolute full force that knew that Yi Fan had awakened. The clubhouse is arranged here, right? Yi Fan looked at the clubhouse with a deep gaze. Xin Xiao and the group of men around him were thinking of taking their own lives, thinking of bullying Ching Rulin. Yi Fan had no intention of leaving them alive since he exposed himself in front of them. Guo Li nodded. It's all arranged. My people will keep guarding this place and won't leave until the fire is extinguished. Shen smiled at these people. And the best way to do it was to create a big fire. So that everyone would be buried in the fire. Go. Go to the southern suburb slums. Yi Fan greeted Guo Li. The provincial city is your home base. Stroll some more people out. Carefully a week ago in the slums in the end allowed what? I suspect that my second brother left something in the slums. Yes, after Yi Fan and Guo Li left, in the clubhouse's private room, those eight wolf dogs also finally got tired and got down. And at this time Shin Xiaoxiao finally had a chance to slow down a bit, trembling to find his cell phone, a look at the top of the signal. The first time to find the grandfather's number dialed the past. Grandpa, the moment the video call was connected, Shin Xiaoxiao's tears came out of the frame. At the other end of the phone, Tang Zhang saw his grandson this appearance. Is also heartbreaking heartbreaking up? Shen Xiao Xiao. Is grandpa sorry you? You people are fine as long as. Grandpa this will send someone to pick you up. Devil. Devil. Ah. Devil. Fool. No. Shen Xiao Xiao was just about to continue to open his mouth to speak when his complexion suddenly changed. And he seemed to have seen something something frightening. His mouth kept roaring and talking nonsense. Shen Xiao. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Tang Zhang saw Shen Xiao Xiao's crazy appearance and immediately understood. Shen Xiaoxiao was being tortured by Yi Fanran to go crazy, began to speak crazy words? Tang Zhang himself did not have a son, only two daughters, so although Shen Xiaoxiao was Tang Zhang's grandson, Tang Zhang was treated as his own grandson. Son of a bitch, these dogs of the Yi family, none of you want to live, when the Yi family collapses, I'll kill every dog in the Yi family. Tang Zhang's heart was sick at the mention of dogs now, Tang Zhang was still scrambling to mobilize the rest of Huadu's forces, trying to go and save Shen Xiao back. Now, Although Shen Xiaoxiao was being tortured like crazy, as long as he had a life, everything was fine. But the next moment, Tang Zhang saw the entrance to the private room, a huge tongue of fire spurting in, wrapping Shen Xiao in the center in the blink of an eye. Grandpa, save me. Ah, Grandpa, avenge me. Finally, Shen Xiaoxiao's voice was vaguely heard. Immediately after, the cell phone was a blur, directly without any breath. Ah ah ah, bastard. Shen smile, my grandson. Yi Chong Foam, you stepped on the horses let one old son extinct ah, I want to fight with you. Tang Zhang was angry face pale, the phone in his hand was directly pinched by him to burst, his mouth hysterical roar. Tang Zhang only cared about scolding Yi Chong Foam himself, but he hadn't thought about his own involvement in planning the attack on the Yi family, which had left 10 of the Yi family's core disciples dead and almost wiped out the family. Is he only allowed to make a move on someone else? And it can't be someone else who makes a move on him? Yi Fan and the four great maids. 
as well as Guoli, were only leading a small group of people, and soon arrived at the southern suburb of the slums. In order not to draw attention to themselves, the crowd was spread out into the slums. Yi Fan was even all alone. Having just turned an alley, Yi Fan was hit head on by a woman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, little brother. I'm in a hurry to cure my child. I'm sorry, ah. The woman panicked and struggled out of Yi Fan's arms, her face full of anxiety. And in her daughter's arms, she was holding a girl of about three years old. The girl's face was flushed and she was limp in the woman's arms and seemed to have passed out, supposedly with a fever. It's okay, go see a doctor. Originally, the matter didn't have much to do with himself. Yi Fan didn't intend to care, but the moment Yi Fan's eyes retracted, he detected a hint of something wrong in the girl. Traces of parasite activity on this girl? How did a child from an ordinary family in the slums get targeted by the compulsion cult? After the woman was just about to leave with the child in her arms, Yi Fan opened his mouth and called out to her. Wait. The woman seemed to be frightened. What's wrong? Just bumped into you. I'm really sorry, but I really don't mean it. I'm in a hurry to cure the child. First let to the child cure. You can do whatever you want, okay? Ma'am, you've misunderstood. I'm trying to say that I'm also a doctor, and I know a little bit about the child's situation. Why don't I help take a look first? Otherwise, when you send it to the hospital, I'm afraid it's too late. Don't worry, I don't charge for it. Yi Fan finished and didn't forget to add a sentence. Because Yi Fan could see that this woman was plainly dressed, and the economic situation in her hands should be a bit constrained. Ha, huh, really? Little brother is really a doctor? When the woman heard Yi Fan's words, she almost knelt down to Yi Fan. Thank you so much little brother. I, don't even know how to thank you. Is it really possible? Yi Fan nodded. Of course. While speaking, Yi Fan reached out and grabbed the little girl's pulse and sensed it, having confirmed the little girl's situation in his mind, borrowing a corpse to raise a parasite. This is a very evil method of compulsion. It is to quietly plant parasites in a person's body and then use the host's essence blood to raise these poisonous parasites. And at a later stage, as the poisonous parasites absorb more and more of the host's essence blood, the host will experience coma, fever and other symptoms. And when those poisonous parasites are completely mature, it is the time for the host to die. Those poisonous parasites will completely devour the host's internal organs and then leave the host. And the host dies, from the outside without any injuries, presumably without knowing how. I'll apply needles to suppress it first, we'll treat it carefully later at home. As Yi Fan spoke, he pulled out a few silver needles from his body, and urged his chi to stab down at a few acupoints of the little girl. Yi Fan sensed that those poisonous parasites in the little girl's body at this time were very active and had to be calmed down first. Seeing that Yi Fan even had silver needles on him, the woman obviously had more trust in Yi Fan. Thank you little brother. Thank you little brother. A few injections went down. And as those poisonous parasites were suppressed, the little girl's condition was obviously much better. My home is right in front. Turn two corners and you're there. The home is rather broken. Little brother don't mind. The woman guided Yi Fan to follow along to her home. She also explained with some urgency. Little brother. Great kindness. As long as little brother can cure my daughter. Let me do whatever I can. The woman clenched her teeth and emphasized again. As she spoke, the woman's eyes reddened again. She was just an ordinary office worker working in the company, but also by the leadership to wear small shoes, the salary was not much, all to her daughter's treatment, and now simply cannot get any money, and the only thing you can take out of your hands, is only yourself, Yi Fan followed the woman to her place, it was a very dilapidated house on the second floor, with three compartments, but the floors were faded, but the woman was very clean and good at tidying up, and although the room was small, it was tidied up and cozy, and there were a few paintings on the walls, obviously the handiwork of a little girl. It depicts two adults holding the hand of a little girl. Get started. Put just put the little friend on the sofa. Yi Fan instructed the woman to place the little girl flat on the sofa and continue to speak. Go prepare a mouthful of needles and sterilize them on the fire. As the words fell, Yi Fan began to move his hands, waving his own arm, speedily sticking silver needles in all parts of the girl's blood veins all over her body. His strength and chi energized, forcing all those wandering parasites into the nests where they were growing. The nest of these poisonous parasites is none other than the scalp of the little girl's brain. That's right. It's the scalp of the little girl's brain. Some of the poisonous parasites were not quite willing to move under the urging of Yi Fan's chi, wanting to remain in the little girl's heart, chest and other locations. However, Yi Fan had the 10,000 compulsions tripod on his body, and just by gently urging the password, all those poisonous parasites instantly and obediently gathered into the little girl's scalp. Yi Fan utilized the silver needles to seal off all the ways out. And then there was a fluctuation in his chi. Fizzle. A crisp. 
yet head-turning sound rang through the room. When the woman had sterilized the needle from the kitchen, she had just gone out to see such a horrible scene. Yi Fan actually tore off his daughter's scalp? What's this for? Ah, the woman let out a shriek of shock and covered her mouth as she quickly rushed over. What are you, doing? Isn't this little brother here to treat his daughter? Why did he directly tear his daughter's scalp open? Isn't this a deliberate torture? The woman rushed over and glanced toward her daughter's scalp, and then her whole body froze. After the girl's scalp was ripped open, there was supposed to be normal blood and flesh and nerves and such inside, but at this time, in the girl's scalp, but a large area of dense worms, all present translucent red, in the non-stop wriggling, looks like a bee chrysalis like, let a person body straight goosebumps, this, the woman instantly swallowed back the words that came to her lips, eyes full of shock, how can your own daughter have so many bugs on her head, is it because you usually wash your daughter's hair less, Yi Fan drew out one of the silver needles and without any hesitation, flew at those poisonous parasites on his scalp, in just less than 10 seconds of work, Yi Fan had already skewered all the poisonous parasites on top of the silver needles, which looked like shrunken versions of sugar gourds, Give me the needle. Yi Fan stuck the silver needle on the wall next to him and extended his hand towards the woman. The woman hurriedly handed the needle to Yi Fan, who eyed the woman for a moment, then the girl, and finally brought his head closer towards the woman, sensing the scent of a man getting closer. The woman was a little nervous and apprehensive. What is he going to do? Is this to kiss yourself? Why kiss yourself at this time? Will you let him kiss you or not? With a hundred apprehensions in her mind. The woman eventually overcame her shyness and closed her eyes. Kiss it. People have saved your daughter. I'm afraid the hospital can't save her from such a strange disease. Such a godly doctor has cured your daughter for free. What's not to like? Originally, women were ready to offer themselves. But Yi Fan approached his daughter, reached out and found a hair on the woman's head, pulled it off and threaded it directly onto the needle. The girl's scalp was ripped open and always had to be sewn back on. There are no other specialized medical threads available here. So using hair instead is the best option. Feeling a piece of her hair being ripped off, the woman opened her eyes full of curiosity and happened to see Yifan using his own hair to stitch up his daughter's wound. The woman's face instantly blushed to the back of her neck in shyness. Turns out people were just looking for hair to use as threads and they actually thought. There, the woman was still in a daze. Yifan had already quickly stitched up the little girl's wound, wiping the little blood around it with a paper towel. And from the outside, it looked as if nothing had happened. I'll prescribe you some more Chinese medicine later, a little conditioning for two or three days, and you'll be fine. Yi Fan put away the silver needles on the wall, intending to go to the kitchen to burn these poisonous parasites. However, I would suggest that it would be best for you to move and leave this place. Don't let the little ones come into contact with strangers anymore. Moving? But, I've already paid half a year's rent in advance. And if I move, won't that rent be wasted? The woman was a little reluctant to give up, but she was smart. Although Yi Fan didn't say it explicitly, she guessed that it must be someone who wanted to hit on her daughter's attention, and the other party was someone he couldn't afford to mess with, so the best thing to do was to get out of here. Think about it. Yi Fan went to the kitchen, turned the gas on, and placed the string of poisonous parasites on the fire and burned it to ashes. Ah, who, is the one who stepped on the horse and spoiled the old man's plan? Pust. The moment all those poisonous parasites in Yi Fan's hand were burned to death. In the eastern suburb of Huadu, in a separate garden, a black-robed man screamed miserably, his mouth spraying a mouthful of black blood furiously, and roared hysterically and wildly. Borrowing corpses to raise parasites is exactly his handiwork. This black-robed man was another powerful person from the Compassion Sect, the Five Poison Child. In order to find a suitable host for raising poisonous parasites, he quietly searched the whole country for ten years, and finally found a suitable body, which was about to succeed, but was actually destroyed at the critical time. The five poison child wiped a handful of blood from the corner of his mouth, and a touch of bloom flashed in his eyes. Trouble. Originally, as long as this time the poisonous parasites are bred successfully, this seat can compete with Zhuang Bifen for the compassion sect. But now, damn it, don't let me find out who it is. Men, go and find out for me who has spoiled my good deed. In the woman's rented house, Yi Fan once again returned to the living room after resolving the poisonous parasites. The little girl's body is relatively weak. She may still have to pass out for the night. She'll be fine when she wakes up tomorrow. Yi Fan spoke faintly. There's nothing else. I'm leaving. Yi Fan had come here mainly to investigate the clues of the map that second brother had left before he died. Saving the little girl was just an episode. Yi Fan didn't want to delay too much time here. Wait. Seeing that Yi Fan was about to leave, the woman hesitated and reached out to pull on Yi Fan's sleeve. Little brother, I can't repay your great kindness. Can you come in for a moment? The woman glanced at her daughter. Ever since her ex-husband left, 
she has raised her daughter all by herself, and her daughter is all she has. Yi Fan had saved her daughter. It was the same as saving her whole life. She must be the one to thank. As the woman spoke, she tugged on Yi Fan's sleeve and pulled him toward the bedroom. Ma'am, what are you doing? Yi Fan was a bit skeptical. This is not good, right? Especially after seeing that the woman entered the bedroom. She also closed the door to the room. Yi Fan was even more puzzled. Ma'am, your husband? We're like this. It's not good. What's the matter? You quickly say it. Although Yi Fan liked women, he had his own principles. My ex-husband has left many years ago. I don't have a husband. The woman straightened her hair around her ears and shyly spoke to Yi Fan. That, little brother, close your eyes. By this point, even a fool knows what's going to happen next. Ma'am, don't be like that. I save people for absolutely nothing in return. It's just by the way for me. Yi Fan was still opening his mouth to explain, while the lady in the room, who had already turned her back to Yi Fan, undid her outside shirt. The native colored shirt slid down the woman's pale shoulders, slim little waist, no concave and convex curve. Then the woman once again removed her tight jeans as well, leaving only the black chaps inside. The arched buttocks, the exquisite figure, was suddenly visible in front of Yi Fan. When the woman turned around, the flat belly in front, and the big phoenix, in front of the chest Yi Fan completely did not expect that the lady in front of him, although she did not dress up at all, had such a stunningly beautiful body and such a face. Little brother, for you, saving someone's life is a smooth matter, but for me, it's a heavenly matter. The woman took a shy step forward, then reached down and undid her smallest, most flattering garment, and the large pair of phoenixes instantly flew out uncontrollably. The white is dazzling. Yi Fan didn't want to see it, but the white phoenix had to fly towards his eyes, so Yi Fan had no choice. It was only at this moment that Yi Fan realized that this woman who did not put on any powder was actually a national beauty, and actually would not be worse than those seven sisters-in-law. This really isn't good. Lady, as Yi Fan spoke, he picked up the clothes on the ground, and then intended to help the woman put them back on. However, the woman reached out and hooked Yi Fan's neck. Little brother, remember, my name is Chiu Wan, everything is of my own free will. Little brother doesn't have to be burdened. The moment his skin touched each other, Yi Fan steeply felt an ancient aura coming from the woman's body towards his body. That breath entered Yi Fan's body, and it seemed to be the gas pedal, instantly making the martial arts chi in Yi Fan's body start to move wildly, and all those breaths in his body, completely all started to automatically cultivate and enhance his strength. This, Yi Fan's pupils dilated for a moment, his heart violently shocked. Innate Tao body? Innate hearth physique? Yi Fan had mentioned in the inheritance in the dragon ring that a woman with this type of physique had a body that naturally contained a Tao rhythm. If the man who was married to her was a martial arts practitioner, with the help of the cauldron, the speed of cultivation could be a thousand miles a day. In the history of Great Xia, there was once a high-ranking person who was fortunate enough to encounter an innate Tao body. With the help of that woman, that high man eventually won person's strength, leading the entire De Xia martial arts strong, suppressing the evil demons. For De Xia for thousands of years of peace and tranquility, and now that he just happened to save a little girl, did he actually encounter such a chance? Under the infection of the powerful and ancient aura of the innate Tao body, not only was the flow of martial chi accelerated in Yi Fan's body, but the speed of blood vein flow was also accelerated by several times. The blood swelled and the breath caught, faced with such a stunning beauty and such a miraculous Tao body. Yi Fan was even more urgently in need of improving his strength now. Based on the current information, Yi Fan already knew that Xian Yufei's mother was a descendant of the divine sect servants, and his own mother, most likely, was one of the divine sect. The divine sect was specialized in dealing with those hidden evil Changs, and behind this, the heavenly hall was also involved. Yi Fan had already predicted that his own awakening, allowing the Yi family to rise and avenge the Yi family, was only the first step. There was the ancient martial world in the back, as well as dealing with those mysterious evil Chong, which was a responsibility that was placed on one's shoulders. One strength must increase as quickly as possible. Yi Fan had thoughts like flying, and as the woman in her arms twisted her body, her red lips were already kissing towards Yi Fan's mouth, while hooking Yi Fan's neck and pushing Yi Fan back towards the bed. I won't fail you, Yi Fan muttered under his breath, no longer suppressing himself, rolling onto his back. He straightened the woman in his arms and began to dominate every inch of her. Show one heart a burst of waner. This little brother, mouth refuses, body is very solid ah. From the passive at the beginning, it shifted to the active at the back and has explored. With impunity, the room instantly resounded with a burst of childish sounds, while there was also a powerful aura centered on the two that began to violently stir up. Although Yi Fan had placed a prohibition around the entire room, the powerful chi still rippled towards the surroundings. Woody third grade, 
Woody's fourth grade, it seemed to be a male lion that finally saw saw his prey. Heaven and earth meet and are turned over in red waves. This was the only woman who could match Yi Fan's combat prowess. Yi Fan tossed and turned for more than an hour before calling it a day. Although there was Yi Fan's vitality power to warm Xiao Wan's body, but Yi Fan was after all at the level of a martial emperor, and Xiao Wan was still unable to resist, and had completely fainted. However, being in such close contact with Yi Fan and aided by the warmth, Xiao Wan also gained many benefits. The body's many hidden abilities had begun to revive. It was just that at the moment, Xiao Wan was in a comatose state and was unable to cast it herself. Yi Fan felt his strength. In just one hour, he had actually raised three realms, reaching the sixth rank of Martial Emperor. Is this the power of the innate Tao body? With such an extreme product by his side, it would be a matter of time before his strength broke through to Martial Saint. Having reached the Martial Saint realm, within the known range, looking around the globe, there shouldn't be many people who are their rivals, right? Yi Fan had just finished sensing his strength, his powerful perception, when he suddenly detected a group of masked blackcloth men quietly barging towards this side of the rental house. Those while fluctuating with some bizarre aura on their bodies, Yi Fan didn't want to be exposed here. So he hurriedly injected a vitality power into Chiu Wan's body, and then whispered to Chiu Wan, Sister Wan, a group of people came outside, are they rushing at you? Chiu Wan looked at herself and Yi Fan so openly relative to each other. Her face was a little shy, but probing to see those approaching men in black downstairs, she shook her head. I don't recognize them, but in the last few days, I've always found problems at home. Every time I go home, I find that things seem to have been rummaged through so many times in the house. Chiu Wan's words made Yi Fan's heart flutter. Someone's gone through Chiu Wan's house? That must be looking for something. Yi Fan already had a bold guess in his heart. It couldn't be such a coincidence, could it? The clue to the map of Ergo that he was looking for. Could it also be here in Xiao Wan? It's just that Ji Fan released his own perception to sweep around in Xiao Wan's room again and didn't find that kind of map-specific ancient atmosphere. Uh, however, one thing was certain. Xiao Wan definitely couldn't live here since she was now her own woman. Moreover, Yi Fan didn't want to be exposed here and had to take Xiao Wan away immediately. Good, they may be here to kill. Hurry up and put on your clothes. I'll take you away. Yi Fan quickly put his clothes on, then outside on the living room sofa, holding the little girl in his arms. When he returned to the bedroom, Xiao Wan had already casually put the clothes on his body, not allowing Xiao Wan to think too much. Yi Fan put his arm around Xiao Wan and directly jumped down from the second floor towards the roof next to him. Ah, although Xiao Wan had already sensed that Yi Fan was unusual, when she saw that at such a high height, Yi Fan directly jumped down. She still almost cried out in shock, and hurriedly reached out to cover her own mouth before barely blocking out her voice. After jumping to the roof next to him, Yi Fan made a few jumps and quickly left the rented house, flashing towards his car outside the slum. However, Yi Fan's perception was still focused on the situation in the rental. After Yi Fan and Xiao Wan left, over at the rented house, the few black clothed killers quietly opened the door to the room, and a group of six or seven people quickly searched the room. Strange, no one? Yeah, didn't our brothers watch this place and see that the bitch had returned? Where did the man go? A few people under his command were still puzzled. The leading black clothed captain opened his mouth and chided, Forget about that bitch, hurry up and scrutinize it again, this time don't miss every corner. Must look carefully. The upper face pushed that thing very tightly. All the places have been lined up. This is the last place where the target stayed for more than 30 seconds before dying. Yes. When the group got the order, they started rummaging through the cabinets like crazy, leaving no corner of the rental house untouched. Not even the small pieces of paper that padded the table were ripped out and scrutinized. At this time, Yi Fan, who was already outside in his car, listened to the conversation of the people in the rented house and confirmed it in his heart. Ergo must have been here before he died. Those people who went to Cho Wan's room must have been looking for clues to the map as well. Just Yi Fan also felt some. The rental house indeed no clues. Then the second brother's map placed in what place to go. But naturally Yi Fan was not in a good position to ask Cho Wan directly now. He had just asked for someone's body. Asking like this would seem like he was being too utilitarian. Cho Wan was already her own person. If there were any clues, she would definitely be the first to know. Little brother. Thank you for saving me. I should go. In the car. Xiao Wan was a bit reluctant, but she was very sensible. She could see that Yi Fan's identity was definitely not ordinary. Happening to save her own daughter's life, Xiao Wan was already thankful. As for the rest, Xiao Wan never had the luxury. While speaking, Xiao Wan struggled and then tried to sit up from Yi Fan's arms. All are my women now. Where else does Sister Wan plan to go? Yi Fan looked at Xiao Wan evilly. His big hand pinched towards Xiao Wan's phoenix, causing Xiao Wan's face to blush. I can't live in the current rental house. 
I have to find a hotel to live in first, and then re-rent the house. Alas, Xiu Wan looked at her daughter by her side, and in her heart, she sighed a long sigh again. Renting an apartment will cost another fortune, and I owe my daughter too much. My daughter is so old that she has to live an uprooted life with herself. Looking at Xiu Wan like this, Yi Fan couldn't help but feel a heartache. Sister Wan, there is no need to look for a house. You are my woman. I will be responsible for you. While speaking, Yi Fan dialed Guo Li's phone. Old Guo, everyone, retreat quietly. In addition, prepare a set of houses you have available in Huadu for me. I want them tonight. Good. I happen to have a set of villas in the southern suburb. The surroundings are okay. There are always people cleaning. If Big Brother wants to live there, I'll take you there. A few minutes later, Guo Li and the four great maids all retreated from the slums. Young master, big brother, a few people were stunned when they saw Cho Wan in the car. Young master's peach blossom luck is too strong, isn't it? It doesn't say you're here to look for clues, and in just two hours, you've attracted such a beautiful young woman? Wu Li also instantly understood why the big brother wants the villa. The original is intended to be a golden house hiding off. Introducing, this is Sister Wan, my woman, old Gua. In the future regarding Sister Wan, take care of her. There's also the issue of the little girl's kindergarten. You'll have to solve it together by the way. Yi Fan solemnly introduced Guo Li and the four great maids. Hello sister-in-law. Hello ma'am. Guo Li and the four great maids bent down at Chiu Wan, causing her to be filled with embarrassment. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Ten minutes later, Guo Li rushed to the villa compound in the southern suburb with Yi Fan and Chiu Wan. Big brother. Sister-in-law. This is the set of villa that I've only just renovated. Big brother take a look. If there's anything else that's not enough, feel free to call me. Wu Li and the four great maids were very sensible and didn't follow along. Sister Wan, from today onwards, this villa is yours. The transfer formalities Lao Guo will handle tomorrow. Yi Fan tenderly held Xiu Wan in his arms, and his heart couldn't help but sigh for a while. I did not expect that my luck was actually so good. Casually saved a little girl. Actually got an innate Taoist body woman. Innate cultivation cauldron. Two people sleeping time. You can make your own cultivation speed a thousand times the speed. One's future path of martial arts would be exactly like riding in an airplane. Ah, my, Xiu Fan, this, is too expensive. Xiu Wan was a bit at a loss for words, I've heard that the villas here, they all cost tens of millions, even hundreds of millions ah, I can't take. Xiu Wan was a bit anxious, and while waving her hand, she wanted to retreat towards the outside. Yi Fan smiled evilly, how much more valuable is it? Is it as valuable as you? I've never been stingy with my own woman. If Sister Wan wants to repay, she'll give her body to you. Look, it's a long night. We can go deeper ah. While speaking, Yi Fan picked up Chiu Wan by the waist and stepped towards the bedroom on the second floor of the villa. Shame on you, Fan. They're still out there. Ugh, not here. Wait, gently. In the villa compound, a lesser sound began to ring out again. The moon, outside the window, seemed all a bit shy, hiding behind the clouds themselves. In the room, in addition to the soft wooing, there are also heavy gasping. The whole room is filled with a charming atmosphere. As the two continued to interact intimately, although Yi Fan's cultivation speed was still soaring and raising his martial chi. However, Yi Fan's own physique had already reached the limit of the chi energy it could withstand. So the subsequent cultivation was all about helping Yi Fan stabilize his realm and skillfully master the sixth grade of martial arts strength. If she had been intimate with Yi Fan last time, Xiao Wan was completely repaying her kindness. Then this time, Xiao Wan was totally a bit moved. There were even a couple of times when Xiu Wan had to be on top. Wastelands that have been dry for too long, once developed, are so fertile that they are as fat and juicy as a ripe peach. After the storm, Xiu Wan was completely passed out this time. Although she was an innate Tao body, a natural hearth cultivation physique. Nay, Yi Fan was a tired ox. With that strange payload swaying in his body, he seemed to have endless strength, and Xiu Wan still couldn't resist. Looking at the sleeping Xiu Wan in his arms, Yi Fan put on a piece of clothing quietly got up, walked to the balcony, and looked deeply into the distance. Young master, Yi Fan had just stood on the balcony when the maid, Nan Cheng, dodged to Yi Fan with a flash from outside the villa. How is the situation over there in the slum area? Although Yi Fan had left from the slum side with Xiao Wan, before he left, he still asked Nan Cheng and Xiao Wan to arrange for continued monitoring of the slum area, especially the situation of those black-clothed people in Xiao Wan's house. Yi Fan wanted to find out who was investigating the last traces of second brother. After our people followed them, we found that they are connected to the Xuan Wu battle zone, and their landing point seems to be the stronghold of the Black Clothes Society of the East. Nancheng gave Yifan a detailed report of the results of his investigation. 
In addition, the people we have placed over in the slum area have discovered that in addition to the people from the Xuanwu battle region and the Eastern Ning intervening, there seems to be several other waves of strangers who have also lurked into the slum area. The ones that we have investigated clearly so far are the people from the ancient Marshall family, and the four great holy lands have also come. The others, the origins of which we haven't investigated clearly yet. Listening to Nanqing's reply, Yi Fan frowned, Cloudtop Heavenly Palace, God and Goddess Ruins, Immortal Pill of Immortality, Extreme Martial Skills, These things, even if they are rumors, the temptation is too great ah. At first, it was probably just those nemeses of the Yi family making a move against the Yi family, coveting the Yi family's map fragments. But now, there are more forces and organizations coming into the picture. There were also those mysterious evil Changs that could devour living beings, and I wondered if they had anything to do with my own mother? Continue to go and investigate, and keep me informed if there are any new developments. Although Yi Fan was now at the sixth rank of Martial Emperor, he suddenly felt an intense crisis. All of these people might have only come for the map remnants in the beginning, but when they investigated to the end and found out that the Yi family had seven pairs of map remnants, they definitely wouldn't let themselves go. Most likely, they would join forces with those nemeses of the Yi family and make a move against themselves together. Yi Fan had to rush before them and remove all of his opponents. It was necessary to strike fear into everyone, so that they wouldn't dare to have any covetousness towards the Yi family. Just the strength of a martial emperor's sixth rank was indeed not a weak strength when looking at the entire level of martial Dao. But beyond the martial Dao level, there were also the ancient martial families, the four holy lands, and some other hidden families, hell knows what other old demons were behind them? It was highly likely that their strength had reached the martial saint realm, and even breaking through to a higher level was possible. One had to raise one's strength as soon as possible. However, now that Ji Fan's physique had reached the limit of its carrying capacity, it was no longer very possible for Marshal Chi to break through in a short period of time. After returning to his bedroom, Yi Fan suddenly thought of the god and goddess fragment that he had gotten from the poison duke, something that had fallen out of that god and was related to his own payload. I wonder what secrets might be hidden inside. Yi Fan took out the god and goddess fragment and released his powerful perception into it, feeling the ancient power stirring in the fragment. From Yi Fan's Dantian, the salary flame swayed and a stream of light spread towards the shards, as if it was a key to unlock the shard. When the stream of light entered the god and goddess shard, the god and goddess shard instantly began to stir up an even more majestic and ancient aura, wrapping Yi Fan's entire being, a golden stream of light. Along Yi Fan's arm quickly toward the body of Yi Fan did not enter, powerful martial Dao Qi energy, and some huge energy that was not Qi energy, although Yi Fan could not understand it now. He knew that it must be something more powerful than martial Dao Qi energy. The great formation of the sages, killing the evil Chong, after the stream of light stopped being channeled, Yi Fan realized that he had automatically received a powerful inheritance in his head, and the most important of them was an ancient and marvelous formation spell. According to the information conveyed in the inheritance, this was the marvelous formation to kill evil Chong, the name of the great formation of the sages. Yi Fan had heard of it from the inheritance of the dragon ring. That was the killing formation that the ancestors used to deal with those evil Chong demons in the evil extermination battle back then. It is only with the successive fall of the forefathers, serious injuries, thousands of years after the development of the forefathers and sages of the great array ultimately all lost. So, the future generations of those guardians, can only maintain those sealing formations left by the forefathers, but cannot be completely removed from those suppression of the evil Chong. And now, Yi Fan had actually obtained the inheritance of the great formation of the forefathers from a fragment of a god or goddess. Yi Fan could somewhat understand at this time why so many organizations and forces were searching for the fragments of the Yi family's heavenly palace map at all costs, wanting to find the god and goddess ruins. If the inheritance in a fragment was so powerful, then there was no telling how many maddening goodies were hidden in the gods and goddesses. Originally, Yi Fan's body had absorbed other very large amounts of energy and martial chi from the fragments. But there was no way that Yi Fan's body had already reached its carrying limit, so the salary flame in the depths of Yi Fan's Dantian swayed and dissolved those energies in Qi into Qi halos, which were stored in Yi Fan's tendons and veins. Yi Fan's realm hadn't improved much for the time being, but with this great formation of the sages, it was equivalent to giving Yi Fan another bottom card to save his life. The great formation of the sages was not only able to kill evil Chang's, but also strong people above the level of martial emperor. Yi Fan sat down on the ground. Understanding the mysteries of the great formation of the sages thoroughly, and his head seemed to be emptied as if he was very tired. Although the great formation of the sages was immensely powerful, it was extremely spiritually draining. Yi Fan climbed into bed and wrapped his arms around Xiu Wan and fell into a deep sleep, for such a long time since he was a child. Yi Fan had never slept so peacefully as he did today, and at this moment, in the Qing family compound, 
in Cheng Roland's room. Cheng Roland had tidied up the room early, and had even sprinkled rose petals on the bed. Today, Cheng Roland was planning to give herself to Yifan. For her first time, Cheng Roland still cared and valued it. Cheng Roland also deliberately put on a shirt robe, under the loose collar, the big phoenix hidden, the hem of the clothes below, barely half of the thighs covered, inside the black lace lace, are fast wrapped up, oomph, so seductive, this young lady doesn't believe that you won't pounce like a hungry wolf when you see it, Cheng Roland's gaze contained water, looking out the window with an expectant face, calculating the time, that dead bad guy, should come back, right, seeing what friends, does it take so long? Cheng Roland had a few grievances, but she didn't know that because of Chiu Wan, she was destined to be alone in her room today. Cheng Roland was still looking forward to it when Guo Li's phone call suddenly came. Sister-in-law, big brother may be a bit late to meet his friends tonight. He won't be back today. Sister-in-law don't have to wait for big brother ah. Guo Li was still very thorough and knew that Yi Fan couldn't be free right now. So he gave Cheng Roland a call and explained the situation. Ah, Cheng Roland was filled with loss when she got the news. Originally. Cheng Rulin was already very much looking forward to this evening's intimacy, but it turned out that Ji Fan actually had so many other things going on, lol, he had prepared such a romantic scene for nothing, however, when he thought that Ji Fan had been waking up for a longer and longer period of time while dealing with Xin Xiao Xiao, there was a bit of peace in his heart, this was good, when Yi Fan had completely awakened, then the Yi family wouldn't be in any danger, in the southern suburb of Huadu, in the villa that Guo Li had given him, the next day when the sky had just dawned, Yi Fan felt a shaking in his arm. It was Chiu Wan who struggled to get up from Yi Fan's arms. Awake? Sister Wan. Yi Fan tenderly reached out and wrapped his arms around Chiu Wan's waist, feeling Chiu Wan's charm. Chiu Wan thought that Yi Fan was still continuing to do something, and said with some shyness and a little bit of urgency, Xiao Fan, it's too late. I'm going to be late for work. That one pippy of the company is already very sharp. If he catches me being late, he's going to deduct my salary again. Yi Fan froze, then laughed. Look at this brain of mine, I messed up yesterday and forgot to tell Sister Wan, from today onwards Sister Wan doesn't need to go to work, just take the kids properly, Xiao Wan in a Taoist body, natural stove, Yi Fan is to be brought around at all times, Xiao Wan also go to what class, ah, how can I not go to work, Xiao Wan was a bit shy to find her own personal clothes and put them towards herself behind Yi Fan's back, I'm already over the moon when I'm living in the house you've given me, how can I not go to work anymore? I can't ask you to pay for all my living expenses and stuff in the future, right? Although Chiu Wan accepted to become Yi Fan's woman, she still had her own insistence within her heart. What's not to like? As Yi Fan spoke, he reached out and took out a bank card from the pocket of his clothes next to him. There should be five million dollars in this card. With a password of six sixes, Sister Wan will take it and use it first. And if there's not enough, feel free to talk to me. Yi Fan never treated Sui Shui or Ching Roland poorly. No matter if it was to Su Yi Shui or Ching Rulin, Chiu Wan's innate Taoist body, yesterday's pleasure, had helped Yi Fan raise his strength from Martial Emperor 3rd grade to Martial Emperor 6th grade. It was one step closer to Yi Fan's successful revenge, and with such a special creature, Yi Fan naturally wouldn't treat her poorly. 5. 5 million. Chiu Wan, as an ordinary employee, 5 million is an astronomical sum that she dare not imagine for her. Chiu Wan panicked and pushed the card back from Yi Fan's hand. Xiao Fan. I won't say anything if you let me stay here, but the money I can never take. I'm not used to taking other people's money without working for it. And, and, Xiao Wan hesitated for a while before continuing to speak. And you're buying me a house and giving me money to spend like this. What have I become? I don't want to be seen by others as a third party. Xiao Wan's willingness to be Yi Fan's woman was originally for the purpose of repaying the favor. And she hadn't even thought of having any follow-up with Yi Fan. Someone as outstanding as Yi Fan must have a girlfriend. Or a wife and Xiao Wan didn't even have the luxury. Although Yi Fan made his attitude clear, Xiao Wan was adamant that she didn't want it, with a determined look in her eyes. Yi Fan also saw that Xiao Wan was so beautiful, if she didn't have her own principles, she was afraid that her days would have been very comfortable. Okay, it's fine if you don't want the money, but the class you really don't have to go to. If you really want to go to work, just go to work at Yi Group of Companies. As soon as Yi Fan pulled Xiao Wan back into his arms, the clothes that Chiu Wan had just put on were once again stripped away. Ye's group, as the top group in Dasha, although it hadn't operated much properly over the years, it was still not small in scale, and it had a branch in Huadu. Chiu Wan is doing financial management, go to the branch as a financial director, or not a big problem. Yi Fan roughly introduced himself to Chiu Wan. Chiu Wan was also shocked after learning about Yi Fan's identity, she couldn't even speak. You're that young master of the Yi family, the one whose seven sisters-in-law are married to you? 
Yi Fan nodded. Exactly. But didn't they all say that you are a fool? You. Cho Wan looked at Yi Fan with a puzzled face. The Yi Fan in front of her, naturally, was a little different from the legend. Yi Fan smiled evilly. Do I look like a fool to you? Remember to keep my secret for me. Aha! Cho Wan was shocked and a little apprehensive in her heart. She completely did not expect that she was only repaying a favor with her body. But she did not expect that she was actually sleeping with the first line young master of the Yi family. The demonic genius who had stirred up the entire Dixia five years ago. Thinking about the gap between her status and Yi Fan, Cho Wan was a bit lost. The gap was too big. And Yi Fan still had seven sisters-in-law to marry him. So what was the matter with herself? However, when she thought that she hadn't expected anything in the first place, and that she was already satisfied to be able to have pleasure with a demonic genius like Yi Fan for once, even if I don't go to the company to work, I still have to go to the company to get the things I put over there. Cho Wan wriggled in Yi Fan's arms, especially a week ago. I picked up a pen holder at the entrance of my room. I thought it was very pretty, so I brought it to the company and made sure to get it back. I even hid $200 underneath the pen holder now. Aha! Uh -huh. Hearing Cho Wan's words, Yi Fan's expression suddenly became grave. A week ago? Picked up a pen holder at the door? Yi Fan couldn't help but instantly connect the dots with the incident of his second brother. Yi Ling Jun, being hunted down a week ago. Yi Ling Jun was killed, but apparently they hadn't found anything on second brother yet. They ruled out all the places and ended up with only the slums left unsearched. I'm afraid that the pen holder is the key clue to finding the map on Ergo. Associated with those black clothed men who rummaged through Chiu Wan's room last night, Yi Fan also got up in a hurry and said, Sister Wan, I don't have anything to do anyway. I'll accompany you to the company. This is fine. Chiu Wan originally did not intend to let Yi Fan follow along, but thought of the company's abominable face of that manager Wang who had blocked himself in the office several times and wanted to take advantage of himself. It was good to bring Yi Fan along with him this time. After enduring that guy for so long, he must dislike him fiercely this time. The two of them got up and cleaned up. At this time, Xiao Wan's daughter also woke up. Seeing Yi Fan and Xiao Wan close together, the little girl blinked her big eyes and said, Mom, is this daddy? Daddy is so handsome. Xiao Wan's daughters haven't seen their fathers since they were born, so they have been very envious of others having fathers since they were young. Right, I am daddy. Chiu Wan was still hesitant. Yi Fan spoke directly while opening his arms towards the little girl. Xiao Xiao, let daddy hold you. Daddy has been busy working outside all these years. Now he finally has the time to come back to accompany you. Daddy will never leave again. Okay? Xiao Xiao somewhat timidly hugged Yi Fan's neck and said with anticipation. As long as daddy is there, those bad people will never bully mommy again. Listening to the little girl's words that were so understanding, Yi Fan couldn't help but have a sore nose. Okay, daddy will teach you kung fu later. And you'll protect mommy with daddy. Cho Wan works for a takeaway company and is in charge of the company's finances. In the eastern suburb of Huadu, in the compound of Hongda Takeout Company, the manager Wang Tianwei was gathering everyone in a roll call meeting. When the point to Cho Wan was made, no one answered for a long time. A cold smile surfaced at the corner of Wang Tianwei's mouth. Hoomph, stinking bitch, late, finally fell into the old man's hands. This time, see if I don't play you to death. The old man must have fucked you in the office. Dismissed. Yi Fan and Xiao Wan were on their way to the company by taxi when they received a call from Guoli. Big brother. Just now news came from Mr. Pang's side. He heard that big brother came to Huadu saying that Pang Lao wants to meet you in person. Do you think you want to meet? Pang Hai, as the chief administrator of the Tianji Pavilion, had already stepped in to help the Su group once before because of Yi Fan's coded activation, and even more so later on in dealing with those nemeses of the Yi family. Pang Hai hadn't actually met Yi Fan yet, and it was completely reasonable to want to meet the new pavilion master. Yi Fan pondered for a few seconds. There's no rush first, wait until I'm done with Huadu. Yi Fan had his own considerations. Right now Yi Fan had been pretending to be a fool, but with so many things happening in Cloud City, it looked like his identity as a fool could no longer be covered up. This time, when he came to Huadu, Yi Fan was on the one hand to investigate the truth about the death of second brother in the Xuanwu war zone and to find the whereabouts of the map fragment. On the other hand, it was also to continue removing the minions of the Yi family's nemesis. What Yi Fan wanted to do was to pretty much clean out all of the Yi family's minions before going head to head with those of their nemesis. This way, the real murderer behind it will be caught out at the final showdown. Pang Hai was the chief administrator of the Tianji Pavilion, and the last time he had stepped forward for Sui Shui's matter. He had definitely attracted the attention of all the forces, and if he were to meet with a fool like himself at this time, he would definitely be noticed by someone with a heart of gold. Yi Fan is afraid to scare those nemeses of the Yi family, and those real murderers will not dare to face the road in the end, 
and the Yi family's blood revenge will not be able to be avenged. Although what Yi Fan had investigated so far was that Zhang Gulao and Tang Zheng seemed to be the murderers with the most direct hands, Yi Fan knew that they were not the real murderers. Good, Tang Lao said another program, is to let the general manager of the Kyushu group, Su Hai, to come over to visit Big Brother, in the future it is also convenient to directly contact with Big Brother. Big Brother C, listening to Guo Li's words on the phone, Yi Fan couldn't help but feel a waner in his heart. Pang Hai's mind was really meticulous ah. Although he had said the code word of Tianji Pavilion correctly, he had never seen the real person. For whatever reason, he always thought to confirm it. Alright then, let's have Su Hai go to Hongda Takeout to meet up. The Qing family's business was to be launched in Huadu, and it was also true that they needed the Kyushu group to assist in helping to claim that a meeting with the general manager of the Kyushu group would not attract as much attention. Hongda Takeout Company, Wang Tianwei had just finished giving a meeting to everyone, and all of them hadn't left yet. When Xiao Wan and Yi Fan appeared together at the main entrance, Good you Chou Wan, today is the day of financial settlement. How dare you be late for such a long time? Do you not want to work anymore? Wang Tianwei had tried to bully Chiu Wan several times before in the office. All of them were escaped by Chiu Wan, and also reported Wang Tianwei to the leaders of the headquarter once. Wang Tianwei had long held a grudge against Chiu Wan. I said what did the stinking bitch do? So she went looking for a wild man? When Wang Tianwei saw Yi Fan beside Chiu Wan, a touch of coldness and resentment surfaced on his face. Looking at Chiu Wan's flushed face, Wang Tianwei knew what happened last night. Treadmill. The woman that he had been thinking about for so long and hadn't even touched a single finger until now was actually snatched up by this idiot in front of him. And coming to work and sending along to work. Is this a deliberate attempt to show love in front of you? Chiu Wan. Let me tell you. Because you're late today, you'll be docked half a month's salary. With a wave of his hand, Wang Tianwei intended to fill in the blanks on the attendance sheet he was holding. On what grounds? Xiao Wan spoke angrily. According to the company's rules, even if I'm late, at most I'll only have a day's salary deducted, right? What gives you the right to deduct half a month's salary from me? Wang Tianwei stared at Xiao Wan with a sneer. On what grounds? I'm in a bad mood. So what? Oh, don't want to deduct half a month's salary is fine. Go to my office. Communicate with me properly. I'm in a good mood. And then send you a few thousand more bonuses or no problem. Xiao Wan originally had an extremely good figure and appearance. At this time after being moisturized by Yi Fan, it was even more tender that was about to drip. While Wang Tianwei was speaking, his hand couldn't help but reach towards Xiao Wan's buttocks, intending to grab a handful. Wang Tianwei is the manager of Honda Takeaway Company. The director of this company directly above the headquarters is his brother-in-law. Even if someone goes to the headquarters to complain, Wang Tianwei is not afraid. In this company, Wang Tianwei is the king. Wang Tianwei glanced at Yi Fan, not well dressed, or a taxi. It looks like a young man with little money and little background. On your own turf, you're still easy to hold? Even if he had molested Xiao Wan in public, what could he do? Xiao Wan still needs a salary to support her family, and today she is even more unreasonable, so she definitely does not dare to stretch her legs. Seeing Wang Tianwei's movements, a flash of disgust surfaced in Xiao Wan's eyes and her body instinctively tried to dodge. A flash of biting coldness flashed in Yi Fan's eyes. His body took a step forward, blocking Chiu Wan behind himself, and reached out to grab Wang Tianwei's wrist. Manager Wang, it's not good to touch your hand like this, is it? Aha! Uh -huh. Seeing Yi Fan's actions, a flash of annoyance flashed through Wang Tianwei's eyes. How dare this guy block his movements? Kid, are you looking for death? Wang Tianwei angrily stared at Yi Fan. You'd better figure out what place this is. Here just you be good and obedient. Otherwise I can play with her to death you believe it or not? Lousy just touched her today what's wrong with you? While Wang Tianwei's mouth chided, he stretched out his other hand, once again intending to grab towards Zhou Wan's breasts. HM. Yi Fan snorted coldly through his nostrils. Before that, Yi Fan didn't know even if he didn't know. Now that Zhou Wan was his woman, how could Yi Fan let her suffer in front of him? Phew. Yi Fan struck out as fast as lightning, flying a hand to grab Wang Tianwei's hand. Click. There was a fluctuation of qi on Yi Fan's wrist, and he broke Wang Tianwei's wrist straight away. I don't know what to do. Yi Fan was now at the martial emperor level of strength, and dealing with such a small piece of trash was still an easy task. Ah, crap. Lousy's hand. The sharp pain coming from his hand made Wang Tianwei instantly let out a pig killing scream. Don't stand still all of you. Give me on. Don't let this asshole walk out of here standing. At this point, the compound was filled with takeout workers and a couple of security guards. Hearing Wang Tianwei shout, a group of Wang Tianwei's dog legs immediately rushed over toward this side, holding sticks, steel pipes, and even some people pulled the charging line over. Fuck him. Wang Tianwei took two steps back and snarled at the men around him. Tramp. 
In my territory, can you still be bullied? Xiu Wan, let me tell you, I'm going to fuck you today. Wang Tianwei stared at Xiu Wan with a greedy face. This bitch, what kind of innocence is she pretending in front of herself? Isn't sleeping with anyone the same thing? Is he any worse than any other man? Looking around at so many takeout boys, and security guards rushing this way, Xiu Wan looked nervous. Xiu Fan, let's run away. There are too many of them. Although last night he saw that Yi Fan actually held himself and jumped from the second floor. Yi Fan must have kung fu. But after all, with so many people on Wang Tianwei's side, Xiu Wan was still worried that Yi Fan was not an opponent. Stop it. Are you all crazy? Sister Wan is a colleague of ours. She usually takes care of you when she gets paid. Isn't that enough? You guys are actually doing this to Sister Wan. Have your conscience been eaten by a dog? Outside of the crowd, a few girls chortled and pushed Sans a few security guards in front of them. Xiu Wan was actually usually well liked in the company, and as the treasurer, she usually took much care of these takeaway boys, as well as the security guards. They usually want a little advance on their paycheck or something like that. And Xiu Wan opens the door of convenience, being scolded by those girls for a while. Those security guards and takeout boys who were originally aggressive began to hesitate in their hand movements. Sister Wan, quickly let your boyfriend run. A bearded man at the forefront whispered to Chiu Wan. Sister Wan, it's also very difficult for us to be in the middle. Brother, run, we'll give you cover. Another flat-headed security guard also squeezed over, deliberately using his body to block the people rushing up behind him. We won't be able to stop those Wang Tianwei's lapdogs coming up behind us. Thank you everyone. Chiu Wan glanced at Ji Fan and pulled him along with her, intending to leave here first. As for the office stuff, it could only be said later. It was only Yi Fan who had saved his daughter's life, and it would be bad if Yi Fan was injured. But when Xiu Wan pulled Yi Fan, Yi Fan stood still and didn't move, but looked at the garbage in front of him with a burning look. How could he, a martial emperor powerhouse, still be bullied by these trash in front of him? HM. Yi Fan's ankle stomped hard on the ground, and powerful Qi energy stirred out, instantly bypassing the front several security guards and takeout boys who were helping Xiu Wan, and impacting dozens of people behind them all of whom flew backward and fell to sit on the ground. Just this? Yi Fan clapped his hands and coldly looked towards Wang Tianwei. Originally, I came back with Sister Wan. I just wanted to simply take something and was on my way out. You yourself had to come up and look for pain. Sister Wan is my woman. You still want to miss my woman? Looking for death. Yi Fan sneered, stepped forward and directly grabbed Wang Tianwei's neck. Without any hesitation, he kicked at Wang Tianwei's crotch. Pust. It's the sound of breaking eggs. Now see if you have any ideas when you see a woman, if you don't like to think about other women, this young man will make you see a woman in the future, you can only watch, well played, well played, Yi Fan's action was immediately applauded by a group of girls in the company, because Wang Tianwei is the manager of the company, so often followed by the hands of the right to harass the company's girls, but also some of the girls were Wang Tianwei coerced and seduced to get in the bed, but there are bitter cannot say, ah, my egg, crouch, Wang Tianwei's body instantly bent into a prawn in pain, and his mouth emitted a violent scream. Son of a bitch. You, you actually dare to move me? Kid, you are finished. Do you know who is behind Honda Takeout Company? Behind us is the Jojo Group. My brother-in-law is the director of the investment department over at the headquarters. Son of a bitch. You'd better kneel down and apologize to me right now, and let Xiao Wan obediently climb into my bed. Otherwise I guarantee you won't be able to see tomorrow's sun. Wang Tianwei's words instantly silenced the scene. The girls who applauded before were also silent, quietly approaching towards Chiu Wan's side, reminding Chiu Wan, Sister Wan, you'd better hurry up and take your boyfriend to leave. Wang Tianwei's brother-in-law is a leader over at the headquarters, and can mobilize the people of the Kyushu group, and they will definitely retaliate when things get too big. Right, the arm can't be twisted. The Kyushu group is so strong. Retaliation. Sister Wan you on your boyfriend is afraid to suffer. Xiu Wan's eyes were somewhat mesmerized as she looked at Yi Fan with a somewhat complicated mood. The Jojo group? Would Yi Fan be afraid? The outside world said that Yi Fan was that fool of the Yi family. But in reality Yi Fan was so smart and strong? I'm afraid that Wang Tianwei will definitely suffer from today's incident. I listened to him. Xiu Wan calmed herself a little. And she gradually realized that last night she had only intended to return the favor. But it seemed that she had ended up hugging a golden thaya. Since Yi Fan had made a move. He definitely had his own certainty. Kyushu group? Yi Fan heard a burst of Wainer. Was it such a coincidence? The one who bullied his woman was actually a company under the Tianji Pavilion Kyushu group? Poor Wang Tianwei didn't know that he had already planted himself in Yi Fan's hands. Seeing Yi Fan's silent face, Wang Tianwei thought that Yi Fan was afraid. Asshole. Now you know you're afraid? It's already too late. Ouch. 
Wang Tianwei was so excited that he accidentally pulled his own egg and grimaced in pain. Let go at once. Wang Tianwei struggled out of Yi Fan's hands and chided towards Cho Wan. Cho Wan, why don't you roll over? I'm about to tear off your clothes in public. Let's see which one of you dares to move a finger. Wang Tianwei thought that his background had scared Yi Fan and started to fool around again. Aha! Uh -huh. This Wang Tianwei is still so head iron looking for death? Yi Fan was all but speechless to Wang Tianwei. What's wrong with this asshole? Is his head full of shit? Obviously see in front of Yi Fan. Kung Fu so strong. Face such a situation. So calm. Come head is certainly not small ah. Uh? How can he still bump into it with an iron head? What are you looking at? Kid, aren't you a good fighter? You think there's no one on my side? Wang Tianwei laughed coldly and chided upstairs. M.S. Keiko. The Chiu Wan people are already here. So come down. There's a prick here. You help out by the way. Along with Wang Tianwei's words, a stunningly beautiful Eastern Ing girl wearing a leather skirt flashed from the second floor balcony, dropped the information in her hand on the ground, and with a stomp of her ankle on the balcony, she directly jumped down towards the first floor. Hiss. That high up. And you just jumped? Those takeout boys at the scene, as well as the security guards, and Cho Wan were stunned. Obviously, this Eastern beauty in front of him was also a martial arts expert. Handsome, she belongs to me. There's nothing more for you here. Get lost. That beautiful woman dodged and quickly rushed in front of Yi Fan, glanced at Cho Wan, and opened her mouth towards Yi Fan in a cloudy manner and chided. A powerhouse in the martial arts grandmaster realm? With a little bit of sensing. Yi Fan immediately became clear about the strength of this Yamada Keiko in front of him. No wonder Wang Tianwei is so arrogant today. So there are still experts from the East here? The powerful men from the East have already investigated Chiu Wan's company? But seeing as Yamada Keiko hasn't left yet, then Ergo left the map fragments, which should still be found. It's over. It's over. Sister Wan is going to suffer now. Sister Wan, why don't you escape quickly? I didn't realize that Wang Tianwei had actually invited such an expert. Alas, can Sister Wan still run away now? The group of sisters around Chiu Wan all looked at Chiu Wan with a regretful face, while Chiu Wan had a heart in her throat. There were martial arts experts on Wang Tianwei's side as well. What should Yi Fan do? Although Chiu Wan probably knew that five years ago, Yi Fan was indeed a demonic genius and not a fool, but the other party's power, it seemed, was not weak either. Is he really going to be taken by Wang Tianwei today? Would Yi Fan not care about himself? Chiu Wan tightened her grip on her coat, full of apprehension. After all, the girl had just said that there was nothing for Yi Fan here. So as long as Yi Fan didn't obstruct, he could leave. Himself and Yi Fan are just a one night pleasure. It is normal for Yi Fan to leave. However, soon after, a sentence from Yi Fan dispelled Xiu Wan's worries. You are mistaken. She is my woman. That belongs to me. Yi Fan stared searingly at the Yamada Keiko in front of him. Tell me to get lost. You're not qualified. Yi Fan had already moved to kill in his heart. Wang Tianwei actually colluded with the Eastern Ing dog as well? Yi Fan had never had much goodwill towards the East Ing people. Yi Fan had already decided in his heart that he would definitely turn this place upside down today. Hoomph, asshole, how dare you be so arrogant in front of MS. Keiko, looking for death. Miss Keiko, please hurry up and teach him to behave. Wang Tianwei pleaded with Keiko Yamada from the side. While in his heart, he had hated Yi Fan to the extreme, broke one of his own hands and kicked himself in the balls. Numb nuts. When M.S. Keiko Yamada packs you down, I'll pay you back tenfold. Keiko Yamada frowned and didn't open her mouth, but stared at Yi Fan with some doubt. When Yi Fan made a move on those security guards just now, Keiko Yamada noticed the fluctuation of martial arts chi in Yi Fan's body. But at that time, the martial chi fluctuating in Yi Fan's body was pretty much just the control realm. The fact that she was an expert in the sovereign realm was why Keiko Yamada showed up. But just moments ago, Keiko Yamada suddenly realized that the fluctuating martial arts chi energy in Yi Fan's body had actually reached the Zongshu realm, and had even surpassed her own? This guy in front of me is not to be messed with. Moreover, what made Yamada Keiko even more puzzled was that the youth in front of her always felt very familiar, but she could never recall where exactly she had seen Yi Fan. That's why Megumi Yamada hesitated and never took it easy. Crunch, crunch. The atmosphere at the scene was at a standstill when a sharp break suddenly sounded at the company's main entrance. An obese middle-aged man with a group of bodyguards quickly rushed in. Tian Wei. What happened? Who bullied you? This obese man is not someone else. It is Wang Tian Wei that brother-in-law Tong Quan, claiming to be a director at the company headquarters. Ah, brother-in-law. You can finally come. That's him. Wang Tian Wei saw his brother-in-law Tong Quan came, immediately like seeing his own father. A handful of snot and a handful of tears towards the Tong Quan cried. Brother-in-law you look. My arm was broken by him. My egg. My egg was also broken by his kick. 
I can't accompany you to wash your feet in the future. Oh, brother-in-law, you have to take revenge for me ah. Wang Tianwei didn't care about the feeling of egg pain in his pants. He jumped and rushed towards Tong Quan. Tong Quan looked at Wang Tianwei in such a miserable state, and then looked at Yi Fan with contempt. It's you, beat my brother-in-law like this? It's me. Yi Fan looked at Tong Quan in front of him. Was this the person from the Kyushu group? Counting the time. Su Hai, the general manager of the Kyushu group, should be arriving soon, right? Yi Fan was curious. Su Hai arrived and saw the situation in front of him, with how to deal with it. One must know that Ji Fan was the new pavilion master of Tianji Pavilion, while Su Hai, as the general manager of the Jizhou group, should naturally be Pang Hai's beloved, representing Pang Hai to pay his respects, only to find his own henchman, actually offending him in such a way. Then Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan will have to shed their skin, right? Kid, do you know who I am? I am the director of the investment department of the Kyushu group. I can casually call upon the A-class power of the Kyushu group. Pinching you to death is as easy as pinching an ant. Do you know that? Tong Quan was not in a hurry to make a move. Speaking to Yi Fan at the same time, his gaze turned to Chiu Wan beside Yi Fan. When he saw Chiu Wan's peach-like appearance, his pupils were suddenly dilated and his eyes were glowing. Tian Wei, that's the one you said was an extremely good woman. The one you never got your hands on, right? Tong Quan looked at Chiu Wan. That kind of extreme. No wonder Wang Tian Wei kept mentioning it in front of himself. That's brother-in-law. That asshole is her boyfriend. Figuring out the relationship between the characters, Tong Quan immediately had an idea. Kid, will you do it yourself or will I do it for you? Tong Quan snorted coldly and threw a war knife in front of Yi Fan. Break an arm yourself, then gargle your own eggs. Leave your woman behind and crawl out of here on your knees. I'll leave you a dog's life. Tong Quan looked at the fact that with so many people on his side, and an Easting expert sitting on his side, he had already eaten up Yi Fan. You're sick. Aren't you? Why would I want to crunch my own eggs? Yi Fan smiled faintly. However, I don't mind helping you crunch your eggs so that you two can make a pair. Pust. Yi Fan stomped his ankle on the ground, and the battle knife flew straight up, directly poofing into Tong Quan's thigh, and blood instantly flowed down Tong Quan's thigh. Crap, kid, you stepped horse crazy. Actually, even lousy all hands. Ah, my leg. Tong Quan pain in the mouth a howl. To the side of the bodyguard rebuked. Quickly do it, no matter dead or alive. We'll take him down, quickly, Lousy will get him killed, at the drop of a hat, what makes this guy so arrogant, stop, who are you trying to get killed, just at the moment when those bodyguards brought by Tong Quan were ready to make a move, at the doorway, a middle-aged man let out a sullen rebuke, instantly causing everyone at the scene to stop the movements on their hands, the middle-aged man, dressed in a Zhongshan suit and surrounded by a few tough men, walked quickly towards the company compound, General Manager Su, it's you, why did you come personally? Such a little thing. Isn't worth alarming you ah. It's just that there's a person causing trouble here. I can fix it. The person who came was none other than Su Hai, the general manager of the Kyushu group and Pang Hai's right-hand man. When Tong Quan saw that Su Hai actually came here in person, his heart was both shocked and excited. As Su Hai was Pang Hai's direct force, Tong Quan usually didn't see much of Su Hai. The key was Su Hai's own strength, which was all said to have reached above the peak of Zongshir, or even the martial Zun realm. Moreover, those bodyguards beside Su Hai, each and every one of them were the strongest of the strong. With the general manager sitting here, are you still afraid that this kid in front of you will turn over? Son of a bitch, let's see how arrogant you still are this time. Foolish, our mister, Su is here. You just wait for death. Tong Quan screamed and cursed at Yi Fan with an excited face. Snap, without any sign, Su Hai raised his hand and slapped, directly smacking Tong Quan's face. Shut up, come on people. Give me to abolish him. Ha! Huh? Su Hai's fierce slap with martial arts chi directly smacked Su Hai in the face. What is this? Mr. Su, what are you? Doing wrong? Su Hai actually slapped himself directly, and his own teeth shattered all over his mouth. In Tong Quan's shocked eyes, Su Hai jogged all the way and quickly walked over towards Yi Fan and said, My subordinate Su Hai, on behalf of Elder Pang, I pay my respects to Pavilion. Yi Xiao. Su Hai's mouth was going to address Yi Fan as Pavilion Master. But thinking that Yi Fan had been hiding his identity, the words came to his lips and he directly changed his mouth to Yi Xiao. In this way, people would only suspect Yi Fan's relationship with the Jojo group, not Yi Fan's relationship with the Heavenly Hall of Justice. At that time, when Yi Fan contacted Elder Pang with Guo Li's cell phone, Elder Pang immediately launched an investigation and dismissed the idea of Guo Li being the successor of the Heavenly Hall on the spot. The latter parties investigated and determined that Yi Fan was the new Tianji Pavilion Master. Get up! Yi Fan knew that Su Hai had come on behalf of Pang Hai, 
and was actually more or less as tentative as Yu Chang. So while Yi Fan spoke, a martial chi surged in his hand, grabbing Su Hai's arm through the air and holding it up towards the top. Feeling that chi energy from Yi Fan, a flash of intense shock appeared in Su Hai's eyes. A space object? The young lord's strength is at least above the martial Zun realm. Ah, Su Hai had originally come with the intention of testing, so without any hesitation, Su Hai frantically ran his martial Dao Chi of the martial Zun realm, forcibly trying to press down towards the bottom. Su Hai wanted to test how strong Yi Fan was, and according to Pang Lao, to see if Yi Fan was worth aiding or not. Yi Fan smiled faintly. The expression on his face did not change. The martial emperor's sixth grade aura was released, instantly enveloping this space. Su Hai even breathed a little unsmoothly, feeling as if there was a Tarzan pressing down on the top of his head, weighing as much as 10, 000 pounds. With ease, Yi Fan just used the strength of a few fingers to help Su Hai up. Xiao Yi redeems himself. After Su Hai was helped up, his face swelled with a reddish color as he bent down and bowed to Yi Fan once again. In the test just now, Su Hai had used all his strength, but Yi Fan still took himself so easily. So Yi Xiao's strength was at least at the martial emperor level. Elder Pang had said that as long as Yi Xiao's strength was above the martial emperor level, then the crisis that the Yi family was facing right now would not be a crisis at all. It's fine. Yi Fan put away the fluctuations of martial chi on his body and glanced over toward Tong Quan and the others. This Hongda takeout company, is it an industry under the Kyushu group? It's all bullying my woman's head. It's not small in guts. Yes, Su Hai touched a bead of sweat on his forehead. Don't worry, Xiao Yi. I will definitely take care of this matter. On the other side, when Tong Quan saw Su Hai's actions, his entire body was directly dumbfounded. What is this? General Manager Su Hai actually knows this youth in front of him? And by the looks of it, it was still very scornful of the youth in front of him? Old me is going to be killed by you. Tong Quan was now so regretful that he couldn't wait to slap himself. And when he saw Wang Tianwei beside him, he violently kicked over. Brother-in-law. Me. Wang Tianwei also put the situation into perspective at this time. Originally, he could hang Yi Fan and Xiao Wan when his dependable brother-in-law came. As a result, the big boss behind his brother-in-law had to kneel down when he saw the youth in front of him. Bang bang. Not waiting for Wang Tianwei to finish his words, those two bodyguards beside Su Hai had already rushed over. And without any hesitation, they directly broke Tong Quan's arm and kicked the egg in his pants. The two bodyguards glanced at Wang Tianwei and cast an inquiring gaze towards Su Hai. And after receiving Su Hai's affirmation, the two bodyguards once again made their move and smashed Wang Tianwei's other thigh as well. Ah, ah, Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan were lying on the ground, wailing non-stop, their bodies bent into a prawn. However, facing Su Hai, although there were 10, 000 Chama joins running wild in their hearts, they didn't dare to show anything, the means of the nine states group, they are aware of, now can leave a life, even if lucky, if really completely pissed off them, lose their lives is also a matter of minutes. Yi Fan smiled faintly, took two steps forward and walked in front of Wang Tianwei, looking down on him and stepping on Wang Tianwei's face, Manager Wang, now you still want to move my woman? Still want me to go out lying down? Wang Tianwei didn't even have the courage to cry now, and said with a terrified face, I don't dare, don't dare, Yi Young spare your life ah, Yi Young spare your life, I don't dare anymore, really don't dare. Although his arms and legs were crippled, Wang Tianwei still endured the severe pain and knelt down towards Yi Fan, kowtowing constantly. With his only intact arm, he kept smacking his face. Pop, pop, snap. Crisp ringing sounds resounded in the compound. But in a few seconds of effort, Wang Tianwei's face was all red and swollen, just like a pig's head. Yi Xiao, I was wrong. On the other side, Tong Quan also reacted, respectfully kneeling in front of Yi Fan, also waving his hand and smacking his face. Those security guards at the scene, the delivery boys, all looked at the situation in front of them with a sigh. Those who were worried about Yi Fan secretly breathed a sigh of relief. I didn't expect that Sister Wan's boyfriend, actually knows the general manager of the Kyushu group? Yeah, so he's so powerful and has so much background. Now that Wang Tianwei has finally been cleaned up, Tong Quan is afraid that he won't end up well either. As for the others, the security guards and takeout boys who had followed Wang Tianwei before, they were all confused at this time. Watching Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan's downfall, the crowd couldn't help but tremble. One of the security guards took the lead, and after hesitating for a moment, they all knelt down towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan lightly glanced at the crowd. If I had known this, why did I bother? Seeing that Yi Fan's anger had subsided for the most part, Su Hai was relieved in his heart and rebuked his bodyguards. Take those two guys away and hand them over to the discipline and supervision department to check their financial status. Hongda Takeout Company, the personnel involved in today's incident, all dismissed. Su Hai, 
as the general manager of the Kyushu Group, doing things, naturally, is thunderous, a few words, will Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan's downfall arrangements clear, clear, the disciplinary inspection department of the Kyushu Group is notorious for its harsh methods, Tong Quan and Wang Tianwei have been in their respective positions for so many years that their hands and feet are naturally not clean, in the hands of the department of discipline and inspection, even if they don't die, it is estimated that they will only have half a life left, Mr. Su, don't ah, don't hand us over to the disciplinary inspection department ah, ye shall we were wrong, we kowtow to you, Cho Wan, I'm sorry, we were wrong, you can't see death and save us, please, please speak, save us, before being dragged away, Tong Quan and Wang Tianwei still wanted Cho Wan to open her mouth to ask for help, but Cho Wan's face moved several times, looked at Yi Fan, and finally did not open her mouth, Cho Wan knew that it was fortunate that Yi Fan's background was hard enough today, otherwise, if she and Yi Fan fell into their hands, would they be soft, after Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan were dealt with, Su Hai glanced at Cho Wan, then spoke in a low voice, Yi Xiao, Mrs. Xiao Wan arranged to serve as the deputy director of finance at the Kyushu Group, with an annual salary of 1 million? Su Hai tentatively opened his mouth to ask a question, and when he saw the corner of Yi Fan's mouth twitch, Su Hai was instantly startled. No, Mrs. Xiao Wan to go to the Kyushu Group as a financial director, annual salary of 200. No, annual salary of 5 million, additionally with a million level above the car. Miss Cho, what kind of car you like? Please tell me. I will arrange. Su Hai kept wiping the beads of sweat on his forehead as he spoke. Today, his own men made such a big commotion, all of which offended the future pavilion master's wife, and actually tried to desecrate the pavilion master's wife. If things really get out of hand, I'm afraid I won't have a good time. So I learned that Xiao Wan is a senior student of management finance, directly arranged to enter the Kyushu group. First said that the deputy director of finance, look at the face of the master of the cabinet is not right and hastened to directly elevate to the director of finance, the annual salary from 1 million, up to 5 million, anyway, the identity of the pavilion master had been confirmed, and the entire Tinji pavilion was the pavilion master's own, offer a higher annual salary, it's just a left hand to right hand thing, ah, mister, su, this, this is too high, it's not appropriate, Xiao Wan heard the annual salary of 5 million, and the the position of financial director of the Jojo group, the whole person was stunned, when Xiao Wan had just graduated from college, she did want to work in a big company like the Kyushu Group, but the reality is hard to face, she has no background, no work experience, in the normal way, it is impossible to enter those big companies, the back can only find a macro takeaway company as a treasurer, and now when Su Hai really announced that he was the financial director of the Kyushu Group, Xiao Wan was instead afraid again, on the one hand, it felt like the happiness came a little too suddenly and was a little unreal, while on the other hand, there was the fear that I wouldn't be able to do it right. Jojo Group that is a trillion dollar behemoth of assets. The position of financial director. The responsibility assumed is naturally very significant. An annual salary of 5 million dollars had never occurred to Chiu Wan before. Not high, ms. Chiu. Not high at all. This is the standard salary in our industry. Su Hai observed Yi Fan's expression. And when he saw Yi Fan smile, a heart completely relaxed. His own ass kissing. This time, didn't hit the nail on the head. Tianji Pavilion this new pavilion master, looks although young, but can quietly stoic for so many years, meticulously development, and then to now, the Yi family those deadly rivals are afraid that they still do not know the real situation of Yi Fan, the new court master is no lightweight, but the more this happened, the more hope there was for the recovery of that Tianji Pavilion, those demons and monsters inside, the court master's means will always deter them, right? But, Mr. Su, Xiao Wan still wanted to push back, but Yi Fan reached out and wrapped Xiao Wan in his arms, whispering in Xiao Wan's ear, Sister Wan, don't but, quietly tell you a secret, the Kyushu group is also my industry, ah, uh, hearing Yi Fan's words, Xiao Wan's shocked eyes were about to fall out, it's also the Yi family, Yi Fan shook his head, it's not the Yi family, it's my property, so, Sister Wan going to work for the Kyushu group is to help me manage the financial power, the position is very important. I usually don't have so much time to manage the company's finances, in case someone else rolls my money away, I don't even know, Sister Wan is now my woman, go to work in the Kyushu group, just can help me to carefully keep an eye on the point, I feel relieved, while speaking, Yi Fan very much turned his head and kissed Xiao Wan on her cheek, it made Xiao Wan blush for a while and her heart thumped, this Yi Fan, bad, that, Xiao Wan's heart was still violently shaken, a behemoth like the Jojo group was actually also an asset under Yi Fan, 
together with the Yi family behind Yi Fan, how much energy did this handsome guy in front of her, who was a bit smaller than herself, have? Was this heaven's reward for so much suffering before? He had been living a hard life for so long before, and now, all of a sudden, he was pushed straight into the clouds. It's a deal, Mr. Sue, from tomorrow. Let Sister Wan go to the company to slowly familiarize herself with the business. Yi Fan directly interrupted Sho Wan's words and sealed the deal. Yi Fan turned his head to look at those people left in the Honda takeout company and said to Cho Wan, Sister Wan, now that Wan Tianwei has been taken away and you've left, the takeout company, the one who is most familiar with it is you, but it's impossible for you to continue working here. You decide on their staffing arrangements? Su Hai hurriedly helped out from the side as well. Right, ma'am. I'd like to ask Miss Chiu to help guide us in the matter of the Honda Takeout Company. Su Hai is also a wonderful person. The address to Chiu Wan, from Miss Chiu, directly changed to Mrs. The arrangement of the situation of Honda Company became guidance. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth smiled slightly. This Su Hai, when the time came, he could hook up with Lu Mao Yang. I, Chiu Wan was weak in nature and instinctively wanted to refuse again, but suddenly felt that Yi Fan's hand had been placed on her hip. Yi Fan also blew a breath in Chiu Wan's ear. Sister Wan, behave yourself, otherwise, I'm going to spank my ass, don't, Xiao Wan shyly awaste, here's so many people, if Yi Fan did that intimate action to himself, would not he die of shame, after pouting, Xiao Wan glanced at the crowd and finally opened her mouth, Mr. Su, according to my judgment, Molly usually has a strong working ability, and she has served as the supervisor of the second team before, and has been exercising for a long time, so she can serve as the manager of the Honda takeout company. In addition, Xiao Yang has been following me around as a finance person and can take over my position. Good, that's the arrangement. As Chiu Wan's words fell, Su Hai didn't have any hesitation and directly shouted towards the crowd. Who's Molly? Who's Xiao Yang? Step forward. According to Madam's arrangement, you will be the manager and treasurer respectively, and will take over the entire work of Honda takeout from now on. The specific appointment book. The headquarter company will send it over in the afternoon. In the crowd, a little girl with eyes and another middle-aged woman in a small suit were both still a bit dazed when they heard Su Hai's words, almost as if he had walked out in a daze. These two were none other than Molly and Xiao Yang, one of the two girls who had taken the initiative to stand out and help Chiu Wan block those bad guys when they faced Wang Tianwei's bullying just now. Mari and Yang fumed for a few seconds after figuring out their appointments before reacting. Ah, thank you Mr. Su, thank you Sister Wan, thank you Sister Wan. The two of them bowed together towards Su Hai and Xiao Wan, and in the end, they didn't forget to bow towards Yi Fan. Thank you, Xiao Yi. There was no hiding the gratitude on their faces. Although the company has only hundreds of people, the position of company manager is still very important. If it was a normal development, Mari was afraid that it would be difficult to be promoted to the position of manager until old age. But now it was Xiao Wan's words that turned their fate around in an instant. They were very clear that all of this was the credit of Chiu Wan and the credit of Yi Fan's promotion. There's no need to thank me. You guys just thank Madam properly. Su Hai glanced at the two of them and continued to work well. For the company's subsequent recruitment and staffing arrangements, you two will be solely responsible for it. Yi Fan also smiled faintly beside him. All of this is what you deserve. When Chiu Wan faced such a desperate situation just now, there were so many people at the scene, only they and a few other sisters stood up for Chiu Wan. As Yi Fan spoke, he glanced at the few security guards and takeout boys who helped Xiao Wan and Yi Fan. You guys also performed well, Manager Ma, they will be properly arranged as well right? Right right right, just now, Mr. Su has fired a group of people to go, there are several vacant supervisor positions, Yi Xiao and Sister Wan don't worry, I will definitely make arrangements and won't let them get cold feet. What Yi Fan meant by deliberately mentioning those security guards, of course Mari understood, in short, just one sentence. All the people who helped Xiao Wan and Yi Fan just now would not be treated poorly. As for those who stand on Wang Tianwei's side against Xiao Wan, on the other side, those personnel who had been fired by Su Hai were already packing up their things in the company compound, with a dark look on their faces, a stark contrast to Mari and the others over here. The benefits of Hongda Delivery Company are very good. The boys of other delivery companies out there earn just a few thousand dollars a month, but the boys of Hongda Delivery Company all earn more than $10,000. This was also the reason why those takeaway boys were so bullied by Wang Tianwei, yet they were still willing to stay here. Only now, that part of the people who supported Wang Tianwei and made a move against Yi Fan and Xiao Wan had completely lost their chance. Those members of the macro takeout company, having been settled, there was only one last person left on the scene, that beauty from the east, Keiko Yamada. Noticing the situation at the scene, at this time, 
Yamada Keiko also finally recognized that this youth just now was that foolish young master Yi Fan of the Yi family. It's just that what Yi Fan showed just now, he's not a fool at all ah. Moreover, Yi Fan was so powerful that he was even stronger than himself. Now that both Wang Tianwei and Tong Quan have fallen, the key is that Su Hai of the Kyushu group is also here. For Yi Fan's strength, Megumi Yamada was still a little uncertain. But for Su Hai's strength, Megumi Yamada was very sure. He was at least all in the martial Zun realm. Originally, Yamada Keiko had been ordered by the vice president of the Black Clothes Society to investigate Zhou Wan and trace the whereabouts of the Heavenly Palace map fragment. Just now, if Su Hai did not step forward, Yamada Keiko was planning to take Zhou Wan away by force and then force her to ask. But now that Su Hai had come, Keiko Yamada didn't have any certainty at all. Taking advantage of the chaotic state of the scene, Keiko Yamada tried to slip away quietly. But what Keiko Yamada didn't know was that Su Hai had been eyeing her for a long time. Yamada Keiko had only just moved. When Su Hai dodged and blocked in front of Yamada Keiko, when a strong martial arts practitioner from the East Japan enters Dasha without reporting, everyone will be executed. M.S. Yamada, you want to leave without explaining? The situation here just now was pretty much understood by Su Hai. Wang Tianwei really deserved to die. Actually colluding with the Eastern Ng martial arts experts, planning to lay a death sentence on the pavilion master. Moreover, Tianji Pavilion and Eastern Ng also have a life and death feud. Mr. Su. I, Yamada Keiko still wanted to explain, but Su Hai didn't have the slightest bit of mercy. Powerful Marshal Dao Chi surged out from his hand, directly suppressing towards Keiko Yamada, sealing off all of her retreats. Put, put. In just three seconds of work, Keiko Yamada's entire body's blood veins were blocked. Come on two girls, send her to the restroom upstairs. Su Hai greeted two company employees and helped Keiko Yamada towards the upstairs lounge. Young Yi, the Easterning people invaded Disya silently. Please go and interrogate them yourself. Su Hai respectfully bowed towards Yi Fan while greeting Chiu Wan. Madam, let's go over and cooperate to hand over the company. Just like that, Su Hai didn't move and sent Chiu Wan away, leaving Yi Fan in place with his mouth agape. This Su Hai, he understands men. The East Japan invaded Dasha back then and scourged so many of Dasha's sons and daughters. There is a saying in Dasha that if you meet a woman from the East, you must take revenge. Yamada Keiko was indeed long and beautiful. But it wasn't Yamada Keiko's body that Yi Fan was interested in. What Yi Fan was more interested in was how far East Ng had pursued this heavenly palace map fragment. Moreover, there were more and more martial arts powerhouses lurking into Dasha recently, and Yi Fan wanted to figure out what exactly they wanted to do in Dasha. Rather, it was the fact that Yamada Keiko had actually tracked down Shio Wan here as well, and with the addition of Murano Koji, who had made a move in Cloud City earlier, it was important to raise an alarm. Without any hesitation, Yi Fan's ankle landed on the ground and his body directly rushed towards the lounge on the second floor. The door to the room was opened, and Megumi Yamada just lay helplessly on the couch. Her entire body's blood veins were blocked by Su Hai, and Megumi Yamada could only make slight movements, but without any force. Seeing Yi Fan enter the room to come, Yamada Keiko immediately changed her face. You, don't come over, what do you want? Yamada Keiko was naturally aware of the hatred between Dasha and Eastern Japan. Moreover, there had been news from within the Black Clothes Society before that once a woman from Eastern Japan fell into the hands of a man from Dasha, she wouldn't have a good ending. And now, has such a fate finally come upon you? Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached out to hook Yamada Keiko's waist as he pressed Yamada Keiko on the sofa. What do you think a man wants to do when he faces such a beautiful woman? Yi Fan moved in such a way that instantly made Yamada Keiko shriek out. Don't, Yi Fan, you can't move me. I'm a member of the general's house and the great general's house of Eastern Ng is my adoptive father. If you move me, the general's house of Eastern Ng, and the Black Clothes Society, won't let you go. Aha! Uh -huh. Yi Fan couldn't help but smile slightly. He hadn't even opened his mouth to ask. This Miss Yamada Keiko had managed to explain her identity clearly. Are they from the Yakuza again? It also involves the great general's house of the East. Ha! Huh? Things are getting more and more interesting. The power of the royal family of the East is now gradually weakened. The families that are entrenched in the east are gradually beginning to override the royal power. In addition to those families, there are several powerful organizations. The two biggest of them, the Shogun's Office and the Black Clothes Society, were the two major organizations that the Eastern Imperial family had to listen to in many matters. Yeah, I'll just have to move and try. Pop, snap. As Yi Fan spoke, without any hesitation, he slapped down two slaps on Yamada Keiko's butt. Ah, the fiery pain coming from her buttocks caused Keiko Yamada's body to stiffen, and her mouth began to scream out shyly. You asshole. Is it possible to touch such a private part of a girl casually? What's even more annoying is that Yifan actually lifted the hem of Yamada Keiko's skirt all the way up, 
and there's only a layer of thin little pants inside ah, but Megumi Yamada's mouth had only just screamed when her entire body froze once again, how is it that a warm current has entered his body, then it was transformed into martial chi energy, rapidly warming up his body and enhancing his strength, and the source of that warm current was exactly where Yi Fan had slapped, this, Yi Fan spanking his own ass could help him improve his strength, you, you hate, trying to hit again if you have the ability, Yamada Keiko sensed her body's abnormality and deliberately stimulated Yi Fan, just try it, such a strange request, Yi Fan naturally want to satisfy, without any hesitation, Yi Fan waved his palm against Yamada Keiko's arse, again two slaps down, Keiko Yamada's body squirmed underneath, feeling all swollen, this dead bad guy, he doesn't have any mercy at all, but that familiar warmth, once again entering her body, Yamada Keiko had already confirmed that this was the person her mother had explained she was looking for before she left the east, master, stop fighting, little slave is willing to submit, aha, Keiko Yamada's reaction caused Yifan to be baffled for a moment, he only slapped her twice, and this chick actually submitted directly, what is this, is it masochistic, Yifan was still puzzled in his heart when Yamada Keiko pulled out a jade pendant remnant from her body and respectfully handed it to Yifan, master, this is a token left by my mother, so as long as young master brings this jade pendant remnant back, he will naturally understand my mother's identity, aha, another jade pendant fragment, Yi Fan also remembers that just a few days ago, the wandering soul's captain Nyo Air took out a fragment of a jade pendant and then merged it with the fragment in his grandfather's hand, proving that the wandering soul was the agency and power that his mother had left to him, and now, Keiko Yamada has also taken out such a piece, could it be that her mother has arranged to have power in the east as well, what is your mother's status? Yamada Keiko sprawled on the sofa, respectfully replied, My mother said that she was the chief side of the sword servant, before the chief left, was ordered to go forward to the east to lurk. At that time, my mother was ordered to lurk beside the great general, and then became the great general's woman. I gave birth to the illegitimate child. Mother has been secretly accumulating power all these years, waiting for the master's call at any time. It's just that now mother has been put under house arrest by the great general's house in disguise and even I don't know the place of detention, the great general's mansion is using mother's life as blackmail to force me to act in Dasha, listening to Keiko Yamada's explanation, a violent shock went through Yi Fan's heart, what was his own mysterious mother up to, in the Yi family left so many underpinnings for themselves, and the power of the wandering souls to support it, and now you've left yourself such a powerful shadowy force in the east, is this about global domination, thinking of this, Yi Fan hurriedly dialed his grandfather's phone, grandpa, I have a piece of jade pendant here, see if there's any more at home that can fit with it intact, Yi Fan slapped the photo to his grandfather, and in less than a minute, his grandfather's phone called, that's right, the second jade pendant fragment, indeed, and this can be merged, back then, your mother said that there was indeed a latent force over there in the east, it seems that that mate of hers is called Yamada or something, so this Keiko Yamada was telling the truth, in that case, then the Yamada Keiko in front of her is considered one of us, a chi energy surged out from Yi Fan's hand and lifted the ban on Yamada Keiko's body. Tell me, how many people from the east have come to Dashia this time? What exactly do they want? But what Yi Fan didn't expect was that as soon as he lifted the restriction on Yamada Keiko, Yamada Keiko directly reached out and wrapped her arms around Yi Fan's neck. Master, hug. Being in such close contact with Yi Fan just now carried a huge benefit for Megumi Yamada. And Megumi Yamada was a little addicted to it. Yamada Keiko, although you are the daughter of my mother's maid, don't play with fire. Yi Fan felt the tenderness in his arms and chided somewhat helplessly. Keiko Yamada is totally one of those eastern cute, sexy series of soft girls, two big ponytails, soft waist, ultra short leather skirt, if when to change into JK, plus white silk, that's a total perfect match. Keiko is not afraid. Mother said, Keiko from birth, all is masters, heart is also, body is also, all is. Yamada Keiko hooked Yi Fan's neck, that slender fingers, but also non-stop Yi Fan's chest jumping, body in Yi Fan's arms just gently twisted a few times, Yi Fan will feel that the whole body is going to explode, master, burn me with your blazing fire, Yamada Keiko's cherry mouth gently murmured in Yi Fan's ear for a while, and that seductive voice was simply a hypnotic charm, although Yi Fan was no longer a beginner, but in the face of such seduction, it was completely all a bit out of control, if he hadn't already verified the identity of Keiko Yamada, Yi Fan would have thought that this was a beauty plan arranged by those nemeses of the Yi family. Snap. Yi Fan reached out and slapped Yamada Keiko's buttocks violently a few times. Let's talk about it later. I have something to ask you. Master. People are waiting for you oh. Keiko will always be masters. A look of enjoyment surfaced on Yamada Keiko's face. The wilder master is. The more Keiko likes it. 
those mesmerizing eyes, delicate face, really a siren to die for, that kind of s strength, really can't stand it, this time, the main reason for entering Dacia is for a map of the heavenly palace, it is said that it is the ruins of gods and goddesses, and that it contains a superb number of extremely high quality techniques, as well as the secret books of immortal cultivation, also, we have other covert operations, there are places in the east where the living environment is starting to deteriorate, and we're on this operation, lean, again, Yi Fan's heart was suddenly filled with displeasure, almost a hundred years ago, the eastern Ing dog, relying on its own well-equipped, wreaked havoc on Dixia for decades and plundered so many of its treasures, and now, actually want to do it again, numb nuts, a hundred years ago, Yi Fan was not born even if, and now Yi Fan is in charge of the Tinji pavilion, the hand is even a million Tianlong army under the word Yi, if he pissed off Yi Fan, he would directly drive his army over and trample the tiny island nation of the east, I'm not too sure about the other few battle squads, but I probably understand the personnel of this battle squad of ours, one of the vice captains is Koji Murano, who went to Cloud City to investigate the map remnants of the Yi family, in addition, Captain Muto went over to the Xuanwu battle zone to snipe the seated players of the Grand Xia, Yi Fan had a waner in his heart, Murano Koji had already died in his hands, but another Muto captain going to the Genbu battle zone to snipe Dasha's seated players? Yi Fan couldn't help but think of his first wife Yu Linglong in the first place, who was the youngest female martial god of Dixia, and was responsible for the defense of none other than Eastern Ing along the coast of the Xuanwu war zone. The first wife shouldn't be in trouble, should she? After the affairs of Wada were taken care of, a trip to the coast had to be made if necessary. Besides, he was the Jintian Wang of the Xuanwu battle area and after five years of not asking about the things of the Xuanwu battle area, it was time for him to make some effort. I have another infiltration list here. This is a list of families within Tiannan province that have close communication with the Black Clothes Society of the East and the General Side. Keiko Yamada respectfully handed a list to Yi Fan. Yi Fan just swept a glance and couldn't help but snort coldly at the corner of his mouth. So many of the families above are precisely the restless families among those vassal families of the Tianji Pavilion, while some others are the previous vassal families of the Yi family which have recently stood up to the opposite side of the Yi family, so they're all in cahoots with the dogs of the east? This time, when he came to Huadu, what Yi Fan wanted to do was to purge all these trash. Today, however, the most important task is still to find the pen holder that Xiao Wan said, counting the time. After talking to Keiko Yamada for so long, the handover on Xiao Wan's side should be almost complete. Master, did Keiko do a great job? Master wants to reward Keiko, as Yi Fan was about to open the door. Yamada Keiko once again pounced on him, wrapping her arms around Yifan's neck and letting her big phoenix sway on Yifan's chest. Even the leather skirt was flipped up from underneath, and the white scenery inside was visible, but Keiko Yamada didn't care at all. Seeing Yifan's burning gaze, Keiko Yamada's eyes were filled with joy. Master, do you like to see Keiko without her clothes? How about Keiko taking off her clothes for you to see right now? While speaking, Keiko Yamada actually did intend to remove her skirt. Nima, Yifan was being driven crazy. This leprechaun, is it true that you don't know how attractive you are? With the clothes on, one could already not stand it. But if the clothes were taken off, wouldn't Yi Fan be hollowed out? No, 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 I have other things to do today. Let's talk about it later. Yi Fan hurriedly grabbed Yamada Keiko's wrist. Say, what reward do you want? Previously, Sui Shui, Ching Rulin had all felt that benefit and had fallen in love with that feeling. As a powerhouse of the sovereign realm, Keiko Yamada naturally knew the immense benefits that feeling brought her. Well, that warmth you're feeling, there are actually other ways to get it. As long as we have skin-to-skin -skin contact, we can get it. Only after a beating did Jifan tell Keiko Yamada the secret of the warm current. Yamada Keiko sat up from sprawling on the sofa, cocked her head in thought, and instantly understood. Master, Keiko understands. From now on Keiko will wear less in front of Master. Master, do you like JK? How about a nurse outfit? and a stewardess outfit too. Keiko Yamada was very smart, and when Yi Fan said this, she instantly understood. As long as one was in close contact with Yi Fan, then the most intimate contact was naturally being Yi Fan's woman. If she became her master's woman, would she be able to break through to the martial exaltation realm? Together with his own special physique, his fighting strength must be very strong, so he could help his master do more in the future. Every time Yamada Keiko set a uniform, Yi Fan's head visualized Yamada Keiko dressing up. Your sister, who's going to take this? This is no place to stay. Otherwise, being so charmed by Yamada Keiko and this siren, sooner or later, she would go off the rails. Keiko, I see that your strength is about to break through to the martial zoon realm. I have an elixir here that you can swallow and try to make a breakthrough. 
Yi Fan threw the elixir to Keiko Yamada, opened the door of the room and directly slipped out. Elixir? Yamada Keiko took the elixir and opened the porcelain bottle to take a look. Then she almost jumped up in surprise. It's really an auxiliary elixir for breaking through the martial zone. Master, Keiko is dreaming of this elixir ah. Don't worry master, Keiko will endeavor to. Keiko Yamada looked at Yi Fan's departing back at the doorway of the room, and a mesmerized look surfaced on her face. Then without any hesitation, Yamada Keiko directly took the elixir. Megumi Yamada had been stuck at the sovereign realm for a long time, and had always wanted to make a breakthrough, but had not dared to do so easily due to the lack of pills and opportunities. And now, with such a wonderful opportunity, Yamada Keiko naturally wouldn't let it go. As the elixir was taken, the martial Dao Chi on Yamada Keiko's body quickly began to expand, and in just the blink of an eye, the entire room, and even the compound, was enveloped by a majestic martial Dao Chi. When Yi Fan came out of the room, Su Hai was waiting respectfully at the door of the room. Young Yi, how was the interrogation? Su Hai looked at Yi Fan with an expression that men understand. Did she submit? Accounted for how many poses? Ah, no, accounted for how much intelligence. Just now, Su Hai could clearly hear the movement inside. This young master, playing wildly ah, Yi Fan's face was full of black lines. This Su Hai, what was he thinking? But Yi Fan didn't bother to explain more. This Yamada Keiko, since she is the descendant of the servants left by her mother, is so loyal to herself? Behind, things on Sister Wan's side are pretty much handed over, right? The most important thing that Yi Fan had come to this Hongda takeout company today was to track down the clue of that map fragment left behind by his second brother. Since Chiu Wan had picked up that pen container that night, it meant that the pen container should be the only possible clue. There's really nothing out of the ordinary on MS. Chiu's side, it's just a simple reconciliation of the bills. It should be almost done by this time. Let's go over there. Su Hai led the way in front and led Yi Fan over to Chiu Wan's office. At this time, Chiu Wan had just finished reconciling the accounts. Xiao Fan, you're here? Yi Fan nodded. Sister Wan, that pen holder you said you wanted to take, pack it up. I'll send you back. Tomorrow, it's time to officially go to work over at the Kyushu Group. Xiao Wan nodded. Here, the pen holder I was talking about is this one. How is it? Good looking, right? While speaking, Xiao Wan picked up that pen holder on the table and handed it to Yi Fan. Yi Fan took the quill in his hand and released his perception and felt towards the quill. Sure enough, at the bottom of the pen container, Yi Fan sensed an ancient and simple atmosphere, exactly the same as the atmosphere of the map fragment he had gotten from Lu Hao before. Good looking, Yi Fan didn't move and held the pen holder while helping Chiu Wan to take those things away from the desk, and together they walked towards the company's main entrance. Alas, after working here for so many years, it's still a bit uncomfortable to suddenly have to leave. Yi Fan smiled and said, That's for sure, Sister Wan, in this pen container, there is a heavenly secret at stake, do you know? What? Chiu Wan was a bit puzzled. Yi Fan also did not sell more. A fluctuation of qi energy in his hand, directly shattered the bottom of the pen container, and pulled out a map fragment from the sandwich below. This pen container, is my second brother threw it outside your room? Your second brother? Why did he throw the pencil outside my room? Who is your second brother? What does he look like? Chiu Wan frowned and inquired towards Yi Fan, and Yi Fan had the same doubt in his heart. Yeah, why did Ergo throw this map fragment in front of Chiu Wan's room door? Did. Yi Fan was also puzzled for a while in his heart. My second brother he. Yi Fan took his cell phone out and looked through it, only to find that he didn't have a picture of Ergo in his cell phone at all. I'll show you later when I find it. Yi Fan put his cell phone away, and outside the door Guoli just happened to drive his car over. Yi Fan and Xiao Wan were just about to get on the car when Su Hai suddenly followed him out. Yi Xiao, what about that Miss Keiko? Now Su Hai is a little confused about Yi Fan's meaning. Just now Yi Fan in the inside interrogation Yamada Keiko so long, do not know whether it has been a long time to love. It had been confirmed that Yi Fan was the young master of Tianji Pavilion, so for those women around Yi Fan, it was natural for Yi Fan to handle them with caution. The corner of Yi Fan's mouth curled up, since Yamada Keiko was the descendant of her mother's underling maid and called out master after master, killing Yamada Keiko was naturally not going to happen. Let her be, Yi Fan hesitated and let out a long sigh. Yamada Keiko had explained so many secrets about the Black Clothes Society and the Imperial family this time. The Eastern Ing side would definitely suspect her. However, Yi Fan had given her an elixir, and Keiko Yamada should be able to break through to the Martial Zun realm immediately, or at least have the ability to defend herself. Yes, after Yi Fan left, Su Hai carefully savored Yi Fan's words, let her go? It seems that in the future, this MS, Yamada Keiko, I'm afraid that she'll be very close to the young master as well. Just now, 
He himself was so mean to MS. Yamada Keiko. LOL. Men, guard the outside of MS. Yamada Keiko. Any needs MS. Yamada Keiko may have. They will be met at any time. Yi Fan sent Xiao Wan back to the villa side. Wuli has already completed all the transfer procedures and so on. The daughter Xiao Xiao has also been arranged to the best kindergarten in the neighborhood. Xiao Wan looked at the real estate certificate in her hand. All a bit confused. Xiao Fan. I. Really. Yi Fan out of the blue gave tens of millions of dollars of villas to himself, but also directly arranged for himself to enter the work of the Kyushu group. As so important financial director, the annual salary is directly 5 million. You're just a young woman yourself. Thinking of the hard life she had lived before, Xiao Wan's eyes reddened. Little Fan. Should we go upstairs? When she said this, Xiao Wan's face was flushed. Xiao Wan really couldn't figure out why she, a broken flower, was so valued by Yi Fan. After Yi Fan had done so much for himself, Xiao Wan didn't have anything else she could do for Yi Fan, so she could only accompany Yi Fan more. Going upstairs for what? Yi Fan looked at Xiao Wan, who was blushing in his arms and was almost ripe for the picking, and deliberately teased Xiao Wan. Aya, uh, Xiao Fan, you are bad. Xiao Wan's body twisted in Yi Fan's arms. Her mouth let out a burst of pouting, and she reached out and pounded on Yi Fan's chest. What does Xiao Wan mean by this? It's not obvious yet. Of course Yi Fan knew what Xiao Wan had in mind, but Yi Fan also knew that although Xiao Wan was an innate Tao body, a hearth ding physique, she was after all just an ordinary woman. If he continued to toss Xiao Wan around like this, Xiao Wan was afraid that he would be deflated. Besides, Yi Fan had already gained a very huge benefit from Xiao Wan's hearth physique. His strength had been raised to a strength above the sixth grade of martial emperor, his body had reached the limit of its carrying capacity, and it was unlikely that it would continue to be raised again in a short period of time. Teasing you, Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached out to slap Xiao Wan's but, I have other things to do today. Yi Fan's head couldn't help but think of Cheng Rulin's almost dripping eyes yesterday. Yesterday, Cheng Rulin had also said that she was going to give herself a surprise at night. What that meant, Yi Fan was naturally clear. However, last night, when Yi Fan was tracing the clues in the slum area, he accidentally encountered Xiao Wan, which was equivalent to Yi Fan being cut off by Xiao Wan to medium. Although Yi Fan was still a fool on the surface now, Yi Fan remembered clearly the kindness that the seven sisters in law had shown to Yi Fan. Even if he was the image of a fool, he was not willing to let Rulin's wife suffer. Going for comfort today is a given. Inside the secretary's compound, Cheng Rulin was holding a stick at the gate, stopping her brother, Qing Xiao Chang. Qing Xiao Chang. Do you have a conscience? You made such a big mess yesterday, but today you're still thinking of going out to drink with your friends? What are you trying to do? Sis, didn't we settle things yesterday? Brother-in-law is so powerful. Xin Xiao Xiao fell into his hands. Isn't it all right now? My friends and I have already made an appointment. It's not appropriate not to go. Qing Xiao Chang was a little bit of a salt and pepper, and kept trying to slip out of Qing Roland's side. Qing Xiao Chang has been particularly naughty since he was a child, and his parents couldn't control him at all. Only Qing Rulin could still control him a little, but as Qing Xiao Chang grew older and older, Qing Xiao Chang didn't even listen to his sister very much anymore. You, you're going to piss me off. Qing Xiao Chang took advantage of the gap between Qing Rulin's anger, and with a stomp of his ankle, he directly ran away from Qing Rulin towards the main door. Sister, I'm going, remember to transfer a million dollars of pocket money to me. Qing Rulin was about to cry. Everything in the Qing family is developing well. But how did they give birth to such an ungrateful grandson? Now his parents can't control him. He can't control him. When the time comes, the Qing family's huge group. How can he rest assured that it will be handed over to him? Just when Cheng Rulin was so angry that her lungs were about to explode, Cheng Rulin suddenly realized that Qing Xiao Chang, who had just rushed out, was carried and thrown in like a chicken. Aha! Uh -huh. Cheng Rulin was a little curious. In the Qing family, Qing Xiao Chang was the king of the mongrels. Who else had the guts to make a move on Qing Xiao Chang? Little Fan, you're back? Cheng Rulin looked up towards the outside, just in time to see Yi Fan stepping in towards the compound. Seeing your friend yesterday, how did it go? As Cheng Rulin spoke, she glanced at Guo Li behind Yi Fan. Cheng Rulin always felt that Yi Fan's behavior last night was a bit strange, but Guo Li had specifically called to report, so Cheng Rulin couldn't say anything. The chat was not bad. Yi Fan responded more or less sheepishly. Qing Xiao Cheng fell to sit on the ground. His buttocks are almost swollen. Brother-in-law. You? What is this doing ah? I just want to go out and have a drink with my brothers. Why are you not allowed? It doesn't matter. I'll go for you later for your socializing. But for now, you need to do something else. Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached forward to grab Chang Xiao Cheng's shoulder with one hand. 
while at the same time working out the qi of the seven star soul destroying hands and releasing his powerful spiritual power into Qing Xiao Chang's head. Of course, Yi Fan was not using the seven star soul destroying hand to force a confession, but rather to construct to an illusion in Qing Xiao Chang's head. Qing Xiao Chang was actually not bad in his own fundamentals, no matter if it was cultivation or management and business, he was very talented, but it is from a young age life is too favorable, did not suffer, did not suffer any blow, so its own potential did not inspire, and the mental aspect, but also did not mature. Therefore, Yi Fan constructed a tragic scene in Qing Xiao Chang's head in which the Qing family was suppressed, completely bankrupted, and liquidated. All the family members of the Qing family were even bloodied. Brother-in-law, what are you grabbing my head for? Ah, Qing Xiao Chang was grabbed by Yi Fan's head, and had planned to retort, but in the next moment, his head was in a daze, and the scene in front of him had instantly changed dramatically. In front of Qing Xiao Chang, the Qing family compound has been a sea of fire and ruins, countless martial arts experts towards the Qing family compound impacted, killing the bodyguards of the Qing family. Qing Xiao Chang's second uncle, the third uncle, so alive in front of the Qing Xiao Chang collapsed in a pool of blood. Don't. Who are you guys? Why are you making a move against the Qing family? Qing Xiao Chang wanted to go forward to stop these martial arts powerhouses, but Qing Xiao Chang realized that all of his tendons and veins seemed to be forbidden to be solidified, and he was unable to move at all. Your Qing family is too weak. Humph, you're nothing but a waste. How can you support the Qing family by relying on one woman? Qing Rulin? Waste. All you do is spend your days drinking. Qing Xiao Chang, your sister I can miss for a long time. In the crowd. It seems that several familiar figures of Qing Xiao Chang appeared. It is the Qing Xiao who usually drinks with Qing Xiao Chang, usually a mouthful of brothers. At this time, Qing Xiao actually walked towards Qing Xiao Chang's sister, Qing Rulin, with an evil face, and tore Qing Rulin's clothes. Don't, sis, don't. In his heart, Qing Xiao Chang listens to his sister the most, and is also the most fond of her. At that time, when Shang Jingxian Xiao Xiao wanted to know that Qing Rulin had made a move, Qing Xiao Chang was going crazy. But in the end, when Yi Fan appeared and solved the matter, Qing Xiao Chang breathed a sigh of relief. But at this moment, seeing that Qing Xiao and the brothers who usually drank together actually participated in the process of blood washing of the Qing family, Qing Xiao Chang felt that his heart was like a knife cut. Tramp, beast, beast. Qing Xiao Chang completely did not expect that the guys he usually drank with were actually plotting against the Qing family long ago. Qing Xiao Chang was still having a hard time in his heart. When the image in front of him turned into his parents kneeling in a pool of blood, and a group of black-clothed men with iron bars, unheededly banging on the heads of their gray-haired parents. From such a distance, Qing Xiao Chang could hear the sound of bones breaking. Don't, don't, but stop, you sons of bitches, you're coming, you're just the strength of a martial way harmonization power, can you beat us, oh, you don't even know right, want to the Qing family to death, how many people, there are the family of the capital, there are ancient martial arts family, you this waste, every day to spend days drinking, do not care about the development of the family, and now just watch the Qing family was destroyed it. Your parents, your own sister, your second uncle, third uncle, and your nephew is not full of years old. All the cruel images kept dangling in front of Qing Xiao Chang. Every image made Qing Xiao Chang wail with difficulty. Little fan, is Xiao Chang he alright? Chang Rulin looked at Qing Xiao Chang in the compound. A moment to sit on the ground and cry bitterly. A moment to stand up and run wildly. A moment to hug the big tree and cry bitterly in his heart are a little worried, pussed. In the end, Qing Xiaocheng even directly sprayed a mouthful of blood furiously, scaring Qing Rulin, Xiao Fan. Although Qing Rulin knew Yi Fan's ability, but the situation in front of her, Qing Xiaocheng was as crazy as he was, Qing Rulin couldn't help but worry, rest assured, breaking and then standing, not breaking and not standing. Yi Fan looked at the look on Qing Xiaocheng's face, from the gradual childishness, or to the final grief, and then later on, the gradual change of rigidity. In just a few minutes, this illusion constructed by Yi Fan had already allowed Qing Xiao Chang to complete the qualitative leap and the whole body and mind metamorphosis. Feeling that it was almost time, Yi Fan then stepped forward and reached out to slap on Qing Xiao Chang's head, lifting the illusion from Qing Xiao Chang's head. Don't, all of you don't want to die. After Qing Xiao Chang came to his senses, his mouth still instinctively cried out, reaching out as if he wanted to grab something. When Qing Xiao Chang came to his senses, he looked around and looked at Qing Rulin in the compound. Qing Xiao Chang's pupils dilated for a moment. Sister, sister, you're not dead, you're okay, great, great. Qing Xiao Chang almost rolled over towards Qing Rulin with a sniffle and a tear, hugging Qing Rulin's thigh, his face crying for a while and laughing for a while. Qing Xiao Chang glanced around again, 
The Qing family compound was still in good shape. Was it a dream? But the dream just now was too real, as if it had really happened, and those visions left a very deep impression and shadow within Qing Zhang. At this moment, Qing Xiaocheng understood that although what he had just seen in his head was just an illusion, if he continued to be so decadent, he was afraid that one day in the future, the Qing family would really have to become what he had imagined in his head, especially when Sis announced in a high profile that she would continue to marry into the Yi family. That was siding with those dead rivals behind the Yi family. A behemoth like the Yi family had their core ten disciples exterminated by those opponents. For their retaliation, I'm afraid that they had started laying out their plans a long time ago, right? These reasons? In fact, before Qing Xiaocheng is not do not understand, just at that time Qing Xiaocheng always thought that there is a sister in front, there are parents, but today after a dream, Qing Xiaocheng understood, parents old, sister's ability is limited. As for the brother-in-law, although Yi Fan has some moments of lucidity, but overall, Yi Fan is still in a state of dementia awe, if Yi Fan was awake, he could still help the Qing family, if Yi Fan happened to be in a state of dementia, did he really want to watch his sister being bullied by others? Sister, the martial arts master who taught us kung fu before has, where is he? I'm going to learn kung fu. I want to break through. Qing Xiaocheng's face surfaced with a touch of rigidity as he opened his mouth, causing Qing Rulin to be shocked for a moment. What did you say? You want to learn kung fu? Before Qing Rulin could open her mouth, a middle-aged and elderly couple walked out from inside a room door on the side of the compound, and when they heard Qing Xiaocheng's words, they both screamed out in shock. These were none other than Qing Xiaocheng and Qing Rulin's biological parents. Qing Di Yuan and Li Yun. Yes, I want to learn Kung Fu. Seeing that his father was starting to lean on his crutches, the look in Qing Xiao Chang's eyes became even more determined. It turns out that parents are getting old, and there are some responsibilities that it's time for them to take on themselves. Qing Di Yuan's eyes were a bit moist, and he said towards Li Yun at his side, Xiao Yun, has Xiao Chang finally understood? I'm finally relieved. The party you just said to drink, you're not going? Cheng Rolin's eyebrows jumped. Although she didn't know what exactly Yi Fan had done to Qing Xiao Chang, she knew that it was definitely Yi Fan's credit that Qing Xiao Chang had changed so dramatically. Not going, didn't brother-in-law just say that drinking he'll go for me? Qing Xiao Chang looked at Yi Fan gratefully. Brother-in-law, thank you. If you go to a party to drink, you must pay attention to a guy called Qin Shou and another thing called He Chang. They are not good people. At the mention of these two's names, Qing Xiao Xiao's teeth itched with hatred, because just now in the picture of the head, these two guys were personally killed Qing Xiao Chang's sister and parents. If it is not now that his strength is not enough, Qing Xiao Chang would hate to go now to kill the two bastards. Of course, I certainly wouldn't miss such a hoot. Yi Fan smiled faintly. According to the list that Keiko Yamada had put up, among them, the Qin family and the He family, were one of the sleeper families that the East Japan had pulled together in Huadu. Moreover, over the years, these families have done a lot of sinful things. Yi Fan was thinking about what to start with to clean them up. They asked Cheng Xiaocheng to go out for a drink today. Most likely it was nothing good. Yi Fan happened to go and see what they were up to. However, if you want to learn Kung Fu, I can recommend someone to you. How to sharpen Cheng Xiaocheng. On the way to Qing's house, Yi Fan had already thought of a countermeasure. The head of the assassin hall under Tianji Pavilion. Yu Chang to train Qing Xiaocheng is the most suitable person. Moreover, Yi Fan had another selfishness. Although Tianji Pavilion was also his own direct force. And the old pavilion master had also said that Yu Chang was worth trusting. Yi Fan still wanted to put some of his own direct force inside Tianji Pavilion. While speaking, Yi Fan dialed Yu Chang's number and briefly explained, "Someone will come to pick you up soon. The other party is a strong person at the level of Martial Emperor. Seriously, follow and learn. I have some pills here that can assist you to improve quickly." While speaking, Yi Fan pulled out several bottles of pills from his body. "This is the Yuan Qi Dan. This is the Blood Qi Dan." A large pile of pills was poured into his hands, and the entire compound was fragrant and refreshing. When Cheng De Yuan and his wife Li Yun, who were next to him, saw those pills in Yi Fan's hands, their pupils couldn't help but dilate for a while, and their hearts were incomparably excited. Didn't the outside world say that Yi Fan is a fool? Look at this. Demonic genius is really still a demonic genius ah. So many extreme pills. It's simply not something that money can buy ah. Li Yun looked at Yi Fan's large sum of money. Her eyes were glittering. Yeah, at that time, when Ruolin announced her high-profile marriage to Yi Fan, there were quite a few complaints in the family, but now it seems that we have completely embraced a golden thigh, the Qing family might take off because of this ah, Qing De Yuan also looked relieved, go, go over and meet this future son-in-law, a glint flashed in Cheng De Yuan's eyes, with Yi Fan here, those who wanted to make a move against the Qing family would always have to weigh their options, right, dad, mom, you're here, 
When Chang Rulin saw Cheng De Yuan and Li Yun come out, she quickly opened her mouth and called for a change. This is Yi Fan. Yi Fan respectfully bowed to Cheng De Yuan and Li Yun. Uncle, Auntie, good, good, very good. In Xiao Fan Ah, in the future, Rulin will please you. Cheng De Yuan looked at Yi Fan with relief and glanced at Cheng Rulin. Xiao Fan, Rulin is really on you. Last night, that girl are still intentionally put on a makeup, according to her mother, but also specifically changed the good-looking clothes. Oops, Dad, what did you say? Chang Rulin's face flushed with a blush, and she stomped her feet on the ground in a pout. Of course, Yi Fan knew what Ching Rulin meant, but deliberately twisted his head towards Ching Rulin and said, Sister-in-law Rulin, is that so? While speaking, Yi Fan also intentionally pinched his fingers behind his back towards Ching Rulin's buttocks. You're bad. Cheng Rulin's body stiffened and twisted a bit. Humph, I've already said not to call me that. Call me wife. Uncle, auntie, the first time we meet, there is nothing else good to give you. Earlier, I heard that uncle and auntie's health is not good. Especially uncle's legs are a little bit of a problem. I have two pills here. You two old people take them first. Warm up the body. Wait for some time. I will use acupuncture to help uncle to adjust the legs and feet. Uncle move freely no problem. While speaking, Yi Fan once again handed two pills to Qing De Yuan and Li Yun. Just now, when they saw Yi Fan give Qing Xiao Chang so many pills, the two couples were envious. Turns out you have one yourself. Who said Yi Fan is a fool? Now the couple seriously suspected that Yi Fan had originally played dumb on purpose. But the Yi family's public news, they had also seen it. And Dr. Lei said that Yi Fan was now sometimes lucid, sometimes demented. But all in all, there would always be a complete recovery in the future especially when he heard that his legs and feet could be completely restored. Ching De Yuan couldn't stop talking with joy. Really? Great. So, I'll thank Xiao Fan first. Don't all stand here. Come inside and sit down. Enter and get to know all those relatives and friends of the Ching family. Ching De Yuan desperately wanted to show off in front of those relatives and friends of his that this son-in-law of his was not a fool at all. But Yi Fan refused. Uncle, not first. At the moment, my status is not completely publicized. In other people's eyes. I'm still the same fool now. Before those nemeses of the Yi family are completely cleaned up, it's better for me not to expose too much. Can you understand? Yi Fan's words caused Ching De Yuan to be stunned, then immediately understood. Fine, then we'll wait for the time when you strike it rich. Ding dong. The people were chatting and talking when Qing Xiao Chang's cell phone suddenly received a text message. After Qing Xiao Chang saw the text message, his face looked a little strange, then pulled Yi Fan to one side and said, Brother in law, I, alas, to tell you the truth, today I went out to drink as a fake. In fact, it was Qin Shou's girlfriend asked me out. The hotel room is open. You see, while speaking, Qin Xiaocheng handed Yi Fan the message he received on his cell phone. Qin Xiaocheng's cell phone is a wriggling little waist sexy photo that is about to boil the big white phoenix. Some shaking eyes. Dear Cheng Xiao, come quickly. People wash white, waiting for you to come. Oh, such seductive language. Coupled with this photo. No wonder Chang Xiao Chang will be on the head. This brother-in-law, he's playing quite fancy. It's okay, I can help you along too. Yi Fan smiled evilly. Obviously, this is a bureau, but I can make them lose their money. The Qin family, which was originally a vassal family of the Yi family, had long since turned its back on the Yi family in these recent years, especially since Yi Fan had already learned, through his investigation, that the things that happened five years ago when he got into a car accident with the Zhao family in Cloud City, the Yun family in the provincial city, and the Qin family, were all involved. Since Qin Shou had thought about taking his own life five years ago, then now that his girlfriend had come to his door, he naturally didn't mind collecting some interest. Ha, huh? but, brother-in-law, it's me she's asking out. If you go like this, won't they recognize you at a glance? When Qin Shaocheng thought of those bastards, Qin Shou, who actually bullied his sister and trampled on his parents like that in the dream world, his heart was filled with itchy teeth. The sober Qing Xiaocheng also knows that this is a setup. So now he wants his brother-in-law's help to deal with them. So it's like this? Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached out to quickly rub a few times on his face. In an instant, Yi Fan's appearance changed drastically, and actually became exactly the same as Qing Xiaocheng's appearance. Directly, Qing Xiaocheng was stunned. Brother-in-law, you this. Qing Xiaocheng has a kind of intuition. Today Qing Xiao and He Chang and others are afraid that they will be played by their brothers. In-law and Qing Xiao's girlfriend. It is estimated that they will be played for nothing. Want a fairy jump brother-in-law? Ha, huh? dream on. In the Wadu Hotel, in one of the luxurious private rooms, a group of great young men were sitting together, talking excitedly. Qin Shou, you've put in your blood this time. In order to deal with Qing Xiao Chang, 
You actually really contributed your girlfriend. A fat-headed man opened his mouth towards the leading Qin show. Young Qin aren't you afraid that in case things turn out to be false, you'll be in trouble at that time. The name of the eldest young man who opened his mouth was Yi Chang, and it was one of the families that betrayed the Yi family in the list Yi Fan had obtained. Qin Shou threw a grape into his mouth and said with an evil smile, How can that be? Xiao Ya was right next door. We have so many people here, and there are also martial arts experts sitting in. Qin Xiao Chang that trash came. What else can he do? I have spoken to Xiao Yao. Once something happens, immediately call out loudly. Today is to take Cheng Xiao Chang down. Young Qin, we should still be cautious. I can hear that yesterday. The male son of a big family in Shangjing dealt with Qing Xiao Chang, but in the end, they were all rushed by that fool from the Yi family with his men and ended up failing Ah, Now, although the Yi family has suffered, it's still more than enough to deal with us little shrimps. That is, Qin Xiao, if we deal with the Qing family like this, we are actually waging war against the Yi family. Those people behind you, are they reliable or not? Qin Xiao's heart was also a bit uncertain when he was spoken to by the crowd. After all, this girlfriend of Qin Xiao's, when he chased after her at that time, his methods were also a bit improper. Although Wang Yao didn't say anything on her lips now, if Qin Xiao still couldn't decide if Wang Yao would betray herself, it'll be fine. As soon as Qin Xiao Chang goes in later and there's a movement inside, we'll just rush in right away. The great young men nodded. That's right. That straw man Qing Xiao Chang, forgive him for not being able to do anything earth shattering. But what these great young men didn't know was that this time, Qing Xiao Chang didn't come by himself at all. The one who came in his place was Yi Fan. Moreover, the key was that Yi Fan was not a fool as the outside world would say, but a strong person who had already reached the level of a martial emperor. Leaving from the Qing family, in order to prevent Qing Xiao and the others from finding out, Wu Li and the four great maids were only following from afar, and Yi Fan took all of Qing Xiao Chang's cell phones. Yi Fan, on the internet, had booked a room that happened to be just above the hotel room that Wang Yao had arranged. Yi Fan was already in Qing Xiao Chang's mold at this point. When Yi Fan got off the bus at the entrance of the hotel, someone immediately began to report towards Qin Shou and the others. Young Qin, Qin Xiao Chang has already come and entered the hotel. Qin Shou utilized his connections and had already linked all the hotel surveillance to his computer. From the time Yi Fan had entered the hotel, Qin Shou and the others had seen it clearly. All of you listen carefully, when the room door is open later, don't stop for anything, make sure you take pictures and leave evidence, understand, move fast, if you move slow, treadmill, if he moved slowly, his girlfriend, he was afraid that he would really be fucked by Qing Xiao Chang, then, when the time comes, a green hat will literally be delivered to the house, yes, Yi Fan followed the text message sent by Wang Yao and went to the 8th floor, then entered room 808 and knocked on the door, you're here? After Yi Fan entered the room, a young girl inside wearing a sexy robe looked Yi Fan up and down before letting him in. Wow! The girl enters the bathroom and turns the faucet on directly, creating the illusion of being in the shower. Then he re-entered the room and looked at Yi Fan with a burning look. And Yi Fan at that moment also sized up the girl in front of him. I have to say, the girl in front of me is actually very beautiful. Water snake waist, white face, flat belly is hidden, and the outline of the black chaps under the robe is clearly visible. This is a fatal temptation for men. You're not Ching Xiao Chang. Yi Fan was staring at the girl in front of him, waiting for the girl to make further moves when Wang Yao suddenly spoke. Yi Fan was shocked in his heart and was a little less confident in his own disguise skills. Had he not disguised himself accurately enough? But it doesn't matter, no matter who you are. I aim to get back at him. Do you have the guts? Dare to sleep with me? Wang Yao took a step forward and reached out to hook Yi Fan's neck, her body gently twisting in Yi Fan's arms. The scorching body and Yi Fan were tightly pressed together, and the pay fire within Yi Fan's body instantly began to sway. A strange warm current began to flow down the skin contact towards Wang Yao's body, and then transformed into martial chi and began to warm up Wang Yao's body. Aha! Uh -huh, what is this? Although Wang Yao had only just stepped into the martial realm, but after having such a close contact with Yi Fan, her own strength had grown. Such a peculiar situation was the first time she had encountered it. Looks like you've picked up a treasure? The man in front of him, Although he wasn't Qing Xiao Chang, then he was definitely a more powerful martial arts expert than Qing Xiao Chang. Perhaps the man in front of him would be able to put himself out of his misery. Thinking of this, Wang Yao's movements became a little more enthusiastic. Her wrists were touching towards Yi Fan's chest. Revenge against Qin Shou? A flash of burning in Yi Fan's eyes. Five years ago, Qin Shou had been involved in the assassination of himself, and it seemed reasonable that he had now slept with his girlfriend, and that it was someone's girlfriend who had taken the initiative. Girl. You're playing with fire. Yi Fan stared searingly into Wang Yao's eyes, wanting to see something in Wang Yao's eyes. No matter how many means Qin Shou prepared today, 
Yi Fan wasn't afraid at all. A martial emperor level of strength could sweep through everyone here. Big brother, I am voluntarily with you. I don't need you to be responsible for it. I just want to take revenge on Qin Shou. Back then it was him who forced me with my parents' lives, making it necessary for me to follow him. I am going to send him a green hat now. I am going to be angry with him. It is better if I can get pregnant with someone else's child. It would be even better. As she said these words, a flash of viciousness flashed through Wang Yao's eyes. He's the one who ruined my Qin Chun. I hate him. Hearing Wang Yao say this, Yi Fan somewhat understood. It turned out that Wang Yao was forced to follow Qin Shou, and now that there was such a good opportunity, Wang Yao actually took the initiative to act? I think it's better to forget about it. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Yi Fan touched his nose. Wasn't this forcing himself to be a chow thief? Humph, what's so bad about it? He's thinking of killing my parents. What do I have to fear? Do you dare or not? Are you good or not? Wang Yao deliberately stimulated Yi Fan, hooking Yi Fan's neck. She wanted to fall down towards the bed. Yi Fan had originally been pissed off by both Yamada Keiko, and was worried that he had no place to vent his anger. But now there was such a beautiful woman coming to his door. It would seem a bit of a slap in the face to not do something about it. How can a man say no? Yi Fan smiled evilly and wrapped Wang Yao in his arms as he dashed towards the outside of the window. But not here. Ah. Wang Yao was steeply picked up and saw Yi Fan holding himself actually jumping towards the outside of the window, and was instantly frightened and screamed, but was afraid that her screams would attract the attention of Qin Shou and the others next door, so she hastily reached out and covered her mouth. With just a quick burst of flickering, Wang Yao realized that Yi Fan's ankle lent on the window frame and actually rushed towards the upstairs window. A room card flipped out of Yi Fan's pocket and electrified the room. Looking at such a crazy scene of Yi Fan, Wang Yao was stunned. You, so you. So this guy, he actually made so many preparations in advance? However, at this time, there is not much time. Sheen suffered at any time waiting to rush into the room out. Although the faucet is turned on, it is estimated that it will not be able to deceive for a long time. It's important to get a grip. Although somewhat surprised by Yi Fan's approach, Wan Yao didn't have any hesitation and directly took the initiative herself, reaching out to push Yi Fan toward the bed. Instantly, robes and coats were flying around the room. A lesser scene surfaced. And after Wang Yao and Yi Fan became completely intimate, feeling the raging warmth of Yi Fan's breath, which was constantly transformed into martial chi, made Wang Yao's strength rapidly increase. In just a few minutes' time, Wang Yao realized that her strength had directly broken through from the harmonization stage to the control realm. If one followed this speed, one could soon grow into a patriarchal powerhouse. Ah, uh, if he had the strength of the sovereign realm at that time, then Qin Shou would not have been able to threaten himself. That beast, at the thought of Qin suffering, Wang Yao was even more forceful, and enthusiastically responded to all of Yi Fan's movements, and at that moment, downstairs, in the next room, Qin suffered as he paced back and forth across the room, occasionally looking at his cell phone on the table, it's been 5 minutes, why hasn't Wang Yao called herself yet, 5 minutes, that's already a lot to do, normally, Qin suffers 10 seconds is enough, go, go over there and take a look, what the hell is going on, Qin Shou's face turned a little green, treadmill, that bitch Wang Yao, she wouldn't really sleep with Qing Xiao Chang, would she? In order to count on Qing Xiao Chang, he actually had to take on his own wife. Around them, He Chang and a few other big hands who had made a move together didn't dare to say much at this time. All of them went together to the door of the next room and listened. Hearing the sound of running water inside, Qing Xiao was relieved. So it's still bathing. Let's wait a little longer. Waiting must be in the Qing Xiao Chang every dress when he caught him in flagrante delicto, then sue him for forced female sex so that we can force the Qing family to give in, and pull back a game for the above. He Chang's martial arts strength was slightly higher, and just now, He Chang released his perception to go in and perceive. Although there was the sound of running water inside, He Chang didn't sense the scent of anyone inside. However, when He Chang saw how gloomy Qin Shou's face was, he thought about it and didn't continue to talk much, but He Chang has a bold guess in his heart. Today even if Qin Shou's plan can succeed, but I'm afraid that a green hat has been put on. The crowd returned to the next room to continue to wait. In the blink of an eye half an hour has passed. The next door is still in the bath. There is no other movement. Xin Xiao. The situation is so out of place. You say, has sister-in-law already. A few other great young men saw the situation at this time and realized that something was wrong. Shut up. Xiao Yao is not that kind of person. Xin Xiao said this with some disbelief himself. Half an hour and not a peep from inside. Is that normal? Qin Shou was just about to greet his brothers and directly smash the door and rush in when his cell phone suddenly ding-donged and a photo was sent over. He Chang was close to Qin Shou's cell phone pair and opened it up to take a look, and then he froze. On the screen, Yi Fan was lying on the bed, 
while Wang Yao was shirtless, lying intimately in Yi Fan's arms, and kissing on Yi Fan's cheeks with her mouth. There is also a line of text below. Young Qin, it was your girlfriend who initiated this. Hey, very moist. Of course, although the person on the screen was Yi Fan, his appearance had been disguised as Qin Shao Chang. Qin Shao. He Chang took the cell phone and didn't hand it to Qin Shou for a long time. A few other great young men beside him were a bit curious and took their cell phones over. Did sister-in-law send a message for us to start moving? He Chang, what are you grinding? Ah, this. A few other big boys snatched their cell phones over and instantly saw the spicy image on the screen. One by one, all of them stayed in place. Is this a picture I can watch without paying? Sister-in-law, actually slept with Ching Shao Chang? It's also very moist. Lean, although it was not his girlfriend, these few great young men all felt a great insult. What the hell are you guys doing? What is the content of the message sent? Hurry up and say ah. If you want to act, immediately start to act is it? Chin suffered some manic chiding. Not your girlfriends, you are not worried at all, right? Chin Shou huffed and snatched the phone over, calmly looking towards it. After Chin Shou took a good look at the pictures and words on the screen, he was instantly nonplussed. Crap, Nima, Chin Shou Chang, I ex your old mother. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Chin Suffer's mouth roared madly. At this moment, it felt like he was running wildly in a prairie, and the top of his head was also a green blue sky. Even looking at his hair was green. Boom. Chin suffered angrily a hand in front of the table directly overturned. Looking at the room as still froze those bodyguards. Hysterical roar. You horse stupid ah. Still froze what to do. Go to smash the door ah. Ah. Do you still want to wait for people to give birth to all the children out of it? I can't believe I got green in the face. Chin Shou had pursued Wang Yao at that time with the full intention of marrying Wang Yao back home as his wife. And as a result, his own wife was now being slept with by the person he was trying to reckon with. How did that asshole do it? How did you get Wang Yao to be so obedient and actively cooperate with the photoshoot? Lean. Ah uh ha. -huh. Dying. Before leaving the door, Qin Shou looked at the cabinet next to the room is not good. Directly kicked a foot burst. Boom. With a group of bodyguards, Qin Shou huffed and puffed, smashed the door of the next room flying, and rushed in with a camera. Son of a bitch. Actually slept with his wife in front of him. I must get you killed today you must be exposed. But the moment the door of the room was opened, all the people were dumbfounded. There was no one in the room? People? Didn't Wang Yao and Qin Shao Chang take such intimate photos just now? How come they're all gone in the blink of an eye? The thought that Wang Yao might still be intimately engaged in a sport with Qin Shao Chang at this moment made Qin suffer so hard that he was going to be torn apart. A bunch of rice bucket. You so many people guard outside the door. Even two big living people cannot watch? Bastard. They can go there. Can they still disappear into thin air? Give me to find ah. Ah. Chin suffered feel like he has received 10. 000, 000 points of storm. Upstairs in the room. Yi Fan could have fought for another 2 hours. However, there was no way to help the current situation. Yi Fan needed to go downstairs to deal with Chin Shou as well as Yi Chang. So he could only put an end to it for now. Get dressed quickly. Chin Shou should probably be very uncomfortable right now. Yi Fan got up and looked at Wang Yao in his arms. Wang Yao twisted in Yi Fan's arms and climbed up while hesitating for a moment and continued to speak. Big brother, that warm current on your body. My martial arts chi has all but broken through to the control realm now. Big brother, can you take me away? Wang Yao looked at Yi Fan with an expectant face. As long as big brother is willing to take me away from this fire pit, I'm willing to serve big brother for the rest of my life behind me. Wang Yao knew that the Yi Fan in front of her was a golden thigh. With that peculiar physical quality, Perhaps it was the young master of some ancient martial arts family who had come out to practice and happened to stumble upon himself. Wang Yao felt that if she didn't seize this opportunity, she might not have a chance in the future. Especially, since he had been in such close contact with Yi Fan today, Qin Shou would definitely not let himself go easily. Taking you away, is estimated to be unlikely, but to help you solve the Qin family, it's not a big problem. Yi Fan smiled evilly, then reached out and quickly kneaded his face a few times, restoring Yi Fan's original appearance. Do you recognize me? Ah, uh, after Yi Fan recovered his appearance, Wang Yao was directly stunned. You are. You are that Yi Xiao of the Yi family, but aren't you a fool? How do you? The Qin family had been studying how to deal with the Yi family. Although Wang Yao hadn't attended any core meetings, but being brought around by Qin Shou every day, he had naturally heard some news. Wang Yao probably knew something about the Yi family's situation. Wang Yao completely didn't realize that he was just trying to get back at Qin Shou today. So when Qin Shou asked him to seduce Qin Shao Chang, he planned to use the trick to give Qin Shou a green hat. As a result, he actually slept with that demonic genius of the Yi family? Isn't Yi Fan a fool in the legend? But now it seems that Yi Fan doesn't look like a fool at all. He lied to everyone? 
thinking of the inexplicable demise of the three great families in Cloud City, and then associating it with Yi Fan's situation. Wang Yao instantly understood that Yi Fan was deliberately playing dumb, and then quietly destroying those who were working against the Yi family. It's a secret, it's good that you know, Yi Fan smiled faintly. Don't worry, from today onwards, the Qin family will cease to exist, before the Yi family was in trouble. The Qin family had been duplicitous, disobeyed the Qin family's orders, and had planned an assassination attempt on themselves five years ago. Then in the Xuan Wu war zone, their Qin family definitely couldn't be blamed for the actions against second brother. Downstairs, Qin Shou led a group of bodyguards and overturned all the beds in the room, looking around for traces of Yi Fan and Wang Yao, but still found nothing. Is this a ghost? All these people just watched two living people disappear like that? Is this magic? Qin Shou grimaced. Damn it. We must find them today and cut them into pieces. Qin Shou's girlfriend was actually really slept with by Qin Shao Chang. If this news is spread out, then Qin Shou's face where to put. Originally, this action, Qin accepted the advice of the above, is intended to Qin Shao Chang hands, forcing the Qing family to make concessions, suppressing the Qing family, so as to knock the Yi family. The recent covert actions of the Yi family had made those nemeses above them feel intensely threatened. Jin Shao and Sun Shao had successive accidents in Cloud City which annoyed the higher-ups. The top didn't even dare to take direct action against the Yi family easily, but it was always okay to fix those supporter families around the Yi family, right? Young Qin, are you looking for me? When Qin Shou was in the middle of his furious rage, at the entrance of the room, a deep voice rang out, and Yi Fan suddenly appeared at the entrance of the room with his arm around Wang Yao's small waist. Of course, at this moment, Yi Fan had once again reverted to Qin Shao Cheng's appearance. However, Wang Yao, who already knew the truth, had already wrapped her arms very intimately around Yi Fan's shoulders at this time, all too eager to hang her body in Yi Fan's arms. That was the number one demonic genius of Disya. If it was normal, there was no way one could have any interactions with Yi Fan. Now that she actually inexplicably became Yi Fan's woman, Wang Yao naturally wanted to grasp the opportunity. Ha! Qin Shou saw that Yi Fan and Wang Yao actually appeared from beyond the door of the room, and while he was angry, his eyes were filled with confusion. What is this? Weren't they in the room the whole time? Why did they suddenly appear from outside the room? Qin Shao. The window. They must have gone out from the window. Among the bodyguards Qin Shou arranged in the room, there were also several martial arts experts, and the moment they saw Yi Fan, they finally reacted over. Yi Fan smiled faintly and opened his mouth. It seems that your men, there are also smart. That's right. Just now we were upstairs. I have to say, your girlfriend is really moist oh. Yi Fan smiled evilly and wrapped his arms around Wang Yao even kissing Qin Shou to his face. Lesser Qing lasts for half an hour. Much better than your three seconds. Wang Yao looked at Yi Fan with a tender face, cooperating with Yi Fan's acting and deliberately stimulating Qin's suffering. Ah, crouch. Qin Shou's shortcomings were revealed. Angry his face was iron blue, especially when he saw that Wang Yao was actually so close to Yi Fan. He was even more furious. Wang Yao, bitch, have you forgotten your identity? Get your ass over here right now. Just now sending photos to himself to anger himself not to mention. Now actually in front of his face so intimate. This is really do not treat himself as a person ah. Come over? Why should I come over? I am now his woman. Has nothing to do with you. Wang Yao resentfully looked at Qin Shou. Qin Shou. You ruined my youth. And now this a green hat. Give it to you. Bless to home. Package to your home? The four words were as if they were on repeat. Constantly circulating in Qin Shou's ears. Qin suffers entire body was about to explode. Stinking bitch. Qin Shao Cheng you son of a bitch. Today you are dead. Qin Shou completely exploded. Come on people. Give me on. Shoot to kill. Kill them all. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. So humiliated. If he didn't kill the Qin Shao Cheng in front of him, Qin Shou could not relieve his hatred at all. Just Qin Shou also some curiosity. Qin Shao Cheng has always been obedient appearance. Now why suddenly so bold? How dare you actually sleep with your own woman and clamor with yourself like that? Qin chortled before finally realizing that. In addition to a few bodyguards acting in the room, the dozens of bodyguard martial arts powerhouses that were arranged in the corridor outside actually hadn't moved at all? What's this? Group of rice bucket people now? Qin Shou could not help but incline his head toward the door of the room beyond and survey it. Yi Fan smiled faintly. There's no need to look. Those bodyguards outside have all been cleaned up by me. And I'm just purposely bringing your girlfriend in to piss you off. Ah! Punch in the face. It's a blatant slap in the face. This is a dislike face amplification move. Can this be tolerated? Fuck him. Qin Shou rebuked the bodyguards in the room and looked at Yi Fan with a cold smile. Qin Shao Chang, I'm still not clear about your three-legged kung fu, although I don't know what means you used to solve those few losers outside. 
But my elite experts in the room, do you think you can deal with them alone? The Qin family had gotten a lot of pills and techniques over the years with the backing of the Eastern Ing dogs, and had cultivated a group of dead soldiers and experts on their own. And there were already a lot of strong people in the martial Dao control realm. This was also the reason why Qin dared to break away from the Yi family and betray the Yi family's bottom line. Even if the Yi clan wanted to find trouble with the Qin clan, the Qin clan thought that their group of masters of the control realm, as well as a few Zongshar powerhouses, would be enough to handle it. But what they didn't know was that the Yi family's Zongshar realm powerhouses, that was just the beginning. Yi Fan's mother had left behind her underpinnings. The four great maids were all strong at the Sec Master realm, and there were 81 dead soldiers, basically all experts above the Sec Master realm, and some secret underpinnings. What's more, a body as powerful as the Wandering Soul was also a gift left by his mother to Yi Fan. Wandering Soul, that has a martial emperor powerhouse sitting on it. The Qin family doesn't even count as a bird in front of the Yi family. The most crucial thing was that Yi Fan himself had awakened and his strength had reached the martial emperor level, and he was now standing in front of Qin Shou without Qin Shou even knowing it. Shu Shu Shu, those experts around Qin Shou rushed very fast, and in the blink of an eye, they rushed to Yi Fan and Wang Yao, surrounding the two of them, but there was no hurry to make a move. Wang Yao already knows the identity of Yi Fan, knows that the Zhao family, the Wang family, the Li family Shangjing Xin Shao, all planted in the hands of Yi Fan, Yi Fan that demonic genius, the strength of the strength of the fear is at least in the martial arts zone above, the Qin show in front of me, even a hundred more would not be a match, so in the face of those bodyguards of the control realm, Wang Yao didn't panic in the slightest, but instead helped Yi Fan by opening his mouth, Qin show, if I were you, it would be best for me to obediently kneel down and beg for forgiveness right now, maybe if he is in a momentary mood to be happy, he will still be able to keep you alive, Stay Nima, crap, shameless stinking bitch, just slept, so soon began to help your wild man, Thomas, when I go back, this is afraid of people to get your parents dead, bye, Wang Yao was still her own woman just now, just in the twinkling of an eye, Wang Yao was sleeping with Yifan not to mention that she was actually helping Yifan in return now, this is like poking Qin Yu's lung tube with a knife, Qing Xiao Chang, you, a small Qing family, Siding with the Yi family was already so wrong. The suppression from those nemeses of the Yi family has already left you breathless. And you actually dare to go against Yung Qin? I advise you to obediently cooperate with Yung Qin. Although Yi Chang was beside him and sensed that the situation was a bit off. As a member of Xiao Qin's team, Yi Chang still stiffly opened his mouth to dissuade Yi Fan. If you obediently cooperate with Yung Qin, as long as you complete the mission, perhaps Xiao Qin can consider sparing your Qing family. Yi Fan had planned to make a move to directly settle them. But when he heard He Chang's words, he couldn't help but speak with some curiosity. Oh, is that so? I have to think about it. There's no need to think about it. Qin Xiao Chang, you can't beat us. Qin Xiao sighed. In addition to these martial arts experts, there are also strong people from the East Ing. To tell you the truth, the East Ing general house side of Miss Yamada Keiko is already on the way here. Miss Yamada Keiko said that she has already broken through to the martial Zun realm. You are no longer powerful. May be her opponent? Beside him, the other great young man also opened his mouth with some complacency. The corners of Qin Shou's mouth curled up to the sky as he listened to his men's ass kissing and flattery. Qin Shao Chang, for the sake of drinking together in the past, I will only cut off your bird and promise to keep you alive. While Qin Shou was pleased with himself, when he thought of his woman being fucked by Yi Fan, the stifled feeling in his heart was about to explode. Yi Fan smiled bashfully. Yamada Keiko had already broken through to the martial Zun realm which Yi Fan naturally knew about because that was the effect of Yi Fan's spanking, as well as the effect of having given Yamada Keiko an elixir. However, Yamada Keiko came here to help Qin Shou against herself? That's unlikely. The Qin family and the Yi family, as well as the list of those other lurking families of the East Japan and Huadu, which were all given to themselves by Keiko Yamada. Yamada Keiko had already made sure to forget about Yi Fan's identity as her master, and Yamada Keiko's mother was her own mother's sword attendant back then. Keiko Yamada is supposed to help clean up all this garbage this time. In that case, there was no need to do it yourself. Qing Xiao Chang, do you still want to find death? Why don't you surrender at once? Qing Xiao and Yi Chang and the others saw that Yi Fan started to hesitate in place and thought that Yi Fan was afraid. One of the bodyguards all put their battle knives on Yi Fan's neck and threatened Yi Fan. Seeing that Yi Fan still didn't make a move, Wang Yao was a bit anxious beside him, and her outstretched hand tightly grasped Yi Fan's hand. This Yi Xiao, what are you waiting for? Of course Yi Fan wanted to see what kind of farts these trash from the Qin family were holding back again. That, Qin Xiao, why don't you let your men put down their knives first, and let us have a good chat, how should I cooperate with you now? Yi Fan deliberately reached out and touched Wang Yao's waist, 
and also put his hand in front of his nose and smelled it. Very fragrant. I ex your mom. Qin Shou was all set to accept Yi Fan's suggestion, intending to have a good chat with Qin Shao Chang and lull him into action. However, seeing Yi Fan's such provocative actions, he couldn't hold back any longer and drew out the battle sword on his body, slashing down fiercely at Yi Fan. Ah, look out. When Wang Yao saw Qin Shou's action, she let out a cry of shock and even tried to reach out and push Yi Fan away. Yi Fan's eyes were cold. His hands only urged the chi of the Zongshu realm, easily blocking Qin Shou's battle sword with a blast of chi. Click. Clunk. The battle sword in Qin Shou's hand instantly shattered into pieces of iron and fell to the ground. Such a scene shocked Qin Shou badly. Nima. When did Qin Shao Chang have such strong kung fu? At this moment, Qin Shou also finally realized that something was wrong. Although this guy in front of him was exactly the same as Qin Shao Shang, but in terms of temperament, it seemed that it was not Qin Shao Shang at all. Qin Shou had an ominous feeling in his heart. Oops. Sorry ah. Qin Shao. Just now I was just too scared. Instinctive reaction. Broke your knife. Later I will compensate you for a handful of okay? Yi Fan looked weak and pitiful. As if he was weak and humble. But at this moment, everyone on the scene didn't dare to underestimate Yi Fan. This Qin Shao Chang seems to be different from before. Can catalyze the Qi energy single-handedly broken knife? Qin Shao Chang as well as Nan Wu Xiai Meng, at least are the sect master realm of the strong. What now? Qin Shao Chang is so strong, the people at the scene may not be able to suppress him. Just when Qin Shou and Yi Chang were a bit at a loss for words, Yi Fan spoke again. Just now, I seriously thought about it, and I think that young Qin is very right. I, the Qin family, a small family, should still hug young Qin's thigh. What should I do to cooperate with you, young Qin? For the Qin family to seek a way of life. Easting that martial arts Zun expert. I can be too afraid. I have not been able to cultivate to the current strength. Do not want to be so wasted. Phew. Hearing Yi Fan's words, Qin Shou couldn't help but let out a long breath of relief, instantly feeling like his back was straight again. Sure enough, it's still better to rely on a big uncle, the East Japan Black Clothes Society, the general's residence, any big tree, is enough to make Qin suffer feel great peace of mind. No matter how powerful this Qin Shao Chang is, is he still afraid of the power of the East after all? It's also very simple to cooperate. Just do three things. Qin Shou had a look of contempt. His words were still filled with anger. The first one. Seeing as you're so cooperative, I won't chop off your bird. You cut off one of your own arms. Treadmill. Having slept with his own woman. How could Qin Shou not want to chop Yifan's bird? But the key is that the strength that Yifan has shown now has reached the realm of the sovereign. Qin Shou does not have this strength even if he wants to chop it up. Stabilize Yi Fan first, and when Miss Yamada Keiko arrives, at that time, won't you be able to take this guy at will? Break your own arm? Why ah? If you break my arm, won't I not be able to touch your girlfriend? Yi Fan deliberately shook his arm and said to Qin Shou, a sentence that directly pierced Qin Sufferer's lung tubes once again. I'm Nima. You can't get over this one. Can you? Qin Shao Chang. Don't give an inch. Qin Shao has been very kind. You have slept with someone's girlfriend. Chopping your bird is a normal thing no? Now as long as you have an arm. This is for the sake of many years of brotherly love. You are not grateful not to say. Where is so much to say? He Chang helped and opened his mouth to snub Qin Shao Chang. The previous Qin Shao Chang was simple minded and wouldn't have thought about so many things. If this in front of him was the real Qin Shao Chang, maybe, he was really fooled by Qin Shou and He Chang. But now standing in front of them was Yi Fan. Yi Fan knew all about Qin Shou and He Chang's plans. He just wanted to see what they were planning to do in the end. Oh, is that so? And how does the second thing fit in? The second one, is also very simple. Take this packet of medicinal powder back and put it in the tea your parents, and your sister are drinking, so that they are incapacitated, and this will save their lives. Qin Shou said it lightly, but the ruthlessness that flashed in his eyes was clear to Yi Fan. Having Qin Shao Chang put a packet of powder in his parents and sister's tea just to incapacitate them? Lying to the devil, obviously. It was for Qin Shao Chang to poison his parents himself, and he said it in such a grandiose manner. As for the third piece, go back and steal the official seal of the Qing group, and transfer all of the shares of the Qing group to me. This way, you can ensure that the Qing family is fine. Qin Shou finished everything, and also reached out to Pat Ji Fan's shoulder with a helpless face. Young Qing, I'm sorry, it's not that I want to treat you like this. It's really that you guys are too close to the Yi family, and the people above have made it so that we have to deal with the Qing family like this or else we won't have a good time either. Break your own arm and waste yourself. Then poison the parents. Finally, the shares were surrendered. With three things over, would that totally wipe out the entire Qing family? If Qing Xiaochang really so much, then how could Qing Xiaochang still have a chance to live when the time came? 
Is it that scary? It's not just a few martial arts powerhouses from the east. If you mess with them, it's a big deal to fight for your life. I'm not afraid. What is Qin Shou afraid of? Yi Fan continued to probe towards Qin Shou with a puzzled face. What kind of people are the people up there that Qin Shou is talking about? Even if you want me to die, you should let me die in a clearer way. Qin Shou narrowed his eyes and looked at Yi Fan for a while, not being able to tell at all if Yi Fan was pretending or if he really didn't know, but thinking that Miss Yamada Keiko would be arriving soon. There was no harm in telling Yi Fan. Qin Shou Chang, you think things are too simple. Those people in the East Ding are just aides. And the ones who are really going to deal with the Qing family are court elder Tang Zhang in the upper Beijing, as well as court elder Zhang in the northwest. Qin suffered a faint smile. To tell you the truth, Zhang Pavilion elder's grandson, Zhang Feng, is already on his way here, and he has also invited the strongest people from the four holy places, the nine specters. Do you think that your Qing family can carry it off? And can that fool from the Yi family carry it off? Zhang Feng, the grandson of Pavilion Master Zhang, even came down in person? He even invited a powerful person from the Nine Spectres, one of the four great sacred lands? It seems that those courtiers can't help themselves and are going to start going down themselves? HM. It seems that you don't have to play dumb for long. Now that it had been forced to the point where all those pavilion elders had personally taken action, then the boss behind the pavilion elders should have surfaced as well. At that time, it would be the time for the Yi family to settle the score with those murderers once and for all. Oh, so it's them? Yi Fan had a look of sudden realization then simply wrapped his arm around Wang Yao and sat down directly on the chair in the room. Such a scene caused Qin Shou and the others to look directly dumbfounded. What are you doing? Didn't I just tell you to cut off your own arm? Why don't you act? Qin Shou's doggy brothers were a bit impatient as they urged towards Yi Fan. This time, if we can take down the Qing Shao Chang already the Qing family, it would be a very huge credit for the above. Everyone can gain a significant amount of benefits. Yi Fan cocked his legs straight up and spoke evilly. Do I have a bag in my head? Why would I cut off my own arm? Why don't you demonstrate one for me? You, although Qin Shou's doggy brother was very angry, but thinking of Yi Fan's powerful strength, he still didn't dare to act rashly and couldn't help but look towards Qin Shou who was next to him. Qin Shou shook his head slightly, signaling his men not to move. Miss Yamada Keiko was already downstairs. When M.S. Keiko Yamada comes upstairs, all problems will be solved. The scene instantly began to quiet down. While Yi Fan began to continue his actions, turning on the kettle in the room, then dissolved the medicinal powder Qin Shou had just given into the water, then poured seven or eight cups of water, and said towards Qin Shou and He Chang and the others, Qin Shou, you just said that that medicinal powder, it only incapacitates people. I don't quite understand the actual efficacy of these medicinal powders. Come on, let's trouble you guys to help me verify it first how. Hiss, looking at the glowing green tea. Qin Shou and He Chang as well as a group of other brothers could not help but suck in a breath of cool air, their bodies instinctively retreating a few steps backward. When this powder was given above, it was said that these are blood-seeking poisons, a small bit of which can poison ten elephants. And now that Yi Fan had poured a whole packet directly into the teapot, wouldn't that have killed everyone on the scene? Who dares to drink? What are you all running for? Didn't you guys say that this is just a soft gold powder that makes people lose their strength? That He Chang Major, just now you are the one who screamed the most. Come over, cheers, first give the brothers a sample. Yi Fan stared scorchingly at He Chang, sharp eyes, looking at He Chang's body trembled. His legs were about to go soft. Young Ching, don't joke around. These medicinal powders were prepared to save your parents and the entire Ching family, so I won't waste this, right? He Chang opened his mouth in defense with a sardonic expression. Really? Since you know that this is a life-saving medicine, then now this is also your life-saving medicine. Drink up. I kind of can't wait to witness the effects of this powder. Yi Fan's smile is a little creepy. Qin Shou and He Chang and the others couldn't help but feel a wave of panic in their hearts, and they even smelled a whiff of death. This drug, which is clearly a poison that kills people, who dares to drink it at the scene? Qin Shou and He Chang and the others all kept pushing Sang to each other and stood towards the back row. Wang Yao's face was also filled with the pleasure of revenge as she looked at these trash in front of her in such a state. Qin Shou, that son of a bitch, has had his day. H.M. Back then, they forced my lady and ruined her youth. But fortunately, I met Yi Xiao. Didn't you guys say that this drug just makes people's parents faint and pass out? You guys instead drink it ah. Wang Yao stared at Qin Shou dead in the face and said, Qin Shou, you do more than you should. You won't have a good ending. Whoever opens his mouth is actually not as huge as the psychological trauma that Wang Yao's opening caused to Qin Shou. Wang Yao, you stinking woman. Don't think that I don't dare to do anything to you. Tell you. When I finish dealing with the affairs of the Qing family and then come back to clean you up, I will definitely make regret today's decision. In fact, 
Right now Qin Suffer himself was the one who regretted it the most. If I had known this would happen, why did I let Wang Yao seduce Qin Xiaocheng? Now he had really become a lost cause. Humph, still want to clean me up? Qin Shou, do you still have the life to live to clean me up? Wang Yao knew Yi Fan's real identity and knew that the Yi family and Qin family were definitely mortal enemies now. And today, when Yi Fan came to the appointment in place of Qin Xiaocheng, he was definitely aiming at Qin Shou. And the key thing was, in Wang Yao's heart, there was still a heavenly secret that she hadn't told Yi Fan. Qin Shou, don't forget that the video footage you showed me at that time, where you and the Qin family had struck out together and chased down the second youngest master of the Yi family, if that information you collected was exposed to the Yi family, what good would happen to you? Wang Yao's words instantly caused Qin Shou's face to change drastically. Wang Yao, don't talk nonsense when you step on the horse. When did I participate in chasing and killing the Yi family's second youngest? When did I take video footage Ah, Tramp, you're looking for death, aren't you? Qin Shou glanced at Qin Shao Chang, his heart filled with worry. Now Qin Shao Chang is stronger than everyone here. If you can't stop Qin Shao Chang, let Qin Shao Chang go back and report the information here to the Yi family. Then the Qin family will be finished Ah, Although the Yi family had been hit hard now, if the Yi family were to go all out against the Qin family, it would probably still give the Qin family a pot to drink. However, Yi Fan, who was beside him, frowned as he listened, his eyes burning as he looked toward Wang Yao. Wang Yao nodded. I'm not lying. Qin Shou has a secret base, which is filled with Qin Shou's various treasures, and there are also some videos and image materials, among which there seems to be a video that Qin Shou quietly recorded when he was chasing and killing the second youngest of the Yi family some time ago. Wang Yao entered into the truth to report all the news she knew to Yi Fan. This is Qin Shou after a drinking session. Brought me over to see one. There's actually a video of the chase being filmed at the time? This news instantly caused a flash of light to flash through Yi Fan's eyes. Qin Shou actually recorded all the videos of the chase at that time? Now although Yi Fan has already found the fragments of the map left behind by the second brother, he is worried about how to find those garbage that made a direct move on the second brother at that time. Although, with the Yi family's connections and power, it was only a matter of time before they wanted to track those bastards down. But now, Yi Fan didn't have much time left. Yi Fan had to go over to the Vermilion Bird War Zone as soon as possible after he had finished the Xuan Wu War Zone side of things, to look for the clues to the map that his big brother had left behind. The fragments of the map of the Heavenly Palace Gods and Goddesses were of great importance, and not a single piece could fall into the hands of those deadly opponents. What's with all the excuses? Hurry up and drink. You guys don't want me to do it to buy you a drink, do you? Just a cup of water. It's not good for everyone to be so stiff. Right? Yi Fan's eyes flashed a touch of viciousness. He brought up a cup of tea and directly shoved it into Yi Chang's hand. I'll give you three seconds. Drink it. For these trashy big boys, Yi Fan was truly moved to kill. They asked Qing Xiaocheng to come out for a drink today. And they actually wanted Qing Xiaocheng to waste himself and poison his parents, burying the entire Qing family. What kind of heart is that? If he hadn't impersonated Qing Xiaocheng, would Qing Xiaocheng's own strength be able to cope with these assholes' tactics? Sister-in-law Qing Rulin who had announced her marriage to herself at that time in such a determined situation. If she were to die just like that, then Yi Fan would definitely regret it for the rest of his life. And these assholes, Qin Suffer, doing all these all these maneuvers, are targeting the Yi family. What's more, he was also involved in chasing down and killing the second brother. So all these trash at the scene, Yi Fan didn't intend to keep any of them at all. I, Qin Xiao, you don't joke ah, I'd better not drink it. He Chang held the water cup in his hand and his face was green. It's a great way to get into the spirit of the world. How dare he drink? Do I look like I'm joking to you? A flash of sharpness flashed in Yi Fan's eyes. A powerful chi fluctuated on his body. And he reached out to grab Yi Chang's arm. Click. With a crisp ringing sound, the bones in Yi Chang's shoulders were instantly pinched and shattered on the spot. One of Yi Chang's arms was immediately broken. Two seconds left. You can either drink this glass of water, or, give me a reason not to kill you. Ah, my shoulder. Crouch. He Chang's mouth instinctively still wanted to explode, but when he saw Yi Fan's sharp eyes, the words in his mouth were stiffly held back, but hearing that he could find a reason not to kill himself, He Chang's head began to spin rapidly, just now it was just a guess, but after such a close contact with Yi Fan at this moment, He Chang was almost 100% sure that the Qing Shao Chang in front of him was definitely not real, moreover, Wang Yao wasn't stupid, if the one who came today was really Qing Shao Chang, would Wang Yao hand herself over so easily? But who could be the one who could come in place of Qing Xiao Chang and still have that much strength? He Chang's head instantly thought of a person who came to the provincial city yesterday. Ye yeah, Fan. Although it was rumored that Yi Fan was still a fool. Dr. Lei had already announced that Yi Fan now had awake time every day. You should know that Xin Xiao. 
the grandson of the Shangjing Tangzheng Pavilion elder, died in Yi Fan's hands. Then knowing that Qin Shou was going to bully his brother-in-law today, how could Yi Fan sit back and watch if he was sober? Thinking through all this, He Chang immediately began to shout, I report, I expose, I'm reporting what Qin Shou and the others have secretly done to the Yi family. Five years ago, when the Zhao family in Cloud City arranged for an attack on young master Yi Fan and created a car accident, it was Qin Shou and his father who were personally involved in the planning, as well as Lu Ran, the family head, and the year before last, the Yi family's third aunt died of a serious illness in the hospital. That wasn't a normal death at all, but rather, Qin Shou personally went to the middle of the small medication and put poison in it. In the Yi family's chef team, there are also people arranged by the Qin family, and I also know that Qin Shou's father, Qin War, is contacting some people in the Tianlong army to prepare for trouble. As soon as He Chang opened his mouth, he clammed up like pouring beans. While speaking, He Chang kept observing the change in Yi Fan's face. When he saw the expression on Yi Fan's face change dramatically, He Chang knew that his guess should be correct. Right in front of me is that stupid young master of the Yi family, Yi Fan. Since Yi Fan was able to fake Qing Xiao Chang to come, it meant that Yi Fan was definitely in a sober state, and the strength that Yi Fan had displayed all exceeded above the Zongshu realm. Then Qin suffer all the means prepared today. That is completely all jumping beam clown ah. Crap your grandpa. He Chang, you want to die ah. Treading horse, when I. Hearing He Chang's words, Qin Shou was on the verge of jumping up in excitement. He Chang was Qin Shou's most loyal diehard. Almost everything Qin Shou did, he would act together with He Chang. Therefore, He Chang knew almost all of Qin Chang's plans of action. Moreover, the He family and the Qin family had been deeply bound together. All of the Qin family's actions, the Yi family didn't fall behind, either. That's why Qin Shou was so convinced of any strong. But now, his most trusted brother, suddenly backstabbed him from behind. Qin Shou hadn't even reacted for a while. This Ho Kung, what's the plan? Plus, his favorite woman has betrayed him today. At this moment, Qin Sufferer felt like he was living like one of those bitter protagonists of novels. A brother betrays and a woman greens herself. According to the plot, wouldn't it be possible that he or she would start to buck the trend? But Qin Shou felt as if he was going to be finished today. It's a very bad feeling. Qin Shou looked towards Qing Shao Chang. He really couldn't figure out what was so crazy about He Chang. What was the point of suddenly telling Qing Shao Chang so many secrets? All of them? When Miss Yamada Keiko arrives, Qing Shao Chang will surely be sent to meet the King of Hell, and he will still be able to send the message to the Yi family right away? After Yi Fan heard He Chang's words, a coldness appeared on his face. The Qin family's ambitions aren't small. They actually dare to make a move against the Tianlong army? The Heavenly Dragon army is the root of the Yi family. Those nemeses of the Yi family, who had spent so much to decapitate all the ten descendants of the core of the Yi family in a single day, actually wanted to make the confidence of the Heavenly Dragon army crumble, so that those members of the Heavenly Dragon army would feel that there was no hope for the Yi family, and that the Yi character flag was going to be in a state of collapse. But even if they dared to make a move on the periphery, they wouldn't dare to mess up inside the Heavenly Dragon army. I. Being blared at by Yi Fan like this, Qin Shou immediately felt a strong pressure on his heart, and it seemed to slow down by half a beat. What's going on? Why are there so many people lying outside? Didn't this auntie not make a move yet? Just when Qin Shou was about to be scared shitless, a silhouette flashed by the doorway, and Yamada Keiko suddenly appeared in the room, her body's martial arts chi surging wildly. Ah, hearing Yamada Keiko's voice, Qin Shou instantly felt as if he had heard heavenly music. M.S. Keiko. My aunt. You finally come. If you don't come, your loyal slaves will never see you again. Quickly, ask Miss Keiko to immediately take action and take down that pair of dogs and men. Qin Shou took a long breath and almost jumped up in excitement, pointing at Yi Fan and Wang Yao and chiding them. Beside Qin Shou, those other buddies, seeing Yamada Keiko, their tense expressions, also finally eased. The savior has finally arrived. M.S. Keiko, we're counting on you today. Qin Shou Chang, you're dead today and it's too late for you to regret now. Let me tell you, what we made you do just now is still light. Qin Shou set up this setup today to wipe out your entire Qing family. Who made you wear the same pants as the Yi family? The group was all giddy and excited, but Yi Chang beside Qin Shou was not happy at all, because after he had just reported those crimes of Qin suffering, Yi Fan already had no intention of continuing to take action against himself. This only meant one thing, that the information that Count himself had said had spoken to Yi Fan's heart. The Qing Shao Cheng in front of me must be Yi Fan's fake. If this was really the case, since Yi Fan dared to come, he must have his own means. Even someone as powerful as Xin Shao was planted in Yi Fan's hands. Xin Shao was surrounded by powerful people in the martial zone realm. Then MS, Keiko Yamada is here. And I guess it doesn't mean shit. 
The cruel truth that Qin Shou and Yi Chang knew even less was that Yamada Keiko had already confirmed Yi Fan's identity because she had been spanked a few times by Yi Fan and had long since submitted to Yi Fan's banner. Today, Yamada Keiko came here to find Qin Shou, originally intending to help Yi Fan clean up his house, take them down. Why? Yamada Keiko smiled coldly and turned her head toward Yi Fan, with the powerful perception of the martial exalted realm. Megumi Yamada instantly sensed that the aura on Yi Fan's body was too familiar. This isn't you. Although Yi Fan's appearance had changed, Yi Fan didn't hide his aura on purpose. So Keiko Yamada instantly sensed that the man in front of her was the the man she had met at the takeaway company. Yi Fan. Yi Fan actually pretended to be Qin Shao Chang and found Qin Shou and the others one step ahead of himself. Keiko Yamada was smart as ice and immediately understood Yi Fan's thoughts. Yi Fan was planning to use himself as a bait to enter the game with his body, tricking Qin Shou and the others into exposure awe. Seeing that Yi Fan nodded slightly, indicating his identity, Keiko Yamada immediately smiled and also respectfully owed her body towards Yi Fan. For a master like herself, Megumi Yamada is very happy. With just a spanking, one could obtain such a powerful warm current, while giving a random elixir one could directly break through to the martial exaltation realm. Luckily, he had met his master in advance, or else when the time came, he would have even helped those bastards from the general's office and the black clothes society against his master. M.S. Keiko, what are you waiting for? Why are you bowing to him? The bizarre actions of Keiko Yamada surprised the brothers and a few bodyguards around Chinsho. Everyone's been waiting for M.S. Keiko Yamada to show her hand. Yamada Keiko's face sank as she turned to stare sharply at the big young man who had opened his mouth. Why do I need to explain to you what this young lady does? Scram! The moment the words rang out, Keiko Yamada's entire body exploded with chi energy. The pithy martial doubt chi energy was like it had eyes, blasting away at the surrounding crowd. Boom! Rumble! Under the impact of the powerful chi energy of the martial Zun realm, dozens of people in the room, except for Qin Shou and He Chang by his side, who were still standing, the other bodyguards, as well as the great young brothers who had followed Qin Shou, were all smashed flying and crashed against the walls before completely fainting, dead or alive. M.S. Keiko. What, do you mean by this? Why are you doing this to my own people? Qin suffers pupils dilated for a moment, completely baffled. M.S. Yamada Keiko represents the East Japan Shogunate as well as the Black Clothes Society. Ah, this is the biggest tree behind the Qin family. How is it that now your own tree has suddenly collapsed? The fall was so unexpected. Master. All those other little shrimps have been cleaned up. These two guys, what to do with them? Under Qin Shou's shocked eyes, Yamada Keiko quickly walked to Yi Fan and respectfully bowed towards him. Then with a humble face, she walked to Yi Fan's side and leaned her big phoenix towards Yi Fan's arm. Master, you are tired, aren't you? Wheezy will give you a rub. Do you think this kind of force is okay? Ha! Huh? Qin suffered completely crazy. What the hell is wrong with this world? One's greatest reliance. The Eastern Ing powerhouse Yamada Keiko a powerhouse of the martial Zun realm, actually called Qin Shao to become her master? Did you hear that correctly? Miss Keiko, are you recognizing the wrong person? He is Qin Shao Chang Ah. You call him master? You are so noble. How can you be so humble? Qin Shao felt that he had been greatly insulted. In Qin Shao's eyes, Qin Shao Chang had always been a straw man, which Qin Shao had always despised greatly. And now it's good. His greatest dependence, actually worshipped at the feet of Qin Shao Chang, Yi Fan calmly sat on the sofa while enjoying the massage service of both Wang Yao and Yamada Keiko with a cozy face. Recognize the wrong person? How is it possible? Keiko Yamada smiled faintly. How could Keiko forget the smell of this person? Isn't that right? Master, originally, I was planning to come and finish them off, but I didn't expect my master to be a step ahead of schedule. Master's second brother died at their hands. Listening to Keiko Yamada's words, He Chang beside him had completely despaired. That's right. The Qin Shao Chang in front of him was not Qin Shao Chang at all, but Yi Fan. At this time, Qin Chang also reacted to the fruit from Yamada Keiko's words, his second brother, and then associated with Yi Chang just towards the Qin Shao Chang to report their own content. Qin Shao finally understand. You, you are not Qin Shao Chang. You are Yi Fan. Ah, you are Yi Fan. Ah, you are Yi Fan. You are not a fool at all. Are you lying to us? After thinking about everything, Qin Shao was even more annoyed with Yi Chang beside him. This son of a bitch, obviously had sensed that something was wrong, but actually did not tell himself, and even sold himself out, telling all those things he did to the Yi family. At that time, Qin Shou was still lucky. In front of the Qin Shao Chang did not have the opportunity to pass on those key information to the Yi family, but Qin Shou was never thought that standing in front of him is Yi Fan himself ah, not too stupid, now and understand? Yi Fan didn't pretend anymore, 
reaching out and quickly rubbing his face a few times to return to his own appearance. The truth was finally laid out in front of Qin Shou and He Chang, and the two finally clammed up, directly falling on their asses to the ground. It's over. Finished. It's over. The Qin and He families were originally the most loyal vassals of the Yi family. However, over the years, the young Fomes had gone against the grain and started to gradually alienate themselves from the Yi family. Not to mention that the Qi was colluding with the Eastern Ning dog and doing so many things to harm the Yi family. So how could Yi Fan let them off the hook? Come on, begin your performance. Break an arm of your own. Then take the powder back to let both the Qin and He families taste the flavor. And finally, the shares of your two families, will you obediently hand them over? Or will I use force? Yi Fan sat on the sofa and spoke calmly about what to do with them. And unbiasedly, all of these means that Yi Fan had mentioned were the ones that Qin Shou and He Chang had planned to use against Yi Fan just now. Waste yourself. Poison parents. Destroy your own family. LOL. The two of them, Qin Shou and He Chang, were paralyzed on the ground. Their faces were lifeless. And their hearts were full of regret. If I had known that it would turn out like this, I shouldn't have been so cruel just now. Isn't that digging a grave for yourself? then jumping into it and eventually burying yourself? I'm so stupid. Really, I'm so stupid. Sheen suffered a great stimulus. His eyes were confused, and he sighed to himself while slapping at his own face. Originally, if today's action went well and the Qing family was brought down, there would be a huge reward from above. But now, the Qin family is just going to be buried Ah, Young Qin, we'd better hurry up, lest we suffer a little less flesh and blood. He Chang glanced at Yi Fan's sharp eyes and turned to dissuade Qin Shou. As things stood now, all the bodyguards they had brought with them, all the strong men had been beaten down by Yi Fan and Keiko Yamada. Yamada Keiko's strength was already at the Martial Zun realm, and she still called Yi Fan her master, so it was already self-evident what strength Yi Fan was. All the struggles of the two were in vain. It's all you, it's all you son of a bitch. Why don't you remind me? Lousy want to strangle you, strangle you, the confused Qin sufferer. Hearing He Chang's words, suddenly pounced on him, tearing and biting up. He Chang was also not willing to show weakness. The two of them you slap, I punch, even mouth, legs are used, miserable twist together. Master, this, Yamada Keiko looked at the two men and cast an inquiring gaze towards Yi Fan. Let them dog eat dog. Just watch them and don't let them run away. Yi Fan spoke calmly, quietly watching them perform. From the moment Yi Fan showed his true face in front of them, he had already sentenced them to death. The Qin family and the Yi family, as two of the Yi family's most central vassal families, didn't come forward to help the Yi family at the critical time not to mention that they actually participated in the extermination plan against the Yi family, so it was naturally impossible for Yi Fan to let them off the hook. By the time Qin Shou and Yi Chang had no strength left to fight and stopped, the two of them were already completely unrecognizable. The hair was all pulled out bald and exposed, the nostrils were snapped and rotted, and several pieces of flesh were bitten off the body. Call your father and tell him that Yi Fan is coming to visit, so tell him to get ready, Yi Fan signaled. And immediately, Keiko Yamada pulled out her cell phone from Qin Shou and handed it to him to make the call. Qin Shou was once again baffled. This Yi Fan, what the hell is he up to? How dare you let yourself be called at this time? Aren't you afraid of being tipped off? When he and He Chang were wrestling just now, Qin Shou had planned to make a move to notify his family several times, but with Yamada Keiko and Yi Fan watching from the side, he didn't dare to make a move in the end. Yi Shao, I dare not fight. Yi Shao wanna give a pain. Qin Shou had already seen Yi Fan's power, and at this time, he asked himself to call. If he did call, then Yi Fan still didn't know how he was going to torture himself. Just call when I tell you to. What's all this nonsense? If you don't call, do you believe I'll come and beat you up? Yi Fan let out a chortle, instantly causing Qin Shou's body to tremble. I hit. I hit. Qin Shou trembled and dialed his old dad Qin War's phone. Father, the plan has failed. The one who came to see me today wasn't Qin Shou Chang, but Yi Fan. My arm has been broken. All of my people have been cleaned up. And Yi Fan said that he's coming to our house to visit you soon. Qin Shou panicked and reported the situation here to his father. His eyes still kept looking towards Yi Fan's side. Seeing that Yi Fan did not have any specific action. Then he was relieved a bit. Dad. You must invite Uncle Sam and his friends over as well. Must never. As he spoke. Bloom flickered in Qin Shou's eyes. HM. Yi Fan. This is your own way of getting yourself killed. You actually don't kill me now. Then when I return to the Qin family compound, those friends of Uncle San have already arrived at Huadu, and when they gather together, with the strongest men from the Nine Spectres Holy Land, you and Yamada Keiko count for nothing? The friend in Qin Shou's mouth is Zhang Feng, the grandson of Zhang Gu Lao, as well as Zhang Feng's invitation to the experts of the Zhou Yue Holy Land. With them around, 
Shinsho feels like he has a chance to turn the tide against the wind. But what he didn't know was that this was the beginning of their disaster. After hanging up the phone, Shin suffered a face of apprehension to look at Yi Fan. Yi Young. Now the phone to go has played. I. Shin Suffer had no idea what he was about to face next. Yi Fan smiled faintly. Just now. You all have already made your downfall clear. Do you still want me to do it myself? Cut off your own arms. If I do it, it won't be that simple. Yi Fan just looked at Qin Shou sharply. Qin Shou instantly felt like he was being stared at by a poisonous snake, and his whole body had a cold shiver. I break. I break. If I had known that what I said to Qin Shaocheng first would be my own fate, I wouldn't have needed to speak so harshly just now. The wind and the water are turning. It's finally your turn, isn't it? With a look of despair, Qin Suffer picked up the ashtray on the table and urged his qi energy as he prepared to slam it towards his own wrist, but he was still somewhat unable to get down. Let me help you. Next to him, He Chang looked at Qin Shou's abrasive appearance, and somewhat unable to stand it, he snatched the ashtray over and smashed it hard against Qin Shou's arm. Click. A crisp ringing sound. Qin suffered arm on the spot broken into 90 degrees bent. White bones are exposed half. The pain of Qin suffered in place directly jumped up. I thank you. I tethered oil the whole family. Nima. Lousy called you to help? Shit. Qin suffer was really going crazy. This He Chang. Is he in such a hurry to lick Yi Fan? Don't forget. The Eastern Ing backers behind the Qin family. Although they stood to Yi Fan's side. But the Qin family had another strong backer behind them besides the East. Ah. As long as Yi Fan didn't kill himself now. When he returned to the Qin family compound. If those friends of Uncle San arrived. Then it would be Yi Fan's time to die. Bring it on. Now it's my turn to do it. Just now. Qin Shou and He Chang were at each other's throats. And the fire had already come up. Qin suffered a chortle. Snatched the ashtray from Yi Chang's hand, and with a click, smashed Yi Chang's arm as well, which balanced his psyche a bit. Wang Yao watched the two of them, Qin Shou and Yi Chang, from the side and let out a long sigh of relief in her heart. Finally, he was holding back so much hatred, and now he finally got a vent? However, thinking that her innocence was scourged by Qin Shou, Wang Yao's heart was still angry. After hesitating for a moment, Wang Yao spoke to Yi Fan beside her. Yi Xiao, I have a request. Can I take action against that bastard and punish him? Qin Shou had ruined himself, and Wang Yao had to take revenge. Of course, you can do whatever you want. Yi Fan looked at Wang Yao beside him. This little bitch, her waist was really thin. Although Wang Yao slept with herself just to get back at Qin Shou, but no matter what, after all, she had been her own woman. For Wang Yao's request which was not excessive, Yi Fan naturally agreed. Thank you Xiao Yi, I will be obedient. Wang Yao answered shyly turned around and kissed Yi Fan on the cheek, then glanced around the room, picked up a broken chair leg by the bed, and quickly walked over towards Qin Shou. Qin Shou heard the conversation between Yi Fan and Wang Yao, and then saw Wang Yao's actions. His face suddenly became gloomy. Wang Yao, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stinking bitch, I tell, you dare to make a move on me. After today I'll get you killed. Yi Xiao, I've already done what you asked me to do ah. Until this moment, Qin Shou was still counting on Yi Fan to save him and speak for him. Yi Fan smiled coldly. This is between Wang Yao and you. I can't care. But what I want to tell you is that Wang Yao has already been made my woman. If you dare to touch a hair on her head, I will definitely make your life worse than death. Yi Fan's tone was flat, but the words that came out caused Qin Shou to completely despair. This Nima, doesn't that mean you should stand at attention when you're beaten? Can't you dodge and resist any of Wang Yao's attacks? Xiao Yao, for the sake of accidental love. Can you not hit the face? Qin Shou looked at Wang Yao with a snappy face, and there were still fantasies in his heart. Wang Yao ignored Qin Shou and swung the stick in her hand, smashing it down hard against Qin Shou's crotch. Put, put. With two crisp clangs, Qin Suffer was instantly blinded. Where did this bitch hit herself? Why do I hear a watermelon cracking? In the next moment, Qin Shou felt a drilling, intense pain coming from his crotch, as if something had lost contact with his body. Ah, the egg broke. Your own bird is wasted? Then how can I eat worms myself in the future? So many sisters are waiting for me to save them. Ah, Wang Yao, you stinking bitch. I X. Qin suffered covered his crotch and jumped up, shivering in pain in place. Almost instinctively, Qin Shou wanted to make a move against Wang Yao, but next to him, Yamada Keiko had already dodged to the side at some point, and with just a look, she caused Qin Shou's swinging motion to pause. Put, put. Wang Yao seems to still think that the bird is not broken hard enough. Waving the stick in his hand, once again ruthlessly smashed seven or eight times, completely smashed the toothpick in Qin Shou's pants into a piece of shattered. Only then did he feel relieved, and threw the stick to the side. Oh, I want to go home to find my mom. Mama, oh, 
Oh, Sheen suffered the whole person directly paralyzed to the, the ground. A whimpering sound came out of his mouth, and saliva and tears flowed all over his face. It's killing me. Compared to the physical trauma, Sheen suffered more from psychological trauma. When He Chang, who was next to him, saw Wang Yao's action, without a single hit, He Chang's body shuddered along with him, and he felt that his crotch was cold. Luckily, luckily, he didn't let his girlfriend come to hook up with Yi Fan today, or else he was afraid that his girlfriend would be given away for nothing, and then he himself would have to be so tortured. Let's go, it's time to go to the Qin family, we can't let them wait too long. Yi Fan reached out and quickly kneaded his face a few times, and in the blink of an eye, he turned into Qin Xiao Cheng's appearance again. Qin Xiao and Yi Chang were so depressed that they were about to go crazy when they saw Yi Fan acting like this. This asshole, is he going to keep pretending? It was obvious that he was already so strong, but he actually had to deliberately act like he was weak. Those experts of the Qin family, when they saw Qin Xiao Chang, they would definitely be gullible. And at that time, the Qin family would be in big trouble ah. It's too dark. Bang bang. Qin Xiao and Yi Chang still wanted to open their mouths to say something, but Yamada Keiko directly struck out, kicking the two of them twice to stun them to death, and then dragged the two of them towards the outside of the room's door as if they were dragging a dead dog. Yi Xiao. You really want to go to the Qin family compound ah? The Qin family they and the Shangjing Tangjung Pavilion Elder have collusion, and the Northwest Zhang Pavilion Elder's grandson also invited the Four Holy Land of the Nine Spectres of the Strongest to help. Yi Xiao will not be dangerous if he goes? Wang Yao relied on Yi Fan's side and spoke with some concern, although it was just to take revenge on Qin Shou and became Yi Fan's woman by mistake. At this time, Wang Yao had a feeling of homecoming in her heart and began to worry about Yi Fan. Yi Fan smiled faintly. I came to Huadu to make a scene. I'm still afraid that they won't come. As long as they dare to come, I guarantee that I'll let them have all the fun they want. On Tang Zheng's side, his own grandson, Shen Xiao, had already been sent to the Western Heaven by Yi Fan. On the side of Northwestern Cabinet Leader Zhang, it's time for him to shed some blood. Zhang Feng actually dared to personally come to Huadu. In Yi Fan's opinion, that is specifically to send head. The great formation of the sages inherited from the god and goddess fragment. Yi Fan has already skillfully controlled it. It is just the right time to set down in the Yi family compound to see the power of this formation. Moreover, there is still Yu Chang of Tianji Pavilion, an expert of the Martial Emperor realm, sitting in the dark, so Yi Fan is not at all false fire. In Huadu, in the Qin family compound, Qin Zhan was constantly urging his men to call Qin Shou. Still can't get through? The little sufferer brought so many expert bodyguards with him today, and none of them can get through? Qin Zhan's face was a blue color. He had just received a call from his son saying that he had actually been beaten up by Yi Fan. This made Qin Zhan very incomprehensible. Wasn't Yi Fan a fool? The state of dementia is still not completely healed by now. Is Lei Qian by no means tempering Yi Fan? Why did Yi Fan suddenly come to Huadu? Moreover, what Qin Shou was going to do today, Qin Zhan naturally knew. Qin Shou had received orders from those pavilion elders and intended to make an appointment to meet Qin Shao Chang, then give Qin Shao Chang a fairy jump forcing Qing Xiao Chang to sell out the Qing family, thus striking the Qing family and deterring those families close to the Yi family. When Qing Zhan was full of doubts and was ready to call back to inquire about the specific situation, he found that Qing Shou's phone was out of order. He Chang's phone was out of order, and all the bodyguards in the house who had followed him there, their phones were out of order. Qing Zhan had already vaguely sensed that something was wrong with the situation. Yesterday, the grandson of the Shangjing Tang Zheng De Lao, Shen Xiao Xiao, had already made a move on Qing Xiao Chang, setting up a game to win away all of Qing Xiaoqing's dads, but after Yi Fan's arrival, Xin Xiaoxiao died directly in the fire. Is that Yi Fan really that stupid? Family master, they've been calling nonstop for 10 minutes now, and all of them can't be contacted one by one. Beside Qin Zhan, a middle-aged fat man wearing glasses spoke up with some worry. Family head, do you think that our Qin family's actions have been exposed? Otherwise, Qin Xiaoqing didn't come to the appointment today, but Yi Fan came to the appointment and also came to visit you. What exactly is the meaning of this? Xin Zhan frowned without and was somewhat helpless in his heart. Yeah, this was also something he was puzzled about in his heart. Whether Yi Fan had come to his senses or continued to be demented. This situation, no one was clear. Today over at the hotel, what exactly happened? Xin Zhan was not clear. For Yi Fan's sudden arrival, Xin Zhan's heart was also a little unsure. Exposed. It shouldn't be. Xin Zhan pondered for a while and continued to speak. If Yi Fan comes today, on the surface, we naturally have to entertain. Later, young master Zhang Feng and the people from the Nine Spectres, as well as the people from the Black Clothes Society of the East and the General's House, 
We'll all come to the Qin family to discuss the matter of dealing with the Yi family. Yi Fan is throwing himself into the net if he dares to come today. The top 10 core disciples of the Yi family had all been killed off, leaving a fool and the old thing. When the Yi family's rivals were planning to continue, they realized that the Yi family's last bit of bloodline was so hard to chew. In just over a week's time, the clans that those above had arranged and the means used in Cloud City had all failed, and the forces lurking in Cloud City had almost been cleaned up by the Yi family. Now that Yi Fan has arrived in Huadu, Xin Zhan vaguely feels that Huadu will also be stirred up by Yi Fan. Command down, those bred dead soldiers of the Qin family. It's time for them to go out. After raising them for so many years, it's time for them to contribute. Also, have the reinforced crossbowmen all ambushed? On my command, if we can kill Yi Fan in the Qin family today, then the Qin family will definitely become famous today, and also clean up a big trouble for the above. And the above will definitely reward the Qin family properly. After setting up all the ambushes of the Qin family, Xin Zhan greeted a group of core disciples of the Qin family and went to the main gate to prepare for the welcome. When Yi Fan and Wang Yao, with the fainting Qin Shou, appeared in front of the Qin family's gate, Xin Zhan and the others also happened to come out. As for He Chang and those other big boys, they were being guarded by Keiko Yamada, meeting with Guo Li and waiting in another place. Yi Fan was going to personally come and take care of the Qin family, and then deal with He Chang and the others later. These people who betrayed the Qin family, Yi Fan would definitely not spare a single one of them. Originally, Yi Fan could have made a direct move to exterminate the Qin family, but after hearing that Qin Zhandu was plotting to collude with the generals in the Heavenly Dragon Army, and was planning to cause trouble in the Heavenly Dragon Army, Yi Fan had to make a trip in person to figure out the truth, and to make those scums in the Heavenly Dragon Army clear and clean. Xiao Cheng, how come it's you? Did Xiao Yi not come? When Qin Zhan saw that Yi Fan was the model of Qing Xiao Chang, he naturally did not associate it with the fact that it was Yi Fan in front of him. What? Uncle Qin is not welcome? Qin Xiao and I are the best brothers ah. Yi Fan smiled evilly and reached out to drag the beaten up and disfigured Qin Xiao down from the car. I brought my brother-in-law Yi Fan along to drink with Qin Xiao, but Qin Xiao had nothing better to do than to mess with my brother-in-law. And as you know, my brother-in-law you know, my brother-in-law has a bad head. So Qin Xiao was beaten like this. I really can't stand it. So I personally escorted young Qin back. Aya, you see this young Qin usually eats too much. Too heavy. You guys don't come over to help. Boo. Seeing that Qin Xiao was yanked out of the car and was about to come out, Yi Fan suddenly let go of his hand and directly slammed the fainting Qin Xiao onto the ground, still with his head facing down. Click. Qin Zhan and the others present clearly heard the sound of bones breaking. Little sufferer. My good boy. Qin Xiao Chang. What are you doing? A roar came out of Qin Zhan's mouth, almost growling as he rushed towards Yi Fan. You stepped on the horse just on purpose didn't you? Obviously only so little height actually smashed Qin Shou's head directly to the ground. Head bones are broken a big groove, together with the other injuries received on his body. Even if Qin Shou could continue to live, he was afraid that he would only be a vegetable. Uncle Qin, I don't like it when you say that. What do you mean I did it on purpose? I just slipped my hand. I'm so kind in my heart. How could I have any bad intentions? Yi Fan deliberately retorted Qin Zhan with some annoyance. Qin Zhan was furious and his beard blew out, but he couldn't say anything about it. I and Qin Xiao is so good brotherly relationship. You see, Qin suffered the crotch of the bird has been broken to pieces. I have promised Qin Xiao, take good care of his girlfriend. This is enough brother, right? Yi Fan continued to open his mouth, and while speaking, he also held Wang Yao intimately in his arms. Qin suffered a broken egg? Qin War Heart was shocked. Panicked will Qin suffer the pants ripped open, immediately straight to see a piece of blood and flesh. Ah, bastard. Qin Zhan is about to explode with anger. Although Qin Zhan's generation, there are three brothers, but when it comes to Qin Shou's generation, only Qin Zhan gave birth to a son. Qin Shou is the hope of the entire Qin family. And now that Qin Shou's egg is broken, that means the Qin family is going to be extinct ah. And what was even more annoying was that Qin Shou's girlfriend, Wang Yao, was actually so intimate with Qin Shao Chang in front of himself. His future father-in-law? Is this a cuckold package delivered to your home? Pissed off. Qin Zhan was going to be furious. But thinking of his own subsequent plans, Xin Warheart have even more fire, but can only continue to endure. Since Yi Fan is still that big fool, the best way is to pull in Xin Xiao Chang and ask him to bring his fool brother-in-law Yi Fan over and destroy him on the spot. If you want to do that, you have to pacify Qin Xiao Chang first. Young Qing, you really are Little Acceptance's good brother. Uncle Qin is here to thank you. You've worked hard to send Little Acceptance back. Go inside and have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Let's chat about something by the way. Qin War didn't even know that all of these routines that he was performing right now, Qin Shou had already used them once, 
Except that the one in front of him wasn't Qin Xiaocheng at all. But Yi Fan, Qin wore everything does not know, still like a jumping clown, intends to start his show. A few more friends will be coming over later as well. So by the way, I'd like to introduce them to Xiao Qing together. Qin Zhan did not know at all about what happened over at the Huadu Hotel. And this Qin Xiaocheng in front of him looked as if he was a bit unintelligent. Qin Zhan had already decided in his heart that he must pull Cheng Xiaocheng together and continue to fulfill the task explained by the above. Since the plan of Qin to use his girlfriend to seduce Qin Xiaocheng has failed, then Qin Zhan intends to change the way. In front of Qin Xiaocheng to show the Qin family behind those powerful strength background, in all aspects to meet the requirements of Qin Xiaocheng, perhaps Qin Xiaocheng has changed his nature? The Qin family is now siding with the Yi family and is already suffering from a full-blown blow. The Qin family must be feeling the pressure as well. That young master of the Yi family is also a fool-like person, and he is just causing trouble for the Qin family. So as long as he makes use of it a little bit, it shouldn't be a problem to bring the Qin family together. Good. Yi Fan smiled faintly. When he came to the Qin family today, Yi Fan had come to cause trouble. So naturally, he was not afraid of making a big deal out of it. Entering the hall, it was already filled with some of the core members of the Qin family. And the moment they saw Yi Fan come in, their faces all looked a bit unfavorable. After all, just now they had gotten the news that Qin Shou had already been seriously injured in the process of meeting Qin Xiao Chang. The foundation of the Qin family has been shaken off. Everyone welcomes Xiao Qing. If it wasn't for Xiao Qing stepping in to stop that fool Yi Fan today, little acceptance was afraid that he wouldn't even be able to retrieve his life. From now on, Xiao Qing is our family. Qin Zhan gave a wink to the crowd, and only then did everyone's faces ease up a bit. Everyone sat down and exchanged a few pleasantries before Qin War spoke directly. Young Qing, because of your sister Cheng Rulin's announcement of marrying that fool Yi Fan, your Qing family has recently suffered from total suppression, which you should have felt, right? Has young Qing ever thought of thinking of another way out for the Qing family? Is the old fox finally starting to hold back? Yi Fan smiled coldly in his heart, but on his face, he looked like he had found a confidant and nodded his head. Yes, Uncle Qin said too much, that sister of mine. I don't know what kind of madness is in her head. She had to marry that fool Yi Fan. That fool, as much as no to the Qing family trouble. Yesterday on the grandson of the grandson of the big brother of the capital. Made such a big fuss. The back do not know how to end ah. I am worried at night cannot sleep. Yi Fan followed Qin Zhan's words and continued on. Does Uncle Qin have any good ways to point out? Seeing that Qin Xiaocheng had taken the bait so easily, Qin Zhan and a few of the surrounding Qin clan members exchanged glances, and a smug look appeared on their faces. It's so easy to fool. It can be done easily. Young Qing, I am treating you as my own nephew. That's why I am telling you the truth. In fact, that big man in Shenzhen is the person behind our Qing family. If Young Chang leads the Qing family to break away from the Yi family, I can help to intercede. Qin Zhan seemed to be very proud of himself when he said that he was Tang Zhang's man. Moreover, we still have the East Ing Black Clothes Society and the General's Office behind us. And all of us core members have green cards from the East Ing. So if anything really goes wrong, we can enter the East Ing at any time to receive shelter. With the green cards, they wouldn't dare to touch us easily. In addition, Northwest Jungolo has a deep relationship with us as well. Qin Zhan had already decided in his heart that Qin Xiao Chang must be taken down today. If Qin Xiao Chang is obedient, it's okay. If Qin Xiao Chang doesn't listen, then it's better to just make Qin Xiao Chang shut up forever. Therefore, the secrets of those bigwigs behind himself. Qin Zhan did not have the slightest reservation and spilled out all of them to Yi Fan. Is that so? From what I've only heard, on the surface, aren't you a vassal family of the Yi family? By rights, you should be on the same front as the Yi family. How come you've hooked up with all the people from the east? Yi Fan deliberately pretended to be a bit disbelieving. You even asked me to detach from the Yi family. You're not sowing discord, are you? Qin Zhan burst into a cold laugh and said, Yi family's vassal family? Ha! Young Qing, your news is too backward. When was that? As early as five years ago. Our Qin family already know that someone wants to take action against the Yi family. We are very smart to choose to detach from the Yi family. Otherwise you Qin family is our Qin family's downfall ah. Qin less still do not believe it? If you don't believe me, I'll show you a video. As he spoke, Qin Zhan took his cell phone out and opened an encrypted file, then played the video out in front of Yi Fan. The video was a little shaky, but clear. It was a group of people chasing an injured man in life and death. That man Yi Fan was too familiar with. It was none other than his own second brother Yi Lingjun, the second youngest of the Yi family? This is. Yi Fan was extremely shocked inside. A biting look flashed in his eyes, carefully checking out those people on the screen. There was a group of experts from the Qin family, as well as the Yi family, and some other people that Yi Fan and was too familiar with. Are these the same murderers who were after Er Hu? 
This is the video footage of a week ago, when we received orders and were ordered to hunt down Yi Ling Jun, the second youngest member of the Yi family. Qin Zhan put his cell phone away and said to Yi Fan with a smug look on his face, Now you see, our Qin family knew that the Yi family was going to be finished, so we made the most correct choice. The Yi family is now just that one old thing, Yi Chong Fong, and a foolish young master. Can they still make any waves? Don't think that you have the support of the Heavenly Dragon Army. Humph, on the side of the Heavenly Dragon Army, I'm also secretly making deployments. I've already gathered several 10,000 captains, so it's not impossible for me to directly take over the entire camp at that time. The Qin family is really vicious enough. If it wasn't for the news of the list that he had gotten through Keiko Yamada, Yi Fan would have wanted to investigate the true nature of the Qin family clearly, and he didn't even know if the time was still too late. Young Qing, don't hesitate, take the Qing family and join us. If you still have any concerns, or requirements, you can tell Uncle Qin, as long as Uncle Qin has it, Uncle Qin can satisfy you, and if Uncle Qin can't satisfy you, he can ask the above to satisfy you. Qin Zhan was a little bit excited, because he had already felt Yi Fan's emotional fluctuation. As long as Yi Fan was persuaded to make the Qing family announce their separation from the Yi family, this would be a huge credit. Really? Whatever Uncle Qin has, he can satisfy me? Yi Fan's eyes glanced towards the side and saw a beautiful woman with a charming demeanor, and a wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Of course, I, Qin Zhan, always keep my word. As long as the Qing family was taken care of, it would be a great honor, enough for the Qin family to take off. Now the upper face of the Yi family side of the alliance, our very headache, simply cannot disintegrate the Yi family side of the alliance, but also their own repeatedly suffered defeat. They have been a bit unable to hold back. Yi Fan nodded and pointed toward the wife of Qin Wars Yang Ro next to him. Uncle Qin, I see that the ant style is still very good ah. I this person has no other hobbies, just like women, unbridled, Qing Xiao Chang, what are you talking about, you actually even think about old man's wife, Qing Zhan heard Yi Fan's words and immediately jumped out of his skin, this Qing Xiao Chang is getting more and more outrageous, not to mention hogging his son's girlfriend, but now he is actually thinking about his own wife, that's outrageous, Yi Fan arrived with a calm face, Uncle Qin, it was you yourself who said just now that if I had any requests, I could make them, see, do your own words not count? I, Qin Zhan's face was iron blue. He did say this just now, but he didn't expect Yi Fan to actually make such a shameless request. The hat of the son's girlfriend, this hat, also even if. Anyway, no formal ceremony has been held yet, but thinking about his wife, Yang Ro has held a formal ceremony with Qin Zhan, and Qin Zhan has taken her to many occasions. Almost the whole of Huadu knows. Treadmill. If today's incident spreads out, then how can one still be a person in Huadu in the future? Husband, don't. Next to Yang Ro wearing a goose yellow tool dress, white shoulders vaguely exposed half, skirt inside the exquisite body, there is really no small rhyme. Even though Qin Station was a handful of years old, he was still mesmerized by this wife of his every day. Those core disciples of the surrounding Qin family, of which there were a few young ones with explosive tempers, directly rushed out. Qing Xiao Chang, you're looking for the wrong place to spread your wildness, this is not the place for you to spread your wildness. Big brother, this Qing Xiao Chang is too much. I have tolerated him for a long time. Directly chopped up and fed to the dogs. According to me, where is the need to go through so much trouble? Direct war against the Qing family is not it. All chopped up. The crowd below was in an atmosphere. This was because the behavior Yi Fan was doing now didn't just involve Qing Zhan's face anymore. This is about the face of the entire Qing family. If the Qing family head's wife was sullied by such a brat as Qing Xiao Chang, the sky over the entire Qing family would be green ah. The muscles on Qin Zhan's face twitched rapidly. Although Qin Zhan had already made the decision that he could agree to any conditions of Qin Xiao Chang, and had even made preparations for a very great sacrifice, but letting him sacrifice his own wife, Qin War still couldn't swallow this breath. Damn. Qin War thought of the promise given to him from above. Once the Yi family was brought down, the Qin family was to take over the position of the Yi family, become the top magnate of Dixia, take over the Tianlong army, sit in the northern wasteland, and dominate the southwest. Moreover, the above also promised that it would give the Qin family countless pills that could assist all of the Qin family's core disciples to advance to a strength above the level of the sovereign master, and their lifespans could all be extended by a few decades. At that time, the Qin family will definitely be a family that can be passed down for a hundred years ah. Sacrificing his wife and wearing a cuckold himself can be exchanged for a hundred years of the family's inheritance. Qin War is still somewhat moved. Tinkerbell. Qin Zhan was still conflicted in his heart when the encrypted phone on his body suddenly rang, and it was actually Zhang Golao himself who called. Promise him, it is necessary to bring the Qing family together. 
To disintegrate a part of the Yi family's alliance to go, even if it is a small opening will be fine. Otherwise, we are too passive. Don't worry, I've discussed it with Pavilion Elder Tang, you won't be treated poorly. After this matter is accomplished, we'll consider pulling you into the position of the nine Pavilion Elders now. Ah, Pavilion Elder. Hearing Pavilion Elder Shang's words, Xin Zhan's heart was in a state of violent shock. That is the Pavilion Elder Ah. The whole Dashia only nine big Pavilion Elder. That is completely a person under. 10,000 people on the position. Zhang Gulao actually intends to supplement himself to such a high position? The temptation is too great. I stand by my words. Furthermore, the big brother above me said that the Qin family has performed wonderfully these years, and a batch of pills and herbs will be sent to Huadu soon to boost your Qin family's strength once again. After a while, the big brother will personally come to Huadu to teach you some extremely high-quality martial arts techniques. As for women, I still have a granddaughter. The flurry of promises smashed Qin Zhan a little dizzy. Turning his head to look at Yang Ro, he mentally hinted to himself, isn't it just women? Even if she was slept with by Qin Shao Chang, so what? You can still use it again if you wash it. Moreover, listening to the courtier's meaning, it seems that he intends to betroth his granddaughter to himself as compensation, regarding whether a woman was beautiful or not. Qin Zhan actually didn't care that much anymore when he reached this age. What Qin Zhan valued was the relationship with Zhang Gulao. If Pavilion Master Zhang's granddaughter really followed him, then his future in Dashia would be completely bright. Good. Qin Zhan's head flew through a few seconds of thought, and a decision was made in his heart. In order to bring Qing Shao Chang into the picture, Qin Zhan put up a fight. Old Qin. Yang Ro although did not hear what Qin War said on the phone, but look at Qin War face change. The heart has already had an ominous feeling. Qin War this is intended to sacrifice themselves ah. For a woman, this is a great insult. You'll just condescend for a bit. Accompany Qing Shao. Don't worry. I won't care. The muscles on Qin Zhan's face twitched twice. His mouth said he didn't care, but he was so angry that his heart and liver hurt. Son of a bitch. Qin Shao Chang. After you announce that the Qin family is breaking away from the Yi family, your utilization value will be completely lost. At that time, I will tie you up and cut you into pieces with a knife. The hatred of killing my father. The hatred of taking a wife. This is the fiercest hatred in Dasha. Big brother. What are you? Qin Zhan's tawdry maneuver caused all those core disciples of the Qin family present to be stunned. Qin War actually sacrificed even his own wife? This is an order from above. Let's incomparably pull together Qin Xiao. The above gave us 20 Zongshir elixirs, which are already on their way here. Qin Zhan knows that his current decision is actually hurting his majesty, so he directly released a big move. And will the above the reward said part of it out? Ah, patriarchal elixir. That is priced without a market ah. The market to speculate to several billion a one simply cannot buy. Doesn't that mean that we can all break through to Sovereign and become true martial arts powerhouses? When they heard that there was such a precious elixir reward, the crowd's attitude towards Qin Zhan instantly shifted, while the gaze that looked at Yang Ro was filled with a strange attitude. Anti, thank you, your sacrifice will surely make the Qin family a top powerhouse in Grand Xia. We will remember you. Beside Yi Fan, Wan Yao coldly watched Qin Zhan's movements with a pang of contempt in her heart. It's true that like father, like son, Qin Suffer allowed his girlfriend to hook up with another man, while Qin War actually agreed to sacrifice his wife as well for the sake of his family's interests. Qin War, are you still a human being? I'm your wife ah. Yang Ro had an angry face and still wanted to make a final salvation, but Qin War has made a decision. Will not repent. Body a pull Yang Ro's hand, pushed to Yi Fan's embrace. Qin Less, people to you. I promised you things but did. You do not forget what I promised me. Yang Ro sat on her but in Yi Fan's arms and Yifan immediately felt a fragrant breeze on his face. The flavor on the beautiful woman was really different from others. Aunt, look at your little hand. How tender. This chin. Yifan recklessly grabbed Yang Ro's hand and carefully played with it. Such a slutty action. Just like this, was displayed in front of the core disciples of the Qin family S crowd. The crowd felt a fire just about to rush out. Especially Qin Zhan. Although he had already made his decision. His body was trembling when he saw that bastard Yifan actually being so reckless. Abominable. He actually dared to touch his woman. Let go of me. You impudent man. Yang Ro struggled violently in Yi Fan's arms, trying to escape from Yi Fan's arms. But she was a girl. How could she possibly escape from Yi Fan? And, in the struggle, the straps of the dress slipped off, revealing the whiteness within. Shameless? There are even more shameless ones out there. Yi Fan smiled evilly. Now that you're mine, let's not waste time, right? As the words fell, Yi Fan picked up Yang Ro by the waist and turned his head towards Qin Zhan with a somewhat beaten face. Uncle, where is your bedroom? Pust. Qin Zhan straight away felt like he had been viciously stabbed in the chest. 
This guy must have done it on purpose. Holding his wife and asking where the bedroom is? Isn't that a blatant slap in the face? But thinking of Pavilion Master Shang's promise to himself, Jean John held back even the greatest amount of fire. Turn left out the door and go straight for 20 meters. The first room, Jean John almost gritted his teeth and snorted coldly. Good, wait for me for an hour. Yi Fan smiled evilly, his ankle stomped on the ground, and his body directly rushed out towards the door. Yang Ro's voice was still coming from outside. Xin War, you're not a human being. Xin Xiao Chang, let go of me. You, shall not die a good death. Yi Fan held Yang Ro and quickly entered the bedroom room, dropping Yang Ro on the bed. Yang Ro looked at Yi Fan as evil eyes and was apprehensive. What, are you doing? At this time, Yang Ro, her hair was a little messy, and there was a touch of redness on her face, coupled with the clothes slipping off. That kind of charm, it would have been a fatal temptation to men. Yi Fan reached out and hooked Yang Ro's chin. What else do you think a man and a woman, when they come to bed, can do? Fizzle. In Yang Ro's terrified eyes, Yi Fan reached out and grabbed Yang Ro's dress, ripping Yang Ro's dress open. The black bra inside was immediately exposed, and the big phoenix that couldn't be wrapped up inside almost flew out. Yi Fan completely didn't expect that Yang Ro was not young anymore, yet she was still so well maintained. If it was a different person, Yi Fan really wouldn't mind trying it. But between Wang Yao and Wang Yao, there are a few points of accidental becoming, and Yang Ro, even if it is, Yi Fan has other important things to do today, since Zhang Gala's grandson, Zhang Feng, as well as the young lord of the nine sepulchral sanctuaries, Chen Tang, would also be coming to the Qin family compound, how could Yi Fan not prepare some surprises for them Ming and Dark? Ah, don't! Seeing that her clothes had been torn open and her private places had been revealed in front of Yi Fan, Yang Ro shouted loudly with a horrified face, the sound traveled out from the bedroom. And over there in the hall, Qin Zhan and the crowd of core disciples could hear it clearly. Thinking that his wife was actually being bullied by Qin Xiaochang in the bedroom, Qin Zhan closed his eyes in pain, his fists crunching. Damn it, damn it, Qin Xiaochang, I'm going to break you into pieces. But Qin Zhan hadn't thought about the fact that it was entirely he himself who had sent his wife to Qin Xiaochang's bed. In the hall, those other core disciples, although they were a bit angry and squirming, the joy on their faces completely exceeded their sadness when they thought of those pills rewarded from above that could assist them in advancing above the sovereign realm. Big brother, that batch of sovereign pills mentioned above. When will they arrive? And those extremely high grade techniques. Big brother mustn't forget about us. Yes, family master. You can make a great contribution to the Qin family this time. We'll all be thinking of your goodness. The crowd below saw that Qin Zhan's face looked a bit bad. So they all went up to flatter Qin Zhan. All shut up. Scram. Qin Zhan's lungs were about to explode as he listened to his wife's screams. Where would he have the heart to listen to these rainbow farts at this time? Qin Zhan was also a strong person of the Zongshu realm, and although his perception was not as strong as Yi Fan's, he could still clearly hear the movement over there. Yang Ro screams, from the beginning of the violent resistance, to the back seems to have given up resistance, to the back of the wooing sound, has been a little childish. Bitch, has it sunk in so quickly? HM. Qin Zhan reached out and prepared to take a sip from the teacup, but when he saw the green tea leaves in the teacup, he was instantly annoyed and pinched the teacup to burst it. At this moment, Qin Zhan felt like his entire sky was green. But what Qin Zhan didn't know was that in the bedroom, after Yi Fan ripped Yang Ro's clothes apart, he opened Yang Ro's cell phone and forced Yang Ro to scream a few times, recording Yang Ro's voice. What, are you doing? Yang Ro couldn't help but be a little curious when she saw that her clothes had been taken off like this, but Yi Fan had no intention of continuing to do anything. Sleep. Yi Fan didn't open his mouth. A chi surged in his hand, blocking Yang Ro's blood veins and causing Yang Ro to fall asleep. After Yi Fan looped his cell phone, he himself quietly made a few dodges from the back door, left the bedroom, and dodged towards the roof. Yi Fan was going to use this free time to set up the Sage Evil Destroyer formation in the Qin family compound. Hoo hoo! Time was running out, and without any hesitation, Yi Fan began to follow the way inherited from the God and Goddess fragment and began to rapidly conclude the great formation of the sages quietly arranging it in the Qin family compound. Yi Fan's men had set up a large formation in the hall's parlor, but then felt it wasn't enough and set up another one in the compound, followed by another one in the corridor. In half an hour's time, the entire Qin family compound was almost entirely set up with enough sage evil execution formations to have more than two dozen of them. This should be enough, right? Yi Fan took a deep breath as he looked at the Qin family compound in front of him which was already filled with a golden aura. Although he had already inherited that powerful sage evil destroyer formation through the god and goddess fragment, the exact power of the formation was something that Yi Fan had not yet seen, so to be on the safe side, he set up that much more. According to what was said inside the inheritance, 
The sage evil punishing array can purify the evil chong, evil spirits, and evil devils, and for other living beings, it can also achieve the destruction and purification. Today's small test, Yi Fan also wanted to see what effect these formations actually had. With everything set up properly, Yi Fan was now actually somewhat looking forward to Zhang Feng and Nine Spectre's young Lord Chen Tang coming to the Qin family compound. Two core characters could be purified at once, and together with Shen Xiao who had burned to death before, it could be considered as recovering a little bit of interest for those spirits of the Yi family. With the death of three core important figures, those nemeses of the Yi family should have some meat on their bones, right? After doing so, Yi Fan went back to the bedroom and turned off the cell phone recording, then whistled as he walked towards the hall side. In the hall, Xin Zhan and the others were still sitting there with gloomy faces, and when they saw Yi Fan walk into the hall, they resentfully looked up at Yi Fan, but did not open their mouths. When Yi Fan walked to the door, his body intentionally stumbled and almost fell. It was only then that Qin Zhan spoke. Young Qing, what's wrong with you? Is everything alright? N, I'm fine. Just a moment ago too tired. Waste a little sore. Alas, they say there is no plowed ground, only tired cattle. I now finally understand. Uncle Qin, you say it. Pust. Qin War was about to go crazy. On purpose. The son of a bitch must have done it on purpose. Treadmill. That's my land you just plowed. Shit. You're done plowing. And you're still asking me. You are trying to piss me off. But now his wife has lost in. Qin Zhan is not good at the moment to attack. To Qin Xiao Chang to do things. Has not yet begun. Young Qing. Let's talk about what we're going to do next. Right? Qin Zhan didn't pick up on Yi Fan's words. But instead directed the conversation towards the previous cooperation between the Qing family and the Qin family. Yi Fan naturally sat down on the chair and snorted. Our matter? Uncle Qin. What things are you talking about? How come I can't understand some of it? Yi Fan deliberately pretended to be confused. You see, Xin Shou and I are brothers. He was so seriously injured. I risked my life to send him back, promising to take care of her girlfriend. Uncle Qin is also generous. Have to thank me. Even the aunt is so tolerant. Today I am very satisfied. Ah, Uncle Qin's good intentions. I have warmly felt. If Uncle Qin and I are related in any way, we should be considered fellow travelers. Ha ha. Yi Fan blustered for a while, and Qin Zhan's face immediately darkened. God's tramps fellow travelers, who's with you? Young Qing, you can't have forgotten, right? Just now, we had an agreement that the old man would fulfill all of your conditions, and then you promised to announce that you would take the Qing family away from the Yi family and join the Qin family ah? Could it be that your words don't count? A heart of Qin war had completely sunk, he had a feeling that he was being played. Break away from the Yi family? Join the Qin family. Uncle Qin. When did you say that? How come I don't have any impression at all? I only remember Uncle Qin pushed Auntie into his arms. That a touch of style. I was very impressed ah. Uncle Qin. Auntie's right shoulder near the direction of the chest. There are three black moles. You carefully observed it. Extraordinarily added a few points of charm. Yi Fan was the one who never mentioned anything about bringing the Qing family to join the Qin family. But instead, he was holding on to Yang Rose matter. That feeling was like taking a knife and constantly stabbing it against Qin Zhan's chest. Zap one. Zap another. Shut up. Qin Zhan couldn't take it anymore and furiously stood up from his seat to chide. Qin Xiao Chang. You're just going to deny your debt after you've eaten it all? You just clearly promised to bring the Qin family to join the Qin family after the incident. And now that my wife has been possessed by you, you actually want to back out? Tell. You're spreading your wildness in the wrong place. Yi Fan took a sip of the tea on the table and spoke evilly. Qin War. I'm not happy when you say that. Think back carefully. Just now when you said about the Qing family joining the Qing family. When did I ever open my mouth? When did I promise to bring the Qing family to join the Qing family? It's always been you beeping yourself there. Why should I honor my promise when I didn't even open my mouth about what I promised? Xiao Yao. The video that I asked you to record just now. Did you record it? As Yi Fan spoke, he said towards Wang Yao by his side. It's all recorded. At that time, when Yi Fan asked Wang Yao to record a video. Wang Yao still didn't know what Yi Fan's purpose was in asking him to record a video. Now Wang Yao finally understood. So Yi Fan was waiting for Qin suffer here? Hi, it's really high. Yi Fan had not only tricked Qin Zhan, he had also played his wife for nothing. This was enough for Qin War to suffer. Wang Yao had been to the Qin family before and was very clear about the arrangement of the Qin family. Responding to Yi Fan, she skillfully opened the large screen in the hall and then dropped the video recorded on her cell phone onto the screen. Young Qing, as long as you promise to lead the Qin family to join the Qin family, I can fulfill any condition you want. Can you really fulfill any conditions? I see auntie, is very charming. A video has been played. The video is indeed only Qin Zhan's own performance. 
Ching Xiao Chang did not have any commitment and promise. Uncle Qin, you saw it, right? I from the beginning to the end, did not agree to any of your claims, you were so generous to push the ant into my arms, I was still weirdly embarrassed, but the taste is really good. Pust, Qin Zhan really wanted to explode in place. Nima, you're still embarrassed? Where are you embarrassed? Lean, Qin Xiao Chang, I can see now that you have no intention to fulfill your promise, right? Qin Zhan stared at Ji Fan with a gloomy face. Since that's the case, then don't blame me for not being polite. Come on people, send young Qing to where he should go. At this moment, Qin Zhan felt as bad as eating a fly. He himself, the head of the Qin family, was actually tricked by a milquetoast kid, and his wife was slept with for nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. When he thought of this, Qin Zhan hated to break Yi Fan into pieces. With Qin Shou's rebuke, a large group of battlesword dragging martial arts powerhouses instantly poured in outside the room, among which there were several experts at the Zongshir level. Seeing such an array of the Qin family, Wang Yao by Yi Fan's side was a bit nervous. Brother, this, when he was in the hotel, Wang Yao had seen Yi Fan's power, but only partially. The last person to make a move on Qin Shou was Yamada Keiko, and Wang Yao was still not quite sure how powerful Yi Fan was. According to the previous information, Yi Fan had already reached the Zongshir level before he became demented. If one or two sect master powerhouses appeared in the Qin family, Yi Fan might still be able to deal with them. But with so many sect master powerhouses appearing all at once, Wang Yao wasn't sure if Yi Fan could deal with them. Don't worry, Yi Fan reached out and pinched Wang Yao. This little hand, so soft, although it was a mistake to be his woman, but it can't just be thrown around. Qing Xiao Chang, I'll give you one last chance. It's still too late for you to promise to announce that you will take the Qing family away from the Yi family and join the Qing family. I can pretend that nothing happened before. Qin War looked at so many of his martial arts experts surrounding Yi Fan in the center. The muscles on his face twitched a few times as he stared at Yi Fan with a cold face. Qin Zhan wanted to force Qin Xiao Chang into submission in this way. However, Yi Fan had come today to cause trouble. So naturally, he wasn't afraid of making things a little bigger. My sister has already married my brother-in-law. It's impossible for the Qin family to break away from the Yi family. But I'll also give you one last chance. Now kneel down in front of me and repent for your behavior. Repent that you shouldn't have made a move against the Yi family. I can plead with my brother-in-law. And maybe I can still leave you guys alive. Yi Fan's action made Qin Shou laugh. Kneeling down for you to repent? Qin Shao Chang, what do you think you are? To let you represent the Qin family is to think highly of you. How can you still represent the Yi family? You're right. I can really represent the Yi family. At the same time as the Qin family. Yi Fan smiled evilly, then reached out and kneaded his face a few times, instantly returning to Yi Fan's original appearance. Today, from the moment Yi Fan stepped through the door of the Qin family, Everyone here was sentenced to death by Yi Fan, so Yi Fan wasn't afraid of being exposed in front of them. Ah, transfiguration? You're not Qing Xiao Chang. You're Yi Fan. Crap. Qin Zhan looked at the situation in front of him all stunned. The whole person is stiff in place. That stupid young master of the Yi family. It turns out that he really isn't stupid at all? No wonder Qin Zhan suddenly realized that Qing Xiao Chang has become so smart. My ex, Yi Fan? How is this possible? Isn't that guy an idiot? Nima. This time the game is big. Yi Fan actually slept with Qin Battle's wife. This spreads out. That Qin family can be a big disgrace ah. Uh, eh, this isn't just a disgrace to the Qin family. Even those bigwigs behind the Qin family are disgraced. Yeah, to the outside world. Yi Fan was still a fool. A fool who has slept with someone's wife. That shows how stupid those nemeses of the Yi family must be under their command. That's right, I am Yi Fan. A flash of viciousness flashed in Yi Fan's eyes as his figure flashed and in the blink of an eye. He had already arrived in front of Qin Zhan. Qin Zhan didn't even react to what was going on. Yi Fan had already taken the cell phone from him. Humph. At that time, when your Qin family betrayed the Yi family, did you think that there would be today? Qin Zhan's cell phone had videos about those murderers who went after second brother. So for insurance purposes, Yi Fan naturally had to get his hands on the cell phone first. Participating in the assassination of me five years ago, and participating in the Yi family's extermination plan five years later. Qin family, None of them will live today. Yi Fan swept his eyes sharply around. At this moment, Yi Fan was not afraid at all. Because Guo Li and Yu Chang had already brought people to blockade the entire Qin family. All cell phone signals had been blocked. All the information here. It can't get through. You. You. Qin Zhan perceived that Yi Fan snatched his cell phone without moving. His own strength of the Zong Master Realm. Actually did not feel anything. A heart. Complete despair. Fell into the ice cellar. Yi Fan's strength was definitely not just the Zongshu realm as stated on the intelligence. Moreover, Yi Fan was clearly no longer a fool, pretending to be a fool for so many years. 
His strength was at least above the martial Zun realm. It had even reached the martial emperor level. If that was the case, then even if young master Zhang Feng and young master Nine Spectres came, they wouldn't necessarily be Yi Fan's opponents. Ah, hand over the list of names within the Heavenly Dragon Army, and I'll give you a pain in the ass. Coming to the Qin family, the information Yi Fan wanted to know was pretty much known. Torturing Qin Zhang mentally had also achieved its goal. The son was wasted, and his girlfriend was robbed. The wife was also possessed by his own enemy. With such a grudge, and Qin Zhan is estimated to die without resting in peace. You dream. At this moment, Qin Zhan finally sort of reacted and regained his sobriety. Hearing Yi Fan's words, he coldly grunted and directly refused. Those generals secretly contacted in the Tianlong army were all done secretly and quietly. A top secret program. If the news was exposed, it would inevitably be pulling out the carrot and bringing in the mud and would completely destroy the network of relationships that the Qin family and the affiliated families had been operating for years. This is Yi Fan. Let's all go together and get him killed. If we don't get him dead, all of us will die. Qin War, after all, as the head of the Qin family, after a slight moment of contemplation, he immediately reacted and frantically greeted all the core disciples of the Qin family in the hall, intending to kill Yi Fan directly on the spot. But these core disciples of the Qin family, the strongest of them were only strong at the Zongshu realm. So how could they be Yi Fan's opponents? Moreover, Yi Fan had also set up the sage evil destroying formation inherited from the god and goddess fragment here. Being at the peak of the martial emperor's sixth grade, dealing with this trash was nothing more than a matter of moving his fingers. However, Yi Fan wanted to verify the power of the formation. So he just sat calmly in place. His finger just gently drew an arc in the air. Kai, such a lighthearted action was simply contempt for those martial arts powerhouses around them. Humph, Yi Fan. Do you think you're an immortal? You can kill us all by making an immortal spell? Yi Fan, let you be arrogant. Today is the day you die. All the core disciples of the Qin family swarmed up and surrounded Yi Fan in the center of the group as their martial chi exploded. But everyone was also still a little afraid of Yi Fan's sudden outburst. So they were all just at a distance of one Zhang away from Yi Fan. Their mouths screaming and growling and taunting. But they didn't dare to directly rush up to give away their heads. Yi Fan, Give up resisting. Do you think that my Qin family didn't make any preparations if I dared to let you in today? Qin Zhan waved his hand at the surrounding crowd, and all those archers hidden in the shadows rushed out, crossbows and arrows in their hands, all of them locking onto Yi Fan in unison. No matter how strong you are, even if you reach the martial Zun realm, you can't carry so many crossbows and arrows together, can you? Will battle will also tire you to death. What are you trying to do by waving your wrist? Do you think you can kill people just by waving your fingers? Do you think you are a strong person at the level of a martial emperor? Qin War saw so many of his men as well as archers rushing out. His heart was a little bit more at ease, and he started to fool around again. And there's still young Zhang bringing the young lord of the nine specters today. If you can walk out of here all right, I'll call kneeling down and calling you my own father. However, Qin Zhan just said half of the words. The sight of the assistant full of panic interrupted Qin Zhan. Family master. Out of a big event. Brothers. You see. Qin Zhan's heart thumped and he turned his head towards the crowd, only to realize that a golden aura enveloped the entire hall as Yi Fan's movements were performed. And in an instant, those archers around who were ready to make a move, nostrils, eye sockets, ears, and mouths, instantly began to flow out thick blood. Then the whole person began to decay at a speed visible to the eyes under the erosion of that golden stream of light. In less than three seconds, those archer powerhouses, after the golden stream of light swept by, instantly whirred into pieces and dissipated in the hall with the wind, as if they had never been here, from far to near. All living beings, including a cat that flashed by on the balcony, did not escape the golden stream of light that engulfed them. Then there were those Korchin family experts surrounding Yi Fan in the hall, who had also noticed something strange around them at that moment. Seeing such a bizarre scene, all of them were scared silly, frantically urging their chi, they wanted to flee and leave the hall. But the entire hall was blocked off by Yi Fan's formation and there were streams of light fluctuating everywhere, and a single thought from Yi Fan could make them disappear instantly, so where could they escape to? After a wave of dead core disciples, those strong people left in the Qin family no longer dared to move casually, and could only stay quietly in place, looking at Yi Fan with a terrified expression. Yi Xiao, I, we were wrong, it's none of our business ah, uh, it's Qin Zhan, all the plans of the Qin family, it's all arranged by Qin Zhan, right, Xiao Yi. There is a head for grievances and a head for debts. If Xiao Yi wants to take revenge, look for Qin Zhan, and beg Xiao Yi to let us go as if we were a fart. Those core disciples of the Qin family, after noticing Yi Fan's astounding means, had a 180 degree turn in attitude, all frantically kneeling down to beg for forgiveness. 
There were even a few core disciples of the Qin clan who stood up and leapt to their feet. Young Yi, if it's convenient for you to do it, how about we do it? Take down Qin War and let him give thanks to Xiao Yi? The one who led the opening was Qin Battle's own brother. Qin Ming, assholes. Qin Zhan saw the situation in front of him and roared loudly in anger. You guys are stupid. Do you think that Ji Fan will let you go just like that? Dream on. Shut up you. Qin Zhan was still chortling when a distant nephew of the Qin family beside him took a mop and shoved it directly into Qin Zhan's mouth. And several other core disciples of the Qin family swarmed up, pulling out the daggers on their bodies and stabbing at Qin Zhan's Dantian. Put, put. Qin Zhan hadn't reacted to what was going on yet. His Dantian had been wasted and his entire body had lost its martial chi. And he was being escorted by a group of Qin family core disciples in death, pressing and kneeling in front of Yi Fan. Look Yi Xiao, I've already taken down Qin battle for you. What do you want to do with it? Just give us a word. We can do it for you. A group of Qin family's core disciples were extremely flattering and pleasing, respectfully kneeling down towards Yi Fan, not daring to utter a single breath. The strength Yi Fan had shown was too terrifying. What happened to the arrogance you guys had just now? Didn't you say that I wouldn't be able to walk out of here standing up? Didn't you say that I was looking for the wrong place to be wild? Yi Fan looked at the group evilly. Now that I'm spreading my wildness, what do you guys want? In fact, Yi Fan was also shocked inwardly. He completely did not expect that the prophet's evil destroyer formation actually had such a strong power. A formation can be activated to directly purify so many core disciples of the Qin family to disappear. And in the Qin family compound, there were dozens of formations set up Ah, If they were all unleashed together, would Zhang Feng, the grandson of pavilion master Zhang, and Chen Tang, the young master of the nine specters, come and be purified directly as well? Yi Xiao, we were wrong. Just now it was our mouths that were cheap. Our dog's eyes looking down on others. Right. It's an honor for us to have Young Yi come to the Qin family. How can we say it's a spill? We deserve to fight. We deserve to die. Those core disciples of the Qin family, while self-reflecting, kept waving their hands and slapping themselves. A few core members also didn't forget to take care of Qin Zhang, and came at Qin Zhang's mouth ruthlessly a few times as well, beating Qin Zhang's nose and face, together with the blood flowing from his belly. Qin Zhang's face was pale and his body was shaking to collapse. A bunch of stupid pigs. Fools. Are your brains being eaten by dogs? Qin War looked at the Qin family these incompetent core disciples. Lungs are about to explode with anger. You guys engaged in forgetting. Zhang Pavilion Elder's grandson and the Nine Spectres to study. Is the Nine Spectres Holy Lord's disciple under the banner of the Nine Spectres? Has brought the Nine Spectres young masters. Is about to come to the Qin family. You guys in such a hurry to do what? You guys. These fools. As long as they held on a little longer. When Zheng Feng and Chen Tang came, wouldn't they have a chance to turn the tide? The nine Sephiroths of the four great sacred grounds had such evil means, and the strength of both Chen Tang and Zhang Feng had even reached the martial Zun realm a long time ago, and coupled with those evil means of the nine Sephiroths, their combat power could even reach the level of martial emperors. Two great masters united, can't they kill Yi Fan? At that time, the Qin family will still be a credit to the above Ah. And these stupid pigs of the Qin family were so impatient that they made a direct move against themselves as the head of the family. Bu, Qin Ming, the younger brother of Qin Zhan, was afraid that Qin Zhan would continue to open his mouth and anger Yi Fan. So he directly took off his shoes and ruthlessly stuffed them into Qin Zhan's mouth. Xiao Yi, now he is much quieter. On behalf of the Qin family, I sincerely apologize like Xiao Yi. All the industries of the Yi family, I am willing to unconditionally transfer all of them to Xiao Yi. I only beg Xiao Yi to leave us alive how? Seeing Yi Fan appearing in the Qin family in the guise of Qin Xiao Chang, Qin Ming had an ominous feeling in his heart. Yi Fan actually didn't have dementia. It was highly likely that, five years ago, Yi Fan was already in a lucid state. After five years of development, with Yi Fan's demonic talent, what realm had Yi Fan's strength reached? Cloud City's Zhao family, Wang family, Li family, and so many vassal families and experts arranged by the Dragon Sect and Pavilion Elder Zhang. All failed to take down the Yi family, and all of them were countered by Yi Fan. What does it say about the key that there's no information on it at all? It showed how terrifying Yi Fan was. A Qin family, against a foolish Yi Fan, might still have a hope of winning, but against a sober Yi Fan, it was a complete death wish. Oh, yes, all unconditional transfer? Yi Fan's eyebrows jumped a bit, seemingly a bit interested. Without any hesitation, Qin Ming took the official seal out from his elder brother Qin Zhan ordered his men to print out a contract, stamped it on the spot, signed it, and then respectfully handed it to Yi Fan. Xiao Yi, this is the Qin family's utmost sincerity. Seeing that Yi Fan had taken the contract all in his hands, Qin Ming's heart finally let out a secret sigh of relief. Can we finally get away with this? Big brother, 
Sorry about that. For the continuation of the Qin family, I can only sacrifice you. I don't want to die. Moreover, at that time in Zhang Gulao and other people collusion was originally Qin Zhan leading, and now with the tragic end, by Qin Zhan to bear, but also rightfully so. Yi Fan took the contract in his hand and looked at it for a few moments before handing it to Wang Yao by his side, and then continued to speak to Qin Ming. If I destroy the entire Qin family, do you guys think that these Qin family's properties are still going to belong to me? Since that's the case, what difference does it make if you transfer it or not? Yi Fan's sentence instantly made Qin Ming's body as if he was doused with cool water. Even his heart was cold. Yi Xiao. You. Qin Ming could sort of hear that Yi Fan meant that he had no intention of letting go of everyone in the Qin family ah. Oh. Beside him, Qin Zhan struggled like crazy in the hands of a few core disciples, seemingly accusing Qin Ming of his stupid behavior. But what I'm interested in is the covert operatives that the Qin family has developed in the Heavenly Dragon Army. If I can get Qin Battle to write down the list, I might consider it. The main reason why Yi Fan even came to the Qin family today to spend so much time talking was because of the list of cronies that the Qin family operated in the Tianlong army. Ah, uh, Qin Ming's heart had already dropped to the ice cellar. When he heard these words from Yi Fan, he instantly rekindled his hope again. Quick, let's all do it together. The core disciples of the Qin family hurriedly pulled the shoes out of Qin Zhan's mouth again and began to torture him. Big brother, you'd better hand over the list of names in the Heavenly Dragon Army quickly, or else all of us will have to die. Dream on. Ha ha ha. Ouch. Don't burp me. Ha ha ha. Ah. Numb nuts. Don't pull my hair. You guys are crazy. What? You guys actually tried to burn it with a lighter. Are you still human? Qin Zhan was pressed to the ground and given a painful torture, enduring a completely inhuman encounter. The key is, the one who made the move was still a core disciple of the Qin family, which made it even more difficult for Qin Zhan. Ah 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 ah. But a few moments of effort. Qin War's hair are not burned out. The egg is also broken, Qin War are dying, I will not tell you the list even if I die, you don't want to, think about it. Seeing that Qin Zhan had been tortured to such an extent, and still did not give a list of the names of those who had developed hidden lines in the Tianlong army, Yi Fan could not help but raise his eyebrows, looks like you'll have to move a bit yourself. Yeah, I'm afraid it's not something you can just not say if you want to. Yi Fan dodged forward and reached out to grab Qin Zhan's head, 7 star soul destroying hand. The Seven Star Soul Destroyer was the inherited means that Yi Fan had obtained from the Dragon Ring, and the strong spiritual power was a powerful means of entering the mental realm of the target host and controlling the host. Feeling Yi Fan's movements, a flash of fear surfaced on Qin Zhan's face while he was puzzled. What do you want to do? Just by hearing the name, it felt like the means Yi Fan was going to use must be very terrifying. There are some secrets in Qin Zhan's head that can't be told even if they are killed off. Ah. However, as Yi Fan ran his Qi, after the ancient and simple breath entered into Qin Zhan's body, the spirit of Qin Zhan's head was instantly subjected to a powerful and incomparable pounding force of suppression, and the whole person was instantly controlled by Yi Fan. Tell me, who were the people involved in the attack at that time? Yi Fan spoke softly, but the words were God's words to Qin Zhan's ears. At that time, those who participated in the attack on Yi Ling Jun were my Qin family, the He family, Lu Ran, Lu Zijian, as well as Zhou Yao, the vice commander of the Xuan Wu War Zone and Muto, the vice president of the East Ing Black Clothes Society. At this moment, Qin Zhan was not at all under his own control, and said everything he knew. There were so many families involved, all of which Yi Fan hadn't expected. Several of these families were even involved in the meeting of the first family alliance held by Grandpa some time ago, Provincial Su Jia. Another question, in the Heavenly Dragon Army, aside from your Qin family being secretly active, which other families are active? The Heavenly Dragon Army was the root of the Yi family. Anything else could go wrong anywhere else, but nothing could go wrong on the side of the Heavenly Dragon Army. Inside the Sky Dragon Army, a purge must come. This I'm not too clear. We are all subject to Zhang Gulao direct orders. Know the specific action list. Maybe only Zhang Gulao. Our Qin family activities are not much of a list. There are only a few thousands of captains, as well as a handful of a few ten thousand captains. The list is, Qin Yutian, Li Erfeng. Qin War had a somewhat struggling look on his face. It had reached the depths of his thinking. These lists were the highest level of core secrets in Qin Zhan's head, as his body was convulsing violently under Yi Fan's powerful spiritual pressure. Yi Fan coldly glanced at Qin Zhan. Damn Qin family. It turned out that ten years ago all participated in the extermination plan against the Yi family. Cabinet leader Zhang and those behind him have been planning this long enough. If it wasn't for the fact that he had obtained the dragon ring by mistake, inherited the Tianji pavilion, and happened to awaken at the critical time of five years. The Yi family would have become a thing of the past by now. I'm afraid? Other than these, 
Do you know what other latest plans they have? Yi Fan was already planning to let go of Qin Zhan and casually inquired, but he didn't expect to ask about another piece of news that made Yi Fan tremble with fear. The other. I also heard from a friend in the East Japan. They are planning to set up an ambush in a canyon on the southeast coast tonight to ambush Yu Linglong. The no. One female martial god of Disya, and there will be people in the Xuan Wu war zone who will provide the appropriate information. Aha! Uh -huh. When Yi Fan heard this news, the hairs of sweat all over his body couldn't help but instantly root up. Jade Linglong? Isn't that his first wife? When she left from Cloud City, Yu Linglong had told Yi Fan that she was going to the southeastern border area to deal with those invading eastern Ning dogs. And now that so many experts from the Black Clothes Society and the General's House had colluded with big shots at such a high level as pavilion leader Tang Zhang, it was naturally much easier to sneak into Dashia. Yu Linglong and the others who were guarding the border were still unaware of it. Plus within the Xuan Wu war zone, the vice commander Zhou Yao had already defected. So Yu Linglong was in danger. Yi Fan felt the talismans that he had given to Yu Linglong at that time. Fortunately the talismans were now intact. In other words, Yu Linglong was safe for the time being. It seemed that after taking care of the Qin family's side of things, it was imperative to quickly enter the border of the Xuan Wu war zone and find Yu Linglong, his own first wife, who had stood up to support the Yi family in such a critical situation, naturally couldn't let anything happen to her. Pust. After Yi Fan loosened Qin Zhan, Qin Zhan couldn't help but spray a mouthful of blood directly out. Oh my god, what have I said? Mother. Although Qin Zhan was controlled by Yi Fan, he still had some knowledge of his words and actions. Just now. Qin Zhan clearly knew that he had given an account of all the bigwigs behind him. Where does this himself live? Yi Fan is now in an awakened state, and his strength is over the martial Zun realm. Ah, if Zheng Feng and Chen Tang can't keep Yi Fan here today, then if the Yi family starts to purge up, won't all those people suffer? Master, they are here. If you need support, Master call me anytime. Oh, Yi Fan was worrying if Zheng Feng and Chen Tang would come, when the soft voice of Yamada Keiko suddenly came from his earphone. Keiko Yamada was nearby with Yi Chang while acting as a lookout. Good, Yi Fan couldn't help but tremble in his heart. This goblin, a mix of Easterning and Dasha, with a mouthful of a master, was too seductive. HM, sooner or later, I'll let you know how powerful this young man is. As for support, Yi Fan naturally didn't need it. Yu Chang, the head of the Tianji Pavilion's assassin hall, was a strong person at the level of a martial emperor, so he lurked around the Qin family's compound with his strong men, in case Yi Fan was in any danger they would be the first to show up. Besides, just now, Yi Fan had already witnessed the power of the Prophet's evil execution formation. Zhang Feng and the Nine Spectre's young lord came. Even if they didn't die, they would have to take off their skins. As for Yi Fan's life, I'm afraid it wouldn't be that easy. Outside the Qin family's compound gate, Zhang Feng and Chen Tang got down from the car and glanced at the Qin family's gate. Chen Tang said with some complaints, Zhang Feng, it's not that I'm talking about you, I really can't understand you guys. Why you have to recruit a group of such trashy clans and come to deliberate at the Qin family? According to me, what's there to deliberate? Isn't it just a Yi fan? Just do it directly and be done with it. The ten core disciples of the Yi family have all been resolved. And in the end, there is still a fool and old thing left. And you guys haven't even gotten rid of them yet even after going through so much effort. To actually have to resort to those vassal clans of the Yi family to hold them back. It's really too trashy. The one who opened his mouth was none other than the Nine Spectre's young Lord Chen Tang who was already a powerhouse at the martial Zun realm in less than 30. Among the younger generation of the four holy lands, it was also a demonic talent-like existence. Young Chen, the situation in the mundane world is not the same as the ancient martial world, it's very complicated, and there are some things that can't be solved just by fighting and killing. Zhang Feng was also a bit helpless, but now it's better. With Xiao Chen in attendance, we can definitely take care of the Yi family easily this time, but for the mission we came here for today. We should first and foremost take care of that youngest member of the Qing family, so that the Qing family can break away from the Yi family, and first complete grandpa's mission to give those allies of the Yi family a little color. As Zhang Feng and Shen Tang stepped forward and prepared to enter the compound, Zhang Feng suddenly halted his progress and frowned. Young Chen, do you have a feeling that the situation in the Qing family's compound is a bit off? Why do I feel that there is a formation that can restrain our feats running? The Qing family shouldn't have any ambushes, right? It had to be said that Zhang Feng was very cautious. After all, Zhang Feng was also at the strength of the martial Zun realm, and his strength was still good as he followed the Nine Sephiroth sacred lord to study. But Nine Spectre's young lord Chen Tang was too arrogant. He he, what can the formations of the mundane world do to us? We are two brothers, two great martial honorable masters, we can walk sideways in the secular world, can't we? Even if those old things, martial emperor level experts step in, 
they may not be able to keep us. Afraid of chicken hair? Let's do it. Chen Tang grew up in the Nine Sepulchral Sacred Land, because his old man was the Sacred Lord. So those big men and strong men in the Sacred Land, they all gave in to Chen Tang. Even if there were times when they fought they didn't dare to use their full strength. Chen Tang grew up with a very smooth life, with basically no failures in his life. However, Zhang Feng's grandfather was Zhang Gulao, who had climbed up step by step in Dasha and had seen too many plots and tricks, so he was much more cautious. Chen Xiao, it's better for us to be cautious. Call Qin Zhan and ask him to come out and pick us up. Zhang Feng pulled Chen Tang back as he reached out and pulled out the cell phone on his body. It had to be said that Zhang Feng was really too cautious. He had already sensed that something was wrong with the Qin family compound, so he decided that it would be better to let Qin Zhan come out for a trip to ascertain the Qin family's situation before doing so. Before coming to Huadu, Grandpa had already explained the situation in Cloud City. Captain Chu Feng is also the strength of the Martial Zun realm, and when he made a move against the Yi family, he led the team with so many Zhengshu powerhouses, and all of them were killed. Although the outside world said that it was the people of the Wandering Soul who had made a move, but the specific realities of the situation were how it was, and Zhang Delay was not clear at all. Together with so many things that have happened in Cloud City recently, up until yesterday, Tang Zhang's grandson Xin Xiaoxia was killed in Huadu. All the things are linked together. Both Pavilion Elder Zhang and Pavilion Elder Tang Zhang don't dare to take the Yi family lightly at all anymore. Although the ten core disciples of the Yi family had all fallen, the Yi family's heritage was still not to be underestimated. Moreover, Pavilion Master Zhang was already very skeptical that Yi Fan had awakened. If Yi Fan had awakened, five years ago he was at the strength of the Zongshu realm, and with his demonic talent, five years later there was no way to know exactly what strength Yi Fan was. You ah, are too timid. Really, forget it, just listen to you. Although Chen Tang was a bit upset. He did listen to Zhang Feng's words and did not continue to walk towards the inside of the Qin family compound. Before leaving the Holy Land, Pops had explained that after entering the mundane world, when it came to major matters, he had to listen to Zhang Feng. The Nine Sephiroth Sacred Lord knew that this good oldest son of his lacked a nerve, while Zhang Feng was a much more meticulous thinker. No signal? Strange. Zhang Feng took his cell phone out and tried several times, realizing that his cell phone actually didn't have any signal. This shouldn't be? Huadu is the core city of southwest China. The infrastructure facilities do very well, which is equivalent to a prosperous downtown. How can there be no signal? Zhang Feng began to doubt even more in his heart. After all, before, the Qin family was a vassal family of the Yi family. Although 10 years ago, Grandpa had begun to lay out a plan to bring the Qin family together. What if the Qin family was the Yi family's undercover agent? And what if they joined forces with the Yi family to ambush themselves? Zhang Feng was all set to not go in today. After Yi Fan learned from Keiko Yamada that Zhang Feng and Chen Tang had come, he dodged to the door with Wang Yao and secretly observed Zhang Feng and Chen Tang. It was discovered that these two people had been wandering around and actually did not enter the Qin family compound. This was an emergency for Yi Fan. Zhang Feng and Chen Tang were both two peak martial Zun powerhouses and had life preserving cards on their bodies, so it shouldn't be much of a problem for Yi Fan to take them down with his strength hands, but using the power of an array is naturally much more reliable. Now how to guide them into those dozens of formations in the Qin family compound? Zhang Feng had begun to suspect that something had happened to the Qin family, and normal means would definitely not work. After Yi Fan's head pondered for a moment, the corner of his mouth curled up and he thought of a method. Stay here and don't move. I'll go out for a while. After Yi Fan greeted Wang Yao, his face reverted to a blank look as he stepped towards the main door. Catch butterflies hello? Catch butterflies hello? You all don't grab it from me. At this moment, Yi Fan was a living fool. While gesturing in the air to catch a butterfly, he ran towards the front door. Crap, how come Yi Fan? Yi Fan is also in the Qin family? The moment Yi Fan appeared, Zhang Feng immediately noticed Yi Fan. His pupils dilated for a moment, while a touch of delight surfaced in his eyes. The top wants Yi Fan's life desperately now. Grandpa had said that the price had been set from above, and whoever could take Yi Fan's life, those people behind Grandpa could give an absolutely high position. A position that could even be stronger than even the position of the royal family of the Grand Xia. It would also provide any resources needed to break through the martial saint realm. Yi Fan, isn't it that fool from the Yi family? The one that you all want to get killed day and night, actually delivered to the front of your eyes. Isn't this the chance to do it? Chen Tang was rubbing his fists a bit. Zhang Feng, let's do it together. Don't hesitate. Directly kill him, lest the night is long and dreamy. Although Zhang Feng had always been cautious. When he thought of the trouble that Yi Fan had brought to his grandfather and those bigwigs behind him, as well as the rewards that the bigwigs had promised, Zhang Feng also began to see his eyes glowing with gold. At this moment, Yi Fan, in front of Zhang Feng, that was completely a walking treasure trove. Yes, 
Zheng Feng answered. His powerful perception fell towards the surroundings and did not detect any other experts lurking around. His heart was completely relieved, and he urged his martial chi and then planned to make a move on Yi Fan. Phew! After a cracking sound, before Zhang Feng could even react to what was going on, Yi Fan's body suddenly rushed directly in front of Zhang Feng. Pop! Yi Fan raised his hand and slapped Zhang Feng directly on his face. Bah! What do you guys want to do? Want to kill my butterfly? Dream! I tell you, all of you don't want to steal the butterfly. From me, Zheng Feng felt the fiery pain on his face and went crazy. Tramp, who wants to kill your broken butterfly? Laozi is trying to. I'm trying to kill you. However, looking at Yi Fan's appearance, he was obviously in a state of dementia. So if he himself was bothered with him, wouldn't he be proving that he was also a fool? Yi Fan, come over here. I'll help you catch butterflies together. Okay? Look, I have a lot of butterflies here. While Zheng Feng enticed Yi Fan with his mouth, he made a wink towards Chen Tang next to him, intending that the two of them would move forward and backward and make a move on Yi Fan together. Really? Where's the butterfly now? A smile of surprise surfaced on Yi Fan's face as he quickly folded over, seemingly not even noticing Chen Tang's movements behind him. Pust! Just when Zhang Feng thought that his plan was going to succeed, Yi Fan suddenly moved, lifting his foot and violently kicking it towards Zhang Feng's crotch. Humph! You lied to me! There's no butterflies at all! You're all liars! Liars! Hum! Ah, crap, my balls. Zheng Feng instantly felt a watermelon cracking sound coming from his crotch. His egg was definitely broken. The pain that drilled through his heart made Zheng Feng couldn't help but reach out and cover his crotch in death. And that's not all. You're all liars, not playing with you anymore. While Yi Fan screamed from his mouth, he reached out and violently grabbed Zheng Feng's hair with a yank. Fizzle. After a crunching sound, Zheng Feng's hair and even his scalp were torn a piece of. What was even more annoying was that Yi Fan actually reached out and poked one of Zhang Feng's eyes, which instantly reddened and swelled while the eyeballs were almost broken. I ex your mother. Stop right there. Don't run. After Yi Fan finished this, he ran towards the Qin family compound. At this time, Zhang Feng couldn't care less. He activated his martial arts qi and started to chase Yi Fan madly. Zhang Feng, wait a minute. You just said that there's something wrong with the Qin family compound. Ah, let's not be impulsive. When Chen Tang saw Zhang Feng going crazy, he quickly reached out and pulled Zhang Feng to a stop, trying to stop him. Look, Yi Fan suddenly appeared in the Qin family compound, while the Qin family head didn't even show up. That's very problematic. Besides, with your hallowed strength of the martial Zun realm, Yi Fan can actually slap you and kick you in the balls, yet you can't dodge. That's very abnormal. Although Chen Tang was usually out of tune, at this moment, he was enlightened as if he had analyzed the situation that was out of place. The most critical thing is that none of the cell phones at the scene could be dialed. Something must have happened to the Qin family. Unfortunately, at this moment, Zhang Feng, whose balls had been shattered by the kick, and whose entire being was already out of control, how could he care about so much? Let go of me. Lousy's eggs are broken. What's the use of having this life? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. I'm going to kill him. For the sake of practicing hard, Zhang Feng but several times faced with the very best women, all forcing himself to hold back ah. Uh. This time, when he came back from the Nine Spectres, Zhang Feng was prepared to come to Huadu to relax and unwind, but as a result, he was already wasted before he even started. The Zhang family had three generations of single heirlooms, and if Zhang Feng was wasted, then the Zhang family would be extinct. Zhang Feng forcibly struggled out of Chen Tang's hands, and with a stomp of his ankle, he needed to quickly rush in towards the inside of the Qin family compound. Chen Tang helplessly glanced at Zhang Feng's back, finally gritting his teeth. He could only follow along helplessly. But intuition told Chen Tang that today, the Qin family compound seemed like a dragon's den, a place of uncertainty. Chen Tang had just stepped into the Qin family's compound when the gate of the compound automatically closed. At the same time, a pressure like that of Tarzan was madly pressing down towards the top of Chen Tang's head, and Chen Tang instantly felt that a force that made him very uncomfortable was madly invading his body. Zhang Feng. Chen Tang called out to Zhang Feng in front of him, trying to call Zhang Feng to stop. However, at this moment, Zhang Feng was as fast as lightning as if he had been injected with chicken blood, and he hurriedly continued to rush towards the inside of the Qin family hall. Are you all finally here? If you guys don't come in, I'll really have to put in some effort if I want to get you all killed. As Chen Tang followed suit and rushed into the hall, he heard Yi Fan's booming voice ringing out in the hall. Yi Fan sat at the main upper head of the hall, crossing his legs and staring at Chen Tang and Zhang Feng with an evil face. The sharp eyes seemed as if they were trying to penetrate the souls of the two men. With such a scene, Chen Tang was surprised. Young Zhang, what are you doing? Don't you want to make a move on Yi Fan? Hurry up and do it. What's the holdup? At this time, Zhang Feng next to him had a bitter face. 
while his heart was full of shock, I also want to do it ah, Chen Xiao, but I can't move, it's too bizarre, Chen Xiao hurriedly think of a way to withdraw, the hall is decorated with formations, Zheng Feng finally came to his senses at this time, chortling with a terrified face, trying to remind Chen Tang to escape, Chen Tang reacted very quickly, and when he heard Zhang Feng's words, he stopped his ankle and tried to escape from the hall, but Qi Fan was the one who had set up dozens of Xian Xian evil destroying formations throughout the Qin family, so how could he allow the two to escape so easily? Up, Yi Fan just gently waved his hand, and the powerful ancient aura catalyzed the evil execution formation to activate, and powerful streams of light began to stir, seemingly forming a substantial air like flowing water around Chen Tang. Every smiling movement Chen Tang made inside seemed to be met with great resistance, and he basically couldn't move. Ah, this, Chen Tang now somewhat understood why Zhang Feng said he couldn't move, so everything was Yi Fan's doing? Crap, Zhang Xiao, you guys got your intelligence wrong, Yi Fan guy is not a fool. Nega, we've all been tricked, Chen Tang roared with some hindsight, the martial chi on his body was still fluctuating crazily, trying to struggle off, but it was of no use at all, Zhang Feng stared at Yi Fan, his eyes full of resentment, I didn't expect it, Yi Fan, you actually hit it so deeply, Zhang Feng glanced at the scene, a large portion of the Qin family's core disciples in the hall had already been cleared by the evil execution formation, and there was still a portion of all of them obediently kneeling on the ground with a terrified look on their faces, there was no need to think that the entire Qin family had been controlled by Yi Fan. Zhang Feng's first feeling before was right. There was something wrong with the Qin family. But Yi Fan, do you dare to kill me? My grandfather is Zhang Golao. Do you know who else is behind my grandfather? You, a small Yi family, can't afford to offend. Your Yi family's demise is inevitable. Zhang Feng was still thinking of threatening Yi Fan even at this point in time. You'd better put me away right away and I'll take pity on you. And maybe take good care of those sister-in-laws of yours. Zhang Feng continued to laugh maniacally while his hands were quietly running a bazaar seal knot, building up strength behind his back. As one of the four holy places, the nine sepulchers relied on some evil means. As the closed disciple of the sacred lord, Zhang Feng had naturally learned some life-preserving cards. Zhang Feng was talking at the moment while attracting Yi Fan's attention, just to get himself a chance to make a move. While Zhang Feng made his move, he made a wink towards Chen Tang as well, and the two of them started to move at the same time. It would only take ten seconds. 10 seconds to detach themselves from this bizarre formation of Yi Fans. At this moment, they were only 3 meters away from Yi Fan, and with the two great martial arts powerhouses striking at the same time, along with those terrifying assassination methods of nine specters, they didn't believe that they still couldn't take Yi Fan. The moment they exchanged hands just now, Zhang Feng and Chen Tang also sensed that Yi Fan's martial strength was barely at the martial emperor level at most. Release you? Don't dream about it. You'd better give a couple of last words. At that time when you made a move against the Yi family, you should have thought of having today's end. Yi Fan coldly drove at Zheng Feng and Chen Tang, while in his heart, he was thinking about how best to deal with them. Boom! Once the 10 seconds were up, from Chen Tang and Zheng Feng, a martial arts chi with a black aura steeply erupted, a powerful impact that directly forced the kind of suppression of the surrounding formations away. Chen Tang and Zhang Feng both instantly got free, without any hesitation. Two berserk martial arts chi energies in their hands, filled with intense black breath, transformed into two berserk dragons, crazily attacking and killing towards Yi Fan. One way was rushing towards Yi Fan's heart, and one towards Yi Fan's neck. Go to hell. Boom. Rumble. At this moment, Chen Tang and Zhang Feng, both brought their full martial power into play. The powerful martial chi pierced through the void, the air let out a wail, the entire space began to tremble, and the room was trembling violently. Although Yi Fan was already a powerhouse above the sixth rank of martial emperor, facing the two demonic geniuses of the nine Sephiroths attacking, all of them with life-threatening underhanded attacks, Yi Fan was still a bit overwhelmed if he were to carry them hard, but Yi Fan had set up so many formations in the Qin family, so was it a waste of time? Rise, Yi Fan stood in place and gently waved his hand, and above all thirteen formations, golden streams of light began to emerge, like an octagonal formation chart blocking in front of Yi Fan, all of Chen Tang and Zhang Feng's attacks, after being blocked by those formations, were silent and didn't emit a single bit of movement. Just in the blink of an eye, Chen Tang and Zhang Feng once again fell into that state of being blocked and restricted, and were once again controlled by the formations. What made them even more depressed was that at this moment, as Yi Fan moved his fingers, more formations around them were still activating in a steady stream, pressing towards the two. At the very least, there were 40 or 50 formations. One was too much for them, and so many at once. Yi Fan, are you as far as that? Of course as far as that goes, the people are finally here, it's time to hit the road. At first, 
Zhang Feng and Shen Tang struggled a bit. When it came down to it, the two didn't even have the courage to struggle. This Yi Fan was simply ridiculously strong. The hell knows where he got these formations from that were so terrifyingly powerful and specialized in restraining their feats and martial arts. You want to kill us? Chen Tang's eyes burned as he stared at Yi Fan. You also dare to kill us? Do you know who my father is? My father is the holy lord of the four great sacred lands. The nine Sephiroth sacred lands. If you kill me, do you think the nine Sephiroth sacred lands will let you go? Yi Fan smiled faintly. You say this as if the nine sepulchral sanctuaries would let me go if I don't make a move against you guys. Today, if I didn't handle it strong enough, I'm afraid you you guys would have killed me a thousand times already, right? The Yi family had come this far and had been targeted by too many people. Countless people wanted the Yi family to fall. Yi fan's existence. Is the Yi word flag can continue to exist the spirit of support? The Yi family of those nemeses want to get dead Yi fan. And in Dashia, there are other families who want to divide the power of the family. The forces are also waiting for Yi fan to fall. Phew. With a wave of Yi fan's hand, a powerful ancient aura began to spread, and all of the formations arranged in the Qin family's compound were all up and running. A powerful ancient aura began to permeate the entire compound, and each fluctuation of golden streams of light harvested the lives of the people in the Qin family compound. Listening to the miserable screams around them, a flash of desperate panic surfaced in the eyes of both Zhang Feng and Shen Tang. Nima, what kind of bizarre formation is this that can actually directly make people into pieces and dissipate with the wind? Chen Xiao, be careful. I feel that my body has been invaded. It seems as if there is a powerful force that wants to tear me apart. There are spiritual forces entering my body. Ah 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 ah. Zhang Feng seemed to be a bit weaker. And when all of the evil punishing formations were opened, Zhang Feng endured for less than 5 minutes before he began to roll around in the formation holding his head, screaming miserably. Chen Tang also began to run the secret gong method taught by Zhou Yu, trying to resist the power of Yi Fan's formation. However, it was helpless that the power of Yi Fan's formation was too powerful, but in a few seconds of effort, Chen Tang and Zhang Feng lost any power of resistance. Countless powerful golden streams of light began to surge towards the two men's bodies several, and like a comb began to dredge the evil aura from the two men's bodies. Unlike those other core disciples of the Qin clan, Zhang Feng and Chen Tang, both of them, were actually not directly destroyed by the evil execution formation, and their bodies were actually intact, but the spirit seems to be undergoing purification. Yi Fan was also somewhat curious as he looked at those mysterious patterns stirring inside the formation. Yi Fan had only set up these formations according to the seal not inside the fragment inheritance. What exactly were those functions of the formations and how powerful they were? Yi Fan actually wasn't even too clear about. But now, Yi Fan had discovered at least two major functions of the evil execution formation. On the one hand, it was possible to directly destroy those living beings and crush them into nothingness. Another major function is purification which can purify all the evil in the target's body. Yi Fan had a strange connection with those formations and could clearly feel that all those evil factors in Zhang Feng and Chen Tang's bodies, in a few moments of effort, seemed to have been cleaned up by the evil execution formation. When the formation had finished running, only Yi Fan and Wang Yao were left sitting at the top of the hall in the entire Qin family compound, while Chen Tang and Zhang Feng were lying on the floor of the hall. At this time, Zhang Feng and Chen Tang had stopped struggling, but the looks on their faces were somewhat peculiar. Zhang Feng was completely demented, as if his thoughts had been purged and emptied, while Chen Tang's eyes were a bit confused. After glancing at Yi Fan, he suddenly knelt down to Yi Fan and said, Righteous Father is above, please accept my child's worship. Aha! Uh -huh. Hearing Chen Tang's words, Yi Fan was stunned. What is this? The purifying effect of the evil execution formation actually directly purified Chen Tang silly? Recognizing himself as his righteous father? Son, Yi Fan called out tentatively at the same time releasing his powerful perception at the martial emperor level to feel Chen Tang's emotional fluctuations, the young lord of nine specters, definitely not a straw man, this guy couldn't be pretending to be a fool in front of himself and trying to get away with it, right? Alas, righteous father don't worry, I, Chen Tang, will definitely listen to my righteous father in the future, and anyone who goes against my righteous father, my child will do his best to put to death, Zhang Feng, this bastard, tried to kill my righteous father just now, I'm going to kill him, Yi Fan carefully felt Chen Tang's emotional fluctuations, his powerful perception deep in his soul, and his seven-star soul destruction hand were all exerted. In the end, Yi Fan was sure of one thing, and that was that Chen Tang's mind had really been purified, and all those bad, evil thoughts in his head were gone. That amazing? Since this was the case, such a good dare, Yi Fan was considering that it wouldn't be a bad thing to take it. The four great sacred grounds of the nine Sephiroth sacred grounds, that was a very terrifying major force in the world of martial arts. 
Burying a nail inside the nine sepulchers and playing a role when necessary could have completely unexpected effects ah. Wait a minute, I'll record a video. Yi Fan smiled evilly, as the nine septic young lord exterminated Zhang Feng, the only personal grandson of pavilion elder Zhang. Such a wonderful picture was naturally something he wanted to share with pavilion elder Zhang. At this time, Zhang Feng, because the body has suffered a serious injury, and the spirit seems to be purified a little more than Chen Tang. At this time, all with the big stupid spring, heard Chen Tang want to kill him, but also he 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 naive smile. Put, put. With Yi Fan's permission, Chen Tang didn't have any hesitation. Dragging his battle knife, he stabbed down hard at Zheng Feng. In just a few moments of effort, Zheng Feng was stabbed to death. Yi Fan smiled evilly and processed the video on his cell phone, then picked up the cell phone on Zheng Feng, found Zhang Dalao's number, and sent out the video. Righteous father, do you think I've performed well? Chen Tang pleasingly said towards Yi Fan, just short of wagging his tail, from now on, I'll be a dog beside righteous father. If righteous father tells me to bite, I'll definitely not be ambiguous. Well done, but for the time being, I don't need you to stay by my side. After you take care of the Qin family, go back to the Nine Sepulchers. Find out for me who in the Nine Sepulcher Sacred Ground is trying to kill me and get them all killed. Yi Fan smiled coldly. The Nine Sepulchral Sacred Land, the one who wanted to get himself killed the most would be the Holy Lord of the Nine Sepulchral Sacred Land. If Chen Tang made a move on his old man, what a pleasing scene it would be. H.M. You've been trying to get me killed, and now it's time for you to get what's coming to you. I, Yi Fan, the unicorn son of the Yi family, have stood up. In the northwest, Zhang Gulao sat in the intelligence room, and since his grandson Zhang Feng landed in Huadu, Zhang Gulao's right eyelid had been jumping all the time. How's it going? Did you get any news back from Huadu? Yi Fan that little brute has also gone to Huadu. Little Feng doesn't know if he has already met with him. I always feel that there is something wrong with that brute. Must remind little Feng to pay attention. While pavilion master Zhang was still muttering, the assistant next to him saw a video sent from his cell phone, and his heart trembled violently before he opened his mouth with a terrified expression. Pavilion master, I'm afraid, we don't need to be reminded. What? When Zhang Galao heard the assistant's words, his heart couldn't help but thump and his face instantly changed. No need to be reminded. What does this mean? Just a few days ago, Xu Feng, the right-hand man under Zhang Gubao, had already died in Yun City. If something happened to Zhang Feng again, Zhang Gubao's little heart could not stand it a bit. The most critical, Tang Zhang's grandson on his side has already met his death in Huadu, and was also taken a video and posted online. The royal family because of the face of the problem, are directly suspended Tang Zhang. The big man behind it stepped in and couldn't even mediate, and has kind of bailed them out. Elder Zhang, young master he, young master he has, died. The assistant struggled to get the two words out. Looking at the picture in the video, his expression was also a bit stiff. Zhang Feng is dead. It was actually Chen Tang who killed him with his own hands. And what was even weirder was that Yi Fan was also present. The young lord of nine specters actually called Yi Fan his righteous father? Chen Tang killed Zhang Feng to avenge his righteous father's death. Isn't that a lie? Almost everyone knew that Zhang Feng worshipped the nine specters sacred lord, and that Chen Tang should be considered the closest sibling status. This power group that nine specters and Tang Zhang Pavilion Elder Zhang and the others belonged to, even more so, wore the same pants. All of them wanted to deal with the Yi family and put the Yi family to death. At a critical time, Chen Tang actually made a move against Zhang Feng and beheaded Pavilion Master Zhang's grandson? What did you say? Say it again. Zhang Galao's pupils dilated for a moment, and just like crazy, he snatched the tablet from his assistant's hands and played the video once again. He he he. I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. Chen Xiao, why did you stab me? Why is my chest bleeding? Zhang Feng was so naive that after seeing his chest bleeding, he actually reached out and dabbed the blood up and put it on his mouth and licked it. Oh, how is it salty? It's not good. I'm so dizzy. Put, put. Seeing the video, the dagger in Chen Tang's hand kept stabbing Zhang Feng's chest. Zhang Gulao's heart was trembling. Son of a bitch. What kind of airplane? IX. Tread horse. Who can tell me what is going on? Doesn't Chen Tang listen to Zhang Feng the most? The Nine Sepulcher Sacred Lord even instructed, before they left, for Chen Tang to listen to Zhang Feng. How did Chen Tang kill the grandson of my old man? Ah! Zhang Dela was so furious that he directly crushed the tablet in his hand with one hand and let out a hysterical roar from his mouth. He really couldn't figure out that Nine Spectre's Chen Tang, who was obviously going to deal with Yi Fan together with Zhang Feng. How did he suddenly turn his spearhead around and make a move on Zhang Feng? What does Zhou Yue want? You want to rebel against the boss? But the things nine specters did, enough for them to die 800 times, 
Ye family bosses are nine specters assassins personally involved in the hunt to get killed. Even if nine specters defected to the Yi family, the Yi family will let them go? Pust. Because Zhang Golao was too angry. His mouth directly sprayed a mouthful of black blood furiously. It's over. The Zhang family is over. In the Zhang family's generation, there was only one male member, Zhang Feng, and that was the only hope for the Zhang family. Adding to the fact that Zhang Feng's talent was so demonic. That's why pavilion elder Zhang spared no expense in sending Zhang Feng to enter the four great sacred grounds to learn martial arts. And Zhang Feng also lived up to the expectations. Less than 30 years old. The strength has already broken through the martial Zun realm. The future of the future is boundless ah. But now, Zhang Feng is dead. Nope, it must be Yi Fan's trick. No matter how confused Chen Tang is, it's impossible for him to make a move against Zhang Feng. After buffering slightly, pavilion elder Zhang wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and spoke coldly. Put the video from just now on the big screen for me. Yes, the assistant next to him answered at the same time. Quickly acted. At the same time some of the noi noi opened his mouth. But, Zhang Lao, Yi Fan he's just a fool ah. He didn't do anything at all. How can he mess up the ghost? Pavilion Master Zhang didn't say anything, but instead zoomed in to play the images on the big screen frame by frame. The moment Zhang Feng perished, Pavilion Elder Zhang suddenly froze the image and saw a gesture on Yi Fan's hand. At this moment, Yi Fan actually put his middle finger up. It was a gesture of contempt, mockery, and calling someone a fool. I X his ancestor. It's really him. He is provocative. It is a stark provocation. Zhang Golao stood up once again in agitation. Treading horse, Yi Fan has already awakened, but he is still pretending to be innocent. Abominable. Abominable as well ah. Zhang Golao stormed out, furious and kept pounding his chest. He had clearly discovered the provocation that Yi Fan had issued to him, but on the contrary, this detail, there was no way for him to take it out as evidence and talk about it. Even if he took it out and said it, people wouldn't believe him. All the intelligence, all the information gathered from the outside world, proved that Yi Fan was a fool, and Zhang Golao had to say that Yi Fan had awakened. Who believes it? Men, gather all the core disciples of the Zhang family back immediately. My Zhang family, I want to start an all-out war against the Yi family. When his own grandson perished, the lifeblood of the Zhang family was broken. Zhang Golao also stopped pretending and made a decision with a gloomy face, intending to gather all the strength of the Zhang family and start a war against the Yi family. From the economy, the officialdom, the military, and public opinion. All aspects, Zhang Golao intends to completely come out into the open and fight with the Yi family. Zhang Golao actually guessed correctly and also carefully captured Yi Fan's gesture. Yi Fan that was on purpose. The video that was sent to Pavilion Elder Zhang was purposely meant to irritate Pavilion Elder Zhang. Only by making Zhang Golao completely crazy and coming out into the open can the water become more muddy. The more muddy the water was, the big brother behind Pavilion Master Zhang and Pavilion Master Tang Zhang would jump out. Only then could Yi Fan find the real murderer behind them. Things had developed to this point, and with Pavilion Master Zhang and Pavilion Master Tang Zhang bubbling to the surface, the big brother behind them, wanting to escape and withdraw into seclusion, was no longer possible. Qin family, Yi Fan watched Qin Tang obediently clean up the Qin family, nodded his head with satisfaction. Good job, good big son, for father has to leave Hua Du for a while first. Yi Fan had just learned from Qin Zhang's mouth that the East Ding had joined forces with the vice commander of the Xuan Wu battle region and was planning to conspire against Yu Linglong the number one female martial god of the Grand Xia. You're your own first wife. There's no way Yi Fan would not care. What's more, the Xuan Wu vice commander was involved in the murder of the Yi family's second youngest, Yi Ling Jun, so Yi Fan would be even more unlikely to let him go. Good, righteous father don't worry to go. The flower capital has me. As long as it's what rightful father likes, I will guard it with all my heart. And those who want to be unfavorable to rightful father, I will obliterate them. Yi Fan had thought that Chen Tang was just talking casually, but little did he know that soon Chen Tang's role would become apparent. Chen Tang had decapitated Zhang Feng and destroyed the Qin family in the process. Another video prepared by Yi Fan quickly exploded on the short video platform. Such a shocking, furious scene completely shocked all perceptions. Those martial arts powerhouses, so they can be this crazy? Layman's view. But those with a heart of gold immediately noticed the difference. That's that fool from the Yi family. Ha, huh? he's actually considered a righteous father by the young lord of the nine specters. Chen Tang? Awesome. Awesome. That fool, how come his life is so good? After becoming Chen Tang's righteous father, those who want to deal with the Yi family will have to weigh their options. I don't know whether this is Chen Tang's own intention or the nine hell sacred lords. Why do I feel like the situation is falling towards the Yi family's side? Asshole. This sinner. Is he crazy? In the nine sepulchral sacred grounds, 
Sacred Lord Chen Yao saw the video on his phone and was so angry that he pinched the phone on the spot. This idiot, how am I supposed to explain this to the bigwigs above me? Bring the phone. Chen Yao dialed his son Chen Tang's phone in anger. Chen Tang, the video spread on the internet is true? You actually did kill Zhang Feng and destroyed the Qin family? Yeah, father, didn't I do a good job? Yi Fan is my righteous father. Those people want to kill my righteous father. I have to root them all out. As soon as Chen Tang opened his mouth, Chen Yao realized that something was wrong. Chen Yao knows that this stupid son of his, although it is true that he is almost interesting in terms of strategy, but there is nothing wrong with his intelligence. Although he wasn't smart enough even before, Nine Spectre's general thoughts and guidelines, and the position he stood for, Chen Yao was clear, but now Chen Yao was as if he had been brainwashed, only thinking of Yi Fan in his heart, recognizing him as his righteous father? Bullshit. Although he wasn't sure what exactly happened at that time, Chen Yao knew that Chen Tang had definitely been tampered with. All right, I know. You come back immediately. Father has something important to tell you. Chen Yao grimaced. No matter what, first summon Chen Tang back. If Chen Tang was mind controlled by Yi Fan's hands and feet, then the corresponding means should be used to lift the control. Otherwise, if it continued to develop like this, Chen Tang didn't know how much more trouble he would have to make. At that point, you won't even be able to close the deal on the big guy's side. Tinker Bell. Chen Yao had just hung up with Chen Tang when the big brother above him dialed. Chen Yao, is this the good son you gave birth to? Tramp, we have worked so hard for so many years to lay out a plan to deal with the Yi family. Now that we are left with the last fool and the old thing, it's already enough to give us a headache. As a result, your stupid son actually gave birth to a rebel and killed Zhang Feng. Yesterday, Shen Xiao was suddenly insulted by a dog. And today, your son killed Zhang Feng. Isn't this us slapping our own faces? How does this allow us to proceed to the next step? Do you know how much of an impact this incident today will have in the mundane world? After those seven granddaughters-in-law of the Yi family announced that they were marrying Yi Fan and were going to give the Yi family a chance to branch out, the families that had previously promised to support us had already wavered. And now that so many things have happened one after the other, they're afraid that they're going to be even more shaken up, and Elder Yi is going to go to Shangjing. So when the Yi family catches their breath, none of us are going to have a good time. The big man on the phone was a bit furious, and when the phone was connected, he was splitting his hairs at Chen Yao. Before, it was only Tang Zhang and Zhang Hung who were in a hurry. But now that the Yi family had purged all the lurking families in Cloud City, even Zhou Ming, the spokesperson on the side of the Holy Envoy Lord, had been heavily injured and nearly perished. The bigwigs behind Tang Zhang and Chen Yao were also getting anxious. From the time they made a move against the Yi family, they and the Yi family were in an undying situation. In one breath, the core ten sons of the Yi family were all exterminated. And if they couldn't completely bring down the Yi family this time, then they would be the ones to collapse. Big brother, you rest your anger. The video footage circulating on the internet is indeed true. But I also spoke with Chen Tang just now. From Chen Tang's words, I sensed that something was wrong. Chen Tang looked like his mind was being controlled. The people who have gotten to this point are the cream of the crop. Chen Yao just said one sentence. And the big brother on the other end of the phone instantly understood. Chen Tang is under control? Thinking about the images in the video. Yi Fan was there. If Chen Tang is controlled, then it can only be controlled by Yi Fan Ah. While the outside world rumored that Yi Fan was still a fool, Lei Chenjie said that Yi Fan had begun to awaken. Who the hell is telling the truth? At first, the big brother felt that Lei Chenjie's words were only meant to pull in the swaying clans to support the Yi family. But from what happened to Chen Tang, it seemed that Yi Fan was afraid that there was already a 90% chance that he had awakened. I see. The big man sucked in a mouthful of cool air. If Chen Tang is really mind controlled, that would be too terrifying. Yi Fan is estimated to have awakened a long time ago. Our layout in Huadu. I'm afraid that we still won't be able to stop Yi Fan. You guys, watch out for yourselves. Zhang Feng and Chen Tang made their move. And today, they were supposed to go to the Qin family to discuss things. As a result, before they could officially make their move, Yi Fan had already taken down the two peak martial Zoom powerhouses. Then the people on the side of the compulsion sect in the back, as well as the people from the Black Clothes Society. I'm afraid they're all for nothing. In the big brother's mind, he had already treated Tang Zhang, Zhang Hong and the others as outcasts. If He Fan made his move too quickly and soon found out his head, then he would not hesitate to make a move to cut his relationship with Zhou Yue, as well as Tang Zhang and the others. It was just that what he couldn't imagine was that people like Tang Zhang and Zhang Hang Lao were also human beings, and how they didn't leave some backhanders for themselves when they worked with the big brother. When the time comes, that's a card for self-preservation and survival. After seeing the images on the video, Shang Jing Tang was closing his eyes, and after letting out a long sigh of helplessness, 
He went into his secret room and started to organize all those evidences from his previous cooperation with Big Brother. He had already sensed that Yi Fan was going to make a move on them soon. At this time, Yi Fan, who had left the Qin family compound without any hesitation, directly asked Guo Li to mobilize a few private jets, and with the four great maids, hurried towards the Xuan Wu war zone. The first wife, Yu Linglong, has already left on a mission, and her cell phone is silent, so she can't be contacted at all. Hopefully it will be okay. Otherwise, I'll have everyone buried for the first wife. Southeastern border, Dong Shan Pier, Jade Linglong, dressed in a strong suit, chirped at the hundreds of finely suited martial arts powerhouses in front of her. Everyone, today we got intelligence that those wild dogs of the Black Clothes Society are lurking in Penglai Canyon. That's one of their important dens. Most of their men and women have already gone out today. I'm going to go straight to their dens and go kill them by surprise. They have in their hands a lot of ancient documents looted from Dasha, as well as not antique treasures looted from ancient tombs, all hidden in the canyon's lair. They absolutely can't be allowed to take the things away. But what I want to tell you is that the people of the Black Clothes Society, they are not vegetarians either. And if they go to fight today, there will definitely be sacrifices. But this is a fight for honor. Only when they are beaten and hurt will they be afraid and terrified. My Dasha sons and daughters, none of them are to be messed with. Does everyone have confidence? Yes. 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 Those present were all elites in the Xuan Wu war zone. All hot-blooded men. None of them flinched. Yu Linglong's thinking was actually right. Counter-attacking. Taking the initiative to attack their dens and destroying their staging areas. It wouldn't be so easy for those bastards to try to make small moves in Dasha again. If this battle was successful, then the great Xia's first female martial god would surely go down in history. But helplessly, while Yu Linglong was planning her action, behind a building at the pier, a few youths with binoculars were staring at Yu Linglong dead on, their faces grim as they said into their earphones, Matsumoto Kuen, that fierce bitch has already set off and is ready to move. I've already prepared a gift for you, so you should properly receive it. Better send more manpower. Don't worry, Zhou Yao Jun, I've sent five times more men to ambush them, as long as they dare to come, this is their graveyard. This person who was reporting into the earpiece was no other than Zhou Yao, the vice commander of the Xuan Wu war zone. That's good, but such a wonderful scene, I should be present to enjoy it. Zhou Yao's face surfaced a touch of evil smile, Matsumoto Kuen, if you capture Yu Linglong alive, you must not be so anxious to kill her, you must leave it for me to have a taste. This damned woman who has spoiled so many good things for this seat, and actually announced in a high profile that she wants to continue marrying into the Yi family. She knows that she will create trouble. Ha ha, don't worry Zhou Jun, if we can capture it alive, we will definitely keep it for you. To be able to solve the number one female martial arts god of Dasha, Zhou Jun can give our black clothes society a great credit ah, uh, by the time Zhou Jun comes to the east, all the formalities we will arrange the proper arrangements for Zhou Jun. That's great. Once again, Matsumoto Kuen must not take this lightly, although I, Yu Linglong, have arranged my full-fledged men around me, but Yu Linglong has somehow reached the martial Zun realm and strength now, so it's a bit hard to deal with. Zhou Yao hung up the phone and watched Yu Linglong leave with her men, a touch of ruthlessness surfaced in his eyes. Yu Linglong, there is a way to heaven that you don't go, there is no door to hell that you don't come, don't blame me this time. Yu Linglong was not only the first female martial god of Disya, but also a symbol of Disya's spirit. Zhou Yao was ordered to act this time, more so because Yu Linglong was on the side of the Yi family, and Yu Linglong, the representative symbol announcing that she would continue to marry into the Yi family, had too much influence. On the Yi family's side, Tang Zhang and Zhang Hong had used so much power to suppress that fool and old thing from the Yi family, but they hadn't made much progress, instead burying their own men one after another. The top was already very dissatisfied with people like Tang Zhang and Zhang Hong, suppressing the Yi family, the Su family, and the Qing family all failed which would make those nemeses of the Yi family lose face, and their supporters would all be shaken. So if you can't deal with the Yi family for the time being, then suppress those direct supporters of the Yi family. Everyone, listen to my order. We'll take a detour and set off. When the Black Clothes Society and Yu Linglong have fought to the death, we'll enter again. A touch of gloom surfaced in Zhou Yao's eyes. Also, inquire as to what location those people from the Blood Demon sect have arrived at now. Tell them to rendezvous with the coordinate locations I gave them before moving. While he did intend to go to the scene and do it as well, he wouldn't be foolish enough to rush to the front as cannon fodder. Jade Linglong's fighting strength was so strong that in a desperate situation, she would definitely fight with all her might. If you don't get it right, it wouldn't be cost effective to put your own life on the line. After settling Jade Linglong, it was time to deal with that old thing from the Yi family and that fool next. In fact, Zhou Yao despised the complaints of Tang Zhang and Zhang Hong and the others. Isn't he just a fool? 
Is it as tough as they say? So many people were deployed, but they were no match for Yi Fan, even the arrangements above in Cloud City were all uprooted? Zhou Yao, humph, this time, it's time for this young man to settle the score with you. On the plane from Huadu towards the Xuan Wu war zone, Yi Fan looked at the information about Zhou Yao on his cell phone, and a touch of gloom surfaced on his face. He was only involved in killing his second brother, and now he wants to do it to his wife. HM, as long as this young man is still here, none of you can touch a hair on the head of this young man's wife. As he spoke, Yi Fan touched a few talisman seals in his pocket. At that time, when Yu Linglong left from Cloud City, Yi Fan gave Yu Linglong a few talisman seals. When sending talisman seals to Yu Linglong, Yi Fan moved some small thoughts. The gift is a child seal. What was the situation on Yu Linglong's side? Yi Fan's side would be the first to notice. Now, from the situation on the talisman seal, it seems that everything is still fine on Yu Linglong's side. The fact that the talisman didn't have any abnormalities meant that Yu Linglong was not in danger for the time being. Yi Fan's chi fluctuated in his hands, and according to the inheritance in the dragon pattern ring, he strengthened the mysterious patterns on the child seal once again. This looks like a mother rune seal that can influence each other. Let's hope that this way, if Yu Linglong encounters any danger, the power of the talismanic seal can help fend it off. Young Yi, the Xuan Wu Warzone chief is on the phone. The maid by his side brought the phone to Yi Fan and cast an inquiring gaze towards him. On the cell phone, it was the call from Gu Fong, the commander of the Xuan Wu Warzone. Back then, when Yi Fan was still only 15 years old, he quietly went to the southeastern border region to train on a mission and happened to save Gu Feng's life. Gu Feng also discovered Yi Fan's potential at that time, so he quietly absorbed Yi Fan into the Xuan Wu battle region, and even gave the four heavenly kings access. Xiao Fan, you're hiding deep enough. If it wasn't for Guo Fei's report, I would have thought you were really demented. As soon as the phone was connected, Gu Feng immediately exclaimed over the phone. At that time in Cloud City, when Xian Yufei's second uncle was planning to make a move against Xian Yufei's father and even used the power of Cloud City City defense, Guo Fei discovered Yi Fan's identity in time to avoid a conflict. It was also from that time that Guo Fei reported Yi Fan's situation to Gu Feng, who immediately judged that Yi Fan was completely playing dumb on purpose. Old brother Gu Feng, long time no see, you've read the situation that was sent to you just now, right? Yi Fan said with some heaviness, Zhou Yao, as the vice commander of the Xuan Wu war zone actually colluded with the East and assassinated the first female martial god of the Grand Xia, and I still have enough evidence here to prove that he assassinated my second brother. This is a big fish. Gu Feng on the other end of the phone murmured for a few seconds, regarding Zhou Yao's problem. In fact, all of us within the Xuan Wu war zone have already begun to be alerted. Originally, I thought that he was just usually making some small moves and ganging up, but I didn't expect that this bastard actually so heartless that he colluded with the Easterning martial arts powerhouses to assassinate Yi Urshao. Don't worry, Xiao Yi, I have already gathered my men and will immediately go to support Yu Linglong. I will personally lead the team forward. Zhou Yao dares to be so arrogant. Today, this seat will personally clean up the mess. Yi Fan nodded, with old brother Gu Feng making a move. The chances of winning will be much better, but time will have to speed up. Yi Fan looked out the window. The sky had all started to darken. Calculating the distance. Yi Fan was less than half an hour away from Peng Lai Canyon, hoping that Yu Linglong and the others would move slower. To be in time ah, Peng Lai Canyon, located above the sea to the southeast of Dasha, it's a huge naturally formed canyon with fresh water on it, and it's also protected from typhoons, so it's not much of a problem to house a few thousand people. When Yu Linglong arrived outside the canyon with hundreds of her men in several small boats, the place was already lit up with a little starlight. A few of Yu Linglong's men went ashore, and in just one shot, they easily took out a few of the Eastern Ning guards at the mouth of the canyon. Yu Linglong released her perception to feel it, such an important defense location as the mouth of the canyon. There were actually less than 10 people stationed there, and the strongest ones were only in the control realm, not even a martial arts master. Several of Yu Linglong's control realm henchmen stepped forward and so easily pulled out the stronghold at the mouth of the canyon. A group of people take advantage of the darkness quietly toward the canyon groping, intending to directly force the Black Clothed Society nest in the core area to seize the treasure trove inside. Marshal Yu, you see how calm it is here. Isn't it a bit abnormal? It's too calm. In fact, there was no need for the henchman to remind her. But Yu Linglong also sensed that the situation was not right. The canyon is not really fully developed. It's still jungle everywhere. Even the roads are just simple dirt paths. Such a jungle should logically be inhabited by many birds. Jade Linglong brought more than a hundred people and divided them into ten combat squads. Although they were sneaking in, it was impossible for them not to move at all. And, those birds, they're much more sensitive than humans. With so many people going into the jungle, 
surely a few birds would be startled. And now that none of the birds are there, that can only mean one thing. That means someone has already been in the jungle, or they're hiding in the shadows. All these birds were chased away in advance. Someone intends to ambush Jade Linglong's battle team here. Everyone, stop advancing immediately and quickly close in on me. Yu Linglong, as the number one female martial god of the Grand Xia, could not only be amazing in terms of martial power, but in terms of combat literacy, she was indeed comparable to a general's thinking and strategizing. After noticing that the situation was not right, Yu Linglong's first thought was to gather everyone together so that they would not be cut up and annihilated by the enemy. Squad 1 copy. Squad 2 copy. Hearing that the battle teams under her had all made timely replies, Yu Linglong secretly breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. Since all the squads are still answering, that means everyone is safe and nothing happened. Marshal Yu, something is wrong with the situation today. Are we retreating? At this moment, a murderous atmosphere seemed to permeate the air around them causing some of the strongest members of the Xuanwu battle region with low psychological quality to be a bit scandalized. Yu Linglong vigilantly surveyed the situation around her and shook her head. It's already too late. If we retreat now, it will only cause our battle group to be instantly confused and then eaten by the other side. Oh, is that so? Beside Yu Linglong, the young man who had been opening his mouth to inquire couldn't help but see a flash of disappointment in his eyes when he heard that Yu Linglong was actually so cautious and didn't have any intention of retreating. Zhao Yu. What's going on in your head? We haven't even started fighting yet and you're thinking of retreating? Are you still a man? A few other youths beside him, chided the one beside Yu Linglong. As Marshal Yu's personal guard, you should take the lead and lead everyone to fight together. Understand? Zhao Yu smiled sarcastically. Yes, is, I was just asking. Although Zhao Yu answered with this on his lips, his thieving eyes kept glancing towards the surroundings. As Yu Linglong watched Zhao Yu's movements, a cold smile surfaced at the corner of her mouth. H.M. It seems that what Commander Gu Feng said about the situation was indeed right ah, he had long been surrounded by people, and today he came to attack Peng Lai Canyon. From the intelligence received, there are treasures in Peng Lai Canyon. The number of people defending it is very small, and so on this is all bait. The purpose was to attract Yu Linglong to bring people. When Yu Linglong decided to take action, Commander Gu Feng repeatedly dissuaded Yu Linglong from thinking clearly, but Yu Linglong insisted again and again. And Commander Gu Feng had no choice but to remind Yu Linglong to pay attention to the several people around her. One of them was Cho Wu. Marshal Yu, then what do we do next? Zhao Yu's eyes shifted around. And then the faint moonlight suddenly saw a vague eastern symbol on a nearby tree. And a glint of essence surfaced in his eyes. Zhao Yu's mouth inquired towards Yu Linglong while his body quietly approached towards her. His hand touching the battle sword at his waist. Let's wait for all the people to gather first. We can't retreat and continue to kill towards the core. Yu Linglong had already sensed the rapidly approaching fluctuations of Marshal Qi around her. From the feeling of that aura, the other party had sent out at least five or more Marshal Exalted powerhouses, and there were even Marshal Emperor powerhouses sitting at the back. Other sect Master powerhouses, as well as Masters in Control, were even more numerous. In order to deal with Yu Linglong, the Black Clothes Society can almost send out all the elite Ah. Jade Linglong knew that she was definitely backstabbed today backstabbed by the intelligence, and more importantly, backstabbed by someone within the Xuan Wu war zone. But even if she knew it was death, Yu Linglong wouldn't let the other party have a good time. It would not be a wasted sacrifice to rush to the core of the nest, blow up their command room, and destroy all of their infrastructure. And more crucially, if Yu Linglong died this time, then within the Xuan Wu war zone, the hidden traitor, Commander Gu Feng should have a clear clue. Good. A smug smile appeared on Zhao Yu's face as he drew off the battle sword at the tip of his waist and greeted the brothers around him. Everyone charge with me. Kill. Zhao Yu suddenly opened his mouth and shouted loudly, causing the other martial arts powerhouses from the Xuan Wu battle region beside him to get grossed out. You damn fool. We're sneak attacking. What the hell are you shouting about? That's. Crap. What do you want? You Shui be careful. Beside Yu Linglong, a few of her full-fledged henchmen were still complaining with their mouths. But in the next moment, all of them couldn't help but start shouting in unison, only to see Zhao Yu suddenly turn the blade around and stab at the location where Yu Linglong's heart was, from behind her back. Zhao Yu was also already at the strength of the Zongshu realm, and was Yu Linglong's closest personal guard, so with a sudden attack, it was entirely possible to kill Yu Linglong with a single blow in the event that Yu Linglong did not have any defenses. Around them, a few of Yu Linglong's other full-fledged henchmen wanted to come forward to rescue them, but there was still a distance of a few meters, so it was simply too late. Everyone could only watch as Zhao Yu blasted the battle sword in his hand towards Yu Linglong's heart. You guys did not expect it? Ha ha. In fact, I joined the Black Clothes Society a long time ago, and now I'm not even a Dasha person anymore. Today, 
It's just for the purpose of specifically sending you guys to the west. At this moment, Zhao Yu, thinking that his plan had finally succeeded, no longer hid, and began to laugh maniacally. As long as they killed Jade Linglong, then the attacking team that Jade Linglong had led today would not be successful. What an honor it was to kill the number one female martial god of Great Xia. Wouldn't one's position in the Black Clothes Society rise? And one would surely be reused by the president. Pust. There was a crisp ringing sound. Zhao Yu finally breathed a sigh of relief. After so many years of lurking in Dasha, he finally mixed with Yu Linglong's side and became her personal guard, and also became her right hand man. As the backbone of the Xuan Wu Warzone, Yu Linglong was also one of the 12 great warlords, and beheading Yu Linglong would definitely be a heavenly loss for the great Xia. It was even more of a heavy blow to the Yi family, making those who wanted to get close to the Yi family need to weigh their options. Around them, those of Yu Linglong's full fledged henchmen also closed their eyes in despair when they heard the sound of skin breaking. Done. Done. Jade Marshall's most loyal guard by his side actually mutinied and attacked Jade Marshall, decapitating him, so how can this attack and fight go on today? Not to mention, there are deadly ambushes in the surrounding jungle laid out by the Black Clothes Society. All hearts went cold and instantly lost the will to fight. Today it's a conspiracy. Zhao Yu as the personal guard of Marshall Yu, the key actually rebelled. This is a very significant blow to the entire will to fight Ah. It's not a day or two since the Black Clothes Society attacked. Xian Wu. These martial arts members saw so many of their compatriots die under the knives of the Black Clothes Society's martial arts powerhouses, which was even worse than killing them themselves. It's hard to find an opportunity to end the Black Clothes Society's nest in Panglai Canyon. But now, the action hasn't even begun, and the leader was directly beheaded. Those stern auras that came close around, the Xuan Wu powerhouses present, also felt it. The other party had planted spies beside Marshall Yu. So for today's action, those people from the Black Clothes Society must have been clear about it and had laid a dragnet here. In the surrounding woods, those strong men of the Black Clothes Society who were approaching, the leader was none other than Matsumoto Billion. Seeing Zhao Yu's actions, a gloomy smile surfaced on Matsumoto's face. It seems that the Great Summer's first female martial god is nothing more than that. Oh, I arranged for a lurking pawn, and it can be solved so easily. If I had known, why did we have to make such a big deal out of it? Yeah, it's still Matsumoto Kuan who's great laying everything out long ago. That's it. This time, we can hold a celebration party. Beheading the Great Xia's number one female martial god will surely make everyone in the Great Xia's martial arts community feel at risk. Matsumoto felt a bit fluttery as he listened to his men's boasting. That's right. After we win this battle, those who want to fight against my black clothes society will have to think twice. It will be much easier for us to collect those treasures later. Matsumoto Kuen is absolutely right. We swear to follow Matsumoto Kuen to the death. When Matsumoto Kuen rises high in the future, don't forget us old brothers. Well said. Well said. Matsumoto had a generous look on his face as he greeted the people around him with a smile on his face. But in the next moment, his mouth was screaming out directly. Baka. Crap. Matsumoto, who was originally lurking behind the trees, now stood up straight away in excitement, looking at the situation in the canyon with a horrified face. Aha. The other surrounding Black Clothes Society powerhouses couldn't help but turn their heads towards the canyon when they heard Matsumoto call out, and they were all instantly stunned by the scene in front of them as well. In the canyon, the battle sword in Zhao Yu's hand was blocked by Yu Linglong, while the other dagger of Yu Linglong pierced through Zhao Yu's heart. That poofing stabbing sound just now did not come from Yu Linglong's body, but rather it came from piercing through Zhao Yu's heart. This, the maniacal laughter from Zhao Yu's mouth came to an abrupt end, incredulously looking at the dagger in front of his chest as well as the blood that was dripping down his clothes, his entire body went numb, you shuayu, you actually, Zhao Yu's pupils dilated for a moment, feeling the rapid loss of vitality power in his body, but his eyes were filled with disbelief, he hid himself so cautiously and suddenly attacked in such a tense atmosphere, but Yu Linglong actually reacted, she even blocked her attack and even killed herself, how is that possible, where exactly is one exposed, Yu Linglong pulled the dagger out of Zhao Yu's body and let Zhao Yu fall towards the ground, Oomph, Zhao Yu, you didn't expect it, did you? You actually didn't kill the seat. Ha, Yu Linglong sneered and lowered her head to whisper in Zhao Yu's ear. You guys are using Panglai Canyon as a bait, wanting my Xuan Wu's people to come and sneak attack so that they can in turn kill us back. But have you guys thought about the fact that this battle team of ours is already a bait? Ah, you guys, Zhao Yu mouth exclaimed in shock. The last trace of his thoughts violently shook greatly. How could he not expect that the Xuan Wu domain actually had such a means? Zhao Yu still wanted to open his mouth to send a message towards the surrounding Matsumoto and the others, but all of his vitality power collapsed, his head tilted, and he was directly killed. Marshal Yu, you're okay? Great. 
Too good, Marshal Yu is truly divine. Around them, those under Yu Linglong's direct lineage, seeing that Yu Linglong was actually fine and had even killed Zhao Yu back, each of them excitedly surrounded them. Zhao Yu rebelled and colluded with these bastards of the Black Clothes Society with the intention of attacking the seat, and has now been killed by this seat. Brothers, should we spare those mad dogs of the Black Clothes Society? The scum? Yu Linglong raised the bloodied battle sword in her hand high, and in the process, she made a final mobilization to all the combatants on the scene. Never let go. Fight them. Spell it out. Kill. 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 At this point, everyone has already realized that the Black Clothes Society has set up an ambush around them, and there is no longer any point in lurking. Today is a fight to the death. In an instant, under Yu Linglong's guidance, the atmosphere of the scene began to boil. The killing sounds were overwhelming. The powerful battle intent all spread out towards the surroundings, and the surrounding trees began to move without wind. Although Yu Linglong had only brought a team of a hundred people this time, their powerful battle spirit made people not dare to ignore their fighting strength. The surrounding strongmen of the Black Clothes Society who surrounded Yu Linglong and the others had gathered almost all the infiltrators they could spare, and the number was five times more than Yu Linglong. Vice President Matsumoto, Zhao Yu's plan of action has failed. Should we take action now? Beside Matsumoto, a scarred man spoke coldly. If Zhao Yu fails to kill or seriously injure Yu Linglong, we're in a bit of trouble. The battle team under Yu Linglong, known as the Kirin Battle Team, had an overall killing power that was terrifying. Especially Yu Linglong was the soul of this team. If Yu Linglong didn't fall, the combat power played by Yu Linglong's battle team would at least double. Don't be anxious. Who told you guys that Yu Long Linglong has only Zhao Yu by her side? Matsumoto smiled evilly. I'm only afraid that Yu Linglong doesn't know that two of the four most elite and strongest men under her have already been bought by our black clothes society, right? Tsunami. Matsumoto put his finger to his mouth and gave a signal to do it. In the next moment, behind Yu Linglong, another one of her subordinate generals, taking advantage of the fact that Yu Linglong was passionately calling for all combat members, once again stabbed at Yu Linglong's back waist. Pust. This time, everyone saw it truly, Yu Linglong didn't have any time to react at all. That great general of the Zongshu realm, the dagger in his hand had obviously pierced through Yu Linglong's clothes and stabbed into Yu Linglong's body. Yu Linglong, you should always die this time, right? Matsumoto Billion snorted coldly, his heart relieved once again, and the middle-aged man who made the move had the same idea. Yu Linglong can prevent Zhao Yu's first attack, but she can't prevent my second attack, right? Boom! Feeling the sharp pain in her waist, Yu Linglong instinctively turned around and smashed that assassin with a punch. Yang Tong, I didn't expect that the other traitor would actually be you. Damn it. Yu Linglong's face was filled with anger, and her face paled a little as she chided. Yang Tong was forced back by Yu Linglong and stood a few meters away, laughing coldly. Yu Linglong, it's too late for you to know this now. My battle sword has a strong poison on it. Seeing blood seals the throat. Yu Linglong, you will definitely die today. All those men of Yu Linglong and the surroundings were dumbfounded. Still coming? Besides Zhao Yu, there was actually another assassin who wanted to kill Marshal Yu? Yang Tong waited for quite a while now, but found that apart from Yu Linglong's face being a bit pale, her body actually didn't have any abnormalities. Her brows couldn't help but frown. What's the situation? Is your own toxin not working? And Yu Linglong was also a bit puzzled. Having been hit by a knife on her waist, it was reasonable that she should be able to feel a very sharp pain ah? How come there is no blood? And there seemed to be a warm current fluctuating on her waist. What's going on? Yu Linglong reached toward her waist, and then she yanked out a yellowish talisman seal. At this moment, the yellowish rune seal was fluctuating with golden streams of light, flickering with a touch of antiquity. There was still a vague trace of a battle sword slash on the talisman, but it was clear that the talisman had deflected Yang Tong's deadly attack. This, thoughts flew through Yu Linglong's head, and she immediately thought of it. This talisman seal, wasn't it the one that Ji Fan had given to him when he left Cloud City at that time? At that time, Yi Fan said that this talisman could save his life in critical times and told Yu Linglong to make sure to keep it close to her body. Although five years ago Yi Fan was the demonic genius of the Yi family, but now Yi Fan was a fool recognized by everyone. Yu Linglong didn't take Yi Fan's words to heart at that time, she just thought that no matter what, it was something from her future husband, so she brought it with her. But I didn't expect to save my life at a critical time. Yu Linglong sucked in a breath of cool air. There was shock, surprise, and delight in her heart, and more than that, there was also curiosity and doubt. The talisman seal given by Yi Fan was actually this powerful? Blocking the full force of a Zongshu realm powerhouse at a critical time? A breeze blew, and the flowing light on that talismanic seal quickly began to dim, then turned into a pile of fragments and disappeared into the air. With some disbelief, Yu Linglong lifted her clothes up and looked towards her waist. In the end, 
he was surprised to find that there was no wound on the white waist, except for a little red mark. Moreover, with the fluctuation of the warm current on the talisman, even that red mark and pain on the waist body were actually disappearing rapidly. Warm currents. Warm currents again. Yi fan I yi fan. What secrets are you hiding in your body? At that time in Cloud City, when Yu Linglong held hands with Yi Fan, she clearly felt that as long as she was in close contact with Yi Fan, she could obtain that magical warmth, which could be transformed into martial chi, or other vitalizing power to warm up her body. A piece of paper? Crap! What's the situation? Yang Tong waited with anticipation for Yu Linglong to fall down, but he realized that Yu Linglong stood still. Nothing happened at all. Instead, he pulled out a yellowish paper from himself. And Jade Linglong didn't have any injuries on her body at all. She didn't bleed. She didn't suffer any injuries. Nima, what the hell is it? What kind of sorcery is this? I'll fight you. Yang Tong realized that he actually failed to cut down Yu Linglong, and his body swayed, intending to charge up again. But at this moment, the few personal guards around Yu Linglong had already reacted. Put, put, for battle knives in a row. All four directions behind Yang Tong. All of them stuck into Yang Tong's body in unison. Ah. Yang Tong screamed miserably, his mouth spat out a mouthful of blood furiously, and the battle knife in his hand fell to the ground, instantly collapsing towards the ground, twitching a few times, and never moving again. 2. Yu Linglong looked at the corpses of Yang Tong and Jia Yu and thought of what Gu Feng had said to her. The Xuan Wu Warzone's intelligence system had limited capabilities and only investigated that Yu Linglong had two important undercover agents by her side, but she didn't know exactly who they were. Now, it seems that all the ambushes by those members of the Black Clothes Society of Eastern Japan should have been exposed. Next, those martial arts powerhouses from the Black Clothes Society of Eastern Japan should start moving. Brothers, the traitors within us, have been cleaned up. Next is a tough battle. Yu Linglong coldly swept a circle of the surrounding men. This canyon, there is a chaotic post in front of us. We need to rush over there and use the terrain to block the enemy. Don't let them form an advantage in numbers. Our plan of action today is called the Heavenly Furnace Warfare and all we need to do is to defend this place to the death. The specific Heavenly Furnace battle method was to use this battle squad led by Yu Linglong as a bait to attract those strong men from the Eastern Ning Black Clothes Society to attack. Then Gu Feng would concentrate the strong men from the Xuan Wu battle region to complete the counter-envelopment of those experts from the Eastern Ning Black Clothes Society, and to wipe out all of those brutes that had gathered at Penglai Canyon. Of course, these specific strategic deployments would not be explained by Yu Linglong to her men. Now Yu Linglong was unsure if there were still eyes of the Black Clothes Society among these elites of hers, on both sides of the canyon, in the jungle, Matsumoto Billion and his own group of men, when they saw Yang Tong making a move in the canyon, they had planned to watch the show, but they didn't expect that a talisman seal on Jade Linglong's body would actually save Jade Linglong's life. Baka, what kind of demonic art is that on Yu Linglong? How did a piece of paper block the attack of a Zongshu realm powerhouse? Are all the martial arts powerhouses of Dixia so terrifying? The men around Matsumoto, seeing such a bizarre tactic of Jade Linglong, a wave of fear began to spread amongst the crowd. They had infiltrated into the Grand Xia, and all this time they had suffered from the pursuit of the Grand Xia's various great martial Dao forces, and all of them had already suffered a great deal. He came to ambush Yu Linglong just to get a little bit of aura back. What are you afraid of? This is nothing more than Dixia's rune seal art. Matsumoto coldly shouted. Baka, Yu Linglong is too lucky. She actually escaped the attack twice in a row. It seems that a big battle is inevitable today. Order down. To everyone in the Xuan Wu war zone. Leave no one alive. Yes. Matsumoto brought the strong martial arts practitioners of the Eastern Ning Black Clothes Society. All of them began to activate their martial arts chi and quickly pounced towards Yu Linglong and the others. In the air dozens of kilometers away from Penglai Canyon. The moment the talisman seal on Yu Linglong's body shattered, Yi Fan was already aware of it. Getting into action so soon? Yi Fan was shocked in his heart and urged the pilot in front of him once again. Faster. Faster. Young Yi, we're at our fastest speed, but it'll take at least 10 more minutes. I'll do it as fast as I can. The pilot drove his speed all the way to the extreme, and in 8 minutes he had arrived outside Penglai Canyon. The pilot was still looking for a place to hover. But Yi Fan couldn't wait any longer and jumped directly from a height of more than 10 meters longitudinally, smashing into the rocks on the seashore and blowing them apart. Although the sky had already darkened at this time, because of the exhaustive good moonlight, some shadows could still be felt vaguely all around. Yi Fan's powerful perception was released and he could clearly feel that there were still powerful fluctuations of martial chi in the canyon. This made Yi Fan slightly relieved. As long as there was martial chi fluctuating, it meant that the battle was still going on. On the first wife's side, at least for the time being, her life was not in danger. 
Yi Fan had just planned to rush from the seashore towards the depths of the canyon when his eyes suddenly noticed a flash of whiteness entering Yi Fan's eyes on the seashore beach. Aha, it's a girl? Skirt or washed by the seawater almost fell clean. White absolutely beautiful body. All show out. Especially the front of the big phoenix. Are about to take off. There's still a faint breath. What kind of person drowns here? To save or not to save? Yi Fan is now very anxious about the safety of the first wife. But see the living human life. Since encountered. Or to save. And cannot be delayed for more than a few minutes. The big deal is to run while holding. While saving. Thinking of this. Yi Fan dashed over and picked up the stunningly beautiful young lady. Quick. Keep up. Behind Yi Fan, the four attendants looked stunned. The young master's peach blossom luck is too good, right? Just came to rescue someone and picked up a beautiful woman? Yi Fan picked up the young girl and while he was speeding towards the front, the powerful vitality power in his palm was injected towards the young girl's body. When he saw the young girl just now, Yi Fan realized that the young girl had suffered a very serious internal injury, but there was still a mouthful of breath in, washed by the seawater for so long, only the breath was already very weak, if not carefully feel, would think that the young girl had died, the tendons and veins in the young girl's body have been damaged, and the blood veins are stagnant, the whole person has been completely wasted, letting someone else handle it would be a real comeback, however, Yi Fan himself received the inheritance inside the dragon ring, and his medical skills were all beyond the existence of the great summer medical sage Lei Qianjie, and there was also the assistance of those mysterious powers in the god and goddess fragment, so curing the young girl was not a difficult task, boing boing, when Yi Fan injected the ancient breath from his body into the young girl's body and helped the young girl to clean out almost all of those bruises in her body, the young girl let out a yelp from her mouth, and her body twisted a little in Yi Fan's arms. At this moment, Yi Fan, because he was holding the young girl by the waist, the young girl's body so twisted, that big phoenix, suddenly flew toward Yi Fan's hand, simply cannot grasp a Nima. Even though Yi Fan was already considered to be battle-hardened and had seen the peaks of the world, he could not stand it a bit at this time. Life is full of landscapes, but every landscape is different ah. But thinking that his first wife Yu Linglong was in a life and death crisis at the moment, Yi Fan quickly suppressed the throbbing in his heart and accelerated towards the canyon side, while in his hand in the qi energy was continuing to warm up and dredge the tendons of the young girl in his arms. The young girl's tendons and veins were very special and seemed to be a little different from normal people. Yi Fan had just realized when he was dredging that there seemed to be an ancient aura fluctuating hidden in the young girl's bloodline. That aura was vaguely the same as the one in the god and goddess fragment. Although Yi Fan was curious in his heart, now was not the time to study this. Yi Fan and the four great maids around him were already close to the canyon. On the way there were some realm experts on the periphery of the black clothes society. There was no need for Yi Fan to make a move at all. The four great maids solved them all easily. The sounds of the fight in front of them were already clearly visible. And Yu Linglong's chortling could vaguely be heard. Less than two minutes after Yi Fan left with the young girl in his arms. On the sea, Several speedboats came rushing in, and a group of strangely costumed martial arts powerhouses jumped off the boats, quickly searching around the perimeter of the sea. Have you found the lady yet? No, not on this side either. Captain, what do we do now? Among the group of people, there were many strong people of the martial exaltation realm, all of them looking anxious. What to do? Continue to look for. This time to bring the young lady out. The matriarch repeatedly explained that we must protect the young lady's safety. If anything happens to the young lady, all of us will have to lose our heads, the captain scolded the surrounding crowd, in addition, give me special attention to monitor the Namba commander, the last person the young lady saw was him, I suspect that it was him who did something to the young lady, Namba with his experts, and Zhou Yao have already entered the canyon from another direction, I'll take a portion of Ren to follow them in and see what's going on, while the others continue to search around, we need to see people alive, and we need to see corpses dead, understand, yes, on the other side of Penglai Canyon, Zhou Yao and a white-faced man stood on a peak on the side of the canyon, looking at the battle in the canyon below, the corner of his mouth surfaced with a touch of wickedness, Commander Namba, the battle down there is almost over, so it's time for us to make our move, don't worry, young Zhou, there will be no delay today, Zhou Yao haha burst out laughing, Namba Commander, you are wrong, today is not just my matter, it's also a great thing for you, Commander Namba, you've solved the internal obstruction, if you take down Peng Lai Canyon again today, in the future, the entire blood demon a part of the world, will have to listen to your orders, ha ha, good talk, good talk, let's go, it's time for us to enter, after this is accomplished, the future development of our blood demon department will be expected to be taken care of by Zhou Xiao, but for safety's sake, it's better not to expose all of our people at once, I've left two thirds of my men lurking at the bottom of the sea out there, just in case, 
Before Zhou Yao acted, he didn't think of being cannon fodder, but sat back and watched the tigers fight, waiting for Yu Linglong and the Black Clothes Society to fight about the same time before he would enter again. Only then could Zhou Yao get more chips. In Panglai Canyon, Matsumoto, with his strong men, had pretty much cleared the hundreds of strong men around Yu Linglong. At this time, the hundreds of people that Yu Linglong had brought with her had already died and wounded most of them, leaving less than 30 people. At this time, the crowd was relying on the cover of the chaotic post behind them, surrounded by Matsumoto's peoples in a fan shape, making a final struggle. Miss Yu Linglong, don't make a pointless struggle, I have to admit. Your Xuanwu domain strong men are indeed very strong, a hundred of them have gotten two hundred of us killed, a one to two death to injury ratio is already very impressive. Matsumoto's face was a bit gloomy, but right now, there are at least 300 people left under me. How long can you 30 wounded people last? What's more, outside of our martial Zun powerhouses, there are still martial emperor experts sitting around. Yu Linglong, as long as you surrender, I promise not to harm any of you, treat all of you with preferential treatment, and I can even give you the status of being under one person, and being on top of 10,000 people. The strategic significance brought about by recruiting the first female martial god of Great Xia was much more important than the recruitment itself. Matsumoto understands this. Surrender, dreaming. Matsumoto, do you think the people of the Xuanwu domain are that easy to bully? Humph, tell. It's still uncertain who will die today. Although everything had been laid out in advance. Up to now, there was still no movement outside. And Yu Linglong was getting a little anxious. Jade Linglong entered the canyon and it had been almost an hour. Outside. Commander Gu Feng wondered if the counter siege had been completed? The heavenly furnace battle method? If this hearth of theirs is pierced and the siege is not completed outside, then there is a possibility that Matsumoto will have to flee with all of the black clothes society elites he has brought with him today. Aha! Matsumoto, as the general head of the black clothes society in Dasha and the vice president of the black clothes society, was not a vegetarian himself. Hearing Yu Linglong's words, he couldn't help but start to be cautious and lowered his head towards the intelligence officer beside him and inquired, how is the situation reported by the brothers in charge of vigilance in the periphery? Against the Jade Linglong of the Xuanwu domain, Matsumoto was very cautious. The Xuanwu domain was guarding the southeastern part of Dasha, and its strength could not be underestimated. So if he got it wrong, he would be in trouble if he was wrapped up in a dumpling. President, we just got the news. Over at the Xuanwu domain headquarters, everything is normal. There are no traces of martial arts experts mobilizing, and everything is normal around Penglai Canyon as well. There are no other personnel activities, except for Vice Commander Zhou Yao, who seems to be leading a portion of his people, and is approaching from the east side of the canyon, but his movements aren't fast. Listening to the news reported by his men, Matsumoto was slightly relieved, but after hearing that Zhou Yao was moving slowly, he couldn't help but snort coldly. Humph, this Zhou Yao, still playing mind games in front of this seat, Baka, if not for the need to utilize his status identity, I would have long wanted to kill him. Brothers, all of you, within 30 seconds, end the battle. It can't be delayed any longer. If Zhou Yao had any dissenting thoughts, then Matsumoto would be under very high pressure. So Matsumoto thought of ending the battle before Zhou Yao arrived. In the midst of Yu Linglong's anxiety, the voice of Commander Gu Feng finally came from her earphone. Linglong, all of our men have arrived at the predetermined location. You guys hold on for another 10 minutes. We'll be here to save you soon. Hearing Gu Feng's words, Yu Linglong finally let out a secret sigh of relief. Brothers, Commander Gu Feng has already surrounded this place with his men. Next, we don't need to fight hard. Everyone pay attention to protect yourself. Hold on for another 10 minutes. They'll kill here. Yes. Hearing that Commander Gu Feng had finally brought people, although there were only 30 people left on the scene, the fighting force was instantly monstrous. Aha. Matsumoto looked at the situation in front of him with a stern expression. Did the Xuanwu domain really arrange reinforcements? But the news he had just received. The Xuanwu domain's men hadn't made any movements. Ah, president. Not good. Not good. The brothers responsible for the peripheral vigilance has been attacked. Our brothers responsible for going over to pick up the guard. So a large number of Xuanwu domain experts are rushing towards the canyon this side to kill. What, didn't you guys say just now that you didn't have any reinforcements yet? How come all of a sudden people are directly killing at the doorstep? Matsumoto was really a bit flustered. If the Xuanwu domain really had reinforcements, then the Xuanwu domain was afraid that sending Yu Linglong here today was really a conspiracy. How many of them have come? Matsumoto assessed the men on his side. Currently there were only 300 or so martial arts powerhouses left. Even if there was a martial arts emperor powerhouse behind them, if the Xuanwu domain powerhouses charged together, 
The Black Clothes Society's men were afraid that they would be dead or wounded. It's hard to see at the moment, but from what we've predicted so far, there are at least 700 or 800 people. Hiss, listening to the situation reported by his men, Matsumoto couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air. Nima, seven or eight hundred people, that now instantly began to reverse the situation. It was several times the number of people on their side ah, the Xuanwu domain must have moved for real. Numb nuts, he himself had been counted by the Xuanwu domain. Elder Koizumi, please move out and take your brothers to hold the retreating intersection. Matsumoto panicked a batch at this point, bowing into the void while continuing to quickly order his men. Second Brigade, Third Brigade. Take the men and horses and go with Elder Koizumi to guard the retreating retreat. We'll be right there. Matsumoto was really scared now. If the Xuanwu domain really had reinforcements coming, it would definitely be almost a nest. Panglai Canyon definitely couldn't be defended today, but at least most of the people had to be retreated out. Yu Ling Long, count yourselves ruthless. However, don't be complacent. Even if Gu Feng sends reinforcements, this seat can still kill you before they save you. Everyone, together. 10 seconds to end the battle and kill this scourge. Baka. Matsumoto was really getting mad. Treadmill. Originally thought it was an ambush. A one-sided crushing battle. But did not expect. But finally turned into a battle of escape. Matsumoto glanced over toward the east side and sneered inwardly. But fortunately, there were still Zhou Yao's and the blood demon side of the group over there. So perhaps they could fend them off later and buy time for themselves to leave. When the time comes, let them dog eat dog themselves. Shoo shoo shoo. Matsumoto's men and horses got the order. They did not have any reservation at this moment. All of them activated the strongest martial arts chi and madly pounced towards Yu Linglong and the others. Put, put. A few of Yu Linglong's foremost henchmen blocked for a few rounds before they were surrounded and fell. Although Jade Linglong's fighting and commanding skills were very impressive, and she fought and retreated towards the depths of the chaotic rocky hill. But in the face of absolute strength, there was no way to resist even the most refined art of command. Seeing the men around him die one batch after another. In just a few moments of work, there were less than 10 people left around Yu Linglong. Matsumoto even went so far as to draw his battle sword himself and start charging. The three great martial exalted powerhouses joining the battle was a complete harvest of life for Yu Linglong's side. Fizzle. In order to save a henchman beside her, Yu Linglong's shoulder was all slashed by Matsumoto, cutting a huge gash, and blood flowed down Yu Linglong's shoulder all over her shoulder. Yu Linglong's body stumbled and on her already pale face, it once again turned infinitely pale. Yu Linglong leaned on her body with her battle sword, her eyes somewhat reluctantly looking in the direction of Dasha, her mouth muttering, is it really going to die this time? Yi Fan that stupid kid, also don't know well, I haven't given you a wife yet, it's a pity, if at that time before I left, I could get more warmth from you, and my strength was then boosted a bit, maybe there wouldn't be the current situation, alas, and at this moment, Yifan finally rushed inside the canyon as well. The four main attendants around Yifan were all strong in the Zongshu realm, and with their powerful martial arts chi, coupled with their rich fighting experience, they charged all the way, and those of Matsumoto's men were unable to block at all. Yifan was holding and holding the stunningly beautiful young girl in his arms, and he was still continuously feeding the young girl with ancient chi energy and vitality power. Yifan had felt the young girl's body all twisted a few times in his own arms, but somewhat strangely, the young girl in his arms had always remained unawakened. But what Chi Fan didn't know was that the young girl at this time, had already quietly opened her eyes and looked at this handsome man who was hugging her. Thick eyebrows and large eyes with a strong, well-defined silhouette. Did he save himself? The young girl looked at her almost naked body and squeezed her body towards Yi Fan's arms, trying to block her scenery. But she suddenly realized that her big phoenix, which was right in Yi Fan's hand, was pinched and deformed. MMM. Shame on you. Shame on you. How can I meet people from now on? Nope. There is a saying in Dasha, isn't it? Call life and death great kindness. No way to repay. Can only be promised. With the body then the man in front of me. Is his future husband? Grace. It seems to be pretty good. My lady likes it. The young girl squirmed again in Yifan's arms. And suddenly her body felt something that seemed to have touched her. The young girl fumed for just a moment. Immediately realizing what it was. Although she had never eaten pork. She had seen a pig run. Is it that hard? The young girl shyly tried to move her body away, but she suddenly felt a warm current spreading towards her body, which then began to warm up her body and raise her martial chi. Aha! Uh -huh. This handsome guy in front of me has such amazing features? Can one get this magical warmth whenever one has intimate contact with him? This, then if he or she is married to her in the future, then one t he or she be able to obtain more warmth and gain great benefits? At that time, one strength would break through to martial saint. I'm afraid it would be an easy task. 
right? If one's strength could reach the martial emperor realm, then father's pressure wouldn't be so great, right? Those damnable guys, they actually took advantage of their inattention to beat themselves to death and throw them into the sea. If he hadn't been lucky enough to be saved by the handsome man in front of him, I'm afraid he would have died long ago. HM, do you really think I'm a vase? This time, this lady is going to make you pay. Damn, the first wife is hurt. When Yi Fan rushed to the side of the canyon's chaotic rocky hillock, he happened to see Yu Linglong being slashed by a strong martial zoon beside Matsumoto, and his heart throbbed with pain. Nansheng, you stay and take care of this girl. Find her a dress to wear. As soon as Yi Fan shoved the girl in his hand into the hand of the maid beside him, his ankle stomped on the ground, and his body quickly rushed over towards Yu Linglong's side like lightning. Over there, Matsumoto had already gathered three great martial exalted powerhouses, intending to come and harvest Jade Linglong's life at the same time. Yi Fan had just left with his front foot when the girl who had entered Nanqing's arms had already opened her eyes and let out a wooing sound from her mouth. Beauty, you're awake? Nanqing looked at the beautiful woman who struggled to get up from his arms, and while his mouth inquired, there was some doubt in his eyes. Waking up so fast, this beauty, did she wake up a long time ago? HM, these foxy girls, Grace, thanks for saving your lives. Do you have a cell phone on you? Lend it to me. After the beautiful woman borrowed the cell phone from Nanshang, she immediately dialed an encrypted phone number. Elder Mu, where are you guys? Please stop the operation immediately. After exchanging two simple sentences, the beautiful woman hung up the phone, returned it to Nanshang, and said with a respectful bow, I'm going to leave for a while, but I'll be back soon. Tell your young master to be careful. I will give him a surprise later. As the words fell, that young girl's ankle stomped on the ground and her body was already dozens of meters away. It's actually a powerful person of the martial zoon realm as well? Nanqing and a few other maids looked stunned. How come all these girls the young master has met are all so superb? This pretty girl, she still wants to give the young master a surprise. What kind of surprise is it again? On the other side, Yu Linglong had the last five full-fledged personal guards by her side. But at this moment, because of Matsumoto Bilian's desperate attack, all five of the personal guards also had colors hanging from their bodies, and blood was pouring out. After Yu Linglong hacked over a few more of the Black Clothed Society's wild dogs, her body was so weak that she was on the verge of collapsing, and she could only rely on the messy rocky helix, as well as relying on her battle sword to barely stand still. Yu Linglong, you are really strong. If you weren't born in Dasha, perhaps the seat would really give you a chance to be my woman. Now, do you think any of your struggles still have any meaning? Matsumoto Billion stared at Yu Linglong with a gloomy face. Stinking bitch, actually dare to count on this seat. I will send you to hell today. Kamito, Ashitaka, do it together and blast this son of a bitch. Yu Linglong, into dregs. Matsumoto was now anxious to jump up. Just now his men reported that Gu Feng's people have been peripherally formed a siege. Originally thought to deal with Yu Linglong last these 30 people. Dozens of seconds are solved, but now have passed 8 minutes. Not yet finished killing. If we drag this out any longer, we won't even have a chance to break out later. The only other martial emperor powerhouse in Penglai Canyon, Elder Shao Quan, had taken two battle groups to guard the breakout exit, and now there was no movement. Matsumoto was already very upset and just wants to end the fight as soon as possible. Boom, rumble, rumble. Three berserk martial chi energies blocked Yu Linglong and the last five personal guards from three directions and smashed them up fiercely. Jade Linglong and the others had reached the end of their strength. They were so weak that they were about to pass out. Where would they have any strength to resist at this time? Watching Matsumoto and the others pull off a last ditch shutout, but unable to do anything about it. Marshal Yu, we will not regret following Marshal Yu in battle. Right, if there is a next life, we will still fight with Marshal Yu, to be able to fight alongside Marshal Yu, even if I die. It's worth it. The air was squeezed and deformed under the pressure of the powerful chi. Those chaotic stone posts that Yu Linglong and the others had used as reliance and shelter had all begun to collapse inch by inch at this point, turning into a pile of broken pieces. Such a horrible killing move. Yu Linglong had only barely reached the martial Zun realm, and with the addition of a few of her own personal guards who were in control, the Zongshu realm, she was simply dead. Yu Linglong by such a horrible pressure or pressed body in violent trembling, eyes began to blur, the eyes are bleeding in the sockets, the hole immediately about to completely coma. However, in the moment before passing out, Yu Linglong actually saw a familiar figure behind Matsumoto and the others. Yefan, what's with that goofy guy? What's he doing here? Was he hallucinating? Yu Linglong wanted to desperately open her eyes to see clearly. That man she wanted to guard, had he really come? But the eyelids were uncontrollably trying to close. Still, a smile surfaced at the corner of Yu Linglong's mouth, and her mouth spoke almost instinctively. Maybe, we might not have to die. Jade Linglong, 
who was in a daze, couldn't figure out herself why she had such thoughts. It just seems to be an unconditional trust. The talisman given by Yi Fan earlier had saved his life. Yi Fan also has that strange physique. Yi Fan's strength is afraid to be more powerful than everyone imagines. Jade Marshall, what did you say? Several of Yu Linglong's personal guards, although they themselves had already reached the limit of their lives as well, endured the severe pain and forcefully tried to protect Yu Linglong in the middle. Boom boom boom. After a violent explosion, the place where Yu Linglong and the last few personal guards were standing had by now turned into a huge crater. It was three feet wide and two feet deep. The surrounding chaotic rocky hillocks were leveled, and within a ten foot radius, there was no longer any fluctuation in the breath of life. Is it finally dead? As the dust settled, Matsumoto looked at such a horrific sight in front of him and breathed a sigh of relief. Although the process was grueling and he was even surrounded, as long as he could kill the great summer Valkyrie, it was all worth it. Matsumoto Kuen, why don't we make sure again? I always feel that something is not right. Kamido beside Matsumoto sniffed his nose twice. The scent of Yu Linglong in the air has not disappeared. Do you think that female martial god of Dasha should not be not be dead? How is it possible? A joint strike by our three peak martial Zun powerhouses is comparable to a martial emperor powerhouse. And Jade Linglong has reached the point of oil exhaustion. So how could she still be alive? Impossible. Matsumoto was very confident. And once again, he turned his Matsumoto was very confident. Once again put his powerful perception towards the big pit to perceive. There was not any breath of Yu Linglong. Yu Linglong is definitely dead. Tell the brothers to prepare to break out immediately. Matsumoto chortled at Kamido with an excited look on his face. However, Kamido stood still and did not move, while his eyes were staring straight at Matsumoto, looking at Matsumoto with a puzzled expression. Kamito, are you stupid? What are you looking at me for? Hurry up and leave. If you don't, it'll be too late. Pust. Kamido did not open his mouth. And in response, Matsumoto had a bloodied battle sword pierce through Kamido's chest. A mouthful of black blood spurted furiously from Kamido's mouth. His face full of unwillingness but helpless as he fell straight down towards the ground. Behind Kamido's Ueno, a rigid figure emerged. And it was none other than Yi Fan. Yi Fan spoke coldly. If you hurt my first wife, none of you can leave today. All of them will stay here to accompany this young man. Yi Fan's voice was not big, but the words seemed to carry the sound of soul invasion, resounding through the whole place, stirring to the depths of everyone's souls. And those strong men of the Black Clothes Society who were planning to retreat could not help but stop their footsteps. Looking at the direction where Yi Fan was in a bewildered manner. Who's this? One man's strength is a million men? Crap. You're. You're. You're Yi Fan. Matsumoto instantly reacted to the fact that two days ago, the other vice president of the Black Clothes Society, Koji Murano, had brought a brigade into Cloud City with the intention of cooperating with Pavilion Elder Zhang to make a move against the Yi family. As a result, all the experts of the Black Clothes Society led by Murano Koji, together with those prepared by Jin Yang, were completely wiped out. Though outsiders say that it was Jin Yang himself who accidentally set off the bomb that caused the deaths of Koji Murano and the others. I'll believe the hell out of you. Jin Yang, as the eldest young man of the Huadu Jin family, was able to be selected by Zhang Gulo, and was actually not stupid ah. Moreover, Shang Jing Zhou Shao, that is the spokesman of the Holy Envoy organization, was also seriously injured in that fight. It's a pity that Zhou Ming's own memories have all disappeared and he simply can't recall what exactly happened at that time. Things that coincidental? The only result of the outside world's investigation was that Yi Fan, that fool, actually left the scene intact with Xian Yufei, Sui Shui, and Cheng Rulin. The moment he saw Yi Fan now, Matsumoto understood all of it. Yi Fan wasn't stupid. Moreover, Yi Fan could easily decapitate Kamido. That meant that Yi Fan's strength, at least all above Kamido, should have reached the martial emperor level. Numb nuts! Everyone was fooled by Yi Fan, while Matsumoto was shocked. Without any hesitation, he stomped his ankle and retreated towards the back at a rapid pace. Seeing that Yi Fan was chasing towards him, Matsumoto very viciously grabbed another martial arts expert companion by his side, Ashida, and slammed him directly towards Yi Fan. Matsumoto Kuen. Ah, Baka. Reacting, Ashida's face was horrified, and his body was in the air trying to forcefully run his chi to escape. The prancing, footed chicken leg, panicked stomping about in the air, but it didn't do any good at all. Humph, no need to run. Today, all of you will die. Yi Fan coldly rebuked. The strength of Martial Emperor's sixth grade in his hand was not hidden in the slightest, and he slammed his fist at Ashitaka. Even though Ashitaka was already at the level of Martial Zun, the astral aura of his entire body was completely like paper mache in front of Yi Fan, destroying it and instantly disintegrating. Boom! Ashida didn't have time to make any moves at all. 
and his entire body was directly blasted into slag. The air was filled with a smell of blood, and such a furious scene from Yifan directly caused all 300 or so strong members of the Black Clothes Society at the scene to freeze. In their minds, the three great martial arts powerhouses, Ashida, Kamito, and Matsumoto, were all already battle ceilings. However, he didn't expect that that foolish young master of the No, one family of great Xia, the Yi family, would actually directly and easily decimate a major martial Zun powerhouse, crushed so easily, the might of the Wudi, scary as hell. The first thing that came to everyone's head was to escape, but their legs were as if they were filled with lead, they were not in control at all, they could not take a step at all, and the most shocked of all was Matsumoto, who had retreated behind his men. Shocked on one hand was that Yifan actually waved his hand and killed all of the two major martial Zun powerhouses by his side, it was as simple as breathing. Then, he himself was only a martial Zun fifth grade, still far from the martial emperor level, so in Yifan's eyes, wouldn't he also be dead? And what made Matsumoto even more shocked was that he suddenly realized that in Yifan's other arm, he was actually holding a Jade Linglong. But just now, shouldn't the three great martial exalted powerhouses join hands to blast Yu Linglong into pieces? Nima, what's going on here? Not only was Yu Linglong unharmed, even the five injured personal guards beside Yu Linglong stood blankly behind Yifan, their faces full of incomprehension. Just now, he was clearly surrounded by three great martial exalted experts, and was already in a certain death situation. So how come he was suddenly fine now? This ye young master, in front of you is called Ji Fan? Is he the foolish young master that Yu Shui is dead set on marrying? It turned out that Ji Xiao was so strong that he snatched all six of them from the hands of three great martial Zun powerhouses? Previously, when they heard that a queen-like woman like Yu Shui was going to marry that fool from the Yi family, they were still very unconvinced and very me Yu Shui to fight for her. But now, they were truly convinced. Because of Yi Fan's steep appearance, saving Yu Linglong and a few of his personal guards, the entire scene was so quiet that it seemed as if it had frozen in an instant. After Yi Fan decapitated Ash Ida, he took a step towards Matsumoto. The thud of golden footsteps was like a knock on Matsumoto's heart. On, all on me. Archers, all crossbows, shoot them all. Matsumoto felt like his heart was about to jump out of his chest. He knew very well that with Yi Fan's current strength, he had no chance of winning a single fight. Moreover, it was not difficult for a mature martial emperor powerhouse to exterminate a country with the strength of one person. And now these elites brought by the Black Clothes Society, even if all of them rushed up, it was probably very difficult to put Yi Fan to death. Now Matsumoto only hoped that these straw men of his could help him stall for some time, giving him enough time to escape. Outside the Xuanwu domains commander Gu Feng had already led a siege on Penglai Canyon, and if he delayed a little longer, he was afraid that Elder Xiaojuan's side would have a tough time guarding the path of retreat. Shu Shu Shu, as Matsumoto's words fell, countless crossbow arrows shot madly towards Yi Fan like rain. That was a strengthened version of a crossbow. If it was within the shooting range, it could harvest the life of even a strong person in the sovereign realm. It was still a fatal threat to a martial exalted powerhouse, but they were now facing Yi Fan, a martial emperor powerhouse above the sixth rank of martial emperor. When those crossbow arrows were still three feet away from Yi Fan, on the surface of Yi Fan's body, an eye visible air ripple had formed, as if there was a barrier, blocking the hundreds of crossbow arrows. Phew! Yi Fan just lightly waved his hand and the powerful martial chi energy rolled up those crossbow arrows and returned the same way, instantly killing all those archers who fired the crossbow arrows. In just a flash, Yi Fan killed a hundred people with a single move. Moreover, most of those martial arts powerhouses of the Black Clothes Society were masters of the control realm. Placed in the mundane world, they were all bigwigs sitting on one side, the elite of the Black Clothes Society. So many deaths in an instant, Matsumoto felt his heart twitching violently. That was the backbone of the Black Clothes Society the future hope of the Black Clothes Society, but Matsumoto was more concerned about his own life as opposed to being heartbroken for theirs. Continue on, fourth battle team, go, stop him even if he blows himself up, we can't let the Black Clothes Society all be destroyed here, now is the time for you to sacrifice for your companions, it's that time of the day, and Matsumoto is still brainwashing those young men from the Black Clan, but those footpad chickens, they're eating it up, several powerful people in the control realm directly performed evil maneuvers, forcibly burning their life force, instantly raising their strength to the martial Zun realm, and rushed towards Yi Fan, wanting to die with him. It was naturally impossible for a strong person at the martial Zun realm to cause fatal injuries to Yi Fan. However, the large number of people still caused a considerable amount of trouble for Yi Fan. Just now, one after another, Yi Fan has felt his spiritual power and martial chi consumed very quickly. If Gu Feng can't arrive in time, I'm afraid I'm still a bit of a problem, but just letting Matsumoto run away, 
Yi Fan naturally wouldn't agree. You guys are responsible for taking care of Linglong. Yi Fan rebuked at the four major maids who approached over, and the instantaneous movement characteristic was activated, instantly rushing to a few members of the Black Clothes Society who were preparing to continue to blow themselves up. And while concluding the seals on his hands, he rebuked with a cry from his mouth. Bucket turning star shift. Yi Fan smiled evilly. The direction of the palm of his hand turned around and smashed in the direction of where Matsumoto was, 